My left hand is as hot as fire. My right hand is as cold as frost. Power I've only extracted a little bit, and the result is so good. It doesn't look great, but it sounds awesome Oh, I knew it. Don't mess around with yourself. We've been grinding for too long. Ashby won't just send one forbidden magician this time. We have to move quickly. I know. My wanted notice is still flying all over the country, right? So we have to disguise ourselves to be on the road. Chinger, use the transfiguration spell. In addition to me and Talulu, the holy sword will also be changed. Oh, oh, okay. No need to be so troublesome. Although I have only recovered a little, it is enough to open my secret space. We just need to hide in and make sure that Ashby can't find it. I'll open the portal now. Talulu, why don't you wipe the blood first? Oh, the key that hides the power of space, I command you in the name of Forbidden Magician Talulu, lift the seal and show your true form before me. Open the forbidden lock and guide me to the end of the dimension, the other side of the world. Be prepared for some bumps on the way in. Let's go. This is. This is the supreme masterpiece that I personally built. It is also the top of the spatial magic formation. I thought I would be imprisoned by Ashby forever, but I didn't expect to be able to come back again. Welcome to the dimensional dimension, the crack of time and space. Here is my absolute domain, my private garden. It's amazing here. Are we not in the same world anymore? It doesn't matter. We are only in the gap between time and space in the world, and this space can't exist without the original world. Tell you, Lou, can the things outside be put in for a long period of time? Most of my collection and research is hidden here, and it appears to be well preserved at the moment. Can Ashby find us here? My space is located in the gap between time and space, parallel to the current world, and even I don't know its coordinate point, how could that idiot of Ashby know? Moreover, now I can't get out of here by myself, unless you have completely drained the forbidden magic fruit from my body, what's with your expression? You mean we can't get out? Damn, how can I make trouble if I can't get out? How can I earn origin points? My plans are destroyed. You have to drain my forbidden magic fruit and let me completely restore my powers so I can take everyone out. Well, but the forbidden magic fruit in your body is very difficult to extract. I guess we will be here for a long time. So many days can't be wasted. I have to do something. Wait. Teach me. I want to learn magic. Do you want to learn magic? However, for humans, magic is something that cannot be learned or understood. Humans cannot understand the structure and meaning of even the simplest spells. The most important thing is that the source of magic power magic power is the innate talent of the elf blood. If the problem of magic power is not solved, it is a joke to let human beings learn magic. Tell you, Lou, is there any strange thing that contains magic power? Huh? In this world, there are forbidden magic fruits that dissolve magic power, so there should also be strange things rich in magic power. As long as I draw the magic power out like the forbidden magic fruit, I can use it for myself. There is no such thing. What did you say? What the forbidden magic fruit dissolves and restrains is the magic power that exists in the world. The magic power in the elves is a unique talent in the blood of the elves. How can there be other things that have magic power? What are you thinking? Wait, don't you use magic in the world to invoke the magic element, this magic element? It is essentially different from the magic in the body of the elves. Magic is activated by the magic of the elves. The magic elements in nature can only be driven by magic, but they cannot be activated in reverse. You don't have to think about it. Magic of elves is not magic in the air, nor does it require it. I want to study the theory of magic first. Would you like to teach me some magic? As long as it can be entered into the system, there should be a way to master magic. I have to give it a try. After all, I have finally come to the magical world, and I'm unwilling to go back without learning new things. Didn't I say earlier that humans don't understand magic at all? But, it's not impossible to try. Talulu? 
Woohoo! Before I was imprisoned by Ashby, I had been thinking about how to make human beings equal and respected. Enabling humans to learn magic is one of my researches. Although due to various reasons, only one space spell was translated, primary teleportation magic, and it did not solve the problem of magic power, but the theoretical research is very mature. If you want to learn theory, I can indeed teach you. Teleportation magic? This is good. I will learn this. I have translated this for years in a language that humans can understand, and I can't teach you anything else you want to learn. There is an old saying in our hometown, friendship cannot stand always on one side. Talulu, you teach me magic, and I also teach you what I am good at martial arts. Martial arts? Half a month later. Fairmont Wilderness. In the 23rd fixed point inspection of the Red Lunar Calendar, Zhao Ta's spatial measurement magic array did not respond, the spatial magic power fluctuated steadily, and various indicators tended to be normal. It is expected that there will be no spatial overlap within 15 solar hours. Discoloration The next fixed point detection will be Warning the fluctuation of space magic power is greatly increased, and there is a space overlap reaction. Biological reactions found. Check the information. Information matching. It's Lord Ashby. Just looking at me, it actually made me stiff after a hundred rounds. How could there be an existence like that? Can the four sages defeat him? No, maybe they lost too. After all, when I was reborn, Talulu had just killed the Dark Elf Queen. Lord Ashby, are you all right? Lord Ashby, how's the battle going? What about the Grand Duke Paula and the other electors? The Dark Elf Queen has been successfully slaughtered, but the Grand Duke Paula. In order to create a chance for the strongest me to kill her in one blow, they volunteered to be the bait, sacrificed one by one in the long war of attrition, and in the end, I was the only one left alive. What? This is impossible. The Grand Duke has the treasure of the Pala family, the Eye of the Phoenix, as long as the heart is still beating, no matter how many injuries he get he can be healed, it is an excellent treasure second only to the holy artifact, and he will never die so easily. Grand Duke Paulo was a brave man to be admired, and I understand your feelings about losing your master, Lieutenant, but I don't have to lie. That's right, thanks to him, the Dark Elf Queen was held down before the Eye of the Phoenix was completely useless, otherwise I wouldn't have had a chance to chop off her head. Sacrifice is painful, but we can't stay immersed in it. The Dark Elf King, this greatest threat, is not over yet, and we must move on and keep fighting. Lord Ashby, your achievements and prestige have reached the peak, and everything is going well. Okay. Did Talulu and the Holy Sword come back? This time, when we return to the kingdom, His Majesty will be giving you the Zen seat. Report to Lord Ashby, Jigar and Cordis has lost signs of life and is suspected to have been killed. The other forbidden magicians who went after him lost their target. The mission has failed. A bunch of losers who can't even take a bitch half-elf and a human slave. Lord Ashby, please calm down. Your wounds are still bleeding. The Dark Elf Queen is dead. The Dark Elf King is about to come out. His power is better than the Queen a thousand times. I must get back the Holy Sword before he descends and be able to exert the strongest strength to face the battle. Call back all those Wattses. I have a new assignment for them. That's it, you can go out now. Yes, please rest well. I don't know if I'm dead this time. Can I be reborn again? It shouldn't be possible. I can feel that the energy of this treasure has been used up. Damn, why hasn't the energy of this treasure been replenished for so many years? Calm down, anger will only cloud my judgment. As long as I find Talulu and get the holy artifact fusion technique, there is still hope for me. The worst has not yet happened. There is still room to turn the situation around. If I hadn't been too prudent in the past and pulled all the weak spots around you, it won't become that you now rely on a human to get you out. But this is the end. You who are restricted by the forbidden magic fruit have no other help except that human being. 
With his temper causing trouble everywhere, sooner or later I will be able to lock him and catch you again. Seven days later. Although his majesty was handsome and elegant, his aura was so terrifying that I didn't even dare to approach him. I was fortunate enough to serve his majesty before. He was not like this before, maybe he was in a bad mood. I heard that in this battle, His Majesty was the only survivor, and all his colleagues and subordinates who fought together died. I hope today's sacrifice can make His Majesty feel better. It's been seven days, why hasn't there been any movement? Could it be that my fate lock magic has been seen through by Talialu? Damn it! Your Majesty Ashby, all preparations are made, just waiting for you to host. Very good, I'll go right away. According to the previous behavior pattern of Xie Yan, this human slave, he has been trying to save some of his kin, that being the case, I can take advantage of this to make him come out. Help! Ouch! Why me? I regret that until today, your compatriot, the thief of the empire, the human named Xie Yan has not appeared. The Dark Elf King is about to attack, and Xie Yan, this stupid slave, stole my holy artifact and put the entire empire at risk for his own selfish desires. Your sacrifice is meaningless, because Xie Yan is not worth the loss of so many lives, but now, you can only use your death to draw out this shameless thief. Resent, cry, and let the man who tried to abandon his fellow man look back with useless wailing. I will make a video of this life sacrifice and broadcast it on a loop all over the country. I want every corner of this land to be filled with the mourning of these human beings. Bastard slave, I don't believe you won't come out. Meanwhile, tell you lose secret space. So the transposition? Of? Is expressed in this way. But? Becomes? And? Twelve subsections after being disassembled, and? can also be equivalent to catalysis in the intermediate value between and there are 12 more modulations so the conversion formula of has 2 out of 12 CAN can you keep up what a stupid formula how can it be even longer than calculus humans can't read or learn elvish language of elves so talialu improved the obscure spells into elvish with simpler and clearer meaning and then translated the improved elvish into a common language that humans can understand who would have known that the result would be so amazing the incantation only had a few sentences and each byte in it could be divided into a separate manual not to mention that after the second conversion into common language the capacity is directly doubled no wonder Talialu only translated a primary teleportation magic. In addition to the magic power problem, this translation is equivalent to the capacity of a hundred Xinhua dictionaries. Recite a hundred Xinhua dictionaries to learn a magic. Is this science? If I didn't have to understand the technique for it to be put in the system, I really don't want to suffer this crime. Can you do it? I'm going to erase this piece and write new content. Wait, wait. There's one last line left. Wait, wait. There's one last line left. Huh? What's going on? Why did the source points suddenly start to paint the screen? Why are they all resentment origin points? What is Ashby doing out there to discredit me? Don't worry. I'm not going out now anyway. I'm still worried that the origin point has not increased much recently. I didn't expect him to give me this surprise. Ashby is such a good person, my lord, your study time is over, it's Talialu's turn. It's me, it's me. Today is learning martial arts, I like this the most, hurry up and demonstrate. Let me finish first, there are still two last words left. Don't waste your time, you have to draw the forbidden magic fruit from me before your lecture, and I will accompany Chinger to help her practice taking of opponent weapon spell. Time is running out. Ugh, my notes. What a sin. Why did I say to teach this girl my unique technique? Why is she more crazy about learning more than me, the teacher? But I really didn't expect that what she likes to learn most on my side is the fighting skills of Bakwan World, the fighter at the sea level fighter, or more needs a secret medicine, so I can't teach her, and there is no such restriction on the ordinary fighter level. I need a few more waves of origin points to comfort my bitter heart, Ashby, 
Please do your best, and make me the most wanted. It is best to render me a world-destroying demon king. Few days later. Xia Yin, this bastard slave. I can't believe he really didn't show up. My lord Ashby, what's going on? Nothing. Starting tomorrow, it will be announced to the entire empire, who can provide clues about Xia Yin and Talulu, human beings can break away from slavery, and half-elves and elves will be promoted directly to nobles. Remind everyone that that bastard will change into someone else's appearance, pay attention to new strangers or acquaintances around who have changed temperaments. Finally, let it be known that the human sacrifice ceremony will be held every day for the nobles of the whole country until Xia Yin and Talulu are found out. Xia Yin, I want to see how long you can endure it. Space coordinates are the basis of space magic, so you must memorize these three manuals first. Despicable bastards, this is to atone for the traitor Xia Yin who betrayed you. Oh. The desire of smell branch actually needs special conditions to be able to level up to LV5. It is rare to have so many origin points, but after a closer look, there is no cultivation technique that can be upgraded. This feels really subtle. My lord, Talulu used magic in the soup, is it okay? Wash away your original sin as human beings. How on earth is this guy Ashby trying to find me? Except for a few greed emotions, most of them are resentment origin points, but it doesn't matter. The more you try to harm me, the more source points I get. A month later. The conversion formula for? Is 12? In multiples of 2? Talulu. Are you okay? Ahem, it's okay. It's just that divine impact of Zen entry failed again. Boom, give me treatment chirp. I have learned both spirit nurturing technique and fighter fighting techniques, but it makes no sense that this true chi martial art can't be learned. I must find out the reason for the failure. Could it be that the forbidden magic fruit hasn't been pumped out, so you can't learn it? Talulu's guardian spirit. My lord? It is possible, then when Xia Yin has pumped it out for me, I will continue to try. I must beat you up before I get it clean. I'm halfway through writing my spell, and it's all been ruined by the movement you made. Have you written half of it already? Big Brother Xia Yin is amazing. Clamp don't think that you can be forgiven with cuteness. Also, isn't your study time too early? Now is the time for Chinger to practice breaking martial arts. Hurry up and take the Holy Sword to accompany Chinger to practice. To know whether it is possible to take down Ashby, the key lies in Chinger. Got it, I'll go right now. My lord, I will try my best. Chirp! It's so unsettling. Although Chinger's breaking martial arts has improved a lot and now has a 50% success rate, but with Talulu's experiment, if the target evades resistance, the probability of hitting will be greatly reduced. Ashby will definitely not stand and be beaten, so once the battle begins, Talulu and I must restrain him in order to improve Chinger's hit rate and thus increase the success rate. A success is fine. If Chinger fails to break the martial arts spell for the first time, Ashby will definitely not let Chinger go. Fortunately, the source points have never been more abundant during this period of time, which is enough to support me to keep recovering Chinger to fight the War of Attrition. Name, C-A-N. Realm, Innate Realm First Layer Current Origin Points, 12,447.50,041. It's a pity that the Nirvana Finger can't restore the Forbidden Demon's Breath, otherwise this time it would be stress-free. However, I still have to thank Ashby for blackmailing me outside each day, allowing me to have the largest number of origin points since I crossed over. In the 32nd year of the Red Moon Calendar, in the month of Monovision, the Elector Kim Watchbo Ashby was officially crowned king. Your Majesty During this time, human slaves have been consumed dozens of times more than ever before, and there is a shortage in many industries that require heavy labor, may I ask? When will the festival be over? Tomorrow. Talulu, Xia Yin, you guys are cruel enough to not show up even after all this. 
after the end of tomorrow, the human sacrifice activities will be temporarily suspended. Let the officials of the slave department issue policies to encourage human reproduction and find ways to restore the slave population to normal as soon as possible. At the same time, send an army for the expedition to the eastern continent and then capture some eastern humans to supplement the slave population. Your Majesty is wise. I will now promulgate Your Majesty's decree. The power of the Dark Elf King has exceeded the limit of our world. Based on my research on magic theory, it is impossible to stay in our world for too long. Therefore, under normal circumstances, as long as one hide, there is no need to be afraid. But I have the cursed mark left by the Dark Elf Queen before her death. When the Dark Elf King comes, everyone else can hide, but I cannot hide. As of now, there is only one last solution. This method, although the entire elf empire will be broken, I am afraid that it will be difficult to recover for decades, but as long as I am still alive, I can build another empire. Besides, there is a 70% chance that Talulu, if she wasn't dead, would come and stop me when she hears about this, and that would be my chance. Ten days later. Taluru's secret space. Pangu created the world, Nuwa creates man. Clear Chi rises, Dirty Chi sinks. Take the opponent's weapon freely, urgent as an order, go. The 17,342nd practice was successful. Chinger, your success rate is getting higher and higher. Humph, that's how it feels. I feel so strong now. Take the opponent's weapon freely, urgent as an order, go. The variable that converts to has nothing to do with, but can affect the final generation of, so it is, I understand. Good you little girl, you actually make a sneak attack, see the trick. Don't come here take the opponent's weapon freely, go. 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 Ching or tell you Lu, you two be quiet. Skill input successful current origin points, 136-385-4231 skill name. Primary Teleportation Magic Incomplete Skill Introduction, the Common Language Edition of the Primary Teleportation Magic, revised and translated by Talulu. Draw the magic circle, cast the spell, and move yourself to as far as the eye can see. Requires sufficient elven magic power to successfully perform this magic. Current level, not started hum? I will avoid it. Finally, I managed to enter the skill in the system. Damn, I don't know how I survived these days. It is not in vain that I practiced day in and day out and wrote out all the 100 translations of the dictionary, the incomplete prompt probably because I did not overcome the magic problem, but now I have enough origin points to deduce and see. But in the past 10 days, my origin points has not increased as much as before. Did Ashby finally give up on finding me? Current origin points, 12,138.54231. Skill name, Primary Teleportation Magic Skill Introduction, the Common Language Edition of the Primary Teleportation Magic, revised and translated by Talulu. Draw the magic circle, cast the spell, and move yourself to as far as the eye can see. It can utilize the essence of the forbidden magic fruit in place of elven magic power. Current level, not started it actually cost 1,500 source points, not cheap, but let's look at the introduction, oh. You are rude. It's you who provoked first. As expected of the system, the teleportation magic after the deduction actually directly changed the driving force to the breath of forbidden magic, which was tailor-made for me. Take the opponent's weapon freely, urgent as an order, go. You can't do it, Chinger, this time it didn't work at all. To reach the introductory level is very simple, just using the breath of forbidden magic fruit to draw a complete magic array. This primary teleportation magic can only be teleported to places as far as the eyes can see. It takes about a quarter of an hour to draw a magic circle, and it takes at least a quarter of an hour to chant it. A quarter of an hour later. The drawing is successful, let's get started. If you can't do instant casting, you can't use it as a teleportation when fighting the enemy, which feels a bit tasteless. Current origin points, 121-385-4231. Skill name, 
Primary Teleportation Magic Skill Introduction The Common Language Edition of the Primary Teleportation Magic, revised and translated by Talulu. Draw the magic circle, cast the spell, and move yourself to as far as the eye can see. It can utilize the essence of the forbidden magic fruit in place of elven magic power. Current level, LV0, but I'm more capricious now, and this is the only one that can be upgraded at the moment. Go straight to the top to see if there will be a qualitative change. Current origin points, 913854231. Skill name, Primary Teleportation Magic Skill Introduction, Drawing Magic Circles is greatly simplified and Chanting Incantations is omitted. It can instantly teleport you to your desired destination and consumes forbidden magic fruit essence depending on the distance. However, it can only teleport the practitioner to a place they have visited before and cannot be used to travel all over the world. Current level, LV4 over the level cap. Holy crap, it took 3,000 origin points. Two minutes later, the magic circle has been reduced to the extreme. I tried it, and it only took about two minutes to draw it, and there was no need to chant. The most important thing is that you can teleport wherever you've been, which is worth it even with how much origin points I spent on it. Although I have already extracted all the forbidden magic fruit that Talulu has accumulated for five years to practice the forbidden magic breath, but this thing is consumable and limited after all, so it is not necessary to test it use now. It's a pity that I lack the upgrade conditions for the smell desire technique, and I haven't been able to cultivate to the level of Su Min where I might not need raw material for forbidden magic fruit breath and can be regenerated. The consumption of the forbidden magic fruit breath will be much less than now. If I don't have any forbidden magic fruit breath left after the fight with Ashby, then the origin points I use now will have been spent in vain. Or, let me see if I can continue to get forbidden magic fruit from Ashby. After all, it seems that he has a lot of this stuff. Talulu, what are you doing? Let go of Chinger quickly. Woo woo. It was Chinger who made fun of me first. I just counted appropriately. I can't learn your true Chi martial arts, but after thinking about it, it should be in conflict with the magic power of the elf, so depressing. I learned the primary teleportation magic you taught me. Really? Hurry up and show it to me. Not for the time being. I have to consume my breath of forbidden magic fruit. Before I kill Ashby, I should save it as much as I can. Didn't you say before that if I draw from you all the forbidden magic fruit, you could open this space and go out? How about now? Let's go out and find out what the Ashby guy is up to and kill him if we get a chance. I'm ready to go out even if you don't mention it. Hum, I'm ready to go and beat up that bastard Ashby. Crackling. 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 Ah, it is the fragrance of meat. I always don't satisfy my stomach and just take potions, and there is no taste at all. Why didn't you eat? In my space, I see that you rarely drink my potions. After reaching the innate realm, there will be a big change. It is sufficient with only drinking a little, so I didn't have that much demand for food. I don't understand, but it looks so boring. That, even though I can eat a lot, I'll save a little for Chinger. Chinger is a ghost. What can she eat? You can eat it all. No one will steal it. Hey, then I'm welcome. My lord, I am back. Chinger, Chinger, what did that bastard of Ashby do recently? Did you go to the nearby town to find out? Ashby is so bad. You must kill him, Master, Talulu. A quarter of an hour later. So, when Ashby couldn't find us, he wanted to sacrifice human beings to try to force us out. My lord. This is stupid enough. So that's how it was. It turned out that those massive origin points came from this way. Although I don't have much contact with the human beings in this world, I am still of the same race. If I hadn't stayed in Talulu's space, I might have really been aroused by him. Sadly, even if I come out, nothing can be solved, the reality of this world is like this, and Ashby just magnifies the viciousness of it. All I can do is kill Ashby, push Talulu to the top, and slowly change everything. In this way, it can explain this huge amount of origin points. 
In the battle against the Dark Elf Queen, all the electors except Ashby died, and Ashby is now crowned king. And since he became emperor, he has been preparing for the battle against the Dark Elf King. More than ten days before we came out, he took all the mages of the Empire to the Cuso Plateau, saying that he would build a super-forbidden magic circle called the Lubel's World Magic Array to banish the upcoming Dark Elf King. Dark Elf King? That's right, there are already a Dark Elf Queen, and it's normal to have another king. Why don't we wait for them to fight then we come after they finish their fight? Elubal's World Magic Array? Ashby, this bastard, is doing it again. The best way to deal with the Dark Elf King is to ignore it directly. He is willing to not take the easy way out, and he even brought out my mother's greatest masterpiece, just trying to catch me. What do you mean? Why can't I keep up with your rhythm all of a sudden? Elubal's World Magic Array is a super forbidden magic array created by my mother. It can extract the origin of the world and exile the enemy to a different dimension. Isn't it suitable to use against such a powerful enemy as the Dark Elf King? The Dark Elf King is very powerful, far beyond the limits of our world, so even if he descends, the time he can stay is very short. At that time, as long as the crowds are evaluated and he is allowed to wreak havoc, the damage caused will be limited. But it is precisely because he is too strong that if he is to be exiled, the source of the world extracted will damage the root of our world. In the days to come, natural disasters and earthquakes will occur every day, and the mage can still survive. It is absolutely difficult for ordinary civilians to survive. The consequences are far worse than the damage caused by the Dark Elf King. I understand. Since Ashby knows where the Dark Elf King will come, he can obviously evaluate the local people without trying to fight him, but he chose to kill 800 enemies and lose 1,000. This is clearly trying to use your kindness to force you to show up. Yes, however, Sia Yin, it is unlikely that you want to wait for Ashby and the Dark Elf King to lose both. Either Ashby fails in exiling him and is slapped to death by the Dark Elf King, or Ashby succeeded in his banishment with little or no loss to himself. Only those two possibilities. The gap between the two of them is too great for a holy weapon to bridge. Then kill Ashby before the Dark Elf King arrives. As for the Dark Elf King, if you think you can leave it alone, we will run away after killing Ashby. If the Dark Elf King is so strong, I really have to worry about getting killed before Ashby, and if I'm unlucky enough to be robbed of the system fragment, this crossing will be a complete loss. Alright, I'll teleport everyone to the Cuso Plateau. Humph, Ashby would never have imagined that I have you and Chinger by my side. Without him trying to find us, we are going to trouble him. Cuso Plateau Alubal's World Magic Array Praise to His Majesty the Emperor What a magnificent building, what a powerful magic array This is a masterpiece that brings together the power of the entire empire and it is worthwhile to see such a spectacle in my lifetime even if I die immediately in battle His Majesty can surely lead us to create a better new world I have long heard that Alubal's World Magic Array is the most complex and beautiful magic circle in the Elf Empire. Looking at it today, it really lives up to its reputation. This is the first time I have seen such a complex and intricate multi-nested magic array. Alubal, you are a great forbidden magician, but it is a pity that you die too early. Be careful, be careful, His Majesty Ashby doesn't like to hear you sympathize with Alubal. Your Majesty, the basic structure of the altar has been completed. Next, all the troops need to be placed on the base points, and the world magic array of Alubal is completed. Talulu, I'm waiting for you, whether you come or not. This time, I will not lose. Sure enough, it's my mother's masterpiece. Ashby, this guy is inhuman. I can sense that the magic fluctuations in the nearby space are not normal, and there is a 90% chance that the space will overlap in a while. But whether it's the Dark Elf King or not, I can't guarantee. This guy Ashby, aside from his character, is really amazing. 
His prophecy magic can accurately predict the time and place of the Dark Elf's arrival every time, without a single error. This guy is great in that aspect. Being reborn, knowing a lot of information, and knowing prophecy magic, it's no surprise that this guy can do this. Let's go. I will take you to kill him. What's wrong? It's not easy to get in there as Ashby has a large protective shell that three or two Forbidden Spell Mage can't break. I was attacked by someone using Forbidden Spell Magic beyond the line of sight, but you saved me. Now that I think about it, it's so embarrassing. So, I want you to see how strong the Forbidden Magician Talulu is. The elves sing, and the flow of goods flows. Follow my orders with all my might. The uninhibited wind flows like water, does not move like a mountain, and burns ashes and wildfires. The divine light shines like the stars, and the ancient gloom disappears. Holy Sword Liberation Forbidden Magic Holy Liberation How long do we need to prepare? Lord Ashby said it would be better to wait until sunset. What happened? It's an alert. Hey, do you feel it? It's over there. There is an extraordinary magical reaction over there. It's a forbidden spell, no. This reaction is far beyond the forbidden spell level. It is the Holy Sword. This is the power of the Holy Sword that is completely liberated. Why are we attacked by the Holy Sword? It's that bitch Talulu. Don't panic. The magic array of the altar will protect us. Holy Sword? Talulu? She's coming. She's really coming. What if your magic power is restored? I'm only afraid that you won't come. Holy Shield Liberation. Fivefold Breaking Light Protection. The Holy Sword is too strong. Everyone hurry up. Even the invincible Holy Shield cannot protect too much range under the power of the Holy Sword. Everyone, step back to His Majesty Ashby. Go! Boom! It's over, it's over, the magic array is destroyed. What a horrible attack, is this the Holy Sword? But we survived. Thanks to your majesty. Thanks to the holy shield. How much world essence would my mother's magic formation need to extract to deal with the dark elf king, with so many forbidden spell mages here, don't you know? What if the dark elf king comes? With his power, he will soon be repelled from the world. On the contrary, exile by extracting the origin of the world is the greatest harm to the world. The holders of each of your holy artifact are somewhat capable, but you have one of the greatest weaknesses dispersion. If the four holy artifacts are held separately, it is only the power of four elves. If you superimpose on an elf, you can play far more than the power of four elves. So who is the most suitable to be the bearer of the power of the four holy artifacts? Without a doubt it is me who has the power of prophecy. Not only because I can predict the attack of the Dark Elves, but also because I have seen the activation of the Holy Artifact countless times in the prophecy. Let me use the four Holy Artifacts at the same time, no doubt more proficiently than those of you who have practiced from scratch. If you were to use the Holy Artifacts separately, the Empire will lose many more soldiers. If I do not rise to a higher position, my prophecies will not be heeded, but be used for the greater good. I don't mind having some necessary evil on my hands in order to save the Empire and its peril. You are so brazen, Ashby. The Dark Elf King has indeed been recorded in some legends and books. He is particularly powerful, so powerful that it exceeds the capacity of our world, so he cannot stay here for much time. But I can't guarantee whether these records are true or not. Tell you, Lou, can you guarantee it? As the Lord of the Empire, I can't put my hopes on these illusory legends. If the Dark Elf King, like other Dark Elves, roams freely in our world, then the consequences. I can't afford to gamble, neither can the Empire. As for your mother Zalubal's world magic array, Talulu, haven't you noticed that I have made some minor adjustments? 
the extraction of the origin of the world is much lower than the original version, and the after effects are not as serious as you might think. Is he lying or not? We may be sacrificing many people today, but as long as we kill the Dark Elf King, everything will be worth it. I will not forget that your parents died at my hands, and I will not forget everyone who was hurt by me because of greater good. I have the opportunity to stand here today thanks to their sacrifices. They are all heroes of the Empire. Talulu, give me the Holy Sword, and give me the method of uniting the four holy artifacts. This way, even if the magic array has been destroyed by your caprice, I can still try to kill the Dark Elf King by force. After that, I will return the title to you and give a solemn funeral to your parents, including all those who died. They are all martyrs who died for their country, and they will be treated like heroes. If you really hold a grudge against me, I will not complain no matter how you retaliate afterwards. But now, when the enemy is at hand, give me the holy sword. This guy. Should I trust him or not? His Majesty Aspie is right. His Majesty has expressed compromise with you. Shouldn't you also take a few steps back, Talyalu? When a great enemy is at hand, let any grudges be put aside first. For the sake of the Empire, grant the request of His Majesty Ashby. Beautifully said, Ashby, I almost believe this nonsense. If you're as concerned about the greater good as you say you are, then why don't you give way to Talulu? She is a national hero, with the blood of an elector who is a royalty. In terms of bloodline, seniority, and ability, which one is not stronger than you? If you want the best for the greater good, you should have given the throne her long ago, let alone imprison her. What's more, she is the one who knows the art of fusion of holy artifacts, not you. According to your theory, shouldn't all the holy artifacts be given to her to use? Because I am stronger than Talulu, the holy artifacts should be in the hands of a stronger person. Really, the strongest can take the holy artifacts, right? How about we all don't use the holy artifacts and compete with each other? Whoever wins will be worthy to use all the holy artifacts. What do you think of my proposal? It seems to make sense there's no sense in that. This human slave is so abomination. All right. Xie Yin, you are Talulu's slave. I don't care about you, but there should be a limit to the nonsense. Why am I fooling around? I can swear to God for what I said before is sincerely true. There is no need for this. The Dark Elf King is coming soon, and before that, I need to recharge my batteries. My prophecy magic tells me that I am the strongest among the elves, the only child of destiny who can stand against the Dark Elf King. You see, you can't talk logic with him. We will just keep talking in a loop. Absolutely amazing. I don't know if he's telling the truth or a lie, so, uh, you are still too young. There is no point in talking logic with this kind of person you can't get through. Since you claim that you can use prophecy magic, then I have a few questions to ask you. Did you predict that I and Talulu would run away? Did you predict that we would take the Holy Sword? When we came, we didn't intend to give you the Holy Sword. Did you predict it? Have you prophesied the most crucial art of fusing the four holy artifacts? Can prophecy be unleashed at will? I may be powerful, but I am not an all-knowing god. Stupid. Prophecy magic is so advanced, how can it be considered with common sense? His Majesty Ashby stepped forward at the juncture of the Empire's crisis, repelled the invasion of the Dark Elves again and again, and made great contributions to the Empire. There is no room for you, a slave, to criticize. You idiots really think how awesome his prophecy magic is. Ashby, do you think no one knows the identity of your rebirth? How you were embarrassed in your last life, how you participated in the war led by Talulu as a nobody, and how you were involved and died, do you want me to tell you these stories one by one? You're full of shit. I am not talking bullshit, you know in your heart, and some people around you should also know. Haven't you found it? As expected, Ashby was determined to find me, especially after defeating the Dark Elf Queen, and he have been frustrated repeatedly. Because the battle with the Queen is already the end of his prophecy. Is your majesty a rebirth? Don't trust that human. 
he is wiling to hire spies sent by the Dark Elves to slander his majesty. But I think he's right. C.A.N., who are you? Who am I? I am the child of destiny. I am the world's favorite. I am the vicegerent sent by the gods to specifically clean up after you, the rebirth. You deceive the world and steal other opportunities. You should be punished. Chinger, it's your turn. Impossible. How is it possible? I am the child of the world. Take the opponent's weapon freely, clear and free, urgent as an order. Go. According to Talyalu, although Chinger's breaking martial arts will be offset by magic, the shield formed by the Holy Shield is theoretically an extension of the Holy Shield itself, not a magic shield in the strict sense. It may not be able to offset the effect of breaking the martial arts. I hope Talyalu guessed right, otherwise this time we simply can't fight him. My treasure? It's gone. Yay! It worked in one shot. But what is this? It doesn't seem to be a holy artifact. How did it get to you? Found a system fragment. Do you want to fuse it together? Fusion. Very good. The holy shield really can't prevent the breaking of the martial arts. Chinger succeeded once and also got the system fragment. System fragment fusion. System upgrade is complete. The current level LV4, the evolution function, has been strengthened. Eh? Hey, hey. How did it turn into a powder? System level has been upgraded. Current system level, LV4, it turned out to be the evolution function. And like last time, it shows that it is being strengthened. But why is it the evolution function? Shouldn't it be a new function to unlock a save file or rewind time? My treasure. What have you done to my treasure? I told you, I'll take your cheating tools on behalf of the punishment of heaven. Take the opponent's weapon freely, clear and free, urgent as an order. Go! How dare you come back? Broken martial arts spell was cancelled out. Sure enough, only the first time is the easiest. If Chinger wants a second chance, it's not that simple. Ashby, if you want your treasure, follow along. We'll go head to head. Ugh. Why didn't you take the holy artifacts down for the first time, but gave me a temporarily useless system fragment? Stop right there. Give me back my treasure. Your Majesty. Go get help. Who is telling the truth and who is telling lies? This, Your Majesty? What's the matter with the reborn? Aspie is lying to us. Tell you, Lou, I'll leave those trash fish below to you. Don't let them interfere with my duel with Ashby. Hey, I've been preparing for so long, just for today. Instant forbidden spell. Mirroring all worlds. Forbidden spell magic? I can't believe it was released instantly. Isn't the holy ring on his majesty, Aspie? This is an instant forbidden spell. It takes a full month to prepare, and a precious magic storage ring is consumed before it can be released. It is difficult to escape from the mirror world without defeating the caster's body. Find her and don't let her run away. Run? Ah, I did not use this magic to escape, but to prevent you from escaping. I haven't moved my muscles and bones for almost five years. Let's have a bloody battle. Intermediate magic wind spirit plus K fire spirit F plus protection water spirit plus protection. Aura. Advanced Magic Fire Meteor, although she is a mage, she likes to attack with both fists. Surely a family of nonsense. It was Tellulu, that's right. Advanced Magic Snow Training Roar, Advanced Magic Omniscient Vision. I'll let you see how a real spell mage should be fighting enemies. Omniscient Field Detection. The Omniscient Realm tells me that Tellulu is right behind us. Get rid of her. Hey, didn't Dean Rudolph tell you how I played with those self-proclaimed orthodox guys? Microsatellite teleportation. Oh no, we have been fooled. Prepare shield spell. Lava armor. Ice shield. Emergency magic protection. You still want to chant magic? Take my punch. Spell interference. Spell interference. Spell interference. Spell interference. 
Meanwhile, on the other side. Hmm. Well, C.A.N., you can't escape. Hand over my treasure. Who said I was going to run away? I just didn't want the trash fish to disturb us. It's you, that bloody undead again. Don't think about a second chance. Great opportunity, Chinger. Forbidden magic breath. Take the opponent's weapon freely clear and free, urgent as an order. Go. Damn it. Ah, uh, almost. The second chance, failed again, luck is a bit bad ah. Uh. Chinger, continue. As expected, although the forbidden breath can eliminate magic, but it can't do anything to the shield formed by the holy shield. Too much deception. Thunder God's wrath. Again and again, there is a limit to my patience. Talialu's transformation of you was successful enough that you can even survive the outburst of Thunder God's wrath, but it's pointless. Divine Impact 10 of Zen powered by Forbidden Magic. You can continue to try to make your undead cast strange magic and see if it works. Take the opponent's weapon freely, clear and free, urgent as an order go. Trouble, this is the halo type forbidden spell that Talula said, as long as I am by the caster's side, I will encounter endless magical blows. My divine impact of Zen, which has been fused with the breath of forbidden magic, has been continuously stimulated, which is the proof that I have been passively hit by lightning magic. This is a halo type forbidden spell. Chinger, your martial arts breaking spell can't get through at all, and it will be destroyed halfway. Don't waste any energy, just hide back in my body. Have you given up? Tell me your origin, hand over the holy sword, and return my treasure, I might spare your life. That's a beautiful dream. Then I will kill you and take it myself. Forbidden spell power of light. Although the Holy Sword can cut through some magic, the rest of the aftermath still has to be offset by the breath of forbidden magic. It can't go on like this. The breath of the forbidden magic is consumed too fast. Ashby's magic power is endless. My breath of the forbidden magic can't compare. Go on. I'll see how long you can hold on. Forbidden spell summon ancient dragon. Holy Sword plus Breath of Forbidden Magic, it is very safe to fight with Ashby, no one can do anything about it, but this is only a short-term illusion, meaningless. At present, the only way I can think of is to create a large enough absolutely forbidden magic breath space and completely wrap Ashby including the shield of the Holy Shield. As long as I can ensure that his magic cannot rush out of the Holy Shield's defensive range in a short time, Chinger's Breaking Martial Arts can be used again. But to create such a huge forbidden magic breath space, I have to exhaust all the forbidden magic breath in my body in one go to be able to do it. In case Chinger still fails, and I want to turn the tables around, I will have to endure taking those forbidden spells attacks with my life on the line. Damn it. There is no point in hesitating. Instead of continuing to boil the frog in warm water and slowly draining the breath of the forbidden magic, it is better to try it and make a bet. I've underestimated you, but I won't let you get close anymore, eh? Forbidden Magic Domain Chinger, take advantage of now. Take the opponent's weapon freely, clear and free, urgent as an order. Go! You are courting death. Forbidden Spell Dramatic Green Forest Shrink Take the opponent's weapon freely, clear and free, urgent as an order. Go! Shrink Forbidden Spell Wrath of the Flame God Take the opponent's weapon freely, clear and free, urgent as an order. Go! Shrink Forbidden Spell Ocean Roar It worked. Get out! Forbidden Spell Heavenly Purification dot dissipate. Hastily! It's done, it's done, but why is it the Holy Crown? It seems that this thing doesn't affect Ashby's combat power. I screwed up this time. 
finger of Nirvana Dam, the breath of the forbidden magic has been completely consumed. Facing the forbidden spell, even if it is only the aftermath, this destructive power is too great. Tell you lose mirror world. Hey, look over there. Ah, uh, is this world finally going to collapse? It's not in vain that we consume so much energy. After dragging this for so long, I don't know if CAN outside has succeeded. In any case, this small world will certainly not be able to stay intact for long. I'll think of another way when we get outside. Snap. Cien, I'm going to kill you. Your Majesty, what's the matter? His Majesty Ashby is in a mess, teleportation magic. Is that human slave really that powerful that even His Majesty is no match? Cien, I'm glad you're okay. Did you get the Holy Crown? Although the Holy Crown does not require magic power, you can use it, but you can't use it as well as I can. Remember what I told you before? The Holy Crown has always been a holy artifact held by our family. It is usually useless by magicians, but I can exert its real power. It turns out that you two are here. Xie Yin, give me the Holy Crown and Holy Sword. We still have a chance. Humans with weak souls and rough bodies can actually use the Holy Crown? What's going on? It's back. My Changqing Bakwen is back. Are you? Xie Yin? What a horrible aura. When you talked to me about the four holy artifacts before, I had speculations, and it seems that my thoughts were right. The characteristic of the holy crown is to transform spiritual power into physical power, and now, my physical body has truly matched the strength of my soul. In a sense, Changqing Bakwen is actually rooted in the soul, but it requires a strong enough body to perform. You know, even in the main world, my physical body is not as strong as my soul. However, now that I have activated the characteristics of the Holy Crown, my physical body has instantly surpassed the strength of my physical body in the main world and is stronger than ever before, more than enough to perform the LV-5 Changqing Bakwen. Current origin point, 8909.91037 Mastery Skill, Changqing Bakwen. Sorry, you don't have enough origin points to upgrade. Sure enough, Changqing Bakwen is no longer banned, but it is close to 9,000 origin point and still not enough to advance to the next level. I will give the holy sword to you. This thing is really bad for me without magic power, and it also affects my fighting skills. Unprecedentedly powerful body, coupled with Changqing Bakwen LV5, I should be three times stronger than the main world in this state. Time to end it all. How can the power of a vulgar body compete with the power of magic? You'll die. So fast? Without the holy sword, without the fluctuation of magic power, he forcibly shattered the four layers of shield. In the end, you still can't break the last layer of the holy shield, it's just bluffing. Forbidden spell destruction of God's light. Impossible? I was beaten up against my own magic? Then let's use the bursting wind to blow away everything around me indiscriminately. Forbidden spell wind of madness. Huh? He's heading against the wind? And then? Offset it? It doesn't matter. As long as he can't break the last protection of the holy shield, I'm still invincible. Eventually, he will always run out of energy. Ashby, do you think you're safe as long as this shield doesn't break? Azure Dragon Style 4 Deep Penetration I'll let you see a little bit of the mystery that human beings have been sharpening their skills for a thousand years. The shield is still there. I, how did I get hurt? Damn it! Without the Holy Crown, my body has weakened dozens of times. Forbidden Spell Natural Healing Blue Dragon Swift for Deep Penetration 
Do you like it? I'll let you vomit as much blood as I can. A thousand strikes and a flash plus printing palms, so that you can feel great. I will break every organ, every bone, every muscle in your body. I can keep hitting you like this for ten days and ten nights. Even with healing magic, it will only prolong your suffering. Do you know why I didn't pick up your gear from the beginning? Because it's not necessary. You should feel pain by being beaten up. I can still make you feel like you are going to die even without dying. There is no response. He seems to be in shock from the pain. The protection of the Holy Shield is still here even when he lost consciousness. The four holy artifacts are really easy to use. Chinger, get him, and give me the rest of the holy artifacts on his body. Roger that. Urgent is an order go. If you are attracted, please give me a monthly vote. A quarter of an hour later. What are you going to do? Do you want to try the fusion of the four holy artifacts? Yes, I've only read it in ancient books before, but I haven't really tried it out. The art of fusion of the four holy artifacts comes from an ancient book I read when I was a child, called Secrets of Ancient Elves. There are many epic stories on it, and the legend of the four holy artifacts is also included in it. This ancient book seems to be the only one, at least I haven't seen it anywhere else. When Ashby murdered my family, this book had already been put into my secret space by me, and he couldn't find it at all. If, as you said, Ashby is actually a rebirth, then he must have been misled by me on his original timeline, thinking that the art of fusion of the holy artifact was researched by me. My character may really declare this to the outside world. Hum. What to do next? I sensed that the fluctuation of spatial overlap was getting stronger and stronger, and the Dark Elf King is about to come. That human being is so terrifying, I have never seen such a brutal fighting arts. Talulu. The human. At the moment when the enemy is coming, they fight with Ashby for their own personal vendetta and put the safety of the Empire at risk. It is too selfish. He, he, he's here. Don't speak ill of them. Shall we, let's go? This feeling is. Dark Elf King. Everyone run away. Don't stop. Tell you, Lou, the Dark Elf King is indeed here. Let's prepare to withdraw. Suffocating pressure, this is really not an ordinary boss. It is impossible to win. Still not going? This movement, I'm afraid we can't run if we delay a little longer. No hurry, he is too strong. It will take him at least a few minutes to come down completely, enough for me to remember how to do it. With the four holy artifacts in hand, I won't give up until I use the fusion technique. From the original Lord of Origin, born of the Radiant Holy Spirit, attached to this crown, will liberate all prohibitions. The power to smash the earth, the power to dry up the sea, and the power to burn the sun out, manifested from the depths of my consciousness, traveled through time and space, and offered the highest art to the world. For holy artifacts fusion. What a powerful force. What is Talulu doing? Summoning? Wait, there is an elf behind Talulu. Could it be? A thousand years ago, Ilubal I, who was known as the god of victory 3.m and never failed in his life. This is the unity of the four holy weapons? It really is several times stronger than the liberation of the holy sword. So strong. If this hit, maybe it can push back the Dark Elf King? Find out. Dissipate. Ilubal first disappeared. Not even a single move. Cough, can't beat it, let's go. See the difference. Use your teleportation magic. No, the space fluctuations here are too strong now. Using teleportation magic, we are likely to be smashed by the void. Use your rainbow fart to take me farther, and I'll cast teleportation magic. What a rainbow fart. This is called startling rainbow escape. But I thought that the fusion of the four holy weapons would be based on the holy sword, but I didn't expect it to be the holy crown. Where did that figure come from? Is it an artifact? You know the power of the holy crown is to radiate the strength of the soul onto your body. 
The holy crown, which combines the other three holy artifacts, can project the strongest existence in your mind, memory, and imagination, and release its power in a single blow. T.L. Note, creator of the universe in Chinese mythology. So condescending? Then tell you, Lu, your imagination is not good, let me directly project to Pangu, and I can make this dark elf king with a single breath. Who is Pangu? Not just any imaginary existence can be projected, he must have a deep bond with you. I just projected the strongest hero in the history of the empire and the great ancestor of our family. Too bad it still doesn't work, is it only possible to have a deep bond? As long as there is a bond to successfully project, then I have a good choice. The holy artifact fusion is mainly based on the holy crown, so I should be able to use it too. Ashby Tuluru, teach me how to use it. You use it? Yes, give it to me to use. I even have her pink chi. If it's not a bond, then what can be called a bond? Okay, there's no way to do it anyway. Just try it. I've done all the pre-sealing and reconciliation. Just use it directly. Close your eyes and recall the powerful existence you have seen. The clearer the memory, the better. Build the perception of that presence in your mind. Imagine it descending from your mind. This is easy to handle. I've seen their power before and I shudder at the thought of it. After all, they gave me memories that will last a lifetime. Xia Yin, have you succeeded? But, you, what is this projection? This feeling is almost exactly the same as before. Xia Yin? What's wrong with you? I'm fine, but... The four holy artifacts can't make it. Split? How strong of an existence have you projected? Even the fusion of the four holy artifacts can't make it through. Something else appeared? But Alubal the first can't win. Who else can hold the Dark Elf King? Touch. This is the world of the Dark Elves? The boundary of the Dark Elves world has been knocked out? They, they, actually invaded the Dark Elf world in turn. The Dark Elf King and the world of the Dark Elves. Just gone? On the red cloud moon of the solar calendar, Talulu Alubal defeated the Dark Elf King and completely destroyed the Dark Elf world. The war of aggression caused by the overlapping of time and space has become history. Talulu Alubal exposed the various crimes of the new Emperor Ashby, involving several columns of wrongful convictions. Later, under the support of the human hero Xia Yin, Talulu replaced him and became the new Emperor. Smell Desire Branch Extracting Root The beginning of everything is difficult. As the first half-elf emperor in history, Talulu has a goal of liberating all mankind. At the beginning of her ascendance, she was questioned by a group of stubborn and old-fashioned schools. But that's not something I need to worry about. Obviously, the biggest contributor to killing the Dark Elf King and even destroying the entire Dark Elf world is me, and Talulu also truthfully advertised it to the outside world, but apart from the few forbidden magicians on the scene, the majority of the melon-eating elf crowd did not buy it. Most of the accomplishment were put on Talulu name, even if she didn't recognize it at all. The gap between humans and elves in the early stage of the reform is really not so easy to break. Damn, I don't care about my reputation, but I care about the origin points. The origin points that were supposed to be coming in, like the river going to the sea, have once again become scarce. If I knew this was the result, I should have let Talulu declare to the public that the Dark Elf King is me, I am the Dark Elf King, and the world will be destroyed soon. Maybe the origin points can be hundreds of thousands. Fortunately, there was still a mature forest of forbidden magic fruit that allowed me to absorb in wide range, which barely healed my hurt heart. This guy, Ashby, has a very strict mouth. Even if he was about to die, he would never reveal the secret of the forbidden magic fruit, which only belongs to him. 
truth mantra in the end, Talulu had to find a magician who was responsible for torture to torture him to the point of mental breakdown, and Chinger asked the truth by using the truth revelation spell. The forbidden fruit tree was planted in a deep mountain orchard sealed off by an ancient magical formation, and although a lot of the ripe fruit had already been picked by Ashby on his last visit, there was still a lot left, and I had been sucking on it almost around the clock for days, and I haven't even finished it yet. This guy, I knew you were here. Tell you, Lou, what are you doing here with me instead of messing around with the noble elves? I'm done, and I have a big question for you. Since you summoned that existence, the four holy artifacts can no longer be fused, their power is greatly reduced, and it will take a long time to recover. This is the holy weapons, how can you compensate me? Isn't it that they can't be integrated, and that they can still be used separately? But the strongest killer move can't be used. The problem is very serious, don't laugh. What kind of ultimate move, you can't even handle a dark elf king with it. Besides, I'm a great hero in helping you defeat the Dark Elf King, but I only temporarily damaged the Holy Weapon. As for me, what the hell, this is the four holy artifacts of the elves. Give me compensation. Compensation is impossible, I have finished what I have to do, and I will leave soon. It's almost the end, if I don't kill Ashby, it will be funny if the system counts me as a mission failure after exceeding the mission deadline. You are leaving? Ashby is dead. The user has completed the quest. The reward is 2,000 origin points. In 10 seconds, the user will be returned to the main world. Please make preparations. That's right. After I leave, this body can be disposed of by you. You can sell it for money to make up for the holy artifact. Goodbye. Don't miss me. How much is your broken body worth? Humph, he didn't even care if he broke the four holy artifacts, he just patted his butt and leave. Mom was right when she said that men are big pigs, especially oriental men. But I've already caught the spatial fluctuations you caused when you left. When my study of spatial magic gets deeper, I'll definitely be able to find your coordinates, I'll settle the account with you later. Main World XINMO Sek Chingsong Mountain Mountainside Jungle Huh, I'm finally back. This time, the origin point harvest was by far the largest, and after deducting the amount used, there were still more than 10,000 points. Realm, Innate First Layer Origin points, 12,321.95851 Skills Mastery, Expand But, I always feel that the system is robing a lot of origin points from me. I always remember your explanation to me at the beginning, the origin point is the disturbance to the world, this time I made such a big movement through the soul travel, isn't it a salvation? Why is it apart from the basic emotional origin point and the poor 2000 reward of the mission, there is nothing else? Damn ignoring me again forget about it then. Let me see if I can upgrade finger of flowery sword. Skill, finger of flowery sword. Still not enough? Is it that expensive to reach LV6 of Finger of Flowery Sword? Okay, after all, the LV6 of Finger of Flowery Sword can give a mysterious connection between the primordial spirit and their originating entity, inheriting all their strength. I still have the evil god primordial spirit waiting to be built. If it can synchronize with the power of the evil god, hee hee, if you think about it in this way, you can understand why it need that many origin points. Let me try Chongqing Bakwin again. Skill, Chongqing Bakwin. Ah, 12,000 origin points. This is the first time I have seen so many origin points, but the result is not enough. What kind of gold swallowing exercises are these two? Anyway, as for the origin point, it's enough to carry in praise, and the same goes for the promotion in the future. The evolution function is being strengthened, original function is not affected and still in normal use. This system upgrade is a bit strange, the evolution function is being strengthened, but at the same time it does not affect the original function. And why the upgrade is the evolution function? Reborn being used as honeypot. According to Ashby's experience, shouldn't this unlock an ability similar to reincarnation and rebirth? Reborn becoming the branch master. Reborn becoming a Buddhist. 
just like those novels I've read before. It's a pity that soul travel can't bring the four holy artifacts here. It's a pity. If I can bring them here, my current strength should be improved by a notch. Including the projection of summoning the evil god sisters in times of crisis, I feel that I should be able to walk sideways in the main world. Only the breath of the forbidden magic was actually brought back as part of my practice. However, the breath of forbidden magic is useless in the main world itself, and now it can only be used as fuel of teleportation magic. Skill name, primary teleportation magic. Current level, LV4 over the level cap. Current effect, drawing magic circles is greatly simplified and chanting incantations is omitted. It can instantly teleport you to your desired destination and consumes forbidden magic fruit essence depending on the distance. However, it can only teleport the practitioner to a place they have visited before and cannot be used to travel all over the world. Then let me try teleportation magic. In the world of Jean Joe Forbidden Magic, I was afraid of wasting the breath of forbidden magic. Two minutes later. Magic is really amazing. I seem to see a map with myself as the center and many blanks places, just drawing a straight line from myself to the places I have been on the map. I can follow this light of space that no one can see and reach the destination directly. Then let's go here. The remaining problems before the crossing have not been resolved. The outskirts of Yudu. Not bad, successfully reached the destination. At this distance, the forbidden breath does not cost much and is indeed a godsend. But even so, the breath of forbidden magic is still used and its quantity did diminish. It is better to use less teleportation magic as much as possible. After waiting for such a long time, neither the six desires pill nor the smell desire branch skill had any response. If the cheap old man didn't bury any backhands to control me or something else, then the possibility of him seeing through me is very slim. Could it be that that old thing Su Min is bluffing me? There is another question. Why is Su Min so sure that I am a fake? The disguise method recorded in G.E. Huayu's disguise guide is not simply changing faces, using various means and medicines to disguise things ranging from voice, body shape, skin texture, to pupil iris, even body temperature, breath, etc., are recorded. I am not as good as G.E. Huayu, but I have mastered the basic skill of disguising breath, even with the smell desire branch skill I practice now, I still can't tell the difference. However, the old man Su Min has a deeper sense of smell than me, and his sense of breath must be stronger than me, which is not easy to say. The best thing to do now is to stay away from XINMO sect, so regardless of GEE -E or Su Min, even if they have any plans, those who can't find me will be completely blind. But the mantra of the inner demons of the Six Desires is too tempting. Why is this old guy Su Min so smart enough to use the Six Desires Demon Arc to catch me? Now there are only two possibilities. One is that Su Min did see my flaws, but he sincerely want to cooperate with me. The other one is more complicated. Su Min wasn't sure if I was real or not. He just had doubts. This time, he asked me to go there purely for getting sure about me being fake. Once I actually go, I will be planning how to get GEE -E with Su Min, and the cheap old man can attack me from behind, and he could immediately arrest me. This possibility shouldn't be overlooked. As long as I really go to Su Min to ask for the mantra of the inner demons of the Six Desires, there is a risk of getting caught. It seems that there is no solution. But, it's not like there is no way to solve it. Old man Su Min, I don't care if you are fishing or not. The only option you will have is to give me the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires, otherwise I will book your wool this time. Hung Wan Pavilion Master, G.E. Huayu came to visit and said you invited him? Ah, I thought it would take a while, but I didn't expect him to come so quickly. It seems that this kid is not someone who can hold his breath. Let the team withdraw, clean up the Kanju Hall, and I will entertain this honored guest. Huh? 
This fake is just as cautious as the real GE Huayu, although the face is exactly the same, the cultivation level of the person in front of me is visible to the naked eye, he is not even acquired sixth layer, telling me plainly that he is not the real GE Huayu. Huayu is here. Is the golden chrysanthemum tea specially prepared by me delicious? It doesn't matter, as long as there is a meaning of cooperation, it doesn't matter whether the real one is here or not. It is very good for cooling the wind, clearing the liver, and improving eyesight. Chrysanthemum tea in Chrysanthemum Hall, what aesthetic. Ah, uh, that's fine. I won't go around in circles with you, and comes directly to the topic. How is it? Have you thought about it clearly? Vice Sec Master Su is wise and resourceful, and Hui Yu is really afraid that he will be targeted by Vice Sec Master Su. Putting the matter of dealing with GE -E aside for the time being, Hui Yu wants to see the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires first, Vice Sec Master Su, would you like to give it? Hui Yu, you also know that the XINMO sect strictly guards the techniques, and even I cannot grant it at will, otherwise it will trigger the XINMO seal. However, you can still play in the edge. This book Five Desires Remembering Essentials records this old man's superficial understanding of the five methods of smelling, touching, seeing, speaking, and listening of the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires. The content is somewhat obscure, but that is also to avoid the sect ban. The Five Desires Remembering Essentials for You is the first volume. It has a description of the five branch exercises, but it is not very deep. If the follow-up cooperation is pleasant, I can give you the second and third volumes until you get started. How about this? Are you satisfied with this sincerity? Only five branches? Not the desire to think branch? The thinking desire branch can only be mastered by the patriarch and the branch under him, but I do not know anything about it. Even me cannot figure out, so I can't give it to you. Well, only the five desires will do. With this guy's martial arts level, he should be able to tell with some time that the book I gave him is the real thing. However, the above description of the five desires is only a fragment, even if he is a great genius will not be able to learn it no matter what. As long as he is greedy for the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires, I can hang him slowly, and as long as he doesn't learn it fully, I can always use him. There is no rush, you can take it back and read it slowly, think about it slowly. Vice Sec Master Su is so generous? You little fox won't cast the eagle until you see the rabbits. If you are not sure whether the book is true or false, how could you agree to cooperate with me? This old man has to be generous. In this case, why you will accept it? I'll stop here today. Why you will definitely give Vice Sec Master Su a satisfactory answer after confirming that there is no problem with the martial arts in this book. Okay. I will wait for the good news. Don't worry, I have time to wait for you. Boy, I will always wait for you. Unexpectedly, Su Min is really not fishing. This guy really wants to cooperate with me. My lord is so powerful. In a few words, the martial art has been set to hand. Su Min may have done some tricks on the booklet, so let's finish the study on the martial art here. Chinger, after I get out of the controlling state, you will burn this booklet and then dispel the transformation spell for this guy and sneak back in by yourself. Okay, my lord, Chinger understands. 30 miles away, Wuzhen. Half an hour later. High-end operations are often the simplest way. Find a bandit's den and kidnap a mountain bandit out and then let Chinger use the transformation spell to transform the opponent into G.E. Huayu's appearance. Chinger possessed his body, and then I controlled Chinger synchronously, which indirectly meant that I was controlling GE Huayu clone. In this way, even if Su Min was really fishing and secretly ambushed and wanted to arrest me, the other party would only catch a stranger. I can even bite Su Min in turn and say that this old guy splashed me with dirty water and asked someone to pretend to be me to act. As a result, I thought more of it myself. Things went smoothly, and I got what I want from Su Min. Well, finally entered successfully. Skill input successful. 
Skill name, Mantra of the Inner Demons of the Six Desires, I Seeing Desire Branch, Incomplete Skill Introduction, a technique based on Su Min's experience. After successful practice, one can glimpse the secrets of the desire to see technique. Current level, not started. Skill input successful skill name, mantra of the inner demons of the six desires touch desire branch incomplete skill introduction, a technique based on Su Min's experience. After successful practice, one can glimpse the secrets of the desire to touch technique. Skill input successful skill name, mantra of the inner demons of the six desires speak desire branch incomplete skill introduction, a technique based on Su Min's experience. After successful practice, one can glimpse the secrets of the desire to speak technique. Skill input successful. Skill name, mantra of the inner demons of the six desires hearing desire branch incomplete skill introduction, a technique based on Su Min's experience. After successful practice, one can glimpse the secrets of the desire to hear technique. Su Min, this shrewd old man, gave this exercises that are horribly crippled, even more incomplete than the smell desire branch given by the cheat father. Under normal circumstances, one couldn't even practice further. But I have a plug-in. As long as the entry is successful, I will be able to deduce the whole martial art. Thank you, Vice Sec Master Su, for giving me this opportunity. 1500 origin points are required to deduce the skill mantra of the inner demons of the six desires. Seeing desire branch, Please confirm if you wish to deduce. Damn, it costs 1500 each. Fortunately, I made a lot of money in the world of Jean Zhou this time. Deduction, everything is deduced. The next step is to cultivate and to reach the introductory level in all the new branches of the six desires. A. Eh? Wait. Detected that the six desires pill in the host's body possesses the true chi brand of the four desires branches seeing, touching, speaking, and hearing of the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires. Do you want to spend 100 origin points to automatically master the four skills? There is such a good thing? Of course the choice is yes. Damn, these skills can actually be fused? Detecting mantra of the inner demons of the six desires. Touch desire branch, seeing desire branch, speak desire branch, hearing desire branch, smell desire branch. Ultimate demonic bliss technique. Eight difficulties demonic technique, seven skills can be fused. Do you wish to fuse them? I can understand that these six branches of desires can be integrated, but I didn't expect that the eight difficulties demonic technique and the ultimate demonic bliss technique can also be integrated. Of course, integrate, all in. Yes. Combining so many exercises, this exercise is absolutely superb. Let me see what the effect is. Wait a minute, why do I feel like my body is swelling up a bit in one place? This is different from the last time I felt my body was blown up by finger of flowery swords in my internal pool. The true chi in my body was constantly expanding to the limit of the body, and then it was compressed and compacted, and so on and so forth. The energy that I carry with each breath is constantly increasing, this feeling, my realm is about to break through. Eh? Hey, hey. No, my true chi cultivation base is indeed improving violently, but the improvement is the true art of Mar true chi that has been fused by many martial arts, not the finger of flowery swords true chi. Now the two sides are starting to clash, this. It has been detected that the true art of Mara True Chi is 100% compatible with the Six Desires Pill. The Six Desires Pill has been fully activated, and the true chi of true art of Mara has been raised to the innate realm third layer. It is detected that the true art of Mara and the host energy are seriously incompatible, and the true art of Mara True Chi is eroding the finger of flowery sword True Chi. Once the finger of flowery sword true chi is eroded away, the host's fundamental skills will be replaced by the true art of Mara, the nature will be forcibly distorted. Damn, sure enough. Trouble, the root of true art of Mara true chi lies on the external six desires pill, unlike normal Dantian that can self-destruct to release the overflood, I can't control it, I don't want to change, system do something. 
Option 1. The host can spend 10,000 origin points to forcibly be compatible with True Art of Mara and Finger of Flowery Sword, ignoring any drawbacks. And the two types of True Chi can be freely converted at will. Option 2. The host can spend 500 origin points to block the negative effects of the True Art of Mara, but Finger of Flowery Sword and True Art of Mara cannot be used at the same time. I also want to choose option 1, but the origin points are not enough at all, so I can only choose option 2. Option 2, huh, it's alright, the system is still powerful. Realm, Innate First Layer Innate Third Layer Origin Point 5321.95865 skill, true art of Mara level, LV4+. Current effect, a peerless mystical art that combines several demonic arts and is embedded in the soul. In its current realm, the true body of Mara can be shaped. One can cast a demonic illusory plane and spread the cannon of the heavenly demon. Currently fused with the Six Desires Golden Pill. Yes, yes, from the description, it is a very high martial arts. I'll level it up again. Insufficient conditions, unable to upgrade. Confirm. Sure enough, it's stuck in LV4 again, the origin points should be enough, but what conditions are needed to continue to improve, some are missing. Let me try use the true art of Mara. When I perform the true art of Mara for a period of time, my body will change into a new form, which is the so-called the true body of Mara. Looks good. My lord, I am back. My lord? When I came back, I just practiced a new exercise, and it became like this after I practiced. In the state of the true body of Mara, the quality and quantity of true chi are all genuine in eight third layers. It's a pity that its foundation lies in the Six Desires Golden Pill, and if you spend one point less, and if it is used up, it will fall back to the acquired realm ninth level. So that's how it is. Master also look handsome this way. After all, my current true art of Mara skill level is only LV4, and no matter how powerful the skill is, it did not reach the innate level, but I have forcibly raised it to the innate third level by relying on the Six Desires Golden Pill. Under normal circumstances, I am still in 8 first layer, which is the realm of my finger of flowery sword. Dissipate. It's a bit interesting, it feels like a trumpet was built, and the two numbers are cut to play. Unfortunately, the finger of flowery sword and the true art of Mara cannot be performed at the same time, but the Changxing Bakwen is a body refining technique, which is not restricted, and can be used in any state. There's really nothing wrong with this now. Let's go back to the M.O. Ching sect. Let's study this new technique on the way. Really, finally we can go back. Ching or Mrs. the sect master sister. Haha, <laughs> me too, but I don't know if the sect master sister wants us or not. Seven days later. It's been a few days. Why hasn't this kid come yet? Did something happen to G.E.E.? -E? Sir, the man sent out has returned. Have you heard about G.E. Huayu? According to the gathered information, G.E. Huayu's last appearance was in Yudu, and no one has seen him since. There was no movement from Vice Sect Master G.E., and he had never seen G.E. Huayu before. A small guess, he probably changed his face and left directly. G.E. Huayu. All right, you go down. This servant will retreat. G.E. Huayu, could be he doesn't need me? No, no, this guy must have encountered some trouble and can't come for the time being. When he's out of trouble, he should come to me as soon as possible. I personally cast the bait. It is impossible for him not to took it. After the experience of being overwhelmed by the massive amount of origin points in Jean Jill world, it is hard to return to the main world, especially when looking at the sparse origin point screen. It is really easy to go from receiving a small income of origin points to a large one, but it is hard to go back to a small income again. In fact, the way of raising pigs in Jean Jill world is good, and the effect is quick and can last for a long time. Ashby's wanted notice was also instrumental in bringing out so many origin points this time. 
but I was using my original identity CAN to go around and destroy my reputation as a wanted person, which will undoubtedly be a death end for me here. If I use someone else's name, the origin points will not be able to reach me. Well, I have to think about it. It would be nice to have a group of people who are under my control, so I wouldn't have any problem. What a dream. Maybe it will come true. Hee hee. Master, what's the matter? Nothing. Just found out that there may be some old friends nearby. After the ultimate demonic bliss technique was integrated into the true art of Mara, it was still possible to sense other nearby people who practiced the ultimate demonic bliss technique. Is the Shue Lu picking up work nearby? So many people are dispatched. It seems to be a big job. Since we have met, there is no reason to pass the door and not enter. Chinger, let's go. I was so drowsy that I came to give pillows, and I forgot that there was a big treasure named Shu Wei Lu. If I can infiltrate the Shu Wei Lu and develop them as my underlings, wouldn't I be able to realize my happy farm for raising pigs? Hulu Town Yunshan Mo Ching Sect Branch Mo Ching Sect Disciple Shi Yinner Mo Ching Sect Disciple Ji Chan Wu Mo Ching Sect New Promoted Elder Li Feng Jiao are you too curious? Why did the sect master want us to come and build a branch in a place like Yunshan in Hulu Town, which is worthless to the sect? Elder Li, your original sect is in Yunshan, and most of your disciples are inseparable from their hometowns. Isn't the sect building a branch here to take care of your original disciples? Could it be that Yunshan has a secret here that is not known to outsiders? Yinner's statement is correct. On the surface, this is the reason, and also for what to tell to other sections, but in fact, what Chang Wu said is the truth. Ten meters underground in the north of Yunshan, there is a large gold mine that has never been discovered. Wow. Sure enough. This gold mine was discovered because of Brother Xie. The first time I met Brother Xie, we didn't know each other. The aftermath of the fight collapsed half Yunshan. Every time I hear her called Senior Sister Ching Brother Xie, I feel weird. Elder Ching has committed a sin. Huh? Wait. Who is it? Life and death, the puppet in the shed. When the thread is broken, it falls into place. Xiu Wei Lu Assassin. Heaven number 12. Innate first layer. Li Feng Jiao, someone bought your head. Wind 7, Wind 8, go. Just a joke, these two ants want to kill me? Blade Ultimate Demonic Bliss Damn Just play this trick when you come up, are the Shu Lu crazy? May hell be your afterlife You guys go Bang Elder Lee is in danger, we have to help her Don't go there how can we intervene in the battle between innate realm masters? Even those acquired realm assassins of the Shu Wei Lu can explode at any time. How can we fight with them? Elder Li beat us out just to prevent us from going to our deaths. So we'll do nothing here? Go find Elder Li's other disciples and tell them to run away and not to come this way. If Elder Li is really outmatched and wants to escape, this group of Shu Wei Lu assassins will definitely not be able to stop her, and if we stay here, we will drag her down. We are both at the same level. You're very impressive, Master Li. We've underestimated you. Very good. The two little guys were very smart and ran away without coming to die. However, it seems that the Shu Wei Lu really only came for me, and they didn't divide their troops to hunt them down. No matter, I'll keep on fighting these assassins for a while longer and let the two little ones run away before I run away. Diffracted After Image Blade Heaven Splitting Scarlet Fist Boom! Except defeat. Ah, uh, I didn't think there was an innate second layer hiding. But if I were to leave, you wouldn't be able to keep me. Damn it, how much should this cost for the order of killing me? The Shu Wei Lu even dispatched an innate second layer, who has such a big grudge against me. Sect Leader Li, aren't you curious as to why none of your disciples showed up after fighting for a long time? 
You? Don't worry, they are only temporarily unconscious, but if you run away now, they may not be able to wake up. My disciples and I are now members of the M.O. Ching sect. Aren't you afraid that the M.O. Ching sect will come after you afterwards? M.O. Ching sect? I'm so scared. Ha ha ha, Yu Hong Yin, even if she had ten guts, she wouldn't dare to trouble our Xu Wei Lu. Ha ha ha, Li Feng Jiao, you are short-sighted, there is no force in this world that we dare not provoke. What happened? So hot. No, don't want to. Who dares to interfere with the work of the Xu Wei Lu? Who is it? Oh, the current world of Bliss Chang Tian has also declined, and it has completely lost its sense of awe, which is sad and deplorable. The demon king of the sixth heaven, Bo Sun, you can call me the ancestor of Mara. On the sixth day, the demon king, Bo Sun? The ancestor Mara? It seems to be related to Buddhism? I have never heard of this name before. Voice transmission. He seems to know the longest bliss very well. Voice transmission. Anyone who knows about Shi Wei Lu knows the existence of the longest bliss. This guy is weird. Be careful. Have not heard of it? Has that deceitful disciple of longest bliss even failed to give the name of this seat to those below? Pretending, uttering wild words. How dare you be rude to our ancestor? Forget it. Bliss Child is very secretive about the name of this seat, but how can he easily erase the prestigious name of this seat? Here are some poems. Eternal Life in the Heaven of Transformation and Self-Realization Neither a God, nor an Immortal, nor a Buddha. The destruction of all sentient beings leads to righteousness. True Art of Mara, True Body of Mara Hun Yuan opens up the first demon. Hun Yuan opens up the first demon? How bold. It is only the power of innate third layer, nothing more. Earth 3, Earth 5, Earth 17, Earth 19, Earth 23, go. Ultimate demonic bliss technique. May hell be your fur life. I'd like to see how long he can pretend. The self-explosion of five Earth-ranked assassins would injure even an innate third layer without preparation. This guy is so arrogant, he didn't even dodge. Five bodies of Mara. What kind of trick is this? How did five of them come out? It seems that all of them are real entities. Hell Demonic Flame. Whoa, ah, ah. Aggregate. What an exotic flame. What a bizarre move. The power of those who are hit is constantly being refined and turned into some kind of power to feed back. Who is this hidden demon senior? Very good. When the true body of Mara is used, at least in terms of momentum, it is more intimidating than all my previous chi techniques. Five bodies of Mara are divided into five clones that are fake and real at the same time. The main body is a clone, the clone is also the main body, and a clone can offset fatal damage. If the clone is destroyed, it can be revived as long as there is true chi. This was originally an escape skill, but the clone can be turned into a hell demonic flame at any time and be used to attack without any problem. The Hell Demonic Flame is actually the advanced version of the Hell Difficulty of 8 Difficulties Demonic Technique after the integration with the 5 Desires. Because of the complete activation of the 6 Desires Golden Pill and the catalysis of the innate third layer of Mara True Chi, its lethality is vastly different from what it was before. Not bad the flesh and blood of this group of killers is delicious. It has slightly increased my power by a billionth. For the enemy, the clones composed of hell demonic flame are simply dead next to each other. The rarest thing is that the essence of the bodies that has been burned by the hell demonic flame will be transformed into the innate third layer Mara True Chi. 
Before, I was worried that the innate third layer innate true chi in the six desires golden pill would diminish after each use, but now I don't have to worry about it at all. Horrifying Tactics Killing and Absorbing Power? The situation is serious. I'm out of here. Want to escape? Can you escape? Nine Freezing Ghost Claws Heaven Splitting Scarlet Fist Damn. Whoa. Dispersion. You broke it with all your might? This feeling, undoubtedly, the quality of this innate third layer true chi is very strong, but it is not as strong as imagined. I also feel the same way. This guy is considered to be a relatively average grade in the innate third layer, but the skill he uses is very strange. Ice fog release. Ground pounding. But that's also a genuine innate third layer. We're no match for him. Let's go. Covering mist. Disperse. Huh? They disappeared so quickly? In the end, they are innate experts of the main world. In the final analysis, my true art of Mara level is too low, and the lethality is completely lifted up by the innate third layer true chi of the six desires golden pill. If it was another innate masters who want to escape, it would be hard to catch them right away, but the Shiwei Lu. Heavenly Demon Rush. There is no escape. What? This is impossible. Ultimate Demonic Bliss Technique. The level is higher than ours. He is a big man of the longest bliss. Inflate. It's done. We're done. Forgive me, my lord. Ah. Uh, I'm all right. Thank you, lord. Thank you, lord. Recover. Oh, not running now? You, come with me. Huh, what happened to us this time? It's just an easy mission. Why would there be someone of the longest bliss to obstruct it? I feel that there is something wrong. The great people of the longest bliss should be more than an innate third layer, right? What's more, he also uttered wild words and blasphemed his ancestors. How could someone from the longest bliss do this? Remember listening to that little girl just now? The name of your organization is Shiwei Lu? When did you start using this name and what is its origin? What does he mean by that? He isn't from the longest bliss? Does that mean he's older than the organization? TL note, the longest bliss refer to Shiwei Lu, and as I understood it refer to some people higher than Heaven Emblem assassins in status. The Shiwei Lu was already the name of the organization when we joined it. We only know that above us is the longest bliss, and above the longest bliss is the ancestor of bliss, and there are more secrets that we do not know, and we have never thought to explore it. I as an assassin knowing too many secrets, especially the secrets of the organization, is not good, it's better to answer honestly. Well, no assassin is stupid enough to investigate the details and secrets of the organization, and the secrecy of the Shiwei Lu is not bad. It is difficult to get more information. TL note, shower refer to someone younger. Humph, Bliss Shower's work is really straightforward. Not only did he erase this King Existence record, but even the name of the organization has been changed. I've had an imposing Eternal Heavens organization, and now it has become an assassin organization. Bullshit. Eternal Heavens? We only know about the longest bliss, huh? Listening to his words, combined with the bliss shower in his mouth, is he implying that he is at least the same generation or even the elder of the ancestor of longest bliss? That bliss shower, how is he doing? Has he broken through? This, how do we, heaven emblem assassins, have the predestined chance to see the ancestor of bliss? The old ancestor has never shown his face in front of us, so there is no way to know. As for breaking the realm, I don't know what the senior is referring to. Oh, he still dares to call himself the ancestor? As for breaking through, of course, to broke through from innate realm and entering the heavenly realm. So, has he broken through? Heavenly, heavenly realm? Ah. So in fact, they only know that the ancestor of bliss is very strong, and they don't know if he reached the heavenly realm or not. Damn it, 
I really don't know much about the internal information of the organization, and I can't answer anything when I'm asked. Doesn't that make me worthless? It doesn't matter if he is in the heavenly realm or not, but it's not false that his level of ultimate demonic bliss is higher than mine. Based on the level of his technique, it can be inferred that he is someone with high status. The reason why he didn't kill us before was just to ask for information. If I can't provide information, I'm afraid it will be dangerous. Senior, please, please listen to this little one words. Information, the news of the ancestor of bliss is indeed too little, but as long as the senior is willing, I can try to investigate in depth. Heaven 12 turned his sight so quickly, isn't he afraid of being pursued by the longest bliss? But I don't want to die either. What should I do? Can I reveal something he's interested in, but doesn't really have a big impact? Or is it about pretending to defect to find a way out later? Ah, uh, boy, you do know how to be a smart man when it is needed. Of course, of course. It is not impossible to be under my command, but if you can betray the bliss shower today, you may betray me tomorrow. So, True Art of Mara Phantom Realm what happened? Where is this place? There is. This place is the world under my palm. Deafening. TL note, loud voice that make it impossible to hear anything. Your stay or departure today will depend on your performance in this world. In the blink of an eye, heavens and earth changed, and all things are reversed. How amazing is this? This, is this really not some kind of illusion? My eyes, ears, mouth, nose, with the heart to see the shape, and the spirit to understand the body, everything I perceive seems to be real. My five senses, and even my heart is telling me that all this is real, not some kind of illusion. Without warning, without waiting for any reaction from us, it was turned into another world. A completely new world built by him. Could it be that he is in the heavenly realm? That's right, the two of you have seen the power of this monarch at the heavenly realm and can still support it. It seems that the people chosen by Bliss Shower are not all waste. What's the deal with them? Did they become insane? Not all mortals can safely glimpse the secrets of the heavenly realm. Since ancient times, living beings have always tended to worship and fear what they do not understand, and the same happened with powerful beings. Even if I did my best to restrain my power, these little guys will still lose their minds and completely bow to a corner of my true body. That's all. If you continue, you too will follow in the footsteps of these people. The radiation power of my real body is too powerful. Collapse. Let me send you out. They haven't recovered yet? The seem even crazier? Don't worry, they'll recover in no time. Combining the five desire branches and the period between one Buddha and the next difficulty in the phantom realm, it can create an illusion that is so real that even an innate expert will be temporarily blinded, unable to distinguish illusion from reality. Of course, after all, it's only LV4 of true art of Mara. After a little while, they will notice something is wrong, so there is no point to keep using it, and it's enough to scare them. It is a pity that the characteristics of mind control have not increased significantly and the effect against innate masters is still very weak. However, my language skills are enough to deal with these two guys. This one is over for you too. From today onwards, the two of you will no longer be people in the Shu Lu, no longer assassins. You will become my eternal heaven's followers. Then, my eternal heavens have three major doctrines that you need to keep in mind at all times. Float. Master, please give us your orders. First, you must draw a quarter of an hour three times a day, and constantly sing and worship this king sincerely in your heart. Second, you need to continue lurking in the Shu Wei Lu, and develop the entire Shu Wei Lu into eternal heavens followers on the premise of not revealing your identity and affecting your own safety. Third, in addition to completing the mission of the Shu Wei Lu, you and others need to secretly publicize the prestige and reputation of Mara Ancestor. The followers who join in the future must also abide by the three major doctrines. 
Finally, in order to avoid the influence of bliss shower on you, I also need to make some arrangements for your body. Canon of the Heavenly Demon Don't struggle. Your demon body is being transformed by this king and promoted to become the body of Mara. The body of Mara and the ultimate demonic body at the same level can still sense each other, but the former can unilaterally control the latter. The high-level Mara body can continue to control the low-level ultimate demonic body, but the high-level ultimate demonic body has no effect on the Mara body. Huh? This feeling, my ultimate demonic body seems to have really been changed. What he said is true and I really feel the difference. Later, I will pass on to you the canon of the heavenly demon of the corresponding level of the two of you. After mastering this method, you can also forcibly convert other people's ultimate demonic bodies of equal or lower levels. This is more convenient for you to preach in the Shuei Lu. But before that, I have one more thing to ask. Whose mission did you take on today, and for what purpose? It was Heaven Twelve who took the mission entrusted by the head of the local sex Five Poison sect to kill Li Feng Jiao. It seems to be out of love and hatred because he likes Li Feng Jiao. But Li Feng Jiao fell in love with Xie Yan of the M.O. Ching sect and even joined the M.O. Ching sect. This is the first business that the Xiu Wei Lu received from Jive area and the guy offered a high price. This is just the superficial rhetoric of the leader of the Five Poison sect. It shouldn't be so simple as it seems, but I don't need to bring it up. If he asks me to investigate the truth, that's only asking for trouble, anyway, a statement is enough. Oh God, Qin Shinsi, what sins have you made? It turns out that, but Li Feng Jiao is now a member of the M.O. Qing sect, and you should not accept any more jobs for the M.O. Qing sect in the future. Hey, he cares about the M.O. Qing sect? Understood. We will not take on quests for the M.O. Ching sect again. What kind of relationship does he have with the M.O. Ching sect? Alas, Yushiolua was just a little girl that accompanied and served this king back then, but she established a sect and spread it to this day, which is very emotional. The power of the M.O. Ching sect will develop, and this king will not be too concerned about it. However, if someone dares to hurt people of the M.O. Ching sect, it will undoubtedly refute my face. That's clear enough, right? Roger. Yu Xiolua, the founder of M.O. Ching sect, is just his maid? This, this person's breath is too big. I really don't know if what he said is true or not, but people have to bow their heads under the eaves. Well, don't get carried away. Next, I will pass on to you both the canon of the heavenly demon technique. Same day, sometime later. This so-called canon of the heavenly demon is really a strange skill. Born from the ultimate demonic bliss technique, it is similar to it, but completely different. I have to study this kung fu later, in case it is known by the longest bliss, it would be a capital crime. Heaven 7, you joined the Shu Lu earlier than me. What do you think the words of this Mara ancestor, which are true and which are false? What he said later became more and more mysterious. What about his real power is in the underworld. As long as we kill people in the name of eternal heavens, we are sending troops to eternal heavens in the underworld. What is this principle of eternal heavens in the living world? No evil should be avoided because the eternal heavens in the underworld only needs wicked people and accepting good people will weaken the power of eternal heavens. Doesn't it sound outrageous? Do you really think he is in the heavenly realm? Heavenly realm? No way. If he is really in the heavenly realm, he should go directly to find trouble with the old ancestor. Why bother us minions? I suspect that he is a big man in the longest bliss. After achieving an improved version of the ultimate demonic bliss technique, he wants to rebel and usurp the foundation of the ancestor of bliss and occupy the nest. So, should we report this to our ancestor? If you want to die, try it. Whether he is a traitor of the longest bliss or the opponent of the old ancestor of bliss, it does not affect him to kill us with a thought. We were originally controlled by the longest bliss and by the ancestor of bliss, but now there is only one more person on our head. As for the doctrine that he commanded, we must do it, but we cannot do it blindly. After all, if we alert the longest bliss, it will not be worth the loss. That guy from the five poison cult is somewhat troublesome. 
After all, we didn't succeed in the mission after taking his money. If words goes out, it will damage our reputation in the Shiwa Ilu. Didn't the ancestor Mara want us to publicize his name? Why don't we start with this five poison sect? The next day. It's really strange. What happened to the people of the five poison religion? In the past, they were very active in collecting money, but why are there no movements today? We've been waiting here for half a day. Our voices are almost hoarse. How come they didn't respond at all? Heroes of the Five Poison Sect? I'm about to push the door. This, what's the situation? Dead, dead? All dead. Their heads, their heads are gone. One, two, three, four, five, six. The entire Five Poisons cult is here. All 53 people, not a single one left alive. Look there, there seem to be characters on the ground. What is written on it is all living beings have a hundred appearances, and the night is eternal. No joy in life, no pain in death. Give up my broken body and return to my homeland. Eternal heavens, Ancestor Mara. Eternal heavens, Ancestor Mara. Guanu, the leader of the Five Poison sect, led his disciples to convert to eternal heavens and worshipped the ancestor Mara as the leader of the whole sect. The leader of the five poisons converted to eternal heavens? He also sacrificed the heads of the whole members of the sect to ancestor Mara? If you convert, you convert, why do you still sacrifice your own head? Their lives are gone. Eternal heavens, ancestor Mara? Do you know who are they? Never heard of it. Five Poison Sect wants us to offer silver tails every month. Now that there are no people, we don't have to pay them, right? Could it be a revenge of someone? I still don't believe that the Five Poison Sect, this bunch of scum just killed themselves. The leader of the Five Poison Sect is a great master at the acquired ninth layer. How could he have killed more than 50 disciples overnight? It must be suicide. Shall we worship the ancestor Mara? It feels so evil. If we don't worship, will we be in trouble? Mo Ching Sect Yunshan Branch Master, news just came from the town that the Five Poison Sect died overnight. It is said that they joined an evil organization called Eternal Heavens. In order to please ancestor Mara, the Lord of the Eternal Heavens, he cut off all the heads of the whole sect. Eternal Heavens and Ancestor Mara? Ancestor Mara? Isn't that the senior who killed all the killers of the Shiwei Lu? Why would Ancestor Mara want the heads of those little scoundrels from the Five Poison Sect? Could it be that the Five Poison Sect offended that senior? It doesn't seem to be a matter of offending. It seems that the Five Poison Sect voluntarily joined the Eternal Heavens. Moreover, their heads are all gone. Is this still voluntary? What is there to join when everyone is dead? Yes, there is still the words they left at the scene before they died. All living beings have a hundred appearances, and the night is eternal. No joy in life, no pain in death. Give up my broken body and return to my homeland. Eternal heavens, Ancestor Mara. Eternal heavens, Ancestor Mara. Guanu, the leader of the Five Poison sect, led his disciples to convert to eternal heavens and worshipped the ancestor Mara as the leader of the whole sect. Sounds so weird. This. This words are not necessarily written by Guanu himself. All these can be faked. No, I'm going to take a look at the scene. It's a bit weird. One month later. Near the headquarters of Mo Ching sect Tsiling Town. Did you hear that? It is said that there is a small sect called the Five Poison Religion in the Jive area. I don't know why, but recently they suddenly converted to an Eternal Heavens organization and worshipped an existence called the Ancestor Mara. Just about a month ago, their sect leader brought a group of disciples to conduct blood sacrifices, and all of them sacrificed themselves to the Ancestor Mara, and there was no one left alive. I seem to have heard similar news. It is also in the Jive area. There is a small sect called the Tianying sect. They also worship an ancestor named Mara, and then all members have a live sacrifice. The most bizarre thing is that the heads of those people are gone. The scene is scary. Not only that, 
There is also a blood claw sect on Jive's region, who also suddenly started worshipping that Mara ancestor, and then all members sacrificed themselves. You said it well, from where did this eternal heavens and ancestor Mara come from? Suddenly there are so many big and small sect believers, and one by one, they all have blood sacrifices. They are all gangs from Jia, definitely from Jia's region. I heard that these people committed suicide and like to leave poems on the ground. Let me remember, all living beings have a hundred appearances, and the night is eternal. No joy in life, no pain in death. Give up my broken body and return to my homeland. Eternal heavens, Ancestor Mara. Eternal heavens, Ancestor Mara. Origin points obtained fear, 0.01 points fan yin. Origin points obtained shock, 0.01 points gao liang. Origin points obtained fear, 0.01 points zhong wei. Before, when origin points start coming massively, I knew that it was the results of heaven 12 and heaven 7 activities. But it wasn't until now that I really figured out how they actually did it. What they did is very simple. Just kill the right target after finding it. Making the scene looks like a cult offering sacrifices and leave a poem at the end, which is enough to attract people's attention. I don't know who is the talented one to write such a poem like that. Is it Heaven 5 or Heaven 7? It is not easy to transmit information in the main world. Such strange and mysterious news is most likely to attract reverie and then continue to spread. No, the speed of the news is actually a little faster than my speed, and it is spread to the vicinity of the M.O. Ching sect. Shopkeeper, settle accounts. Honestly, it's working pretty well. Heaven 7 and Heaven 12 seem to have taken my words seriously. T.R. This is too mysterious. I feel that it should be some newly rising demon sect who is pretending to be a ghost and wants to enter the nine major demon sects. How could it be fake? Let me tell you, this eternal heavens is not the only one real, but Ancestor Mara is also real. The demonic power of the Ancestor Mara is unparalleled in the world. A wave of his left hand is 10,000 feet of demonic flame, a wave of his right hand, and he can be divided into thousands of avatars, which is extremely terrifying. Do you know why he is so powerful? Because he is the demon king of the sixth heaven, immortal master of the heavenly realm who is heavenly unrestrained. According to the legend, the ancestor Mara once fought fiercely with Buddha for 3,000 days and nights. The two fought a fierce battle in the wilderness and the destroyed the place. At that time, although the Buddha won, but it did not stop the ancestor Mara. No, he's back. Even this? That's too exaggerated, isn't it? It is absolutely true that my aunt's nephew's brother-in-law is the owner of the Wingy branch of Man Tian Xing restaurant. He said that an ancient historical materials collection contains records about ancestors Mara. I'm going, isn't this too much? And they actually pulled out Man Tian Xing, the biggest intelligence agency to spread this. Those two guys, Heaven 12 and Heaven 7, must have given money? But it did work well. This wave of fame is very successful, and I'm very satisfied. With the identity of the Ancestor Mara, my speed of harvesting the origin points in the main world will be greatly accelerated. Compared to stunning people in the arena with the reputation of literary talent or being a martial arts genius, it is indeed this kind of cult god which scare ordinary people to harvest origin points more quickly. The only inconvenience is that if I want to use the true art of Mara, I have to change to the form of true body of Mara, unlike when using the the period between one Buddha and the next difficulty there is no need of change or trace of it being used. But for the identity of the ancestor Mara, it is worth it. This time it is a pure virtual character, and there will never be the kind of trouble that Shinshio encounters with the elders of the same sect, and G.E. Huayu encounters his own father. Now. M.O. Ching Sect, I'm finally back. M.O. Ching Sect Headquarters After the Sect Master retreated, I have gained recently a deeper understanding of the Demons of Attachment technique, finally breaking through successfully. After several twists and turns, I finally managed to escape without any danger and stepped into the innate fourth layer. M.O. Ching Sect Great Elder Wu Lingxian Ah, congratulations to the Great Elder. This is a big happy event, 
and it has to be celebrated. Mo Ching Sect Third Elder Yushuanji. The great elder actually advanced. Fortunately, master can still hold her down. Otherwise, hum. Mo Ching Sect Second Elder Yin Miling. Congratulations, Ling Xian. There's no need to celebrate. It's leave my case on hold for the time being. Fourth Elder, I see that you have been working hard to restrain yourself, but you still have a few traces of the innate third layer Tao rhythm. Did you just get promoted and haven't had time to stabilize yet? Innate third layer? But it couldn't be hidden from the eyes of the Great Elder. That's right, Shinsi just took a realm breaking pill, which raised her true chi cultivation to the innate realm third layer. Is it the Earth Mother Yam fruit that you brought back with Elder Lee last time? The Inheritance Elder refined the realm breaking pill so quickly? Yes, Inheritance Elder just forged five realm breaking pills this morning. In such a short period of time, the fourth Elder is also an innate third layer. This talent is truly enviable. Among the five beauties and five princes of the same generation, Shinsi should be the first to arrive at the innate third layer. Not bad. You have made our M.O. Ching sect look good. No, it is just a coincidence, relying on the power of the pill. The boundary-breaking pill has no effect on our innate third layer or higher, so it's in your hands, and it's up to you to distribute it. However, Yinner will be at the acquired ninth layer soon, and advancing to innate is just around the corner, so I asked the fourth elder to keep one for Yinner, and she will take it after she reached the innate realm. Don't worry, great elder, Shinsi will not forget Yinner. Yinner is really competitive, my disciples are only at the highest level of completion of the mantra of compassion, just barely qualified to cultivate the secret of joy technique, I'm afraid they won't be able to get this realm breaking pill. My apprentice's aptitude for martial arts is a bit poor. To be promoted to innate realm, I don't know how long will take. The fourth elder recruited Li Fengjiao, the head of the Jingwu clan, to bring the entire clan under ours and bring new talent into the clan, which would have been a good thing, but... but you got to know Li Fengjiao as Xie Yin. In order to stabilize Li Fengjiao, the whole clan is helping you to hide this matter. Have you thought about how to solve this problem? You can't let Li Fengjiao's hatred grow out of love and become hostile to our clan. Elder Li's affairs are known to Shinsi, so don't worry, great elder. That's good, I can still trust your ability. Speaking of Xie Yin, isn't this kid already in innate realm? Why hasn't he come back yet? He has no sense of belonging to the sect. When he comes back, I will teach him a good lesson. Great Elder, when I discovered this mysterious yam fruit, it was also my husband's credit. Don't worry, I've got my act together and I won't make the boy look bad. Ah, uh, Shinsi, you really protect Xie Yan. But Shinsi, do you know that Xie Yan stayed with the subtle dignified beauty? I heard that he spent a night in the famous Hung Wang Pavilion in Yudu, and the talented man in Yudu wrote many fragrant biographies based on these two people, and it did spread all the way to Jiangling. Do you know anything about it? Well, this is the first time Shinsi has heard of it. It seems that the charm of my husband cannot be underestimated. All right, what is so nice about that kid C.A.N.? Let's move to the next topic. Half an hour later. Huh. Dim as the moon mantled in filmy clouds, restless as snow whirled by the driving wind. My wife is unparalleled in beauty, even if she is angry, I still feel pity and she is so cute. Xie Yan? I am back. Wife, why did you pout just now? Who made my wife unhappy? You also know how to come back. I thought you forgot which way is the door of the M.O. Ching sect. Wife, what are you talking about? Why can't I come back when you are here? Listen to your pompous words. The story of you and Yin Ryu getting along has spread all over the country. It is said that that night, the two of you flirted in the Hong Wang Pavilion, not knowing what the heavens and the earth are. Why? How does that woman feel like, husband? It turns out that my wife was mad at me before. Didn't you say you don't mind if I find someone else? Why are you still jealous? But I like to watch my wife get jealous. It shows that wife cares about me. Shinsi really doesn't mind, but... After all, you are Shinsi husband, and you have sex with other women, and you are still making a lot of noise in the rivers and lakes. Where do you let Shinsi's face in the sect go? 
Ah, my wife has misunderstood. Yin Ryu and I are only working together temporarily for the sake of a common interest. The rumors from the outside world are all for others to see. Whoever believes it is stupid. On the other hand, wife, you have to borrow my name for your practice. My reputation among women is mostly due to you, wife, right? Um, let's not talk about this. Husband did not come back for so long. Don't you want Shinsi anymore? Shinsi misses you to death. Shinsi, do you have no other thoughts after seeing me except for sleeping together? Chin Shinsi's boudoir. Any thoughts? Can't we continue to communicate in bed? Husband, come here. You're such a naughty girl. I can't stand it. I knew that this demon girl was going to do this. Ah, do you think I am the same as I was before? Today, I will show you the power of Zen technique of joy. Just let me love you. Husband, take this, bitch. Flower-like face and cloud-like hair, golden headdresses, behind the warm lotus flower curtain, they took their pleasure in the spring night. Regretting only the spring nights were too short, rising only when the sun was high. From then on the monarch held no longer mourning court. In revels as in feasts she shared her lord's delight. His companion on trips and his mistress at night. And in her palace dwelt three thousand ladies fair. It's hard, a flip on a person. So long and so big, so vulgar and fat, flattening Shindong Yang. What's the matter? Why is this bitch so fierce? This sense of oppression, this aura. Is she in an eight third layer? My dear husband, you have become so skilled. To think that you could resist ejaculating and blocking and yang. I've been laboring on it for so long, but I have yet to taste a bit of your sweetness. I haven't asked you yet. How long has it been since your cultivation level has improved again? What elixir have you taken? Husband, don't you remember, the earth mother yang fruit that we brought back has already been refined into a realm-breaking pill, Shinsi just ate the realm-breaking pill, and my cultivation level soared, and I was directly promoted to the innate third layer. Huh, I really forgot. Is there any realm-breaking pill? I want it too. Husband, as long as you cooperate well with the dual cultivation, Shinsi will give you the realm-breaking pill. Wife, I've been lying flat and letting you toss and turn. Why didn't I cooperate with you? Wife, if you can't do it, get up and let me sleep. I'll go to the sick master tomorrow to ask for a realm-breaking pill. Master is in seclusion, and all the realm-breaking pills are in Shinsi hands, damn it. No wonder this bitch dared to blackmail me, because she felt that the sick master is in seclusion and I had no one to rely on. Come on, wife, if you have the skills, I will definitely cooperate as before. Wife, why is your face so green and white, yellow and green? Could it be that overindulgence in sex is finally dead? It doesn't matter, I don't despise you, let's make you wear scrambled eggs tomorrow and eat a big bowl of it. Hey, hey, if you want to do it on the bed, why are you holding me to the sky, the roof was smashed by you. Cut the crap. Today I'll make you unable to get off the ground. The next day. The first time I had sex with someone in the sky, I can only say, you're really good at it. Do you want to go under the sea next time? Husband, Shinsi doesn't understand. Double cultivation is obviously beneficial to both of us. Why do you resist it? I'm not against it. I've been cooperating with you all the time. Whatever pose you want, your husband will just do it. Even in the sky I will be with you. Isn't it still cooperating? Yes, there are benefits, but you eat the meat and I drink the soup. Ghosts will play with you. Is it because you are not good enough? I'm not good enough? It's still early anyway. Let's continue. My lady, why do you always like to proclaim your love in the daytime? My lady, why is there a hole in the roof? No, no, I almost forgot my business. Elder Lee is back, so hurry up and get ready. Elder Li? Where did Elder Li come from? Is it Li Fengjiao? You are you. Help me bring out the robe with the gold interlocking collar and match it with the new toad-headed, thick-soled soap boots with a belt of sandalwood violet python. Clothes, shoes, belt, miss. Do you use a long white cloth or a clasped cloth for the chest? Madam, you haven't had a showdown with Li Fengjiao, have you? What are you doing? 
Fong Yang has a deep love for me, so I naturally have to choose the most suitable time to explain to her, otherwise what will I do if I break her heart? In other words, Li Fengjiao still doesn't know that you are pretending to be me. No one of the disciples of the sect saw me as if they saw a ghost when I came back. You wouldn't drag people from the sect to deceive her with you? After all, this is not the business of the two of us, and there are too many interests of the sect, so behave yourself, and don't dance in front of Fong Yang. I have to remain anonymous on my own site, this is too embarrassing, how is the lady going to compensate me? I have to do it for the sake of the sect, and it is not appropriate for my husband to ask me for a favor for this. We've been married for a long time, and you've abandoned me for another woman. I'm going to have a temper, and only a realm-breaking pill can make me feel better. Xie Yin, don't spoil it for the lady. Who did something bad, it is obviously the lady who has two boats, that is, I have a good heart. As long as the lady gives me the breaking realm pill, I can change my name and place. Husband teased Chintzy like that last night, and you still want a breakthrough pill? No way. You are not afraid that I will demolish your stage in front of Li Fengjiao? Feng Yang is now the elder of the M.O. Ching sect. My husband is so smart, I believe he will not disturb my date with Feng Yang, right? I'm not smart, I just want to see a good show right now. Suit yourself. He he, then I'll follow you. Wait, Xie Yin, what are you rushing to do? Hurry up and hide. Li Fengjiao's bombing is not good for the demon love sect, but this bitch fearless attitude is very unpleasant. M.O. Ching sect 5th elders Li Fengjiao. Brother Xie. When I don't see you for a day, I miss you like crazy. I have been separated from you for so long. Do you know that I miss you day and night? Of course I know. Flowers drift and water flows, a kind of love sickness, and two worries. Even though we are separated by thousands of mountains and rivers, Fong Yang's love for me will be conveyed to my heart with wind and rain. Brother Xia Fong Yang The fourth elder and elder Li are at it again. When is this going to end? Don't think about it. Just go. Go. You ask how deeply I love you, how much I love you. Madam, I miss you too, just like that boundary pill hanging on the head of the willow. Brother Xie, what's wrong with you? Nothing, don't worry, it is obvious that I came first, yet you made me stand in the middle. The heart of a concubine is like iron, and you are not even willing to give me a realm-breaking pill. Are you bothered? Crawl away from me. This bitch still can't do it, she can't hold it and after three words, how can she still pick up girls like that? Madam, are you yelling at me? Me and Li Fengjiao, who is more important? That is? Master Xie. Hum. It's really Master Xie, it's been a long time. Master Xie, my sisters miss you very much. Is it you? How did you come to the headquarters of M.O. Ching sect? Thanks to Master and Master Xie's teachings, the three of us have already accomplished the mantra of compassion and can now stay in the mountain to practice the secret of joy technique. The sisters in the establishment miss Master Xie very much. After confirming that we can come to the mountain gate, they ask the three of us to say hello to Master Xie. Master Xie, we are really happy to be one step closer to you. So that's the case, then I'll invite you to have a good meal to celebrate how successful you're cultivating. Let's go now. Hum. It's you. Why are you here? When did you come? Elder Li? What did you call him just now? Master Xie? Elder Li, you heard wrong. This gentleman just shares the same surname as senior brother Xie. We, we knew each other before. Ha ha ha. Isn't his name Wang Xiaoming? Why is his surname Xie again? Ugh. Elder Li, it's like this, this, senior brother Wang, because he is elegant and handsome, he has always been called Xiao Xie Yin in our sect. We were just joking with him just now, don't think about it ha ha ha. Isn't he a loose cultivator, and he lost contact on the way to join the M.O. Ching sect with me? How are you familiar with him? Feng Yang. Ah uh, no, Elder Li, because I admire young Master Xie, 
I used to come to the M.O. Ching sect often, so I know some of the M.O. Ching sect disciples, and this time I met an acquaintance and talked a little more. Don't mind me. You often come to Demon Love sect? Then why did you both not know each other in Hulu Town? What the hell is going on? Ah, this. I'm a bad boy. I have come here so many times and have never met Xie Yin. It was the first time in Hulu Town that I have seen him. That's right, Master Xie often stayed at the I Ching establishment and was staggered from senior Brother Wang. Brother Wang did not know that Master Xie was in the I Ching establishment, so he was staggered from Master Xie. Elder Li, you must not concern yourself with this. This group of pig teammates, isn't this getting darker and darker? Enough. Say no more. I have something to tell Feng Yang alone, so you can go. All right, all right. Fourth Elder, we're leaving now. You go too. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. This bitch is finished this time. If it is not handled well, Li Fengjiao will not bring Jingwu sect and Mo Ching sect to fight to the death, right? Next, which kind of show will this turn on to? I'd rather see how this bitch will solve the problem this time. How can I miss such a good show? Those disciples are the third elder's disciples, right? Xie Yin had been in the I Ching establishment to practice the finger of flowery swords, and they called Wang Xiaoming Master Xie. When they saw me, they panicked, if I guessed correctly. The one who appeared out of nowhere, Wang Xiaoming, was Xie Yin, right? In fact, I had vaguely sensed something before, whether it was the kung fu you had demonstrated or the unobvious details of our daily life together, all of which made me a little suspicious of your identity. But if he is Xie Yin, who are you? You tell me, my dear Xie, is it just my wishful thinking? I really am not Xie Yin. I am the direct disciple of the matriarch of the M.O. Ching sect, Qin Xinxi. Qin Xinxi, the magical dignified beauty? It turns out that you are Qin Xinxi, who is the same magical dignified as Xie Yan. I have always regarded you as an imaginary enemy, and I wondered why I didn't see you when I came to the M.O. Qing sect, so that's why. Why did it have to be Qin Xinxi? So do you hate me? You have the magical dignified Prince Xie Yan with you, so why should you care what I think? You must think I'm ridiculous, being played by you. Xie Yin and I do have a very close relationship. Xie Yin is the person I kidnapped and brought the M.O. Ching sect. I was the most surprised that he had made it to where he is today. Then why are you entangled with me? Go find him. Feng Yang, listen to me. I want to tell you a story. Would you like to hear it? Secret of Joy Technique Flowery Field. Do you still do this? If I don't listen, will you kill me? What nonsense, how can I do anything to you? Just talking to you, not to be disturbed by others. Where to start? There was a girl who was talented and smart and has an unparalleled appearance. She was one of the kids of the M.O. Ching sect. At that time, the sect was troubled by internal and external conflicts, and strong enemies were all around. Under such circumstances, she was accepted as a Daik disciple by the matriarch, and everyone had high hopes for her. Practice, meditate, practice, and do nothing but practice for more than ten years. Her life was boring and fulfilling. Fortunately, her hard work paid off. She became one of the most talented youngsters of her generation. People in all corners of the world praised her, and she earned glory for the sect. But she wasn't the best one. The first acquired 9H layer Yin Ruyu, the first in 8 second layer Xia Dao Yun. Di Xiaoyao of the imperial family, Ji Yun Tao, who was praised as the foremost person of the younger generation. Also, Xia Yin, who came out of nowhere. Righteous and demonic sex, imperial family and imperial court, she is not the only one who is proud of her talent, and once she slacks off, she will be left far behind. Therefore, in order to promote her cultivation, she changed the way of practice from the way of wickedness and virtue to the way of the taking of life force and borrowing the power of others, she finally successfully advanced to the innate realm. Are you trying to tell me that Xie Yan is just a tool for your cultivation? I don't believe it. It said that you two are a perfect match made for each other. 
Yan and our relationship can't be said in just a few sentences. I coaxed him to become my honeypot, to take his virtuous body and try to use it for myself. Later, he repeatedly saved the M.O. Ching sect from fire and water and won my master's appreciation and the relationship between us became more complicated. He is no longer a tool at my mercy, but an existence that can sit on an equal footing with me and stand at the same height. And it only took him two years to do so. He is a true cultivation genius. I envy him, I envy him, and sometimes I want to destroy him. Among the five beauties and five princes, the person I least want to lose to is Xie Yin, and even I often wonder if I can regain control of him as long as I am strong enough. Because of him, I have advanced to the acquired ninth layer and to the innate first layer, and because of him I have developed inner demons and fallen into a bottleneck, making it difficult for me to advance in my cultivation. So I started traveling the world, looking for a chance to break through. Just out of an emotion that I can't explain myself, I pretended to be Xie Yin and tried to use his method to have a different experience. Xie Yin, Xie Yin, so your favorite is Xie Yin. You liar. No, traveling around the world is the happiest time for me. Whether it's fighting against Pinger for two days and one night, or traveling across the mountains together with Xia Guang. Or listening to Yang Yang's pipa playing in the water town of Jiangnan, even competing with Guifu for a deadly phoenix butterfly made me never get tired of it. I thought it was the thrill of playing Yan Xie and meeting people in a completely different capacity, but I didn't know that until I met you that I was wrong. We travel together and share similar interests. With one action, we can know what the other party wants to do, and with one look, we can understand the other party's inner thoughts. I thought about confessing and telling you the truth so that we could still be friends. But every time I see your innocent and loving eyes, I will change my mind and choose to continue to hide the truth. I am selfish, unwilling to change the beautiful dream constructed by this lie. Every now and then I think, if only I were a man, even if it wasn't Xie Yin, as long as I was a man, I could justifiably be with you. I finally realized why I want to associate with Pinger, Guofu, and the others, and why I didn't want to tell you the truth. Because I love you. But it's too late. Now it is not a matter of just the two of us, but a matter of the two sections you joined the M.O. Ching sect for me. I don't want to see your disappointed eyes, and I can't let the sect be in crisis because of me, so I can only continue to hide it. Until now. I was so scared that you would know the truth, but when you did... I felt relieved that at least I wouldn't have to keep it to myself. Feng Yang, I always owe you an apology. You must be disgusted when you are entangled with me like this and recognize the real me. Sorry. I will not pester you anymore. M.O. Ching Sect, if you want to leave, I won't stop you. If you want to stay, I will explain the situation to Master and I won't appear in your sight again in the future. Feng Yang, see you. No, goodbye. Feng Yang? I won't let you go. Who said that I hate you? I love you and it has nothing to do with gender. It doesn't matter if you are male or female, as long as it is you. Ching Ching Si, listen carefully. I like you. And only you. I like you even if you are a woman. So stop talking nonsense about leaving. I forgive you. You don't have to apologize either. Feng Yang, I'm sorry, I'm so happy. I hate it. Didn't I say you don't have to apologize, Feng Yang? You are so kind this TM also works? It was so easy for that bitch to fool her? I dare say Li Fengjiao is really naive. But why do I feel that this bitch coaxing Li Fengjiao is very familiar? After a while. Qin Qinxi's boudoir. Your precise strikes, combined with the right amount of melodrama, your retreats and defensive maneuvers were brilliant. You were indeed peeping just now. It's too ugly to say peeping. I'm not worried that you will be beaten, so I'm watching silently beside you. The women I look for myself, of course I know what they are. Okay, I've solved the trouble. What do you want to say? Madam, I saw that you gave Li Fengjiao a breakthrough pill. The mysterious Yang fruit was discovered by Feng Yang, and it was thanks to Feng Yang that we could make her the medicinal pill. So she had a share of the pills that were made. 
Of course I know that. What about me? You and I are a couple. I didn't say I wouldn't give it to you. Shinsi will give it to you right away after double cultivation. Madam, apart from double cultivation, can't you have other pursuits? Shinsi pursues this only, and if the husband is unwilling, then don't talk about it. By the way, after the disciples of the M.O. Ching sect have advanced to the innate realm, they need to accept the examination of the elders in the sect. Before, the sect master came in person, but isn't the master in seclusion, so the great elder is temporarily in charge. After knowing that you are an innate master, the great elder is gearing up to welcome you. What? Also, the great elder has already reached the innate fourth layer, and you are the first disciple to be tested by her, so you should feel good about it. The great elder has been promoted to the innate fourth layer? Husband, you are so disliked by the great elder, the examination will probably be too difficult. It's not like it's a torture to have sex with Shinsi, and you can still get the breaking realm pill. Why is the husband unwilling? Didn't I always cooperate very well, lady? You are not up to your expectations. You can't dance the wool on your husband's body. Who's to blame? Then go away and don't get in my way here. This bitch couldn't take advantage of me, so she chose to use the breakthrough pill to make me submit. However, as the mainstay of the M.O. Ching sect, there is no way that I would be missing out on a share of the realm-breaking pills. If the bitch don't want to lose points in front of the sect master sister, she would definitely not delay this matter until the sect master sister had left the customs. If I keep pestering me, I will only bring shame on myself. On the contrary, I will not mention it from now on. At the latest one day before the sect master leaves the customs, the bitch will obediently send the boundary pill to me. It's impossible to give it to me too early. This bitch still wants to blackmail me. Hey, dreaming, big men are never picked. So, my lord refused the invitation to double cultivation from the lawfully wedded wife? My lord, the lawfully wedded wife just wants to have fun with you. Why do you refuse? It's too confusing. Chinger, you don't understand. This is not fun. It's a tame test from the bitch. If I give in to her this time for the realm breaker pill, then next time it could be a foundation building pill, a chi refining pill, or something else to force me to continue to do her bidding. So I can't start this. Ugh. As the demon girl said, the relationship between me and her is too complicated, and this guy is very difficult to deal with, so I can't be a wimp in front of her, otherwise I will lose my sovereignty or even my life. My lord, why do you talk about the lawfully wedded wife as a beast? Is the ghost that lured me fake? You really can't flirt with the lawfully wedded wife? What are you talking about? It's not like she's untouchable. It's just that she's so wild, she's always trying to get on top of me, which made me want to beat her. But isn't the lawfully wedded wife advanced? If my lord don't reveal the true art of Mara, you will not be able to beat the lawfully wedded wife. Then you can't be afraid of her, or she will really take it away. Huh, it's so late at night, what are you going to do my lord? Go to the bitch to get in touch. But didn't my lord reject the lawfully wedded wife? Who said you can't go if you refuse? The witch told me to stay away. If I really listened to her, it would make me look like I'm obeying what she says. I'll come up to her, seduce her, tempt her, and when she's in a state of turmoil, I'll say no, and the bitch's face will look amazing. After all, who is teasing who? You are late, miss is not here. At night, where did the lady go? When Elder Lee came back, the young lady naturally went to accompany her. Besides, you don't accompany the lady in her double cultivation, so it just so happens that Elder Lee has filled your place and the lady doesn't need you anymore. By this time, they should all be halfway through it. Qin Xinxi and Li Fengjiao? Wait, didn't she fool Li Fengjiao? Why did she come back for real? Who said the young lady lied? Elder Li is valiant and resolute, and the young lady is full of praise for her. When you are away, the two of them are tired of being together every day, from poetry and songs to life ideals. If Elder Li hadn't been suddenly dispatched to the branch, Miss would have spoken to her long ago, and she wouldn't have waited until you returned to cause trouble. Really? Does this bitch really like women? So what am I? 
I was betrayed, right? Was I betrayed by a woman? Damn, I want a divorce. I have to divorce. Chinger, go to Li Fengjiao's place and take a peek to see if the bitch is really having sex with her. Ku? Wait a minute. What is this? The lady gave it to you and said that if you came tonight, you would get it, but if not, to not give it. The things have been given to you, so get out of here. No way, is it really what I think it is? My lord, shall I still go and see your wife? Of course, go, take a look at it quietly, and come back and broadcast it to me. How strange. What's weird about it, it's fun, you don't understand. It's the same as the pill bottle given to Li Fengjiao, and it's exactly the same as the realm-breaking pill. What does this mean? The bitch is looking for someone else tonight, so she's compensating me. What is this? Instructions? Let's see. Bastard husband? When you see this note, it means that you have come to Shinsi, so Shinsi will forgive you and give you a realm-breaking pill. The great elder will be looking for my husband in the next few days, but after thinking about it for a long time, I can't bear to see my husband being bullied by the great elder. Although my husband has made things difficult for me, but I am a good person with a beautiful heart and will not take it personally. I would like to remind you of this, lest the husband make a taboo. The examination of the sect is based on the martial arts taught by the sect. Before you take the test, you should think about whether you have ever shown your martial arts skills in any capacity other than that of the M.O. Ching sect. If you accidentally reveal your secrets, don't blame Shinsi for not reminding you. After all, it's fine to show your cards in front of me and my master, but it's not nice to reveal too much in front of other people. The reason why Shinsi gave you the pill of breaking the realm, it is also to prevent you, husband, from being beaten by the Grand Elder for hiding your clumsiness. After all, you are on my side and my master's side. It is not a good idea to lose. Tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, the Grand Elder will come to you. After eating the realm breaking pills, hurry up and cultivate to digest the medicine. I don't expect you to shine, just don't make the great elder angry. Shinsi. This bitch actually thinks so much about me, she really has me in her heart, and this uncle doesn't care about the bitch climbing the wall. Wait, no, don't give it too early, and don't give it too late, choosing this time to give it, the bitch's method is very powerful. Ah, uh, fortunately, I'm well informed. I did let you give it for nothing. My lord, I'm back. So fast? Chinger? What's the matter with you? I was caught peeking, and the wife beat me up and took me away. But I saw that the lady was wearing clothes, and only her palms were touching Li Fengjiao's body, so my lord can rest assured. This bitch really have two faces. She doesn't pity you at all. It's hard work for Chinger. In that case, don't worry about her. Let's hurry up and take the pill. Tonight, your master will raise finger of flowery sword True Chi to the innate second layer. Ku, come on, sir. Chinger supports you in spirit. The next day at night. All the ordinary disciples had cleared out and only a few elders are watching from afar. All your requirements have been fulfilled. Hurry up and release your flowery primordial spirit. Is it true that my wife and the other elders can't leave? I'm shy about being taught by the elder in front of them. The innate examination has always been accompanied by elders to show justice. If you're just afraid of losing face, then you don't have to. Fine. Then, great elder, watch this. This is my primordial spirit, my strongest combat power at present. Finger of flowery swords. Sword gives rise to the primordial spirit. This is. Isn't this the one from the Fanshin Jai? What's her name? It's too far away to see. But the elders seem to be asking, so let's keep watching. This is Xie Dao Yun of Fanshin Jai? When did you hook up with her? What Fanshin Jai or Dao Yun? The great elder is mistaken. This is my lover that I met in the rivers and lakes, just an ordinary girl. She and I travel together, sharing the same interests. With one action, you can know what the other party wants to do, and with one look, you can understand the other party's inner thoughts. Okay, shut up. I'm not interested in hearing your romantic history. 
Judging from the overflowing of your true energy, your aura is not totally stable, and you look like you are in an eight-second layer. You must have just taken the breakthrough pill. I will lower my realm to the innate second layer to compete with you. You attack directly. No rush, no rush. The first elder is willing to lower her level of cultivation, which is an example for the M.O. Ching sect, and the disciple admire it. The disciple is ready to take action, and he also asks the first elder to show mercy. Primordial Spirit Release Assault Mode Demons of Attachment Technique Lifeless Annihilation Even among the innate cultivation techniques, the Finger of Flowery Sword is one of the most powerful techniques in attack power. Coupled with Flowery Primordial Spirit, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, there are few people who can resist head on under the same realm. However, it's still too tender. Demons of Attachment Technique Deadly Ghost Whip The characteristics of this primordial spirit are quite interesting. It can actually affect people's emotions. With just two short strokes, I actually felt that my fighting spirit was slightly diminished. But it's not enough. The greatest advantage of the flowery primordial spirit is that it can cooperate with its master and fight against others with more than one, but you only let the spirit attack and hide behind, which is really unwise. As long as you are resolved, the primordial spirit will disappear. Your primordial spirit can't stop me at all. Why are you still doing useless work? Great elder, you can't speak too early. What? Give me. Explosion. Even if this kid is already at the innate second layer, but the self-destruction of the primordial spirit is equivalent to directly depleting more than one-third of the innate energy in one breath. It is really decisive on using this almost perishing move, Xie Yin. Is this kid so afraid of Lingxian? Ice transformation. However, at this level, how much damage did it do to Lingxian? Facing a strong opponent and detonating the primordial spirit while the opponent is unprepared, if I were really an ordinary innate second layer, I would probably be seriously injured by this move. Thank you for the compliment, Great Elder. Worthy of being the first elder of the M.O. Ching sect, she actually used the ultimate move that trapped the opponent as an isolation belt, avoiding most of the damage caused by the primordial spirit explosion. Then let's do it again. What is he doing? It exploded again. Oh, husband is really ruthless in destroying flowers, exploding the primordial spirit right away. You've just been praised, and then you've made an inexplicable mistake. If the primordial spirit explodes once, the true chi used up will not be able to recover in a short time, and you want to do it again? If the opponent is seriously injured, it's all good. But if it is someone like me who is not afraid of your move, making it explode again is useless. On the other hand, you are left with an empty dantian waiting to die. Finger of Nirvana What did you say, Great Elder? Shall we continue? I'm examining the M.O. Ching sect martial arts. What are you doing with the finger of Nirvana? Hold it back. What the great elder said is wrong. Finger of Nirvana was passed down to me by the matriarch. Why can't I use it? Primordial spirit, go. Stinky boy. This kid. According to his rogue fighting style, a normal innate second layer can't even fight. The Great Elder will be fine, right? Don't worry, she will not be the Great Elder if she can't handle this, but if this continues, Lingxian is probably going to explode. Demons of Attachment True Manifestation Eh 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 Great Elder, you are restoring the strength of the innate fourth layer. It forced me to break the restrictions to deal with it. You are indeed qualified. You will pass the exam this time. Really? Thank you, Great Elder. But you took advantage of Finger of Nirvana to be opportunistic and only used Primordial Spirit self-destruction to attack throughout the whole process, and you didn't show a bit of the style of Finger of Flowery Sword, which is simply contempt for me, the examiner. You've passed the exam, but I'm going to teach you a lesson now. 
Don't worry, I won't kill you. Great Elder, you're taking personal revenge. True Manifestation of the Demons of Attachment Dragon Divine Transformation Hey, hey, the Great Elder is going to kill someone. Is there anyone to take care of it? Look at this poisonous woman. This is a deadly strike. My strong physical body can even resist Su Min's killing moves. I'm not afraid of you. It's you who will be embarrassed then. The visible becomes invisible, and everything is under control. It seems that your retreat was successful, Sec Master. The matriarch is out of seclusion. Sis you. I haven't seen you for a long time, but the great elder did really advance. Your dragon divine transformation is so powerful. If someone else were here, I'm afraid they wouldn't be able to resist. However, Xia Yin is a junior after all, and the great elder is already an innate fourth layer, so don't bother with him. If it weren't for this stinky boy being too irritating, who would care about him? Let's call all the elders to a meeting while we're all here. I have completely stabilized my realm, and even got a few glimpses of the innate sixth layer, so I am just coming out today to tell you about it, so as to avoid uncertainty within the sect. I will continue my retreat tomorrow, and I have to take advantage of the time now to resolve the sect affairs that have been put on hold. According to the rules of the sect, getting promoted to innate realm you can be pointed to the position of an elder, receive an elder's share and a waste badge, and deal with sect affairs. Xia Yin, do you want to stay in the sect territory to handle general affairs or claim an allocation? Once a personal servant, always a personal servant. I think it is better for me to be a personal servant of the matriarch than an elder. One is to get closer to the matriarch, and the other is to be free and not subject to any constraints. But after all, you are an innate master, and it would be too much of a waste for you to be my personal servant. Sec master, I don't want the rewards and privileges, just let me continue to be your servant. Since you don't have any ambition, I will not force it. However, if you want to be an elder later, feel free to mention it to me any time. TL note, sign of agreeing. The sec master is really fond of Yin Xie. By the way, Xie Yin, is your flowery primordial spirit Xie Dao Yun from Fan Xinjai? That little girl is notoriously incomprehensible. How did you hook up with her? Xie Dao Yun? How could I have this ability? The third elder was wrong. Oh? Even if I'm wrong, Xie Yin's ability to hook up with women is truly amazing. What happened while I was away? What primordial spirit? What Xie Dao Yun? It's not something important, Feng Yang. Don't you have something to report to the sect master? Let's talk about it. Ah, uh, that's right. Sec Master, I have something important to report. I was assassinated by the Xue Lu assassins at the Yunshan branch, during which, a quarter of an hour later, regarding the current situation of Yunshan's branch and the matter of the Mara ancestor, I already know about it. Xinxi, the misunderstanding between you and Elder Li should have been resolved, right? In your opinion, what is the best way to handle this matter? The disciple believes that, first of all, we should send more people. Now that Yunshan has lost the Five Poison sect, it is better for our M.O. Ching sect to intervene and replace it. No matter how bad it is, we can stabilize our power in Yunshan and the mining of gold mines. In addition, we need to bring more silver to hire various intelligence organizations and send some intelligence gatherers. According to what Elder Lee said, this Mara ancestor is probably an innate third layer. Such a powerful man has settled in Yunshan with his forces, we must find out what they are. If not, we need to know whether they are friends or foes. After that, it's the things that were arranged before. The expansion of the income of the disciples, the negotiation with the local nobles, and the implementation of the approval for gold mining. Yes, Shinsi, you are still doing things in a safe and sound manner as always. Do you have any other opinions? None. Just don't ask me for people. No comment. Sec Master, I have something to add. 
Before I set off, I have sent some disciples to visit and investigate the sacrifice sites in various places in Yunshan, trying to find out the origins of Mara ancestor and eternal heavens. It is a pity that the local people related to the martial world are very secretive about Mara ancestor, and they are completely ignorant of his origins. Only man Tenching revealed some news. But in my opinion, it is a complete fabrication and has no authenticity at all. This Mara ancestor is both strange and powerful, and even sees the Shuei Lu as nothing, he must have his roots somewhere, and it is impossible to emerge out of thin air. If we do investigate, we must be careful. Don't give him the impression that we intend to offend him and avoid any animosity. Well, it makes sense. In the world of martial arts, it is impossible for an innate third layer expert to emerge out of thin air, and even the opponent may not only be in the third layer. Even if you want to investigate, you must extract the M.O. Ching sect from it. Origin points obtained shock, 0.01 points yen miling. Origin points obtained shock, 0.01 points Yushuanji. Heaven 7 and Heaven 12 did manage it well. Even the elders of the M.O. Ching sect gave me some origin points suddenly. Although it was only for a moment, they did take this seriously. Origin points obtained shock, 0.01 points Yu Hong Yin. Origin points obtained shock, 0.01 points Qing Qingxi. That being the case, you can adjust the personnel who are going to Yunchan. If you fancy someone under the elders, you can also negotiate. Thank you, Sek Master. So let's end the meeting here. Xie Yin, stay alone for a while. Eh? Come to me after talking with Master. I have something to ask you. What could it be that the Sek Master has left me alone for? I see that both you and Xinxi's true chi are a bit shaking. It should be that you have just taken the breaking realm pill, and your realm is not stable enough, right? Shinsi is good at the secret of joy technique. If you want to quickly stabilize your realm, you might as well practice with her more often. Er, er as for Chinger, put it out for your sister to see. Matriarch sister. Matriarch sister, Chinger wants you to pet her head and brush her hair. Hmm, so nice. However, sister will continue to retreat tomorrow, and the time is very tight tonight, so I'll brush you hair next time. Okay, Ku, sis you, is there anything else you want to do? Ahem, it's a rare night when the moon is shining, so why not talk about it as we go for a walk? Why is sis you still hesitating? Is there some secret that she want to tell me? Cough, isn't this a retreat and purification, isn't it a bit boring, there is nothing else to do except cultivating, so I had some fun on my own, but I didn't have anyone to talk to. I thought about it, but you're the only one who can say something, so I'll show you, I'm just writing this for fun, don't tell anyone. It turned out that Sisu was writing a script. Sis Matriarch is amazing. Let me see. What a story. Basically, it can be summed up as, to avenge my father's death, I went undercover with the daughter of my enemy, waiting for an opportunity to take her life so that he could taste the pain of losing his love. But to my surprise, that woman was so gentle and lovely, her eyes so full of laughter that I didn't know I was in love with her, I would have put aside my hatred for her and just wanted to be with her for life. I was told to kill her father to protect myself, and she knew everything. She killed herself under my knife. I killed the person I loved the most. I lived in a daze all day, and one day I was dragged away by a Miao Jiangu girl, and I was tortured by her every day. But my grief was greater than anything because the death of my love, which made her very dissatisfied, and even fed me love potion, forcing me to become lustful. After getting along with her for several years, I gradually developed feelings for her. I came out of the haze because of her, and I got over my sadness, but she began to avoid me. Until one day, my cousin, who had been withdrawn from my marriage, appeared before me and told me the truth that the girl I was with was my half-sister. She tortured me to get back at my father who had abandoned his wife and children to marry my mother. Before my cousin could finish speaking, I was able to stop her in time when she suddenly struck my cousin and seriously injured her. Perhaps my expression was too terrible. She looked at me, suddenly cried, and left me without looking back. 
My cousin was injured too badly, and her meridians were abolished a long time ago, so she didn't have much time left. My cousin told me that she didn't want to break off the marriage, and that she wanted to leave the family even if she gave up her martial arts skills, so she looked for me everywhere. She was already satisfied that she could die in my arms. I buried my cousin and became a loner again. Although you are unkempt, you look like a woman, it is better to let the master see, is it really a girl? I am a famous man who loves beauty, if you are a man, I would like to be your brother, if you are a woman, why don't you take master Sia's hand and wander the world from now on, and be envied by others? Woohoo, the elder sister likes him. It's too miserable woohoo, why did you close it, Chinger has to look back. Damn, is this protagonist male or female? Why did a man appear in the end? This man will not be cannon fodder too, right? But aside from the blood, the plot is really good. It's lingering and touching. I didn't expect the matriarch's writing to be so good. What do you think about my writing skills? Woohoo. Cousin is so miserable. Sisu is too modest. This is not a practice of writing. It is a classic masterpiece outside. I know flattery. If you don't give me fair assessment, I will punish you. Sisu is just too modest. See this article about the protagonist getting along with the enemy's daughter. This delicate emotional description, the character's inner transformation, there is also the tension of the siblings tormenting each other until the thrill and excitement of the revelation of their identity. There is also the fate that every relationship will not end well. This way of dealing with a doomed tragedy is simply genius. Why is the first love without results is the one that gives the deepest impression? Why do red roses turn into blood and crystals? Because in heaven and earth, uneasy thoughts are often more touching than great reunion. No matter how true you are, if you get it too easily, you won't cherish it. On the contrary, if you don't get it, you will always be disturbed. The most normal books would be about a chivalrous man and a beautiful woman being happy together. A third-rate story would add a few trials and tribulations to entertain the viewer, and a first-rate book would dig into the shadows behind the happiness. The triviality of reality wipes out the passion of youth, leaving a sigh of feathers to the ground. That's it, I get it. And Sisu's works are no longer simple words. When the audience thinks that the protagonist can get happiness, the protagonist suddenly loses everything. The moment of difference, the moment when something beautiful is broken, is enough to be remembered for a lifetime. For the person whom the protagonist loves dies in the most beautiful moment, in the memory of both the protagonist and the spectator. I thought my style of writing was too niche and might not be popular, but that's not my problem. You've given me a lot of insight. Good, good, I've decided to stick to my heart and let the protagonist forget all about his love affair. Sis you, you've accidentally spoiled the story. Forget it, just be happy. The matriarch sister is really a natural born to write abusive articles, and she clearly likes to read novels with beautiful plots, so is the protagonist male or female? Better not to ask, the matriarch is going to retreat again soon, so this is probably the only time we can have such a relaxed chat before she leaves. The matriarch sister is so abusive in her writing, it is the type of book that I would never want to read again after the first time. Chinger is willing to watch the second chapter, the sex master has abused me thousands of times, and I treat the sex master like my first love. Hoo hoo hoo, I really want to win her sincere love. Crying while reading, reading and crying. If you were a real person, you would have already become dry because of all that crying. Go back to my eyebrows and have a good rest. Woohoo. It's really unsettling. Who made you worry so much? Oops, I almost forgot that my lady had something for me. Master actually stayed with you for one night. What did you talk about? Don't pry. We just had a casual chat. You won't be interested if we talk about it. But why did you come to me? Didn't Li Feng Jiao stick to you tightly? Feng Yang's talent is not as good as mine, and she can't quickly digest the medicinal power of the breakthrough pill. Most of the time of double cultivation was spent by her combing her true qi. She doesn't want me to do laborious and unprofitable work, so she wants to retreat and cultivate by herself. When the meeting is over, she entered secluded cultivation. 
I haven't even settled the score with my husband yet. Why is he still jealous of Fong Yang? What did you say during the fight with the Grand Elder? A confidant? Similar interests? Why do these words sound so familiar? Uh. The lady can hear it from so far away. This is not because the lady is brilliant in writing, and the golden sentences are just frequent. So your husband just quoted a few words. The lady should not care about that. Of course not, but husband's primordial spirit is Xie Dao Yun, right? You can fool the elders, but Shinsi has been dealing with this woman for a long time, and she'd be recognizable even if she turns into ashes. Sure enough, I couldn't hide it from the lady. Yes, it was indeed Xie Dao Yun. Even if she turns into ashes. How much is this bitch obsessed with Xie Dao Yun? I found out that she was someone who could help me advance to the innate. It was a coincidence, but since she comes from the Fan Xingjai, the less people know about her, the better. You still know about trouble? Then why didn't you think of that when you were trying to hook up with Xia Dao Yun? Don't worry, I used a fake identity to contact her, and she didn't know that I was Xia Yan. She is a good person, but women will affect my sword improvement, so it is better to forget about each other than to stick to each other. In this case, don't bother with her anymore, so as not to affect the speed at which you draw your pink energy. My lady? What is this bitch doing in this pose? Is she playing some tricks again? By the way, husband, after you took the pill, haven't you noticed that your true chi is getting more and more agitated and your mind is racing and you can't stabilize it at all? It takes too much time to sort it out normally. Why don't you and Shinsi practice together? If husband's body is a big furnace that is getting hotter and hotter, Shinsi is your little fan, which can help you to drain some of the fire that is too hot and in turn, make my husband whole. Since the lady asked softly, I will naturally agree. This bitch's metaphor is really awesome, but it's true, I've been burning in my heart all day since I took the pill of breaking the realm, and even the sister matriarch said that double cultivation with Qing Shinsi would stabilize my realm, so I'll give her a break. Husband is so nice. Husband's first primordial spirit is Xie Dao Yun, but Shinsi is jealous. This second primordial spirit must be Shinsi, otherwise Shinsi won't be kind. My lady, have you forgotten the characteristics of my technique? Finger of flowery sword, the beauty gains insight into the Tao. My lady, you have never produced beauty chi for me, so how can you be my second primordial spirit? I have never produced beauty chi for you? Why should the lady ask this question? Why wouldn't I want to have the primordial spirit of the lady? After all, when a husband and wife are in a relationship, the primordial spirit is equivalent to the crystallization of our love, but the lady's heart is like iron. Just greedy for my body, not my heart. Woo-woo. It is not enough to get the body. Why bother getting husband's heart? I am so angry with my husband for wanting to do such a thankless task. Are you going to do double cultivate or not? Answer like a man. Uh, uh, ha ha ha, if the lady wants to do something, the husband will naturally satisfy you. I am such a great man, I listen to my lady in everything. In this way, the bitch and I started a fulfilling life of practicing our techniques during the day and double cultivation at night. After the double cultivation, it clearly feel that the realm is gradually consolidated and the true chi is no longer overflowing uncontrollably. What made me a little puzzled was that the bitch was uncharacteristically uncharacteristic and didn't pluck my wool like before, which made me quite unaccustomed to it. I think it's probably because the bitch is afraid that she's going too far and I'll stop agreeing to double cultivation again, delaying her stabilization of her realm. The husband's true chi finally stopped clinging to Shinxi, and it seems that you have managed to retract and release it freely, and your realm has been consolidated. Almost there, thanks to the hard work of the lady these days, husband really loved the lady to death. Did husband take in Shinsi beauty chi? My lady, why do you ask such an outrageous question, although our double practice together is great, but if we say that by doing it alone we can reach the level of soul flesh fusion, then that would be nonsense. Shouldn't you know better than me about whether there is beauty chi or not? Since no amount of work is going to bring out the beauty chi, we're not going to waste any more time, so I'm going. Ugh. 
This bitch is really unpredictable. Three days later. The wife has not come to see Master for a long time, and Fong Jiao, the only one who can compete with Master, is in retreat again. Does the wife have other new people? Is the Master being left out again? What are you talking about? That bitch is so greedy that she only thinks of me when she has something to do, but she won't rush in when she doesn't. Rejection and seclusion. Moreover, cold and ruthless, once used and then thrown away, after solving the problem of stabilizing the realm, if I go to her again, I will not be able to find her. Hayes, woman. My lord impression of her is too extreme, aren't you husband and wife? Chinger, you don't understand. The so-called relationship between husband and wife is just love affair and just a front for outsiders. We are companions of the same camp who can still trust each other at most. We just have more of a husband and wife relationships than our companions. The fact is that this trust also depends on the size of the crisis faced, really big to a certain extent. Hey, it is difficult to say. I can't even guarantee that I wouldn't sell out my teammates, let alone that bitch. Ching Qingxi is the direct disciple of the matriarch sister, the genius of the M.O. Ching sect, and the strongest cultivated according to the template will be as the heir. Compared with love, the pursuit of strength is the most real desire in her heart. She does love me, but for my virtuous body that makes her stronger. That's why she didn't mind being gentle with me and treating each other with the courtesy of husband and wife. In order to coax me into double cultivation and only seducing me with her body. I'm just a tool person on her way to upgrade. So when her cultivation base is stable and she no longer needs me, she will not take the initiative to find me. It always felt odd somewhere. Is that really what your wife thinks? I don't want to talk about her anymore. The bitch doesn't come to me. I don't want to put my hot face on a cold ass. I'm just happy that it is quiet. See ya boy, what are you muttering about? Ghost. No manners, who's a ghost? Inheritance elder, why are you always so elusive? You don't even cough when you come. I waited until Ching girl and you stabilize your cultivation before I came to you, which is enough to give you face. Okay, don't make trouble. The matriarch doesn't understand the finger of flowery sword. I'll have to give you some reminders. The nine sex conference is about to be held. After entering, don't try to improve the finger of flowery sword. Although the nine sex conference is a great opportunity that only comes around once every 30 or 40 years, the finger of flowery sword is different from other demonic techniques, so if you do not prepare well, even the best opportunity will be a wasted. So, what's with your expression? That, after I came back, I was either beaten by the great elder or squeezed by that bitch, and I almost forgot about this conference. I thought this was going to be something important. How come no one has mentioned it to me at all? I think you could start by telling me what the Nine Sex Conference is. Puff. Sec Master and Chin Girl didn't tell you? Nothing at all. These two girls are really unreliable. I never thought I'd have a day to tell a man a story that no child would ever hear. I'll talk about it casually, and you'll listen to it too. As we all know... The nine demonic sects of the Great Han Empire, no matter how many ups and downs they have experienced, except for the rotation of the rankings, the nine sects have never been replaced by other sections in addition to their own heritage and strength. There is another important reason why the nine demonic sects can stand firm and endure for a long time. Chi Hang Cult Chung Ling Dao Blissful Temple Supreme Tantra Mo Ching Sect XINMO sect. Qing Ming Dao. Bai Shu Aosia sect. Wen Dao sect. The nine great demonic sects have the same origin, all coming from a lineage called the first demonic sect in ancient times. Hundreds of thousands of years ago, a group of explorers discovered the ruins of the first demonic sect, and the founders of the nine demonic sects was among them. In the end, only these nine people came out of the ruins alive and founded the nine great demonic sects of the Han Empire. It turns out that this is the origin of the nine demonic sections, by the way. Where are the remains of this demonic sect? I want to dig in there when I get a chance. I mean, pay homage to our common ancestor.
Forget it, the ruins were emptied long ago, and now it's just a broken cave with nothing in it. Damn it, there it is again. So, what does this have to do with the Nine Sex Conference? Bird Fear Strikes Not only is it related, but the relationship is big. See ya boy, don't be impatient, wait for the old man to drink tea first. The original demonic sect has a blessed earth cave dedicated to the cultivation of its disciples, called Demon Cave. In the heyday of the original demonic sect, this cave could be entered at any time. But now, the Demon Cave has long since detached from this world, and only approaches once every 30 to 40 years. Only when the Demon Cave is close to this realm, we can use some special means to enter this blessed land and look for opportunities. At the beginning, the ancestors of the nine great demonic sects brought out nine boundary stones from the ruins of the original demonic sect. Once the demon cave approaches this realm, the boundary stones will react. When this reaction reaches a certain critical point, the boundary stones can be used temporarily to generate a door and connect to the demon cave. The people from the nine demonic sects took the opportunity to enter the demon cave to find opportunities. This was the so-called Nine Sex Conference. However, the Demon Cave is a blessed place for potential disciples of the original demonic sect to cultivate in after all, so there is a strong restriction in it. Only practitioners from the first layer to the fourth layer of the innate realm are allowed to enter. If you enter while your level is lower, you will die, and if you are too high, you won't be able to enter at all. In addition, you can only stay in the cave for 12 hours, and if you exceed 12 hours, you will be forcefully ejected. The chance of the Demon Cave is a building called the Tao Harmony Chamber inside, which contains a huge amount of demonic spiritual energy. The role of this demonic spiritual energy is to ignore any bottlenecks or necessary external conditions, and forcibly push your cultivation technique forward greatly even if there is no way ahead, you can still make it. Whether it is used to find a way forward for self-created martial arts, or to shorten the training process of the original martial arts, it has miraculous effects. Of course, the premise is that the source of these exercises must be the original demonic sect. If you switch to the martial arts of other sects, there will be no effect at all. Is it that good? Holy crap, this sounds like it's almost the same as a system upgrade, and you don't need any origin points. Certainly. However, the situation of the Finger of Flowery Sword is special. If you are not prepared, don't use the Tao Harmony Chamber to improve it. Be ready? Elder, so what's wrong with the Finger of Flowery Sword? What do I have to prepare for? Finger of Flowery Sword, the beauty gains insight into the Tao, the sword gives rise to the primordial spirit, and when it is cultivated to the realm of great perfection, the primordial spirit will exhibit a mysterious connection with their originating entity, inherit all their strength. It would be fine if the demonic spiritual energy could force you to raise your finger of flowery sword to the highest level, but with your current understanding of the finger of flowery sword, you obviously cannot do so. At best, it will help you to create an additional flowery primordial spirit. Of course, you don't need any beauty energy, and it's not bad for you to have an additional primordial spirit, but whether the primordial spirit is strong or not depends entirely on luck, not to mention the lack of the traction from a real person. After cultivating the finger of flowery sword to the highest realm, this primordial spirit will not be improved in any way, which is equivalent to wasting a place in vain. So, boy, you have to be careful. I understand. I have the beauty energy of the evil god, so I don't have to worry about this, just in time to help me get the evil god primordial spirit out. By the way, Elder, isn't that the finger of flowery sword Wen Tingyun's creation? Is the room useful? Of course it works. Although Wen Tingyun is a genius, he can't really create something out of thin air. He must have used the existing martial arts of Mo Ching sect as a reference. As long as it is referenced, it is considered to be a technique related to the original demonic sect, so it will take effect. I see, this is indeed a great opportunity. To put it this way, true art of Mara have the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires, and it is also related to the original demonic sect. 
The system requires a condition for the upgrade, but this Dao Harmony Room doesn't even need the necessary conditions to upgrade the Finger of Flowery Sword, so it should be able to forcibly upgrade the True Art of Mara, right? If it can be done, this opportunity must not be missed. It's no wonder that the nine demonic sects have been able to stand still, and their combat power has been maintained at the top level of the martial world. It turns out that there is such an opportunity. Eh, wait, once every 30 to 40 years, practitioners between first to fourth layers of the innate realm can enter. And now, you should know what the nine sects conference is all about, right? That's enough, I've reminded you of what you need to be reminded of, so I should go back and rest. Elder wait, I have one last question. It stands to reason that these nine sects meet once every 30 or 40 years. A strong man like G.E.E. -E of the XINMO sect, who is a strong innate fourth layer, should be an innate fifth layer soon after the conference, right? For a practitioner, it is easy to live for a hundred years, and it is almost a certainty that he will rise to the sixth or seventh layer of innate realm in the rest of his life. Even eighth layer of innate realm is possible. Considering the current number of innate fourth layer masters, there should be a lot of innate realm masters at the sixth and the seventh layer in the world, but I have been traveling in the world for two years, but... See a boy, if you want to ask me this question, then you are asking the right person. Before I get to that, let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why you have progressed so quickly? Isn't it because I'm naturally handsome and I'm an unparalleled martial arts prodigy? Yes, but not all. Ji Yuntao of the Taishian sect, Xia Daoyun of the Fan Xingjai, even including Qin Xingxi, which of them is not a natural talent? The talent may not be much worse than yours. It took them 10 or 20 years to reach the ninth layer of the acquired realm, but you have progressed so fast since you arrived. Could it be that all the training was taken by you? Hey, Elder, even if you praise me for my enlightenment, why are you still beating around the bush like that? What enlightenment? That is because the recent years are different. The root of all martial arts in the world is actually Tao, or Taoism. And the amount of Tao between heaven and earth determines the speed and upper limit of martial arts practitioners' cultivation. As I said before, the inheritance of today's nine major demonic sects all came from the original demonic sect. In fact, it's not just us, the nine great demonic sects, but also their righteous sections even the neighboring countries like the Tang Empire and the Song Empire are like this. There are also other great faction in ancient times. The ancient great sects generally have corresponding blessings in caves, and once every 30 or 40 years, all sects in the world will apply their secret methods to open the door to their own caves. Why every 30 to 40 years will have a great generation of prodigies? Why are you progressing so fast, Sia Boy? Why are the five beauties and five princes ascending to the innate realm in the past two years? The reason for this is because the doors of the world have opened, causing turmoil and ripples in the world. Let the originally silent world become boiling again and having advanced Dao Yun. This golden time when Dao Yun is full usually lasts for three to five years. During these three to five years, the better the talent, the faster the cultivation speed, compared to before, can be tens or hundreds of times higher. But with the gradual silence of Dao Yun, the world will return to peace, and everyone's cultivation will gradually calm down. Until the next time the door opens, the world boils again, and the Dao Yun begins again and again. That's right, why did Qin Shinsi group take more than 10 or 20 years to rise to the ninth layer of the acquired realm, but these two years suddenly went up like a rocket? It's the timing that's different now. Eh, wait, how come I haven't felt this Dao Yun at all? Could it be that my aptitude for martial arts is actually rubbish? All these things are based on my own experience and research, which the patriarch may not even know. So don't spread it to the outside world, especially the theory of Taoism, which is contrary to the practice of many sections if some psychopath finds out about it, it could cause a lot of trouble. So why the sixth and seventh layer of the innate realm is so rare, because after the Tao Yun is silent, everyone's practice will gradually become stagnant and cannot be advanced any further. Then as soon as the life limit is reached, they will die directly. Okay, 
I just wanted to give some pointers this time, but I didn't expect to say so many things at once. Alas, this old man is mentally weak, and it is time to go back to sleep. By the way, Chain Girl is very talented, and she is a perfect embryo to get the primordial spirit. You should work hard to get her beauty energy, so as not to waste the opportunity of the Nine Sex Conference. I know, Elder take care, but when it comes to the flowery primordial spirit, the evil god's beauty energy was actually analyzed on the second day after I returned to the M.O. Ching sect, but it didn't turn into a primordial spirit directly after it was resolved, like Xie Daoyun's beauty energy did back then. In fact, if you think about it carefully, you can find the problem. My cultivation base is completely dependent on the system to forcibly upgrade, and the first flowery primordial spirit also appeared directly after the system condition was completed, and it was quite a gift from the system. Although it is quick to upgrade with origin points, it is not as solid as those who have taken one step at a time and practiced diligently. When I did get promoted to the innate realm, my flesh body couldn't keep up with the technique, and the construction of the first primordial spirit reveals the biggest problem caused by the system upgrade. The system should only allow me to master the minimum standard of the current level of a technique. The best proof is that after analyzing the beauty energy of the second primordial spirit of the finger of flowery sword, it needs to be constructed by myself. I can also build the primordial spirit myself, but it just takes a lot of energy. This is actually the normal way of practicing, but after getting used to the convenience of the system, it is very uncomfortable to return to the normal way. This time the opportunity of the nine sex conference should be carefully planned. It is only a matter of time before the evil god's primordial spirit is built, and it is not possible to eat a big bite and directly raise the strength to the highest realm to synchronize the evil god with its primordial spirit which is relatively less meaningful. There is still some time before the Nine Sex Conference, so I can spend all my energy on building the evil god's primordial spirit. Damn, I don't believe that my qualifications are so low. People are fighting for a Buddha to receive a stick of incense in one breath. I am a genius even if I leave the system. I will definitely be able to get the evil god primordial spirit out before the conference starts. When the time comes, I can use all the opportunities to upgrade the true art of Mara, a technique that I have no clue about. Wouldn't that be great? Shinsi has always been with Xie Yin. Master stayed with Yen Xie all night that time. She must have told him about the Nine Sex Conference, so I don't need to say anything more. One month later. Forming. Hugh. I feel that it is not difficult to build a primordial spirit. I am still a genius, but it takes more time than I thought, and it may be difficult to catch up with the Nine Sex Conference. If only I could travel to a minor world, there would be enough time in the minor world for me to build up my primordial spirit, and I could also harvest a huge amount of origin points, and it would not be impossible for me to level up either the Finger of Flowery Sword or the Changxing Bakwin. The Nine Sex Conference is approaching, and now is the time to improve my combat power, I don't know when the realm travel function will finish cooling down, eh? System level, LV4. Name, CAN. Realm, Innate Realm 2nd Layer slash Innate Realm 3rd Layer. Skill Mastery, Expand. Origin Points, 9016.86364. Number of times you've entered. Another realm, 7 cooldown has ended. This is truly sleepy. Did the cooling down really finish? Then let's travel. While the evolution function is being upgraded, using the travel function will reset the progress. Evolution function upgrade progress, 65.23,744%. Um, what the hell? Didn't it say that the upgrade will not affect the use of other functions? What a scam. What's wrong, master? So we can't go to other worlds. Forget it. Alas, then I'll continue to build the evil god primordial spirit in the M.O. Ching sect. The progress has reached 65%. I feel that a wave of origin points is wasted. Anyway, the Nine Sex Conference is in about three months, so I still have time. Master Xie, I have a letter for you. Um? Oh, is it a love letter? It is indeed for me. I received the letter. You can go back. 
Who wrote it? I want to see. Yes, this disciple will go back. How is Brother Yin? I miss you so much after you left Yudu. Signature is C.U.I. Jing. When did you have a relationship with C.U.I. Jing? As your master, I'm a very talented man. It is normal for C.U.I. Jing to add me as a friend. However, the letter was not written by him. This is a secret letter sent by the cheap old dad who is far away in the XINMO sect pretending to be C.U.I. Jing. Oh, isn't this just a normal friendship letter? What's so secret about it? If you can see through it easily, then can it be called a secret letter? Counting the time, it's time for the cheap dad to find me. Let me see what he has written. Before leaving from the XINMO sect, I had decided to use a set of cipher texts with GEE, -E, and it have been used now. I'm afraid your father can't deal with Su Min as promised, and I can't bring you back for the time being. The situation is complicated now. In order to avoid trouble, you can rest assured to stay at the M.O. Ching sect, and you should not return to the XIN M.O. sect at this time. Why you? I haven't seen you for a few months. How are you getting on in the M.O. Ching sect? Have you improved your techniques? Your father will find you as soon as possible in the cave. Don't worry. Fortunately, Xia Yin is also qualified to participate in the Nine Sects Conference. You will enter from the M.O. Ching sect, and we will meet on the first day of the Demon Cave. My lord, what is written in the letter? It's good news, Cheap Dad and Su Min are having a good fight, and he doesn't have time to take care of me for the time being. Let me directly participate in the Nine Sex Conference from the M.O. Ching sect and join him within the first days of the Demon Cave. The Nine Sex Conference, with all the participants, and in this chaotic situation, maybe I can find a chance to completely solve Su Min or GEE. -E. In any case, the most important thing at the moment is to strengthen my own strength. Three months later, as the days passed, the atmosphere of the M.O. Ching sect became more and more deserted. However, it is not really deserted. In fact, everyone is still in the sect, but most disciples are in retreat and practicing. Everyone is looking forward to being promoted to the innate realm and obtaining the qualifications to participate in the Nine Sex Conference, and they do not want to give up this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity in nearly 40 years. Since no one was bothering me, I was happy to relax and devote myself to the construction of the evil god Primordial Spirit. Everyone is working hard for their own careers and their own future. Should eat it? Shouldn't eat it? Breakthrough pill. I just don't know how many people will be happy and how many will be sad in the end. What a heavy aura of Dao Rime of the innate realm first layer, and even with an inexplicable feeling of rage. Which comrade in the sect has been promoted to the innate realm? There are still three days left until the nine sex conference, and the time flies really fast. I just focused on the primordial spirit for a while. How come more than three months have passed? It's a pity that the evil god primordial spirit is still incomplete. But it doesn't matter. When the time comes, the chance will definitely be used on the true art of Mara. If there is any left, it will be left to the evil god primordial spirit. It will be a matter of time anyway. Origin points 13156.35131 Besides, why do I feel that the growth of the origin points is so slow? Wasn't the origin points coming fast in the month when I first returned to the sect? Fish every day with great body. Eat chicken every day without getting fat. Those two guys, Heaven 7 and 12, must have been fishing recently. Let's see if I don't settle the score with them after the 9 sex conference. Three days later, M.O. Ching sect ancestral shrine. Morning, my lady morning, Feng Jiao it's not early, you're the last person to arrive. I'm not late, and besides, isn't the matriarch still not here? How come Shu Yinner is also here, so she was the one who was promoted to the innate realm three days ago? Yes, the opportunity for the nine sex conference is rare. In order to catch up with this time, Yinner forcibly took the breaking realm pill, using the power of the breakthrough pill to reconcile with other heavenly materials and earthly treasures, it was too dangerous and barely advanced the innate realm. 
I heard that she almost died several times in the middle of the breakthrough, but fortunately she had a unique bloodline and the Grand Elder was there to protect her, so she was able to turn her life around, otherwise she would have exploded. Although taking the Breaking Realm pill in the Acquired Realm wastes most of the medicinal power, it is still worth it to be able to catch up with the Nine Sex Conference. I see. Master is here. This time, the matriarch sister was in the middle of her retreat again and got out temporarily. Also, for something as important as the Nine Sex Conference, of course she will come out to see us off. The shadow covers the sun, and the eclipse is here. The time is right. Start. The sky is cloudy and the sun is dark, and the universe is easy to navigate. The eight directions lend themselves to the opening of the gates of heaven. The gates of heaven have been opened. Step through these gates and you will be on your way to the demon cave. But before you do so, let me remind you of some key points once more. First of all, flying is restricted in the demon cave. Even the innate fourth layer can only leap in the sky and can't walk in the void like a flat ground. Secondly, when you pass through the heavenly gate and enter the demon cave, you will be transported to a random location in a chaotic order, so it is basically difficult to walk together in a group. There are quite a few Tao Harmony chambers in the cave, but they are quite inconspicuous compared to the vast expanse of the cave, and most importantly, their entrances almost blend in with the surroundings, making them very difficult to find with the naked eye. Entrance to the area where the Tao Harmony chamber is located. If you are unlucky, you may not find a room in a day. Every time the demon cave is opened, the terrain within it is completely reshaped, and the Tao Harmony Chamber is no exception, so the sect is unable to provide you with a reference map. A Tao Harmony room can only be activated twice, each time for half an hour, and after two times the demonic spiritual energy will be drained. Once activated, it won't stop. If you leave the chamber in the middle of the session due to an accident, this opportunity will be wasted. The maximum time for a person to receive the demonic spiritual energy is also half an hour, after which the body will lose its response to the demonic spiritual energy. During this period, if you encounter interruptions, it doesn't matter if you interrupt the initiation at any time. If you find another room, you can also continue to accept the demonic spiritual energy. The total duration does not exceed half an hour. Entering the area where the Tao Harmony Room is located, you will find that there is a puppet guarding by the side. Only by defeating it can you enter the Tao Harmony Room to receive the initiation of the demonic spiritual energy. There are roughly three levels of Tao Harmony Room. The more advanced the Tao Harmony Room, the more pure demonic spiritual energy contained in it, and the greater the improvement it brings to you. However, it is almost impossible to tell the level of the Tao Harmony Room from its appearance, and the only way to judge it is by the level of the Guardian Puppet. Innate Realm First Layer The Guardian Puppet outside the low-level Tao Harmony Room has the cultivation level of Innate First Layer. The Guardian Puppet outside the mid-level Tao Harmony Room has the cultivation level of Innate Second Layer. And the Guardian Puppet outside the high-level Tao Harmony Room has the cultivation level of Innate Third Layer. Innate Realm Second Layer Innate Realm 3 ND Layer In terms of actual combat, these Guardian Puppets are not weaker than the Disciples of the Large Sex at the same layer, and may even be stronger. You should be careful about this, and don't underestimate the enemy. However, the range of activities of the Guardian Puppet is limited, and the intelligence is not high. As long as people use their brain, it is not difficult to deal with. Your greatest threat is always the masters of other demonic sections sure enough, the human heart is the most dangerous. Once activated, the Tao Harmony Room will continue to emit strong light for nearly half stick of an incense, making the originally hidden place instantly attract everyone's attention. The low level is white light, the intermediate level is blue light, and the high level is red light. It is very difficult to find a DOA Harmony Room, and often depends on luck, the more advanced room, the more so. Therefore, once there is strong light, it will easily attract outsiders. You must be careful not to be picked by others. The first-ranked demonic sect, the Wendao sect, 
is a single lineage with only one disciple in the sect apart from the patriarch and has not participated in the nine sects conference for over a hundred years, but this time it may not be the case. If you see someone holding a long sword-like weapon with a red body and a strange glow, even if the person is only an innate realm first layer, do not mess with them and retreat immediately. The second demon sect, the XINMO sect, is the most powerful of the nine sects. They are the most dangerous, so do not to mess with them unless you're prepared. We hope they can be our ally. If you meet, consider joining forces. The third demonic sect, Qingming Dao, a group of people who have been wandering all the year, so don't bother with them. If you encounter a dispute, you must win quickly, otherwise don't make a move. The fourth demon sect, by Shuo Xie sect, be careful of their puppets, and don't fall into an ambush. The fifth demonic sect Chongling Dao, with strange methods and a tendency to clump together. Even in the demon cave, they have ways to communicate with each other, better not mess with them, and to avoid them if possible. The sixth demonic sect Supreme Tantra is a group of people with good temperament. When you meet them, you can have a good fight, and as long as you win, they will retreat. However, the people of the Supreme Tantra will not suffer in vain, and they can get rid of the entanglement by giving them appropriate benefits. The seventh demonic sect Chilion cult is very hard to deal with. The nine sex conference only lasts for one day, and once someone get entangled with them, they will waste a lot of time to fight poison, so they are the most untouchable opponents. But they won't be too aggressive, after all, as long as they come out, few people will really be afraid of them. These book record the names of people from other demonic sects who may participate in the nine sex conference as well as some notes. You can check the list before making a decision. Remember, no matter what, put your own life first. Get ready and let's go. Heavenly Demon Cave I wonder what kind of place it will really be. Eh? The evolution function has been upgraded. New function, life simulation. Do you want to start it? At this time, the system finished upgrading, and Life Simulation? The Evolution Function has been upgraded. New Function, Life Simulation. Steal from Reality to Expand the Imaginary. Use the Imaginary to return back to Reality. With the user's current time and place as the checkpoint, create a parallel world and experience a fictitious life. Note, if the user dies in the fictitious world, the user will be immediately returned to the checkpoint established in reality. Except for the memories the user acquires during his experience in the fictitious world. No other impact will take effect in reality. Do you want to start it? Sure enough, I'm convinced the new features are not that simple. But, how does this synopsis look like a life simulator? Is it possible that Ashby wasn't reborn, but that the system fragments simulated his life's development and that the so-called past lives are just retained simulated memories? No time to lose. Activate. The situation at the 9 sex meeting is getting tricky, and I've been having a lot of trouble with GEE, -E, so this is the perfect time to go to a simulated world and not be on edge all the time. Simulation in progress note, once life simulation is turned on, all system functions will be disabled. Please be prepared. This system function is disabled. Is it a memory hog and CPU overload once life simulation is turned on? Is your system hardware not working? Han Dynasty, 7th month, summer of 19th year of the UN Wu era. Hum. Holy crap. How did the thunder strike in broad daylight? And, why is this thunder red? What are you waiting for? There was a thunderbolt, a red one. Did you see that? Red thunder? Where's the thunder? Did you not see it? No. Alright, Fong Yang, don't listen to his nonsense. My husband probably saw that the atmosphere was a bit serious, so he deliberately gave a joke to lighten the mood. Oh, oh. So that's it. Let's go first. Okay. Didn't you see it either? The red thunder? Have you lost your mind while you were in seclusion? This joke is funny. Don't tell it next time. Thank you, Brother C.A.N. I feel much better now. 
It seems that I was the only one who could see the red thunder just now. This came after the initiation of life simulation, and I have now entered the simulation world. System, come out and get beaten. Very good. The system panel can't be called. The origin points prompt that pops up from time to time is gone, and all the functions of the system have been disabled. I should really be in the simulation world now. Sis matriarch, I'm going in. See you in a day. Go ahead. It's a pity that my luck is not good and I can't hold down my realm, otherwise I would have been able to see the demon cave. I just hope that Shinsi and Xie Yin can gain something and make up for my regrets. This is the demon cave? This is also. It's so big it's beyond imagination. A view of the mountains and rivers, with no boundaries in sight, much like the original Jive ruins. This is just a place for disciples to improve and test themselves. The legendary ancient sects are really more profound than one another. 0 0.9 In the past three months, I have also found a lot of records about the nine sex conferences from the Inheritance Elder. According to the records of the ancestors of the M.O. Ching sect, in most cases, there are only three kinds of Harmony chambers and the corresponding three kinds of puppets in the Demon Cave. Innate Realm First Layer Innate Realm 2 ST Layer Innate Realm 03 ST Layer Innate Realm 4 ST Layer However, there was also a senior who, by chance, found a higher grade Dao Harmony Chamber where the gatekeeper puppet had the strength of an innate fourth layer martial artist. It's a pity that the senior's cultivation base was weaker and couldn't beat the gatekeeper puppet. In the end, all the time was spent fighting with the gatekeeper puppet. In the end, the time for the demon cave ran out and that senior ended up being teleported out without gaining anything. However, after that, no one from the M.O. Ching sect ever left a record of finding a fourth rank de Harmony chamber, and instead, one of the elders wasted all the time searching for this opportunity and ended up with nothing. The matriarch sister deliberately did not mention this matter, most probably because she did not want people to repeat the same mistake. But with the life simulation of the system, I'm going to have to reset anyway, so why not search the whole cave and see if I can get the special prize? Although it is estimated that if I find it, I will not be able to beat the gatekeeper puppet, but how will I know if I don't try it? There are two main tasks for me now. One is to find as much information as possible about the advanced and even fourth grade Dao Harmony rooms. Maybe I can try to see whether the harvest can be brought back to reality after receiving the demonic spiritual energy in the simulation world. If it works, I will be able to use the Dao Harmony room two times. He he he. The other one is to find GEE -E and test it out to see if this cheap old man is really stupid or has ulterior motives. Chinger come out. Cuckoo, my lord, have we reached our destination? Yes, as planned, we're going to split up. I'll talk to you about the rules and we'll get straight to work. Oh, okay. After a stick of incense. I see, it's just a treasure hunt. Don't worry, my lord, this is Ching's strong point, I'll get it. Release, 100 ghosts technique. Watch as Chinger uses a sea of ghosts to level every inch of this cave and find the Dao Harmony Chamber for the lord. Hey, hey, everybody, let's go. Then it's up to you, Chinger. Looking for things in the vast place, Chinger's 100 ghosts is undoubtedly the best solution, maybe soon. Ugh? What's happening? What's the matter? Why is my little ghost start burning? It should be due to the rules of the demon cave. The suppression here is estimated to be a disaster for creatures below the innate realm. Chinger, your little ghosts is too weak. This really doesn't give you any chance to cheat. I never thought it would turn out like this. Chinger is useless. I don't blame you. After all, it was unexpected. But even so, we have a big advantage over the others. My lord is right. Even if there is only one Chinger, Chinger must help you. Chinger has been practicing the shapeshifting spell for a long time and can use the shapeshifting spell to go to a farther place and search. It's right to think of it that way. Pangu created the world, Nuwa creates man. Clear Chi rises, dirty Chi sinks. Shifting spell, urgent as an order go. My lord, I'm going. 
Be careful on the road. Then I'm going to start as well. The entrance of the Dow Harmony Room is almost perfectly blended with the surrounding environment, but there are still some differences. If you look closely, you can find anomalies. It's just that the demon cave is too big, and if you are unlucky, you may not find one by the end of time. Therefore, I must mobilize all the abilities that can be mobilized and find a Dao Harmony Room. Desire for Sight, Search Desire for Smell, Search Within a radius of 10 miles with me as the center, there is not a single living person. However, I found seven or eight things that didn't seem to be in harmony, were covered up by the surrounding environment, but had no breath of their own. As long as it is abnormal, there is a possibility that it is a Tao Harmony Room. None. 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 None, 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 none. Half an hour later. Not a single zero hit. What a non-competitive experience. Sure enough, it's not that easy, but if it could be found with the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires, the Xian Mo sect would be going crazy robing all the chambers. The matriarch sister has been thinking too much. Now, let alone the sex battle, it would be good to be able to find a Dao Harmony room. I don't know how things are going with Ching or either. My lord help. Little girl, why are you the only one here? What about senior brother Huayu? What kind of identity did he use while coming here? Woo woo woo. Why is it Chongling Dao again? And I've been caught by this bad woman. No, I can't waste time here. I have to go back to my lord. What? This little ghost girl is really stiff. Well, the Tao Harmony Room is more important now. Gee, why you and all that? I will have plenty of time to figure it out when I get out. Hmm, Chinger? Chinger, why did you die this time? My lord. My lord, why are you falling down? Okay, tell me, what happened? Chinger, Chinger has met the people of Chongling Dao. Chinger used the shifting spell to teleport to a place, and before she could start looking, she saw a Chongling Daoist with a ghost nearby. The ghost looked fierce, and Chinger was afraid of being bullied, so she prepared to look for another place. Who would have thought that just after changing the place, I met a person from Chongling Dao again, and was chased by a ghost with a snake tail for a long time, and finally got rid of it. And then for the third time. Chinger met Yen Ryu, woo woo woo, then, I blew myself up and came back. See how much your master loves you, now there is no origin points, using the finger of Nirvana will be consuming my lifespan, don't cry don't cry, your master will heal you. Finger of Nirvana. Woohoo, thank you, Master. It doesn't matter, anyway, the lifespan that will be consumed will come back once returning to reality. Why does Chinger always meet people from Chongling Dao? In retrospect, Chinger also ran into Yen Ryu when she used the shape shifting spell. What does this spell have to do with Chongling Dao? No, it's not necessarily the Chongling Dao, it may be the ghosts. After all, every disciple of Chongling Dao will be accompanied by ghosts. Chinger, what should I say about you? This is not a shifting spell. It's more like a ghost hunting spell. It's so unreliable that you just teleport wherever there are ghosts. In this way, the shifting spell is likely to be a spell that teleport to the vicinity of a distant ghost. I don't know if it was not clearly written in the complete collection of ghostly Taoist spells, or if this girl just overlooked it. Forget it, Chinger has also worked hard. Come back first. Ku. That is. Someone has found a Tao Harmony Room. The blue light, according to the records in the booklet given by the matriarch, it is a second grade Tao Harmony Room. Enter. Not entering. Enter. Yinner, you have just entered the innate realm, and your realm is unstable. As your master, I shouldn't be too demanding of you. But now is the time for the sect to flourish, and it is the time to employ people. Among the younger generation, your talent is not inferior to Qin and Xie, because your master does not want to see your light dim in front of them in the future. This time at the Nine Sects Conference, it's best if you can find your own chance. If you can't find it, you'll have to steal a piece of it. 
you are very talented. Once you fight, under the same cultivation realm, you don't have to be afraid of anyone, even if the opponent is Ching Shinsi or Xie Yin, of course, they are now in a higher realm than you. What your master means is that if you have an opportunity, if your opponent is in the same realm as you, one word, grab it. Believe in yourself. Although master told me that as long as I can find a primary Tao Harmony Room, it is enough. However, since the second grade Tao Harmony Room is in sight, I can't miss this opportunity. If I miss this one, I won't know when I'll come across it again. I have to take my chance. Inside the secret area of Tao Harmony. Tao Harmony Room, Tao Harmony Room, Tao Harmony Room. Tao Harmony Room. There it is. The one who can take care of the puppet guarding the second level of the Tao Harmony Room is most likely an expert at the innate second layer. Someone at the third layer should not be possible. The person at the third layer should look for the third grade room, which is the high level Tao Harmony Room. It seems that he have experienced a fierce battle, even if it is someone at the innate second layer. If he is seriously injured, he may not be able to fight. Let's try it out first. If the situation is not right, I will turn around and leave. He should not have the heart to chase after me. Lifting. Ah. Great opportunity. This guy really is an innate second layer, from the Bai Shuo Xie sect, his mechanical beast is almost scrapped, and his injuries are so bad that he can't fight. You are Qi Chongxin from Supreme Tantra, Wu Yun from Qi Liang Cult, and Lu Dongchang from Chongling Dao. Good, thanks to Benefactor Shi Yinner of the M.O. Ching sect for inquiring about the truth and reality in this room on behalf of, of this little monk. This is Dao Harmony Room, I will accept it. Everyone is an innate first layer, and no one can kill anyone, so why break the peace? Why don't you take a step back? Let me have this Dao Harmony Room, I won't poison you, how about it? If you dare to take it from me, you die. Three people all are innate first layer, I, I. I am so excited. I'm inside. The structure of this Dao Harmony Chamber is really strange, one thing leads to another. I had to teleport once to enter the demon cave, but I had to teleport once more to enter the location of the Dao Harmony Chamber. The fight is so intense, there is a show to watch. Let me see, eh? Yo, I actually met your yinner. First layer, first layer, still first layer, there are so many innate first layer guys getting together. There's also an innate second layer who is hiding on the side with the intention of being a yellow bird. If it wasn't for me, he would be able to kill this group of rookies in one fell swoop. You're out of luck. Let you admire the magnificence of this master appearance. This extremely oppressive aura is. An innate third layer master? Damn it, how could an innate third layer master be looking at an intermediate Tao Harmony room? Two big layers higher than me, my poison is basically ineffective. Innate third layer, cannot kill. Golden body of the Arhats Rakshasas retreat, body reincarnation technique, insecticide double body technique. Illusory bodies by the combination of three desires, huh? Why is there a guy from the XINMO sect? Why are you blocking my way if you're running? XINMO sect. Damn you all. Body covered in golden ray Rakshasas retreat. Empty. Holy shit, I haven't even come out yet. Where is everyone? I haven't made a move yet. What's the matter with you guys? All of you are moving so fast. But what happened to the one who didn't run? He knelt down to beg for mercy? It turned out to be a stand-in. I'm so convinced, these guys really have their own unique skills. Now I have a new understanding of how difficult it is to kill and eat powerhouses in the main world. Desire for hearing, attentive listening. There's another one who hasn't escaped. You think I won't know if you're hiding, but the sound of your heartbeat betrays you. Get out of there. Ah, it's him? The Mara ancestor is also in the demon cave. 
Senior, please forgive me. This junior will leave now to not disturb the senior while using the Dao Harmony Room. Could it be that Mara Ancestor is a person from the nine demonic sects? Who could it be? At such a low level, you dare to confront three people by yourself, Junior, you are very brave. Eh? Brave but reckless, I'll let you off the hook this time, but you wouldn't have been so lucky if you'd been with someone else other than me. Eh? eh? I don't even bother to grab things from Juniors, so I'll leave this room to you. Remember to act cautiously in the future. I still don't like the intermediate level Dao Harmony Room, even in the simulation world, if the empowerment effect can be superimposed with reality, wouldn't I be at a loss? In the worst case, I have to use the high level Dao Harmony Room. It ended up in Chi favor. Did he let me go? Finishing his job and leaving without revealing his identity. I feel that Mara Ancestor may be a hero who has a sense of justice and comes and goes like the wind. I just don't know what kind of face is under his mask. His voice sounded young when I listened closely. I know, the senior must have made too many enemies in the process of being chivalrous and righteous, so he put on a mask to hide from people's eyes. Just like the white-bowed heroes in the storybook and the eagle warrior. When I become strong enough, I will definitely come to find your senior. Actually, if you think about it carefully, it seems that my pretending is meaningless. After all, all the functions of the system are locked now, I can't receive the origin points at all, and there is no fame in the simulation world. I have to go back to work. It's been more than an hour since the nine sex meeting started, hasn't it? There was no sun, so I couldn't tell the exact time. For such a long time, I haven't found a Dow Harmony room at all, and I finally saw that one was found by someone else, and it was still the second level room. I'll just keep looking for the rest of the time. I just don't believe it. I have the true art of Mara and the Changxing Bakwin to strengthen my five senses. There's no way I can't find a Dao Harmony Room. Got it. There it is. Dao Harmony Room, here I come. Ah, this. Why is it another room that has already been discovered by someone essay? The breath of two people lingers in the environment. But it is faint. It seemed that they had been away for a while. Looking at the size and structure of the guard puppet that was removed, this is still a first level Dao Harmony room. That's right, this room has been used up for at maximum times that can be used for. Damn it, this Dao Harmony room is really hard to find. I finally saw one with my ability, and it was actually used up. However, according to the distance between the two Dao Harmony rooms, it can be roughly judged that the distribution of the rooms is very scattered. Since there's already an empty one here, there's probably nothing else nearby. I'd better run a bit further and keep looking again. Two hours later, even the evil search method of demolishing mountains and forests was used, but to my surprise, nothing was found. The teleportation spell was useless, and if Chinger flew by herself, it would be difficult to cover a large area, not to mention the high mountains and deep waters, and there were many shelters, and in the end, even a Dao Harmony Room could not be found. Obviously, this is a one more chance. In the end, it's just a waste of time, and people will laugh at this kind of thing, right? Crap. It's really a matter of chance. Only when the mountains and rivers are exhausted can the willows and flowers be bright. Portal to the Dao Harmony Secret World. Inside the secret area of Dao Harmony. Hum. Surprisingly, it's the bitch. Finger of poisonous butterflies. This guy's physique is highly resistant to poison, even going all out. It's like I'm using only 30% of power. This will take too long. Why is my lady dodging? Do you want to strike the vital point of the target? C.A.N. The oil on your chest is already broken, so if you cut it a thousand or eight hundred times, it's bound to break. Don't be a coward, do it. As expected of the innate third layer puppet of the high level Dao Harmony Room, it looks really damn hard to beat. The bitch is probably trying to save her stamina to prevent accidents later, so she always chooses a tangling fight, but how long does she plan to fight with this guy? It's none of my business anyway, I'll just watch the fun. Do as I say, attack the head, take it off and it will be finished, the lady is truly a little clawed. Left. 
Right. To the right. Watch his feet. F. Why are you rolling through his legs, my lady? It's so ungraceful. My lady, although you looked embarrassed when you ran away, do you feel moved by your husband not laughing at you? Husband, you are really so cruel don't you see Shinsi being bullied? The lady is heroic and unparalleled. It is impossible to die so soon. Your husband have full confidence in the lady. It's rare to see this bitch get beaten up, so how can I not watch it for a while? Do you still not know the level of Shinsi? Come and help. Hey, get serious about the fight. Why are you still planting flowers on me? I'm so pissed off, you nasty bastard. When I go out, I must report to master. My lady, when you ask for help, your attitude is very important. If you are like this, I will not be willing to help you. Say something nice, and your husband will help you. Handsome, stylish, elegant, and talented husband. Extraordinary temperament. Please save Shinsi. Good, your husband will save you, everlasting dominating fist, note, in place of Chanching Bakwin. Come, let's be together as husband and wife. Huh? Okay, you bitch, aren't you afraid that I will quit and let this puppet come to you? Husband misunderstood, this puppet has rough skin and thick flesh, and is incompatible with Shinsi cultivation technique, even if I stayed to fight, it will not help. It's better to let Shinsi accept empowerment while the husband is restraining it, so that I can improve my realm and I can go out and help my husband. I believe you, my ass. Come out and fight with me or I'll leave. Husband, since there are two of us, one of us can hold the puppet while the other one enters the Dao Harmony Chamber. After the half-hour empowerment is over, we can exchange the puppet and the empowerment. Wouldn't it be better for us to get this guy out of the way first together? Husband is wrong. This puppet is very powerful, and it is not easy for ordinary innate third-layer masters to take it down. Instead of destroying it, it is better to leave it and contain the latecomers. After all, once this Dao Harmony Room is opened, there will definitely be a vision of light outside, and I don't know how many experts will come in. So leaving a puppet can more or less hold them back, and my husband doesn't want to make wedding clothes for others, right? That's a good point, so why don't I go in and you come out? Husband, now is not the time to be emotional. Shinsi has been fighting with the puppet for a long time, and most of her true chi has been consumed. If someone really wants to break in, husband thinks Shinsi can deal with them for half an hour and strive for empowerment time for my husband? On the other hand, the husband is physically strong and is more resistant to puppets than Shinsi, and you even have the finger of Nirvana to restore your true chi and strength at any time. There is also the flowery primordial spirit to assist from the side. If someone comes, you can also buy time for Shinsi. If Shinsi is successfully empowered, it is very likely that I will be promoted to the innate fourth layer, and when we change positions and I guard the gate, wouldn't you feel more secure? The most important thing is that it is so hard to find a Dao Harmony Room, especially a high-end Dao Harmony Room. If husband is not cooperating with Shinsi at this time, should you leave Shinsi and go out to find another room? When you arrive, there may not be someone to protect you. As for the flowery primordial spirit, I am afraid that it cannot stop an innate third-layer master. Damn it! I can't believe I've been convinced by this bitch. I will listen to your nonsense. Is it that easy to advance to the innate fourth layer? You'll be lucky if you can completely stabilize your realm at the third layer after you come out. Husband, do you agree? Hurry up. Damn, if there is really a tough expert, this uncle will definitely turn around and leave. If I stay, wouldn't I be more like her servant? My husband is so kind. Shinsi loves you so much. Red light. Advanced Dao Harmony Room. It took a lot of effort to find it. Good, very good. This puppet that is comparable to the innate third layer is really not easy to deal with. The characteristics of the flowery primordial spirit have no effect on it, and its fighting spirit is still fierce and unabated. The good thing is that this big idiot doesn't seem to be too smart. 
Basically, he hits whoever is close to him, and with the self-healing characteristics of the flowery primordial spirit, it's not hard to wind up. Relying on the primordial spirit alone is not enough. Even if I use the true art of Mara power, it is estimated that it will take a long time to scrap it. However, I am not without the means to kill it in a short period of time. Whether it is using the primordial spirit self-destruction 17 or 18 times, or the strongest move of the everlasting dominating fist. But there's no need to work so hard. Hum. Zhu Wu Chang, Ji Ye, Shen Meng Yu, the three and eight third layer elders of GEE -E faction of the XINMO sect? How did they form a team? That's right, the XINMO sect has an Yin Qi communication talisman, as long as the distance is not too far, it's not that difficult for them to get together. However, the cheap dad must not follow behind, it's not time for the lightning storm yet. Is that the arrogant Xia Dao Yun of Fan Xian Jai? No, it's some kind of Qi condensation. Dissipate. This gatekeeper puppet looks like something. Third layer, peak, strength, not bad. Hey, since when did Xia Yan, the magical dignified prince of the M.O. Ching sect, become an innate second layer master? My lady, my lady, there are powerful people outside, I can't hold them. You hurry out and let your husband go in and drink some soup. After guarding the door for her for a long time, I won't end up not getting anything, right? At least let me go in and feel if this demonic spiritual energy can let me break through the bottleneck of the true art of Mara. This bitch, she's playing deaf and dumb for me. Don't blame me for overdoing it. I will come in and pull you out. Desire for touch, tainted demonic body. Magical dignified prince is really smart. We were just played by you when we showed up. But even if it is a high level puppet, it is only an innate third layer puppet. So what's the difficulty in restraining it for a while? This is magical dignified prince. Indeed, handsome as well as his name. Note. The character, Zhu Wu Chang, is talking in a weird way in all his dialogues it wasn't shown before in the translation in previous chapters, sorry about that, I think it is related to his speech desire skill. If there are other tricks, just use them, if not, just leave the room and let you leave safely. If you are lucky, you will still have time to find another opportunity. What? Are you just opening your mouth to seize the opportunity? The elders of the XINMO sect are too overbearing, right? From what you just said, is the one in the Tao Harmony Room Chin Chin Si the magical dignified beauty? You two second layer against us three third layer, we even let you leave, you still want to fight without talking? You, boy, have the sense to back off, or you'll die for nothing. What you guys said. Makes sense. Shen Meng Yu is entangled with the puppet, and there is only two targets left, although it may not be impossible to fight if I go all out, even if I hold on until Qin Shinsi's empowerment is over, when my turn comes. The chance of her being able to hold the two is pitifully small, in all likelihood, I won't even be able to gain anything. There is no need to fight this tough battle for the bitch and waste time in vain. Anyway, the location has been remembered, so let's hurry up and find out if there is a 4th grade Dao Harmony room. In fact, I would like to withdraw, but my wife is a bit stubborn. Please wait, allow me to persuade her. In the simulation world, Finger of Nirvana consumes lifespan, even if I really want to fight someone desperately, I should go find Su Min or the Cheap Dad. This kind of role is prepared for thunderstorms that Su Min and the Cheap Dad will have. It's not worth it to waste it on these three people. My lady, eh? Ching Shinsi of the M.O. Ching sect had met the two elders of the XIN M.O. sect. Now that several seniors have come, Shinsi and her husband should give in and only hope that they can form a good relationship with the seniors and meet each other in the future so that they can have some affection. We snatched this place. Don't say it as if we still have to return you the favor. Even if I don't bear this kindness, what can you do? Nine Sex Conference is a once-in-a-half-century event, and opportunities are hard to find in the Demon Cave. 
We may not have time to find another opportunity after leaving this place, so we should fight with you here for this reason. Even if the strength is not matched, as long as we interfere from the side, you will have no time to use this activated demonic spiritual energy. Since the M.O. Ching sect can't get it, it is better to not let the XIN M.O. sect get the chance. Is that a threat? Are you trying to say that you're giving us face by not fighting and not letting both sides lose? It's just that the elders know that the M.O. Ching sect and the XIN M.O. sect have never had a feud. This kind of concession is given to those who can get it. Shinsi has no resentment. There may not be a common interest between our two factions. If we can give up our chance, we can also talk about our interests. Why focus only on this small cave? Interesting. Then I will be grateful to the magical dignified beauty for her kindness today. If I have the opportunity to do so in the future, I will definitely go to the M.O. Ching sect to return the favor. Shinsi awaits your arrival. Please. This bitch is a smart one. She ended up making us being driven away as if she has made a deal, and she even made a deal for our sect and made the relationship between the M.O. Ching sect and the XIN M.O. sect better. She really does not want to suffer at all. She is obviously upset, and she is so close to even damage her hand, but her face does not show any traces. Then I'll leave it to the three of you to use it slowly. Wait for your husband, my lady. Unexpectedly, this magical dignified beauty has reached the innate third layer without making a sound. There are rumors in the martial world that she is a charming and glamorous like Jade. As expected of Yu Hong Yan's direct disciple, she will be the successor of M.O. Ching sect in the future. Friendship with her or beneficial to the clan. Possible. You two stop talking nonsense. Quickly one of you go in for the empowerment and the other one come and help me. I can't hold this guy any longer. You, empowerment, it's not enough. A stick of incense. Go first. I'll help him. Note. Since the empowerment was initiated by Shinsi, then it can't be stopped and only the remaining time is left, less than 30 minutes for the first empowerment. The lady just now is really awe-inspiring, and she has not lost the face of our M.O. Ching sect at all. If the matriarch sister sees what happened, she will definitely praise you greatly. Having said that, I had no choice but to concede on the spot. Although you were thrown out in disgrace, I'm sure you're kind-hearted enough not to blame me, right? I don't think Shinsi is a short-sighted person who doesn't know what's important. You are only in an eight-second layer. I don't think you are capable of fighting two third-layer masters at the same time. It is because of this that Shinsi simply chose to back down. My wife is very understanding. It's just a pity that I've been guarding for a long time, but in the end, I didn't even get any benefit. My heart is aching. This bitch, speaking nicely, just now she clearly stayed in until the last moment. She was waiting for me to fight with the people of the XINMO sect and give her more time. My husband, the past is behind us, so we should think about how to find another chance. I'm sure you wouldn't want to come to this cave and end up with nothing, would you? But I have worked so hard to find such a Tao Harmony room, I didn't even have the chance of feeling the demonic spiritual energy before it was gone. I feel so tired, I won't look for it anymore. Then, the first thing you need to do is to follow Shinsi's lead. I don't know what method you used to find a room, but if you only found that one room in all that time, I think Shinsi's method would be more reliable. The Secret Area of Tao Harmony Supreme Tantra, Grand Waster Chong Long, Innate Third Layer, it took a lot of work to finally kill this puppet, I can now enter the Tao Harmony room. If it hadn't been for the intrusion of that old poisonous creature from the Chilion cult, I would have enough to sustain the formation until the end of the empowerment. Alas, another Buddha bead must be wasted. Is this the Supreme Tantra Grand Master Chong Long? It's true. Although it is not my intention to take advantage of people's danger, opportunities of the Nine Sex Conference are difficult to find. The Master should be aware of this. I don't want to make it sound too harsh, so... Please, this bitch is really good at this. She has found a third grade Tao Harmony Chamber that has not yet been opened so quickly, so it seems that it is the right choice to follow her. 
It turned out to be the magical dignified prince and the magical dignified beauty of the M.O. Ching sect, whom I have admired for a long time. Damn it, how did it happen that someone is coming now? Was I being followed, or is it just a coincidence? This Tao Harmony Room has not yet been activated, and there is enough time. And this old man only needs one column of incense of time. This monk will not lie. You let the old man stay for a stick of incense time, and the old man will not only leave, but also lay down the Buddha's law formation for you to protect you. How do two of you two feel? No lies? Master, do you really think I don't know anything? Do you supreme tantra people keep the precepts? We don't need a big formation or anything, so please leave quickly. You are a depleted innate third layer, and you will not be able to win against both of us. These bald monks of the Supreme Tantra say that they are righteous and dignified, but the actual style is another matter, which cannot be believed. If I say I will not lie, I will not lie. If the two don't believe me, then go ahead and come. Although this old man is only one person, I will definitely disturb your peace, and everyone will not be happy. Master, don't pretend any more. If you really set up a formation, it should be us that should be wary of you. I'll say it one last time, please leave. Humph, no more nonsense then, let's do it. Ah, uh, all these bald monks of the Supreme Tantra are all violent. If they can't convince you, they will start fighting. My lady, isn't the reason for this is that you've broken the hearts of the people? Don't worry about those things, and make a quick decision. If we fight for a long time, I'm afraid that someone will come again. My lady, we each use our strongest move to quickly defeat the enemy. Okay. Secret of Joy Technique, Enchanting Spiritual Twins Supreme Prajna Scripture, Vajra Sutra, ah, two little youngsters, they have just been promoted to the innate realm and they became so arrogant. It's time for you to see the, the majesty of your seniors. Can you be called a young man without being arrogant? The body emitting seven colorful lights, is there such a trick in the M.O. Ching sect? Wait, shouldn't this be? Husband, you. My lady can fight for now, your husband will come out to help you when he finishes empowerment. Well, it is the same situation as earlier, I'll see if you have the face to refuse. Anyway, it's just the simulation world, I'm not afraid, even if Chin Shinsi is really shameless, just let me see the true face of this woman. Putting aside the finger of flowery sword, if this demonic spiritual energy can be useful for the true art of Mara, perhaps I can get rid of the shackles of the Six Desires Golden Pill and obtain the true strength of an innate third layer. This is? There is darkness everywhere, all things are silent, but there is a constant flow of spiritual energy into the body. This spiritual energy reacts to both the flowery true chi and the Mara true chi. Very good. It seems that it really works for the true art of Mara too. Hum. This devil. In all corners of the world, it is said that the magical dignified prince is so talented, and how the two magical dignified couple are in love with each other, it is like a match made in heaven. I had no idea that the real person is such a treacherous villain. Benefactor Chin, why don't you and I put aside our dispute and join hands to drive Xia Yin away from here, and then we can share the Tao Harmony Chamber equally? A, that's not a bad suggestion. But that's for you, not necessarily for me. Why would I want an outsider to interfere in the affairs between us, husband and wife? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter if you're being sincere or tough-mouthed. By refusing the offer, you are trying to deal with this old man alone. Are you really ready for this? The master is at the end of the line. It took you a lot of effort to fight the puppet before, and then you used the Arhat method to fight with us. How much strength can you use now? I'll be frank, my husband went in, but it was only half a joke. I stayed outside to deal with you. If the master wants to pursue this, Shinsi will accompany you to the end. M.O. Ching sect. Magical Dignified Couple Humph, we will have an appointment later. Rakshas's Retreat Gone, these monks of the Supreme Tantra, if there is one good thing about them, is that they know when to back off. Humph!
someone's here again? And that shape is the innate fourth layer of Qing Ming Dao. What a miraculous demonic spiritual energy I only needed to provide the original information of the true art of Mara. After it was verified, the Mara true Qi in my body began to cultivate by itself, and the speed was countless times faster than normal cultivation. No wonder everyone said that the opportunity here can quickly improve the progress of the practice, so it is. This miraculous demonic spiritual energy doesn't stop there. After reaching the bottleneck, the benefit of the original way of cultivation greatly weakened. It begins to control the Mara True Chi to continuously evolve and extend in a similar exhaustive method, expanding towards various possibilities, constantly hitting the innate bottleneck. I seem to be able to feel that the limit of the true art of Mara is being broken through, and it is evolving in an unknown direction. Unfortunately, this evolution is not a simple piece of memory information that will appear in my mind. Instead, it is a kind of fleshly instinct, true chi instinct, looking at it this way. After returning to reality, it is not very likely to retain the empowerment harvest of the simulation world. Damn, no matter what. Let's talk about breaking through the true art of Mara in the simulation world first. What if? Damn it, Chin Shinsi, this bitch, how dare she disturb my meditation? Damn, is she so small minded? Obviously, I didn't intentionally interfere with her before. What's this word? Run. Ding, ding. Ding. This is the deputy Taoist of Qing Ming Dao, Ming Ping Shang. Innate fourth layer. What a strong killing intent, I, I was seen as a hindrance by this guy. Able to yield, cough, please, please. Qing Ming Taoist is in a state of semi-divine wandering all year round, his chi does not show, so he is not a threat if he is not provoked. But if they exude an unmistakable malice, they are on the verge of awakening and are extremely violent, and those who stand in their way will be killed. The bell pins in their hands is, on the one hand, an instrument used to investigate the real world, and on the other hand, it is also a warning to the outside world. One ring for signal, two for alert, three for, it's time to kill. Damn it, it beat twice. Hurry up, hurry up, go away. The Qing Ming Taoist who is in a violent state is the least to be provoked. Ding, ding. Holy crap, he already took action. This force is really not small. I almost lost my stability, but fortunately he was just driving me away. Outside the secret area of Dao Harmony, I hadn't even gotten my butt warmed up yet, but I was kicked out again. The good thing is that I have already experienced the empowerment, so I have gained something. However, Qin Shinsi had slipped away so quickly that she was nowhere to be seen. Yin Qi Communication Talisman? It's for me. It's G-E-E. -E. I just received it now. Is it just in the range where it can be communicated? Anyway, since the meaning of the empowerment in the simulation world is not as great as I thought before, then there is no need to continue wasting too much time on it, and I can start implementing the thunderstorm plan. After three breaths, dissipate, my convenient dad said that he had found a big opportunity, so I don't rush to initiate the empowerment. After receiving the letter, I should quickly follow the direction of the breath left by the communication talisman to find him. There is only a Tao Harmony room in the Demon Cave. Convenient daddy, is it the location of the 4th grade Tao Harmony room? GEE -E said before that he would meet me in the cave. I thought that the Demon Cave was vast and boundless, and it would take a lot of effort to find someone, but I didn't expect that he would come to me now, only halfway through the trial period. My lord, are you going to see that terrifying middle-aged uncle again? Yes, let's see what your master can gain this time. But GEE -E is an innate fourth layer expert after all, so Chinger should stay put and not come out without permission. Goo, Chinger knows. But why is the lawfully wedded wife missing? Chinger thought that master would act together with the lawfully wedded wife. Speaking of which, as soon as I left the secret area of Dao Harmony, I couldn't see where that bitch is. Could it be that she think of me as someone who bring bad luck because we have been getting screwed over after teaming up? This breath is... Chin Chin Si? Oh boy. 
If I hadn't just mobilized a little of Mara Truchi to search for traces on a whim, I really wouldn't have found her. This location, this distance, she's following me? If I let her follow, it will be troublesome when she sees G.E.E. -E. Should I persuade her to leave or find a way to get rid of her? Wait. Perhaps it would be useful to have her follow along. Father. Why you, you are here. Hmm? Why do you still use Xie Yan's face after entering the cave? Father also knows that it is difficult to find opportunities in this cave, so it is inevitable that I will have to snatch it from others, and I may not have the chance to eliminate the root of the problem, so in order to avoid adding grudges, your son naturally cannot walk in his original form. That's what I mean too, now that Xie Yan has been killed by you, and you are doing well in the M.O. Ching sect, this face has a business value. But why not just put on another face, so you don't get into trouble for being who you are now? My father is right, I have been negligent. G.E.E. -E really has a keen mind and a precise eye. This is the kind of thinking that the vice patriarch of the XINMO sect should have. But my impersonation of G.E. Huayu was flawed, so why was he so naive and gullible about it? Let's not talk about that, father. The great opportunity you speak of, is it the 4th grade Dao Harmony Room? Where is it? Taking advantage of the opportunity of life simulation, I must figure out what GEE -E is up to. Well, in the thick fog on the opposite side of the cliff ahead, 10 miles further, there is a suspended stone platform, which can be used to teleport into the 4th grade secret area of Dao Harmony. In the Demon Cave, innate realm masters can't fly, under normal circumstances, no one will go 10 miles into the fog across the cliff, so it is basically impossible for anyone to find it. It's just a coincidence that for your father. Desire for hearing, attentive listening. Why you, your father said that you should come alone. Why did you bring a companion? Huh? A companion? I didn't bring anyone with me. Very good, GEE -E has really found it too, so next. Xie Yin, this guy, ran away after receiving the Yin Chi communication talisman from the XINMO sect. I didn't expect him to come see GEE, -E, the vice patriarch of the XINMO sect. What are they talking about? It's hard to hear from this far away, but any closer and there's a risk of being discovered. Where did this rat come from? You dare to spy on us secretly. Shield shrouded by dancing butterflies. It's so powerful, it seems that escaping without paying some price is impossible. Vice Sec Master GE, show mercy. Why you? Vice Patriarch GE, this is my wife Shinxi, we were together before, and I think she was following me because she was looking for me, not because she wanted to spy on me. Secret Voice Transmission, Father, this Chin Shinxi has a deep affection for Xie Yan, and I didn't expect her to follow. It's just that this person is still useful, so I can't kill her here. Secret voice transmission, father understands, since she is a useful person for my son, that's all. But, secret voice transmission, why you, didn't you say to me before that in heaven and earth, I'm the only one technique must be exercised in one's original face? Why are you now able to perform it with Xie Yan's face? Secret voice transmission, father, let me explain, how? Are you suspicious now? Secret voice transmission, it seems that during my son's time in the M.O. Ching sect, he has made great progress in his divine technique and has been able to ignore the shackles. Very good, very good. It shows that you did not neglect your training. Father is very pleased. Damn. How did you even learn how to snatch answers? I haven't even opened my mouth to explain it. No, G.E.E. -E is so abnormal, isn't he? With such an obvious inconsistency, even if he can't detect the truth, he should at least ask a few questions. But why does he seem to skip this process directly? If this doesn't even raise his suspicion, do I have to take a big bet? Husband, what is this all about? This, this is the famous magical dignified beauty, right? It's true that meeting the person is better than just hearing about her. Just now, I misunderstood and thought that it was a malicious snitch who was stalking the magical dignified prince. I was a bit impatient, so please don't take offense. 
Vice Patriarch is polite, and although Shinsi followed her husband was just a joke, it was also inappropriate. It's just that my master is very fond of my husband, and I can't help but be a little curious. Why did my husband and the Vice Patriarch meet here? Husband, how did you become acquainted with the Vice Patriarch? In fact, it was not this old man who met the magical dignified prince, but my son Huayu. They did have a fight between each other, but now they have become close friends. I was also asked by my son to take care of Mr. Xie in this cave, and that's why I made the appointment to go with him. Good guy, my convenient dad took the initiative to help me out. Gee, Huayu and Xie Yan did not know each other? Xie Yan must have been involved in the matter of the mysterious Yin fruit at the beginning, but in the end, in the rumors that was spread out to the world, there was no talk about Xie Yan and there was only talk about Ge Huayu. How on earth did he deceive Ge? -E? Or, the deceived person was, no, no, it's too early, it's impossible, if he was really him, many of his actions would be contradictory. Seeing this bitch's expression, disbelief was written all over her face. I don't blame her. My actions are suspicious everywhere, and only those who don't have any doubts really have problems. But what I want is that she doesn't believe it, otherwise how can I explain if she does just believe what I said? In fact, I am here because Vice Patriarch GE has discovered the location of the 4th grade Dao Harmony Chamber and has invited me to join him for this opportunity. Since you are here, why don't you come with me? Secret voice transmission, why you, why did you tell her all this? Don't worry dad, with you here, even if she knew, would she dare to covet it? Since we are already together and can't kill her, it's better to take her with us than to just let her go, with your son here, at least she can stand guard for us for a while. Secret voice transmission, my lady, your husband have not forgotten the interests of the M.O. Ching sect. For this great opportunity, I will take you with me and see if I can get a share for you. Don't you feel touched by my kindness? Secret voice transmission, hmm? My lady, why don't you answer? Ha ha, magical dignified beauty don't have to worry. How can the old man brazenly eavesdrop on the private words between you husband and wife? If you have something to say, you can say it. Since Mr. Xia has said so, we will go together. I'll just walk farther away and you two can whisper behind me. Husband is really good. I didn't expect you to get on the big ship of the XINMO sect. In this case, why did the husband easily give in when the three elders of the XINMO sect came to us earlier? The lady has wronged me, and the relationship between your husband and the GE family's father and son has been kept secret. Those three people don't know, how can they sell me this face? It's just that we husband and wife agreed to work together, why did you turn around and run away? Your husband was almost beaten by the Taoist of Qing Ming Dao who blocked the door. Secret Voice Transmission, Mantra of the Inner Demons of the Six Desires of the XINMO Sect, Desire for Hearing Branch can intercept secret voice transmissions when practiced to its fullest extent, and Deputy Sect Master GE is proficient in Desire for Hearing Branch, you are trying to give me a piece of the pie in front of Vice Patriarch GE, do you want Shinsi to be slapped to death? Secret Voice Transmission, what are you so worried about? I'm here, will I let you be bullied? I'm the one who want to share my part, so it's just a matter of words. Isn't it my husband's fault? If it wasn't for you rushing to activate the Dao Harmony Room, we could wait for him to use up the first empowerment before taking over another opportunity, and we wouldn't waste the two waves on that night wanderer. Secret voice transmission, I don't believe a word of what my husband said, but why didn't GEE -E leave this opportunity to his own son? I don't care if you're lying to me. Don't treat Shinsi like a three years old child. But if you think about it in another way, if not for that, how would I have the opportunity to be contacted by Vice Patriarch GE to go to this legendary fourth grade Dao Harmony Chamber? Secret voice transmission, that's because Vice Patriarch GE appreciates your husband's exceptional talent and appearance. I don't know where GE Huayu is, but he can't just stand by and watch the opportunity go to waste or be taken by someone else, can he? Secret voice transmission, if the husband is unwilling to speak, then Shinsi will no longer accompany you. 
After returning to the M.O. Ching sect, I asked my husband to explain it to Master and to the elders. I just don't know if my husband dares to come back or not. Almost there, this distance, G.E.E. -E can actually still hear us, right? From what he heard, he also felt that G.E. Huayu's identity was under suspicion. I was cornered by Ching Shinsi to silence her she should be killed, or finding a reason to convince her, the next words, if there is no doubt in his heart, it is G.E. Huayu's words to deceive Ching Shinsi in order to tell a lie, and if he has doubts in his heart, it is the testimony of Xie Yan's confession, secret voice transmission, the lady wants to hear the truth, how can your husband hide it from you? It's easy to say. Secret voice transmission, at the time of the Z Blissful Temple incident, I killed G.E. Huayu and replaced him, obtained his skills, and borrowed his face. Now Deputy Sec Master G.E. has regarded me as his own son, naturally willing to share the opportunity with me. Stop. Vice Sec Master G.E. Why did you stop? We reached the place. Eh, it seems that Chinger's birthday is coming soon. Oh no, it should be the anniversary of death, Chinger. Your master will burn you a new dress. Woo woo. Thank you, sir. Master is so kind to Ching. Er, the seventh day of the seventh month in the lunar calendar, Chinger death day. Vice Sec Master G. E. I want to see if he can hear the voice transmission. Secret voice transmission. Why you? What the hell did you say just now? Dad, don't get me wrong. What I said just now was just a pretext for your son to deceive Ching Chingsi. He did hear it. Shouldn't he try to test me without making it obvious and determine my identity first? Why did he ask me directly? And his tone is still. Secret voice transmission, nonsense. Of course your father knew that was a lie. But you actually transmitted your voice to her while I'm near you, and everyone in the world knows my XINMO6 desire for hearing branch ability. If she took the first step to escape because she is scared of your father, how should you deal with it? If she run away, it will be a waste of your time to get this chance. If she doesn't run away, how will you explain it to the people of MO Ching sect in the future? Reckless, adding variables, what are you thinking about? Note, as I understood it, the chance of infiltrating the M.O. Ching sect. We have arrived? I secret voice transmission. I'm just trying to brag in front of her to make her believe in me more. Dad, just pretend you didn't hear it. She has never practiced desire for hearing branch, so how can she know that desire for hearing branch can hear the voice transmission clearly, and besides, whether she has doubts depends on your attitude, Dad. If you calm down, you will naturally dispel her doubts. Sure enough, this is still the tone of reprimanding G.E. Huayu. If he hadn't believed in my identity from the bottom of his heart, G.E.E. -E would not have such an attitude. But even when the truth comes out of my mouth, he still has no doubts? Note, even when he said he killed G.E. Huayu, he still believed that C.A. Yan was just making up the lie. This reaction of G.E.E., -E, that's a bit unusual, isn't it? Is he for real? Or fake. Damn, the system is disabled at this time. If I could tell by emotional feedback, I wouldn't have to be so paranoid. The magical dignified beauty might as well guess where the fourth grade Dao Harmony Room is hidden. Isn't it right there in the fog behind you, Vice Patriarch GE? That's right, it is just up ahead. Right at the end of this thick fog. Believe what one sees, not what one hears. Physical body as texture itself, desire as corruption incarnate, rise of wicked thoughts, overturning of all in the six directions. Desire for touch, heavenly net. That's the entrance to the fourth grade Dao Harmony Room? Mr. Xie, you and the magical dignified beauty can set off first and head for the entrance. Full consumption of the six desires, just in case, I need to arrange a few clones to patrol outside, so that if a master comes, he can be lured away. For demon's initial manifestation. By the way, there's no need to waste true chi leaping here. Just walk over there. What the hell? 
This invisible Qi bridge is the opportunity that leads to the Tao Harmony Room. If this bridge cannot be found, under the suppression of the Demon Cave rules, even innate masters will have to spend a lot of true Qi to cross the Fog Sea, adding variables to the subsequent competition for opportunities in getting the room. Wasn't the founder of this cave a fan of the law of cliff jumping? What kind of person would have to be lucky enough to just find this hidden path? Then we as a couple will go there first. The cloud was dispersed and reappeared not long after. Even if my everlasting dominating fist can also break through the fog and open the sky, if there is no GEE -E to lock the position, even with the orientation and entrance characteristics, it will take a lot of time to find it. It seems that I have been overthinking it before. Fortunately, GEE -E didn't turn his face on the spot, so to be on the safe side, I won't do extra testing now. I'll wait until I find out the details of the 4th grade Dow Harmony Room. Secret Voice Transmission, why you? My convenient dad sound transmission? He is so far away that you can't see him in this fog. This is the unique sound transmission technique of desire for speech. Secret Voice Transmission, your father attitude just now was a bit harsh, so don't take it to heart. GEE -E has really spoiled GE why you? Does the old man have to be so careful even when training his son? Secret voice transmission, it was only in your father's generation that the GE family made its fortune by following sect master Yuan. Although your father has been able to support half of the XINMO sect with his cultivation, compared to those families that have been passed down from generation to generation in the sect and in the martial arts world, we are still lacking in heritage. Secret voice transmission, therefore, your father is cautious and careful in every way, but there are still a lot of hidden arrows. You have been walking around the world for a long time, but you still made such a low-level mistake just now. As a father, I can't help being a little anxious and a little worried. Secret voice transmission, I remember that when you were young, your father told you many times that you must not treat the people around you as fools and underestimate the enemy. Now it seems that you have not changed at all. Holy crap, how does this overlap with the character of the dead thousand faces in a weird way? Secret voice transmission, no change is good. My son will always be reckless and unrestrained. But there will come a time when your father will not be able to look after you, so my son must remember this lesson and never be reckless again. Alas, that day came sooner than you thought. But why does GEE's words sounds weird? Even if you want to teach your son, is it necessary to say it like we are never going to see each other again? Is he telling the truth? Or is it just a scheme? Is it possible that he is worried that he won't be able to catch me and Chin Shinsi outside, so he choose to let us enter the secret realm of the Tao Harmony then show his true colors? It really deserves to be the fourth grade Tao Harmony Room. This is the first time I've seen a proper doorway in the cave. What are you still waiting for, my lady? Let's hurry into the secret realm of the Tao Harmony and see what's new. Husband, Shinsi is thinking, guarding the gate within the secret realm of the Tao Harmony or outside the entrance is the same. Why don't Shinsi stay outside and watch? If there is someone coming, I will notify you as soon as possible. What a silly thing to say. Come here, if you don't see this legendary opportunity with your own eyes, you won't be able to show it off to your fellow clansmen when you get back to the sect. Husband? Hold on. Xie Yin, what the hell are you thinking? You just came in unprepared. The Tao Harmony Secret Realm is sealed off all around, and there is only one entrance and exit. If GEE -E were to attack here, it would be very difficult for the two of us to escape. Also, just now you actually said in front of GEE -E that you killed his son and replaced him. GEE -E is proficient in desire for hearing branch of the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires. What if he hears you? I've been with GEE -E for a long time. I know what he is capable of. Don't worry, my lady. I'm very worried. GEE -E is the vice patriarch of the XINMO sect. To reach that position, he must have used many means, and he must have killed many enemies. 
You are wrong. If you think you can play GEE -E in the palm of your hands, it's too dangerous. Let's not talk about whether your actions will make the XINMO sect think that we, the MO Ching sect, are the ones who ordered you to do this and that it will bring harm to the sect. Xia Yin, you are always cautious and leave yourself plenty of room for maneuver. Why have you acted so recklessly since you met GEE? -E? What the hell is going on with you? Are you deliberately seeking death? This, I'm really thinking about dying right now. What are you doing here? The Dao Harmony Room is not at the entrance. He just left the exit open and went ahead? Is it really as Xia Yin said, he didn't plan to attack us? Or is the real danger further ahead? With Ge Yi's cultivation, the moment when he first entered the Dao Harmony Room was the best time for an opportunity, and the variables would only increase as he went on. In this case, does he really have no doubts, or does he have bigger plans for me? This is the legendary innate fourth layer guard puppet. Fortunately, Deputy Sec Master GE is here. Otherwise, even if the lady and I discovered this opportunity, I am afraid we would not be able to deal with it. This feeling is not weaker than GEE -E at all. Forget it for now. How should I deal with this guy when I come alone after the life simulation? Should I ask the Great Elder for help? Not to mention the question of whether or not I'm able to find her, I really don't want to share the opportunity with that old woman. At the same time, Deputy Daoist Master, Shir Taipu, Innate Fourth Layer, GEE, -E, you are really good. In order to avoid me, you really can think of anything. Are you trying to hide in the fog and bypass me? No, staying in the fog for too long. Are there footholds in there? Zhao Shir's debt will be repaid sooner or later by your father and son. You don't need to deal with it. Just go directly to the Dao Harmony Room for empowerment. This puppet will not attack any of us. The puppet won't attack? Why is it staying here? To be a target? It is not wrong to say that it is a target. Even if this puppet is beaten, it will not fight back. It's just that it still has the strength of the innate fourth layer. Even if I take a shot, I have to spend some energy to remove it. We don't need to add trouble. Just leave it alone. It really is, if you follow the behavior of the high-level puppet before, let alone standing beside it now, it should be madly attacking us before we even get this close. It's just this shape, this momentum doesn't seem like a decoration at all, why is it? Hum? That's, the aura of the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires? How could this puppet have such a thing? Desire for sight visualization. Could it be that? Sure enough. This puppet had been infiltrated by a powerful Six Desires demonic chi. This was probably the reason why the original behavioral pattern had been rewritten and turned into its present non-aggressive state. Is this the arrangement GEE -E made in advance? No, if he had the time to set up this kind of sophisticated manipulation of true chi, wouldn't it be better to just dismantle the puppet? Besides, there was no sign of damage on the puppet. Could GEE -E really have done that? Vice Patriarch GE, this puppet. Not good. Someone is coming outside. GEE, -E, come out. Crush it. GEE, -E, your son killed my Chung Ling Dao Daoist master's son. This old man is going to kill you today to pay for Zhao Shi's life. It's Chung Ling Dao's deputy Daoist master, Shi Tai Piu. Chung Ling Dao? How can it be so coincidental? Can they discover us even before the activation of the Dao Harmony Room? I don't know why, the, but when we met in the Heavenly Cave, that Shir Tai Piu looked like he had to fight me to the death and chased me again and again. I thought I had completely lost this guy, but he still found me. It seems that he has probably planted some kind of tracking technique on me. Note, before I used either the Demon Cave or just the cave. While I did miss some, and it should be the original Heavenly Demon Cave or Heavenly Cave. Sorry about that. Uh, ah this. The words and actions of the man are still about the grudge of Zhao Shi's death. 
It was already explained to the Taoist master before, but now it seems that someone is stirring things up again. If I find out who it is, I'll have his skin and bones ripped from his body and soul. The culprit, Yin Ryu, Ah Yin Ryu, just make sure you don't let GEE -E know about your involvement in this. I'm going out now to steer him away, otherwise it will be troublesome to let him know that there is a Tao Harmony room here. This guy is very strong, and I don't know if I can get rid of him and come back in a short time. If the opportunity of the Tao Harmony Room is dragged on for a long time, there will inevitably be other variables. Xie Yin, you don't have to wait for me. After about half an hour, I will drag Shi Taipu away, and you will activate the Tao Harmony Room. The strange foggy sea environment here will block the maximum amount of light from the activation of the Tao Harmony Chamber, so unless the chamber have already been identified, it will be difficult to detect it even if you are standing at the edge of the cliff. As long as I lure Shir Taipu away, no one should be able to find out that you have activated the room. Only. Secret voice transmission, Huai Yu, you have to remember that whether it's a chance or the M.O. Ching sect, it's not as important as your life. When your father is not here, if there is a strong enemy looking for this place, you should retreat and save yourself and wait for your father to come back. Secret voice transmission there is also Qin Xingxi, the opportunity is ahead, and she may not stay still without extra thoughts. Her realm is higher than yours, so just in case it is better to promise her the second empowerment, it will make her not having other thoughts and let her guard the gate for you. Secret voice transmission, don't worry father, this child knows. Qin Xingxi has been devoted to your son for a long time and will not betray me so easily. This GEE -E really considered every detail for GE Huayu. If he can achieve this step, plus all the previous things, either he has identified me as GE Huayu. Secret voice transmission, you should always be wary of others. Remember, our GE family only believes in blood relatives. Other than that, precautions are required. Or he is still trying to reassure me, but he actually has bigger plans for me. Pigs should be fattened before they are slaughtered. Could it be that? Snatching my body? Either he takes my body, or he has some remnants of GE Huayu soul or something. When the time is right, let his real son come back to life in my body. Ah, oh, my convenient dad, what are you thinking? Never mind. When the time comes, I'll just admit to his face that I'm a fake and see what he does. So whatever he's thinking, he'll have to flip his cards. I have a huge gain in this life simulation, but I always feel as if something is missing. Husband, isn't it time for you to talk? Shinsi is still waiting for her husband to tell her the truth. Ah, forgot that there is this too. Half an hour later, so, at the Blissful Temple incident, after you killed G.E. Huayu, you planned to pretend to be him to deal with Lu Ching Mei, but you accidentally met with G.E.E. -E and had made him think that the current Xie Yin was also G.E. Huayu, and you've been watched by him ever since? Yes, I had no choice but to do so. Every step is forced by circumstances. I'm just a small man and alone. What else can I do but resign myself to go with the flow? Husband is concerned about him being alone. Why didn't you tell the sect about it? At least you can tell me and my master. At the very least, if I had known that my husband's identity was sensitive, Shinsi will not follow her husband rashly to not increase other variables. My lady, haven't you ever heard of a secret that two people know is not a secret? I have to be very careful when I'm dealing with a tiger. How can you say the words careful and cautious when you said outside, in the presence of the old man, that you killed his son? No matter what, in the end I won the bet. GEE -E has even given me this great opportunity with confidence and has no doubt. You let down your guard so easily? Why do I think he actually has a bigger plot for you? After returning to the sect, go to my master and check your body carefully. I don't think GEE -E is such a simple character. In addition, the half hour that GEE -E said has passed, what are you still standing there for? Hurry into the Tao Harmony Room to receive the empowerment. I'm surprised you didn't take it from me. Are you still afraid of an ambush and just want me to test if there is any? Husband, do you really think that your wife is stupid? 
A DAO Harmony Room can only be used twice, and GEE -E is obviously reserved it for himself and you. My lady really knows what she's doing. This time, Shinsi gave up her chance for the sake of her husband and didn't look for it. She stayed here and had to face the powerful enemies that might appear after activating the Dao Harmony Room. Shinxi is willing to do things that benefit her husband. I hope that in the future, my husband can remember what Shinxi did today and stop doing the kind of treachery things like before. It's true, she's totally involved in this because of me. She's wasting her time here with me instead of looking for her own chance. Damn, thinking about it like this, I think I've gone too far. Luckily, this is just a simulation world, but this bitch is very shrewd. I can't really tell if she's being genuine or if she's deliberately putting it out there to make me feel guilty. Of course I will remember my lady goodness. Don't worry, if I finish the initiation and GEE -E did not come back yet, the lady can go in directly and I will replace my lady in grading. Forget it, this argument doesn't matter. I'll just assume she's telling the truth. Anyway, this is just the simulation world. You really think GEE -E has no temper hurry up and go inside, stop talking nonsense. I'm telling the truth, GEE -E gave me this permission before he left. Many thanks then. Hmm, they are all the same kind of people. From a distance, I can feel that there are masters fighting here. One of the auras is very similar to GEE, -E, but I am not sure. The disputes in the Heavenly Cave are all caused by the Dao Harmony Room, and two fourth layer masters are fighting. Is it possible that it is a high grade Dao Harmony Room that has not been used up yet? Desire for sight, evil eyes patrolling the heavens, while they are far away, I can take advantage of the situation. See if there are any suspicious signs within a 10 mile radius. Hold on. That's. Why is there some golden light coming through that cloud? Could it be that there is still a sun in this heavenly cave? Is it obscured by the clouds? Wait. Golden light. This guy Xia Yin has too many secrets. And he has been acting more and more recklessly recently. If it goes on like this, it is very likely that he will implicate the sect. Someone is coming. The golden light outside was obscured by the sea of fog. If this old man hadn't had the will to search with the desire for sight secretly, I'm afraid he would have missed this opportunity. Wonderful, wonderful, looking at the appearance of this puppet, it is really a fourth grade Dao Harmony room. Hey, this puppet is obviously intact, but it can't move. Why does it still have the aura of the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires, such an exquisite method? That's Su Min, the vice patriarch of the XINMO sect? Damn it, did this place become the XINMO sect's nest today? It's okay that it is unable to move, it helps to save this old man's strength. This scene is a bit weird, but it doesn't matter, there are only two juniors here, even if there are masters outside, even if the master is GEE, -E, it doesn't matter, I will grab the Dao Harmony Room first, if it is someone who I can't handle later. I will just leave. If I'm not mistaken, you are the famous magical dignified beauty? It is true what the rumors say. The beauty is as beautiful as jade, with a dark fragrance that fills her sleeves. If this place was Yudu, the old man should hold a big banquet in the Hung Wang Pavilion and invite celebrities from all over the world to write poems and lyrics for the magical dignified beauty so as to live up to this beautiful appearance. I just don't know if the magical dignified beauty can give this Dao Harmony Room to this old man. My husband, Xie Yin, who is having empowerment in the Dao Harmony Room, is not to be underestimated. There is another innate fourth layer senior who is protecting us outside and will return at any time. There are rumors that the two vice patriarchs of the XINMO sect are at odds with each other. So if I mention GEE's name directly, I'm afraid it will backfire. Vice Patriarch Su. You are a highly skilled martial artist, so why do you need to force yourself into this place? That's it. That's really a pity. Although I am reluctant to do us so, but this old man can only bully the young this time. From visible form to invisible one, such a strange movement. But 
for demon's manifestation, angry demon, you are still inexperienced. The attack of the innate fourth layer is not easy to dispel. If I continue to fight, it won't be long before I get injured. Xia Yin also didn't give any real benefits. It is really not worth it. Never mind, two more moves. I'll call him out if things don't go right. Innate finger of flowery sword bending and turning it as one pleases. Husband, why did you come out? Of course, I was worried that my lady is being bullied. I didn't have any time inside and Su Min already showed up, and hoping that this bitch would stay guard for me for a long time is absurd. There is no way I can break through the bottleneck in that amount of time. Anyway, it's almost certain that the harvest of the simulation world's enlightenment will not be brought back to reality, and my plan this time was only to flip the table in front of GEE -E at the end. In this case, let's kill Su Min this old thing. Hmm? This. Primordial spirit self-destruction. The breath and power of this explosion, why does it seem familiar? Innate withering of the hundred flowers forging into one. Secret voice transmission, husband, why are you still fighting? Even if we hold off Su Min for a longer time, we won't get any benefit. Why don't we just withdraw from here and wait for GEE -E to return? Who says there's no benefit? I'll hold Su Min here while you take the opportunity to go in for the empowerment. Isn't that the greatest benefit? Finger of flowery sword. Sword gives rise to the primordial spirit. Desire for smell, spirit extinguishing breath. Husband, you're not kidding, are you? What joke? Your husband mean it from the bottom of his heart. Hey, I will see if this bitch have any shame at all. Well, when you think about it, with husband's ability to survive, it doesn't matter if it's just a delay. One more or one less Shinsi, there is no difference. In this case, Shinsi is disrespectful. Damn, this bitch really went in? Wasn't she worried that I'd just give up? Forget it. I'll give her compensation for being dragged into this whirlpool for nothing. Now let me play with Su Min for a while, just to test how deep this guy's water is. This old man remembers, back then, it was this kind of aura that blew up my black tortoise puppet in Yudu River. It turns out that the guy who pretended to be G.E. Huayu and infiltrated the XIN MO sect to plot mischief is you, magical dignified Prince C.A. Yan. Now that you know, Deputy Sect Master Su dares to hold my primordial spirit in his hand? Do you think you can still manipulate it after being struck by my spirit extinguishing breath? Fatty Sue really has a lot of tricks, just now I couldn't even explode the primordial spirit. I have more than one score to settle with you, and I'll go to the M.O. Ching sect sooner or later to pay it back. Now let this old man send you out. Hell Demonic Flame, this is? It's kind of weird that it can actually burn my true chi. Since I can't beat you with finger of flowery sword, let's try my true art of Mara. Last time, the battle in the river of Yudu wasn't finished, Vice Patriarch Su, let's have a good fight today, and fight to the death. The form has changed greatly, and even the essence of his true chi has been upgraded to the innate third layer in an instant? What kind of martial arts is this? However, to dare play the avatar technique in front of my XINMO sect, simply displaying one slight skill before an expert in the same skill. Full consumption of the six desires for demon's initial manifestation. The last one. Again with this evil fire? Look at the old man refining you. Everlasting dominating fist. Damn. You're so thick-skinned, Fatty Sue. You have a strong body. This move is all based on the power of the flesh. By the way, that fake GE Huai use Kung Fu. Take another one of my friendly face-breaking punches. In heaven and earth. I'm the only one. Angry Demon. 
It was a clone? How is that possible? Very good. The real and fake body of the five Mara clones can be switched at will to cooperate with the everlasting dominating fist, and it's a great way to beat people up. Unfortunately, the fake body is just some kind of condensed body of Mara's true chi, so performing the everlasting dominating fist is impossible, otherwise I would be invincible. Everlasting style, flowing dragon swift onslaught. What a great fight. However, five Mara clones is easy to use and works well, but it consumes too much Mara's true chi. This guy Su Min is too strong, and Hell Demonic Flame can't provide me energy from him, so if we keep fighting, the true chi in the Six Desire Pill will be consumed, and it won't be enough for me to fight against GEE. -E. It is better to return to the normal state. Blue Dragon Swift plus 14 Deep Penetration Shit! What is this move that Fatty Su used? It feels like the earth has been turned up. It's so damn thick, I can't even get through it with four deep penetration. It's impossible to fight it. This fatty Sue is still very powerful. Except for my desperate moves, my mains are almost exhausted, but he is obviously only just starting out. As expected, sure enough, there is no suspense in winning or losing. Ah, uh, my lady, are you awake? Didn't the husband say that he was going to drag on for Shinsi? How did you end up lying down here in the blink of an eye? This is because your husband can't hold on anymore, so I'm here to invite the lady out. What about my husband's finger of Nirvana? Now that you have already started, relying on this trick to stalk for time, can't you drag it on for a while longer? How dare you punk deceive me? This old man doesn't want this first demonic epiphany, essence the five dragons, palace dragon transformation, let me first start by crushing you little troublemaker to death here. Secret voice transmission, husband, did you really hurt Su Min? How can I hurt him with such a difference in realm? It's just that Fatty Su has a good face, and he can't stand being beaten by someone. But seeing how angry he is, I'm afraid it's going to be even harder to deal with. Secret voice transmission, the person he wants to deal with is you, and it has nothing to do with Shinsi. My lady, you won't leave your husband alone, will you? Secret voice transmission, that's all, but this is a chance that my husband has given to me, so I'll do this game with my husband, so I won't owe him anything. Secret of joy technique scales and spirit disintegrate. My Palace Dragon Desire for Smell Refined Divine Essence Silence What about the treacherous movement? Watch this old man exhaust your true chi. See Yan? Damn it, he's so quick that the angry demon can't catch up. These two, one is strong and one is soft, each with their own method, and if they cooperate with each other, the more ones fight the more ones get trapped. I have to operate them. Desire for sight, evil I confounding realm. This strength. This touch. It's not Su Min. Just one contact and they immediately backed off. What a quick response. However, if you are caught by the evil I confounding realm, you will only recognize each other as this old man. Let's see how you can still cooperate. Emerge, don't hurt my C-A-N. G-E-E? -E? You. Sure enough, G-E-E -E and they are all the same side. Vice Sec Master G-E. -E. Let the three of us join forces to kill this ignorant old man for no more trouble in the future. God is helping me too, G-E-E -E came back just in time. This time, let me blow all the thunder out in one go. A hero should not suffer a loss. This old man will go first. G-E-E, -E, you dare to collude with outsiders and murder your fellow clansmen? Ignorant old man, there is nothing you can say that will change the fact that you will be buried here today. 
Is this GE Yi's plan to join forces with the M.O. Ching sect to finish me off? Does this guy even know that his son was impersonated by Yen Xie? Secret of Joy Technique, Flowery Field Everlasting Dominating Fist Desire for Sight Evil Eye Confounding Realm, it's these two stinky bastards again. Strange, the last strike didn't feel right? Huh? When did the change take place? That's enough, don't make any trouble. Take Chin Shinsi and guard the entrance. That old man Su Min is very slippery. Don't let him slip away. This is the best chance to kill him. Oh. Unconsciously, I fell into Su Min's trap again. This guy is really awesome, but it's okay. I just want to save some physical strength and prepare for further thunderstorms in the future. Let's go guard the gate, my lady. Husband, what's the point of killing Su Min? It's totally unnecessary. My lady, you don't understand. I have a deep hatred with this old guy, and it is just the right opportunity to kill him. GEE, -E, the Dao Harmony Room has already been activated. Do you intend to waste this chance just to bother me? From the day you bullied my son in the sect hall, you and I will keep fighting until one of us die. Bullying your son? That's funny. Your son is just, shut up. No birth, no living. Desire for speech death, no life, no death. G-E-E, -E, you actually used the desire for speech death curse on me. Shit, I was waiting for Su Min to expose me completely. Why did you interrupt him? Convenient dad, it's even more suspicious. I told you, I'll kill you today. Desire for smell refined divine essence. Poisonous breath again. Illusory bodies by the combination of the five desires. Full consumption of the six desires for demons' initial manifestation. One, two, three, four. Burst. And one more, eh? Desire for smell body schism essence. It is useless to entangle. I'll go first. The shame of today will be repaid in the future. These two people again. Hateful. Old Dog Su, if you bully Ji -E Huai Yu, it is the same as your bullying me Xie Yan, you can't escape today. Vice Patriarch Ji -E, catch. Xie Yan. Ji -E -E, do you believe in Xie Yan so much? Do you know that this guy has been impersonating your son? Old man, what are you talking about? What does the magical dignified Prince Xie Yan have to do with my son Huayu? He just formed an alliance with my GE family and is here today to kill you. Su Min, you are also a master, so don't play your mere divisive scheme. You can't leave today. You will die. Good, very good, GEE. -E, you are very good at pretending to be crazy. You said this old man can't leave. This old man will leave now to show you. Essence of the Five Dragons, Escape in the Feather Dragon's Form. What's that? Let's stop it first. Ineffective, ineffective, huh, the true Chi attack actually penetrated directly, what a strange move. Shit, I can't so stop it. He's getting away. Trouble, this Su Min guy is too slippery. He's not fighting GEE -E at all. He is determined to escape. If this goes on, there's no way I'll have a chance to make a profit. This ignorant old man can't escape. What? He can actually touch my current body form? GEE -E has practiced the desire for touch to such a high level? Damn it. In my current state, although I can ignore most attacks, but I'm incapable of breaking out by force at all. Hateful, in the state of the escape skill, it is not possible to stop GEE -E moves in the other state. I'm being blocked by those juniors guarding the gate. Essence of the five dragons, palace dragon transformation. If I can't divide them, the old man may not be able to leave this place safely. GEE, -E, don't think I didn't know that you were just covering for that kid CAN. In your heart you know everything, and everything is clear, but you still pretend not to know in front of him. 
You know he's not your son at all. C.A.N. doesn't know G.E. why he used martial arts. His story of a fortuitous encounter excuse doesn't have enough credibility at all. The last time he returned to the XINMO sect, everything he said and did was odd. One look and you'd know the truth. That kid even admitted frankly in front of this old man that your son is the wretch whose face has been taken away by the murderer. Rather than taking revenge and killing the murderer, you are still here trying to find trouble with this old man. You should be ashamed of being a stupid father. The ignorant old man just keeps saying nonsense. G.E. Yee's reaction, he's determined to keep pretending? What are you plotting? Does Sia Yin have what you want? Mysterious technique? M.O. Ching sect? Or do you want to make him a puppet to take revenge? I know you too well, G.E.E. -E. You are not the kind of person who can endure blood feud for the sake of the overall situation. If you don't take care of C.A.N. now, is it because you have a deeper and more sinister plan, so you act as if you really take him as your son, but when you finally do, I'm afraid C.A.N. won't even have a bone left. How can even Sue Min know the details of my husband? How careless was he when he was outside? The actual fact that Su Min has revealed everything, even if G.E.E. -E really wants to pretend, I don't believe that my husband can have no doubts. Once Su Min is taken care of, G.E.E. -E may not make a direct move against us, or maybe we should take advantage of it now. This bitch is probably thinking of withdrawing again, isn't she? If it wasn't for life simulation, I might have been just as worried as she is. But now, Su Min's good move fell on the empty chessboard. Sia Yin didn't respond at all. Did he really think that G.E.E. -E was treating him as his own son? Damn it. Both of them are crazy. Their brains are not normal. Sia Yin. What are you waiting for? Don't forget the deal between you and the old man on Hung Wang Pavilion. Help the old man kill G.E.E. -E here, and the rest of the Five Desires Cultivation Method will be given to you immediately. Your nonsense is endless. Shut up, ignorant old man. Burning the heart and destroying the thoughts, seeing the barriers of the five desires as if nothing? This is Desire for Thinking Cultivation Method? GEE, -E, you, you dare to rebel and commit crimes of stealing and learning the desire for thinking branch. Sec Master, Sec Master will not spare you after he knows. It's not good. The five desires cultivation method natural restraint is the desire for thinking branch. The more we fight, the more I will be in disadvantage. As long as you are killed, who will know about it? I must find a way to flee otherwise my life will be in danger. G.E.E., -E, you have guts. Since it comes to this, I will perish together with you. Desire for smell heart eating essence. Melting and eroding the soul and the spirit, nothing is left untouched. What an overpowering poisonous breath, as expected Su Min still has tricks to play. This old bastard is using clones again. My lady, let's blow them up together, and don't leave anyone behind. Bending and turning it as one pleases, butterfly dance flowery play. What the hell? Why is it that the more we break, the more clones we have? Don't take action without special means. The more you destroy this clones, the more they multiply. This is Su Min unique supreme skill, desire for smell rioting crowds of bodies. Vice Sec Master GE is really powerful. My lady and I did destroy Su Min's clones, but the more we break, the more clones there is. It's really bad. What's going on here? How can we tell which one is the real one? It's normal that you don't know about it. Rioting crowds of bodies is Su Min's masterpiece in his years of immersion in the desire for smell. Even the patriarch was impressed by it. One give birth to two, two give birth to four, and so on endlessly. I wonder how did he accomplish practicing this trick? If this trick is performed outside, it would be the perfect escape method. Unfortunately, this is the secret realm of the Tao Harmony, so as long as you hold the exit, no matter how many clones he splits into, he will be just delaying his death. This guy can also split his own clones by beating himself. It's not so easy to catch him out for a while, and as time goes by, I'm afraid. 
who sound go through. The consumption of this repeated round of battles is too much, and after the use of the desire for smell rioting crowds of bodies, I'm already feeling the lack of chi. But the good thing is that they have still been fooled. Essence of the Five Dragons, to use Shine Dragon conceals its traces alone to hide from GEE -E is not safe, but with the many clones holding him back, I'll show you what this old man is like. Shang Dragon conceals its traces. After leaving the original demon heavenly cave, this old man must report this matter to the sect master. GEE -E secretly practiced the desire for thinking branch cultivation method, which is a sin of treason. No matter how the sect master doesn't care about the common affairs, he will never let him go. Pretty good way of thinking. Using clones to make chaos, and then hide and escape quietly. Unfortunately. First transforming your clones. Second destroying your escaping form. My cover was seen through? That's Su Min? No, he's running away. But the exit is right in front of me, and this time it's not a state where I can't break out by force like the escape in the Feather Dragon's form, so GEE -E can't stop me even if he used that move. The voice suddenly disappeared? Is it a trick of the desire for hearing branch? Is it from Su Min? No, it doesn't look like it, so it's GEE. -E. As soon as he took a shot, all the clones were destroyed, and Su Min was forced back. But just for a moment, why did I feel a chilling aura from GEE? -E? GEE -E specifically blocked the voice. What does he want to hide? E? E? What Su Min blurted out just now shouldn't be the name of my convenient dad. Could it be a secret about the desire for thinking branch? Note, the first E is, the second is, they have different meaning. The XINMO sex methods are really weird and unpredictable. If we were targeted instead of Su Min, it would have been difficult to escape as well. Xie Yin still looks like he wants to see what's going on. He really doesn't take our situation seriously. It's really dangerous. If it weren't for this king's quick action, you would have revealed my identity in one sentence. This place will add two more casualties. Or, was it your intention that you just want to kill these two juniors? But taking a closer look, Su Min, you are really old. When we met last time, you looked like a gentleman with a flower pin. How come you are so fat now? Hmm? What is the meaning of this? This old man, no, this little one never imagined that it was really you. You actually took advantage of GE Yi's body to return to the world. The XINMO sect will be delighted to hear of this. I'm sure they will be overjoyed to welcome you back. Smile. Over the years, you have become more alert. With a casual remark, you have guessed that my memory is still stuck in the past, and I would only think that you are still the same handsome young man who has just entered the XINMO sect, and that you are still a good disciple whom this king values and cultivates, and still wouldn't notice that, at that time of the civil strife in the XINMO sect, you were one of those who followed Yuan Sheng and betrayed this king. This. Could it be that it is from GEE Yi's memory? In the past, this old man was also forced and without any choice. Yuan Sheng was ruthless, and those who did not obey all died at his hands. Even today, there are still many people in the sect who hold grudges and still remember the hatred of the past. Now you are back, as soon as you get up to the top, you will definitely have a lot of followers. At this time, you called yourself old man, are you trying to imply that you are no longer a lowly junior, but the vice patriarch of the XINMO sect, and that you are still of some use to me? Sure enough, I can't hide it from your eyes. It's just what this old man said, every sentence, is from the bottom of my heart. Yuan Sheng has been doing things unfairly in recent years, blindly favoring that GEE, -E, and this old man has no intention of serving him. After leaving the heavenly cave this time, I will never stand on his side again. Leaving the heavenly cave? Do you think this king will let you leave alive and report to Yuan Sheng Shower? If you don't believe me, this old man is willing to make the XINMO great oath. From now on, I will never be your enemy. If this king still have his original body and his strength has not been reduced, naturally I wouldn't mind serving as a branch for you to perch on. 
But now I am only at the innate fourth layer. Even if I replant the XINMO seal, Yuan Sheng can easily crack it. Not to mention the mere XINMO Great Oath. But this king is not an unsympathetic person. I think you have worked for the XINMO sect for many years, and I can give you a chance. Dissipate your body protecting true chi, open your divine will barrier, put your soul life and death in the palm of this king. If you can do that, this king can make an exception and trust you again. This is fine. This old man will put his life and death in your hands to show his sincerity. Palace Dragon Transformation Su Min Ah Su Min, I gave you a chance, unfortunately, you gave it up yourself. What a joke. You just want me to put down my resistance and be at your disposal like a sheep or a cow waiting to be slaughtered. If this old man thinks about it, it's difficult to escape from the control of the desire for thinking branch, and victory or defeat is only in an instant. Either way, I will die. I might as well just fight you to death. Transforming Desire for smell, essence of a thousand deaths, desire for touch, myriad transformations extermination. Su Min's tricks keep coming out one after the other, it's set endless. However, Ge Yi's strength is far beyond my expectations, this time, being able to see this many unique skills of them fighting for real, it's a really a big game. My lady, where are you going? Husband, the strongest moves of an innate fourth layer are very powerful, so you and I will withdraw from the secret realm of the Tao Harmony for a while, and when Vice Patriarch G.E. has killed Su Min, he will come out to look for us. I feel that the general situation is a bit wrong although I couldn't hear the sound, G.E.E., -E, and Su Min's behavior was strange everywhere, not like a simple infighting in the sect. This is, desire for touch branch trick? G.E.E. -E even had the time to seal the exit while he was fighting Su Min. Sure enough, he was also on guard against us. This place is dangerous. We must find an opportunity to escape. After so many years, your strength is indeed not what it used to be. It's just that you can't escape death in the end. Now that you have exhausted your body and all your means, you completely lack the strength to resist at this moment. It's time to refine you and restore the power of this king. Desire for thinking so. Burning flames. Burning fire with thoughts. All thoughts turn to ashes. Yi Dao Chi, do you think you are going to win? This is what this old man was waiting for. Not good. It's too late to run away. You've refined this old man's body. Our breath has been mixed together. You can't escape. Six Desires Forbidden Mode, Deadly Demon by the Sacrifice of Blood and Soul. This is, Deadly Demon by the Sacrifice of Blood and Soul. Su Min can actually summon the Deadly Demon among the four demons of the Six Desires. Yi Dao Chi, this old man can't control this Deadly Demon at all. Once it comes out, it will destroy all creatures that are infected with my breath. Good luck. Damn. Su Min has gotten in the way. I haven't regained my realm yet, so I must retrieve most of my myriad transformations demonic body to resist this. Go, quickly go. This is Su Min's voice. It's this old man move. It can't stop him for too long. Run away. Otherwise, we'll all die here. You think I'll leave just like that? I also want to see what G.E.E.'s true intentions are. Speaking of Su Min, is this ghost attachment to the body? It doesn't seem like it. How come Ching'er didn't react either? Uh, my lady? Husband, don't be stupid. Take advantage of the current blockade True Chi weakening on the door, and let's leave quickly. Don't say that this opportunity is rare. The current situation is unpredictable, and Shinsi will not accompany you to take any more risks. Offset, I can't believe it didn't break. Even if this desire for touch branch true chi is weakened, it is still strong. Sure enough, G.E.E. -E really want to keep us here. T.C.H., this bitch has a strong personality. Even if I lied to her that I have a way to deal with G.E.E., -E, she would probably force me to leave. 
if I insist on staying and argued with her, I am afraid that GEE -E will be more careful, but now it's clear that there's something wrong with GEE, -E. there is another inexplicable Su Min on my body, I really don't want to be ashamed of slipping away like this. Us the in this situation, GEE -E still has a way to block us. The blockade on the door is not so easy to break, it is too late. Got it. Everlasting dominating fist, my lady, quickly. Go all out. Enchanting spiritual twins, all right. Husband, let's go. Don't mind me. I can get out of here. My lady, you just go. Although I brought it on myself, but the bitch really didn't come back. This is really what fake couple are. What the hell was I expecting? And this ball, I thought I was going to be pulled right in front of GEE. -E. Instead, I saw something like this. Could it be that GEE -E is inside? It seems that the two types of true chi are dissipating each other, and it is not easy for the convenient dad to win. Stupid. Stupid, idiot, stupid. This old man was still expecting to escape with you. I didn't expect you to end up helping Chin Chinsi's escape. That's that, but why don't you struggle even a bit? What about you're in heaven and earth, I'm the only one? Su Min? I thought it was just an illusion. Are you a human or a ghost now? Why are you sticking to me? It doesn't matter whether I'm a person or a ghost, what matters is how to escape from this place. If it were not for you body having that faint alcohol pheromone of mine to draw me, this old man would have escaped from this place long ago. Why should he be imprisoned with you? Xie Yin, listen carefully. Now that person has not regarded you as a threat yet, he will continue acting in front of you. You need to do the same by acting as your act of GE Huai Yu. As long as you don't expose this old man and pretend you don't know anything, you can find an opportunity to leave. Leave? If I wanted to leave, why would I need to be dragged back on purpose? But listening to Su Min's tone, there must be a huge secret. Let's squeeze some information out of the fat man first. You are the one who wants to escape, not me. Just now, you didn't even get GEE -E to make a move on me with all that talk, so what do I have to worry about? I might as well stay here and continue my Tao Harmony anointment with peace of mind. You... You are so stupid. This kid, is he really clueless or is he just trying make me talk? No matter what, it doesn't look like he is siding with that person. That being the case, do you think that man is still GEE? -E? The real GEE -E has been taken over long ago. And the person who took over him is. You suddenly run away. Dad didn't have time to call out to you, so I had to use this method to pull you back. Why you? What are you trying to do? You let your father worry at such a critical juncture. There's nothing I could do about it, Dad. Your unparalleled skill and the strength you have displayed frightened Chin Chinxi. She has been uneasy in her heart, and with you sealing the door, she believes that this place is dangerous. If your son doesn't help with a few punches, I'm afraid it will make her suspicious and it will be detrimental to my follow-up business in the M.O. Ching sect. What do you know? Although Su Min's last move was to let us die both together, there was still a remnant ray of his soul left behind. The remnant soul cannot survive for a long time and must be lodged in a living person nearby. I blocked the exit just to prevent him and the two of you from escaping. Huh? So that's how it is. There is nothing unusual about your son, so it seems that Su Min must have boarded with Chin Chinsi. Father, let's chase her out now. That's all, it is his fate that he didn't die. After the move he made, Su Min's cultivation will be dissipated, and he will no longer be a threat. It's just that after fighting for so long, this demonic epiphany was wasted in vain. While the anointment is not over yet, why you, hurry in and continue. Since you said so, then this child will have this anointment. Go, go. But why you, you should be aware of one thing. The original demonic epiphany anointment is transmitted to the soul, but not to the body. Once there are two souls in the Tao Harmony Room, the anointment will be interrupted by itself. 
This is also the reason why anyone who breaks into the Tao Harmony Room will wake up the person who is having an anointment. What's the matter? Why you, you go in. Or, is Su Min's remnant soul really on you? Looking at your meticulous pretense and concealed vigilance. What did that old guy say to you? He said that you are not G-E-E, -E, but... The cultivation genius who was still at the innate fourth layer realm and was able to create a new version of the sex fundamental core technique, mantra of the inner demons of the six desires, was the rise of a cultivation genius. The one who single-handedly brought the XINMO sect to the high position of being the second ranked demonic sect. Using the XINMO seal to control the disciples, mocking people's hearts and despising all living beings, he ruled the sect for more than 20 years. But in the end, he was abandoned by his own disciples and the entire sect, and died at the hands of Yuan Shang, the former patriarch of the XINMO sect, E. Dao Shir. Did he even tell you that? It seems that Su Min really wants to die with you, or maybe he really believes that you are capable of leaving this place. If it weren't for him hiding in the depths of your soul, I would have liked to ask this question myself. Is Sek Master Yi saying that he is planning to pull Su Min out of me? I don't know where he is hiding, he hasn't moved at all since a while ago. There is no need to rush. Although Su Min is not dead, but his cultivation base is completely lost, the oath between this king and G.E.E. -E has been fulfilled. Since Su Min is still in the secret area of Tao Harmony, then this king should also get G.E.E.'s remaining memories too. These memories, not right, these thoughts, could it be that, puff? Ha ha, G.E.E. -E a G.E.E., -E, you really left a big joke for this king. Even this king did not expect it to be so absurd. It turns out, you are really not G.E. Huayu. In the end, I was discovered, but why is it at this time? According to him, it was at this point that he assimilated G.E.'s memories, but... Are you confused? Do you want to say that they are the same memories, but why is it clear to this king at a glance, and G.E.E. -E is always in a puzzle? Fine, it's a pity that I'm the only person in this room that is entertained by such jokes, so I'll explain a few things to you. My XINMO sect cultivates the six desires path, all of which are based on the desire to enter the Tao and sharpen oneself. Although the desire for thinking branch unite and lead the five desires, the root and origin are the same, those who practice it must experience the washing of thousands of thoughts before they can see the secrets of the technique. In order to help the practice, the disciples who want to get started must cast the demon heart and transform the mind wedge. This wedge is a thought and the foundation of the entire technique. As long as the wedge is still there, no matter how many thoughts are surging, you can be reassured with one thought. Throughout history, every practitioner of the desire for thinking has chosen a grand plan or an ambition or an egotistic desires as their peg, all about oneself without exception. But because the thinking wedge is tied to it, it is the lifeblood of the cultivation method, and there is no room for mistakes. However, can you imagine what thought was said as the mind wedge when G.E.E. -E practiced the desire for thinking branch? G.E. Huayu? He has set his love for his son as a mind wedge. No matter how much he practices, no matter how many different thoughts he has, this is the only one that does not change. Conversely, it is precisely because of this thought that all other thoughts will be diverted by it. As long as there is anything about his son, the desire for thinking branch cultivation method will filter his thoughts by itself, so that what G.E.E. -E sees, hears, and thinks will not have any conflict with the mind wedge. Is that why G.E.E. -E did not suspect me? It was because I had too many flaws that it was easy to draw the conclusion that G.E. Huayu was dead, rather than letting the mind wedge crumble. Instead, these doubts and flaws were forcibly buried by the cultivation technique. Do you now see how ridiculous this is? It was obviously intended to protect his son, but he ended up distorting his will in turn, treating his blood feud as his own son and with his son's love. Haha, <laughs> what could be more stupid than this? Anything more ridiculous? Sek Master Yi has successfully seized the body. Has G.E. Yi's soul disappeared from this body? What? 
Could it be that you, the culprit who murdered his son and took his father, at this time, there is a sense of sympathy? But it's okay to tell you, since this king has appeared, G.E.E.'s spirit has naturally disappeared. This was his destined end from the moment he stepped into the heavenly cave. Stepping into the heavenly cave? Su Min guessed that E Dao Chi had left some means to seize G E E in the X I N M O sect, but after hearing these words, E Dao Chi's method was hidden in the original demon heavenly cave? When E Dao Chi died, the original demon heavenly cave was not open at all. How could he? Could it be? Have you tampered with this guardian puppet? Is this the key to your reincarnation? This king is really a bit surprised. Is that what Su Min told you? No, although he knows that this king has been to the original demon heavenly cave, he may not be suspicious of the puppet. Tell me about your inference. If you are right, this king will tell you the truth. Damn, this old ghost thinks that I can't escape, so he is just playing the game of the cat and mice. Well, all I want is information. The more you talk, the worse I will make you lose when I return to reality. As soon as G.E.E. -E stepped into the secret realm, he knew that the puppet could not attack. He had no reason to make such an arrangement in advance, but if he hadn't believed it, he shouldn't have believed it so quickly. Note, the arrangement in advance means making the puppet stops in place without attacking, and not believing in the puppet not attacking. The fact that someone else had done it made G.E.E. -E easily believe it, but now I'm suddenly enlightened. It must have been Sect Master Yi's secret work. Su Min told me that the memory of Sect Master Yi was stuck in the past, and that the plan to take over the body must have been laid when Sect Master first entered the heavenly cave. The remaining six desires demonic chi on the puppet are just remnants, and Sect Master Yi did not seize Ge Yi's body until he stepped into the heavenly cave, so where was the soul and will of the previous Sect Master Yi? Except for being on the body of this puppet, there is no other place to think about. With your quick thinking and quick mind, you are quite suitable for practicing my desire for thinking branch cultivation method. Indeed, this seat got this opportunity in the heavenly cave in the past. After the Tao Harmony anointment, I made the desire for thinking branch go a step further, only then separated this demonic thought and left it on the body of the puppet. But you are only wrong about one point. At that time, I didn't think about taking over a body, I just thought of it as an idle game. When the heavenly cave reopens in 40 years, it may be beneficial to the great cause of the XINMO sect. If it weren't for GEE -E cultivating the desire for thinking branch being passive, I wouldn't have realized that I'd had such a thought after leaving the cave. GEE Yi's cultivation method practice was disturbed? Could it be that you think that my XINMO sect cultivation method have problems to accomplish, accidentally practicing and being unable to distinguish right and wrong, and between black and white? Although the mind wedge is very important, how can someone have the desire for thinking and consider himself to be one of the generations of the XINMO, but can't even control his own will? GEE -E would have this problem because he practiced the desire for thinking cultivation method from the very beginning. The root of the problem was left behind. The more he practiced, the deeper the mind wedge would enter and be firm in his mind, leaving a Tao mark within his soul. As long as he steps into this place, this king will be attracted to go and take his body. It seems to be the actions of E. Dao Shur's main body before leaving the heavenly cave. It's amazing that he can still be reborn after being dead for many years. XINMO sect cultivation method is too weird. If it weren't for the delicate situation now, I would really like to see the scene of this old ghost making a fuss after returning to the XINMO sect. But if that was the case, why didn't sect master E take GE Yi's body immediately? Why did he go around in such a big circle and involve more people in it? Are you not afraid that the news would leak out? I only promised G.E.E. -E that I would fulfill two wishes for him before completely taking over his body to help his son G.E. Huayu to obtain the opportunity of this fourth grade Dao Harmony Room and taking care of Su Min if I meet him to eliminate any future problems for G.E. Huayu. Wish? It turns out that Sec Master E is still such a person who is willing to do hospice care. It is completely different from the character Su Min described. 
If I want to control people's minds with my desire for thinking branch cultivation method, the less doubts and regrets there are in the mind of the controlled person, the better the result will be. It was because GEE's wishes were fulfilled that I was able to receive his memories and body completely. Yes, that's right. Then it shouldn't. Fuck. It's really. You guessed it right. I spent my time explaining it to you, just to clear your confusion. You really have some good judgment. This king decided not to kill you. I'll just melt your soul and refine it into a puppet. You will fight for me to regain the XINMO sect. Damn, if I've really become a puppet. Does the system count me dead? Can this life simulation be terminated? To turn a genius like me into a puppet with no brain, no potential, and no future to speak of, doesn't Sec Master E think it is too much of a waste? Don't worry. This king will not use such inferior methods as corpse refining to waste such good materials as you. Your confusion has been resolved. As long as your embedded will get broken, this king will be able to plant this mind wedge into the depths of your soul. It will not change your memory or your thinking, nor will it damage your realm or your talent. It will just add a thought to your soul, one firm and unshakable, indelible, and be eternally loyal to this king. If the embedded thought mentioned by Patriarch E are all like what G.E. Huayu was to G.E.E., -E, then I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. All the people I care about are outside the Heavenly Cave, and the only one that entered the Heavenly Cave did just run away, no matter what Sec Master E intends to do. I'm afraid there is no way to do it, right? Damn, this guy's methods are really awesome. Yuan Xing probably doesn't have this ability. The so-called embedded thought does not necessarily have to be a human. Like you, a young and vigorous cultivation genius, most of the support of the mind is the extraordinary means of the whole body. At this moment, you are under the control of this king. In your opinion, this king is probably just using the difference in realm to suppress you. If we compete with the same realm, it will be easy for you to break through this calamity. Since this is the case, this king will suppress his realm at the same level as you. Using moves with the same realm as yours to break your moves, you can see that the means you rely on are destroyed one by one, when you have no more moves to make, and when every hope you had turns to dust, your embedded will be destroyed at the first touch. I'm afraid Sec Master E don't know me well, I'm an optimistic person by nature, not to mention the way to break me, even if you ruin my cultivation, I will not be discouraged. How about you change a move? Don't be so clever, kid. People's thoughts will not be affected by your words. However, right now, Yi Dao Chi wants to suppress his realm and fight against you, so this is a great opportunity for you and me to escape this disaster. Su Min? The XINMO method to seize the body needs to rely on the three soul heart locks of the practitioner to maintain the body. In the battle just now, Yi Dao Chi wanted to use the fire of intent to refine this old man, but I seized the opportunity to use the 10,000 thoughts as a guide to break his man's soul in one blow. At this time, his body is only forcibly maintained by the two souls of heaven and earth, and it is at this time when the biggest flaw is exposed. The three soul heart locks are all in one place and cannot be harmed without a soul-destroying move. But if one of them is lost, the soul will be unstable, and external forces can also destroy it. You are in heaven and earth, I'm the only one proving Dao with strength. If you can take advantage of him suppressing his strength to have on strike, we might have a chance of success. Will, heaven, earth, man. As long as one of the locks is broken again, with the Dao Chi temperament, he will never be bold to return and take risk of scattering his soul just to be entangled with you even if he still refuses. To stop, you will still have a chance of survival. I see that your mind has moved a little. Is that the remnant of that old Fox Su Min spirit talking about something else? It doesn't matter. Whatever he and you are trying to do, it won't change the final outcome. As long as you are in the palm of my hand, Su Min's life and death are nothing but a thought for this king. Right now, this king have suppressed his realm to the innate second layer, so use any means you have. Maybe one of your moves will surprise me and allow you to injure this body before I raise my realm strength. Surprise you? I'm afraid this will be like the cat asking the mouse for his talent, right? 
but if you take into account the chance that Su Min mentioned, it's really worth a try. 5. Mara Clones, Replacement This person has strange methods, and he has taken over GEE -E and inherited his memories. Even if I avoid GEE -E when I return to reality, there is no guarantee that he will not come after me. Desire for touch shield manifestation, I originally thought that this time there would be no drama, and I had to die directly. Now that he is willing to suppress his strength, let me try how many tricks he has. Everlasting Dominating Fist, Blue Dragon Thousand Flashes Let me see if I can find any loopholes that will give me a chance after returning to reality. Is it a clone again? Interesting, your method is not inferior to my XINMO sect inheritance. But illusory bodies by the combination of the six desires of my XINMO sect is the top cloning skill within the nine big demonic sects. Desire for hearing swinging spirit bell, how can I not know how to deal with it? E Dao Chi's response speed was far faster than Su Min's, and he saw through the key of the five clones of Mara switch between the real and fake in just one glance. He didn't even need to test it first. This feels like... Sick Master E, you just broke the rules, didn't you? What happened to suppressing your realm at the innate second layer? You were clearly using the true chi of an innate third layer when you hit me. After one move, there is still an echo, not only the desire for touch, but also the tricks of the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires have been superb in this person's palm. If the fight goes on like this, he might be able to break all my moves. This king is not stupid, isn't your current state also an innate third layer? It just broke us, out for a short time just now, my real realm has always been the innate second layer, and I also ask Sek Master E to keep his promise. In this world, there is no shortage of powerful explosive moves that can temporarily match those of higher realms with lower realms, but there is no such thing as a martial art that raises one realm with one layer out of thin air. What's more, the Tao rhyme between each layer of the innate realm is completely different. You are clearly releasing the Tao rhyme of an innate third layer, so don't pretend to be an innate second layer there. I'm truly an innate second layer. Finger of Flowery Sword being mischievous, you are a real genius, there is no need to play this type of trick. To disguise high realm Dao rhyme breath with lower realm Dao rhyme breath, this king can do it too, so you don't have to show off. Give it your all. This is Husband, let's go. My lady, how are you back? Sure enough, it's that trick again. Going but returning again, to help with the disaster. It is rumored that the magical dignified couple are deeply in love with each other, which seems to be true. Only, if the true feelings are so deep, why didn't the magical dignified beauty come back immediately? Could it be that the more she fled, the more guilty she felt? The more you run away, the more you feel indebted? If so... Is it love or profit between the two of you? Or is it just a calculation in your own mind? This person is one of the five beauties in the martial world today, and she is also a direct descendant of the M.O. Ching sect. I just let her run away, and this king still feels a little regretful. Now, together with Xie Yan, they will be at my disposal after putting the mind wedge. Our affairs as husband and wife do not require the concern of Vice Patriarch G.E. Instead, Shinsi wanted to ask, Vice Patriarch had clearly stated that he was an ally with my husband, why did he suddenly want to kill him? Or did my husband do or say something that caused Vice Patriarch to misunderstand? Ah, uh, this is a look that resents me for treating this lightly. This alluring girl thought it was about that G.E. Why you thing. My lady doesn't need to waste time in arguing, the situation can't be explained in just a few words. Now that you and I didn't take advantage of him being off guard and couldn't escape, let the rescuers from outside come in. According to the character of the alluring girl, if she made up her mind to run, how can she come back and ride the muddy water? I think she ran into a reliable fighting force after a short distance, but I don't know which of the sex elders will be able to take on this tough fight for me. 
Note, I was translated before as bitch, now I use alluring women, but sometimes the meaning differ depending on the situation. What nonsense are you talking about? The heavenly cave is so big, where can Shinsi go to get help in this short time? Do you think that when you leave the secret realm of Dao Harmony, you will be in the ancestral hall of the M.O. Ching sect? No, no help? Why did this alluring girl wait until now to come back? Looking at my husband's expression, you want to ask the same question as Vice Patriarch G.E.? What's so strange about that? The precarious situation in front of you is the trouble that my husband has brought on himself. Why should Shinsi accompany you to clean up the mess? Naturally, I should leave when I can. But the heroic manner in which my husband sacrificed his life to cover a path for retreat, Shinsi also saw with her eyes. After all, husband did not go back on his previous promise. After thinking about it, Shinsi thought that she would not let her husband down this time. This alluring girl is talking about that time. This time, we will go when we get the chance. If we fail, we will fight with all our strength and join hands to retreat from the strong enemy. Husband asked about reinforcement. We husband and wife are of the same mind, and we are each other's reinforcement, so why should we take outsiders' words that incite disharmony? Right, she only thought that the enemy in front of her is still that G.E.E. -E. If it's just an ordinary innate fourth layer, no matter how powerful, it will not be so difficult for the two of us to join forces to escape. Uh, my lady, there is still a little misunderstanding here. It's a good way to say that husband and wife are of the same mind and are each other's reinforcement. There is a certain determination to stand together in times of trouble. Don't worry, this king will give you a chance. Just like Xia Yan, I'll use the same strength of an innate third layer. Don't let me down, magical dignified beauty. Don't worry, Vice Sec Master GE will not only not be disappointed, I'm afraid that it's strange that this man is willing to lower his own realm. I don't know if he's just saying that or if he's really going to do that. Secret of Joy Technique, Butterfly Transformation There will be surprises. After all, since entering the heavenly cave, Shinsi's true strength has never been revealed in front of anyone. The pink scales turn into butterflies, ashes are rekindled. This true chi grow and multiply without end, as if it is infinite. Simultaneously controlling ten of thousands of transformed true chi, also doing it freely and effortlessly. There is also this swiftly moving of body motion like a ghost. The ordinary innate third layer won't be a match for it. At this age and with this level of cultivation, it is indeed worthy of the title of heavenly pride. Since the argument of love and profit cannot loosen the gap between the heart and the mind, then using the same method used with Xia Yan and break it with ability. Oh my lord, was this bitch so good at fighting? So she was playing me the few times she guarded the gate before? Hum? The bitch's message? Husband seizes this opportunity. If you can break the seal on the gate and leave first, don't worry about me. If you can't, Come to help in the battle, help Shinsi hold the opponent for a while, follow this instructions, and you and I will be able to escape from here. This bitch spoke all this with such fervor, but it turns out that she's still secretly trying to flee. And here I thought she had failed to escape and was planning to commit herself to a desperate struggle. She really knows the strategy of mixing truth and lies. E Dao Chi desire for touch branch cultivation method level of strangeness is above G E Yi's level. It is really not easy for me to break it. Besides, it doesn't make sense for me to go out alone and leaving her here. However, this alluring girl took the risk and came back for me. Although there were many misunderstandings, the result could not be faked. Doesn't matter. Escaping from here can also give the opportunity to deal with E Dao Chi. So I won't drag this alluring girl to death. Let's cooperate with her plan first. Why did the magical dignified beauty's offensive attacks suddenly weaken? This king only uses the innate third layer cultivation base to fight against you, and you can't handle it? If that is the case, then you words earlier were somewhat boasting shamelessly. This man was only trying to break my moves, as if he was playing around. 
Although he was pretending to fight for his life, and even with all my tricks, I could not hurt him at all. The more we fight, the more the consumption will only increase. It seems that you can only bet on that trick. My lady, your husband is also here. Husband? Didn't he go to break the seal on the exit? Humph, you still say you have a way to get out. If I didn't come back, won't you be trapped in this desperate situation? Secret voice transmission. Husband, don't rush. Back off. I have a plan. This is Seal Formation Secret of Joy Technique Butterfly Dance Soul Sealing Husband, take advantage of it now. This formation will hinder the flow of his true chi. The demonic chi blocking the exit will be unsustainable, and with husband power, you will be able to break it. What are you still doing, my lady? Let's go together. The seal still needs someone to maintain. Husband, go first, don't mind me. You want to leave? Do you think that by trapping this king and blocking my true chi, you can leave this secret area of Tao Harmony? Even if I only have this secondary half of my myriad transformations demonic body, it is more than enough to keep the two of you. The power of this desire for touch branch has really weakened, and this alluring girl's ceiling formation is really effective. However, relying on ordinary moves will get me entangled by these demonic hands. It seems like I need to use a strike with full strength for it to be effective. It just so happens that I have never used this trick in front of GEE. -E. It will be difficult for E Dao Chi to defend against. Everlasting Dominating Fist The gray body destroys the Wisdom Dragon Whale appearance. My lady, the passage is open. Let's go. Husband can go first. Shinsi has a way to escape. How can you escape with you being beaten like this? Your husband will come right away. Husband. Listen to Shinsi this time and go. The M.O. Ching sect cannot lose both of us at the same time. Shinsi has no regrets for having this relationship with her husband in this life. Husband, you have to go back alive, tell Master and the elders about G.E.E. -E, and take precautions early. Is this bitch serious? At the slightest hint of trouble, she'd be the first to leave me behind and run away, but now she is going to give up her life for me. But originally my plan is to test E Dao Chi. If she can't go, why would I go out alone? This is Desire for Thinking Fire? How could the demonic body of the Desire for Touch Branch be directly transformed into this move? Oh no! The body motion of the alluring girl can't keep off this type of move. My lady. The alluring woman just died like this? Didn't even give me a chance to save her with my finger of nirvana? The fire of thinking contaminate the body and turn true chi into nothing. If it were not for her body motion to follow the path of true chi transformation shape, she would not have ended up in ashes. It's a pity. You. Um. This is Maiden Scripture plus Secret of Joy Technique Metamorphosis Technique. Husband doesn't need to be anxious. Shinsi is safe. My lady. Wrong. When did she leave this trick on my body? This bitch has been prepared for a long time. As long as I can escape, can't she just come out from my body? Then just now, what about parting forever sacked? In the end, she's still playing me? What the hell? Acting at a time like this? If I knew the truth, I would have run away earlier. Now we're out of the game. My lady tricks are good, and even more you have good acting skills. Your husband was almost deceived by you. Could it be that the lady secretly has the intention to compete with her husband, and you want your husband to remember your love after sacrificing your life? What is the meaning of my husband's words? This trick of feigning death in place of life was accidentally learned by Shinsi from the secret records of the sect. It is said that no one has ever used it before, and it is also an unexpected joy for Shinsi to be able to survive this time. 
It's just that this move has a huge backlash, and Shinsi has lost most of her true chi at this time, making it unsustainable for a while, and in the follow-up battle, she must rely on the husband to make more efforts. It's really a great show of friendship and sacrifice. However, as far as I know, the M.O. Ching sex technique of leaving a cocoon and transforming into a butterfly is not a resurrection from the dead, but an inverted unique skill of true chi transforming into a form turning the physical body into true chi and sending it to others from the beginning, leaving a split body made of true chi to die in place of the original. There was a time when a disciple of the M.O. Ching sect used this move to escape from this king hands, making it impossible to defend against it. You hear that, although this move of true chi transformation can only reside in the body of the double cultivation partner, but to transform again, she can take the double cultivation partner true chi to supplement herself. There should be no damage in the slightest the current situation of the magical dignified beauty makes this king a little confused. Husband, on the battlefield, do you want to listen to the words of the enemy and doubt your companions? I remember when that disciple of the M.O. Ching sect used this trick to hide in her lover's body for more than three days, after seeing the sorrowful appearance of the lover's loss of his beloved and his heart ashes, only then did she come back to life. When her husband saw his lover after thinking he lost her, he wept with joy on the spot. From then on, he obeyed the woman's words, and it became a good story in the M.O. Ching sect back then. Magical dignified beauty, you appeared so quickly, it seems that you are not too familiar with it, right? However, this move can be learned only by rare disciples among all generations of the M.O. Ching sect. At your age, it is a peerless genius to be able to master it to this level, worthy of being one of the five beauties of the martial world. I was wondering why the remaining flowery true chi is gone. It turns out it's this bitch doing. And looking at her expression, if I really ran out, could it be that she was also planning to play dead to secretly peek at my sad appearance upon returning to the sect if it is not that she just began to practice it? I'm just trying to act cool in front of her alone because it is life simulation. Did she actually want to trick me in front of all sect members? Bitch. She is indeed a total bitch. Well, let's ignore this. The only thing that can be done is for Shinsi to hold on and fight so that her husband is not left alone. Instead, why is G.E.E. -E so familiar with the old affairs of my M.O. Ching sect? Still a tone that seems to be experienced in person? Also with a tone like he experienced that in person? When we fought, I felt that he was much stronger than expected. Husband, what's going on? Didn't I just said that the situation is a bit complicated? The person in front of us is no longer G.E.E., -E, but the former patriarch of the XINMO sect E. Dao Chi who sees G.E.E. -E. when it comes to the strength gap with G.E.E., -E, I am afraid that it is still above the gap between the great elder and the matriarch sister. What is it, my lady? You don't look as sincere as you did before. Could it be that you feel that your opponent is too strong and regret coming back to save your husband? What are you saying, husband? Shinsi has made this decision. How can she regret it? Miscalculation. If the strength is far above GEE, -E, then I am afraid that it will be difficult to get out of trouble with Xia Yan. I wanted to sell my favor to Xia Yan, but now I have to pay for it myself, and I don't know how much it will cost in the end. But since the enemy is strong and we are weak, let's fight quickly and break through this barrier before its body breaks the seal. Oh? You husband and wife are no longer bickering? I wouldn't mind watching a little longer. Deputy G.E., does Patriarchy think that if he delays for a few more moments he will be able to get out of the trap? If this is the case, I am afraid that Patriarchy will be disappointed. Although this move is also inherited from the M.O. Ching sect, it has long been improved by Shinsi and is far more effective than the old style, Deputy G.E. Does Patriarchy think that if he delays for a few more moments he will be able to get out of the trap? If this is the case, I am afraid that Patriarchy e will be disappointed. Although this move is also inherited from the M.O. Ching sect, it has long been improved by Shinsi and is far more effective than the old style. If Patriarchy e had not suppressed his realm from the beginning, there would have been nothing Shinsi could do, but now that the ceiling formation has been stabilized, you can still be held back for at least 10 breaths. To deal with a clone with limited true chi, it's not hard. 
Dragging on? This king doesn't need to drag things on. Mental fire burns the soul and also burns true chi. Your true chi has been refined once, and regarding this king mental fire, this seal is like a veil of mist that can be burned away in no time. One though for creation, fate of all in the palm of one hand, but in the end, as long as the exit is still there, you will do everything possible to get through it. This king has to admit that it is difficult to guarantee that there will be no flaws in suppressing the two of you at the same time in this Tao Harmony secret area. That being the case, desire for thinking, continuous transformation of one thought, this king will simply use this trick to eliminate your thoughts. This place is changing the sky, changing the mountains and rivers. This method is similar to the heavenly phantom plane. The desire for thinking branch is like the rumors in the martial world are, making one proficient in the art of illusion and confusion. But something doesn't feel right about this space. The name of this place is between one thought, a place that intercepts the thoughts of the human heart and transforms them into, into endless illusion. No matter how long you stay here, in reality it is only a flash of thoughts of time. The only way to leave this place is to defeat this king. If you are unable to defeat me, you will be trapped here for eternity. Isn't Sek Master E being shameless? What about the agreement of suppressing your realm the same as us to compete with methods, but now we're about to run away and you're doing this? It's really unfair. This king has never promised you anything, and breaking the will has nothing to do with what you think is fair. However, when this move was performed, the realm of this king was still suppressed at the innate third layer, thus this between one thought is also limited. At this moment, even if I wanted to, I would not be able to raise my realm to the innate fourth layer here. The key to victory or defeat still lies in one's own methods. Since Sek Mastery said so, then I can bring all my tricks out, Finger of Nirvana, when I was dragged into the abyss of nightmares by the ghost King Lin Fong in the Tong Ling world, Finger of Nirvana can still send me back to reality. To break your move, it's just a matter of using two fingers of this. Hmm? How come this bitch is still here and hasn't left? This feeling, it feels like the consumed true chi and the dark wounds I suffered have been restored and healed. Is this Xie Yan's finger of nirvana? It is really a miraculous method. Although I don't know what did you want to do, but it appear to be that you most likely did misunderstand this move nature and choose the wrong method to break it. Su Min? Although it is slightly different from what this old man knows, but this move is most likely the secret method of my XINMO sect, desire for thinking refining soul, that is taking advantage of the person divine soul being attracted, a method for isolating heaven and earth. Using the desire for thinking to lead the five desires and transforming the divine soul to a fantasy realm. All affected people's five senses will be reshaped with the fantasy realm, and taking E Dao Chi words into consideration, this trick can even have the influence of having different time and rules compared to the heavenly cave. But in this way, we have a better chance. Turning the divine soul into heaven and earth, the whole space in front of us is a part of E Dao Chi's soul, as long as we break this move, his three soul heart locks will definitely not be spared either. It turns out that although this trick is an illusion, it is actually the surrounding world that is affected, not ourselves. The bitch and I are both here in our true bodies at this time, so it's no wonder the finger of Nirvana couldn't make us leave from this place. It seems that no matter what we do, there is no other option than confronting E Dao Chi. The situation in front of us is the same as when he sealed the exit, and without a way out, the bitch's decision will become simple, the signal to move. Xie Yin has confirmed that there is no other way to leave this place? In that case, there is only one thing left to do. Everlasting style unrestrained whale wave, secret of joy technique enchanting spiritual twins. Defeat this guy and get out of here. Do you make a decision and then strike without holding anything back? This level of cooperation and mutual understanding, it makes me look forward to the moment when I can take you both under my wing at the same time. The secret of joy technique is to cultivate emotion and passion desires. The desire for thinking fire is a great threat to me. 
Just a little bit of it will make my spirit feel like boiling, and almost makes one unable to control himself. If someone Lee get burned by this fire, I am afraid that in a short time even their consciousness will not exist. I can still rely on my body motion to move and dodge. I don't know how Xie Yin is going to cope with it and what move will he use. Although his body forging cultivation method is strong, it may not be able to take into account the divine soul and mind, husband. Shit. How come all the streams of fire came to my side all of a sudden? Even if it is blasted away with the everlasting dominating fist, it will continue to adhere to me, and it feels more like it have penetrated into my body and disappeared rather than burning my divine soul. No, I have to look inside and figure it out. What the hell? The mental fire that entered my body is all concentrated here? This movement, it seems to be attracted by something. That's the Six Desires Golden Pill? Not good. The mental fire is constantly consuming Mars' true chi. It seems to be attracted by the fusion of the five desire branches' true chi in it. I have to switch back to the flowery true chi immediately, otherwise the six desires' golden pill will be burnt out. Wait, the mental fire seems to have diminished? Could it be that the mental fire is not devouring Mars' true chi, but Mars' true chi and the mental fire are canceling each other out? It seems that something has been added to the surface of the Six Desires Golden Pill. Could this be? Spirit Return, Desire for Thinking Branch True Chi? Unexpectedly, the mental fire invading is correlating well with the Six Desires Golden Pill, automatically completing the last piece of the puzzle that I lack? If that's the case, then this is much more valuable than continuing to test E Dao Chi. The test was only to test all of E. Dao Chi's methods and tricks so that I could deal with him when I returned to reality. But in fact, when I do return to reality I can kill him using someone else. I may not need to do it myself, but it's just a precaution. I can just let go and let the fire burn my body at will and risk my life to see the changes in my cultivation method. There is no other opportunity like this to have this type of deadly fight app art from being in life simulation. Failure is only one death. When mental fire was burning, most of it was offset by Mar Tru Chi. The injuries on my body were minimal, and I could completely rely on the strong body of the everlasting dominating fist to resist hard. But if it works, this may be the only chance I have to gain a deeper understanding of the desire for thinking branch. I just need to retain the memories related to the operation of the cultivation method, and when I return to reality, whether I rely on the system or the original demon epiphany anointment, I can raise the base of the true art of Mara a few more points from the original foundation. Note, original demon epiphany anointment is the correction of demonic spiritual energy used in first chapters when talking about the Tao Harmony Rooms. It's a small bet with not much to lose, a high returns, and a big win, so I'll take it. C.A. Yen? My lady, take advantage of it now. Very well, I'll leave this side to the alluring girl to drag on for now. I'll take this opportunity to use my inner vision to take a closer look. As expected, I was right. The mental fire that entered my body and Mara True Chi canceled each other out and opened up veins in the Six Desires Golden Pill that belonged exclusively to the Desire for Thinking branch. But this is the instinctive guidance of the body. I knew it would be like this, but I don't know why. I have no memory of the way of cultivation. I must at least understand the principle and context of those veins a little bit, so that when I return to reality I can be sure to leave a record of the desire of thinking branch, incomplete, cultivation method in the system. It's just that the amount of mental fire is still not enough at the moment. The consumption is too fast and the filling is too slow, which causes me to leave the state of inner vision from time to time to support the alluring girl and receive the mental fire. But if the transformation process is interrupted, a lot of progress will be wasted. In addition, the Six Desires Golden Pill producing this crystals, erratic, without turbulence, they appear and disappear during the process of refinement. These are my thoughts. Controlling these crystals should be part of the desire for thinking branch ability. I don't know how it works, but I can use it instinctively now, just by giving specific instructions for the thought, throw a left punch.
Even when I am concentrating on my inner vision and have no time to distract myself, I can still manipulate my body to engage in combat on its own. The everlasting dominating fist has given me absolute control over the physical body, and it seems that the desire for thinking branch is to achieve the same effect in the realm of consciousness. It's just that what a single thought can do is too little, and it won't last long. Frequent injection of thoughts will inevitably interrupt the progress of the transformation of Mars' true chi, dissipate. By the way, I can gather enough thought crystals to keep a few thoughts for a long time to form a coherent and long-lasting thought command. In this way, I can concentrate on transforming the Mars' true chi, and at the same time, I can give support to the battle and receive a constant stream of mental fire. The core of the idea is to capture the mental fire. Without the judgment of on-the-spot response, I will use the advantages of the everlasting dominating fist to attack instead of defend, as long as Yi Dao Chi used the mental fire to attack. In that case, I will use that opportunity to go up and give up my body to block the fire. If the injury is too serious, using the finger of Nirvana for recovery, however it needs lifespan after all, it should never be used lightly until reaching the limit. In addition, the battle outside depends on the alluring girl, and her condition is crucial, so it would be good to restore her true chi at every opportunity. Although I'm sure I won't win in the end, it would be best if I could take advantage of E. Dao Chi's play of cat and mouse to get a complete understanding of the desire for thinking branch. Alluring girl, I'm sorry, it's not that I don't want to fight with my life on the line, it's because E. Dao Chi is too strong, we'll be dead no matter how hard we fight. Anyway, it's just a life simulation. It would be better to make use of this opportunity to let your husband master the desire for thinking branch. Hmm? Wait a minute. Is it possible that these crystallization of thoughts assembling together produce the so-called mind wedge? Cia Yin, what the hell is this guy doing? He's been so distracted since a while ago, as a result, I have to respond to the attack and cover for him. If we continue to fight, I'm afraid that our battle power will become more and more disparate. He's really going to get us killed this time. Cia Yin? This state Cia Yin is in. Mind with a single thought, spirit filled with determination, did he rely on his unyielding will to seal his last thought before his soul was incinerated by the mental fire? He doesn't have the inheritance of the desire for thinking branch, so how did he achieve such a feat? You are attacking but not defending, using such a desperate method of fighting like there is no tomorrow. Before you locked your thoughts, did you figure out that this king is not going to kill you? Naive. Tainted body by touch, smell spirit extinguisher. Six desires transformation style, soul binding by the inner demons. If you were a normal person, the mental fire that have been built up in your body would burn your divine soul out in a matter of moments. But since you have the ability to seal your spirit and lock your mind, this king can wait until the moment when your will get burned and then infiltrate your will. This will save me the effort of slowly wearing you down. And until then, Time to concentrate on this troublesome one. Everlasting Dominating Fist, Enhanced Spirit Nurturing Technique, Flowery Primordial Spirit, True Art of Mara, Divine Impact of Zen, Summon Chinger. Support Chin Chinsi. Just now, Xie Yin looked like he had been poisoned, and I didn't know if he could cure himself by relying on the finger of Nirvana. For now, I could only look after myself and see if I could grab a chance to help him out. Let's deal with this difficult demon hand first. And then deal with you. Shape changing. Myriad transformation demonic body? When did he? Oh no, I can't avoid it. Cien? Husband? What are you doing? Desperately fighting to the death, but only to bear all the damage of the mental fire. So that's the case. You think that your will is tough, so you use your body as a shield before the last thought is erased. And on behalf of Chin Chinsi, you want to resist all tricks of the desire for thinking branch? 
Such affection is beyond this king's expectations. In this case, this king will fulfill you. First, I will crush the last wisp of your thought into dust, and after infiltrating the mind wedge, I'll go and deal with Ching Chingxi. What the hell is wrong with this C.A.N.? What happened a moment ago is one thing, but now he's not even dodging, and is fighting in such a reckless manner, is he trying to take his opponent down with him? Damn it! Damn it! This kid is crazy. Chin Chin Si, if you don't want to be buried with Xie Yin, then quickly find another way out. He is helpless. This voice is Su Min? Desire for thinking, thousand jets of fire. Secret of Joy Technique, shield shrouded by dancing butterflies. Husband, wake up, stop fooling around. If you keep attacking and not defending, your injuries will accumulate and you'll die soon. Damn it, the desire for thinking fire is greatly restraining me. Just by taking a casual strike, it hurt my body, and now Xie Yin is in this state. What should I do next? It's useless. GEE -E practice of a cultivation method had a problem only then was he being taken over by E Dao Chi. This kid must have practiced the same cultivation method so he was targeted by E Dao Chi desire for thinking soul refining. Now this kid all thoughts become ashes except for a locked wisp of thought, there is nothing in his consciousness. Even if you are still regarded as a companion, there is no possibility of any response. Instead of wasting time on him, why not find a way to break through the fantasy realm in front of you? Just now I have told you the secret of the three soul heartlocks. This heaven and earth is equivalent to the manifestation of E Dao Chi's heartlocks, which is his greatest weakness. E Dao Chi is proud and arrogant, in order to subdue you, deliberately suppressing his realm to the innate third layer in this fantasy realm, but this is our chance. The easiest way is to release the Dao Rhyme of the innate fourth layer. No need to use any tricks. You can melt this place into nothingness like snow melting ice. Unfortunately, the old man is just a remnant soul and cannot release Dao Rhyme. This place is self-contained, and it is impossible to imprint a Dao Rhyme breath from the outside world. No matter how talented you are, even if you are only one foot away from the innate fourth layer, you can only go out to advance. And here, your cultivation will be locked at the innate third layer. Anyway, the other way is a more troublesome. This old man has already found the weakest point in this place. As long as you have a hidden trump card that can increase the destructive power in an instant to be comparable to the innate fourth layer power, and you listening to this old man command with only one strike, you can have at least a 50% chance to break this one thought blockade. This old man can see that you and C.A.N., the both of you are very shrewd, and it's impossible not to have any left trump cards. Right now, C.A.N. can still hold back E. Dao. Hi, if you want to turn things around with a hidden trick, now is the only chance to do so. Vice Sec Master Su, you have overestimated me. In terms of pure destructive power, I am afraid that my husband is even more stronger than me. Moreover, these kind of realm breakthrough are very costly, and it's hard to adapt to the changes, and with not much efficiency, besides I don't think Yi Dao Chi will give me this opportunity. It would be better for Vice Sec Master Su to think of a way to help me wake up my husband, if husband and I joined forces, we might have a chance. Foolishness. If we don't break this fantasy realm, there's no way this kid will come to his senses, and hoping for him to do so is not possible. So don't hope he would, Chin Chin Si. Now he can still hold on to his thoughts for your sake, but when his last defense is breached, he will do whatever Yi Dao Chi tells him to do, and then you and I will be doomed. For me? They are all the same type of men. I still don't know what C.A.N. plan is. He's probably just pretending to be out of control and risking his life for defending me and using this as pretext in order to sell me a favor. This guy... He has been fooling around since he entered the heavenly cave, but earlier is different than now. Don't tell me that he can't even judge the severity of the situation. Or is, is there really something wrong with his divine soul? Husband? Husband, if you can hear Shinsi's words, don't continue. Come back to your senses, let's do it together. 
C-A-N-U. Finger of Nirvana. Finger of Nirvana? Master had said that this move was nearly divine in its effectiveness, and the cost was probably not small. Since entering the heavenly cave, regardless of the severity of his injuries, C.A.N. had been reluctant to use it. But why, why did he use it on me repeatedly? If I were in the same place, Shinsi would not have gone to this length to sell a little favor, so you've really lost all thoughts and can't think about anything? If so, then what is that one wisp of thought that remains in the bottom of your heart? Are you betting on me using your own life and body, thinking that I still have a method to break us out of this situation? Or maybe you didn't think about anything, just purely for me? Bastard, making decisions without a single word, without even thinking about discussing them with anyone? You are doing things your own way, and can't be reasoned with, if there is a way for me to leave alone, you deserve to be left here alone. But if it is no longer possible, in that case I can only follow Xie Yin way of gambling with his life. The M.O. Ching Sik must not lose both me and Xie Yin at the same time, and with the resurrection of Yi Dao Qi, there is a hidden threat within the Xian M.O. sect, and someone needs to bring information back to the sect. Xie Yin's state at this time, no matter how many cards he has, he can't use them, so I can only do it. Su Min's so-called method of attacking the weak point, Yi Dao Qi is not a fool, he will definitely focus on guarding that weak point. Even with three or five strikes, I might not be able to have a real hit. But even with those powerful tricks, my vitality will be severely injured after one use. How can I have any energy left for the second one, or even the third? That's the only way to go now. But even though I have been preparing for this for many years, the time I've had to use the Dao Harmony Room this time is so short that the solution I've deduced is not mature at all, and once I would have implemented it, it is very likely that there will be no way back. If only my master were here, she could help me improve it with her understanding. By the way, master, if I am unable to return safely, master will have to face the clan's trouble and the storms of the martial world alone, then who will be there too? Yes, C.A.N. Mental fire effect of burning the heart is far better than burning the body. But even though your body is already in a state of disrepair, your last thought is still intact, so it seems that there was a misjudgment before. But it does not matter. Wait for this king to search your soul and your thought, and then I will be able to see the scene in the depths of your divine soul. Hum? Is Qin Shinsi gathering her true chi? Such a way of circulating qi, the move that qi is making is certainly not ordinary. But at this distance, could it be that this move is not aimed at this king or Xie Yin, but the fantasy realm itself? Attacking the fantasy realm itself with a destructive force beyond her original realm, how did she know that this method would work? Yes, according to the character of that old fox Su Min, he would not be willing to be buried with Xie Yin, so he must have changed his place and attached himself to Qin Shinsi to inform her of this place's secret. Ridiculous. Since this king dares to perform this method while being in the innate realm third layer, how could I not guard against your life-threatening attacks? From the very beginning, this king had hidden the weak point of the fantasy realm in this body. What Su Min could discover was only the bait given by me. This king will wait for you to use this move, so that when the move you bet on be without any result, the thoughts in your heart will soften, and I'll take the opportunity to make the, the mind wedge infiltrate, saving me a lot of work and time. What are you doing? Why don't you discuss it with me? Don't waste your cards. Your current position is way too far from the weak spot. Don't you see that Yi Dao Qi didn't come to stop you at all? Washing and refining demonic birth of the lunar body. This, is this? How can that be? Magical dignified beauty, you are a genius. You are the most powerful genius I have ever seen. It is good. Very good. This time it is very likely that the seal will be broken. Once this place collapses, Yi Dao Qi's divine soul will be injured, and he will be unable to pursue for a moment, and escaping the secret realm will be easy. Um? Why is this old man's soul dissolving? 
The remnant soul of the inner demon, attached to the source of the host body, and no matter how the host's true chi is stirred up, it will not affect the old man. Is it possible that even the source of the soul will be damaged when this move is used? No. Chin Chin Si, don't. Ah. The old man is unwilling to die. Extension, split open. This, this is not a move that destructive power above one's realm. Dao Rime has really turned into the innate fourth layer. How could she break through and improve her realm in between one thought of this king? Not good. The third layer suppressed realm of between one thought is unable to bear this Dao Rime breath. It must be opened immediately. Qin Shinsi couldn't possibly be the same as Xie Yin in lowering her realm and pretending to appear as an innate third layer. But this kind of cultivation method that does not rely on the outside world to raise the Dao Rime out of thin air is also unheard of in the inheritance of the nine demonic sects. Although it was my underestimation of the enemy that actually caused this breach, but this unprecedented method can open up new possibilities I thought she was just a piece of rough jade, but unexpectedly, she is already so worthy. I have miscalculated this situation. Unfortunately, such a great talent cannot be used by this king. I succeeded. But in the end, I still lost the bet. Master, it turns out that Shinsi is not as strong as she thought she was. It's done. Although Mara's true chi within the golden pill is exhausted, I have finally understood some of the cultivation principles of the desire for thinking branch. When I return to reality, I can input the incomplete desire for thinking into the system. But my wounds are a lot less severe than expected. In fact, they are nearly healed. Did I happen to use the finger of Nirvana near the end of the fight? But the flowery true chi hasn't been replenished, so it is unlikely to be the finger of Nirvana's effects. Is this the vixen's flowery tomb? And how come the fantasy realm is like this? Where is he Dao Chi? Did the bitch really win? My dear has finally woken up. Any later, and I am afraid Shinsi wouldn't have been able to sustain. The beautiful woman's voice? This. My lady, how did you become like this? And the fantasy realm before us is still. I know exactly what you want to ask. It's just that we are pressed for time right now, so for now, please cast your doubts aside first and listen patiently to everything I have to say. During the time husband had lost his awareness, I destroyed the one moment of thought, and E. Dao Chi's triple soul lock has collapsed along with it. In order to wait for you to wake up, Shinsi delayed the rate of collapse of this realm with the Dao Rime of the innate fourth layer. Now that it has reached its limit, you will soon return to reality. Note, previously in the last chapters, it was written as between one thought. This time, you absolutely must not fool around. Once you leave this place, escape from the secret realm of the Dao Harmony Room at the first chance. Don't hesitate, don't stay, and don't waste this chance I gave you with great difficulty. Don't worry, my lady, I am not so reckless that I am unaware of the situation. Once the fantasy realm is undone, you and I will rush out together. If you really knew the gravity of this situation, you wouldn't end up in such a mess. However, I have never doubted your self-preservation skills. Once you escape from the Dao Harmony secret realm, the heavenly cave is vast and E Dao Chi can never hope to capture you. Once you return to the sect after the great gathering of the nine sects, immediately report to Master about this matter. Since E Dao Chi cannot dispose of you, he is sure to seize the next opportunity. Now that Su Min is already dead, once E Dao Chi returns to the XINMO sect, he will use Ge Hui Yu's feud as a pretext and play the role of a grieving father to provoke Yuan Xing into directing all their power and invade the Mo Qing sect for retribution. Once the war begins, even if you spread the truth everywhere, it will only be seen as a dirty ruse on the part of the M.O. Qing sect. Yuan Sheng is a martial fanatic, so I doubt that his trust in G.E.E. -E could be shaken by a mere rumor. For now I don't know how to deal with this situation, nor do I have a good plan. But my dear, you must inform my master about all the stakes. 
Although it is not obvious, but Master is actually capable of seeing through the chaos and discerning the best plan to counter. The same way for this situation, and also the same for people's hearts. This is why Master trusts you even though she is perfectly aware that you, my dear, are not the real C.A.N. The difference in the disposition you displayed back then and now is too great. Do you seriously think I am blind? The slow and dim-witted C.A.N. I had brought to the M.O. Ching sect certainly cannot be my husband who is a man of outstanding talent and eloquence. Secondly, it is impossible for you to go out of your way and pretend to be a commoner for over a decade without the slightest flaw in your background details. If my guess is correct, you must be someone who reincarnated into this body, just like Yi Dao Chi. Regarding your origin, I had once discussed many possibilities with Master, but she did not believe any of them. Master has always judged people by their actions and not their thoughts. Even to the extent that she reckons you to be a future pillar of the M.O. Ching sect. However, I couldn't bring myself to do the same. I have always been skeptical of you, wary of you, and I have wholeheartedly sought to regain control over you because I couldn't accept any uncertainties. But ultimately, I still believed my master's judgment because she deemed you to be a trustworthy person. I never once tried to find out my husband's origins. Because Master trusts you, Shinsi has taken this gamble. If you ever abandon Master or the sect, my lady, your body? Husband, I want you to promise me. No matter what happens in the future, as long as neither Master nor the sect has betrayed you, you must never betray them, and more importantly, never betray Master even if the M.O. Ching sect becomes a dangerous place. Even if you are forced to abandon your principles for personal safety, at the very least, you must protect Master. My lady, your words are really ominous. I am confused by you. Swear. I have saved your life even though you've been so impulsive this entire time. Okay. I swear that no matter what happens in the future, I will never abandon the sect, and more importantly, I will never betray Miss Matriarch's trust. Humph, in the end, it is not the same as the great inner demon oath, since it cannot bind my husband to anything. But if you can't even promise me this much, then I am paying dearly this time. My dear has already promised to handle the internal and external affairs of the sect. I will also entrust you with the care of Li Feng Jiao and you are you as well. Feng Jiao is sentimental, but not weak. Just give her some time, and she will come to accept everything. I request you to take my place and watch over her for a while so that she will not foolishly rush towards the XINMO sect out of vengeance. As far as you are you is concerned, that girl has no talent for martial arts. Even as a child, she has always been by my side. She knows nothing of the perils of the world of martial arts, nor does she possess the means to defend herself. My dear, I request you to accept her into your house as your servant girl. If you do not like her, you may seek a good family for her to marry into. Strange. Why is this coquettish girl talking as if she is dictating her last will? My lady, what are you talking about? Could it be that you want to play the self-sacrifice charade again? Once is enough, a second time is rather excessive. I did not want you to look at this state of mind. However, it is rare to see this expression on my dear, so this is rather amusing. No need, it is futile. Don't you remember? Although you had lost your awareness, you still maintained the thought of using the finger of Nirvana to heal me. While healing your wounds and using the flowery tomb to stabilize my soul, Shinsi had already received this move. My trump card is the demonic birth of the lunar body, which manifested after combining the maiden scripture and the secret of joy technique during the Tao Harmony anointment. The moon alone shines for eternity and its significance courses across the past, present, and the future. Using this concept, I can borrow power from my future self in exchange for my lifespan. Although, because this move is a rough creation, it is not very useful in actual combat. It is even harder to use it continuously, but using a Tao Rhyme higher by one layer was enough to get rid of this fantasy realm. Although your finger of Nirvana is a divine technique, it is not a heaven-defying ability that can improve one's lifespan. Originally, 
I thought that with my talent, even if I could borrow one layer, I may not consume my entire lifespan. Regrettably, this move was not polished, so I couldn't control myself. I can only watch hopelessly as my lifespan is rapidly ebbing away. But now the matter has come to this, it is pointless to regret, so my dear, treat this as my unwavering sacrifice. In the future, no matter how many of your girlfriends are prepared to do this sort of thing for you, I have already snatched their lead. Husband, do you still want my beauty, Chi? I had approached Master and the Inheritance Elder in order to inquire about the finger of flowery swords. I finally understood why I couldn't provide you with my beauty, Chi. It turns out that the beauty chi needed to manifest the flowery primordial spirit must come from the purest and most immaculate affections. My love for you was full of schemes and uncertainties. My dear, for a long time, I believe that you and I are of the same kind, always calculating in our hearts and feeling awkward about speaking our true feelings. But ever since entering the heavenly cave, your words and actions made me feel that maybe I was mistaken about you. Perhaps, what is in your heart isn't only gains and losses, but also. I have to admit, at one point, maybe my heart was actually moved. Moreover, I am about to die, and I don't want to scheme anything anymore. It is too exhausting, too exhausting. My dear, promise me that you will refine my flowery primordial spirit, even if it can't advance in the future, and even if it cannot compare with your other primordial spirits. Husband trump cards are so many, so one inferior primordial spirit probably wouldn't make much of a difference. TL Note, for more details reread CH 272, and here. She is talking about the difference between LV5 and LV6 of Fofs. But I can't help it, I am a selfish woman and this is my final demand. I just want this world to have a proof of my existence, many years later, when my husband reaches the zenith, at least my primordial spirit will continue to exist and make everyone know about what kind of a person I, the magical dignified beauty Chin Shinsi really was. Although, I will no longer be there to witness it. I still have so much unfinished work to do. Serve my master with filial piety, make the M.O. Ching sect the first ranked demonic sect, achieve the heavenly realm. So much left to do. Alas, there isn't enough time. Husband, was my performance just now very touching? Good, my husband is shedding tears. Looks like I win this game. Husband, run, run, you must leave. My lady, did you expect me to believe you are dead? Did you think I wouldn't notice if you're hiding within me in your true chi form? I hadn't noticed before because I was distracted and unprepared, but now I know that you possess this ability. With my absolute control over my body, how can I? Huh? I really can't detect it. My lady, your metamorphosis technique is amazing. You should teach me sometime. Let's not waste any more time. I have already replenished my flowery true chi. You can come out now, finger of nirvana. These sounds. The butterfly wings have returned. This bitch really thinks she can sneak up on me. Once more? This is Beauty Chi? Beautiful girl, is she really? Although I don't know how Chin Shinsi managed to ascend to the innate fourth layer within the fantasy realm that was isolated from the world, but sure enough, she couldn't pay the price needed for such a heaven-defying move. A marvelous prodigy, an unprecedented move. Gone, disappeared just like that. But what's more pitiful is that you missed your chance to escape from this place within the instant my seal was broken, making Chin Shinsi's death a meaningless joke. But she is dead, and your will has been shattered. Now the mental peg has taken root in you, and my purpose is complete. I will spare you a moment of mourning, and wait until all feelings are dispelled. Only the thought of serving me will remain in your mind. Note. It was called Mind Wedge. This is the mental peg? Why didn't it take root within C.A.N.? Could it be that with all this events, including Chin Chinsi's death, his will has not been affected? But he doesn't have the desire for thinking branch, so how did he intercept it with his true chi? 
Blah, blah, blah. I am so fed up with your constant nagging. Since you are so eager to control me, why don't we just make a big bet? Ten punches. Without dodging or evading, if you can take ten punches from me, I will give up all resistance and surrender my mind at your disposal. E Dao Chi, this agreement of ten punches. Do. You. Accept. Without dodging or evading and taking ten punches from you. Did you become insane because of how much you are sorrowful? What makes you think that this king will agree to your absurd request? With the mental peg in your hand that cannot be planted. Using this much time in reality and the fantasy realm to wear us down, yet without any result. Unless I'm willing to open up my mind defenses, do you have any other way you can achieve your goal? If you only wanted to kill me, you could have done so at any time. But after taking so much trouble and getting nothing in the end, would you be willing to leave it at that? Or are you saying that the former patriarch of the dignified XINMO sect doesn't even dare to take this insignificant and eight second layer fist? No distracting thoughts, clear mind, interesting does this cunning boy really want to make this bet? This is really a poor way to provoke people. In order to avenge Chin Shinsi, this is the only method you can think of? Betting everything on these last ten punches, as long as this king doesn't dodge or evade, you think you have a chance to kill me? Okay, this king will accept this ten punches contract. Chin Shinsi put her life on the line and broke one moment of thought. Now, I would like to see how far and which degree this trump card that makes you bet your mind and divine soul on can achieve. If that's the case, then you have to look carefully. To receive my everlasting dominating fist. This is, am I in midair? Myriad transformation demonic body is disintegrating, this king is injured? How is that possible? An innate second layer move? Just one punch has this kind of power? No, if I don't take this move with full defense, the three soul heart lock will be broken. Once again, this king has underestimated the enemy, this guy Xia Yin, he really can't be judged by the ordinary innate second or third layer, but where is Yin Xia? Using this kind of power, could it be that he has already? Above? This move again? And Xia Yan was unharmed? Did this move cost nothing? Should I dodge it? No, it's not hard to dodge this move, but the 10 punches contract has been made. There is no need to add other variables. With this short time, it's enough for this king to retrieve all the myriad transformation demonic body around. The power of a single punch destroys the heavens and the earth, and such destructive power is one of the best among the moves of the inet fourth layer. But with this guy's realm, using a move like this one, which is beyond his level, he can only deal 20% more damage to the enemy than to himself. As I thought, it's indeed the wearing of one's figure to bones and crumbling of one's corporeal body. This is precisely the unique style of the body forging technique, which shatters the way of liberation by decapitation and massacres life and death. So how can he still? Next it's time for the third punch. A healing technique of inversion and rebirth, and a fighting technique of self-destructive outbursts, so this is Yen Xie's real trump card. But such extreme methods will not last, the ten fists contract. I see, this king understands what he wants. It's just that Xia Yan's every blow is on the line of life and death. And if this king were to stop him, a slight mistake could cost him his life. It's been a long time since I've been hurt so badly. Although this move of his is powerful, it is quite restrictive, if it is a normal fight, this king has countless ways to break it, and can even do it unharmed, but now I can only take it hard. Fight back and he'll die, let this king lose first class merit, don't fight back and this king will keep getting beaten. This Xie Yin is truly a good schemer. Note, how I understood it. He wouldn't be able to get a genius like Xie Yin. This 10 punches contract without evading or dodging is really putting this king on the fire. 
If these ten punches could be swung in one breath, this king wouldn't dare to continue playing with you without dodging. Unfortunately, the gap between each punch is too long, giving the myriad transformation demonic body enough time to recover. You're doing useless work after all, C.A.N. Fourth punch. Fifth punch. Sixth punch. Seventh punch. Eighth punch. Ninth punch. Tenth punch. The power of this move is enough to shake the divine soul. If it were not for the time needed for regeneration, I am not sure I can hold the last three soul hardlock. But this tenth punch, before the fist arrived, the momentum decreased, and it couldn't even repel me. It seems that you have finally exhausted all of your tricks and are no longer able to resist. This is your plan, isn't it? You made a 10 punch pack because you can only throw 10 punches when exhausting your methods and exhausting your recovery method, you plan to kill yourself with the last blow so that this king will get nothing? Childish. All I need to do is to wait until the moment when you yourself run out of strength. Now that myriad transformation demonic body has entered your body and assimilated your flesh and blood, you no longer have the means to recover yourself and break free from its control, let alone use self-destructive moves. There is no external cure and no power to resist inside. As long as this king does not allow it, you are not allowed to die. Still, you've seen right through me for the sake of my desperation. Can you answer my last question? Um, I want to know, in the end, where did you first possess G.E.E.? -E? Is it in this secret area of Tao Harmony, or when G.E.E. -E just entered the heavenly cave? Didn't this king make it clear before that it was clearly the latter? G.E.E. -E has a Tao mark that attracts this king, and as long as he steps into original demon heavenly cave, whether he comes here or not, he will not be able to escape this king's possession. Oh, I didn't expect that you were still worrying about G.E.E. -E in the end. It's really a father and son love. But what's the use of this? Laughing. Why are you laughing? I am laughing because some people think they have everything under control, but they don't realize that they are doomed from the start and will only get a beating for nothing. As promised, my divine soul is now completely defenseless. Planting the mental peg can be done anytime you want. You'll have to move fast enough to pretend you made it for once before I fade away completely. This, how is this possible? Your flesh has clearly been repaired, so why is it disintegrating again? Out of the question, I can't lose such first rank talent like him. Myriad transformation demonic body, fill Cian's flesh and blood. Before I threw my last punch, Finger of Nirvana had already depleted my lifespan, E Dao Chi, no matter how talented you are. Can you go against the sky and change my fate and extend my life? I thought I'd risk my life to at least see this guy's soul scattered, but it seems now that I underestimated him. If the beautiful girl saw this scene, she would have scolded me for being presumptuous and foolish again, wouldn't she? But, don't you see? You are a ridiculous, wretched fool who has been teased by the younger generation, who can get nothing and can't do anything. Even if the person who will die is me, it wouldn't change the fact that you were defeated. Not just this time. Next time, when we meet again, compared to what you lost now, I will make you have a complete loss. You. Damn it, damn it all. The user's death has been detected, the life simulation has ended, the user consciousness is returning to the checkpoint established in reality. Consciousness return has been successful, system had restarted. Life simulation consumption is being settled. This is M.O. Ching sect? The life simulation is over, and I'm back before the great gathering of the nine sects started? My lady's beauty chi is gone. Not leaving yet. What are you waiting for? Husband, you. Shinsi, do you think we will be able to find each other when we enter the heavenly cave later? If so. Hmm? 
C-A-N. Why are you making that face? It's nothing. It's just that I feel that my lady is beautiful and attractive today, so I couldn't help but look at her a little more. But the look on your face is clearly. I am grateful for your praise, for it is rare that such words are more pleasant to the ears than the usual sweet words. The great gathering of the nine sex is not like the usual disputes in the martial arts world, so be careful yourself, my husband. Fong Yang, let's go first. There is no rush to talk to the beautiful girl first. The more words that are spoken, the more likely that it will change her actions in the heavenly cave. If it deviates from the life simulation, it will only add variables to the follow-up plan. This evolution of life is all about exploring and looking for mistakes, leaving aside this sudden and unexpected disaster of Yi Dao Chi. If there is anything that I gained, it is probably only the fourth grade Dao Harmony Room and the beauty chi of the beautiful woman. Indeed, I never expected to see the true heart of the alluring girl in that type of situation. In the end, it is only a chance of experiencing a chain of cause and effect within the life simulation, but it can't be repeated. For now, let's focus on solving the big trouble in front of me, eh? Life simulation entered cool down period. The consumption settlement is completed. Remaining origin points, 0 0.000000, the system function is finally back. This life simulation is really an origin points drain. Furthermore, it also burns out my previous inventory of more than 10,000. Although this life simulation effect is going against the sky, it's not only not expensive, but probably even cheaper, but... Although this life simulation effect is going against the sky, it's not only not expensive, but probably even cheaper, but how come the origin points return exactly to zero? Is there such a coincidence? I always feel that your bill calculation are not clear. You're playing around with it. Do you dare to pull me a detailed account to check it? However, the desire for the branch cultivation method that have been harvested in the life simulation have been well preserved. Although it is a fragment, it can also be deduced through the system. Unfortunately, there is no origin points at the moment. I can only hope and rely on the Dao Harmony anointment to solve this problem. Skill input successful skill name, mantra of the inner demons of the six desires desire for thought branch, incomplete, skill introduction, after the user's death defying act. The six desires golden pill has automatically evolved due to the constant destruction inflicted by E. Dao Chi's mental fire, using Mara's true chi to transform the fire of the desire for thought, and then deducing the desire for thought branch's underlying structure. When cultivated to its fullest extent, the user can take a glimpse of the subtleties of the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires desire for thought branch. Current level, not started. Damn, the system does not leave me a few hundred points. At least let me go to a small world wants to harvest origin points. Ah. After the origin points were cleared, the supply will not be available in a short period of time. Just like the life emulation, Finger of Nirvana can only be used by lifespan, it's still quite dangerous to deal with Yi Dao Chi. In this case, asking the sect for help. No, regardless of the fact that I simply cannot explain how I know so much, even if Sister Matriarch believes everything I say, the M.O. Ching sect has no special method to meet in the heavenly cave. What's more, the matter of dealing with Yi Dao Chi is ultimately dangerous, and the loss of any of the innate experts will have a huge impact on the sect, in case the siege isn't successful, in turn, it will make the M.O. Ching sect the first target of Yi Dao Chi's revenge, the gains outweigh the losses, but the problem of Yi Dao Chi cannot be avoided. I have too many secrets and flaws in front of G.E.E. -E. Yi Dao Chi has no interference from the mind which he would still be on my back eventually once he succeeded in taking over the body. When he leaves the heavenly cave and recovers his realm, it will only be more dangerous than in the life simulation. I need a lot of cannon fodder against Yi Dao Chi, and the kind of cannon fodder that doesn't hurt me and I won't care about when they die. Before the end of the life simulation, I have thought of a way to deal with him. The return of the origin points to zero does not have a big impact on the plan. After entering the heavenly cave, I should first act according to the plan, at most be more cautious. It was quite interesting to see Xie Yan's face change, except for that final expression, as if he had made up his mind of some sort. I don't know what he has in mind, 
but I hope everything goes well. Exactly the same as the starting point where I came in in the simulation world, which is great. Now I feel more confident. Next, let me make good use of the information I have received in the life simulation and play around in this original demon heavenly cave. Huh? Chinger? Woo woo woo, my lord, it's a horrible feeling to have your whole body shattered little by little, and the lawfully wedded wife died so tragically, she was so desperate wanting you to live. It's okay, it's okay, that's all fake, nothing has happened in reality yet. Chinger don't be afraid, just think of it as watching a movie. My lord must not let that bad guy off, if he is allowed to get out of here, it will certainly be unfavorable to my lord. Don't worry. This time the hunter has become the prey, and once I'm ready, it will be your lord turn to play with that guy in the palm of my hand. Primary Teleportation Magic Half an hour later, my lord, didn't you say you were going to play that guy in the palm of your hand? But after being teleported here, why did my lord sit still here? By the way, isn't this the place where my lord met the lawfully wedded wife before? But at this time, the lawfully wedded wife shouldn't be here yet, right? Of course. Not just her, the heavenly cave had just opened and everyone are looking for a needle in a haystack to find the entrance to the Dao Harmony Room, just like your lord was at that time. As for dealing with the Dao Chi, what's the hurry? There's still plenty of time, and this time the enemy is in the light and I'm in the dark, so naturally we have to make a good layout. At least now, it is certain that the land of the heavenly cave that I have set foot on in the life simulation also belongs to a place that have been visited and can be reached in an instant using primary teleportation magic. It's just that the heavenly cave laws are more powerful after all, and the most that teleportation magic can do is to reach outside the entrance to the secret realm of the Tao Harmony, but not directly into it. In this way, is it possible that every secret realm of the Tao Harmony is a small world that cannot be crossed? But it's enough to confirm that teleportation magic can be used to instantly go to the entrance of the Tao Harmony Room that I have set foot on in the life simulation. The next step is the most crucial one. In order to defeat E Dao Chi, the fourth grade Dao Harmony Room anointment is very important to make a breakthrough, but to get this opportunity, the key is not whether someone will snatch it later, but before that. Before the opening of the heavenly cave, E Dao Chi's demonic thoughts had been living on the puppet, and when Ge -E -E found me, E Dao Chi had already possessed him. So at this point in time, where is Idaochi's demonic thoughts? If it is still in the secret territory, then I would undoubtedly be a sheep in a tiger's mouth by diving in, but previously, Idaochi had said himself that he had been attracted to the Tao mark in GEE -E Divine Soul. After the latter setting foot in the heavenly cave, E. Dao Chi then left the secret realm of Dao Harmony to seize G. E. Yi's body. There was no reason for E. Dao Chi to lie about this matter, which was a foregone conclusion. With G. E.'s share, he will be the first to enter the heavenly cave and will never delay a minute. To be cautious, I have waited for half an hour. No matter how you look at it, there is a high probability that E. Dao Chi is not in the secret realm of Dao Harmony. Chinger, act according to what was just explained. Yes, sir, Ku. Good, looks like the right bet this time. My lord, this puppet is just like the one seen in the life simulation. It doesn't move at all, even if Chinger pecks it, it doesn't react at all. I saw it. In that case, the demonic thoughts of E. Dao Chi have left the puppet and gone forward to possess G. E. E. Now the question is, it's not impossible that E. Dao Chi could control this puppet remotely by some method, it's just that, if he can use this puppet as his eyes and ears, then at this moment that I have been standing here for a long time, the system must more or less provided me with some origin points of surprise, right? Desire for sight visualization, no matter what method Z Dao Chi has, the change in his own emotions cannot be skipped. As long as there is no system prompt, it means that E Dao Chi does not know that I have stepped into this place. But just to be on the safe side, it's a good idea to take extra precautions. Chinger, 
You fly straight back to the edge of the cliff from which we came in the simulation world. Stand guard there and use every method you can think of to distract anyone who might approach the cliff so that they have no time to notice the golden light in the clouds. If the other party decides to come here, you will wake me up through the consciousness link. Ku, Chinger got it and promised to complete the task. Next, it is a must to race against time to seize the original demon epiphany. Very good. At the cost of the Six Desires golden pill being digested at the beginning, my true art of Mara finally broke through the unknown bottleneck and was promoted to LV5. Although the desire for Thought Branch was only a fragment, but under the original Demon Epiphany anointment, it also got supplemented to a complete one, but it seems to be different compared with the version of Desire for Thought Branch mastered by Yi Dao Chi. But it doesn't matter, there is nothing perfect in this world. After all, now I have no origin points at all, it is impossible to use the system function to deduce and fuse cultivation methods before the anointment. It is already a fluke that the original demon epiphany can allow me to integrate the desire for thought branch into the true art of Mara and altogether hitting the bottleneck and succeed. The anointment this time not only used the desire for thought branch to supplement and advance the true art of Mara, but also enhanced the foundation of the true art of Mara, and even the last three difficulties of the eight difficulties demonic technique have been mastered by me in a brand new way. Skill Mastery True Art of Mara, Current Level LV5, Current Effect, an unparalleled, soul-bound mystical art formed by the amalgamation of the strengths of various demonic arts. This martial art has been reconstructed and forged through the original Demon Epiphany anointment. At its current level, one can feed on emotions of all beings to generate thoughts of fiery intent, which can be used in countless and ingenious ways. Although the Six Desires Gold Pill has been completely refined, now that the true art of Mara has already risen to the innate, its true chi has settled to the innate second layer, but from now on, it has gotten rid of the dependence on external objects and has been able to generate and originate on its own. If it weren't for the fact that the anointment was not yet over, I would have liked to go out and try it right away. However, the time left is far from enough to upgrade the true art of Mara to LV6. Anyway, after breaking through the innate bottleneck, I can already use the origin points to upgrade, so there is no need to continue to waste the original demon epiphany. Next, it's time to accelerate the construction of the evil god's primordial spirit. I just don't know whether the primordial spirit will be Miss Yan or Xiao Yao. This appearance is Absolutely never expected that after building the evil god's primordial spirit, the flowery true chi directly broke through to the innate third layer. It seems that this technique cannot be judged from an ordinary perspective. The primordial spirit is not the result of the improvement of the realm. Instead, the construction of the primordial spirit serve as background to let the realm get upgraded. Dissipate, current realm, innate third layer, innate second layer, current origin point, 0 0.00724, skill mastery, finger of flowery swords, current level, LV5, current effect, the beauty gains insight into the Tao. The sword gives rise to the primordial spirit. February 4th. Sure enough, after the breakthrough of the two cultivation methods, one went up and in the other went down, they just changed their realms. If I didn't actually feel the enhancement of my skills, I would have really thought I was being scammed. Unfortunately, as before, the two types of true chi could not be converted into each other. If it wasn't for some mysterious power given by the system to isolate the two, I would have gone off the rails by now. A moment ago, I used up a few of the original demon epiphany to try making the flowery true chi and Mara true chi harmonize with each other. Unexpectedly, it didn't have any effect at all. So it seems that the system is still better in this regard. The anointment is over. Chinger, come back. Eh, hey, is it over? Chinger watched for a long time, but there was no one outside. 
I didn't expect the anointment to go so well. Not only did he Dao Chi not return, but no one noticed the bright light in the clouds. Now that the first anointment is over, and this place is hidden in the clouds and mist, there is no need to worry about it being occupied. The second original demon epiphany will be kept for the beautiful woman. It's just that I don't know where she is now. Nevertheless, the safest thing to do is to wait for her in the secret realm of Tao Harmony when the time comes. My lord, my lord, this fourth level Tao Harmony room is so rare. It must be very powerful, right? Have you gotten some new moves? Are they powerful? About that, your lord have just comprehended it. Although I have a rough idea about the changes in my abilities, but as for how strong they are, I haven't yet had the chance to try them out. Wait a minute, isn't this a good target to use? GEE -E had said that although the puppet would not fight back, but it's also have the strength of an innate fourth layer, and even him would have to take some trouble to solve it. Now that my true chi cultivation has doubled, my physical body constitution has also increased a little bit. In theory, the destructive power of the everlasting dominating fist should be somewhat stronger than before. I'll give it a punch and see. Everlasting dominating fist. It didn't even budge. Are you kidding me? Although it is far from my strongest strike, it's still 70% to 80% of my normal strength, and I can't even break this puppet's defense. But thinking about it carefully, apart from the end of the life simulation, the beautiful woman and I also basically did not hurt the physical body of the Yi Dao Chi in the slightest. This puppet has no fancy tricks, so it makes sense that the Chi body shield is strong. Rather, it have to be this hard and strong to able to test the effect of my new moves. Very good, not much different from what I expected at the beginning. The evil god primordial spirit comes from the Shang Guan sisters, or rather from the evil god themselves, which is occupied by the Shang Guan sisters, and their characteristic are exactly assimilation and erosion. She can pass through the true chi barrier held up by her opponent without hindrance and then merge with her opponent's true chi. Once invaded into the true chi cycle, it automatically begins to assimilate all the true chi it comes into contact with. As long as I have the intention to, all that true chi would dissolve away as if it had never existed. In front of the evil god primordial spirit, any body protection true chi will be useless. Of course, this is for targeting the same realm or lower realm. If the other party's true chi cultivation base is higher than mine, it will not be so simple, but now this puppet doesn't know how to resist, and it's an easy target for the evil god's primordial spirit. And when she attacks with full force, every punch is equivalent to the innate third layer version of Withering of the Hundred Flowers. As long as there is no body true chi protection, even if the material of the puppet body of the innate fourth layer is indestructible, but it cannot escape the fate of being completely destroyed from inside out by the several streams of sword true chi from the withering of hundred flowers. In terms of sheer destructive power under regular conditions, the finger of flowery swords at the innate third layer is already the strongest among the martial arts I have mastered so far. Everlasting dominating fist and true art of Mara are no match for it. But if I have to talk about destructive power under abnormal conditions, the true art of Mara at LV5, coordinated with the everlasting dominating fist, is the strongest. Gee, if the battle is stretched out a little longer, then I can't even imagine the picture. I dare to kill anyone. It's a pity that this puppet lacks any divine soul or thoughts of its own. Almost all moves in that combination affect the opponent's consciousness. I can't use its body to test the effects. My lord, I'm back, huh? You have already destroyed the puppet, my lord. My lord, your current appearance is ferocious. This time you can certainly beat that bastard to death. Silly girl, I blew up a guardian puppet that won't fight back, that's all. Moreover, Idaochi's mantra of the inner demons of the six desires is at least at LV6, and on top of that, GEE's cultivation base is at the innate fourth layer. All my martial arts are at LV5 at best, and my cultivation base is at the innate 2ND slash 3RD layer. How can I clash with him head on? 
Yi Dao Chi suffered losses only because he underestimated the enemy. How can I commit the same mistake? I had acted impulsively before because I was relying on the life simulation. After returning to reality, I have to be extra cautious and I cannot afford to behave rashly or drop my guard. Rash behavior, dropping your guard? Isn't that what the lawfully wedded wife commented about you, my lord? Looks like my lord actually took the lawfully wedded wife's remarks to heart. What are you blabbing about? Even without those remarks from that vixen, my usual way of handling matters is to work smart, not work hard. Oh, oh. This time, just watch and learn. I'll make you understand what is known as driving the wolves to devour the tiger. Reap the profits without lifting a finger. Sneaky Ching or Few, after five or six tries with the teleportation spell, I finally found the right person. Until my lord arrives, Chinger needs to hide well so that this bad woman wouldn't find me out. I was wondering why I felt a familiar stream in Chi nearby, but it was you little girl. By the way, how do you find me every time? Hmm? You didn't do something to me, did you? Yikes. Don't come over here, don't come over here. Chinger still need to complete the task given by my lord and obtain a proper observation of the surroundings for my lord. It's all right, Chinger, you've done a great job. The synchronized vision information is enough for me to confirm where you are. Two minutes later, little ghost girl, how long will you pretend to be deaf and dumb? If you don't tell me how you found me, I will. What do you want? I said you were bullying my chinger, and you still felt wronged, but now I've caught you in the act, right? This sound is. Brother Huayu. As expected, teleportation magic took effect smoothly. The fact that Chinger was able to bring back memories from the life simulation shows that our connection is much stronger than expected, and now it seems that not only what Chinger see is what I can saw, but even the places she visited are equivalent to the places I have set foot in. Now Mara's true Chi can have an unending stream and be transformed into forbidden magic breath. From now on, there is no need to worry about the consumption of this teleportation magic. How did Senior Brothers suddenly appear here? I didn't even notice anything. Did you use mantra of formlessness to copy a new technique? Could it be that this little ghost girl is playing the outpost on behalf of my senior brother? What's wrong with that? Isn't your five elements escape just the same and have the ability to appear and disappear unpredictably? In addition, everyone can have a unique technique of concealing breath, still. That's my Chinger, who has a name and a surname. Don't always call her little ghost girl. Aren't you going to let her out yet? Senior brother misunderstood. I also like this girl Chinger. That's why I want to get close to her every time. For the secret cultivation method, if senior brother is cautious and unwilling to speak, then I won't ask you neither about it nor about how you found this place. It's just that instead of looking for opportunities in the heavenly cave, senior brother took the time to come looking for me. Senior brother, are you trying to get me to do something bad with you again? We're fellow conspirators who engage in some perfectly innocent intrigue, so why did you make it sound like something indecent is going on between us? Besides, can't you come up with something a bit nicer? Do you see me as a man that only comes to you when he wishes to concoct some nefarious scheme that should never be exposed? Do you still think I don't know what kind of character you have? If it wasn't something profitable and difficult to work for it alone, you wouldn't have taken the time to come to me. Do you want to say that you pity me for my hard work in finding a Tao Harmony Room, so you have come to give me a share of that chance? The hidden meaning in your words implement that I am preventing you from finding a Tao Harmony Room? Well, then I won't waste any more time I need you to help me make a connection and bring a message to your Vice Taoist Master, Sure Taipu. This is not a difficult task for you, is it? Marshal Uncle Sure? It is not difficult to contact fellow disciples with Chung Ling's secret technique. But, Senior Brothers should never have dealt with this old man, right? What kind of urgent news are there that you need to bring to him in the Heavenly Cave? It's not much, you just have to tell him. 
There is someone who wants to arrange to kill G.E.E. -E in this original demon heavenly cave. If Chung Ling Dao still harbors a grudge over Zhao Xiu's death, he would like to invite Vice Daoist Master Xiu to join him and help Chung Ling Dao to kill this man to take revenge and wipe out a grudge. Brother G.E., this joke is not funny. Didn't we say we wouldn't waste any more time? You can tell at a glance if I'm joking or not. Even when you are aware of this, you are still trying to talk like that. Now after all this, who exactly is wasting time? Since senior brother behaves like this, then this little girl will not beat around the bush and speak directly. Does senior brother thinks that no one of my Chung Ling Dao can see through this obvious strategy of driving the tiger to devour the wolf? And yet how can Marshall Uncle Sure be easily used by others? That's why I came to find you. The words of an outsider are just words of mischief, but the words of a family member, even if they are unpleasant to the ears, are still words of advice that will clear up the pros and cons as long as you give your consent. I am sure there is always a way to persuade the Vice Taoist master of your faction. Senior brother, this is a bit demanding. Although you and I are close brother and sister, this little girl is also a disciple of Chung Ling Dao. How can there be any logic for someone to instigate his own martial uncle to go into a game knowing that he is being used by others? Stop pretending, if G.E.E. -E were to die, from all people of Chung Ling Dao, Yin Ryu would benefit the most, you should be eager to facilitate this. Senior brother's words are inexplicable, this little girl is unable to make any sense of the matter. Am I wrong? From the moment you killed Zhao Xiu and framed Ji Yi Huayu, the best situation for you would be for both Chun Ling Dao and the XINMO sect to conclude the matter. Only when Chun Ling Dao kills the shield you threw up and gets things done, can you completely remove yourself from this matter. Otherwise, once both sides calm down and confront each other, there will always be a time when suspicion will fall on you, the only witness. Before, you kept saying that you wanted to clear up the misunderstanding for me to your Taoist master, but it was just a show for fear of being hated by me. Even if I didn't take the initiative to take the blame at the time, you would have just gone along with it and then pretend that you have tried your best, but you are powerless to change the sex decision. Senior brother is worthy of being called a senior brother. The little bit of careful thinking of this little girl is completely clear in front of senior brother eyes, and I can't hide it at all. However, it is only for self-protection, and I beg senior brother not to blame me. Anyway, your intentions do not conflict with my plans, so I did not expose them at the time, and I don't need to blame you now. But now that our interests are aligned again, junior sister must participate in this round, right? Unfortunately, although this little girl would like to see this happen, it is not possible. Why? Senior brother isn't aware, Marshal Uncle Sher Taipu has a cautious personality and is a well-known rationalist in the sect. This trip to the Heavenly Cave is only to seek the anointment of the Tao Harmony to make him break through, and he will never waste time participating in a siege situation that is uncertain. Rationalist? Meaning chasing G.E.E. -E in the Heavenly Cave for four or five hours? This woman is full of nonsense. If I hadn't already known Sir Taipu's deeds and life simulation, I would have been deceived by you. But Yin Ryu's decision is not difficult to understand. Although killing G.E.E. -E is beneficial to her, from her standpoint, there is no need to facilitate this matter within the Heavenly Cave. Once in the game, she might be ordered by Sir Taipu to join the war together. Looking for one's own safety before anything else is one thing, but the most important point Yen Ryu is worried about is missing the chance of the Tao Harmony anointment. When all is said, the fact remains that in the end no one will escape when there are benefits. The matter of Yi Dao Qi is of great importance, and mistakes cannot be made in key links and crucial parts. Anyway, I have plenty of information about the Tao Harmony rooms, so instead of giving it to another sex disciples, it would be better to trade it for a deal. It's just because things are difficult that your help is needed. Good, as long as you make this happen, I'll share the third grade Tao Harmony room I found with you. I've already resolved the guardian puppet for you, and I can even help protect you for a while. In this way, no matter how much time you spend talking and stirring Sir Taipu, you will not be at a disadvantage. Is this true, senior brother? Naturally true. 
when you cooperated with your senior brother, did you ever get treated unfairly? Even if there was some obstruction in the past, it is still a matter of the past, and when there are benefits in the future, you will not be left out. These words have a hidden meaning, in addition to the fact that as soon as he start talking earlier, he want to encircle and kill G.E.E. -E. Is this person saying that even if I see through his cover that he is not G.E. Huayu, it will not prevent us from continuing to cooperate? If what he said is true, he is indeed much more generous than G.E. Huayu. The conversation up to now, Yen Ryu is not even asking G.E. Huayu about the motive of killing G.E.E. -E. Not even trying to pretend, is it a tacit statement? She doesn't need to pretend, just want to cooperate. So, it is exactly what I want. Then I would like to thank Senior Brother in advance. It's just that the Dao Harmony Room is so important, it would be bad if others were to discover it. My good Senior Brother, Junior Sister also knows a little bit about formations. Why don't we go to the Dao Harmony Room first and do some work around it, so that we can be more secure? Come on, put away your petty thoughts. We still have to work together after the great gathering of the nine sects in the matter of Shilan country. How can I possibly fool you at this time? Time is critical in this game, so help me take care of Shir Taipu first, and I will take you to the Dao Harmony Chamber afterwards. Then how should this little girl explain the reason to Marshal Uncle Shir? If I tell him G.E. Huayu's name, Marshal Uncle will think it's a trap. Is it possible that you want to say that it is Xie Yan of the M.O. Ching sect that is involved? Is it that complicated? You just need to tell Sir Taipu. The person who invited your Chongling Dao to besiege and kill G.E.E. -E is exactly Su Min? Chongling Dao's deputy Daoist master Sir Taipu. You said that Su Min found you inside the heavenly cave and asked you to act as a middleman to join hands with my Chongling Dao to kill G.E.E. -E together? Yes. When I went to the XINMO sect to investigate the death of senior brother Zhao, I met with Su Min at the literary meeting in Hang Wang Pavilion when I was passing through Yuzhou. He secretly met with me and talked about G.E. Huayu's killing of senior brother Zhao. Su Min said that G.E.E. -E had taught his son poorly and acted in an overbearing and domineering manner and consider everyone else beneath him, and that there were many people in the sect who do not accept him, but they did not dare to speak out due to G.E.E.'s power. The great gathering of the nine sects is the best opportunity to separate him from his faction and kill him in one fell swoop. TL note, either the author team got this incorrect and they should put you to otherwise it is a new town near the XINMO sect. This little girl thought that Vice Patriarch Su was just being verbally aggressive. Unexpectedly, he left his demonic breath on my body at that time, and after entering the heavenly cave, he followed my traces and proposed this matter again after finding me. I did not dare to make my own decision, so I have come to ask Marshal Uncle for advice. Many people who do not accept him? Humph, I'm afraid that it is only Su Min's own influence that is suffering, right? Su Min and G.E.E. -E have been at odds for a long time, and this is indeed something that has been spread throughout the demonic sections if Su Min wants to take this opportunity to kill G.E.E. -E, it is not entirely impossible. It's just. The timing is not right. From the opening of the heavenly cave until now, it's only been over an hour, and unless he is as lucky as I am, that's not enough time for Su Min to find the Dao Harmony Chamber and complete the initiation and contact Yin Ryu along with it. Could it be that Su Min's grudge against G.E.E. -E has become so great that he can't even care about the opportunity of the great gathering of the nine sects? It's not impossible, but something doesn't feel right. Ryu, do you think this is credible? This. I'm not experienced enough. I don't know if my judgment is accurate. I'd better listen to my martial uncle. This old man is not testing you. Just give your honest opinion. Sure enough, martial uncle sure is still suspicious. Although on the surface he always acts reckless and wild, he is one of the best in the sect when it comes to the depth of scheming and shrewdness. If senior brother want to set up this game, he should get around this hurdle after all. Right now my words are still flawless, after all, it is impossible for Marshal Uncle to really go and confront Su Min, but what should I say next? If this leads to suspicion, will the sect re-evaluate the death of Zhao Xie? 
This little girl thinks. This is not credible. Not credible? What's your reason? This is a matter of great importance. Logically, in this situation, Su Min should come along with this little girl to meet with Marshall Uncle, even if establishing the great inner demon oath is not too much TL note. It means, to know Su Min's sincerity, he should make that oath for Chung Ling Dao to believe in him. But now he said that in order to lure GEE, -E, he needs to gather his henchmen, so he had no time to spare to come here, but letting this little girl to pass information between the two parties. Even setting a place and asked for us to immediately leave to prepare for an ambush in such haste, it seems that he intends to leave us no time to think about it. Su Min and GEE -E have been at odds for many years. If you want to successfully lure the enemy, it is not surprising that the arrangement will take time, but what you're worried about is that the two of them are pretending to be at odds, and now that they've come up with this plan, the real target is our Chung Ling Dao. This little girl is also aware, because of the XIN MO sect without end internal struggle for many years, this worry is absurd, but my heart still feel restless. What's more, with GE Yi's strength, even if Su Min is sincere in his arrangement, how easy is it to kill him? Unless GEE -E can be lured into a dead end where he has nowhere to escape and blocked by an array, then it will be foolproof. In this great gathering of the nine sects, the heavens have favored my Chung Ling Dao, and through the secret method of contact and separate exploration, many disciples have already accomplished their anointment and the secret realms of Dao Harmony they have found are rich in Yin Qi and suitable for my Chung Ling Dao to arrange a battle array for an ambush. If arranging a battle array for an ambush could be done in those places, once the enemy enter, he will be trapped and killed, and can be blocked and can't escape. Even if the XIN MO sect intends to backstab us by relying on the sect's secret method, this old man can get out at any time. As expected, all kind of risks that are in this game, even if others don't say anything about it, Marshall Uncle himself is aware of them. If I were to advocate to join this plot, some concern and worry would be born in his ear, so much that even doubting me. But on the other hand, as long as I try my best to advise against this matter, because of Marshall Uncle's paranoid and suspicious nature, he will go against my reasoning and try to think of a possible solution. What's more, the person who killed senior brother Zhao is G.E. Huayu. Why should we abandon the easy and seek the difficult and set for such a strong enemy? In my opinion, it is better not to get involved in this game. But no matter how much I say, the final decision will still be made by Marshall Uncle himself. Why is that guy G.E. Huayu to the end is certain that regardless of everything, Marshall Uncle sure will participate in the siege to kill G.E.E.? -E? You are wrong. When Zhao Xiu's death spread all over the world, and when you brought back the conclusion that Ji e Huayu was the murderer, my Chung Ling Dao and Ji e e are destined to fight until one of us die. Martial uncle words are not understandable. To take revenge, shouldn't we hunt down Ji e Huayu? Even if we coerce Ji e e, it is only to find out the whereabouts of his son, right? What if you found him? Give him a slap to death? After the tiger lost his son, judging by Ji Yi's past, he will not leave the matter at that. If Chung Ling Dao wanted revenge, from the start Ji -E, e can't be avoided, and only with his death everything can be solved once and for all. In each and every cause my Chung Ling Dao behavior is extreme, and seek revenge for the smallest grievance, and so everyone call us mad dogs, but is this because Chung Ling Dao disciples are inherently crazier and more belligerent than others? The reason for this, most of your generation don't understand why, you only see the fierce reputation of Chung Ling Dao that makes people fear and avoid us, and many people even act arrogantly, bossy, and domineeringly because of it. But they have never thought about why my Chung Ling Dao is in the state it is in today. Although the Great Han Nine demonic sects come from the same origin, however they each inherited different cultivation methods from the original demon sect, and the paths they follow are also different. When Dao, Qing Ming, Supreme Tantra, all follow the great Dao of introspection without relying on external objects, and everyone's eyes, what is called demonic sect is no more than a name. Xin Mo Sect, Mo Qing Sect, 
blissful temple, all follow the great Tao of seven emotions and six desires, experiencing worldly affairs, but never retire from society, except for their lack of moral code. They are no different from righteous sections as for Bai Lian Xie Lu and Qi Lian cult, although their techniques are bizarre, their underhandedness masks their sheer cruelty. Whether they harm or help anyone is left to the whim of each practitioner. Their sects have forged numerous ties with the imperial court over the ages, which have secretly granted them many favor. Note, it was called previously by Shuo Xie and also in Wiki, but it seems we were both wrong. Among the nine sects, the great Tao of my Chongling Tao is truly unacceptable in the world. To restrain and refine the soul, draining the bones to raise the spirit, slaughtering blood sacrifices, and expel the living. Cultivating thousands of mortal souls, nurturing my Tao until achieving the true spirit every Chongling Tao disciple seeks this path, destined to have an innumerable debt of blood and a lot of dead people, as light as the death of a village and a county and heavy is the bloody massacre of a city and a country. In the eyes of the righteous, we are nefarious demons with crooked path to catch us and be punished by everyone. In the eyes of demonic sex, we are also different type of people that walk a shady and crafty path, which is hostile and disgusting. In order to survive, Chong Ling Dao can only rely on itself, on the fellow members of the sect whose lives and souls are tied with the same path, on the madness of doing whatever it takes in battle, and on the ruthlessness of retaliating against the enemy. If anyone dares to harm a disciple of Chong Ling Dao, if he injures one of us, we will kill that person, if he kills one, we will slaughter his clan. This is Chong Ling Dao rule that has been imprinted on the hearts of the world by the blood of generations over the last hundred years. Only when they are afraid will no one dare to wave the banner of wiping out demons to defend the path and oppose my Chong Ling Dao and raise a group to attack. Only then can the incident of Tai Xian sect during that time not be repeated today. TL Note Path is translation of Dao which is also mean the way. Zhao Xiu's death is certainly deplorable but neither the Taoist master nor this old man is afraid that his revenge will not be avenged. What we are afraid of is that someone openly provokes my Chongling Dao rule and the fear of the blood of the dead spattered on the ground be trampled on and fear that the people around the world think that. My Chongling Dao is weak. So what does Marshall Uncle mean is? This time, Chongling Dao must participate. But it must also be done in our own way. Go and summon all the disciples in the heavenly cave using the ghost domain voice transmission. Su Min wants to kill Gee, -E, then this old man will pour out the power of Chong Ling Dao to help him, as long as he lures Gee -E in, whether he is sincere in his layout or plotting against my Chong Ling Dao. This time, this old man will make sure that the enemies of Chong Ling Dao will never leave this original demon heavenly cave. Using the ghosts of the two martial uncles as a guide, gathering the power of Chong Ling disciples to refine the Yin Chi secret realm. Gathering souls for a battle array and detaining the world this is the secret technique of the sect, the tomb locks thousand souls great formation. Ruyu The great formation will be completed, and you will not need to assist in the latter part of the matter. Go and contact Su Min and give him the Red Road Guide, so that he knows where this place is. I'll wait for him to bring Gee -E to the secret realm of Dao Harmony. But, suddenly changing the ambush location, if by any chance Su Min doesn't agree, or even walking with Gee -E, and I can't contact him, with your Taoist skills, this old man believe it will not be difficult to contact Su Min, it's just changing the ambush location. This old man believes that with Su Min's rigorous schemes and deep foresight, he can handle it. If he objects, then it can only show that he is having ulterior motives. Will fellow disciples participate in this formation ambush? Should this matter be concealed from Su Min? No need to. The most important thing is not to deceive each other in a siege, so just tell the truth. After the formation is over, this old man will order the other disciples to leave. Their realm is insufficient, instead by participating in this battle, they will become a burden, they might as well go and help their fellow disciples to search for Tao Harmony chances. As you said, if Su Min's plan goes well, he should be able to find the elders of the XINMO sect who support him, this battle strength is enough. 
Even if Su Min was the only one who came, and with the support of my Chunling formation, it will only take a little more time to kill a single GEE. -E. However, if the situation changes, other disciples do not have the ability to escape from the secret realm of Dao Harmony, instead there is risk of them losing their lives. Nevertheless, it is better for only this old man and junior brother way two of us to stay, that will suffice. As for the Black Road Guide, it is for you. It points to another second grade Dao Harmony room, which your senior brother Song has just used not long ago. Although you are only mediating between the two parties for contact, in the end it will delay your time for your chance search. This old man is in charge, and this Dao Harmony room can be regarded as compensation for you. Ruyu thanks Marshall Uncle. This little girl will go and get in touch with Su Min to arrange the layout. What about compensation? It's just a second grade Dao Harmony room, nothing more. Compared with GE Huayu, the benefits offered by the sect really pale in comparison. However, Marshall Uncle is willing to take the risk and enter this game, even at the expense of so much fanfare. The reason behind it is so simple that it makes people laugh. No matter how you put it, the so-called rule are no more than a barbarian and tyrant way of slaughter and deterrence. It's really a shame that Marshall Uncle can say this without hesitation. It's just that this is the first time I've heard of it. How on earth could G.E. Huayu, as an outsider, make such an accurate judgment? Seeking and climbing threads and deducing people's hearts, just relying on the past deeds of my Chongling Dao, being able to grasp the thoughts of Marshall Uncle? This person's mind is deep. It seems that it is far beyond my expectations. In dealing with him in the future, I must be more cautious. Senior brother, the great formation will be ready in about eight minutes. Just as instructed, the power of the formation is now dominated by the soul lock, and even an innate fifth layer master cannot easily leave this formation. But in this way, the soul grinding effect of the cultivation method to kill the enemy has dropped sharply. I am afraid that it will not be of much use in the battle. Chong Ling Dao and eight third layer Wei Ichi. Senior brother arranged in this way. Still, are you convicted that Su Min will not change his sides just before the battle? A defensive heart should always be there. But even if Yuan Xing really wanted to conspire against my Chongling Dao, with Su Min being that cunning, how could he honestly and sincerely cooperate with G E E? The only thing that is worth worrying about is G E E's trump card. Therefore, this formation must be mainly a blockade, as long as G E E can't escape, no matter what his abilities are, this old man can slowly wear him down till he has nothing left. After a while, my lord, Chinga brought her here, and we were very careful along the way, not letting others notice the location of this secret realm of Dao Harmony. It's hard work for my Chinga, he he, this time I finally helped, this is indeed an innate third layer puppet, in the end how did G.E. Huayu get rid of it without the slight injury, how strong is he now? It's been two hours, I hope you've done everything before you come back. Origin points obtained, shock. 0.01 .01 points, Yen Ruyu, origin points obtained, fear, 0.01 .01 points, Yen Ruyu. Causing trouble to senior brother by making him wait for a long time, this little girl also rushed back to report as soon as there was a result. I just hope that the result will not disappoint the senior brother. This is... This is my Chung Ling Dao Pulling Soul Road Guide technique. It can use Yin Chi as a guide to imprint the location information in one's mind and pass it on to others. As long as Senior Brother injects True Chi into it, he will be able to see the place geographical location and internal condition. Marshall Uncle insisted on changing the location of the ambush, and this little girl really had no way to convince him, so I had no other choice but to follow Marshall Uncle Wish. Now my Chongling Dao gathers the strength of more than a half of the disciples in the heavenly cave to set up a formation. As long as G.E.E. -E steps into that place, Marshall Uncle will immediately block the secret realm of Dao Harmony, so that he can only enter but not leave. Marshall Uncle explained that he would not wait around there foolishly. At most, he would wait for four hours. If G.E.E. -E still did not come after four hours, then the siege plan will be abandoned, and Chung Ling Dao would find another opportunity to deal with G.E.E. -E. 
I just don't know with this change of the ambush location, will it affect my senior brother's plan? What the hell, such a big deal. I thought a few people from Chongling Dao at most would ambush. The location of this secret realm of Dao Harmony is exactly within the range of G.E. Yi's movements that I predicted. It is not difficult to lure G.E.E. -E to this place, and the presence of this great formation is an unexpected blessing. As for the time, no problem. Four hours is more than enough. Speaking of which, senior brothers truly have an incredible foresight. This little girl restrained herself as senior brother said, and stated the pros and cons, without deliberate inciting words, then Marshall Uncle without hesitation wanted to surround and kill G.E.E. -E. In this way, regardless of whether this matter is successful or not, this little girl will not be blamed by Marshall Uncle sure, this is all thanks to the thoughtful senior brother, this little girl is very grateful. Save the flattery. Hurry up and enter the Dao Harmony Room for the anointment. If it is delayed for a long time, it will be troublesome if there are people nearby. Yeah right, if you are truly grateful, how come you didn't give me any origin points of positive emotions? This woman, always without overlooking any gap or window to put on an act, saying that she is grateful to me for being thoughtful, if I didn't make such a proposal would you still risk being suspected and instigate your taipu to do it? There is nothing to be afraid of, with senior brother standing guard for this little girl, how can there be any twists and turns in this anointment? But with such an opportunity, could it be that senior brother doesn't intend to use it first? It's okay for this little girl to go in after my senior brother. Your senior brother had a deep fortune and already had the anointment elsewhere. You can take advantage of this opportunity for yourself, but I will only be here for half a stick of incense, and I will leave as soon as the strong light outside is extinguished, so you had better make your own arrangements. Half a stick of incense? Does senior brother have the heart to do so? Letting your good younger sister to have the anointment all alone, without anyone who can take care of her? Isn't it enough to look after this place for half a stick of incense? If there is no strong light to use as a guide, you also understand thoroughly how difficult to find the entrance to the secret realm of Dao Harmony. As long as your luck is not extremely bad, how could it be possible for someone to come to you? What's more, don't think I don't know what scheme you're up to, I'm just too lazy to expose it. Next, I have to try to lure G.E.E. -E into the trap. Time is precious and I can't spend too long here. Then, for this full half a stick of incense, senior brother must by all means stand guard for this little girl. Don't worry, when have I ever lied to you about what I promised you? My lord is awesome, in just a few words, you can see through a few thoughts of this bad woman. But then again, what dirty trick did she have? How should I know? Either she want to follow and keep a close watch over me after the anointment to ensure that the killing siege will not go wrong, or she planned to continue to please me for more favors something like that, even if it doesn't, it's not far off. Huh? My lord is not sure, but still say so confidently. Although I am not sure of her purpose, but I am sure that in Yen Ryu's heart, I have become a person with deep scheming and hard to fathom. After leaving the heavenly cave, she may slowly figure out that something is wrong, but at least for now, if I say a few words casually, Yen Ryu will believe it and will not dare to have any extra thoughts. So the reason why my lord let Chinger accompany her and inquire about what your Taipu said is because you don't want to ask in person and break the illusion of this hard to predict image? How can it be for this much troublesome thoughts? It's just to save time. With Yen Ryu's temperament, even if I didn't pretend to be mysterious, she wouldn't dare to do anything out of the ordinary in front of me. Then we just have to wait for the strong light to disappear and force back the opponents who come to this place. After a while, half a stick of incense time is over, it's time for this king to find that vixen girl. What the hell, how come in Yen Ryu's side, nobody found out the place from start to finish? Although it is a good thing that I didn't have to waste time, but it is the same Dao Harmony anointment, why when I used it at that time there was a monk and a Taoist? It is impossible to generalize about the luck of different people, that's all, counting the time, the vixen should show up at this place, so I'll just wait. Husband? How could it be you? How could you also be searching here? In this case, there is no gain in the forest ahead? 
Who said that there is nothing to gain, isn't the entrance to the secret realm of Tao Harmony in front of you? But it won't take long for people to come to this place, it's not a reliable opportunity. Come, my lady, let your husband take you to find a bigger and better one. Inside the fourth grade Tao Harmony secret realm. The entrance hidden in a sea of fog, a puppet with a peculiar shape, this Tao Harmony secret realm is really different than any information in the sect. Is it possible that this is really? How is it? Seeing is believing, my lady should believe that this place is the four grade Tao Harmony room, right? Before, when I asked you to leave that third level Tao Harmony room, you were still a little unhappy. Even if I had told you that your husband had found the legendary 4th grade Tao Harmony Room, you would still be dubious now that you're at the door. Does the lady have anything else to say? What husband said, Shinsi naturally believe it. But Shinsi is actually confused. It is not just the Tao Harmony Room in front of our eyes. There are also many things that husband haven't yet answered. For example, how did husband find Shinsi? And how did he defeat the puppet? By all rights, this puppet should be at the innate realm fourth layer, right? Well, my lady just think that it's another secret of her husband. Anyway, there are many secrets of her husband that she can't figure out, and it's not any different to have a new one. Strange, why do I feel that Xie Yan's attitude has suddenly changed a lot? As usual, shouldn't you make up some plausible excuses to stuff me? Now with this kind of behavior, it actually feel more and more, being frank. I also know that the doubts in my lady's heart cannot be dispelled in a word or two. But the chance is ahead. Does my lady plan to have the anointment first or discuss her husband's secret first? Then in that case, Shinsi will go inside first for the anointment and then discuss the rest with my husband after it is over. This time, I would also like to thank you for the gift of this opportunity. Hey, it's obvious that your heart is about to burst with joy but you still look so reserved. However, it is only after life simulation that I understood that to get the beauty chi of the vixen, what I actually need is very simple. As long as I put away all the calculation, schemes, games, and just treat her with sincerity, and then wait for the vixen to change by herself. Although the effect of this method is far inferior to the separation of life and death, but as long as it accumulates over time. My lady ah my lady, even if you don't remember, but your previous request for your husband to succeed in refining your primordial spirit will be achieved one day sooner or later. My lord, should Chinger stay at the side of the cliff and continue patrolling until the lawfully wedded wife anointment is completed? Always take precautions. Although the strong light has disappeared, yet it is difficult to guarantee that no one will accidentally find the invisible Chi bridge. Anyway, there is plenty of time. It won't hurt to guard for half an hour. But my lord, you didn't say that on Yen Ryu's side. Although Chinger doesn't like that bad woman either, but my lord, how come this kind of operation seems like the bad man who is good at time management in the Matriarch Elder Sister's book, Ku? I shouldn't have let you read all those messed up romance books, and I don't know how your thoughts became like this. Not to mention the difference in kinship, even if we put aside the relationship between husband and wife, and these two are in the same cooperative relationship with your lord, in the end I will only be guarding the gate for Qin Shinxi, not Yan Ryu. Ku? Why? At first glance, these two people appear to invariably have a personal profit temper, but in reality they are very different. Qin Shinxi's self-interest lies in fight and strive for whatever she can hold in her hands. She is not in the least willing to leave it to others as it should be. After all, she was born in a demonic sect. This striving process will inevitably involve a lot of bloodshed, and the original owner of my body was exactly a sacrificial victim. But what she is fighting and striving for is not necessarily for her own benefit. Perhaps for the sake of the sect, or for the sake of her companions, or for the sake of a long-term consideration, she will not be stingy with the benefits that she has to give up. In the end, what she is fighting and striving for is the right to be in charge of everything herself, that's all. But Yen Ryu's self-interest lies in taking. She is always weighing what she can take and what she can't take, always weighing the pros and cons, always taking advantage of the situation, just to give herself the opportunity to take more. 
When the same favor is given to both of them, Qin Shinsi will remember that she did not strive for it, and although she may not be able to return the favor, she will remember it after all. But Yin Ruyu would only remember that she had taken the thing, and instead of being grateful, she would take advantage of the situation to demand more. The most troublesome thing is that she is also very good at reading people's minds. Do you still remember the reason she said herself for killing Zhao Shi? In retrospect, it may be assumed that she was already suspicious of my identity at the time, and her words may not have been intentionally probing. If the person being confronted is the real dead ghost thousand faces, I'm afraid her reason for killing Zhao Shi would have to be a different version. As for what the truth really is, I'm afraid she is the only one who knows. Wouldn't it be easy for my lord to be deceived when dealing with such a cunning and bad woman? Yin Ryu is fearful of power but not virtuous. The more powerful I am, the less she dares to play any dirty trick. If the same tactics were applied to the vixen chain, it would most likely be a case of tit for tat. Nevertheless, when the interests are aligned, Yin Ryu will be the most comfortable partner because she is very smart and understands how to play low well, it is enough to lick. As for the disparity of interests, hey, do you think your lord will ruthlessly destroy flowers? TL note, meaning, sharply opposed to each other, with neither prepared to give an inch. Although what you said seems to be very reasonable, my lord, this kind of seemingly thorough analysis ends up being smacked in the face by reality, doesn't it seem like it's happened before? What nonsense are you talking about? Where did your lord get slapped in the face? By the way, little girl, aren't you becoming more and more fond of undermining someone's plans? Why don't you learn something good, be well behaved, and go patrol? Ku, half an hour later. Counting the time, it seems that the anointment should be over. Within life simulation, the vixen only had less than half a stick of incense of anointment and already let E Dao Chi be amazed. I don't know how much more gain will she have this time. Could it be that she will directly break through to the innate fourth layer? It's unlikely to go so far as to do so. Holy shit, such a big movement? Looking at the lady's condition, is it possible that you broke through the realm again? Then your husband really don't know what to say other than envy. This time, your husband specially left this great benefit to my lady, and even on the way to find my lady, I thought about how happy she would be. Even if now, once again, my lady pressed me down with her realm, I won't be grieved at all. For your husband, that will endure hardship gladly. Origin points obtained, joyful, 0.01 .01 points, Qin Shinsi, origin points obtained, joyful, 0.01 .01 points, Qin Shinsi, origin points obtained, grateful, 0.01 .01 points, Qin Shinsi, origin points obtained, grateful, 0.01 .01 points, Qin Shinsi, hmm? How come there is still popping origin points? This is the vixen. Do not worry. Shinsi has yet to break through this time, and like her husband, she is still in the innate third layer. But after going through the anointment of the original demon Epiphany, I have finally managed to completely change my body. From now on, Shinsi can finally abandon the secret of joy technique and specialize in the maiden scripture to continue the proper legacy of my M.O. Ching sect. It turns out that it is, no wonder that the vixen suddenly has such a big mood swing. I heard from the matriarch elder sister before that although Qin Shinsi's talent is good, her constitution cannot completely match the maiden scripture and can only be used as a secondary cultivation method. As the direct descendant of the matriarch, but unable to master and cultivate the main canon of the sect, the vixen must be brooding about it. This fourth grade Tao Harmony Room is really awesome, even these kind of problems can be solved, and the effect is really magical and can compete with the system. But compared to these, hey, it turns out that this kind of thoughtless and no calculating expression can also appear on this vixen girl's face. After abandoning the secret of joy technique, Shinsi no longer needs to rely on double cultivation to refine and advance her skill and power, so you, my dear husband, no longer have to worry about me being like a tigress. Uh, what are you talking about, my lady? 
When have I, your husband, ever worried about you being like a tigress? If I have, it was merely to sweeten the bonds between us. But now that the anointment is over, I don't know what my lady is planning to do in the heavenly cave next. Now that the most important matter is over, Shintzi intended to practice her cultivation method here for a while, and then wanders around in the heavenly cave, continuing to search. See if there is a chance to meet Fong Yang or other sex members if the third grade Dao Harmony Room that my husband found before has not been yet discovered, it can benefit someone else from our sect. Better not let what we found be used by others. Ah, other sex members. I said how come I seem to have missed something. I was so focused on the Dao Harmony anointment that by the time I entered the Dao Harmony Room, Shri Yinner was already fighting with that innate first layer group, right? I had completely forgotten about this. Well, my lady must not go to the location of that Dao Harmony Room because your husband has other arrangements for that place. However, before when looking for opportunities, I saw Shri Yinner from a distance. While I was in a hurry, I couldn't manage to say hello to that girl. But after all, it is a low-level Dao Harmony Room, and also it is a melee of a group of people, even if it can't be grabbed. Presumably Shir Yinner will not have any surprises or accident. The location is probably in this area. If the lady doesn't have a goal yet, you can look around in this direction. Perhaps you can follow some traces to find that girl. Certainly, it would be better to have traces to follow. Moreover, the terrain in this area is clear. Based on the time when husband saw Shir Yinner, we can roughly determine her search direction. Let's do it this way. Husband goes here. Shintzi goes here. We search separately, no matter what the result is, let's make a big circle to meet at the foot of this mountain, and then we go to other places to look for. The vixen is in a very good mood, is she suddenly interested? If it is before, she would probably only drop the phrase separate action, right? This time, you and I have picked up a great opportunity, husband should take the first credit. If we can help fellow disciples in the heavenly cave again, Master will definitely be delighted and happy. When the moment comes, Shinsi will not forget to ask for a reward for my husband when facing Master. Anyway, looking for fellow disciples, your husband will not participate. Although the Tao Harmony anointment has been completed, there is still another important matter that needs to be resolved within the heavenly cave. Husband is not going? Besides the Tao Harmony anointment, what important matters that can exist within the heavenly cave? If husband needs help, Shinsi has nothing to do, so she can help. My lady has just made a breakthrough, so you should stay here and try out your moves first. Your husband is sure that even without the help of my lady, I will be able to resolve this matter successfully. So this time, don't sneak up on me again, my lady. This Yen, odd words. When did I stalk him before? Although it is true that I will exactly do so without letting me help, then I will insist on helping, and I'd like to see what he's mysteriously up to. Fortunately, there are traces that remains on Xie Yan's body from the time of double cultivation, so even if I let him go first for a while, I can still chase after him. Hmm? Why is it gone? My true chi has been cut off? Impossible. The true chi is entangled in the dual cultivation and goes straight to the origin. Even if husband is capable, it would take a lot of work to pull out the silk and peel back the cocoon. Note, as I understood, to strip and get rid of her traces from Xie Yen true chi, or body, he would need a lot of time. This Xie Yen, his body is completely hiding some strange and weird tricks. He doesn't feel grateful at all when I want to help him, humph. According to the vixen's temper, she most likely will not stay in the secret realm of Dao Harmony obediently. Anyway, even if she come out chasing after me, teleportation magic can travel thousands of miles in a flash, and surely she won't be able to follow, right? To deal with the Dao Chi this time, although there is a planning, but in the end the difference in strength is still there, and the situation could be reversed at any time, so it is better not to risk dragging her along. For the same scene, once is enough. Counting the time, Chung Ling Dao should have already set up an ambush at the predetermined location. It is not difficult to find GEE -E by relying on the Yin Chi communication talisman, and he can be lured to the secret realm of Dao Harmony by making up a few reasons. Given his concern and care for his son, 
claiming that G.E. Huayu being seriously injured and waiting for help would be the best excuse, right? Why do I suddenly don't have the heart to do so? This is not good. At such a crucial time, I shouldn't be naive and let emotions flare up. G.E.E. is undoubtedly a good father, but I killed his son. For that matter, his hero is my enemy. It is a complete irreconcilable conflict. Moreover, with Idauchi's possession situation, I also don't have any method to save G.E.E. Even if I use the finger of Nirvana, I may not be able to drive away or dispel those demonic thoughts thinking about it deeply again. In the case of overreaching myself, finger of Nirvana can instead restore E. Dochi's power. In the face of such a powerful enemy as E. Dochi, I cannot take any risks. I'm sorry, convenient dad. The cannon fodder on Chongling Dao side has been found. Next. Hundred alcohol breath from Su Min, Fatty Su. Since we worked together happily in the simulation world, now that we're back in reality, you'll be my tool man cannon fodder again. First, I will use your hundred alcohol breath that you left on my body and try to find out your position. Navigation by the six Mara senses, spirit location. Found it. It's just to the southeast direction, and the distance is not too far away. This Tao Harmony Room is really hard to find, the gate is hidden, and also the breath is isolated. Among the five desires, the desire for touch and the desire for hearing are more conducive to searching. What one loses is for others to gain, I'm afraid that GEE's faction's harvest will be far better than mine. Seeing Vice Patriarch Sue's expression, did you miss out again? Do you need me to present several readily available places of Dao Harmony Room locations for Vice Patriarch? This voice is... G.E. Huayu? After leaving Yudu, I trust you have been well since we last met Vice Patriarch Sue. Do you still dare to talk about Yudu's matter in front of this old man? At first, after taking away the cultivation methods, there was no news for several months, and this way you want to trick this old man, do you really think that you don't have to pay the price? Misunderstanding, misunderstanding. I didn't mean to leave Vice Patriarch hanging, but shortly after I left Yudu, I was taken into seclusion by GEE -E to reconstruct the mantra of the inner demons of the Six Desires, and it was only until the opening of the original demon Heavenly Cave that I finally found the time to come and see you. You said that GEE -E restricted your movement? Why would he do so? Hold on, I see. This guy's in heaven and earth, I'm the only one isn't really from the original demon sect. To not waste this great chance that comes once every 40 years, it is better to find a way to reconstruct the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires. If GEE -E has even considered this for him, could it be that he has not really recognized the identity of the fake Huayu? In that case, this old man could make use of it for a while. Anyway, but before that, speak. How did you find this old man? The heavenly cave is vast. It is no coincidence that you are here waiting at the tunnel entrance. Did you put some trick on the body of this old man? Vice Patriarch misunderstood. The person who did put this trick on you was not me, but my junior sister Ryu. In the beginning, she planted a little trick in Yudu. By relying on it, I was able to find the whereabouts of Vice Patriarchs. This time, it is also to fulfill the agreement between you and me to work together to deal with GEE. We Chong Ling Dao have already completed arranging an ambush inside the Heavenly Cave. We are just waiting for Vice Patriarch Su to join US. Surround and kill GEE. We. Chong Ling Dao? Chong Ling Dao? You say you're from Chong Ling Dao? Vice Patriarch doesn't believe me? I'm sure you've had your suspicions about my identity. You don't think that I'm just a liar from the martial world that accidentally happened to impersonate G.E. Huayu by chance, do you? This true chi is really weird, although it's only a Tao rhyme aura of the innate second layer, yet it makes people feel inexplicably palpitated. If he is a person from Chongling Dao, could there be another mystery to Zhao Xiu's death? That's ridiculous. But this... 
Previously, I could only use GE Huayu identity and play dumb in front of Vice Patriarch, but now that the plan has been completed, there is naturally no need to hide it anymore. Looking at it now, the Yin Chi behind this guy is entangled like a substance. This is indeed a technique that only Chongling Dao have. Even if he is not a disciple under the sect, he must be inextricably linked to Chongling Dao. Chongling Dao cultivation method, more than half of the cultivation system is based on Yin spirits and ghosts. It would not be difficult to make one's own Dantian seems like it is shattered and conceal his original sect cultivation method and it would indeed be possible to conceal it from the patriarch's eyes. The physical strength of ordinary Chongling disciples can be rated as weak in the same realm, but this person's body forging cultivation method is unbelievable, coupled with Chongling methods and this strange demonic technique. This person's status is definitely not low, and is probably even higher than Zhao Xie. Very good, Su Min did get shaken. The imposing manner of the true art of Mara and the sinister and strange atmosphere that Qingyur deliberately created were enough to make Su Min believe a little more. Because of him being shrewd and cunning, although he will not fully accept this identity, but as long as there is little bit of faith is enough. In fact, no matter what my identity is, it does not affect the agreement with Vice Patriarch. We agreed to deal with GEE -E together, and now Deputy Daoist Master of Chongling Dao has personally set up an ambush in the Heavenly Cave, just waiting for GEE -E to step into the trap and kill him in one fell swoop. If I were only a fake Huayu, I would be nothing more than a small person of unknown origin in Su Min's eyes. Although he will trade with me, but he will never believe that the game I have laid will be secure, let alone attracting people like Shu Taipu into this game. But if I am a disciple of Chongling, the entire Chongling Dao will be the one behind this game. Su Min somewhat believed in my Chongling Dao identity, so the doubts about this situation are somewhat reduced. The rest is to weigh the pros and cons of whether or not entering this game. To lure GEE -E into the trap, it is naturally I GE Huayu's task. Vice Patriarch Su only needs to cooperate with both Shir Taipu and Wei Ichi Marshal Uncles to kill GEE. -E. This is in line with Vice Patriarch's interests, and you should have no reason to refuse. Since when have you been planning this? Or was Zhao Xir's death also an excuse for you to take advantage of the situation? You dare to send someone to pretend to be GE Huayu. Could it be that the real GE Huayu has already? Vice Patriarch has a discerning eye, G.E. Huayu is indeed in our hands, but the death of Senior Brother Zhao was not a frame-up, the murderer was undoubtedly G.E. Huayu. It is only that he did not escape at that time, but was captured by Junior Sister Ruyu and another Senior Brother. Originally, the Daoist Master wanted to kill him to take revenge, but unexpectedly the cause of Senior Brother Zhao's death was publicized. If this revenge is not avenged, it will tarnish the prestige of my Chongling Dao, but if we want to take revenge, we will inevitably be retaliated by GEE. -E. Such being the case, the sect simply let me pretend to be GE Huayu to approach GEE -E and secretly test him, and finally find an opportunity to set up this kill siege situation so that this trouble can be solved once and for all. Damn, Chongling Dao is really a bunch of lunatics. But this makes a lot of things clear. This guy knows little about the XINMO sect. Most of it is the information dug out from G.E. Huayu's mouth, relying on Chongling Dao's treacherous methods. It is not impossible to deceive G.E.E. -E. Saying it in this way, is it possible that this old man can see through his disguise, which is also the flaw that this person deliberately revealed? The way he deceived G.E.E. -E was by no means so flawed, but he pretended to be tempted by the cultivation method and got into the palm of this old man. From the very beginning, this person came to lure this old man into the game. There is also the matter of blowing up the black tortoise beast puppet, deliberately leaving flaws, also to provoke a dispute between the old man and GEE. -E. Originally, I thought I could use him to deal with GEE, -E, but I didn't expect that this old man himself to be a pawn in someone else's hand. With such scheming and shrewdness, when did such a person come into existence in Chongling Dao? How much planning has he made in secret? Oh, even this old guy is already unable to bear but give me origin points? 
At least this whole act is not for nothing, but why did Fatty Sue get frightened? Origin points obtained shock, 0.01 points Sue Min. Origin points obtained fear, 0.01 points Sue Min. Since this is a situation arranged by Yu Chong Ling Dao, let you solve it yourselves. Why should this old man jump into this muddy water and get into trouble for nothing and be used by you once again? Is it possible that Vice Patriarch is referring to the incident where I blew up the black tortoise beast puppet? Does Vice Patriarch think that I deliberately provoked the conflict between you and GEE? -E? You still dare to mention this matter? This old man will have to settle this score with you sooner or later. Vice Patriarch thought wrongly. At that time, I only wanted to play GE Huayu's identity well without revealing any flaws. So why would I do such a detrimental thing to others without me having any benefit? If as a result GEE -E became suspicious, Vice Patriarch thinks that I still can continue to pretend? To be frank with you, the person who sent me to blow up the black tortoise beast puppet was none other than GEE -E himself. I was able to enter the center of the puppet beast and do my job safely because of GEE's arrangement and support. Vice Patriarch thought that by not entering this game, there would be still a chance to maintain a balanced tacit understanding with the GEE's forces. However, you are unaware that for a long time your opponent has already made up his mind to kill you. If I hadn't deliberately revealed a flaw at the end, I'm afraid that Vice Patriarch wouldn't even know who was secretly harming you, right? Taking a step back, even if you assumed that it was to let me benefit from others' dispute, could it be that my Chongling Dao is willing to make wedding dresses for others? Ji Huayu is already in our hands, and Chongling Dao can take revenge at any time. So naturally, we will not rashly take risks in this killing siege. Apart from Shi Tai Pu and Wei Ichi, two martial uncles, the other Chongling disciples would not participate in this battle. If Vice Patriarch is unwilling to join the battle, at worst the two martial uncles will give up and find other ways in the future. It's just that. When the great gathering of the nine sects is over, my Chong Ling Dao can plan and take things slowly, but it's hard to say how much time is left for Vice Patriarch Su. What do you mean by this? During this period of seclusion, GEE -E revealed a secret to me by receiving the grace of Patriarch Yuan Shang. GEE -E has already started to practice the desire for thought branch cultivation method. Vice Patriarch Su should know better than me what this matter means, right? Are you saying that the Patriarch has settled on GEE -E as his successor? This. This can't be. It's impossible. How could the Patriarch make such a decision? What gives GEE -E the right to? I don't know what Patriarch Yuan thinks. I only know that I saw the mental fire in GEE's -E hands with my own eyes. It can't be fake. For Chung Ling Dao, naturally, we also don't want a man destined for a blood feud to become the next XINMO sect Patriarch. But if this matter is irreversible and our killing siege of GEE -E fails, unfortunately, then at worst, Chong Ling Dao can lock up Ji -E Huayu for the rest of his life. Anyway, we have him in our hands, and the Daoist master can eventually find a way to vent the pain of losing his son. It's just that Vice Patriarch Su's side. Not to mention the fact that Ji -E, e is really the successor of the Patriarch, as long as word of his cultivation of the desire for Thought Branch spreads out, how many of those who were following Vice Patriarch Su would still be able to sit still? Given the long-standing grudge between the Vice Patriarch and GEE, -E, if he were to gain further power, would he still spare your life for the sake of you two being from the same sect? Vice Patriarch Su, are you really willing to miss this best opportunity to put GEE -E to death? Even if you are right, in the end, realm strength is the foundation of one's life. The great gathering of the nine sects only comes around once every 40 years, so how can this old man take the time? How can you waste time looking for things other than your chance? It is only natural for the Vice Patriarch to feel this way, but it's not like we Chong Ling Dao didn't take this into consideration. A complete third grade Dao Harmony Room As long as you agree to cooperate, I will immediately take Vice Patriarch there, and we will start the Killing Siege game after the anointment is over. 
The Dow Harmony Room that I met the vixen in early on is exactly the place that is used as bait for Su Min before communicating with Su Min. I made another trip there using teleportation magic, and as luck would have it, that place wasn't discovered by anyone. This is the sincerity of Chun Ling Dao's alliance with you. I wonder what Vice Patriarch Su would like to do. Even if my luck is really bad, and someone finds it during the time I'm bringing Su Min, I still have other ways to force Su Min into this game, although it is more troublesome, but anyway. Su Min ah Su Min, it is determined that you would be my cannon fodder today. Half an hour later, the accumulation of this thoughts of fiery intent is still not enough. I'm too reluctant to use it to launch that move during the plan. It seems that I'll have to stay to assemble and add a few more when seeing other people. My lord, what is this little ball of formless mass in your hand? It doesn't look like true chi to chinger. This is thoughts of fiery intent, coming from the true art of Mara ability to collect and gather all living beings' emotions. It is a must for launching a certain extraordinary moves. It is very precious and cannot be restored by finger of Nirvana. The plan this time would not have been possible without it. Alas, this stuff is really slow to accumulate. Unfortunately, the thoughts of fiery intent derived from the true art of Mara are no match for the system's emotion origin points, which can only collect other people's emotions in person, and there is a limit, not unlimited accumulation. But there is an advantage as long as it is an emotion, it does not have to be extreme, and this emotion is not limited to be towards me, but even towards other people or other objects, and the judgment is not as harsh as the emotion origin points. Damn, my body stinks. That old fox is still cautious, he didn't want to come with me, and insisted on coming by himself, and gave me such a strong and heavy smell of demonic breath, even if I didn't practice the desire for smell branch, I could vaguely detect the oddity. My lord, are you really going to give this Dao Harmony room to that sinister fat old man? I now really hope that Su Min's strength can improve by leaps and bounds, so that he can at least pose a little more threat to Yi Dao Chi. In the simulation world, killing Su Min was no different from killing a chicken. Even if we put aside the issue of restraint of the cultivation method, the difference in strength is still incredibly large. Sure Taipu's combat power is at most on par with GEE, -E, but based on my own experience in fighting Yi e Dao Chi, even if GEE -E were to fight, he might not really pose a threat to Yi e Dao Chi he suffered some losses before, purely because of his arrogance and gullibility exposing a weakness. Now that he has no intention of planning, although I can pull four or five masters to attack him in a group, yet on the other hand, there is also a high probability that he will have to go all out from the beginning, no longer restraining himself. In a real fight, the outcome is still undecided. Four or five masters? If Chun Ling Dao only sends two people, wouldn't there be only three including Su Min? With Fatty Sue being that cautious, having specifically left a tracking method on my body, and leaving alone for so long, can't you guess what he's gone to do? The third grade Dao Harmony Room you mentioned is in this place? Arrived. This old man have already searched around this area, but I never thought I would miss it. The methods of Chung Ling Dao are truly mysterious and unpredictable. Kuan Jun and Wan Busi, the two innate three ND layer elders of Su Min's faction sure enough, to guard against any trap in my plan against him, Su Min immediately turned his head to bring other people. Two more cannon fodder, just what I wanted. Vice Patriarch, if I may say so, this boy cannot be trusted at all. Which sect will give away this great opportunity? For him to put forward such conditions, there is certainly a ghost behind him. Asterisk note. The meaning is that there is something fishy behind this offer, but because of the next dialogue, I kept it in that translation. Elder Kuan's words are funny. Isn't it only natural that we Chun Ling Dao have ghosts behind us? No matter what our intentions are, the Dao Harmony Room in front of us is the real deal. If you have any doubts, the three of you can check it out. If Vice Patriarch is not at ease, he can let one of the elders go in first and I will stay outside. If there is a problem inside, and worst comes to worst, you can slap me to death. There is no ambush in the secret realm of the Dao Harmony Room, and this place is indeed a third grade Dao Harmony Room. Unexpectedly, this guy is not playing any tricks. 
If Chung Ling Dao wanted to deal with this old man, absolutely not possible to give this gratuitous opportunity of Dao Harmony anointment to help this old man break through. In that case, this guy's words are really credible. Not to mention the fact that the chance of Dao Harmony is now easily at hand. With this strong support, we really have a chance to kill GEE -E in one fell swoop within the Heavenly Cave. It doesn't have to be like this. Since Chun Ling Dao is willing to give out such benefits, if I were to be fearful, wouldn't I be seen as a joke? But, aren't you afraid that this old man will act the same way as you did before, swallow the bait, turn around and leave? Vice Patriarch is joking, this is precisely my Chun Ling Dao sincerity, where is the bait you are talking about? Elder Kuen was suspicious just now because his eyes were only on the matter of G.E. Yi's killing siege. But if we look farther ahead, once G.E.E. -E dies, the future patriarch position simply must belong to Vice Patriarch Su. If Chun Ling Dao can use a third grade Dao Harmony Room to form an alliance together with the future patriarch of the XINMO sect, then it can't be regarded as a huge price. Ha ha ha, that's a lovely thing to hear. Good. This old man will do as promised, and after the anointment, I will join you to deal with G.E.E., -E, which will be the first step in the alliance between our two factions. Then I'm asking Vice Patriarch and the two elders to hide their breath and go to this place after the anointment. I'll lead G.E.E. -E to enter the trap after more than an hour. Very good. This old man will be waiting to complete this sure-to-win situation with you, Chong Ling Dao. Before, he was still overly suspicious, but now when getting hold of truthful and solid benefit, he immediately became emboldened. The kind of person who is afraid of losing his own life in the face of major and great events, and who forgets his own life in the face of small gains, is exactly the same kind of person you are, Su Min. But now that Su Min's doubts have been eliminated, taking this opportunity to improve their strength is also a good thing for me to kill two birds with one stone. Now that he knows about G.E. Yi's cultivation of the desire for thought branch matter, presumably Su Min will also target it in his Dao Harmony breakthrough, and I hope he will be able to play a greater role this time against E. Dao Chi. This is the start of the Dao Harmony anointment? Su Min and the others are really reluctant to waste even a bit of time. H.M.? Someone came so soon? Looking at that appearance. Is it an innate third layer master of Bailey and Shilio? Motherfuckers of the XINMO sect. It's terrific to have so many people. As far as the personnel allocated in this Dao Harmony secret realm is concerned, the disciples of various sects attracted by this red light are considered unlucky. Anyway, it seems unlikely that there will be any other variables on Su Min's side. Taking advantage of Su and Ge's grievances, inviting Chun Ling to set up an ambush, and pulling the tiger skin by borrowing someone's authority to attract Su Min to this situation. Now that the manpower is complete, the formation has been deployed, the elites of both Chun Ling and Xian Mo factions are in the palm of my hands. Without much effort, this game of driving the wolves to devour the tiger is almost complete. All that is missing is the final step leading the tiger into the trap. Strange, all the Yin Chi communication talismans sent out were received. Why did Hui Yu not reply? The Yin Chi traces can only be seen by the receiver, but judging from the time when the transmission was triggered, Hui Yu should be within this area. Along the way, I have repeatedly seen this kind of dead ghosts and ghost Chi manifestation scenes. Apparently, many Yin spirits and ghosts have been active here, and there are even signs of fighting. Could it be? A message coming back. Is it why you? Father, this child is so incompetent that I was discovered in the heavenly cave by the people of Chongling Dao. They chased to kill me all the way. They must have used tricks to find this child again and again with such precision that I could not get away from them. Fortunately, this child has found a secret realm, hoping to block Chung Ling Dao's perception cultivation method for the time being. Father, come quickly. This child was injured by that old Taoist, and ordinary methods can't handle it. I can't hold on. Chung Ling Dao, how dare you have such big guts? 
the Yin Qi communication talisman cannot directly cross from the small world to the heavenly cave, and the entrance should be near here. Penetrate, got it. Inside the secret realm of Tao Harmony. Why you? Where are you? Don't be afraid, your father is here. Why you? This is. Very good, Su Min really did not let me wait in vain. Are you? Chongling Dao's deputy Daoist master Shir Taipu? Gee, -e, this is the place where you will be buried today. Receiving the Yin Qi transmission without answering, leading Gee -e to hover in this place for a long time. Although I let Ching'er and the Hundred Ghosts leave behind many traces of Yin Qi along the way to raise the degree of credibility, yet in the end, unexpectedly Gee -e didn't have the, the slightest bit of hesitation. Is this also the mental peg-taking effect? Or was he completely concerned about his beloved son and have no time to take anything into consideration? My poor convenient father. I'll hack E. Dao Chi to pieces to avenge you. G.E.E. -E -E stepped into the trap and presumably would be already fighting with the two martial uncles, although our Chong Ling Dao has set up a big formation to deal with the trump cards of the mantra of the inner demons of the Six Desires. Vice Patriarch Su is still needed. As it should be. This old man is very clear about the moves of G.E. Yi's cultivation method. I may not be able to defeat him, but it's easy to break his moves. Vice Patriarch must not forget what I said before. G.E. Yi has already cultivated the desire for Thought Branch. His strength must have improved greatly, and I have always had an indescribable feeling of strangeness from talking with him. I always felt that there would be some unpredictable variables in him. Ha ha ha, this old man has been fighting G.E.E. -E for so many years, unless he's a different person, otherwise it is simply an insignificant improvement in his skills and still won't be able to escape this old man's expectations. Besides, with this Tao Harmony breakthrough, I already have a method to deal with the desire for Thought Branch. If G.E.E. -E wants to suppress this old man by using the desire for Thought Branch, he will suffer a big loss at the critical moment. But then again, since we're all tearing our faces off and are going to start, why are you still wearing this? G.E. Huayu's identity is not easy to come by. To put it bluntly, if G.E.E. -E escapes, I can continue to approach him and plan the next layout. Naturally, I can't use that face in this battle. As for this mask, I'm ashamed to say it, but because I look ugly, I do not like to show my face to others, so I would like to ask Vice Patriarch to bear with me. On the other hand, if you need to hide your identity, I have a few spare ones. No need to. You have the Chongling Dao sect cultivation method available. Even if you move your hand to fight, you can still keep your identity hidden. I have been fighting with GEE -E for many years, so my identity will be clear once I strike. So there is no need for this cover-up. Since you want to hide your identity, you don't want to participate in this siege, do you? It's not that this old man is looking down on you, but with your strength, whether you join or not will have little effect on the overall battle. If I can contribute, then it is better to contribute. Vice Sec Master Su, don't underestimate me. Damn, I also want to watch in safety whilst others fight then reap the rewards when both sides are exhausted. If it were not for me being afraid that as soon as you go in, you would already be foolishly putting pressure on your Taipu, and that before Yi Dao Chi showed his face, you would have exposed the game I set up, why on earth would I mix in to go inside? That's up to you, but before I go in, this old man still need to confirm one more thing. Desire for Sight, Mental Vision G.E.E. -E is inside and already fighting with Chongling Dao's people, and the ones that are fighting him are Shir Taipu and Wei Ichi of Chongling Dao. G.E.E. -E is fighting two enemies alone, and to break their Yin Spirit's techniques, he is indeed using the mental fire to counterattack. Worthy of being the elder of the desire for sight branch, unexpectedly she can directly peek into the small world of the heavenly cave. There is no such move from the start when the system deduced the cultivation method for me, so it seems that what I have mastered is really a monkey version. Anyway, returning to our main topic. There are only two people left from Chongling Dao, so they are really cautious. 
Very good. In this way, the last trace of hidden danger is gone. This old man will bet on this game. After fighting with GEE -E for many years, today is the day to decide whether to live or die. Inside the Secret Realm of Dao Harmony. Mantra of Thousand Souls Pulling Ghosts and Passing Through the Mist. Desire for Thouch Spread of Demonic Soul, Nine Skeletons Demonic Spirits Restraining Spirits and Eating Souls. This move is really weird. Unexpectedly it can bite the desire for touch true chi from my body, even dividing and eating it. This move is really weird. Unexpectedly it can bite the desire for touch true chi from my body, even dividing and eating it. It is rumored that Chung Ling Dao Shi Taipu used a secret method to refine several different kinds of ghosts, which is called Nine Skeletons Demonic Spirits, and each skeleton ghost have unusually and extraordinary abilities. Now it seems that the rumors are not exaggerated. Mantra of the Inner Demons of the Six Desires is indeed one of the most powerful cultivation methods in the demonic sex. It is a pity that we Chung Ling Dao people do not need to rely on the five senses of the human body. No matter how strong your moves are, they are still nothing more than food in the face of this old man's soul-restraining skeleton. Cut the crap. Where is my son Huayu now? What have you done with him? If you dare to hurt him in the slightest, I will definitely make you Chong Ling Dao pay in blood. Your son is inside the Dao Harmony Room, and this old man have severely wounded him with my own hands. Now he is already crippled. If you can get past me, you may still have a chance to see him one last time. Son? It turns out that this is how Su Min lured GEE -E to come here. But it's not just him, including you. None of your GE -E family can escape today. Both of you will be buried with Zhao Shi. Old bastard. I'll crush you now, and then go rescue my son. Desire for Thouch, spread of demonic soul, incarnation of the demon of attachment. Clones to defend against the enemy? Is GEE -E trying to? The Dao Harmony Secret Realm's radius is only one Li, but the Yin Chi communication talisman is incapable of going out. These two people looked as if they had already been waiting to ambush here, judging from the interval of receiving the message just now. The person who answered the message would never be Huayu. Note, one Li equals 500 meters. A trap. Even if Huayu had been captured, it would only have been much earlier and not at all here. I must leave from here first, gather the men and attack Chong Ling Dao, so that it is possible to have the ability to rescue. This, this is? To abandon one's son and flee for one's life on the spur of the moment is truly a feat of great skill. Or have you already noticed that GE Huayu is not here? Either way, it doesn't matter. This old man did not try to block your retreat from beginning to end, because from the moment you stepped into this place, no matter how many ways you have, there is no way to escape. This old man and my junior brother used our life origin in spirits as a foundation to set up this tomb locks thousand souls great formation. Once this formation is completed, the soul locks are connected and thousands of souls are bound together. Even if you die, your soul will not be able to break the chains and leave this place. You. I have long heard that Chung Ling Dao's tomb locks thousand souls formation is extraordinary. Now that I've seen it, it really lives up to its name. Su Min? How could you be here? This kind of fierce murderous ghostly chi and this kind of power that restrains souls and resentment really makes the trapped person unable to break free and can only obediently fight to the death. It was you? You've colluded with Chan Ling Dao and deliberately ambushed me here. That Yin Chi communication talisman was your handiwork. GEE -E ah GEE, -E, you have been shrewd all your life, but in the end you trusted the wrong person, and in the end you ended up in this situation. This time you will surely die, the great patriarch's position will be mine. Since you have arranged this game, why is Vice Patriarch Su unhurried and coming so late? 
Even more, what nonsense are you discussing with him? Let's just do it. Huh? What is he talking about? That's exactly the point. Vice Patriarch, two elders, let's go. Chung Ling Dao has already started. Is it possible that the Xian MO sect will fall behind? True Art of Marath Hellflame Demonic Body, Desire for Touch, Shield Manifestation. The realm of this Xian MO sex disciple is not high, but he did not hesitate at all to act if Su Min has other plots, it is impossible not to explain to his companions in advance. Is this guy really risking his own life? Knowing that GEE -E is now like a trapped beast in a deadly fight, he still dares to rush ahead alone? If he is in danger, there is no way Shu Taipu will sit back and watch. It seems that the Xian MO sect, Chongling Dao, does not have any extra scheme, so we can go all out to kill GEE. -E. Kill me. You should also have the ability to do so. This move will be solved by the old man. You keep attacking. Desire for smell spirit extinguishing breath. It is not difficult to resist the poisonous breath of that ignorant old man, but a split second gap is sufficient for Sir Taipu to break the incarnation of the demon of attachment. These two people should have no friendship before, unexpectedly now they have the same goal, they can cooperate with each other. Furthermore, with Kuan Ling and Wan Busi always following Su Min to fight against me for many years, they are already familiar with each other's methods. If it were only them, there would be nothing to fear, but Chung Ling Dao's methods are crafty and deceitful, and impossible to defend against them asterisk effectively. With Chung Ling Dao being around, ready to use any underhanded means available to them, I can't focus my full strength on any one of them. Note, refers to Chung Ling Dao's methods refers to either the three Xian MO elders or all the six attackers. In addition, this annoying guy. He would only pounce around like a ghostly shadow, and there were no other moves, but contrarily, this move unexpectedly can pass through my body, instantly taking away the gathered true chi, forcing me to have no choice but to reuse my art again. Is this a method of Chong Ling Dao? But why does it have somewhat of the mantra of the inner demons of the Six Desires' as reflection? Kuan Ling? Damn, I couldn't pursue and attack you just now. Do you really think I can't kill you? Courting death. Desire for smell transformation. Catch. Divine essence snatch, sucked away. Su Min? How is this possible? From the beginning to the end, I was on guard against the desire for sight branch method, and my eyes never met anyone. Is it Wan Busi? When did she have this kind of move? Furthermore, there is also Su Min's new move that restrained the mental fire. Did they make a breakthrough in their cultivation methods with the Tao Harmony Anointment? Desire for sight, inner illusion of the twin pupils. Get the hell out of my way. Ge Yi's true chi is already in chaos, and the poisonous breath has entered his body take advantage of this time to make a move together and finish his life. Poisonous breath? Demonic spirits? Do you think you can rely on this tricks to kill me? At worst I might as well lose my cultivation. Let's see who dies in the end then. This place is. One moment of thought. Time is up. It's time for this king to accept your body. Hold on. What you promised me has not been done yet. And now why you is still. This king accepted your conditions, but it's only a little more convenient in order to inherit your memories and to avoid the loss that will be caused by your overly dramatic resistance. But there is no need to think about that now. You are foolish enough to step into a trap prepared by others, and such a dangerous situation is also a problem for this king. By dragging this on, your physical body will be more seriously injured, even if this king undertook this task, it's hard to say what are the odds of success. As matters stand, there is no other choice but some would choose this. At least let me save Huayu. No, help me to save Huayu and keep him safe. 
You promised to. This king promised you that I would ensure your son's opportunity and protect his life. It's just that. Once I take your body, your consciousness will gradually scatter in the sea of consciousness, yet this king needs to work hard to backtrack. In the end, the whole thing may not be received completely in the end. Losses are inevitable, since it is so. Why should this king help you? You. E Dao Chi, you are a backstabbing scumbag. I will not. Disappear with peace of mind. In order to break this situation, this king should go all out. Maybe I can kill Su Min in the process and fulfill part of the deal. As for what's next. Myriad transformation demonic body? Impossible. How could GEE -E master this ultimate grade style of desire for touch branch? This power is far superior compared to before. It seems that GEE -E is using his real trump card. This strength, this momentum. No mistake, it is E Dao Chi who was forced out. Very good, the tide has turned. The great me can finally prepare to leave the field. Is this your strategy? By only relying on this, you want to kill me, GEE? -E? And you, whose realm is low, your methods are somewhat interesting. Which side are you from? Su Min or Chong Ling Dao? If you agree to be loyal to me, I can spare you. Hey, the mask was really taken off. Fortunately, I was prepared long ago. As long as I destroy my facial features, no one would be able to recognize this face. Listening to E. Daochi's tone, does he still want to pretend to be GEE? -E? That's a good plan, but you'll have to ask me if I'll give you the chance. You. Who the hell are you? How could it be possible for the ordinary desire for touch branch method to grab and catch me? GEE -E shouldn't have this strength to do that. I remembered, there is a record of you in the secret records of the sect. You, you are. Run. He is not GEE -E at all. GEE's -E body had been taken over by someone already, and the person who took over was none other than the XINMO sect E Dao Chi, the former patriarch of the XINMO sect, who was killed by Patriarch Yuan, has come back from the dead. E Dao Chi? E Dao Chi? What nonsense is this guy talking about? What is this secret record of the sect? How could Chun Ling Dao have records about the former patriarch? However, myriad transformation demonic body just now is really not something that GEE -E can master. This guy said before that GEE -E words and actions are different. Is it possible that it is truly? What are you waiting for? Get out of here. If you don't believe me, think about what I said before. The proof is. Shut up. What a tremendous and powerful body. Unexpectedly, this king mental fire is incapable of completely burning him to ashes in a short time. E Dao Chi, your fire is not good. It can't burn me to death. Origin points obtained anger. 0.01 points E Dao Chi. Origin points obtained shock. 0.01 points E Dao Chi. Unexpected joy. Actually, I was able to pull out some extreme emotions, but I'm still a long way from being able to unleash that move in a complete way. Time wait for no man. I can't wait. If it is not complete, it is not complete. Let's use other methods to make up for it. Putting this aside, let's die first. Noisy. The physical body is good, and it still can maintain its complete form. But unfortunately, the vitality has completely dissipated under the burning of the mental fire, and it is completely dead. Did this guy just die like this? To be able to keep the bones of the deceased body from disseminating under the burning of the mental fire, only this fake GE Huayu's strong flesh body that have this ability, it couldn't have been some kind of true Chi clone or another dummy. This. No, now is not the time to think about that. That look. Can't be wrong. He really is that person. Withdraw quickly. Let's leave this place. Miscalculation. Once this guy died, Su Min believed in him a little bit more, and now it's useless to try to hide my identity. 
there is no need to ponder the source of the information. If Su Min leaves the heavenly cave, he will definitely inform Yuan Sheng about it. Once Yuan Sheng becomes suspicious, the recovering plan of this king will be at risk of being shattered. Damn it, the power of this myriad transformation demonic body is almost equal to that of this old man. It simply cannot be broken in a moment. Vice Patriarch, what is going on? Why did you decide to leave all of a sudden? That guy said he Dao Chi? Isn't this the name of the previous Patriarch? What does it have to do with GEE? -E? What's happening? That's a silly question. Open your eyes wide and you'll see that you this group that prepared this ambush to besiege and kill, you changed from being hunters to, to become the prey. Su Min, what is this all about? Where did this talk of taking over the body come from? When did GEE -E get involved with E Dao Chi of the XINMO? How many things are you still hiding from my Chongling Dao? Apparently the guy GE -E Huayu has not yet reported his suspicions back to his sect. He can see through such a secret at a glance. He is indeed worthy of being an outstanding person. But after all, life is like a mustard, and there is no escape from death. Sure Taipu hasn't reacted yet. I can't let him have time to think about this matter. Chongling Dao's method are unique. If by any chance oh, they have a method to withdraw, they will leave this old man, and undoubtedly we three people will certainly die. Essence of the Five Dragons, Conflagration of the Glorious Dragon, I can't explain this matter in a few words, just assume that GEE -E has received E. Daochi's inheritance, and his strength has greatly increased. Right now, we have the upper hand in numbers, and our way out is blocked, let's have a fight to the death, and kill him with all our might. Nine Skeletons Demonic Spirits, humph, you have set up this game, but you have made such a mistake. Wait until GEE -E is resolved. This old man must settle this account with you. Dark Ghost Spirit Extinguisher. Set up this game? Who is he speaking of? Is it me? It's like this again. Could it be that the person who arranged this is not your Taipu himself? There seems to be something fishy about this, as if some link is inexplicably misplaced. Damn it. I can't take care of this matter now. First, I can only put it off until later and go all out. Human skin pouch from the dead ghost thousand faces. It turns out that this is the feeling after using the incomplete version of this trick. My true chi was totally scattered. My strength and vigor feels hollow. If it were not for depending on the finger of Nirvana. I'm afraid that even within a whole day or two, I wouldn't be able to recover to my peak state. Finger of Nirvana. It's the same resurrection technique, Chen Huang's thriving of the three scourges difficulty, although so long as there are enough animals made from the animal difficulty, and the eight difficulties demonic chi is not exhausted, one can be resurrected almost infinitely, but because it is a resurrection in a borrowed body, all martial art of the whole body besides the eight difficulties demonic technique will vanish like smoke in thin air. In contrast, my Mara rebirth method is still more flexible, with only relying on some of the remaining of my own flesh and blood, then I can rise again on my own, and my martial arts can all be preserved. The only unfortunate thing is that the activation of this move requires the consumption of accumulated thoughts of fiery intent, the emotions of other people in their presence, not limited to the four types of human emotions, happiness, anger, sorrow, and joy which is actually a lot bigger in emotion range compared to the eight difficulties demonic chi intense anger emotion in the presence of other people. If the thoughts of fiery intent are not enough, then it will result being in a weak state after the move is completed. Fortunately, Finger of Nirvana can still be used to make up for it. In addition, the separated flesh and blood also needs to be specially cultivated and nourished with thoughts of fiery intent to be useful. Moreover, it is hard to survive for a long time. If it is not used, it will be scrapped in one day. Now that the thoughts of fiery intent are exhausted, it is impossible to play the resurrection again in this battle. It doesn't matter though. Now that E Dao Chi has already appeared, and after revealing his identity, in reverse order, E Dao Chi have no choice but to trap the two groups of people inside. Offensive and defensive exchanged, the situation reversed. 
One side is seeking to kill the others to prevent them from divulging the secret. The other side is seeking to get out of trouble. Everyone will do their best, and both sides will suffer in this fight. Chinger's perspective, and I have already successfully escaped the battle with fake death, as long as I stay out of the matter and wait for the results to be played out, then I can benefit from others' dispute without a hitch. My lord, the fight inside is so intense that bad guy Yi Dao Chi is still incredibly strong, yet the others combined can barely hold their own against him. Your lord is watching, Chinger should be careful, the Yin Chi inside the secret realm of Dao Harmony is rich, normally they as a group of people being in the middle of a fierce battle can't notice you, but just in case, don't get too close. Chinger understands. I'm now worried that this group will simply be wiped out without even being able to seriously injure Yi Dao Chi. Then I'll have to settle for the second best and start the backup plan. Taking advantage of the great gathering of the nine sects being still not concluded and spreading the news of Yi Dao Chi snatching Ji Yi Yi's body, when the moment comes, all the disciples of the XINMO sect will spread this weird news back to the sect. Perhaps Yi Dao Chi will have his hands full just dealing with Yuan Shang, and most likely won't have time to investigate Xia Yin, right? However, the safest way is still to physically destroy him and avoid future troubles forever. After all, if there is no witness, it is still unknown whether Yuan Shang will believe it if a single random rumor can completely bring down a vice patriarch, the martial arts world would already be in chaos. Next, let's see how far the Anti-GE League can fight against Yi Dao Chi. Inside the secret realm of Dao Harmony, half an hour later. Chung Ling Dao's methods are treacherous, and that old fox Su Min knows a lot about this king. He has even secretly cultivated the deadly demon manifestation and nearly fell from his Dao. This battle was dangerous and unpredictable, but although the cost is high, in the end. Note, as I understood, in the simulation when Su Min used this move he couldn't stay alive, but now he's still alive. Damn, just a little short of. Just a little more than we can. Seizing the body in the middle of the fight, your three soul heart locks will inevitably be unstable. Now there is only one last step left. If there is one more person to help, you will not be able to escape the ending of your soul flying away and scatters. Even if you could see through this king's flaws, without the strength to deliver the final blow, in the end it would be futile. As a result, it is still you who are dead. I didn't expect that even after solving Chung Ling Dao, this tomb locks thousand souls has not been lifted. It seems that the formation is linked to the Yin Chi of this place. If I want to break it, it will take at least one stick of incense of time. Although their immortal souls have scattered and their mortal souls have returned to earth, and their desires and thoughts are no more at the moment, my injury is grave and the consumption is severe, so I will make use of them to recover for the time being. Burning with mental fire, could it be that you want to refine the corpses in this way to restore your power? If I were you, now that the overall situation has been decided, I will definitely leave this place immediately and find another safe place to adjust my breath after all. You can't be sure that more people won't come here to surround you. If you don't leave, but instead refine the corpses on this spot, it can only indicate that even if Chong Ling Dao's people are no longer here, the Tomb Locks Thousand Souls Great Formation is still effective on your body. Very good, there is no need to prevent you from escaping from here, so I have one less thing to worry about. All that remains is to find a way to break the last of your three soul heart locks. Despite the change of clothes and hairstyle, this feeling. Yes, there is no mistake, you are that kid just now? Your corpse part has been refined and absorbed by this king, could it be that you also took over the body of someone else? Who are you after all? That's very perceptive, but what's the point of asking? Of course I am. Someone who want your life. You want this king's life? What a big tone. So speaking of it, you are the one behind this killing siege layout? Why do you know this king so well? Innate third layer Dao rhyme breath. It seems that this is his true strength. It seems that previously he was hiding behind his clumsiness. Do I have to answer if you ask? 
If you want to know, it's simple. Accept death obediently, and when your three souls scattered entirely and about to disappear, I don't mind letting you understand when you become a ghost. Boasting shamelessly. True Chi Body Condensation. This method is completely different from his previous one. Anyway, it's clear that there are two condensations, but he is only relying on this one to fight. Speaking arrogantly, but in reality he is still testing. Six Desires Transformation Style will fire barrier, that's fine, now this king still needs myriad transformation demonic body to mend my injuries, and it is best not to be impacted by strong moves. The longer the battle is delayed, the more the body of this king can recover. The offensive of this true chi body condensation among the innate third layer can be considered to be pretty good, but it is straightforward. This sword condition is fast and meticulous at the same time, but it lacks the improvisation of a living spirit. It may not even win against an average innate third layer, much less this king who is an innate fourth layer, even as seriously injured and weakened as I am now. I've been underestimated. But it's just right. Continue to underestimate me. The wolf fire is designed to restrain true chi shape transformation. No matter how strong the sword is, the moment it touches, it will burn away 40% of its power, no matter how much of this kind of attack comes. The offensive of the true chi body condensation became stronger. Unexpectedly, this sword strike pierced through the wolf fire of this king. Oh, not right. It's this king mobilizing of the wolf fire that decreased. The operation of the desire for thought true chi seems to receive some kind of interference, and it's difficult to have a pure desire, resulting in the will fire being congealed and not released. Startled. Not good. This. Primordial spirit self-destruction. After being upgraded to the innate third layer, the improvement in the destructive power of the flowery primordial spirit is simply the most negligible point, and the real power lies in the significant enhancement of its characteristics. Xie Daoyun's Buddhist characteristics, unexpectedly even E Dao Chi this kind of exceptional innate fourth layer can be influenced. Facing this sort of cultivation method as the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires that use the desire as a core, so much so that it can disturb the true Qi operation and prevent the release of moves. Of course, this has something to do with the fact that Yi Dao Qi has been seriously injured. Xie Dao Yun exploded, Miss Yen, it's your turn. Being bombarded like this, it is impossible for Yi Dao Qi not to have lingering fears in his heart of the flowery primordial spirit, so it is time to move on to the next step. Damn it! This true chi body condensation is strange. Just now this king was aware of the abnormality, but I almost couldn't even think of dodging it. If it not for being in a matter of life or death and putting forth myriad transformation demonic body to guard against it, I wouldn't have been able to withstand this self-destructive strike with my seriously injured body. However, the repair of myriad transformation demonic body was forcibly interrupted, and now that the true chi is going in the wrong way, this king's internal injuries have become more serious instead. Coming again? He is really not giving this king any chance to recover. This kind of true chi body condensation itself is not something to be afraid of. The biggest threat to this king is the kind of strange influence that can make people calm and have no desires and no demands. That being the case, it is the best strategy to deal with this kind of true chi body condensation by attacking from a distance with a myriad transformation demonic body that has no self and no thoughts. So far, this person is staying put without doing anything. It seems that he has made up his mind to use the true chi body condensation to challenge this king and constantly consuming my power while waiting for an opportunity to make it self-destruct, preventing this king from healing. Luring others into a trap, driving true chi to defend against the enemy. You want to kill this king, but you hid behind and dare not face any risks. A scheming and calculating person, it's actually the way a nasty person act. It's just that. This kind of prudence will turn out to be the cause of your defeat in the end. Smack down. This is...
The two types of true chi are blending swallowing and eating each other unexpectedly myriad transformation demonic body suffered a big hole so easily by a strike. Was this guy intentionally concealing his trump card? Or did these two true chi body condensations have their own methods? If I hadn't released myriad transformation demonic body to defend against the enemy, I'm afraid that this king would have been hit again. But in the end, it's still hard to escape from this king's grasp. Six desires transformation style, desire for touch heart burning furnace. Unexpected, isn't it? Your true chi body condensation can devour myriad transformation demonic body. This king can also use the wolf fire to refine true chi. In the end, such mutual aggression as fire and water is still about which side is more powerful. You want to use the true chi body condensation to consume this king, but in the end, it were only refined by me, and instead help this king recover his power and body. If you had not been overly cautious, greedy for life and fearful of death, this would not be the result now. Without relying on the primordial spirit, I alone can get rid of you this old monster who is an arrow at the end of its flight. It's too late. If you had struck together with your true chi body condensation, this king might have had to find another way to divide and conquer. But with you alone, this king can kill you with no effort at all. Appear. Stupid, I'm exactly waiting for. The moment when you refine the primordial spirit and continue using myriad transformation demonic body to deal with me. This? How can myriad transformation demonic body be out of control? Instead, it completely flowed into this guy's body. Changing shape. Everlasting dominating fist, myriad transformation demonic body. Use your injured body to receive my move. Will fire barrier, block it for me. No. Dissipate, bulge. Show up. Huh, myriad transformation demonic body is a masterpiece of the desire for touch branch after all, it was barely enough to be able to control, and it was still too much, also only giving a single powerful strike, in the end, I was nearly injured by the recoil force. First, he was seriously injured by the siege, and then lost the body protection of myriad transformation demonic body, unexpectedly this punch still failed to turn Yi Dao Chi into ashes ah. But judging from his aura, his corporeal body is crumbling and his Tao rhyme is dissipating. His life is hanging by a thread. Although the last of the three souls' heart locks should be broken no matter what, but to be on the safe side, must I immediately destroy the physical body, forever without any issue. That's all, after all, it's the body of the convenient dad, and at this stage, the outcome is already decided. For the sake of all the fleece I've taken from my convenient dad, let's leave him in one piece. Having said that, it was really thanks to the evil god Primordial Spirit's trump card one twin body, two characteristics, even an old monster like Yi Dao Chi could not have expected such an outrageous ability to exist, right? If the ability of Miss Yan's Primordial Spirit is the simulation and erosion, then Xiao Yao's primordial spirit's characteristic is a further control and redirect as long as another person's true qi has been eroded and assimilated by Miss Yan's primordial spirit. Xiao Yao's primordial spirit can seize control of it and redirect it against the original owner in a short period of time. It's great for sneaking up on people and stuff. Note, Xiao mean little. The only problem is that once Miss Yan's primordial spirit has been transformed into Xiao Yao's primordial spirit, there is no way to change it back, and the flowery true chi consumed cannot be retrieved, which is essentially a self-destruction method in disguise. And compared to the behavior patterns of the other two primordial spirits, Xiao Yao's primordial spirit is obviously much more lively is it possible that even this could be influenced by the original owner? I'll have to consult with the inheritance elder when I have the chance. Is that the soul of Yidao Chi? The three souls are separated from the body, and the vitality is lost. This old monster must be finally reaching his end of the road. 
That's fine. It saves me from having to decide whether or not to destroy my convenient father's body. Hovering, hmm? How come there are only two soul lights? Isn't it supposed to be three souls, heaven, earth, and man? Could it be that? Damn it. Miscalculation. Innate withering of hundred flowers x10, in the end, the sword that destroy and scatter the bones to ashes will still come out, so I shouldn't have hesitated. It wasn't in time. The classic villain's mistake of to forget sharpening one's knife, I never thought it would happen to me too. Sure enough, there should be no mercy on the battlefield. But in the final analysis, it is still Su Min who is to blame, saying that breaking the three souls heart lock will solve E Dao Chi, this information. Desire Zai's forbidden style. Desire for thought lock demon body, it's really not reliable at all. The Dao Rime aura that E Dao Chi is emitting has dropped to the innate third layer. Is this some kind of method to restore the condition at the cost of lowering the cultivation realm? Now he is also at the innate third layer, in spite of everything, withering of hundred flowers can't break through his will fire shield, ah, uh, the will fire restraint on true chi is really outrageous. Never mind, originally before coming here, I never thought that E Dao Chi could be killed so easily, anyway now I'll just continue to execute the original plan that's all. This uncle strongest trump card haven't been revealed yet. Oh? You don't recognize me? It turns out that you are someone GEE -E knows. How could a disciple from the M.O. Ching sect intersect with GEE? -E? Also, how could you know this king so well? When all is said and done, what is your origin? Is having the finger of flowery swords makes one be one of the M.O. Ching sect people? If I use the true mantra of the culmination of the North Star later, you will not say again that I'm from the Taishian sect, will you? Come on, make your move. Let me see how much our fallen dog Patriarch E has left in him. How arrogant. The fact that this king was forced to use this method of soul locking to extend one's life is no more than the result of a scheme behind one's back. Now that I have recovered from my injuries, even if the realm has fallen by one layer, how hard would it be to kill a junior like you? This trick again? You're not tired of using it. I'm tired of seeing it. The true chi of myriad transformation demonic body has long been assimilated by the evil god's primordial spirit. So long as it is touched by Xiao Yao's primordial spirit, it can seize control of it at any time. Especially now that I Daochi's realm has dropped to the innate third layer, the time of Xiao Yao's primordial spirit controlling that true chi have greatly improved. Just let you beat yourself up. There is another myriad transformation demonic body? Do you think the same method can still work on this king? Just now, after you used myriad transformation demonic body to strike back against this king, soon afterwards the true chi by itself overflowed and scattered, returning to this king control. It goes to show that your method is also incapable of completely taking and incorporating this king's true chi for your own use. Having only seen it once and founding a way to break it, Idaochi's insight is really vicious, worthy of being an old monster for many years. This guy's total amount of true chi is more abundant than I can imagine, and a big move like myriad transformation demonic body can also be casually split into two. Xiao Yao's primordial spirit can still control one, two is obviously not possible. Should I release Xie Daoyun's primordial spirit and continue to wear him down? When all is said and done, this guy is a great expert in playing with emotions, and after him being ready to defend his consciousness, it is unlikely for the Buddhist characteristics to affect him again. Better to forget about it, and save some flowery true chi, at the moment there is not enough origin points for Finger of Nirvana to restore true chi, and will need lifespan what's more, with a sharp weapon in mind and a killing heart. I'm all too eager to try out how strong that fighting style really is in real combat. Come on, E Dao Chi. Don't disappoint me. True body of Mara, realm of fiery thoughts. Since the realm of Patriarch E has fallen, I will not take advantage of others' difficulties, and I will also drop my realm to fight with you second layer against third layer if you lose this battle again.
you will have to let go of your obsession and go to your next life. Everlasting Dominating Fist Deadly Demon Incomplete Appearance Do you think that this king doesn't know that your real ultimate move is not based on true chi cultivation, but in your body forging cultivation method? It's ridiculous that your punch can't even injure an incomplete deadly demon, and you want to defeat this king with it? Really wishful thinking. Even without myriad transformation demonic body, if I want to kill you, this king still have plenty of methods to do so. Will Binding Net Life and Death Speech Judgment Six Desires Transformation Style Will Life Severance Generally, all methods of resurrection from the dead need the transfer of the soul to be effective. Before using the will fire to burn his body, his soul must have escaped in advance, now that his soul is trapped in the net, and with the impermanent death judgment, this king don't believe you can still live again. Wait, this is... A clone? Such a clone that mixed the false with the genuine. This is... The illusory bodies by the combination of the six desires of the XINMO sect? Six Mara clones. Using the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires method in front of this king? It is simply displaying one slight skill before an expert. Origin points obtained shock. 0.01 points E Dao Chi. Very good. It seems that the method of the XINMO sect succeeded in stirring up E Dao Chi's mind and also provided me with origin points. Remarkably, this time, E Dao Chi, this old monster, actually gave me some origin points, albeit pitifully few. It mustn't have been easy for the system to farm him, extreme emotions and all. The system really has a knack for turning people's emotions into origin points. However, thoughts of fiery intent of the true art of Mara doesn't care if the emotions are extreme or not, so long as they are emotions, it will do, no matter how awesome E Dao Chi is. It's impossible to completely control his emotions without fluctuations. This is also the reason why I didn't release Xie Daoyun's primordial spirit. Once the Buddhist characteristics are activated, thoughts of fiery intent won't gain anything. Of course, finger of flowery swords cannot be used at the same time with the true art of Mara, using the true body of Mara, even if I release the primordial spirit in advance, it will soon dissipate by itself. As long as I have enough thoughts of fiery intent, then I can ignite the four spots of fiery thoughts nodes behind me, using the desire for thought to flame and making the five desires flourish, strengthening one's body this is the new move of the true body of Mara, the ability of realm of fiery thoughts. When all the fiery thoughts nodes are ignited, my strength will be strengthened to a realm beyond imagination. Until then, let's first use these methods to let you broaden your horizons. True Art of Mara Hell Demonic Flame Demonic Flames, Clones, in addition to this indefinite death replacement method, why is this guy's cultivation method so similar to the inheritance of my XINMO sect? Indefinite will incorporeal sound. Is it possible that he is the current heir of the desire for thought branch? Six desires transformation style soul shattering inner demon. I thought that after advancing to the innate, Mara clones had become a lot resilient, but I didn't expect that E. Dao Chi still had a method to destroy it. Uh, after all, my true art of Mara is only at the innate second layer. To beat E. Dao Chi, this kind of long standing old aged monster is still too much to expect. Isn't it too inflated? Self-control. Self-control. Next, I have a big one for you. True Art of Mara Heavenly Phantom Plane. This feels similar to the continuous transformation of one thought. Is it also derived from the same method of desire for thought soul refining? He had even mastered this move. But this place is... The fourth grade Dao Harmony Secret Realm. Why does he know about this place? The host body puppet of this king was destroyed. In that case, this guy has already obtained this place opportunity. Hidden secrets are exposed, and the escape route is cut off. No matter how profound and reserved your mind is, it is impossible to suppress the emotional fluctuations. Origin points obtained shock. 0.01 points E. Dayok. Origin points obtained shock. 
0.01 points e dao chi, the next step is to dutifully contribute for emotions in this fantasy realm and turn it into nutrients for the continuous strengthening of the true art of Mara. Desire for thought fantasy realm? Although this move can replace all things and recreate heaven and earth, it cannot reduce the strength of the one that received this move in the slightest. This king is still trapped in the great formation of Chongling Dao, yet you still use this fantasy realm to imprison me, isn't it unnecessary? However, using this fantasy realm scene, do you want to disturb this king's mind? To make me realize that you and the people behind you have already found out everything about my original arrangement? Speaking of it this way, that betrayer disciple Yuan Sheng must have been involved. When he killed his master and usurped the throne, if he got the information from the real body of this king, it is indeed possible to set up this plot. This old monster is quite capable of brainstorming. But no one in their right mind would guess in the direction of simulation rebirth. It saves me the trouble for him thinking of that martial arts fanatic patriarch of the XINMO sect as the man behind the scenes. Patriarchy is overthinking. I only changed the battlefield because I did not want to be disturbed by Chongling Dao's formations. The exchange of blows just now made me realize that against an expert like you, I am afraid I will not be able to win if I do not use my full strength. Full strength? Do you mean that you are still constrained by Chongling Dao's great formation and is unable to use your fist art? On the battlefield, what's the use of bragging like this? With your strength, no matter how hard you try, it will be futile. Believe it or not, try it and see. Don't think you're the only one who can have a plug-in. If comparing plug-ins, I have much more than you. Universal Illumination Cleansing of Sins by the Buddha Buddhist Methods? How is this possible? Haven't you always wanted to know the man behind me? Now he's right in front of you. Wisdom Seal of the Great Illuminator, it was the enlightenment of Buddha that let me come here to subdue monsters and wipe out devils to exterminate you this heart demon that is plaguing the martial world. Did he open this fantasy realm to avoid the thousand souls' great formation and Buddha's light consuming each other? But this kind of pure Dharma body can only be held by a monk who have the ability to control it. How can this guy have such a cultivation level at such a young age? Celestial pole of the Purple Star Emperor of the North Star, if Buddha is not enough to deal with you, then I will ask the Taoist ancestor to send some more reinforcements. Origin points obtained shock. 0.01 .01 points E Dao Chi, origin points obtained shock, 0.01 .01 points E Dao Chi. Imperial Edict of the Supreme Enclosure Defense assisted by the four auspicious beasts, protective fence of the heavenly city purification of all in the eight directions. Celestial Incarnation Extermination of Demons by the Three Enclosures. This is The Taishian Sex Methods the Taoist's true mantra, which is the natural restraints of this king cultivation method, but this guy has the inheritance of the demonic sex. How can he be able to use righteous factions martial arts? M.O. Ching sect, X.I.N. M.O. sect, Buddhism, Taoism. So many contradictory cultivation methods. Such a heaven-defying speed of making moves. Decent of Chong's sinking of the divine land. Something's wrong, something's wrong with all of this. If this person has such strength, before he makes a move, the laws of the heavenly cave would have expelled him. Furthermore, these moves are clearly powerful beyond imagination, but why do they not possess any Tao Rhyme Aura at all? But if this is merely a fantasy technique to confuse people's mind, even if this king were to use the desire for thought branch to lock the six senses, I would not be able to break away from this illusion. All of the strange and bizarre attacks are incredibly real. If we keep fighting, I am afraid I will die here. Too strong, too strong. Too strong for no reason. Wait a minute, this situation, could it be? Sure enough. Heavenly Phantom Plane Broken I came out. So that is what it is. This piece of fantasy realm seems the same as one moment of thought in achieving the same end by different approaches, but in fact they are totally different. 
The exit left is not the owner of the fantasy realm, but the one who has imprisoned himself only by self-destruction can one escape from the fantasy realm. Just now, if it weren't for the soul-locking will fire that didn't dissipate as the injuries accumulated, this king still wouldn't be able to detect the key points. Such a real fantasy technique is really rare. After the breakthrough, the combination of the heavenly phantom plane and the desire for thought branch cultivation method is enough to trap the consciousness of the person who received this move in it and be bombarded by all kinds of moves that I can imagine. Originally, no matter how the injuries accumulated, the person in the fantasy realm would not completely lose the ability to move, let alone die. The more seriously injured a normal person is, the more he will use all means to save himself and his life. In this way, it will be more difficult to find a way to escape. One can only be reduced to a tool person as nutrients for the true art of Mara. E. Dao Chi deserved to be called an old master of the martial world. Unexpectedly, his reaction was very quick. It seems that this fourth fiery thoughts node will not be ignited after all. True body of Mara realm of fiery thoughts triple strengthening, three folds is three folds, it is enough to deal with a fallen realm, an innate third layer. The strengthening of the realm of fiery thoughts will be able to increase every aspect of my corporeal body, power, speed, resiliency, even Mara true chi overall amount one iteration of fiery thoughts can increase twice, and the full accumulation of the circle is as much as four folds upgrade in every aspect. If it were only the true art of Mara, this kind of improvement is not impressive in the eyes of innate masters in the main world. After all, fighting in the main world mainly depends on true chi, not so much on the physical body. No matter how much is the overall amount of true chi is, yet it cannot upgrade the realm. If there isn't a special and unusual unique skill or finishing blow, it will only last longer, that's all. But paired with my everlasting dominating fist, mobilizing every inch of power of the increase of the physical body is sufficient to completely transform the power of multiplication of the realm of fiery thoughts into White Tiger style fiend evil claw, destructive power. With only one move, the deadly demon is gone. This strength, this speed, how is it possible? Compared to just now, it's like he is a different person, this is obviously the speed and destructive power of an innate fourth layer. Damn, can't let him get close. Desire for thought soul binding fire, now that the deadly demon is broken, can't rely on the physical body to resist this power. Even if there is only half a pair left, myriad transformation demonic body must be retrieved first. This guy was determined to kill this king, so there was no reason to hide his strength before, but how could his strength have changed so drastically in the short time we fought? Is it possible that this king has fallen under a fantasy technique again without knowing it? No. Impossible. This feeling is completely different from before, it's reality now. I was having so much fun just now that I didn't even notice that unexpectedly Xiao Yao's primordial spirit had lasted until now before it disintegrated. So amazing, theoretically, when I'm using the true art of Mara, without the flowery true chi backing and directing the primordial spirit, it should dissipate in no time. Xiao Yao's primordial spirit character independency is too strong. Nevertheless, is patriarchy afraid? Only receiving one move of mine, soon afterwards you called back myriad transformation demonic body in a haste, your reaction is exactly the same as before. Before? What does he mean? Is this guy using his words to disturb this king emotional state? Wait. It's this ring. The demonic flames on the ring are the same as the wolf fire achieving the same result with different approaches. It had suddenly increased rapidly just now after the fantasy realm battle. That fantasy realm can neither injure nor trap this king. It simply choked and intimidated this king's state of mind from the beginning to the end, speaking of it this way. He is using this king as bait food, transforming the desire for thought, and strengthening himself. This is the source of his sudden increase in power. Inner demon severing thoughts six senses will lock. It won't do. I have to cut off my thoughts first so that he has nothing new to burn. This kind of power is beyond the norm. It must consume a lot. Even if the function of the desire for thought branch cultivation method is not smooth as a result, it will be worth it. 
sure enough, as this king expected. Then so long as I continue to hold him back. After image? It's really awesome, so much quick and already knowing that to resist my move you need to control your emotions and not letting any single thought be born, but unfortunately it's a little too late. Even if the thoughts of fiery intent no longer increase with the existing ones. Fist of the Falcon supersonic dive, what a terrifying speed. Azure Dragon style, for deep penetration, it's also enough to finish you off. Even if my realm falls, with the ability of this king within the same realm, I should be invincible. But why, why is it still? Not good. The injuries are accumulating, and the soul locking will fire is about to dissipate. I must buy time, this old monster actually infiltrated his true chi into the cellular level, hitting him with four deep penetration is pointless. But it doesn't matter, I'll make a miracle and kill him today. Extreme Illusory bodies by the combination of the six desires, as long as myriad transformation demonic body has time to repair the physical body and stabilize the divine soul, this king will still be able to hold on. Then I will use the entire power of the illusory bodies by the combination of the six desires to slowly wear him down. Overusing stale dudes genuine. Blue dragon thousand flashes. How is this possible? This king entire power of the illusory bodies by the combination of the six desires, each possessing the full strength of this king, how could it be completely wiped out by one move? Not good, that blow just now almost exhausted my six desires true chi, and it will be difficult to recover in a short time. I can neither fight back nor retreat, even if I want to. Is it possible that this king? The gray body destroys, the wisdom dragon make appearance. Will really lose? Myriad transformation, demonic body broken. Recall. Desire for thinking, soul binding flames has been extinguished, Yi Dao Chi can no longer occupy this body. This body is dead? No, although weak, but there is still a little bit of vitality remaining, but if it's left alone, it will die soon. Cheap daddy, cheap daddy, I am saving you, or not, how can I help you? If I rescue you, will Yi Dao Chi be also be revived? Huh? This is Yi Dao Chi soul remnant? So that's the case. I understand it's really difficult. I blame you for being able to set up this situation, pretending to be GE Huayu, sneaking into Xian MO sect and using this as a bait to ambush and kill GEE -E is really a good plan. Is Yi Dao Chi and GEE -E memory fused? Although dead, it's too sad to be integrated urging. Sect Master Yi Dao Chi now understands that this method of renunciation has been broken, and it will vanish into thin air if it stay for a long time. What's the use of these? The remnant soul, still on it, the tomb locks thousand soul formation, cannot escape, not much more. Why don't you hurry up and surrender? Maybe we can settle it at a good location. If it wasn't for the limitations of G.E. Yi's body, you really thought you can kill me? But at last a loss is still a loss. With such an outcome, why should this seat seek to be reborn by cause and effect? It's ridiculous that these innate realm masters, no matter Chong Ling Dao or Su Min and team, are all played by you. A person like you who has exhaust all kinds of tricks, dare to pretend to be G.E. Huayu, presumably he died at your hand, now G.E. Yi's life is like a candle in wind, and he cannot escape chopped down in the end. The fate of eradication. It's just, looking at what you are doing, do you still want to save the life of G.E.E.? -E? Do you think you can settle your grievances? Or do you want to repay G.E.E. -E kindness for taking care of you by accident? Ha ha ha, don't device yourself you have the idea of saving someone at this moment. Is it because you want to save, or is it because of confirmation? After confirming that G.E. Yi's mind wedge is still intact, dare to rest assured to save? What you expect in your heart is to wait for G.E. Yi to wake up. After that, continuing to maintain this hypocrisy of the father and son are deeply in love, or continuing to use G.E.E. -E by constantly taking advantage grabbed from the XINMO sect. It's a pity that the relationship is maintained by the mind wedge, as long as a thought circulates, it will disappear into nothing in an instant. 
Even this Sikh can guess that you are killing. Once the murderer who killed G.E. Huayu has no intention to interfere, how can G.E.E. -E be merciful to you? Since it is destined to be the mortal enemy, instead of leaving a message with a dark mind that could explode at any moment, it's not as good as cutting the weeds and rooting them now forever. This seat did not threaten G.E.E. -E. If you don't want to do any tricks, you can ask what the problem is. Can you believe it? Noisy. Ha ha ha. You really can't help but to shot up the last remnant of the soul. Well, it was originally intended, in the worst case, leave it for the Yuan Sheng's six desires. It's your turn to enjoy. Shit, E Dao Chi, this old monster, what do you want to do when you are dying? Finger of Nirvana. But, I don't feel anything there also, the system does not prompt, it can't be soul invasion or something, what's more, with my current perception, it is impossible for me to be possessed by a remnant soul or something. Imperceptible. Well, let's deal with GEE -E first. After a while, the vitality is still fading. If there is no further intervention, I'm afraid right now he will just die. E Dao Chi just talked so much nonsense. One sentence is right, no anyway. GEE -E is an enemy, but not a friend. As long as he's alive, it's a disaster to suffer from. Only. That's all. Cheap daddy though not a nice guy, but he treat me well. Look at him just dying. No matter what good or bad, at least let my heart not happy. Look through for his child's sake. Save him good luck. Him so sucked. Finger of Nirvana. Only use half of your strength just to revive him. In this way, even if there is any accident, I will not be afraid. As for whether E. Dao Chi will leave something behind on G. E. E. hand, even if he is so badass that he can return to life with a dead body, if I kill him once, I can kill him the second time, I'm not afraid at all. Father, are you all right? How do you feel? What's wrong? Why you? Why, could it be you? Correct. Obtain source points pity, 0.01 points GEE, -E. obtain source points pity, 0.01 points GEE, -E. obtain source points pity, 0.01 points GEE. -E. Why you, are you okay? Did that gang of thief from Chong Lingdao hurt you? Dad, calm down why you is fine. You're seriously injured right. Now, so quickly catch your breath first. This GEE -E instantly gives me the source point when he just wakes up. He really misses his son all the time, but it shows that my disguise is still working, so I don't have to worry about him turning on me. It's good you're fine, but where did this injury come from? I remember that Su Min and Chong Lingdao attacked me together, and there was a boy of unknown origin, at a critical moment, that person decided to take action, but now why? When father said that person, did you mean E Dao Chi? How did you know about this? Father's body should have been taken by him? Did you meet him? Judging from GEE's reaction, it seems that he himself can't remember the events that happened after his body was taken by E. Dao Chi. Was this the inevitable result of failing to take the body? Or was this the secret action of E. Dao Chi? After all, it's much more comfortable for me. All right, this is a long story, so I'll explain it to Dad. In other words, you were actually captured by the Chongling Do and hidden in this secret realm, but they blocked the search for the Yin Chi communication talisman with a secret technique. However, Su Min and the others who surrounded you were killed by Yi Dao Chi. But when Huai Yu broke free and managed to escape, I saw Su Min and the others had already become corpses and noticed that Yi Dao Chi was already dying. Huai Yu thought that it was father who came to save me, but he attacked me all of a sudden, luckily he was exhausted, and he underestimated Huai Yu ability, he finally managed to beat me, and then you woke up. As soon as dad entered secret realm, dad was possessed by his demonic thoughts, and dad didn't have the strength to fight it. If that person has completely inherited father's memories, I'm afraid he will be able to take father's body completely. But E. Dao Chi mentioned in battle that he could seize the body so easily because the E. Dao Chi technique that father had trained was a technique invented by him. Judging from the situation, this matter might not be a lie. This, that technique was indeed obtained by accident by me. It was hidden in a secret place within the ancestral hall. 
I thought it was an opportunity passed down by the ancestors, but I didn't expect that it was a trap to become someone else's chess piece. If you think about it carefully, the inheritance of the E-Clan has always been preserved by the elders of the E-Clan, and there is really no reason to hide it. It's just that I seem to be bewitched by desire and fail to gain insight for a while. This time, all of this is really thanks to my son, otherwise, I'm afraid I won't be able to break away from Sect Master Yi Dao Chi. This is all because of the blessing of the father, and Yi Dao Chi's supernatural power is hard to beat. After chatting for so long, there is no abnormality in Ji Yi Yi's body, and I also haven't received the source point from Yi Dao Chi, the old monster should be dead. Okay, now is the time. Um, what's this tattoo? When did this happen? Six Deserts Forbidden Style, Heavenly Demon's Death Curse. What? No, is this impossible? Finger of Nirvana. What just attacked me? It seems that I was suppressed by nature, and I couldn't even activate the true Mara body, and I was seriously injured in an instant. Obtain source point surprise, 0.01 point GEE, obtain source point surprise, 0.01 point GEE, obtain source point surprise, 0.01 point GEE. Why you? Father? Just now, heavenly demon? You got the curse of demon of death from Dao Chi? Heavenly demon's death curse? What's this? The name of this technique is called Heavenly Demon's Death Curse, and I've only seen it in the secret book records I found in the secret library in the Ancestral Hall. This technique is one of the six desires forbidden style. If it was hit by this curse, it would attract the attacks of an otherworldly heavenly demon. This attack has no form and cannot be stopped. This technique can't be used actively, it can only be triggered passively. Whoever kills the practitioner will be hit by this curse. Damn it. I should have thought of this earlier, Why you? you just said that you were the last person to come out to clean up this mess. Damn, no wonder Yi Dao Chi said such nonsense, apparently only to provoke me to take action, otherwise, when his remaining soul disappears, this technique will not work, how can there be such a technique in the world? The more I kill, the faster I die. Father, you don't need to worry, Huayu has great luck, so Huayu has found a way to survive this technique in another adventure, a way that can erase all negative techniques that exist in one's body. This old monster is really dead, but this technique can't be stopped. Luckily, I still have the finger of Nirvana that is invincible. No, I used the finger of Nirvana earlier, but the heavenly demon still appears, could it be... It is useless, this is a death curse, as long as you are not dead, the heavenly demon will always attack you again. No one knows the origin of this heavenly demon, it's just that it will definitely stick to your body. It looks more like a real inner demon in the world, who is out of sight. What Yi Dao Chi did was instill this curse mark on you at the cost of life. Every now and then, that heavenly demon could lock onto your location and appear to attack again. Once in a while? How long is that? If it's 10 days or half a month, then, according to the secret notebook I read, he will attack you every half an incense stick, so how many times can you use your life-saving technique? Can you survive till the end of the 9 sex conference and return to the XINMO sect? Does Dad mean to ask Sect Master Yuan Sheng for help to save Huayu? But my life-saving technique did not consume true chi, and it was impossible to accurately estimate how many times it could be used. It's just, no matter how optimistic I am, I'm afraid it won't last for a day. Damn it! This time, I got into a big problem. This is reality, not a simulation of life. What should I do, with an attack like that, and it will continue to attack every half stick of incense, no matter how many source points I have? And it won't be enough for me to be able to use Finger of Nirvana constantly, especially now that I'm short on source points. There is only one day, after you get out of here, you will be in the M.O. Ching sect, and if you want to return to the X.I.N. M.O. sect, it will be too late. For now, only. Hold tight. It's disgusting, 
This old monster E. Dao Chi, the more cautiously you deal with him with the idea of cutting grass and roots, the faster you will die. I shouldn't have done it myself at all. Hiding from the back and killing people with a knife is the best choice to deal with this old monster. Shit. Don't worry, Daddy. It's not the only means. When this boy is ready, I will try again to crack the heavenly demon's death curse again. Right now, I can only count on true art of Mars Mara rebirth. I will change my current body. I don't believe that this curse mark can still exist after this. After this. However, with my current amount of thought of fiery intent, I can activate Mara rebirth pretty much the same, but the preparation time is enough for that demon to mess with me several times. Suddenly encountering life and death events, my son can still remain calm and calm. Very well, this is the spirit that my GE family should have. Been seeing you for so many years, but today, my son finally has the ability to be independent and look to the bright side. And in the future, there will be great achievements accomplished by you. Father is already the vice patriarch of XINMO sect. No matter how great the child's achievements are, it is also impossible to surpass daddy. But the current time is not much left for Huayu. The achievement that the father refers to is not in the XINMO sect, but in the MO Ching sect. Although the XINMO sect is powerful, internal disputes and conflicts have always continued. The dispute between fathers and Su Min is just the result of the confluence of many contradictions and disputes. Without Su Min, there will still be others who will jump out. For so many years, in order to firmly secure the position of vice patriarch, the father has been tough inside. There is not all resentment inside and outside the sect. It's okay when the father is here. But once he's gone, these grievances will only remain on you and it's really unbearable for me. On the other hand, the M.O. Ching sect, although it is not full of talents, but there are quite a few young people who have emerged, and now it is the time of resurgence, as Xie Yin in your hand, there is a lot to do in the future. If managed properly, it will surely become your new foundation. After the Nine Sects Conference is over, don't go back to the XINMO sect. As for the other things in our GE family, you already know something about it. With your ability, Mr. Thousand-Faced Prince, you can take as much as you can, and you don't have to force yourself if you can't take it. Father, the Heavenly Demon's death curse on the child has not been untied yet, so there is no need to talk about it so far. Under normal circumstances, there is only one solution to the Heavenly Demon's death curse, which is to forcibly annihilate the curse mark with a cultivation base beyond the caster's cultivation base. However, with the cultivation of desire of thinking, I am afraid that no one in this world can do it except Sec Master Yuan Shang, E. Daochi's desire for thinking branch is replaced by the level algorithm of the system, which is at least level 6, although my true art of Mara covers the desire for thinking branch, but it is only at level 5, it is basically impossible to solve the curse by specializing in true art of Mara. Other methods, whether it is a double body to replace the dead, or resurrecting the soul with a dead body, all are useless, because the curse marks on the body are just appearances, and the actual curse mark is rooted in the soul. Rooted in the soul? It's over, in this way, Mara Reborn is of no use. But, what I just said is normal. Actually, there is another solution. But, for your father, I can remove this prohibition for yourself. Dad, can you do it? If anyone else uses this trick, with father's current cultivation base it is incomprehensible. But it was precisely because of that intention that E. Dao Chi survived the world as through father's body, and although the means E. Dao Chi used were sublime, the essence was still that of thinking. Hence, the father's body is the cornerstone. The Six Desires Cultivation Method, the intention is the respect. As long as the father can touch the true chi of desire in the curse mark, he can move the whole function to make the curse mark completely disappear. Without the curse mark, the extraterrestrial demons will no longer be able to lock you in, and this catastrophe will be safely resolved. Okay, why you? You feel it carefully and see it is there anything unusual. Sure enough, the curse marks really disappeared. This method really works. Ha ha ha, E. Dao Chi missed a move, unexpectedly missed never mind. Wait. No. He knows. He knows everything. 
E. Douchi used every word to criticize my heart, inside and outside of what he said was trying to induce me once and for all to get rid of G.E.E. -E. However, as long as G.E.E. -E dies, the demon will die, the curse will get trapped in me. Forever. In his eyes, I am a conspirator, and the act of showing that I want to save G.E.E. -E is just to seek more benefits, but if the risks are greater than the benefits, people like me will indeed kill G.E.E. -E. After all, this can last forever. And no future troubles. This old monster is horrible. I would have been dead if I would have followed him. Fortunately, although I am selfish, but it is still a bit of kindness. In the end, after all, I didn't kill G.E.E., -E, but saved him. Otherwise, I would really be dead this time. This time, if I think about it carefully, unless I give up on dealing with Dao Chi, or if I am lucky enough to be surrounded and beaten to death by Su Min and his party, as long as I choose to come out at the end, I will have to face this death. Damn it. I'm about to be psychologically shadowed. How will I fight the bosses of the main world in the future? Dad, Huayu is fine thanks this time now that there is a father. That's good. In this way, as a father, I can rest assured, father. What are you saying? The method of desire is only tied to the mind wedge more than one thing. As father have, not enough cultivation base, I can't directly control the curse marks, I can only use self-destructive means to force self-satisfaction only by returning my true chi, I can save my son life. Self-defeating? That father, you. The mind wedge is really broken. Body backlash, mind blown, don't say that you want to support, only afraid that G.E.E. -E could not even save his life on live. Don't worry, dad is alright, this is. As long as, my son is alright it's all worth it. G.E.E.'s obsession with his son? Out of control through the desire and true chi, it is transmitted here, it comes. At first, it was just a thought, you are the only one in my GE family bloodline, I, GE, -E, is here, your mother was assassinated by an enemy, the only remaining relative in the world. Your life was also in trouble too. I can't forgive myself as a father, I can't accept that the same thing happened to you again, that's why I want to protect you well. But later, more thoughts get accumulated, the deeper the accumulation, the more persistent I was getting, getting stronger, getting stronger, as a father, he spoils you, indulges you, and allows you to do everything at will, but he has always held you, and refuses to let you walk alone in the rivers and lakes. It's just because after that incident, your personality has become more extreme and surly, and if you meet a strong opponent, you will easily cause trouble. Your father was afraid that even you will leave me, so father again and again tried you to stay at home, trying to persuade you stay at the sect with peace of mind, but the heart of a young man will eventually don't want to be bound. Every time we talked about this matter, we always had a big fight and broke up. Thinking about it now, your father was too stubborn until now the mind wedge of will is broken, the obsession is no longer, only then did I suddenly realize that for my son, I am no longer the one who needs to be the parent, my dear child. No matter how far the road in the rivers and lakes is, as a father, you still have to let go of your hand after all. And after today, regardless of life or death, as a father, I am afraid that I will not be able to enter the rivers and lakes to find my son again, why you, promise to be your father. In the future's cultivation and martial path, you have to walk alone, and you have to. Remember to come back yourself. It turns out. This is G.E.E.'s intention reason. G.E.E., G.E. Huayu, yes it's time I wish I could treat you as father and son, so don't have any regret. Wait, this is? My lord, what's with the uncle just now? Is he almost dead after destroying his will? My lord didn't save him with the finger of Nirvana, so why does he seem to be more energetic now? Cheap Daddy's mind wedge is being restructured, even his injuries are gradually recovering. No, it's not just recovery, it's break and then stand wait for Cheap Daddy to wake up. He may at any time be promoted to the fifth level of innate realm. What is this? Is it a blessing in disguise? 
Isn't that a good thing? My lord, why don't you look very happy? Could it be E. Dao Chi? He has resurrected from a dead body? It's either E. Dao Chi or Cheap Daddy himself, I can tell the difference. I'm not worried about this. The reorganization of the wool wedge, I just checked carefully, this time the Cheap Daddy's wool has changed, from loving his son to something else, maybe it is to survive. It is precisely because of this wool to survive, he in order to break and then stand. Ah! Doesn't that mean that the uncle wakes up and realize the truth that Master is not his son and will no longer see Master as their own and see it as his enemy? Exactly. Ching or your little brain has turned faster and faster. Goo, then the uncle will become an enemy now. My lord, or else we should kill him now. The uncle is so powerful, he breaks and then stands. When he really wakes up, we are dead. Master haven't been so cowardly that you have to go against your heart in order to avoid a little trouble. One drink, one peck. Sure, I have saved his life, and he gave me my life back. It's time for G.E.E.'s father and son relationship to be broken. This, this is broken. Is it the mind wedge? It looks like it's almost reorganized. Well, so I must hurry the mind wedge got reconstructed and the originally integrated mind is separated again. Now is the only chance to tamper with G.E.E.'s memories. I see. My lord, you want to change the uncle's cognition, let him never doubt you again. And not let him recognize you as his son? Your master also have limitations, such a complex operation cannot be performed at this moment. What's more, if you really want to do this step, and kill G.E.E., -E, then how is G.E. why you different? What I want to do is to use myself as a beacon, and sucked out all the memories related to Xie Yin in G.E.E.'s mind and heart and ground them up. As for G.E.E.'s other memories, I have nothing to do, but no matter what, I have to do it myself to frame the reference, plus Xie Yin is just one of G.E. Huayu's false identity, even if there is a thought, it is only floating on the surface, so it also can be done. Human memory is amazing. Occasionally, one or two pieces are missing. As long as the number is small, you will not notice the abnormality. Instead, it will automatically fill in and perfect the missing logic. As the so-called hidden trees are in the forest, as long as the memory of G.E. Huayu pretending to be C.A.N., M.O. Ching sect is erased, even if G.E.E. -E becomes suspicious of his son in the future, anyone who participated in the Nine Sect Conference will only be cutting the clues, which lead to brainstorming on the person with blurred vision and there will be no exact identity for it. And that's enough for me. In this way, I can completely cut off contact with G.E.E. -E and G.E.'s family without affecting most of G.E.E.'s memories and emotions. That's how it is, my lord. Call it, call it, right. Uncle is now in a coma, and Master's true art of Mara has perfectly inherited the method of desire of thinking. This must be easy to do, silly girl. How could things be so simple? Do? Big, 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 master, how did it explode? There seems to be something more around the mind wedge, what? What are you panicking about? I have already prepared. True art of Maramara's transformation of desires. All creation is furnace. My lord, what the hell is this thing? What is it? Why does it seem to be able to exhaust Mara's true chi? And also keeping it out? This is Yuan Sheng's Six Desires Heart Demon Seal on Ge Yi's body. With the power of mind, there is a way to get around it, but if I want to get my hands on it, I have to pass through it first, the fragments of the broken mind wedge, as well as Ge Yi's Sea of Consciousness itself, but the part that has been reorganized, it is difficult to guarantee that the part related to Xie Yan's identity will not be locked. It is not difficult to handle, idea. When one thought arises, another 10,000 thoughts arise. Like that, if it cannot be completely wiped off, it is tantamount to wasting all previous efforts. So anyways, I have to tear a hole in this tortoise's shell first. It's done. I touch the mind wedge. 
Although it has been prepared, it can be actually operated, but it's far more difficult than expected. Six Desire's Heart Demon Seal is too difficult to break through. As expected of Sect Master Yuan Shang, I can only use the maximum output and the non-stop mass of true chi to wash away and wear away so that I can barely drill to open a hole. The most exaggerated thing is that this thing can restore itself, even if the status quo is maintained, I have to do my best. Now Mars True Chi is consumed much faster than recovery, but I can't stop to take a few breaths, otherwise, if the heart demon seal recovers, most of my means of absorbing thoughts will be immune, and it will be a waste of time. In the end, I still have to rely on the finger of Nirvana, the finger of Nirvana and Six Desire's Heart Demon Seal, going down, I don't know how many life force I have to spend. I think the last result is not as good as killing GEE -E more simply and neatly forever, in which case there will be no future troubles. I really have chosen a thankless way for myself, only. It is said that cause and effect are of evil kind. Then why can't I take it this karma? Isn't it Krypton life? I'm going to use this method to settle the grievances today, and anyone don't even think about obstructing it. Ha dot ha, master, are you all right? It's okay, I can't die, non-stop using the life force. It took nearly 70 years of lifespan to replenish Mars true chi, and GEE's consciousness was finally dealt with before GEE's true chi was completely restored. A lifespan of 70 years? Master, you. No big deal man I'm living now, life will only be longer in the future, and this consumption is not a problem. What's more, this time there is no such thing as no gain, with so much expense the heart demon seal that was carved out with great strength, how could it not be knocked and blocked down? The mysterious means used by XINMO sect to control disciples and restrict words and deeds. How many functions that are not even fully known now? I have to wait until the end of the nine sects conference and return to MO Ching sect, and then study it slowly. And the mind which finally let me figure out Idaochi's method and aware me of his hands and feet in it and what is it at the bottom of GEE's mind. In fact, from the very beginning Idaochi's demon thoughts stay well hidden void under it. The desire for thinking branch practiced by GEE -E is for intention to cover up this emptiness. GEE -E is induced to continue to add bricks and tiles to his heart, which makes his feelings for his son grow deeper and deeper until he becomes paranoid and distorted, making it difficult for him to see reality. After this reorganization, the void is refilled, meaning there are no gaps in the desire for thinking skills. So GEE -E can have the new atmosphere of breaking through and then establishing. What's next? Uncle's mind wedge is repaired, isn't it? He is going to wake up soon? When he wakes up, would he immediately realize what happened to his son ASAP? The human mind is hidden in the dark. After reorganization of mind wedge, GEE -E will no longer be obsessed with the love for his son as in the past. And if there is no new stimulus, GEE -E will not think of those flaws that I exposed before for no reason. As for the future, I have reached the limits of what I can do, and I can't control anything else. What's more, if there is no paranoia brought by mind wedge, with GEE's -E temperament, he may not care so much about GEE Huayu. Let's go. It's time to get out of here. Go? Should we not stay here until Uncle wakes up? Just in case, what if the mind wedge is not handed properly? Your master is confident with his ability, so there is no need to confirm it. What's more, GEE -E has already forgotten my face. If he wakes up, it would be an unnecessary trouble. If we want to meet again, we have to wait until we leave the cave, and we will become strangers again. If there is a dispute, the outcome of the life and death depends on the ability of each person, and there is no need to be entangled like now. Father, why you? Is it a dream? Strange, why am I still alive? Even the body is not damaged at all. What about why you? 
This Yin Chi talisman, message left by Huai Yu? Dad, you can't predict yourself, are you all right? Although I don't know the reason, but what you said was a breakthrough and Heavenly Demon's death curse on your child's body was lifted successfully. After confirming that you are safe, Huai Yi is relived, but Huai Yu can't judge when you will wake up. Don't worry, it's just that there is not much time left for the opening of Nine Sect Conference and Huai Yu have not yet joined in Dao Empowerment. After thinking left and right, I decided to leave this place first to look for opportunities. After this incident, Hire have decided to change his identity and continue to explore the rivers and lakes. Father will not need to look for me, the child will take care of himself. This unfilial son, there is the location of level 4 joint room in the list of information given by E. Dao Chi, so where are you running? Whatever, you don't even care about your father's safety. It's strange, I was used to want to catch him back immediately, but why is this thought fading now? Not long ago, I thought I was going to die, and my heart suddenly became clear, and now I am equally clear, as if the Buddha has been suffering from illness for many years, and now that the illness is cured, I suddenly feeling an unprecedented ease. The boy who remembers to eat but not to hit, experienced such a big thing and still has to run outside, don't get caught by Chong Ling Dao again. I remember that he used the fake identity he took from elsewhere just now, it's just that face and identity. This is kind usual, and people can't remember his face. This kid didn't explain which sect he got into. Forget it, let him go. Also, I haven't provided him any empowerment yet, and after I break my hands and feet of Chong Ling Dao and leave here, it should be too late to go to the fourth level Dao Harmony Room. Just send a message to that kid when you go out. If you receive it, you are lucky. If you don't receive it, don't blame the old man for not calling him for something good. Sir, didn't you say you were leaving? Why have you been standing at the door since you came out? I'm sorry. Counting the time GEE -E should have woken up. Yes, it's time to go. Ah, uh, I see. Master, you are worried that people from Chongling Dao might come back for the news and also to check the current situation. That's why even Uncle GEE -E also stayed outside before waking up and says the same thing from his mouth at the end. In fact, Master still can't let go of the situation completely. Master, you should take it easy. The second half of the sentence is redundant. Even after making so many arrangements, if Chong Ling Dao make a mistake, wouldn't their effort be in vain? I'll keep this regards for the last time, as it is between you and me, let's put an end to this false father and son relationship permanently. Afterwards, if you and I meet each other, whether it will be an enemy or a friend, it is up to God to decide. Huh, Master, are you going to burn the Yin Chi communication talisman? Everything that can be done has been done, and keeping this thing will only become a hidden danger of revealing one's identity in the future. Just let it go, take this karmic relationship with you, let the smoke disappear, and let the grievances will be settled. As for what's next, Junior Sister Ryu, just come out can't you tell the truth from the fake after watching it for so long, and it will be futile to continue. Stepping out. Senior brother, is it really you? Why did you put on Xie Yan's face again? This caused the little girl to hesitate for a long time, but I didn't dare to recognize each other. Obtain origin points shock, 0.01 points Yan Ryu. Do you really dare not recognize each other, or do you want to confirm the suspicion in your heart? Didn't you always think that I am Xie Yan, the M.O. Ching sect? Now that my true identity has been seen by you, what? Aren't you worried that I will kill you? What did the senior brother say? How dare this little girl speculate on the identity of the senior brother at will? You have done this thing of pretending to be Xie Yan and you do, and this little girl is also very familiar with this face. Well, you'd be damned if you didn't think about it. But it's good to know that you don't dare, and don't take the initiative to step forward when you see this face in the future. If it is me, I will find you by my own means. If you meet original Xie Yin, he may not give you a good face. In this way, what else is there for the senior brother to put on this face? What are you planning now? My plan has nothing to do with you, so ask less and less. 
but in the future, I will contact the disciples of various sects with this face, so please be more sensible and don't bother me. That will be fine. This person has plotted against the XINMO sect and then plans to use Xie Yan's identity to disrupt the situation in the MO Ching sect? Is he really Xie Yan? I can't see through this attitude. By the way, what are you doing here? Serving as a spy for Chong Ling Dao? Can't you just pass this matter on to others? You should completely remove yourself and reduce your involvement in this matter. Is it too late for senior brother to say this now? The siege and killing of GEEHS failed. The whole army was almost wiped out. The incident is so big, so how can this little girl stay out of it? Shouldn't senior brother explain a thing or two? Explain? Explain what? They are just cannon fodder. Isn't it normal for the entire army to be annihilated? Looking at the posture of invoking the teacher, if it wasn't for knowing that Yen Ryu killed Zhao Shi, I really thought that she had a lot of heart for her sect. Wait. I have just left the Dao Harmony Room, and you have just arrived here, so how do you know what happened inside? You said nearly the whole army was wiped out. Could it be, senior brother still don't know? Uncle Shur was on the verge of death and used a secret method to escape from the Dao Harmony Room and told everyone in the sect about what happened inside. Now all the disciples of Chung Ling Dao know that G.E.E. -E has something weird about him, and he may even be taken away by the former sect master of the XINMO sect, so that his strength was increased greatly. So this round of siege has completely failed. Shur Taipu is not dead? No wonder his body disappeared inexplicably, only relying on Ching'er's surveillance. I couldn't detect his escape method of feigning death. Uncle Shur questioned the little girl about this matter, and I managed to evade it with words. Now the little girl is sent to investigate the outcome of the battle. Senior brother, what is going on with the result now? The little girl has a big debt to settle with you. What's going on? I still want to know what's going on. How can someone survive the layout of a lore? How much does Shir Taipu know? Would he guess that he was being used? No, if he suspects Yen Ryu, even if it's just for a little bit, Yen Ryu has no chance to leave his eyes right now. Shir Taipu should still regard this matter as an accident, only in this way I can explain the fact that Yen Ryu appeared here. I thought that all the people who worshipped Chongling Dao were dead. Even if Yen Ryu knew my secret, she has already stayed out of the matter and would just keep her mouth shut as before. Secretly keeping it as a preparation for negotiating with me. In the process of besieging and killing GEE, -E, an accident did happen, but your plan and mine did not come to nothing. After this battle, even though GEE -E is still alive, he has formed a deadly feud with Chongling Dao and the death of Zhao Shi, which you are most worried about, will naturally be pursued by no one. But now Shi Taipu is still alive, he is the person involved, and he knows that there is a person like me. Just because I don't doubt it now doesn't mean I won't think about it in the future. If something happens, this woman will never risk her life just to keep my secret. Everything is as you wish. In the worst case, Yen Ryu will betray me, and I will even become the sworn enemy of both the XINMO sect and the Chongling Dao sect at the same time. In order to prevent things from developing to this point, what else is there to settle? Even if you give up the interests of Shilan Kingdom, you must immediately destroy Yen Ryu here. Obtain Origin Point Sphere, 0.01 .01 points Yen Ryu, obtain Origin Point Sphere. 0.01 .01 points Yen Ryu, huh? Coming close, pull. It's the Dao Harmony Room. Senior brother, not long after you left, the room of the little girl was robbed by a passing third layer innate realm master. Uh? No way? I obviously waited until the red light faded away before leaving. How can people bump into dead rats? It's all because the senior brother left halfway through the guarding. Altogether, this little girl only received less than half of incense empowerment in total. Obviously, the skill is only one step away from breakthrough. At that time, it was agreed that I would only give you a third level Dao Harmony Room, and it was my love to help you keep half a stick of incense. My luck is also not good, so don't rely on me. 
I don't care about it. I agree to third level Dow Harmony room. If it wasn't for worrying about hindering the senior brother's plan, the little girl should ask the senior brother for it as soon as you came out. Anyway, if the skill of five elements escape of this little girl is fully exerted, even the fourth layer innate realm master will face difficult in capturing me. This is something that even Master Shirtaipu does not know. It is the means of the little girl to suppress the bottom of the box. Oh, that's pretty good. Presumably our trip to Shilan Kingdom in the future it will save a lots of trouble by relying on your escape technique. Deliberately mentioning Shilan Kingdom on purpose, it means that he doesn't intend to silence me right now? It's really a bet that I didn't run away right now. With this kind of human nature, once the relationship of mutual trust breaks down, we both will never show mercy. At that time, the secrets of both parties cannot be kept. Not to mention what will happen to him, he definitely be hunted down by the sex to death. But then again, Shilan Kingdom, that's after all. Right now, if you want a Dao Harmony room, you can't find me. It's true that I'm doing wholesale in this magical cave, can I just take out one at random? No. The Dao Harmony room that Senior Brother gave me is intact. If Senior Brother doesn't keep it for himself, there must be another chance. Does senior brother acts alone in the cave? Did you come here with your idea? But forget it, that place has already been assigned to others, and now I have used up all the Dao Harmony rooms in my hands, and I can only start from scratch like you if I want to find them again. However, I would like to advise you that it has been seven or eight hours since the opening of the Nine Sect Conference, and almost all the rooms that should be found have been found. If you are still obsessed with the third level Dao Harmony Room, be careful not to end up in a bamboo basket fetched with water. Didn't you mention it to Chinger before? That your Taipu also gave you a guide to the second level Dao Harmony Room? I suggest that you should first use this empowerment to ensure that your cultivation technique can break through smoothly. It is not unreasonable for Senior Brother to say so. This little girl really have to think hard to pick now. Only. Brother, now that the plan has been completed and the opportunity has been obtained, there is nothing else to do in the cave. Right? Just treat it as a poor and unlucky junior sister. How about going out with this little girl? This is not no. Then you go lead the way. This little girl thanked the senior brother first. Fortunately, that place is not too far from here, and it takes less than half an hour to get there. My lord, were you planning to kill this bad woman just now? Well, she knows too much. Your lord had a benevolent thought and chose to let G.E.E. -E live, so G.E. Huayu's identity became the only flaw, and now Yin Ruyu is the only one who knows this flaw. That's right, if this matter spreads, even if the uncle's memory is blurred, it is still possible to find out about the master. Isn't this very dangerous? Then why did Master stop halfway? Because she didn't escape. The fear in her heart shows that Yen Ryu herself has thought of this level, but she pretends to be nonchalant on the surface, and she still approaches me unsuspectingly. Which in itself is a sign of weakness. The words imply that even if she is suspected by Shir Taipu, she still has means to escape, telling me that she is not so easy to fall into a situation where she has to betray me. At the same time, I also said that it is not easy for me to kill her, so don't turn your face easily. Letting me walk with her now is also to show the gesture of entrusting safety in my hands. Thinking about it deeper, Yen Ryu must have done something in the dark. If she has a way to reveal my secret after death, then it is better to let her lie for me in Chongling Dao if she kills me right now. Huh? She insisted on walking with Master, wasn't because she was worried about being robbed of Dao Harmony Room again? Silly Chinger, you think of people's hearts too simply. How could it be possible for Yen Ruyu to act only with a superficial purpose? Not to mention, that room has been used for a while, then how could someone encounter twice in a row even through there was no strong light? And people founded the room? Such bad luck. Shit. You really can't set up flags randomly. How come there are real people in this Dao Harmony room? Peking, judging by the skills and clothes, they are disciples of the Bai Lian Xie sect and Qi Lian cult? Strange, isn't it recorded in the sex handbook that the two sects have a good relationship? 
there is nothing wrong with grabbing the opportunity, then why are they fighting so hard? Such hatred? Brother, it seems that they have been fighting for a while, and they are still in a relentless posture right now. Let's just wait here for a while and wait until they decide the winner. It's just two first layer and eight realms, they're destroyed together, so why bother? This woman wants to take the opportunity to test me again, in terms of strength, let's simply show more means here, so that at least it can deter her. It was agreed that you and I will go together, I will use Gu to track the path, and you will help to protect the way, now that the Dao Harmony Room is in front, but you, brother, suddenly want to kill me, we two have known each other for many years, do you have no regard for our two factions friendship? Friendship? Don't think that I don't know that you have activated the Gu technique secretly. If I didn't do it first, I'm afraid I would have become your puppet. Since the war in Shilan Kingdom, do you still have friendship between the two factions in the eyes of Chilion cult? Shilan Kingdom? How can I easily interfere with the important affairs of the sect? You are not even willing to trust me. Huh, I. I just hate that I didn't do it earlier. Trust? Even if I believe in you, can you believe me? I believe that if I have not started it first, then sooner or later, you would have started it first. This? Damn, in the end, I was a step too late. Did they both die together? It seems that they found out that there was already someone who came here first, and they were all worried that the other party would strike first, so they both took care of each other. Otherwise, both would have lose. The attraction of Dao Harmony Rooms to the disciples of the Nine Demon Sects should not be underestimated. Now that the time is approaching, those who have not yet been empowered are extremely anxious and afraid that they will lose. It's just that these two people really mentioned Shilan Kingdom just now. Is it country affairs? What's going on here? You and I are not the only ones who go to the treasure house of Shilan Kingdom. These two people, is Bailiencia sect and Chi Lian cult are also involved? This. Shilan Kingdom is located in a remote area, the news is blocked, and the information that I know is also of long time ago. It's just that some things were not noticed at that time, and now, after deliberation in reverse, some clues can be seen. Back then, there was chaos in Shilan Kingdom which lasted for a long time, even the Emperor's bloodline was almost cut off, there was no end to this chaos and nobody was there to take control of the situation. As far as I know, finally in Shilan Kingdom there was a delicate balance maintained by two forces fighting against each other. And neither of these two parties had the intention of destroying each other immediately. Instead, they searched for people related to the old royal family in their respective territories. I thought this was just an action out of their own political considerations, but now it seems that this is not the case if both Bailiencia sect and Chi Lian cult are eyeing the Shilan kingdom, and even change their previous attitude of cooperation with fight and conflict with each other, then it is very likely that these two sects are the people behind the forces in Shilan kingdom. And what they are looking for, of course, is the blood of the royal family, that is, the key to open the treasure house of Shilan Kingdom. It seems that the water in Shilan Kingdom is far deeper than expected. Wait. Forget it, they are both dead anyway, and there is no way to ask for more information. If there is any trouble, I still have to wait until I go to Shilan Kingdom to find out. You go to the Dao Harmony Room, and I will examine their bodies to see if I can find anything. All right, then, I will leave this to the senior brother. The strength of the Bailiencia sect and the Chilion cult are not strong, and it is impossible to devote all the efforts of the sect to seek the treasure house of Shilan Kingdom. There will always be a way to deal with it when the time comes, but why is it such a coincidence that these two sects got involved in the matter of Shilan Kingdom? It's just, although the source spirit stones are precious and expensive, but each of the nine demon sects have a profound background. Is it true that the two sects are in conflict just because of this characteristics? I always feel that there is something else in it. Um? Why did you get out? Didn't you just go in? Isn't it just too fast for the initiation of Dao Harmony Room? Could it be that? 
Now I'm in trouble. The Dow Harmony Room is empty, and the second empowerment has already been used up by someone. Isn't it? Is there really someone who is so unlucky? Honestly, at this time, if you still want to find a Dow Harmony Room, it's already very difficult, but I don't mind to help you. But do you know how much work and time it will take to find another Dow Harmony Room? How can this little girl not know that opportunities are hard to find? But the nine sect conferences meet is once in 40 years. If you miss this time, how can it be reconciled? So, what should we do now? Or we should part ways. That's Qing Ming Dao technique? Is there someone in the cave fighting Qing Ming Dao? This Dao rhythm, its fourth layer in eight realm, but why? It seems to be falling downwind. That man is dream life. Don't deceive people too much. The dream soul of this Tao is only shot once, and it's fine if you smash the G-bell and drive the Tao out of the Tao Harmony Room. After chasing me here, you still refuse to give up. I only take out a sword, I don't want it to take in, you can turn around and run away. As long as you escape fast enough, you don't have to face this sword. Presumptuous. A mere junior with third layer and eight realm talent, you really think I dare not kill you. Whether you can kill me or not is up to my sword. Coming from above. This is... Twilight Death Sword Technique, Annihilation of a Myriad Dermas. What a powerful force. Is this just the third layer in eight realm? The long sword I just glimpsed, could it be? Brother? Just sword and blood? It seems Meng Pingxing was wounded and escaped. Did he think it's okay to fight righteously, or? Knowing that you can't defeat your opponent? The whole body is red, with a strange bloody light exactly like the appearance described by Miss Matriarch, Sisyu. So the person who fought against Meng Pingxing was really from Wen Dao Sect? The number one ranked demonic sect Wen Dao Sect, it is said that it consists of only two people, but there is no information about any one person in the M.O. Ching Sect Handbook. I was wondering if I would have a chance to meet them at the Nine Sects Conference, but I really bumped into them. You are a disciple of the demonic sect? The true chi lingers in your body, is filled with love and desire. Could it be the true chi of finger of flowery swords created by the legendary sect master Wen Tingyun? What? This thing can be seen. There is also a slightly weaker true chi coexisting with it, which seems to have some traces of mantra of the inner demons of the six desires, but it's paradoxically mixed with many things I can't even understand. But it is definitely the inheritance of the original demon sect. Interesting, these two strands of true chi should obviously repel each other, and their potential nature is the same as fire and water, but why can they be clearly separated in your presence? There is also a clear distinction of flow of true chi in your body, and how it is completely safe and sound. When Ting Yun's unique knowledge, even the master has no chance to see it, let alone such a strange fusion technique, your realm is not low, maybe there is a way for you to catch up with my sword. What the hell? Obtained origin points appreciation, 0.01 .01 points Wei Qi Shuang, you appreciate me and still want to try the sword with me? Hey, I just stopped here just to inquire about information. I heard that Wen Dao sect is so stingy that they doesn't even let people see their battles. Sister Wei, didn't I say that there's no need to chase them out? Dao Harmony Room Empowerment is already over, so what's the point of giving up the Dao Harmony Room to that person just now? Blissful Temple Zhong Shishin, 1 ST Layer in 8 Realm. I was just blown away by him, but I'm not really injuries. Your reaction is just too quick. I drew the sword only because he was in the way in front of me. Walking on the martial path, everyone you meet is an enemy. This is the core principle of Qing Ming Dao. I just retaliated with my own way. You are born to be a sword, and this is the most suitable way for you, if you are determined to go in straight path. 
Blindly forbearance and restraint will not be good for your practice. I am extremely optimistic about the newly promoted first layer in eight realm disciple who is about the same age as your Yenner. How could he be with someone from the Wandao sect? And, I haven't noticed it in the sex album, but now that I see in real person, why I feel that I have seen someone like him in the pictures. The face is somehow familiar. It's look a bit like an acquaintance, just who it is. You say this again, I am a disciple of Blissful Temple and I have no intention of switching to the Wandao sect, HM. Ah, uh, you are, the M.O. Ching sect thanks teacher. Oh? You know me? The boy is Zhang Shixin, a disciple of Blissful Temple, and he has seen and thanked the teacher. The M.O. Ching sect has a close relationship with our sect. All the important figures in the sect have their portraits circulating in the temple. Master Xie is even more optimistic about us. How can we not know him because of his kindness? Yes. It was because of me that Blissful Temple's plan to invade the M.O. Ching sect goes bankrupt. Five and eight realm elders died together, and Blissful Temple became the bottom sect of the nine great demonic sects. Can this be considered a kindness? Of course it is. At the beginning, it was precisely because of that I thanked the teacher. Because of teacher, the actions of the former high priestess were prevented. The nine great demonic sects have the same roots and origin, each has its own background, even if the plans of the former high priestess succeeds, how can the M.O. Ching sect be easily captured? Even if they win for a while, they will inevitably continue to resist and kill endlessly afterwards, at that time. Those who will bleed to death will still be ordinary disciples of the two sections. What Master Xiaf stopped was not only the plot against the M.O. Ching sect, but also the extremely powerful people in that dispute and the casualties of all the Blissful Temple disciples. What's more, if Lu Qing Mei fought for power before and Master Xia hadn't acted, Blissful Temple would have been controlled by the XIN M.O. sect. How could this kindness be forgotten? This kid. Correct. I wonder if Master Xia is still looking for opportunities. The boy was lucky enough to come across a third level Dao Harmony room, and there was still a complete original demon epiphany anointment. And the entrance is in a place in the shade of the mountain among the strange rocks. He doesn't need it. This calm and composed, if he have the time to come here and watch the excitement, you have to know that he must have completed his empowerment in the Dao Harmony room. But, it's not necessarily for the person hiding behind. Your proposal seems to make her heart flutter, and even her breath has become obvious. Chongling Dao Yan Ryu greets the senior sister, Wei Chi Shuang. I thought I hit it well, but I didn't expect the senior sister to see through it all at once. The thing I hate the most in my life is hiding in the dark, sneaking around, and trying to come up to people with some bad idea. This. Misunderstanding, sister, this little girl didn't want to fight. What a bad idea. I came here together with Brother Xia from M.O. Ching sect, but I have always been cautious. When I meet someone like you, I should use my sword, but... Since this kid knew your friend, I will send this sword for the time being. Okay, let's go. The Dao Harmony Room at the back is for them to take by themselves. Huh? Let's go now. Then, thank you, the boy will leave first. Sister Wei, wait for me. What? Didn't I tell you not to call me that? My age is two times older than yours, and being called sister messes up the seniority. But you won't be happy if I call you auntie. Although you don't say it, the sword intent on your body has obviously increased a lot. Is it okay to just call master honestly? But I am in blissful temple disciple, how can I? Few finally left. Fortunately, there was no conflict with her, otherwise it would be troublesome. Is your reaction exaggerated? She is a third layer in eight realm, didn't she? She can force Ming Pingxing to retreat with a sword, so it's not like you and I don't have equal means. Senior brother misunderstood me now, judging strengths and weaknesses only based on cultivation realm. This is a mistake only made by a rookie who is just a fledgling. How could you be such a shallow-sided person? It's just that senior brother doesn't know why, among the nine great demonic sects, Wendao sect, 
which always have only two people, is the head of the nine great demonic sects for thousands of years? Although the ranking of sects is just a false name, and the true background of each sect is never easily revealed to others, but one Dao sect is an exception. The people in this sect have always been mysterious and unpredictable, but the sect inheritance itself is well known to all insiders of the eight great demonic sects. The nine great demon sects all come from the original demon sect, and one Dao sect is the sword law lineage inherited from the original demon sect, which is in charge of punishment, law enforcement, and adjudication of life and death. Therefore, their exercises have a natural restraint in the inheritance of original demon sect power. Every generation of disciples of one Dao sect will raise a long sword with their own blood according to the secret method of their sect from the day they enter the sect. It is rumored that as long as the disciple of the demon sect is injured by the bloody long sword, even in a small wound, it will cause the Tao rhyme in the body to boil and the blood to rush back. This was in ancient times. The method used by original demon sect to punish his disciples is now rumored to be the foundation of one Tao sect and make number one standing in nine great demonic sects, so no one dares to beat its edge. Regardless of whether you have the orthodox or derivative inheritance of original demon sect, as long as you still have traces of original demon sect martial arts in your body, you will definitely be restrained by one Tao sect martial arts. Damn, there is such a thing? No wonder the Miss Matriarch Sisu asked everyone to retreat when they encounter one Tao sect before the start of the Nine Sects Conference. It is really powerless to resist. Damn, no matter finger of flowery swords or true art of Mara, they are all related to the inheritance of original demon sect, so I will not have a good end against one Dao sect. Why did I integrate the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires into eight difficulties demonic technique? This is, I found a father for myself, ah no, mother. Abandoning my true chi cultivation base and then using my pure body to fight her with everlasting dominating fists seems to be a solution? I just don't know if I can win the fight, but the so-called secret art of one Dao sect can only restrain the techniques of the demonic sects, and the brother's mantra of formlessness is superior, and the imitated finger of flowery swords true chi. Even the one Dao sect disciple was also deceived. As long as you want mantra of formlessness can imitate any cultivation method. Is that so? Brother, did you imitate one Dao sect swordsmanship? One Dao sect is quite special and cannot be imitated for a while. That's right, it is said that one Dao sect martial arts are very special, and one must have a very rare physique to practice, so it is very troublesome to find an apprentice. That senior sister just now was in third layer innate realm at such an old age, probably because she was a late beginner, right? Why can't I see that she is very old? This woman speaks ill of people behind their back when she can't beat them. She was lucky this time, and the blissful temple boy she found was already in first layer in eight realm at a young age. Unfortunately, it may not be a good thing for that boy. Take the sword as a couple, never marry in life, just like the eunuch in the palace. Horrible. I can't tell whether this woman is venting her anger or telling the truth. Well, stop chewing your tongue. But then again. One Dao sect has such strength that a young boy can still be appreciated by them. It seems that his talent is really outstanding. I didn't expect that he not only has courage, but also has a chance. This is interesting, courageous. Where does this come from? From my point of view, the young man's words are quite submissive. Blissful Temple by Su Yuan got to the position of high priestess by the help of the M.O. Ching sect. Everyone in the world knows about this. It is only natural that he respects your current appearance, senior brother, right? His words boasted about the M.O. Ching sect, but you can think a little deeper. Even if the M.O. Ching sect is like this, is it true that if you are a blissful temple, you are willing to be swallowed by others? And? and he used these words to hint at Xie Yan, and at the same time hinting at the M.O. Ching sect. Use it, but don't try to cross the bottom line of the blissful temple. Otherwise, the disciple of the sect will resist to the end and became an example. If there is such a person in Blissful Temple, sooner or later he will confront the M.O. Ching sect. Although a lot of variables have been added, if I make good use of this person, my plan may be able to achieve twice the result with half the effort. 
Looking at this person's words and deeds, it is true that he is plotting against the Mo Ching sect everywhere, and his unfamiliarity with the Wandao sect does not seem to be fake. It is indeed not Xie Yan? He really does not look like a member of the demonic sect. Could it be that he really is a mysterious person with G.E. Huayu's face and skills? This man possesses a strange body training technique, which has never been used in martial world before. If you want to go deeper, could it be that he came from outside and is a big shot out there? Sure enough, she was hesitating. With Yin Ryu's suspicious nature, it's not easy to make her believe in one thing, but it was so easy to make her doubt a thing. As long as the persona of pretending to be Xie Yin is maintained, Yin Ryu will not easily take the risk of taking unnecessary actions if she has doubts. In this way, it doesn't matter whether she believes my words or not. Blissful Temple's Forbearance and Dormancy, Wen Dao Sex Sharp Edge, the Xian Mo Sex Danger and Weirdness, Chong Ling Dao has a way of escape that is difficult to detect even for Yi Dao Qi. There are also the Bai Lian Xie sect and Qi Lian cult's involvement in the war going on Xilan Kingdom, leaving aside Qing Ming Dao and Supreme Tantra Buddhism, which only meant once, this nine sex conference made me look at main world over and over again. There is really isn't one who is easy to get along with. Okay, since picking up a Dao Harmony Room for nothing, there is no need to be polite, just go there quickly and get the chance. I'm waiting for you till the end of your empowerment. The nine sex conference is almost over. It's time to end. Hmm, after all, this third level Dao Harmony Room was really good and it ended smoothly without causing any trouble. Only. What's wrong with you? Wearing such a facial expression ever since you come out of the Dao Harmony Room. Getting an empowerment in a complete third level Dao Harmony Room, isn't this counts as the biggest opportunity in the Nine Sex Conference, right? Then why are you still sullen, as if you have suffered a loss? No, nothing. Unexpectedly, the influence of Great Oath of the Heart Demon has such a powerful impact. It's so far-reaching that, even the effect of the original Demon Epiphany Anointment can be interfered, 10% chance, no, at most only 30% to 40% chance was obtained from this empowerment. Damn it, the opportunity to make a breakthrough only once in 40 years has been wasted in so much. If I continue to be entangled in this great oath of the heart demon, I am afraid that my path of cultivation ahead will be abolished permanently, and I must get rid of this oath as soon as possible. But then again, although I knew that he was not G.E. Huayu, and he was not haunted by this great oath of the heart demon, but now this demon is acting like he doesn't know anything. Has he really forgotten this, or he doesn't care at all, and he doesn't even bother to pretend? The trip to Shilan Kingdom is very important to me, but to him it is just a dispensable treasure hunting trip, and now that the two demonic sects are involved, the current situation is unpredictable. If we encounter a fatal danger, and it is difficult for him to defend, will he not withdraw immediately from the situation by leaving me alone? Maybe I should do something so that he doesn't let go on this cooperation so easily. By the way, I suddenly remembered something. Now that the empowerment is over, how does my junior sister plan to explain the situation to Shirtaipu after going back? This little girl originally came to look for the senior brother in the name of investigation, now that the goal has been achieved, so I will find some excuses to perfunctory the past. After all, it is reasonable to break free from the shackles of the past. Then how do you think the Chongling Dao will deal with this matter after losing Yi Daochi's whereabouts? The situation of the siege have become the today's result. Sher Taipu is also furious, but Su Min, who was the party involved, have not been able to escape from the doom, and Gee, -E, who was originally the target, I'm afraid is now gone too. Although Master Uncle Wei's death is something to be concerned about, but Yi Dao Chi is also out right now, and his appearance is also a surprise to the XINMO sect. To deal with this matter, after the end of the Nine Sex Conference, we have to look at movements of the XINMO sect first. Before we make a decision. Having said that, did you, brother, know about this seizure from the very beginning? Could it be that this game was specially designed to deal with Yi Dao Chi? I don't have the ability to see through Yi Dao Chi's identity. 
It's just that I accidentally found some clues in the secret records of the XINMO sect. What's more, GEE is my father. Isn't it natural that I can feel something strange in him? Do you know GEE? I believe his words are full of nonsense, and he is so mysterious that people can't figure him out. I'm afraid there are only few words that come out of this person's mouth that are true, but it's just that I don't know what he wants to do. However, your Chongling Dao sect don't have to wait for the movements of the XINMO sect. As long as the junior sister reports back to Shirtaipu according to what I told you, the next move of the XINMO sect will become obvious. All you need to say is that, when you sneaked into the Dao Harmony Room by using your five elements escape technique, you happened to catch a glimpse of the scene where Yi Dao Chi executed Su Min and heard Su Min's last words just before his death. It turns out, it turns out that this was all arranged by the sect master long ago. From the very beginning, he made up his mind to use you to deal with Chongling Dao sect. In order to reach this situation and to clear the obstacles for GEE, -E, even the old man and others were just abandoned children in the sect master's plan. Brother, this, you want Chongling Dao sect to start a civil war with the XINMO sect? This matter is too absurd. No matter how many rumors are spread from this little girl, Uncle Sher Taipu couldn't possibly not be suspicious. That's natural. If you speak clearly and perfectly, a fool will know to suspect you. I don't need Chong Ling Dao to confirm this, as long as your Taipu can suspect that there is someone behind this incident, and Yuan Sheng had plotted all this from behind. That's enough. As for how much to say and how to say it is not to be suspected, you are a smart person, and you know it yourself. What I can guarantee is that Su Min was still alive when Sher Taipu faked his death and escaped. Even if it turns out that this is not the case, you can still put all the responsibility on a dead man's dying words. What does Sher Taipu's and Su Min's misjudgment have to do with you? This statement is true, and if the conflict between Chongling Dao and XINMO sect really intensifies, it will also be according to my initial expectations. What's more, since he made this request, he is expecting me to cooperate with him to settle this matter, as long as I can still be of use to him. In the short term, there will be no changes in the trip to Xilan Kingdom, this little girl understands, and this matter will be according to what the senior brother said. After leaving the Nine Sex Conference, we will prepare for the trip to Xilan Kingdom, and we will take this opportunity to stay away from disputes and avoid suspicions. However, I don't know where the senior brother plans to meet this little girl. There is Hulu Town near the Wingfield Ruins, which is also very close to Qingsong Mountain where we met for the first time, so let's meet there and go to Xilan Kingdom together. Hulu Town That's a nice place then, if I have to get there, I have to drive over from the sect. If so, about 10, uh, 15 days is enough, how about seeing your brother? Huh, almost I missed the details. I just need 7 days. That being the case, I will accommodate your travel plans. Then see you at the Hulu Inn in the Hulu Town in 15 days. Seven days? This. Wingfield Ruins, M.O. Ching Sect. The M.O. Ching Sect is located in Tianan, and the Wingfield Ruins are in the hinterland of the Central Plains. It will take at least two months to get there. Even if innate realm masters go all out, they will not be able to reach there in less than a month of time, except for the nine great demonic sects. No one in the world can enter the beginning demon cave from other places. In this way, this person is not from the demonic sect at all. From where did he come in? Supreme Tantra Sect Qing Ming Dao Sect, the sect closest to Hulu Town, is the Supreme Tantra Sect, and it really doesn't take seven days to start from Qingsong Mountain, even if he talks about it, counting 15 days, apart from Chongling Dao Sect. Only Qingming Dao Sect is within this range. With this person scheming, the possibility of using the truth to cover up the falsehood is even greater. Nine out of ten, he did enter the cave through the mountain gate of the Supreme Tantra Sect. It's just that I can't be sure. Is that his real root, or is it his another disguised identity? But no matter what, he won't be C.A.N. Just how important the Nine Sex Conference is? 
and with young Master Xia's status in the M.O. Ching sect, if he is absent, everyone in the sect must know about it, and this news cannot be concealed at all. Thinking about it carefully, this person pretends to be G.E. Huayu to disturb the X.I.N. M.O. sect, and now he is lurking in the M.O. Ching sect, paying more attention to the Blissful Temple's undercurrent. It is more likely that he has plans in the Supreme Tantra sect. Could it be that wandering among the major sects, provoking turmoil in the world, and creating civil war in the nine great demonic sects is what he really wants to do? Relying on primary teleportation magic, I can go to Hulu Town in just few minutes. I'll take this opportunity to make her think that she has guessed my roots, and this way she will be even more afraid of me, and she can't confirm whether my real identity is Xie Yin of the M.O. Ching sect or not. Even if she was spotted by Chen Ling Dao and betrayed me in order to protect herself, she would probably only say that a mysterious person who disguised himself as Xie Yin have planned all this. For her, there is also real Xie Yin present in this nine sex conference, so there is no reason to tell anyone this type of information which can be easily falsified. And if everything goes well, a confusing identity can better deter Yin Ryu. Right now I can't kill her, at least I have to use her to disrupt the situation between the XINMO sect and Chongling Dao sect, and completely cut off the possibility of both parties finding out the truth together. Then we shall agree on this, see you in Hulu Town in 15 days. The little girl will go back first, senior brother, if you have free time, you might as well take advantage of it as the nine sex conference is not over yet. You have made a good plan, let me do everything, and the information will have to be shared when the time comes, I know that senior brother is the most reliable. Okay, let's go. I know what to do. Since there is no more important matter, in the remaining time, we will make good arrangements and try to catch one or two disciples of the Bailian Xie sect or the Qilian cult and find out the information regarding the war going on the Xilan kingdom. It was originally planned to be like this. M.O. Ching Sex Square This time is really thanks to you. If it wasn't for your help, I'm afraid I would get nothing and make those old women in the sect laugh at me. Xie Yin, tell me, what benefit do you want? I should reciprocate one or two things both emotionally and rationally. As long as it is available for my legacy museum, you can dig it out. The third elder is very polite. We're all family. It's not a big deal for me, and I don't want anything. Are you being polite? But after all, you took the initiative to help me instead of helping others. I still understand this bit of worldly wisdom. Well, although it is reasonable to help the same family a lot, even if you want to help, there is a difference between closeness and estrangement. I met the third elder first when I came up. I thought it would be a short delay, and I could sell favors by the way, but she didn't like anyone except the third level Dao Harmony Room, so she hurried to complete her empowerment before the cave was closed. And even more so. Forget about trying to catch your tongue. Ah. Sister understands the meaning of your words. Since you want to get closer, why not just go one step further? I heard that you are born with the virtuous body. I also practice the secret of joy technique. Why don't you and I find a chance to discuss it? Damn, the bitch just said that she doesn't need me anymore to double cultivate, so why did she immediately make up for it? Are you waiting in line for me? Third elder, is this somewhat, what? Are you afraid that your wife will be jealous? The children of the world don't care about trifles, let alone you and I, members of the same sect. Why should you care? Cough. Third elder, don't tease your juniors, you are late. You and Sia are the last ones to return, so let's come over and get down to the business. Huh? Why is the great elder presiding? Where is the matriarch Sisu? The nine sex conference lasted for a day and a night. Is it necessary to let you Hong Yin stay here and wait for you? She has returned to the secret room of the sect to retreat. As long as she confirms that the sect members who went to the cave are safe and sound, she doesn't have to worry about it. Counting the two of you, in this nine sex conference, none of the seven and eight realm masters of my M.O. Ching sect fell. It can even be said to be a complete success. 
Next, according to the usual practice, after the sect disciples participate in the nine sects conference, the master should check the current status of the exercises so as to solve the problems and cultivation that can happen in the future. The matriarch is not here, so I will do it for you. Xie Yin, you are the one who has made the fastest progress in the sect. It is inevitable that the cultivation technique has advanced. So, let's start with you. How about forgetting about it? Grand Elder, didn't you learn the demons of attachment technique? Flowers, sword, love and joy are the cultivation principle of finger of flowery swords. The cultivation principles you practice are completely opposite of my technique. So, I'm afraid that you can't be a master who can check on myself. I still wait for the matriarch to leave the customs. Let's think about this next time. You boy, master. That's all. For the sake of the fourth elder helping Yin or finding a Tao harmony room, I don't care about anything with you. If you can't believe me, then you can go to the inheritance elder and ask him to help you and take a good look at the empowerment received. Oh? It seems that this bitch finally met your Yinner. The previous information didn't really not go in vain. Also let the great elder keep pressing down on my anger. Sure enough, I can still depend on this demon girl. It's fine as it is now, I have a special body refining technique, and it's not advisable to let too many people know about it even in the sect, not to mention that there is a system, and if there is any problem, I can. XINMO seal. No, why does it feel like there is a force acting in my body? It's struggling, is it because of the conflict and the cultivation techniques? That can't be the reason, if there is a problem, the system should remind me first. This feeling it's the fragments of the XINMO seal are at work? What's going on? It didn't get refined? Didn't I suppress it from the beginning? Now that I think of it, it took the initiative to be suppressed at that time, but the moment I got out of the cave, it's getting dormant? No, I'm still in the state of finger of flowery swords, and I have to rely on the skills of true art of Mara to suppress it. There are too many people here, so let's get out of here first. Husband? Madam, your husband suddenly has a persistent abdominal pain, so I have hurried to the toilet first. I will come to your room to talk about it later. This boy is so impatient, when will he change his temper? Isn't it? We just tease him casually and he avoid us like that, even using this type of excuse, wouldn't that be out of elegance? Oops, it's too late. Its power is far more stronger than it was in the cave. And it seems that it's getting pulled by something. If I relax it just a little bit, then it will immediately break through the suppression of true art of Mara and get out of here. Cough. I can't hold it anymore. This strength, innate realm, fourth layer? Fifth layer? Or is it more than that? No, I'm getting overwhelmed. I can only let it go. But if I let it go, where will it fly to? Could it be the XINMO sect? This time, I'm really screwed. If Yuan Sheng could learn something through it, then all my previous arrangements would be in vain. Um? Sis Yu? Isn't Sister Yu in closed door training? How could she detect my situation and suppress the XINMO seal so easily? There is another mystery in this thing, and my primordial spirit alone can only suppress it for a while. Xie Yin, quickly bring this thing to Mingyin Pavilion and come there to meet me. It's the voice of Sisyu. Uh, although the current crisis is resolved, how should I explain this to the Sisyu? What history should I tell? Mo Ching Sek Mingyin Pavilion, Sister Yu. You all participated in the Nine Sex Conference, and each of you competed for the opportunity based on your ability, but it was unexpected that you brought back such a thing in addition to the opportunity. If I hadn't left my primordial spirit outside, I'm afraid this thing will make you stumble, and it's even harder to say what other backhands will launch on you. This also caused Sister Yu to interrupt her retreat. It's all my fault. It doesn't matter, I was just doing some preparations before the retreat. I thought that if you could solve it yourself, I would not intervene, but since you can't solve it, as the matriarch, shouldn't it be natural for me to take action for my disciples? But before that, please tell me the ins and outs of the matter. 
This. That's fine. Then I'll explain everything to sister you clearly from the beginning to the end. That's how it happened. I thought I could refine this thing, but I didn't expect such sudden change after I left the cave and I almost got caught. It turns out that this is the legendary XINMO seal. It is indeed an extraordinary means of restraint. No wonder Yuan Sheng ignored the common affairs, but he was still able to control the XINMO sect for decades. But compared to this, you discovered the fourth level Dao Harmony Room, then pretended to be GE Huayu and walked with GE E in the cave, and arranged to lure Sui Min and others to surround and kill GE E. On the way, he met the former sect master of the XINMO sect and came out. After a bloody battle, he was killed by GEE -E rescued by another. Others attend the Nine Sex Conference and focus on looking for opportunities. How come you encounter so many things when you go there? That's it. It seems that indeed. But Sister you, don't worry. As I said just now, I have never revealed my identity as the M.O. Ching sect during this matter, and it will not bring any trouble to the sect anyway. After careful consideration, it is better to explain everything to the Sisu. If something goes wrong in the future, the M.O. Ching sect will bear the brunt of it and will be implicated. The sect always has a preparation so that it can be dealt with when the trouble comes. More importantly, since Sister Yu is not suspicious, it is not good for me to hide anything from her, except for the fact of the system and time travel involving me, no one can reveal it, the rest, there was nothing to hide. I didn't expect you to have entanglements with GEE -E in this way after the blissful temple change. At the beginning, and now you have severed contact with this ending, you set up a plan to kill him, but you almost died due to an accident but he risked his life to save you, but in the end you got a chance to break free from the shackles. It is said that there is God's will in the dark, but now it seems that it's true. Only. Your plan to stir up conflicts between Chongling Dao sect and XINMO sect, although it is correct, but it still lacks a bit of heat. Missing the heat? Sister Yu is referring to. I am not as good as you when it comes to scheming, but when it comes to knowing people, I'm confident that I am better than you. The arrangement you made is logically correct, but neither Yuan Sheng nor Zhao Xintan will take action easily just because of words. If they want to make up their minds to break out of conflict, they must take more concrete actions. Divine Ability, Immortal Spiritual Tracing, or Celestial Spirit Crying This is Qingsong Mountain, the gate of the XINMO sect. Sister Yu, does our MO Qing sect still have this kind of technique? Although this method is also part of the inheritance of the M.O. Ching sect, instead of calling it technique, it's more accurate to call it divine ability. Divine ability? Although the innate realm is divided into nine layers, but it is actually divided into three different stages. The first stage is the innate realm fourth layer. From this stage, the Tao rhyme of heaven and earth becomes alive or full of vitality, and it is also called the spiritual Tao rhyme. If you can't comprehend the way of Qi as spirit, it is absolutely impossible to rub it on body. The so-called Qi as spirit refers to true Qi as a spirit, so that the true Qi that is originally a dead thing can be revived. To be alive is not a simple transformation, but at least to have a preliminary spiritual intelligence, and at least be able to find the enemy by itself after being released. However, due to the abundance of martial arts among the nine great demonic sects, the stage of the primordial spirit can be easily accessed at the innate realm 1st layer. The finger of flowery swords you have learned refers to the masterpiece among them. So, it's not a big deal for you to pass to the first stage and reach up to innate realm 6th layer. The second stage is the innate realm 7th layer. From this stage, the spiritual Tao rhyme of heaven and earth is not visible to the world and cannot be touched by normal means. Only by finding your own way in the dark, and when you harmonize your Tao with the Tao of heaven and earth, only then can you touch it its existence. But the method of harmonize with the Tao of heaven and earth does not have in written words, even for the sects like the great nine demonic sects, the records and the classics of the techniques are vague and elusive and we can only rely on the person's understanding. Once you step into the third layer in eight realm and later, 
then you can use your own Tao rhyme to communicate or echo with the Tao rhyme of the heaven and earth, combining the secret techniques inherited from various sects, and do many mysterious and unusual things. This is known as divine ability. Creating a personal dimension, splitting yin and yang. Controlling day and night, as for the final third stage, throughout the ages, there have been very few people who have challenged the heavenly realm, your cultivation base is still shallow, and knowing too much will easily affect your practice, so let's not talk about that first. So it turns out that this light curtain in front of me is the divine ability of our M.O. Ching sect? Didn't sister you say that she must have to be at seventh layer in eight realm to be able to use it? Of course not on my own. But now I'm in the headquarters of the M.O. Ching sect, and the sex array formation at the foot of the mountain gate itself is a part of divine ability. You don't think that the array formation of the mountain gate only have the guardian's ability? And the XIN MO seal you brought back is the orthodox inheritance of the XIN MO sect, and it is even more closely connected with the world around Qingsong Mountain, relying on it. With the help of the great array formation of the MO Qing sect, and with my current state, I can barely do this for you. This matter? What a sister you planning to do? You'll know it just by looking at it. Call Qing her out now, I need her to do me a little favor. Sister you, sister you has orders, I'll naturally obey. You can have anything, what is the use of Chinger? Your Chinger is full of treasures, you know it better than me, I just want to borrow something, Chinger, be good, sister will play with you later. Right now, I need to borrow the Yin Chi from your body. Although your lord will suffer, the root cause is a momentary greed, but in terms of results. After all, it was my M.O. Ching sect disciple who was injured by the methods of the XIN M.O. sect. In reason and affection, it should be me the matriarch of the sect to handle this. With the means of the M.O. Ching sect, return the courtesy to the XIN M.O. sect. Have you heard about it? Something happened at the Nine Sex Conference. Deputy Patriarch Su and the two elders both died at the beginning Demon Cave. I heard that they had a conflict with Deputy Patriarch G.E. And the person who did it behind the scenes was. What? What's going on? Look at the sky. Is there an earthquake? This voice, is it an enemy attack? Who would be so daring as to directly attack the XIN MO sect? This gloomy aura, it's the Chunling Dao's bastards. But who is this person? Could it be that the Daoist master Zhao Xintan personally took action? What the hell? Attacking the gate of sects that are thousands of miles apart, this kind of unreasonable ability and strength is called divine ability? Was this the type of scene that can be saw casually by those who are in or above the seventh layer in eight realm? Um, that's Sec Master Yuan Sheng. He made a move. Push back. Sister Yu, this, it doesn't matter. With Yuan Sheng in charge and with the support of Qingsong Mountain, it was expected that this move would return back in vain. However, with this palm motion, even if it is far away and you do, you can detect it a little. This is a solid slap in the face of XIN MO sect, and it can be regarded as an injury for your whole body. For me, Sister Yu did not hesitate to challenge the XIN MO sect. I'm so touched clean trick. With your ingenuity, it's impossible not to see my true intentions and in doing this venting my anger is just a matter of convenience. Sister Yu deliberately gathered Ching'er's Yin Qi, only to trick the XIN MO sect into thinking it was an attack from Chongling Dao sect. The arrangement you made in the cave is enough to make Chongling Dao sect vigilant against the conspiracy of the XIN MO sect, but Chongling Dao sect has suffered after all if he has lingering fears and stops his troops as long as it takes a long time. The truth of the non-existent conspiracy threat will naturally be revealed. In order to make the fake come true, the XIN MO sect must also regard Chongling Dao sect as a threat. Only when the disciples of the two factions are in conflict, only then there will be possibilities of breaking out of irreconcilable conflicts. 
Did you see that palm? That cloudy energy must be a means of Chongling Dao sect. I heard that people from Chongling Dao sect attacked Deputy Patriarch G.E. at the Nine Sects Conference, and Deputy Patriarch Sui and the others all died because of this. They simply targeted our XINMO sect on purpose. In that palm just now, I not only borrowed Ching'er's Yin Qi to make it fake, but also transformed it into a shape similar to Zhao Xuantan's natal ghost M.O. Yin. Even Yuan Xing couldn't tell the real from the fake. Even if he becomes suspicious in the future, the hostility brewing in the sect will not be easily dispelled. Even if he can suppress the disciples from provoking conflicts, it will be difficult for the two sects to talk peacefully from now on. In this way, you and Yin Ryu can completely separate from this matter. This, it's not like I haven't thought about what Sisu said, but since I don't have the capital, I'll have to find another way. I thought that after coming out, I would pretend to be a Chongling Dao disciple and spread the rumors about Idaochi's rebirth and take this opportunity to muddy the waters, but I didn't expect Sisu to solve the problem with a single slap. And judging from the Sisu's proficiency in this deception, Back then, when the energy concealment pendant was still in the hands of the sister you, could it be that the actual usage was similar to what I have now? After all, she is a member of the demonic path, and the experience of the sister you when she was in the rivers and lakes back then must have been rich and colorful, you little girl, I haven't seen you for a day, how it feels to be reuniting after a long time of absence. Sister you, you so much ching are also misses. Why didn't you speak? Is there anything wrong with my judgment? If I miscalculate something, you, as a smart person, have to fill in the blanks for me. No, Sister Yu is very considerate, so how can there be any mistakes? I'm just a little worried that Sister Yu can trace the source back to the XINMO sect with her divine ability. Couldn't Yuan Shang can have a similar method on his side? You don't have to worry about that. Although the divine ability is mysterious, it is not a castle in the sky. Only with the presence of Yuan Sheng's aura in the XINMO seal can I act in reverse. And the power borrowed, apart from the power of heaven and earth around Qingsong Mountain, it is just the source spirit stone which is the essence of the mountain protection formation and no matter what, these kind of power has no special characteristics. It will disappear in an instant. And Yuan Sheng could not catch any traces of it. It's a pity that our M.O. Ching sect only has one source spirit stone. The great formation of the mountain gate cannot activate the power of higher levels. Otherwise, the blow just now might be able to cause some great damage to the XIN M.O. sect. That's enough, now that the water has been muddied. There is no need to worry about the affairs of the XIN M.O. sect anymore. Just so you are here, according to sect's rules and methods, I will check your practice for you. Listening to what you said just now, and your hard vest from the XINMO sect, I'm also a bit curious about your current skill status. Qingsong Mountain, XINMO sect. XINMO sect master Yuan Sheng, sixth layer in eight realm, sect master, I have already sent someone to ask, thanks to the sect master's timely action and the defense of the mountain protection formation, no disciples of the sect were injured, but many people were frightened. Desire for thinking branch elders Yen So, it's just that, the movement just now, judging by the sinister aura, could it really be an attack from Chongling Dao sect? He only made one move, and it disappeared with a touch, but from the richness of the Yin Qi in that attack, it's definitely from the Chongling Dao sect. I think that attack was for him to vent his anger, and to also provoke and build discord between sects. According to GEE, -E, in the siege of the Nine Sex Conference, Chong Ling Dao and Zlai Min died with Yi Dao Qi, and no one survived? Looking at it now, this judgment is obviously wrong. What kind of news did Chong Ling Dao have for them to react so quickly, Yin So? Continue to talk about what you didn't finish just now. I want to know all the details of the Nine Sex Conference. Yes, just now we were talking about GEE -E being besieged and killed by Sui Min and Chong Ling Dao sex people in the beginning Demon Cave. This old man has inquired carefully what GEE -E said is not wrong. Including, he was taken away by Yi e Dao Qi, and then Su Min and others died with Yi e Dao Qi. GEE -E also did not hide anything. Looking at the overall situation, it can only be said that it was a coincidence, and gods will to deceive the people. 
We secretly plotted and planned for the matter of Idaochi's remnant soul, but in the end, we came with nothing. I thought that this time I could use GEE -E as a bait to lure out Idaochi's last remnant soul and compliment the sect master's XINMO sex inheritance that the sect master failed to inherit from Idaochi back then and help the sect master to break through the bottleneck and go further. But unexpectedly, we planned it in every possible way, but because of one accidental mistake, we missed it. Strange to say, with Sui Min's cunning and patient temperament, how could he suddenly decide to attack GEE -E and form a partnership with Chongling Dao sect? Although there was no concealment in GEE's -E -E's testimony, it was also difficult for GEE -E himself to determine which side initiated the siege at that time. It doesn't matter whose plan it is. Speaking of this matter, it is also my fault. In order to concentrate on cultivation and not check and balance the power of the sect, I deliberately let these two people compete and fight for so many years. Now that the conflict broke out, it caused me suffer the consequences. Back then, the sect masters secretly selected talented disciples and induced them to practice the special skills left by Yi e Dao Chi, and without exception they gave up halfway. It was not easy for Ji e Huayu to enter the door, but for some reason he was unable to step in the first layer in Eight Realm at that time. Otherwise, there is no need to choose GEE -E as the bait as Deputy Patriarch. He has already attracted everyone's attention, and then he was involved in the Chongling Dao sex hostilities. The current result is not without a trace. With Idaochi's arrogance, he would definitely think that GEE -E fell into a situation dictated by his own body, and he never expect that the sect master was behind this. It's a pity, a pity, he took the bait but got off the hook, and even the sect master's backhands also fell through. It's just that now Su Min, Kuen Ling, and Wan Busi have died in the beginning demon cave, and my Xian Mo sect has lost three innate realm masters at once. If it spreads, I am afraid that there will definitely be changes inside and outside the sect. Leave him alone. As long as this seat is here, no matter if it is Chongling Dao or the world's young peoples, they will not be able to cause any disturbance. As for the inside of the sect, according to what you reported just now, it has been secretly detected that GEE's vitality is greatly damaged and his realm is unstable and he may fall at any time. Even his mind which and XINMO seal has been broken? Indeed. This is also within our expectations. E. Dao Chi is determined to act decisively, and he may abolish his body before being seized. That's why the sect master made a move on the XINMO seal on his body to ensure that GEE -E would not die due to self-destruction, right? But according to what you said, GEE -E was temporarily seized by E. Dao Chi during the battle? This, yes, if GEE -E -E went to extremes before, E. Dao Chi would definitely take him on the spot, but if later, E. Dao Chi is dead, what reason would he have? From this point of view, GEE -E was worried that the sect would hold him accountable, as he was personally practicing the desire for thinking branch, so I think he might have been hiding something else. This old man will go now and investigate him again. The reason doesn't matter. E. Dao Chi can't be possessing GEE -E, since there is no remnant soul left and hiding in GEE's body. Our plans have already failed and the details are irrelevant now. It's just GEE's private practice of desire for thinking branch resulting in the breaking of the XINMO seal is in solid evidence. Considering his past achievements, he is allowed to use his skills. But it's time for him to give up the rights in his hands, punish him to temporarily take over Sui Men's post and make him take care of the sex library, you will take over the position of Deputy Patriarch, and you will take over the position of GE Yi's on your behalf, and then you will select two people from Desire for Smell and Sea Branches and promote them to the position of Elders to fill in the missing chief positions. The old man obeyed. Moreover, GE Huayu didn't enter the beginning demon cave from the entrance of the XINMO sect, so where he is now? This, according to what GEE -E said, GE Huayu replaced the identity of a certain disciple of the great nine demonic sects and entered the beginning demon cave from another sect, and now he is probably traveling around the rivers and lakes, right? 
The sick master wants to send someone to catch him and bring him back? No, it's not beautiful to startle the snake. You tell G.E.E. -E that when G.E.Y.U. returns, ask him to bring someone to see me, and when he comes back, tell him that I have the opportunity to bestow his son. Moreover, contact that person and invite him to come to the XINMO sect to talk. I am willing to meet him in person for a while, sect master. Are you going to? Idauchi's last remnant soul have disappeared, no matter whether he's still living in the beginning demon cave or not, it has nothing to do with me now. Since there is no way to continue the orthodox inheritance of the XINMO sect, then this seat will find another way, using a path that no one in the Great Nine Demonic Sect had ever tried before to. Step on the last three layers of innate realm and finally ascend to the heavenly realm. Well, as expected. Your situation is more complicated than I expected it to be. Is there something wrong? Sister you, from your expression, could there be something wrong with my cultivating method? There is no problem with the cultivation method itself. The problem lies in your method of making the two cultivation techniques coexist side by side. Although I can't see the root source of your method, it is undoubtedly a very powerful force to even make finger of flowery swords and the cultivation method you secretly learned from the XINMO sect to not interfere with each other. It is even so strong that it can't be shaken. All practitioners in this world probably may only choose one cultivation technique as their foundation, and its roots lie in the Tao Rime. You should also know that the amount of Tao Rime present in the heaven and earth directly affects the speed of practice, and this effect does not depend on the will of the practitioner. In the process of cultivation, Tao Rime will unknowingly nourish the cultivation techniques and boost or improve the cultivation realm. And the more cultivation techniques you have, the more amount of Tao Rime is required. Thus, the effect of Tao Rime will naturally fade, and the efficiency of one's practice will become lower and lower over time. And it's only a small problem. The real big problem is the more cultivation techniques one had practiced, especially the level of skills like finger of flowery swords, the more difficult it will be for the cultivation technique to be in harmony with the Tao. If you continue to be greedy like this, it's likely that you'll stop at the seventh layer innate realm forever even before reaching your threshold. There are not a few innate realm masters who practice multiple skills, but those skills are often consumed and swallowed up by their own basic skills in the process of practice and are eventually melted down into a single furnace. And the means on your body just put an end to this possibility. It's fine if it's an ordinary disciple with limited talent, but your cultivation talent definitely surpasses everyone else's, and for the sake of long-term considerations, this matter must be resolved first. This, is there any hidden danger? It doesn't matter if the efficiency is low, there is a system anyway. The key is that it will be getting more and more difficult for me to harmonize with the Tao, but it won't get my cultivation process stuck, right? No, probably not. The improvement from the system does not depend on Tao Rime, as long as there is corresponding techniques and sufficient origin points, it is estimated that I can reach the heavenly realm in just a matter of minutes. However, right now Finger of Flowery Swords and True Art of Mara are completely separated. It would be great if they could be freely switched between each other like the previous eight difficulties demonic technique. It's a shame that the system's compatible method option has never been triggered again, and there's a bit of a feeling that I'm outdated. Shit, this bastard trash system. For the current situation, I can only think of a way for you. Sister, you can do it? After all, I am one of the sect masters of the nine great demonic sections first, related to the inheritance of the nine great demonic sects, there are still some fragments of words in the secret records of the sect. What's more, because of my talent, I've learned this way, and I should be able to find a solution if I spend some time at most. Wouldn't Sister Yu will return back to her retreat? It's really inappropriate for you to be bothered by me, you don't have to worry about me, I'll figure out a way for myself. You boy, you are affectionate and righteous. You found the fourth level Tao Harmony Room in the Nine Sex Conference, and you have the heart to share it with Chin Chinsi. I should reward you both public ally and privately. And this matter is not difficult for me, and it does not require much effort. 
This, helping fellow disciples is a natural thing, not to mention the relationship between the husband and wife, this kind of thing is nothing special. No, the so-called no reward for no merit, Sister Yu gave her precious time to help me, so I must share it with Sister Yu. No worries. Share worries? What are my worries? Didn't Sister Yu just say that if the Sex Mountain Guarding Array Formation had more Source Spirit Stones, it would be able to display a more powerful divine ability? I can find the Source Spirit Stones and bring it back to the sect, Source Spirit Stone? Do you have it or do you know the whereabouts of this thing? This matter has to start with me pretending to be G.E. Huayu and encountering Yen Ryu, so and so, so, and on, in the corner of Shilan Kingdom, there are still some unused source spirit stones? This is really exciting and an unexpected thing. If you can bring back this thing, it will indeed be of great use to our sect in the future. Since sister you said so, it is more and more inevitable to get this thing. I'll be leaving for an appointment after that, and my sister have to wait for the good news. It's fine, then, I won't delay you any longer, prepare early, and you should be careful for your trip to Shilan Kingdom, as for cultivation matters, when I return from Shilan Kingdom, I will most likely have an idea. It's strange, Sister Yu seems to be urging me to leave in the end, originally I wanted to ask about the Bailian Sia sect and the Chilean cult, now I can only check it by myself. Huh? That's Chin Chin Si? Why is she here? Is it possible that she was waiting for me? Madam, why are you here? Let me guess, you must be aware of your husband's abnormal condition just now and secretly worried about me. That's why you came here specifically to ensure that your husband is not in any danger, right? Husband just joke. Didn't you leave in a hurry because of your stomachache? If Shinsi was worried about her husband, she should have gone home to wait. Why did she come here? Right now, I just have something to report to the master, and I happened to find my husband inside, so I had to wait outside. Uh, this witch is really very stubborn, and she even refuses to admit it. Therefore, let the madam go in first, sister you should be free now. If you don't have other important things for your husband, then the husband will leave first. Husband is in such a hurry. Are you in a rush to prepare for the trip to Shilan Kingdom with that treacherous beauty? This. Madam, this place is Elder Sister Yu's resting place, so it wouldn't be appropriate to eavesdrop on secretly, right? Husband misunderstood. Kindness is not eavesdropping. Just didn't let you pay attention and I accidentally listened. If Master doesn't want me to know something, she can block me out with just one thought. If she wants me to know, even if I don't say it, she will tell me afterwards. In this case, I will listen to it in advance. What about the ears? Then, Shinsi really didn't expect her husband's temperament. Husband was about to reveal all these things to the master. No wonder my husband have left the room in a hurry before and disappeared. Only. Not being the first to know about the secret of her husband made Shinsi a little sad. If you think about it, Shinsi was oblivious to the fact that her husband pretended to be G.E. Huayu and killed Zhao Shi. But why didn't her husband tell Shinxi and be honest with her at that time? The lady misunderstood, the so-called acting and doing a full set. At that time, your husband hadn't completely cut off contact with G.E.E., -E, so it was best to be careful. Now that there are no more worries, this matter is not a secret anymore and naturally known to you and sister you. If it wasn't for this witch recognition at the end of the simulation world, how dare I believe it lightly, God knows what have happened if I was to use G.E. Huayu's disguise to do something more dangerous. Thanks God I calculate and rearrange the plans before based on what happened with the witch before. Husband said this because he was worried that Shinsi would intervene and disrupt your layout after knowing the secret? So now, don't you worry that Shinsi will go to Shilan Kingdom with Husband for the sake of Source Spirit Stones? Uh, just joking, husband, don't worry. It took so much effort to get the M.O. Ching sect out of everyone's sight. How could Shinsi go overboard and make my husband's arrangement fail? It's just that my husband needs to be cautious on this trip. Yin Ryu's scheming is not inferior to mine, although the husband said, she has been manipulated by you every time, but don't forget that from the beginning to the end, the husband never had a conflict of core interests with her before. 
Lini, during this trip to Shilan Kingdom, the two demonic sects will be on alert. In case of any change in situation, the most important thing is not to be trifled with is your humble and small partner. Don't worry, madam, it's just your husband taking advantage of others, and even if she wants to be, she should only be used by your husband if she wants to take advantage of her. Is that so, after all, apart from kindness? There shouldn't be any woman who can take advantage of my husband, right? I thought that after the nine sex conference, the witch would become more friendly, but I didn't expect her to be basically the same. It seems that if you want to get her pink beauty chi again, you still have to work hard. That's all. Let's go to Hull Town first. Although it is still early until the 15th day, the two lackeys of Shiwe Lu are also nearby, so I have to go there as soon as possible to solve the problem of these two people's passive sabotage. The next day, the Shiwe Lu building. In the past two months, Eternal Heavens' momentum has been getting better and better, not to mention that it has almost covered the Ia area, and there is a tendency to expand towards the east and south. With an achievement like this, it is enough to convince the ancestor Mara later, the Eternal Heavens is growing rapidly, and we also took advantage of this to poach a lot of corners from Shiwe Lu. Although those disciples have never seen the ancestor Mara with their own eyes, the body of the demon has changed, which is more convincing than any words. Now the disciples of the Eternal Heavens have considered the ancestor of Mara same as the ancestor of Bliss, and we are the sole spokesman of the ancestor Mara. This Eternal Heavens is the power of the ancestor Mara in name, but it is you and me who actually give them orders. If the Ancestor Mara can really handle the Ancestor of Bliss, then we will naturally ascend to the heavens as chickens and dogs. But if he is unable to escape defeat in the end, with the things you and I hold in our hands, it is enough to set up another mountain and dominate the rivers and lakes. But having said that, spies reported that the Taijian men and Qingfeng gangs in the northwest were also blood sacrificed, and the method was the same as the original five poison sex method. Let me tell you that while this method was effective, it didn't help us much in excavating the corners of the Shiwa Ilu. However, Ancestor Mara asked us to verify his fame. Now that his name is spreading in rivers and lakes, we have completed the task. Why don't we just close our eyes? Really, then next time you don't have to send people to do this, let's just focus on infiltrating the Shiwa Ilu. Huh? You mean me? I never sent anyone to these two places, no? Never, I thought it was your order so I told you about it. Ancestor. Strength is boundless. Mara. It's also not mine, so what happened to these people? Could it be the Ancestor Mara's handwriting? Impossible? How could the Ancestor do these things himself? Could it be that he didn't just ask us to spread the belief of eternal heavens for him? This is not the first time this happened this month and it weighs feels like. What are you doing outside? It's so noisy. Isn't it time for the daily routine of worship? Oh? It seems that you are following the decree of this seat, sincerely each day. What is this voice? Ancestor Mara, with boundless magic power. Supernatural powers come to the world. Purify the world. It's just, the results of your words and deeds, it's far from the worth of respectful attitude. Ma, Ancestor Mara? This seat bestows the faith of longevity, not for you to seek personal gain for yourself. The fire of faith is dimmed, and the desires of all living beings are perished. Heaven 7 and Heaven 12, convicted. Congratulations to the Ancestor. Old Ancestor, why bother you to come here in person? In the past few months, my subordinates have been conscientious and conscientious, strictly obeying the three teachings of Changqing Tian, and dare not slack off in the slightest. Where did the sin come from, as the old ancestor said? Oh, are you trying to say that this seat has wronged you? This, I dare not dare, but I just think that there must be something that dissatisfies the ancestors at the moment no matter what the problem is, we are all willing to solve problems for our ancestors. It seems that Tion 12 has already reacted. Nothing we do is against the wishes of our ancestors, and secretly controlling believers is just a matter of smooth sailing. No matter how powerful our ancestors are, it is impossible to check them in our hearts. 
clear, from now on, as long as we respectfully appease the old ancestor, everything will be as usual with his state of being an old man, no matter what, he will not lower himself to stay here to monitor us. However, where did the ancestor feel the abnormality? This time he appeared, it really came a bit suddenly, old ancestor, why not take the seat first and let me explain to you? Humph. A frog at the bottom of a well, if he has not seen the wider world with his own eyes, you will never understand. You secretly rack your brains to want what is obtained, waiting, not worth it. Seat? In the eyes of this seat. Only year. Deserve to be called fucking secretary. And, is this method again? And why are there so many of these around? How many people? This place is the Changqing Tianzong Altar, abandoned for many years. It has been restored as before, you, the two are the first ones received by this seat's resurrection shoulders, a group of believers. Send you by magic the meaning of sending to this seat, you should know. Supernatural power? Teleportation? By saying this, it means that this realm is real? But since the ancestor of Mara is not a big man in the Middle Heaven realm, whether it is supernatural power or a small world, it is mostly just a powerful illusion, right? But what I feel right now is still so creepy that it is difficult to tell the truth from the fake, not to mention that in front of the ancestors, the fake must be taken as real. The ancestors trusted their subordinates, so they brought them here. I'm so grateful, really, not to mention useless blindness. Now that I have sat down, it is your turn to get rid of your own crimes. This, dare to ask the ancestor, what is wrong with us? Why do you ask the crime? Please explain clearly so that the subordinates know where to start to explain. See all these thousands of lights all over the place? This object is called Changsheng's hand. It absorbs the willingness of the world and burns. This lord orders you to spread the prestige of Mara Patriarch. It is to gather the power of the world. Rekindle my eternal life and buy a lamp. The more people in the world believe in longevity heaven, the more you praise the prestige of this seat. The power of this vow is like adding oil to a lamp, live forever, when you first entered the longevity heaven. Willing to be a collection, an endless stream. But in the past two months, few new lamps have been lit. I originally thought it was the two of you who were noticed by Bliss Chang Tian have to keep a low profile. I just saw you. Obviously not. In this case, then there is only one explanation you are slack. Hell, I have completely forgotten about the fact that I have handed over the sect. Absolutely nothing. Ancestor, there must be something wrong. Presumptuous. Are you questioning the ancestor? Believe it or not, I will kill you right now. This that, how is this possible? Isn't this place the ancestor's illusion? If it was an illusion, how could the ancestor hurt someone? With such an attack and such an injury, if it was an illusion, Tian-12 would have woken up long ago. Did we make a mistake from the beginning? Is it true that as the ancestor said, this place is not an illusion, but the altar of Changxing Tianzong? And these people, are they really members of Changxing Tian? Infuriating and spiritual, transforming all things, this human strength is already above me, this level hands, the ranking is only on the edge, what will be on this high platform realm? The real strength of Changxing Tian, after all, Tian 7, Tian 12 did not answer this seat's questions, now it is your turn. Grandpa Rome said that his subordinates and others have never slackened in the slightest and have been preaching my doctrine of longevity in the rivers and lakes day and night. But the judgment of the ancestor is naturally not wrong. Under the echo of the two, the subordinate has a guess which may explain the current situation. Huh? Say it and listen. In recent days, my subordinates have discovered that blood sacrifices have taken place in many places, but after checking, it is confirmed that it was not done by our Changxing Tian presumably. The ancestors did not order others to carry out this matter. The subordinates boldly speculated whether someone would pretend to be the same name of our Changxing Tian and do something illegal secretly. Since the power of lighting a lamp can only be produced by believing in the Changxing Tian, if one believes in the false Changxing Tian, will the vows not gather here? 
Damn. Someone is acting under the guise of Ancestor Mara. The source of the uncle has been diverted. Don't count on this. When collecting source points from a long distance, Siam needs my unique identity as an anchor, except for the face-to-face, -face, I never got the source of emotion from GEE -E against GE Huayu's face, and it was also because of this logic, inferring from this. Once the identity of the ancestor of Mara no longer belongs to me alone, those who believe in the false longevity will naturally no longer provide me with the source, damn, if you dare to intercept the source of my love, this matter. Will never happen, I can't bear it. This seat is self-explanatory. This reason is not unreasonable. But since this matter is entrusted to you, it is the responsibility of both of you. Fake longevity, it is the greatest blasphemy against this seat. Day 7, Day 12, do you know what to do? The subordinates understand. Afterwards, we will fight with all our strength, so that no one in the world dares to falsely use my name of Changqing Tian. Rest assured, ancestor, these people have traces to follow, and they will never be allowed to get away with it. Very well, the next step is the crux of this time. Patriarch, why do these two juniors have to do this matter? They are not capable enough to bear the burden of promoting the longevity heaven appoint. In my opinion, it is better to kill them and choose another chess piece that is more useful. This old ancestor, please give us another chance. This mistake was really too late to prevent it, and we have ways to make up for it. That's right, just two ants in the first three levels, what qualifications do they have to bear the gaze of the ancestor? Leave it to me. Ten days of meat can kill those sinners who desecrate immortality. What about them? How long will it take? Make up failure to solve the problem before the ancestors spoke. They are already incompetent. From my point of view, they are simply vain and obedient and have no belief in Changxing Tian at all. Enough. You all have more important things to do. The realm of bliss children is above you after all. It's unavoidable to startle the snake. It is still up to them to work from within, gradually cannibalized. Wait for the great cause to be successful, all the people in the world will be protected by my immortality. Although they are weak, they are just one step ahead, great cause. Could it be that what the ancestor wanted to do was far more than simply replacing the ancestor of bliss? If this is the case, what is the meaning of our secret actions? If we follow the ancestors, what we will get in the future is nothing more than a mere long day of bliss. Obtain source points greed, 0.01 .01 points day 12, obtain source points greed, 0.01 .01 points Tian Chi, obtain source points respect, 0.01 .01 points 12 days, obtain source point fear, 0.01 .01 points day 7, oh? Even the source point has appeared, it seems that the process of boiling the eagle is almost over. As for belief, they have already used their own power to ignite the longevity lamp, which is enough to prove the plenty in their hearts. This escapes even the slightest thought in our family's mind, but ancestor perception? It seems that everything here, the longevity heaven and these wish power lamps, are real the supernatural power fruit of the ancestor of Mara is real. It's ridiculous that we actually tried to use the ancestors in vain, thinking about setting lip another mountain, until now come on. They're just too pretentious, frogs in a well. Faith, this seed bestows upon you the proof of the longevity heaven tribe. With this thing, I can call you here to meet at any time. Co. Come forward and accept this longevity gift. Calabash in. Very good, the matter of Tian Chi and Tian 12 has been successfully concluded, and now even if they leave it alone, they should not be able to fix anything. I didn't expect my lord to plant a wedge on those two people so easily. Could it be that my lord is really a genius in the field of desire? Easy? It's not easy at all. Not counting the one that hit him and the one that gave wedge his hands and feet, this is the first time that your lord has given love to wedge. After doing it myself, I realized why Yi Dao Chi spent so much time on me and Qin Shinsi. To put it bluntly, this thing is a 2.50mm collection of countless thoughts. 
Controlling thoughts can control other people's actions, but the more complicated the actions, the more thoughts to deal with, and the more precise the gap to be opened in the target soul. Based on my intention to support the cultivation base, it is already the limit to just give them two labels of don't worry about spreading the name of the ancestor of Mara with all your strength. If you want to completely dominate others, it is far from enough to rely on only one illusory demon heaven realm. Is this enough? Chinger thought that the Lord would transform these two people into fanatic believers of the ancestor of Mara. No need, even if it becomes a fanatic. How many sources can I rely on just a few of them? In the end, I still have to rely on crowd tactics. Now that the crux of the problem has been found, just let them deal with it first. Then we will wait here. Wait, there's still time anyway. As long as we arrive before the Shilan Kingdom, accumulate enough resources to deal with troubles, just click. Ten days later. Well, giving Tian Chi and Tian 12 these strong medicines will not cure the root cause, let alone the effect of treating the symptoms is indeed good. During this period of time, the income situation at the source has gradually improved, but after all, it is still not as efficient as it was at the beginning. Sure enough, cracking down on counterfeiting is not easy for anything. That's all. Fortunately, this small wave source point is enough for me to open the small world and travel. The wool of the main world is not strong enough as for the traversal mode. Just over 500 points are not enough for the starting price of physical traversal. Anyway, just collect some source points and soul traversal should be enough. Taudu world? Well, the name it's interesting. Traveling to the past this time, there will be a lot of drama source. 100,000 world shuttle function started searching. Discover Taudu world. Taudu world. Here is a world full of aura and mortal cultivation. The way of heaven responds to the world in the dark. If those with spiritual roots can find a ray of heaven, they can practice and prove the way. After going through five realms, Qi refining, foundation building, golden pill, yuaning, and transforming gods, after crossing the catastrophe, he ascended to the top of the immortal class. There is more than one avenue in the world, and there are many schools of practice contending, which once glowed with vitality in the world. However, the way of comprehension is to go against the sky in the end. Cultivators with spiritual roots are coveted by demons from outside the territory all the time. Thousands of years ago, disasters fell from the heavens, demons invaded, and the purple-black strange fire burned the earth, resulting in the destruction of life, the collapse of Taoism, and the death of all living beings. The cultivators put aside their suspicions and fought together, and finally defeated the demon with the help of the immortals from the upper realm, so that the universe can be clarified and the world is peaceful. This battle made the cultivators let go of their prejudices, and also worried that the battle for the Tao in the future would lead to evil disasters again, so, based on the heavenly calligraphy deed given by the immortal, they fused each other's ways into one furnace and vowed never to fight. As a commendation for this battle, the immortals before returning to the upper realm gather the soil of the world, the bridge of the lower realm. Thousands of years ago the true practitioners established an unprecedented Qingtao is a mountain and planted on the top of the mountain of the lower giant tree as the communication upper bound and some unified sex Mingchen. From that day on, Mingchen Zong is the only way of cultivation in this world and everyone up and down the mountain adheres to the Mingjin law promulgated by it and regards all foreign methods as demons and heretics this is also the common decision of all cultivators back then. However, these are nothing but the despicable lies of thieves. A treasure bestowed by the immortals, this is to protect the world, the avenues of various schools do not need to be integrated. Thousands of years ago Mingchen Daozu betrayed everyone, took away the heavenly calligraphy deed and monopolized the gift from the immortal. Suppress Wan Dao with the power of heaven, only now has the current situation of deposing a hundred schools of thought and only respecting Mingchen Dao been created. In order to cut off the resistance at the foot of the mountain, the Ming Jin law stipulates that all the seeds of cultivation that carry spiritual roots, once born, they must cut off their ties to practice in the sect. They will be confined to Taodu Mountain for their entire lives. 
If there are common people who are unwilling to give up human relations and family affection, they will be forcibly taken away by the picking on voice sent by Mingchen sect, and those who resist will be punished according to the law. Except for a few lucky ones who have achieved success in cultivation and have turned to protect their relatives as Mingchen Zongxianchir, most of the children have no news as soon as they enter Taodu Mountain and become dust that disappears silently on the road of cultivation. For such a world, some people are secretly happy, some people are sad, some people abandon everything and live alone in the world, and some people secretly accumulate strength and want to change everything completely. I know I know so that's why my father, Sister Wei, Fatty Kong, and Aunt Ding joined the Night Alliance just to defeat those bad guys. That's right, Yiming exists for this purpose what has continued to this day not all the cultivators who were plotted against by the ancestors of Ming Chenzong have cut off their inheritance. We, and some of your parents, have not forgotten the path we should walk Wei Jio, Night League Foundation Establishment Cultivator. You guys are also the seeds of heaven, and you will also embark on the path of cultivation in the future. Even if the Mingchen Zone was overthrown in our hands, the many cultivation methods that have been reborn still depend on you to pass on. Don't worry, Sister Wei. My father said that my cultivation talent will not let him down. Maybe I can help to overthrow Mingchen Zone. Overthrow Mingchen Zone? Can this really be done? Your father said that Taodu Mountain occupies all the resources of the world, and there are gifts from the immortals. If you want to overthrow them, it is just hitting an egg with a stone. He just wants you to hide in the yiming and practice hard, and you can go home and reunite with them after you learn Taoism to conceal the secrets of the sky. By then, our family will also be protected by immortal masters, and we will no longer be afraid of being bullied by others. You! How dare you say yiming is bad words? I want to be a fairy teacher so much, it would be better if you obediently go to Taodu Mountain. What? What are you doing in Yiming? Don't don't hit me. My father donated a lot of money to Yiming, and Yiming promised to protect me. Mount Taodu's practice emphasizes the purity of spiritual roots, and people with mixed spiritual roots like me must be it can only be cultivated on the mountain for a lifetime, so wouldn't it be useless? And I'm not wrong. Everyone knows that Ming has just suffered a defeat and tried his best to hide in this Zhuangzi. Who knows if Ming Chenzong will come to the door? It's fine on your own, and you can't care about other people's affairs. Will Ming, Ming Chenzong really come here? Then we will all be arrested and taken to the mountains? Don't worry, since Yiming promised your parents, they will definitely protect you, not only your parents, but also the blood relatives of all the heavenly Tao seeds under the mountain. All the Night League has to do is for all of them to achieve the same desire. This remnant sword villa used to be the place where the Lord practiced and learned swords when he was young. Even we came here for the first time. It is impossible for Ming Chenzong to discover this place by relying on formations to cover up the secrets of heaven. What's more, the leader is still retreating here. He is a sword cultivator, and his power of attacking is unparalleled in the world. He can compete with Ming Chenzong's Huashan Patriarch only at the nascent soul realm. Once he is promoted to the God Transformation Realm and breaks through the barrier, he will be absolutely invincible in the world, and then the Yiming will be able to fully counterattack Taodu Mountain. The founders of the original Yiming left a prophecy that the morning is as dark as the night, and the night comes out. We all believe that the leader of the Alliance is the long-awaited dawn of the Yiming. He must be able to. Not good. Kongren? What's going on? The voice just now Ming Chenzong's people are attacking, and the hidden formation has been broken. Senior Sister Deng and the others managed to keep them out, but they are about to lose their hold. How is this possible? The hidden formation method was set up by Senior Sister Deng. How could it be, Night League Gold Core Cultivator Kongren? It's useless to think about it now. The Ming Chenzong came this time with Lu Guanxi, the Deputy Lord of the Nascent Soul Realm. Even if Senior Sister Deng could hold him back, she couldn't stop the disciples he brought. You take the children and leave from the secret path first. The Lord has a formation to protect him. A few golden cores can't threaten him. How long can the rest of us last? As long as we hold the old dog of nascent soul, can wait until the connecting flight. How about you? 
I have to go back and help with it. Don't worry about me. Just take care of yourself and the kids. It's so strange, let alone how Ming Chenzong found this place. The person they sent was only one nascent soul realm, and he was the deputy patriarch who had been defeated by the leader. Could it be that they figured out that the leader is in retreat and has no time for him? Sister Wei. Looks like it was right for Bihu and the others to hold that Ding Lin back. One single spiritual root, three double spiritual roots, the seeds of the Tao of Heaven are indeed hidden here, but luckily I came in person. If you juniors are allowed to enter to eliminate demons, these precious seeds of Tao will inevitably be hurt. Deputy Patriarch of Ming Chenzong, Lu Guang 11. The selection ceremony is approaching, and this year is a year of famine, so it is a great achievement to bring back these few seeds Zijin and Nanming. You first use the escape method to take them back to the Fanching resident and wait for me. Yes, master. As for this side, the fiery constellation's mantra of, even a mere cultivator heretics dares to strike at me with a sword? Heretics? You mentioned Dao is inhumane and despicable those children. I will never let you take them away. Smelly girl, you dare to talk about the Dao without building a foundation? The seeds of the heavenly Dao at the foot of the mountain belong to my Mingchen zone. What qualifications do demons and heretics like you have to possess? If you don't want to hurt the seeds, just now you're dead with the first blow even that person was defeated by my Mingchen zone subordinates will. What do you count? What? But it doesn't matter. The people here always want to kill them all. It's just a difference in order. This is... Fong Tianjin? That guy left to retreat early? Damn it. Why is it different from what the intelligence said? Didn't it mean that there are still several hours before he can get out of the state of severance of the five senses, and this is a good opportunity to deal with him? Nascent soul escape. With just one sword, he forcibly pierced through the protection of the nine dragons divine fire wall, severely wounding my body, and that guy's strength has improved again. The physical body is completely filled with sword energy, and there is no way to break free. If you drag it on, you will definitely die, so you can only give up and use the nascent soul to escape. However, although he has become stronger, he obviously has not yet entered the state of transforming God's Fong Tianjian still has a physical body and has not been refined, which does not meet the characteristics of the legendary Huashan Sword Cultivator. This is the luckiest of misfortunes, otherwise I would not be able to escape this time. This. Is my sword trembling? No, it's coming from everywhere, not just this, but every sword. Is the sword of the whole mountain trembling? Surroundings of Remnant Mountain, Disciples of Mingchen Abays. Evaluate this place immediately. Master, why do you look like this? What happened? There is a change in the plan. The master lost to the devil, so he can only retreat temporarily. You wait to form a formation to protect the teacher. This, this is, I can't move. What happened? My Taoism has failed. Great Tao of the Sword. One sword comes out, ten thousand swords follow, the Tao manifests, and all dermas die. This, this is the power of the Tao that is absolutely impossible for the nascent soul realm to master. It turned out that he didn't intend to refine Fong Tianjian doesn't change at all. Instead, go against the avenue, refining oneself body. Xie Yin, leader of the Night Alliance, has successfully break through the blockade of the heavenly calligraphy deed and has become the best in this world. Transforming God's Sword Cultivator Lord, everyone are you all right? Night Alliance nascent soul cultivator, Ding Lin, although many of us were injured, luckily none of them got hurt at all, the leader passed the customs smoothly, what's the result? Needless to say, the image of the leader looks like a god rather than a nascent soul, and is obviously already in the realm of transforming gods. 
Now we at the Yiming finally don't have to be afraid of that old monster of Mingchenzong when he kills Taodu Mountain in the future, even if he is also in the God Transformation Realm, he will definitely not be able to stop the leader's Heaven Sealing Sword. Let's talk about the future. The most important thing right now. Leader. Seeing your sister Dang. Leader. Those children, two disciples of Lu Guangxi took the children and left this place ahead of time. We have to save them quickly. This, now that Lu Guangxi is dead, his disciples are afraid that they will be frightened and dare not stay in this place for a long time tonight is the only chance to save people. Leader, let's hurry underscore. The leader has just left the customs and needs time to stabilize the realm. I will arrange the rescue. Okay. After that, it's up to you. Leader, I understand. Everyone listen to the order. In order to avoid another attack by Ming Chenzong, all personnel evaluated from Kanjian Mountain Village. Yes. What about the leader? Won't he be with us? I have other important matters to deal with while staying here, so you don't need to bother. Ding Lin will explain my whereabouts later. The primordial spirit is broken, the soul is scattered, after all, is it impossible to return to heaven? With the body and the sword, it is indeed possible to cross the sea without concealing the sky, break through the realm blockade of the heavenly calligraphy deed and forcibly promoting to the god of transformation. But in 1145, my nascent soul was still a bit weaker, even if I forcibly transformed into a sword body primordial spirit, I was still injured by the transformation sword intent in the process. Old man, I don't blame you. If your sword intent is not so powerful, then what's the point of turning into a flying sword? I am overestimating my abilities. Slaying Lu Guangxu with this sword now will at least reduce one of the few innate cultivators in the Mingchen Zone, and the road to the Yiming people in the future, it should be better. The soul dissipates too fast, it is self-defeating, in order to avoid wandering souls from seizing my house, Ding Lin should secretly dispose of the corpse for me, if I can't save those children, I can only lose faith in Wei Jio and others. It's just the night alliance after, who will come again? Leader, do you really want to take this risk? I disagree, this is ridiculous. This is also a helpless move. This fight made me understand that even if the sword cultivator is unparalleled in the world, the gap between the nascent soul and the sword who controls the power of the Tao is still too big. Only sword can deal with sword. However, due to the blockade of the heavenly calligraphy deed, the normal cultivation and advancement to the transformation god has been blocked, and the only loophole is the magic weapon, the power of Yiming collected the treasures of heaven material and earth for me, and finally tempered Feng Tian into the flying god sword. Now I only need to close the sword with my body, and how could I give up after taking the last step? But the Yiming finally came out with a leader like you, the leader, if something happens to you, how will everyone in the Yiming deal with themselves the ideals of the Yiming should not rest on you alone? The way of the sword lies in straightness, sharpness, and indomitable progress. You also know the sword refining method of my Sia family. If my cultivation base does not follow up in time, Fong Tian may degenerate back to the nascent soul realm at any time, and it will be almost impossible to return to the peak. If you miss this time, maybe you will eventually die. I will never have another chance to be promoted to become a god in my life. The founder of the Night League thousands of years ago would rather die than submit to the Mingjin Law, the one who stormed Taodu Mountain 500 years ago and asked the sky, after them, there will be me, and after me, there will also be others. Yiming never lacks leaders like me, if we only want everyone to be equal with my current level of cultivation, is enough to do it but what's the point of this? As long as Taodu Mountain is still there, the Mingjin Law will always be an unbreakable cage. Bright friends are like darkness, and night comes out to dawn Yiming should not be the ones waiting for the dawn, we are the dawn that countless people are waiting for. 
If I fail to transform into a god this time, and my body has no way to disappear, you will conceal the news of my death a sword cultivator whose life and death are unknown at the stage of transforming into a god is enough to shock Ming Chenzong for several years. Feng Tianjian will lose all its miraculous powers soon after I die, but the materials used to cast it are all rare genius treasures, you can melt them down and hand them over to potential Night Alliance cultivators for further refinement. Which is also me this is the last thing the Lord will do for everyone. Press the game you have arranged before and wait for the next opportunity. But if it succeeds this time, I will not go alone. Your preparations over the years will not be in vain. At that time, I will lead you to realize the long-cherished wish of the Yiming for thousands of years. Pick Taodu Mountain with the sword and make the avenue of the world bright again. And half an hour later, Taodu World Night Alliance leader Soul is replaced by Xie Yan. Importing memory, memory import complete, task loading. Within three months, defeat the ancestor Mingchen, destroy the heavenly calligraphy deed, and liberate the way of the world. After the task is completed, you can return with all the power you got in this world. Otherwise nothing. Obtain source point fear, 15 gold get the source of tea game, obtain source points respect, 0.00001 points Zhang Dan, get source points fear point 0.00001 points Dan Chen Z. Hiss, good health letter, how long has this been dead? Interesting, it is rare to be swiped by the source point as soon as you travel, could it be that the original owner who replaced this time is the son of the plane of the small world? No wonder people are always emotionally affected by him. Judging from the memory of the original owner, this is still a world of cultivating immortals, and the level of force is not lower than that of the main world. Look at the task first. Is the mission deadline three months, the opponent has the existence of the gods and old monsters. The destructive power of the gods in this world is a bit exaggerated. Can't fight, task loading within three months, defeat the ancestor Mingchen, destroy the heavenly calligraphy deed, and liberate the way of the world after the task is completed, you can return with all the power you got in this world. Otherwise nothing. It would be fine if the body's power to transform into gods could be retained, but even the primordial spirit has dissipated, leaving me an empty shell, huh? This is one underscore. So he is really dead? Yes, it's correct. Momotoyama Festival Tendai. The lamp of life and soul goes out, and junior brother Guanxu is dead and gone. Reason? A few days ago, junior brother Guanxi went down the mountain to collect Dao seeds for the sect under the pretext of going down the mountain, and took away seven Jin Dan disciples. I found out later that it was he who got the insider information, was eager to make meritorious deeds, and brought someone to exorcise the demon privately. When I found out about this, junior brother Guangxi had already arrived at the residence in Fanqing, and the disciple did not dare to disturb Master Qingxiu, so he only summoned junior brother back with the order of the patriarch. Unexpectedly, it was still a day late, Mei Chang'e Mingchen sect master. He has been fighting with you for many years, and this time he has the desire to fight for success, so he will naturally not listen to you. After all, you have suppressed him too much in the past, and the long-standing grudge has become a variable at this time. Forget it, the matter has come to this point, and it is useless to pursue the cause. Although Guangxu died, he also sent back a message that Junior Xia has indeed made a step forward. Master, the celestial calligraphy deed has long been broken. How could he be promoted to become a god if he had cut off the road of becoming a god by cultivating heretics? God? What's more, his practice years are less than Jiazi. Maybe he was only cut to pieces with a near-death blow of the nascent soul of junior brother Guangxi. The blockade of the heavenly calligraphy deed is not without loopholes. If one has great perseverance, great awareness, and is willing to pay the price, it may not be impossible to break the shackles. On the road, nothing is impossible. Years, qualifications, and foreign things can't match the mystery of the Tao. Itself, but even so, there is nothing to be afraid of. Ming Chenzong has monopolized the avenue for thousands of years, intercepted the secrets of heaven, and banned hundreds of schools, just like the building tree bestowed by this fairy, it is rooted in the world and no one can destroy it. 
but no matter how towering the giant tree is to block out the sun. It can't stop the seedlings from growing under it. The avenues circulate, things change and stars move, and the seedlings will eventually grow into new trees. There will eventually be someone, relying on their great way, with the silence and unwillingness of thousands of years, to ask my Ming Chenzong a question. In the long years, there are not many people who have this ambition. Sia's son is not the first one, let alone the last one, but Mingchen Avenue will eventually rule this world. Never replace. And the remaining Taodu Mountain can still hold him down. And the remaining Taodu Mountain can still hold him down. Current Realm, Innate 2 ND Slash Transformation Realm, Current Source Points, 16.36,561, Skills to be Mastered the Golden Sutra of Immortals from the Outer Way. Five Elements of Sword Refinement, Expand, Current Level, Level 5, Skills to Master, Heretic Secret Method. Unfold with Body and Sword, Expand, Current Level, Level 1 Full Level, Skills Mastered, Finger of Nirvana Expand, Current Level, Level 3, Skills Mastered, True Art of Mara Expand, Current Level, Level 5. Skill Mastered, Everlasting Dominating Expand, Fist Expansion Current Level 5, the subject is in the state of soul travel, and the current strength of the physical body does not match this skill, Skill to Master, Finger of Flowery Sword. Current level, level 5, the main body is in the state of soul traversing, and the main body skills are disabled, skill to master, finger of flowery sword. Current level, level 3, the main body is in the state of soul traversing, and the main body skills are disabled, skill to master, finger of flowery sword. Current level, level 4, the main body is in the state of soul traversing, and the main body skills are disabled. The current realm turned out to be the innate second level and the god transformation state. The innate second level is the realm of the main world martial art brought about by the magic power rooted in the soul unexpectedly. The realm of the small world is also displayed on the panel, but that's not the point. The point is, transforming god realm? According to the memory of the original body, the way of cultivation in this world, the cultivation base of the body is maintained on top of the golden elixir and the nascent soul, can still inherit the realm of the original body? Why do I not feel it at all? Skills Mastered, the Golden Sutra of Immortality of the Outer Dad Dash 5 Elements Refining the Sword Current Level, Level 5, Current Effect, Taodu World Heretic Sword Cultivator Quenches the Supreme Secret Method of Natal Flying Sword. The current limit can refine the natal Huashan flying sword that meets the spiritual roof attribute of the practitioner. But it is affected by the Taodu world's heavenly calligraphy deed. The cultivator's own cultivation base cannot be promoted to the state of transforming gods. Skills to master, heretic secret method. Fit sword, current level, level 1, full level, current effect. Xie Yin, leader of the Taodu World Knight League, in order to break through the blockade of the Heavenly Calligraphy Deed, an original secret art. Retrograde Avenue Refining oneself Cultivate your whole life as a baby to forcibly achieve the sword body and primordial spirit, and control the flying sword of Huashen. The disadvantage is that there is a great chance that the soul will be damaged by the M-transformed sword intent during the process. This skill was used to refine the original owner's Fontian sword. Heretic secret method, body and sword, I understand. The reason why I can keep the label of transforming God realm on the panel even when the original master and primordial spirit are scattered, it is because of this skill. This skill is still at full level. It's a pity for the original owner. If it can be pushed to the limit, maybe it won't die. Hey, there's a title? After Qinming World, there has never been a new one. It's been so long that I forgot that the system still has a title function. Current title, Soul of the Country Unlock Title, Xing Tian. There are new titles available for unlocking in the current world. Please host search by yourself. Finally, let me meet a small world that can unlock titles again. Back then, the title of National Spirit made me reach the post-celestial stage easily. If I had found a stronger defensive cultivation technique, the national spirit would have played a greater role. I wonder how this new title will cooperate with the current techniques. Living weapon? Sounds very horrific. Wow. 
Master, your new image looks mature. I feel more admirable to you. The original Xie Yan's body is over 60 years old. The reason why he looks younger is because he took good care of his skin. His power of cultivation is all in this sword. Chinger, should I risk inheriting it? I don't know. Didn't you always inherit power directly before? Why should you take a risk? The original Xie Yan was a genius. He merged his body with the sword. He was both the owner of the sword and the sword spirit. That's why he could bypass the blocking of the heavenly contract and reach the transmutation stage. Unfortunately, after his success, he was hurt by the transmutation sword energy of the sky ceiling sword and died. But because of his weird cultivation technique, after his death, his cultivation power is not in his body but in this sword, the sky ceiling sword which is at the peak of the transmutation stage. Wow, this sword is so awesome. But it hurt the original C.A.N. Will it also hurt you? I don't think so. The original C.A.N. has already helped me solve the most difficult part. Theoretically, I just need to touch it to inherit the power. But it's said that magic weapons know their owners. After all, the soul in this body is not the original one. Maybe the sword won't recognize me as its owner. It will be embarrassing if the sword kills the body twice in one day. But the system should be reliable. It can't make this mistake. If I'm really killed by the sword, I can use the finger of Nirvana to come back to life. This feeling, I'm merging with the sword. I don't feel the same pain that the original C.A.N. was killed by the sword. The system is really reliable. Good. After being recognized by the sky ceiling sword, I feel the real transmutation stage. The magical world is really amazing. Although the original C.A.N. didn't use the right way to cultivate, which makes me only at the bottom of the transmutation stage, it still increases the limitation of my soul age to 500 years and nearly 600 years. What a surprise. In this way, Master, you're invincible in this world? I told you many times that never underestimate your enemies. According to the original C.A.N.'s memory, there is also a cultivator who is at the transmutation stage on our enemy's side, and he defeated the host. This time, I can't use the demonic art of Moro openly. Now I only have the original C.A.N.'s defensive cultivation technique. I have to be more be careful. Huh? Master, what's wrong with your demonic art of Moro? Why can't you use it at will? Well. Huh? Someone's coming? That's... Weijio? The youngest cultivator in Night League, didn't the original C.A.N. trick them into leaving? Why did they come back? Weijio, calm down. Mr. Sia told us to leave here. You should listen to him. Ding had her own reason to do that. If Ding finds that we have sneaked out. I know, but the people of Night League have been injured. If we attack Mingchen sect at this moment, we can't even break their formation. Now Mr. Xia has been at the transmutation stage. If he can help us, we can easily save those children. But Mr. Xia didn't save those people before. I don't think he'll save them this time. You'll make him trouble if you go to beg him. But, enough. Dang, I found you sneaked out, and I guess you must go back here. Weijio, don't be perverse. I just said we can't save those people rashly. Give me some time. I'll solve the problem. But Minchin sect is in chaos now. They may escape to Taodu Mountain tomorrow. Only Mr. Siak can catch up with them. Once they leave Fawn City, how will we save the children? Well, I'll make a plan. Besides, Mr. Siak has already left the place to do something else. You can't find him here. What? How is that possible? Just before we landed, I felt strong sword energy here. It obviously came from Mr. Sia. Sword energy? Did Mr. Sia self-destruct? After all, with his cultivation base, it may happen. If it's true, then there should be nothing left in the room. Master, what's wrong with them? Why don't they just come in? Alas, the original C.A.N. was too thorough. He had arranged his death. 
Now Ding Lin believes that the original Xie Yin is dead, so she tries hard to stop them from knowing about it, so as not to demoralize their morale. But you're still alive. Why not just go out? They will be happy. Well, in other small worlds, people would take resurrection as a miracle. But in Taodu world, it may be a trouble. If I'm strong enough to overwhelm every powerful cultivator in this world, I won't even care about these people, and I'll also finish my mission without encumbrances. But according to the original Siayan's memory, there are many uncertain factors in Taodu Mountain. Even if I have many trump cards, me I shouldn't take action rashly. Besides, I also need to get used to my new title. I should imitate the original Xie Yan's working style so as not to miss any necessary conditions, but the current situation, I'd better find a way to deal with it. Luckily, I happen to have an opportunity, which can help me explain the situation. You guys. Why are you standing there? Mr. Xie? Mr. Xie? That's impossible. He has died, hasn't he? Deng Lin, didn't you take the others away? I thought you would go to our stronghold directly. Mr. Xie. You're still here. Stop. Mr. Xie, are you really Mr. Xie? Dang, what are you talking about? Of course, he is Mr. Xie. Don't worry, Ding Lin. I wasn't possessed by others. It's just that something unexpected happened to me after you left, which made me come back to life. I have fully recovered. Be possessed? What's going on? I thought only dead cultivators would be possessed. Did Mr. Xie? It's okay. I'm fine now. They can know what happened. But if I didn't hear it wrong, Ding Lin, you didn't send people to save those children, right? Well, I thought you were dead, and Night League now is not able to fight Minchin Sect, so I didn't blame you. After all, we've arranged the plan. But now I'm still alive, I'll save those children. I remember, Fawn City is in this way, right? Mr. Sia? We don't have much time. I'm going to save the children. You can follow me. And I'll tell you everything after we arrive in Fawn City. He can use Sky Ceiling Sword at will, is he really Mr. Sia? Master, what was going on just now? Did they suspect that you're not the real leader? In the original Xie Yan's memory, being possessed is common sense for the cultivators in this world. All the cultivators at high levels would self-destruct when they know they're going to die, so as not to become wandering ghosts or be possessed by other cultivators. Ah, no wonder that woman was vigilant when she saw you. It turns out that she believed you were dead. Master, you said you can't use the demonic art of Moro in this world. Is it also because of the same reason? People you know suddenly come back to manga.me life with strange cultivation techniques. Everyone would be suspicious in this world. Besides, the devil who invaded the world was in the shape of a purple-black flame. Purple-black flame? Is that? Yeah. Judging from the appearance, it's 80% or even 90% similar to the demonic art of Moro. But these people don't think so. Purple Black Flame? Is that? Yeah. Judging from the appearance, it's 80% or even 90% similar to the demonic art of Moro. But these people don't think so. Fortunately, I got the original Xie Yan's cultivation and memory. I just need to behave like him. It wouldn't be difficult to get the trust of Night League. Besides, the original Xie Yan was at the transmutation stage. I believe his cultivation techniques can help me deal with the problem. Hurry up. Put all the power source stones on the formation. The sky stage must be activated before dawn. You guys, go to check the five elements formation. As long as we can stay safe tonight, each disciple can get a spirit accumulating pill. Do you think the Night League has on the way to Fawn City? If that guy comes here in person, don't worry. It has been so long. According to Night League's work style, if they wanted to save the seeds, they would have already taken action, but they didn't. Maybe there is something wrong with them. Our fleeing art can't help us return to Taodu Mountain overnight. 
If that guy really comes here, he can easily catch up with us. Now the only way we can do is hide here and use the formation to block them. As long as the sky stage is ready, we can go back to Taudu Mountain with the seeds in an instant. But it will still take more than an hour to activate the sky stage. Do we have so much time? Look! The sky, why did the sky become like this? What's going on? W-H-Y did the clouds gather over Fawn City? There is sword energy in the clouds. It's an enemy attack? Night League is coming. Calm down. The sword energy will be absorbed by the five elements formation. Even attacks from several masters at nascent soul stage can't break the formation. It's just a cloud. But. This. Path of sword, water element. Sky cloud sword. Disperse, sky ceiling. As a cultivator at transmutation stage, I master path of sword and can use it without expending my psychic power. Path of sword can turn clouds info sword forms to attack enemies, and this attack is powerful and endless. A five elements formation is just a piece of cake for me. This move is very powerful even in the main world. Did the move hurt the children? Don't worry. I've scanned the surroundings with my senses. The children have been hidden in the back of the pavilion. Master, did you copy the move of the woman from Wendao sect? It looks familiar. I only saw it once and can imitate it. It shows that I have a talent for swordsmanship. The speed of Fleeting Sword is more than ten times faster than that of Rainbow Shift. Even the speed of Immortal Dominating Punches can't be that fast. And that move is very magical, which is like a miracle sign. I begin to think that in this small world, maybe the original Siayan's cultivation techniques are more suitable for me. Gio, are you guys all right? Did they hurt you? Wow, Mr. Sia is so powerful. The Mingchen Sex defense formation is very solid, but it looks like Mr. Xia settled them with only one move. It's not surprising that a sword cultivator at the transmutation stage has such power. But, where's Mr. Xia? He has left. He let me tell you that. Now that he has reached the transmutation stage, he should go to Taodu Mountain and fight against them in person. Oh? Is this place Taodu Mountain? Taodu Mountain. It looks different from the original Siayan's memory. Are these four mountains the core of the Taodu formation which made the original Siayan at the nascent soul stage fail? I want to have a try now. Master, this place is the enemy's base, right? Is it appropriate for us to come here directly? Didn't you say we should be careful? The move just now changed my mind. In this world, a sword cultivator at the transmutation stage is extremely powerful. Nothing can threaten me. In this case, instead of acting carefully, I prefer to come here to have a test and gain some origin points by the way. Bastard Minchin, come out. Path of Sword, Water Element Skycloud Sword. Oh, although I just intended to have a test, I've used a lot of power in this move. I didn't expect that it even couldn't make a hole. Besides, this formation is self-recovering. If I want to break it, I must keep hitting it. Huh? Five element ceiling formation, metal element feather bird. Good move. The power of the metal element is the most aggressive one among the five elements. Unfortunately, Silent Seas, has Bastard Mingchen not told you guys? If you want to use the metal element to attack a sword cultivator at the transmutation stage with metal and water spiritual roots like me, what will happen? Go. Path of Sword, Metal Element. Eagle Sword. Five Element Ceiling Formation, Fire Element Scarlet Gleed. It's brilliant to use fire to restrain metal. Sky Ceiling, Quick Reaction. Five Element Ceiling Formation, Earth Element Kylan. This time they know to attack me with the power of wood and earth elements. Looks like not all the members of the Minchin Sect are fools. Five elements me ceiling formation, wood element green bull. Unfortunately, these are still weak. Oh? 
They haven't been broken. The remaining psychic power circulates and regenerates. It's the technique of flowing five elements and domineering path. I see. The five element formation and the spiritual stone formation have made Taudu Mountain stand still for thousands of years and also made the original CAN afraid. Using talented disciples to attack enemies and the defensive formation to protect the sect, it's really a good strategy. Even a sword cultivator at the transmutation stage should have to pay a lot of energy to handle it. Besides, there is also the strongest backup for Minchin sect. Would Mantra destroy all paths, the sect leader at the top of the transmutation stage? I let you take action first, but I didn't expect your move to be so weak. I don't even want to waste time laughing at it. You were lucky to take my sword with the help of the gifts from Immortals today. But next time I come here, I'll definitely destroy both you and this mountain with my sword. Sky Ceiling Origin Point Gain Shock 0 0.01 points Mei Changi Origin Point Gain Shock 0 0.01 points Lunan Origin Point Gain Fear 0 0.01 points Xia Shang Origin Point Gain Fear 0 0.01 points Lu Mingxia Origin Point Gain Shock 0 0.01 points Mei Ching Shan Origin Point Gain Fear 0 0.01 points Lu Sung Ha ha ha, I'll leave now. Bastard Mingchen, you're just SOSO. How dare he? You don't have to go after him. You're not his match. Besides, the sword cultivator is unrivaled in fleeing art. It was hard to catch this guy when he was just at the nascent soul stage. Now, he has reached the transmutation stage. It will be harder. Thousands of years ago, sword cultivators should fight the top cultivators to make their swords sharp. Now he has reached the transmutation stage. It would be necessary for him to follow his path and fight against me. I suppose he would hide from now on to stabilize his cultivation base. The last time I saw him, he behaved composedly and restrainedly, but this time, he looked somehow arrogant and wild. Are these his true natures? Or is it because he was overexcited about his breakthrough that his behavior changed a lot? In this case, it was indeed a good chance to kill him just now. Unfortunately, he broke my move before it took effect. A sword cultivator at the transmutation stage really has a quick reaction. Jesus. I was almost killed just now. I still feel uncomfortable even after using the finger of Nirvana. Could it be that my soul was injured? I just gained a little of origin points and even used the finger of Nirvana which would shorten my lifespan. What a loss. Master, it turned out you got hurt? Ahem, it's unfair. Those guys not only used formations but also secretly attacked me. What's more, I just wanted to test their strength. It makes sense that I got injured. Although I lost the battle, I didn't lose my manner. They don't know I've gotten hurt. Ah, uh, I thought you were at ease just now. Although that old bastard hit me with just one move, he had used the path authority of the transmutation stage, which can compress all the psychic power of this world into that narrow space. If I hadn't used the finger of Nirvana in time and the sky ceiling sword hadn't been strong enough to break his hit instantly, I would have died. It sounds too exaggerated. It's indeed exaggerated. I underestimated the power of this world's cultivators before. The paths of this world are active. As long as the cultivator steps on the right path, he can easily resonate with heaven and earth, and with just a little psychic power, he can stir up several or even tens of times of external psychic power of heaven and earth. Clouds transform into sword when the cultivator reaches the transmutation stage. He can even directly control the corresponding path authority which makes him able to use the whole psychic power of heaven and earth by thought without expending any of his psychic power. That's amazing. In the main world, only when you at least reach level 7 of the pre-celestial stage and combine your spirit and body can you achieve these things. That's impressive. You must bring back a few more techniques this time. The tricks that big guy used just now are good. We can snatch his techniques after we beat him. That's meaningless. 
First of all, the techniques in this world are much more exclusive than that in the main world. Each cultivator can only choose one path to cultivate. The original CAN has been on the path of sword for so many years. If I want to learn new skills, I must destroy the existing strength of the transmutation stage, which is completely worthless. Secondly, cultivation techniques here are based on the spiritual roots of five elements, earth, water, metal, fire, and wood. Spiritual roots are essential to perceive and mobilize the psychic power of heaven and earth from the outside world, on which all cultivation techniques are built. The original Xie Yin was a very talented cultivator with metal and water spiritual roots. Even if I take these techniques back to the main world, others can't practice them as they don't have spiritual roots, and they can't even perceive psychic power, which is very different from internal power. What a pity. The techniques here are so powerful, I feel that even the techniques of the main world can't compare with them. You are wrong, Chinger. Huh? Cultivators in this world are powerful, but they are extremely dependent on special environments. Their strength will be greatly reduced in a world with no or weak psychic power. A world full of psychic power, a world without psychic power, they are less restricted when they reach the transmutation stage. However, paths in different worlds may not be the same. It's unknown how much path authority can be used when they are in different worlds. At least, I don't think I will reach level 7 of the pre-celestial stage after I go back this time. How could this trashy system offer me such an opportunity? It's absolutely impossible. But no matter what, it's to combine my spirit and body. It will be worth it even if this strength is weakened after I go back. In contrast, the techniques in the main world are about strengthening oneself. No matter how external environments change, the self-contained cultivation base can produce endless energy, especially when someone reaches the pre-celestial stage. I see. The techniques in the main world can be used anywhere, while the ones here require specific scenarios. But at least in this world, the techniques of the main world are no match for them, right? Not necessarily. I don't know exactly how many worlds are in the sphere of power of the main world. After all, I couldn't judge it when I was not at the pre-celestial stage. After I was at the pre-celestial stage, I didn't sense the aura of heaven and earth in the boxing world and the curse world. But at least, the aura of heaven and earth exists in this world, which means that the cultivation path of the main world fits here too. The core of the demonic art A.me of Moro is from the mantra of hexatic senses of the main world. Such a technique which is related to the aura certainly has its corresponding cultivation path, which I just haven't mastered yet. But the paths of this world are active. I only need to make a little adjustment, and then I can resonate with heaven and earth, making it more destructive than that in the main world. Wow! How powerful will it be? I don't know, but it won't be less destructive than my current cultivation at the transmutation stage. The two techniques are about at the same level. Calm down. We are on the same side, Master. You don't try it now? No, it will make a big commotion. I haven't resonated with heaven and earth yet, but the sky ceiling sword has already been so excited. The demonic art of Moro is probably unwelcome in this world. It's fine to use it on a small scale, but if I make a big move and arouse suspicion, I'm afraid that the Minchin sect would put the blame on me. By then, the Night League may turn against me, and it will be impossible for me to finish the mission. The basic material of the Sky Sealing Sword is the remnants of treasures left over from thousands of years ago. It's not strange for it to have some memories of the battle in the past. Yet, with its primitive wisdom and spirit, it wouldn't be so sensitive to a similar appearance. What makes it scared can only be a similar aura, could it be that my demonic art of Moro is like those intruders not only in appearance but also in aura? I know the mantra of hexatic senses in the main world resembles the demonic art of Moro. There might be something else that I don't know. Could it be that the sects in the main world invaded this world thousands of years ago? Could it be possible? Forget it. It's meaningless to think about it. It's not my mission anyway. Speaking of the mission, that old bastard is indeed unexpectedly powerful. 
According to the conjecture of the original Xiaoyan, he was probably fused with the tree on the top of the mountain through thousands of years of cultivation and shaped e a physical form of the true soul outside his body, which makes him have no fear of physical attacks. Besides, there are formations in Taodu Mountain and their elite disciples. I'm afraid I that me may not be able to break it head on in a year, let alone three months. Ah, uh, what should we do then? Take it easy. Although I lost a few years of my lifespan, I found lots of valuable information after we fought. And for one year, I mean I do it on my own, but don't forget. I'm not alone now. You are finally here. I went to Fawn City and found you had left. I thought I had to go back to Night League headquarters to meet you. You are the leader of the Night League. As long as you send a message with a flying sword, we will surely come after. Still, if you really had no worries, you wouldn't ask Wei Jio and Conran to wait somewhere else with those children. You still doubt if I had been possessed by others, right? The children have been accommodated in the farmers' houses who support the Night League. After all, they shouldn't be involved in this matter. As for you, Mr. Xie, I know this matter is beyond your expectation, and you won't believe it easily. I wanted to explain it, but it's related to the path of sword, which is mysterious and hard to put into words. But the most important thing right now is the agreement we made before. Now that I have reached the transmutation stage, it's time to start your long plan scheme. You still remember our agreement. So it seems that you are indeed not possessed. But why did you suddenly go to Taodu Mountain? I thought, you thought people of the Mingchen sect had done something? Don't worry. I went to Taodu Mountain to test my power and in figure out the limit of my current cultivation level so as to revise the plan. Now that I got the answer, I will meet up with the others and discuss the counterattack strategy. Mr. Sia, hold on. We had a plan before that when you reached the transmutation stage, you would replicate the spiritual root with your psychic power. With the spiritual root at the transmutation stage and my soul refining and spirit nurturing technique, we might be able to do something, um. The original Xia Yin did have this plan in his memory. That's not hard. For me now, it's just a piece of cake. Humph, even though she said she believed me, she is actually testing me secretly. The spiritual root is the foundation of cultivation. How a, could people with evil intents be bold to hand it over easily, even if it is a replica? But it's just as well. Now Ding Lin's doubts disappear completely. The original Xie Yan had devoted himself to cultivation all these years, and this woman has taken care of all the affairs of the Night League. If I want to make use of the power of the Night League, I have to gain her trust first. You just broke through. Your priority should be stabilizing your cultivation base. Besides, what we are going to do next will go against your path of sword cultivation. The others and I will carry out the first half of the counterattack plan. The original Xie Yin and Ding Lin had made a plan to weaken Taodu Mountain and dismantle their two lines of defense so that he could kill Patriarch Mingchen with his power at the transmutation stage. I thought the original Xie Yin worried too much, but after I fought with Patriarch Mingchen, I found out that it really wouldn't work without this plan. Fortunately, the plan is to my liking. The only problem is that they plan to let the original Xia Yin reserve his strength and the other members of the Night League execute the first half of the plan. But it isn't good for me. I can't gather many origin points if I keep a low profile. It's fine. My transmutation stage is combined with Sky Sealing Sword. I had no experience before breaking rough, but after that, I found I don't need to follow some rules that traditional sword cultivators need to uphold. Well, there's a difference between making trouble in my name and making trouble in the name of the Night League. If I want to gain more origin points, I have to grab this opportunity and do it in person. In that case, let me fine-tune the original plan. After fighting against Taodu Mountain just now, I got a new idea and I'm going to change our original plan. But we've got everything ready. I'm afraid the change may cause, don't worry. I will only change one thing. Didn't we plan to let disciples of the Night League separately attack the residences around Taodu Mountain? I've thought it over. 
it's unfavorable if too many people are involved. I'd better break down all the residences around Taudu Mountain alone. Huh? Is Mr. Xie, Dingy, you are back. So, Ding, you left alone to meet up with Mr. Xie. What happened exactly? I've been confused after Mr. Xie broke through and stopped his closed cultivation. I could tell he acted vigorously, but I have no idea why he did that. Well, let me think about where to start. Mr. Xie must have gone to look for the traitor, and that's why he only contacted Ding and let us wait here. In fact, I suspected Lu Guanxu before. He said something strange before he was defeated by Mr. Xie, as if he had already known when Mr. Xie would stop his cultivation. That's why he chose to attack at that time. They must have gotten what they wished if Mr. Xie hadn't come out in advance. Traitor? So I think maybe someone told others the location of the Sword Manor and the news of Mr. Xie's closed cultivation, which attracted Lu Guangxu. If so, everyone at the manor at that time, including you and me, is suspect. Well, it seems true. We have used the method of hiding a place for so many years. It is impossible to fail at that crucial time. Someone must have betrayed us. If we are not traitors, it must be someone among those who had left the Sword Manor. About this matter, don't worry about it. Ding Lin and I have already had a plan for it. Mr. Xie? Just like what Wei Jiu said, I deliberately asked you to leave and stayed alone in the Sword Manor just to find out how Lu Guangxi found the place. I figured it out, but I can't tell you for now because it has something to do with the plan. What is certain is that no one in the Night League betrayed us. Am I right, Ding Lin? Ah, uh, yes. As Mr. Xie said, there are indeed no traitors among us. As for the matter that the Sword Manor was found, I've handled it, and the same thing will never happen again. You two can rest assured and don't need to suspect your companions. So let's just leave it at that. What is more important right now is our following plan. Ding Lin, explain it to them. Uh, okay. Master, you were lying just now, right? The original Xie Yin had died before you transmigrated here. And you didn't do anything after that. How could you find out what happened? I did nothing indeed, because it's not necessary. The person who informed Lu Guangxu of the location of the Sword Manor and the information about my closed cultivation is Ding Lin. What? W.H. Watts going on? Is she a bad guy? Did she secretly sell information and betray her companions? Ding Lin is undoubtedly loyal. It's just, Ching'er, have you thought about it? What would be the original Xie Yan's ending if Lu Guangxu and the others didn't come to kill him? Uh, as you said, the original Xie Yan died because of the failure of the breakthrough. He would definitely die even if there was no attack. If so, he would probably gather everyone to leave his last words after the failure. The original Xie Yin and Ding Lin are thoughtful, and they had already expected such things. Things like leaving his last words can be arranged in advance. In other words, even if he died, his death must add value to the Night League. Therefore, if a group of people from the Mingchen sect happened to come to attack when the original Xie Yin was about to end his closed cultivation, whether he broke through or not, the Night League could take advantage of that to remove the force that threatened their survival. According to the memory of the original Xie Yin, the Night League knew well about the internal relationship structure of the Mingchen sect, including that the vice sect leader Lu Guangxu didn't get along well with the leader. He privately trained his own followers and plotted for the leader's position. You mean, she deliberately told the enemy the wrong time so that the original Xie Yin could kill the enemy by running out of his power when he stopped his cultivation? Th, that's too cruel. She looks very respectful to you. Respect and interests are different things. According to the memory of the original Xie Yin, Ding Lin is indeed someone who can do anything for her ideals. But it's a good thing for me. Currently, the most important thing is to ensure that the plan will go smoothly. On this basis, I can gather as many origin points as possible. If I can break down the Mingchen sect in the shortest time and get the heavenly contract, I can use the remaining time to search for origin points. In this case, working with someone decisive, calm, and efficient is what I wish. 
What's more, Ding Lin already has a plan, which coincides with the system's mission. It's better to play along than to start all over again. And there is another question about unlocking the new title. Living Weapon, I feel strange about this name. Does it need me to be beheaded first and then see if there will be any response to this title mission? That's too ridiculous. Forget it. I'd better take a step at a time. Right now, I should follow the plan made by the original Xie Yin and Ding Lin and get rid of the Mingchen sect first. So, Mr. Xie, are you going to attack the residences of the Mingchen sect around Taodu Mountain alone and rescue the children who were taken away? Yes. In about a month, the Mingchen sect will hold a heavenly ceremony which is held every five years. On that day, the pickers from the residences will send the talented seeds that they selected over the years to Taodu Mountain. At that time, the children must be gathered in several big cities around Taodu Mountain. If we want to overthrow the Mingchen sect, the first step we should do is to shake their rule. And the best way to do that is to attack their residences in every city. But why do you want to do it alone? Would it be easier with the help of the Night League? It must be because Mr. C.S. strength at the transmutation stage is so powerful that he can easily deal with those bastards of the Mingchen sect by himself. That's one point of it. More importantly, the fewer people in, the less our strength will be exposed. Our enemy will be more cautious if we are in the dark. This battle is about morale and deterrence. If we can defeat them by one person, it will hugely undermine their morale. On the contrary, the more people involved, the more likely the Mingchen sect will regain momentum and stabilize the situation from other battlefields. Ah, uh, I got it. You are amazing, Mr. Xie. You are far more considerable and thoughtful than us. Origin point gained respect, 0.01 Wei Jio. Origin point gained respect, 0.01 Kong Ren. Except for the siege, I need you to help me do something else. Ding Lin will tell you the detailed plan later. Sure. It's just, Mr. Xie, do you really want to act alone? It's indeed too. I've told you the reason. With my current strength, acting alone is the most efficient way. The power of Night League should be used at a more critical time. You take them to join the members who were dismissed before and wait for me. I can only do as you said, since you are determined to do so. The cities selected as targets have been marked on this jade slip. According to my calculations, as long as we cause havoc in these places, things will eventually go as we expected. But Mr. Xie, are you sure that it won't go against your cultivation path? What if your strength is weakened in the final confrontation with Patriarch Mingchen? Don't worry about that. As I just said, the top sword cultivation has restrictions on ordinary sword cultivators, but not on me. Instead, I have to count on you to make the preparations I asked for and to get some people to save the children. I got it. Nothing won't go wrong on this matter. Master, I just realized she smells very good, and the flag she is carrying has in chi that attracts ghosts. Um? Attract ghosts? Did you mean? That flag is very similar to the Earth Mother Fruit of Ying. If I can stay with her for a time, I will definitely become stronger. Well, speaking of which, what Ding Lin cultivates is Spirit Herald with Ultimate Yin, which is somewhat similar to the technique of Chongling sect in the main world. It's good to nurture Ching'er with her spiritual artifact. By the way, Ding Lin, there is one more thing, um. I will be away for this operation at least for a month, and I'm afraid I don't have time to look after this girl. I'll leave her to you. Ayat is a female ghost? How could this ghost be with you? When my true soul was on the verge of collapse and I almost died, there were many wandering spirits being attracted, and this female ghost was one of them. Later, when I absorbed the energy of the sword, she accidentally got entangled with my soul. I couldn't bear to kill her as she is innocent. I realized just now that your spirit herald is good for her. And the entanglement of our souls allows me to share her senses, which is more convenient for me to communicate with you than using flying swords. Well, it's all right since you trust her. Dang, I'm a good ghost and I am very obedient. All right, that's it. 
It's time for me to set off to get down to business. XIN City. Boom. What's going on? Look. What is in the sky? That is. I'm CAN, leader of the Night League. I'm going to attack XIN City today. Lackeys of the Minchin sect, come out and get ready for your deaths. Is, is this the power of the transmutation stage? Didn't they say that he just reached the transmutation stage and wouldn't resort to force? Instead, he needs to recuperate and stabilize his cultivation base, so we only need to guard against sneak attacks by his subordinates. How come he is doing it himself? What are you waiting for? Activate the sky stage for us to leave this. As expected, the defensive formation outside Taudu Mountain is far less sturdy than its set gate, and it is much easier to break. You guys, what did you say? What do you want to activate? We can't resist him. We must go back to Taudu Mountain. Confronting someone at the transmutation stage, we are simply... Path of Sword. You want to run away? Did you get my permission? Water Element Breaking Sky and Sea. Origin Point Gain Shock 0.01 .01 Points Len High Zone. Origin Point Gain Shock 0.01 .01 Points Lu Yu. Origin Point Gain Fear 0.01 .01 Points Malan Hua. Origin Point Gain Fear 0.01 points Chiu Min Origin Point Gained Respect 0.01 points Sung Chi Chi Origin Point Gained Respect 0.01 points Sung Chi Chi The power of the transmutation stage is extraordinary. All the people in the city woke up and contributed their origin points to me. If I continue this tactic of shocking the city with one strike, I will gain plenty of origin points when the operation is done. Using the power of heaven to break clouds in all directions, what a big scene. Even if he has been silent for thousands of years, his sword is still so sharp when he reached the transmutation stage. But no matter how sharp his sword is, what it cut through is nothing but misty clouds. No matter how high the clouds are, they are nothing but water from the sky, and they can't escape from the grasp of the Minchin sect. He just reached the transmutation stage, and he recklessly fought opponents who were weaker than him, without any concern about going against the path of sword. What's his purpose? Huh? This feeling. I see. Is this the purpose of your attack on Xian City? You are ready to sacrifice your cultivation path in order to get the trump card against me? Interesting. I was worried that you would completely hide after experiencing the true power of Taudu Mountain, but now it seems that I have underestimated your will. It's a pity that you don't have the technique of flowing the five elements and the spiritual root of fire to weaken the evil spirit of divine fire. Even if you force yourself to absorb the energy with your cultivation at the transmutation stage, how much divine fire can you bear? C.A.N., leader of the Night League. I'm waiting for you in Taudu Mountain. Don't let me down. Master, Deng has successfully saved the children, eh? Master, what are you studying? Do you remember the unbreakable formation in Taudu Mountain before? It's of the same origin as the one set up by the Minchin sect in various cities, but the strength is very different. Actually, I sensed it when I attacked Fawn City, but I did it too fast at that time and directly destroyed the core of the formation. I was careful just now. When I split the spiritual stone, there was such a thing inside. You mean, it is the source of the power of the Minchin formation? This small world is a rare cultivation world that is full of treasures. I thought since it's meaningless to bring back techniques, it is worthwhile to use the Smell Desire branch to refine some rare items and go back. Unexpectedly, I went to the treasury just now, and those artifacts are not rare enough for the Smell Desire branch, except for this thing. When I touched it, I felt that the sword energy was burned a little for no reason. So I am sure it's a powerful object. Unfortunately, it's too ferocious. I have to use my cultivation at the transmutation stage to remove most of its fire before refining it with the demonic art of Moro. 
In the end, I guess I can only get a negligible part of it, which is not enough to form an endless cycle of the evil smell. If only I could get more pieces. Luckily, there is more than one five elements formation of the Minchin sect. I am lucky this time. I can solve the problems of the origin point and the rare item with the same plan. When the sun rises, I can get plenty of origin points again. Next day, the food market in Xian City. There was a commotion last night. Why were all the masters of the Minchin sect killed? Could it be a catastrophe? Nonsense. Didn't you see an immortal in the sky yesterday? There are plenty of notices in the city. It must be about yesterday's incident. Who can read it and tell us what it is about? Let me see. To the people of Xian City, the Minchin sect is unscrupulous and even heaven would not tolerate them. They forcibly collected kids and destroyed families' happiness. Their immortal families oppressed common people. Now we Night League cannot bear to see you all suffer, so we expelled all the cultivators of Minchin sect on your behalf. From now on, this city will no longer abide by the law of Gong. Those who give birth to cultivation seeds do not need to give them to Taodu Mountain. All properties in the immortal families taken from the people are given back now. He'll give us money. The signature is Xie Yan, leader of the Night League. So he was the one who fought the immortal families last night. Looking at his power and demeanor, is he another legendary cultivator at the transmutation stage? Transmutation stage? Isn't that the same stage as the patriarch on the mountain? Those immortal families who followed the Minchin sect can't get complacent now. I think we should take back all the good things they took away from us. That's great. Does it mean that my daughter, who was taken away by the Minchin sect, can come back? Thank you, Night League. Thank you, Mr. Xie. Thank goodness. Damn. These unruly people want to go against us. Hurry up. Minchin Sex residence was breached by Xie Yan. People from the Night League may come to ransack our house. We have to leave here quickly. Go to Taodu City. It's under the protection of Patriarch Minchin. Xie Yin wouldn't dare to mess around there. Ha ha ha. These immortal families are frightened by Mr. Xie's strike and are fleeing. They were domineering before. Unexpectedly, they would get what they deserve today. They played the bully here because they are family members of Minchin cultivators. Now the Minchin cultivators in the city have been wiped out by Mr. Xie, and the common people they oppressed are ready to fight back, so of course, they have to flee in a hurry. Dang, did you plan all these? You're amazing. I only planned some of them. We had intended to let our men expel those immortal families. But Mr. Xia proposed to incite the common people to divide up the family's properties. We secretly sent our men to stir up anger among the people. Mr. Xia is remarkable. He was indifferent and inflexible in the past, but unexpectedly, he could even come up with such a trick after reaching the transmutation stage. Is this really a good idea? This place will become chaotic after we incited the violence, right? We have no other choice. Mr. Xia acted personally and achieved great success this time, but we must beware of the Minchin sect following suit and bullying our, ahem, so we need to conceal ourselves as much as possible so that they can't get anything on us. As for the current order, in order to achieve our ideal, there must be sacrifices. Even if there are mistakes, guilt, darkness, and filth, when the dawn comes, all the chaos and filth will disappear. The new path will restore order to the world. Well, by the way, where did Mr. Xia go after he conquered the city? Ching'er, do you know that? Oh, he has already left to break down another city, Ding. He asked you to follow up quickly, and you need to do the same thing in that city. He has broken down another city? That's so fast. Oh? The second wave of origin points is coming. As expected, they're all negative, but it's okay. I've gained positive origin points, and now I gain negative ones. I can get various emotions of the origin point. Ding Lin's plan is kind of tailor-made for me to collect origin points. Origin point gained anger, 0.00001 points Mei Changi. 
Origin point gained heat, 0.00001 points Wang Shuren. Origin point gained anger, 0.00001 points Jill Bapi. Origin point gained fear, 0.00001 points Nan Badian. Origin point gained heat, 0.00001 points Lu Wan Kai. Origin point gained fear, 0.0001 points Li San Kai. Origin point gained respect, 0.0001 points Wei Jio. Origin point gained respect, 0.0001 points Kong Ren. Origin point gained shock, 0.0001 points Ding Lin. I finally saw the origin point of Ding Lin's emotion, but why is she only shocked? It seems that a smart and calm person isn't prone to have mood swings. Never mind. Later, when I kill Patriarch Mingchen, I believe I can gain some origin points of respect from her. The next day. Damn it. Xie Yin broke down two cities by himself in one day. What is wrong with him? Is he really not worried that our Patriarch will follow suit and deal with the others of the Night League? But... But the other people of the Night League have never shown up. Only their leader has been standing in front. He is a great cultivator at the transmutation stage. If he keeps doing this, all our residences will, no need to panic. No matter how strong he is, he can't be without weaknesses. The rule of Path of Sword is that sword cultivators should fight the top cultivators to make their swords sharp. If he fights against our patriarch, his sword's vibe can get fiercer, but if he kills cultivators at the nascent soul stage or golden core stage for no reason, his sword's vibe will be weaker. Pass my word. If he shows up again, don't attack him, but greet him with a smile to wear down his sword's vibe. I'll see how long he can hold on. Yes. The Night League could do it slowly, but they've sent their leader to end the fight quickly. Looks like they are anxious. I don't know why, but the more anxious they are, the calmer we need to be. Maintain the status quo. Let Xie Yin kill if he wants to. This strategy at the cost of weakening the top power will never last long. We can resist it. I'd like to see what they are going to do. One day later. Sir, bad news. Xie Yin has taken Rao City. Some seniors had already sent our men to welcome him and regard him as a distinguished guest, but he attacked them without any hesitation. They tried desperately and escaped. They said that Demon was extremely cruel. He could kill them with one strike, but he played with them like a cat playing with a mouse. He didn't stop it until they were exhausted. He not only fought against the weak but also tortured them. How, how is it possible? If a sword cultivator goes against the cultivation path, at least his sword's vibe will be undermined, and the worst is his stage will downgrade. How could he not be affected at all? The fourth day. After the city is breached, we must send our men to station there. Tell disciples in each residence to go to the fallen city separately to capture invaders from the Night League. We should do something in return. Arresting some people of the Night League can hold him back as well. Sir, we don't even see a single member of the Night League in all cities. The rioters are all common people in the cities. Seniors were about to suppress them, but Xie Yin came back, and many of our men were killed. The seventh day. Go gather the cultivators at the nascent soul stage to set up a formation to hold this demon back. I will lead seven top disciples of our sect to go down the mountain and kill him. It won't work, sir. We don't know what means he used that can see through all our hiding skills. Not only did our men not meet him, but even the residences they were responsible for fell. The tenth day. Set up ambushes in the cities then. Since the Night League dared to put up notices, there must be someone, sir. Those notices were posted by Xie Yin himself. As a cultivator at the transmutation stage, how could he act in such an indecent way? He's gone too far. Twenty days later. Master, please allow us to go down the mountain. Seven top disciples of Minchin sect. That devil makes trouble everywhere, and our fellows stationed in the residences can't deal with him. 
As direct disciples, if we don't do anything about it, we'll have no face to see our fellows anymore. Bastards! Since you know who you are, how can you act rashly? Xie Yin is powerful and his whereabouts are unpredictable. If you take action rashly, what if you fall into his trap again? But immortals in more than 30 cities are frightened by Xie Yin now. They are uneasy and don't know what to do. Even though they hid in Taodu City, their family property was plundered by unruly people. So was my family. We can't, he's right, master. Even if we are not as powerful as Xie Yin, we can at least solve the chaos in those cities and prevent the common people who are bewitched by the Night League from robbing others' property. According to Xie Yan's recent moves, he wants to force the Mingchen sect to give up the advantage of geography and fight with him. I can see through this, but many direct disciples' families are outside Taodu City. If I ignore this, they will feel uncomfortable. It's okay. If Xie Yin wants to fight and they're not afraid of fighting, let them go. It's Patriarch's voice. But Master, the heavenly ceremony will be held in ten days. If we send our disciples down the mountain now, the guard of the sect gate will be, since the ceremony is coming, we have to ensure safety outside. The pickers from all over the world will come to Taodu City in a few days. There must be no mistakes in welcoming them into the mountain, and the passages in all directions can't be blocked. Let them go. Fight the evil and help the good. Show Mingchen's rules. As for Taodu Mountain, as long as I'm here, no one can mess it up. If you still have doubts, come to see me at the ceremony platform. Wow, a lot of people fly out of the mountain. They look awesome. They want to make trouble for you, right? But they must not expect that we have hidden near Taodu Mountain for a long time. They'll go in vain. Their target is not me, but the people and property of their own families. After all, only when these noble direct disciples get into trouble themselves will they stand out and take action. I deliberately attacked the cities in a big way, which finally forced them to do something. In this way, the three steps to breach Taodu Mountain are ready. The first step is to let these direct disciples leave the sect gate. The second step is to let the elites of the Night League sneak into the fleeing crowd and hide in the city, preparing to destroy the city-protecting formation. What's the third step? That is, disguising as the pickers who are returning to the mountain, taking advantage of the opportunity to send the seeds, sneaking into the ceremony, and getting the heavenly contract. Dang, you came just in time. I'm hungry. After we have solved the two forces that guarded the sect gate, the remaining difficulties are Patriarch Mingchen and the heavenly contract that he hasn't used yet. You look confident. Do you have a solution? I finished my job. I'll give you that thing later, Mr. Sia. What a coincidence. I have something for you. I haven't had a chance to meet you before. Now, it must be a rare thing, but I can't recognize it. Your experience is no less than mine. Do you know what it is? This is? Mr. Sia, where did you get this? Huh? Is it very extraordinary? The Minchin sect embedded this thing in the spiritual stone as a core of the formation. I felt its aura is strange, so I brought it back. The core of the formation, I see, everything makes sense. So the missing fragments were used here by the Minchin sect. Missing fragments? This fragment is from an ancient treasure called Nanlu Red Sealing Cauldron. It is said that it was from the immortal world and could summon Rosefinch fire. It has been scattered around the world for a long time. The Night League got it 500 years ago. At that time, the unnamed leader broke through the transmutation stage by using this. He even attacked Taodu Mountain and suppressed Patriarch Mingchen. Unfortunately, the battle was reversed by an unexpected disaster. After that battle, the unnamed leader died, Patriarch Mingchen was seriously injured, and the Namlu Red Sealing Cauldron was destroyed in the chaos. This flame seems only to disturb cultivators' psychic power, but in fact, it will affect people's cultivation after coming into contact with it. The longer one touches it, the more his cultivation will shift. 
Even if someone has a spiritual root of fire, it's difficult to withstand it. Moreover, you don't have that root. Fortunately, you haven't absorbed it, or you may fall or even die. What the hell? Is this a radiation source in this world? No wonder I felt so strange when I touched it before. Fortunately, my cultivation base was to wear it down, and I used the demonic art of Moro to refine it, otherwise. Mr. Sia, you didn't try to absorb it, did you? Ahem, of course not. I won't casually touch an unknown thing. Then I'll deal with it for you in case it will affect your body. Whatever. There are a few more here. You can deal with them together. It's useless when I collect five fragments. I'd better give them to Ding Lin. They are troublesome. Back to the point, things and layouts are ready. Now the only thing I'm worried about is that although everything goes well, this plant isn't thorough and perfect enough. Is Mingchen sect really unprepared until now? Don't worry about that. I have my plan. The three disciples of the Night League who will disguise as pickers with me have all secretly cultivated Mingchen's path. And I have my way of disguising my smell. Now that the seeds in each city have been saved by you, the number of the seeds that can be delivered is less than half of the scheduled number. In this case, Taudu Mountain will not interrogate too much. But straightly speaking, it doesn't matter whether Mingchen's sect can guess it or not. In fact, there is no big difference. There is one thing that you should know, but you might have ignored it all the time. You have ignored the big shot, Patriarch Mingchen, who supported the Mingchen sect. How old is he now? 2,342 years, which is the time I have spent in the world. Master, what do you mean? You just asked me why I insisted on letting the elite disciples take most of the people away, even though I knew that the Night League might attack Taudu Mountain. That's the reason. There is no eternal thing in the world. Even a cultivator at the transmutation stage has a limited lifespan. With Immortal's protection, Minchin sect can exist in the world for thousands of years. We're far beyond the limitation. Since I founded the Minchin sect, I have been protecting it and it's my limit. Within a hundred years, I will definitely become immortal and go to the immortal world. Otherwise, the path of cultivation that I've practiced all my life will be in vain. Congratulations, Master. Congratulations. What for? The time for me to go to the immortal world is getting closer, but there is no successor who reached the transmutation stage. I have no choice but to pass the position of the sect leader to you in advance. I'm disappointed with the result. If I can't solve this big trouble for the Minchin sect before I go to the immortal world, how can Taudu Mountain stop the Night League in the future? Do you mean that even if Patriarch Minchin guessed the Night League's moves, he would choose to sit by just to defeat all the forces of the Night League? According to your previous style, you would be most likely to attack Taudu Mountain in one go after you break through the transmutation stage. Patriarch Minchin will be happy to see the Night League choose to put all their eggs in one basket. After all, even if he can't kill you directly, as long as he destroys the main forces of the Night League, you will fight alone. As long as they are in Taudu Mountain, the Minchin sect will have absolute confidence in themselves. But overconfidence is the biggest enemy. They didn't expect your current power, nor did they expect that we would have a way to deal with the Heavenly Contract. For the Minchin sect, the Heavenly Contract is bait. And the four of us, who will disguise as pickers, are also bait for the Minchin sect. As long as the main forces of the Night League are not exposed, the Minchin sect will allow us to see the Heavenly Contract. That young man wants to use the Rosefinch Fire to restrain the Immortal's gift. This is probably his trump card to challenge Taudu Mountain. As long as he is confident, the Night League will try its best to follow him. In that case, we'll play it by ear. When they think their plan succeeds, we will turn the situation around completely. Ten days later, the heavenly ceremony. I didn't expect the ceremony this year to be held as scheduled. So the Night League's moves all over the world last month still didn't stir up a big riot. That's right. I heard that the masters who went down the mountain ten days ago easily drove the Night League out of the cities they occupied. 
If it weren't for the time and energy of chasing the remaining evil forces of the Night League, they would have come back now. Sound desire. Remaining evil forces? But I think those Night League people are nice. No immortal master is good. And these children are pitiful. They were forced to separate from their parents at such a young age. Shoo, don't say that. They may hear it. Those great families gave up their own children to strive for their current status. If these children can become masters, their parents may also become famous. It seems that the people of the Night League who are lurking in all the cities have tried their best to hold back the main forces of the Minchin sect. Another goal is achieved. The Night League has been prepared for this battle, so there won't be many casualties. The next step is up to Ding Lin. Ching'er, remember to hide your smell after you go into the mountain. Unless it is necessary, you can't take any action. Remember to pay attention to your surroundings. I may not be able to sense your situation later. If there is any change, tell me immediately. Got it. Although I don't know how Ding hides her smell, it seems that she has hidden my smell as well. Now I have good vision and I can sense an adequate range of the surroundings. Ching'er was right. Ding Lin's soul refining and spirit nurturing technique is very useful to her. It not only increased her cultivation base, but also greatly increased her sensory ability and hiding ability. And she also got another amazing technique. Current level, the second level of pre-celestial stage transmutation stage. Current origin point, 14,724.34501. Mastered, Evil Immortals Golden Scripture, Swordsmanship of Five Elements Expand. Current level, LV5+. I've got enough origin points this month. No matter how hard this battle will be, as long as there is no annoying formation to stop me, I can kill that old man by finger of Nirvana. Next, I just have to wait for the battle to start. Seven Seeds 400 Spiritual Stones as a reward, Duyun from Lin City offers six seeds. 300 Spiritual Stones Sun Li from Shu City offers four seeds. 200 Spiritual Stones According to the procedure, the ceremony starts with pickers offering seeds. All the children will be left under the tree, waiting for entering the mountain for cultivation. Pickers will get rewards and go down the mountain after this. Then even the disciples of the Mingchen sect can't easily step on this altar until the next ceremony. Before pickers go down the mountain, they will have a chance to see the heavenly contract as a reward. If they are lucky enough, they will even be allowed to touch it and try to comprehend the supreme power. If anyone wants to get close to this place and the heavenly contract at the lowest cost, this is the only chance. Heavenly contract returned to its original position and the seeds came into the mountain. Thanks to our powerful disciples of the Minchin sect who defeated the Night League, we can successfully complete the ceremony. It's Minchin sect's fortune and the Immortal's blessing. Immortals bless Minchin. Clean the demons. Immortals bless Minchin. Clean the demons. You are disciples of the Minchin sect, guarding the world on behalf of Taodu Mountain and collecting seeds. You must be tired. You can go back to the sect and have a rest. Well, although they look calm, the Minchin sect has been on guard. It seems that I can't touch the heavenly contract by pretending to be a disciple of the Minchin sect. I can only inform Mr. Xia to make a move, Master, Ding sent a message. You can take action now. I saw it. Now that they have been well prepared, we have to stop pretending. Next, it's time to fight, this time. I'll be serious. Look. What is it? Why is there a crack in the sky? I'm Xia Yin, leader of Night League. Attack Taodu Mountain again. What? What's going on? What powerful transmutation stage pressure? And the sword energy? Could it be him? Mr. Xia has made his move. It's time. Everyone, follow me. Break the Taodu formation now. Sect leader, bad news. The city was attacked everywhere. 
the four cores of our formation were occupied by the Night League, and they were all closed. Now the defensive formation is no longer able to maintain. How could this be? What are the patrols doing? If there is no formation, then this sword. Shut up. Except for the pickers, ask all the cultivators at the Golden Core stage to support the formation. As for the set gate, Patriarch Mingchen will make a move. As I expected, when the disciples in front of the altar retreated, you would show up. His sword energy is stronger than before. It seems that what he did before did not affect his path. Don't be so verbose. Admit that you misjudged. Why do you have to speak in such a tone? Do you try to pretend that you are good at predicting? Predict? I don't need to predict. As you said, there are many things that I don't know about. I don't know how many spies your Night League has planted in my Mingchen sect, and I don't know why you changed your nature and killed the weak. But what I know is... The end of this battle. Mingchen Path, which generates fire-burning flame. Oh, what powerful fire psychic power. Tell me. What will happen to you in today's battle? Will you be defeated and buried at the foot of the mountain? Swordsmanship is ever-changing, but there is still one thing that can remain unchanged. From your sword attack, I've known that you still can't break through the mountain this time. In Taodu Mountain, no matter how sharp your sword is, you still can't avoid Mingchen Path. Fire generates earth-covering mountain. Wave. The fate of being suppressed. I sealed your water sword with earth spirit and cut off your spiritual energy with wood spirit. Now that your swordsmanship has been sealed, the only thing you can do is... Come on. Use the rosefinch fire you've hidden to make the last try. I'll let you see your trump card become trash. This, this is not rosefinch fire. This is the tree power that is forcefully wrapped by the path of sword. The swordsmanship is not what you knew before. You think you know your opponent well, but in fact... You are just an old man with a very limited outlook. Do you really think that I can do nothing to you when you have the advantage of Taudu Mountain? The tree incarnation you're relying on is not a problem I have to deal with today. Be realistic. Come out and get ready for your death. What? C.A.N. You have been bluffing for a long time, but you were still humiliated. If you were modest, you wouldn't be so embarrassed. And this thing... It worked the same as Ding Lin said. It's good. This time, you will definitely fight against Patriarch Mingchen again. As long as you can hold him back, we will have time to take the heavenly contract, and then we can control the battle. The most dangerous part of this battle is not the heavenly contract, but the tree. Indeed. Last time I fought him, I couldn't do anything to his incarnation. If I couldn't find a way to deal with it, I'm afraid I couldn't stop him if he attacks you directly. To break the tree's power, you can only use the power of the same origin. Both of you are at the transmutation stage. You may not be at a disadvantage in a fair battle. But your spiritual root is not wood, so you have less chance of assimilating the tree's power. That's why you asked me for my spiritual root before, yes. I refined it with the transmutation stage spiritual root given by you and the pieces of the tree that the Night Lead got from the attack 500 years ago. As long as you infuse it into your body, you can temporarily absorb the power of the tree, and it can work for six hours. As long as I catch Patriarch Mingchen off guard, I can destroy his incarnation with one move. Master is at a disadvantage? Damn it! Xie Yan's spiritual roots are gold and water. When did he have a spiritual root of wood? And how could his impure wood spiritual root absorb the power of the tree? If Master can't defeat him with the cultivation method, what will happen to the Mingchen sect? Guys, you don't have to stay here any longer. Go down the mountain and help the patrols get the formation cores back. Yes. I hope it's not too late. There won't be many elites of the Night League in the city. As long as the defensive formation is restarted, with Master's strength, we will definitely kill C.A.N. Huh? Why don't you go to the city? 
As I expected, Mei Chang'e, the leader of the Mingchen sect, is a coward, and he is impatient. Patriarch Mingchen can keep calm and doesn't use his trump card rashly. But as long as Mr. Xie doesn't fall into a disadvantageous situation, Mei Chang'e can't wait to take back the formation. The pickers who should stay here to guard against us have been transferred as well. Wood Mantra, are you from the Night League? The Night League really sent spies to sneak into the ceremony. But just you guys, you're courting death. Azure Snake Change. Fire Mantra's Spiritual Fire Shield. With Mei Chang'e's nascent soul stage cultivation base, it's not easy to kill him in an instant. But if we just trap him for a moment, then we can take the heavenly contract. Soul Refining and Spirit Nurturing Technique, Fierce Shadow. The thing on the altar is, Xie Yin, you did remind me of one thing. It's true that Mingchen has been the top of the world for a long time. Even I almost ignore how it became an orthodox sect. As a sword cultivator, you are indeed strong that you can break my incarnation. But what's next? You want to challenge the heavenly path. Do you think you can compete with the ancient sword masters? With your strength, it's indeed not easy to kill you. But if I can only hold you back and let the two heavenly puppets kill all the elites of the Night League. Is this legendary? It's a piece of cake for me. Heavenly puppets? Was Ding's shadow simply crushed? What the hell are these two giants? They are clearly not at the transmutation stage, but why is there a suppressing force of great power? Legend has it that during the Great War thousands of years ago, the Immortals sent the Heaven Soldiers down to fight against the Devil. After the war, they all went back except two left behind guarding under the tree. And they are Shintu and Yule. Celestial Massacre. Smash Demon. This power is almost as strong as the strike at the transmutation stage. Can Ding Lin and the others survive? Ching'er, how is it going? Xie Yin, the battle between you and me is not over yet. Mind your own business. Even if you are exceedingly capable. Ding, are you okay? Cough, the Night League must be destroyed today. Ding, their power is far beyond our imagination. We are not strong enough. I'm afraid we can't withstand the second attack. Indeed. I thought we could at least make it to the tower, but now it seems that we have to stop here. The following plan, Ding, we can only count on you. At least, we didn't become a drag on Mr. Xia and you. It's only a pity that we can't witness Mr. Xia wiping out the Mingchen sect. The Mingchen sect is like a dark night, but the day will break. As long as the dawn comes, it doesn't matter even if we are not the ones who see it. Huh? W what plan? Ding, what are you going to do? Pay my respect to all of you dying for the dawn. Phew. Thank goodness that Master has arranged for it. With the help of such immortal soldiers, the heavenly contract must be safe. After this attack, even if the people of Night League survived, they would be exhausted. Eh? This is? They still have the power to fight back. This power is far above the nascent soul stage. How can it be? Would Mantra willows into shield? Dang, just now, how did you blow them away? The soul refining and spirit nurturing technique does not lie in nourishing the spirit, but in refining the soul. A person's soul that has been refined with secret techniques can be sacrificed when necessary and become part of my strength to fight against greater power and perform stronger force. The three of them are made for it from the beginning. But, but it's so sudden, and sacrificing them is too, we are far weaker than them. The longer we resist, the more energy we will consume. Instead of holding on until everyone is dying, it is better to let this strike exert enough power to secure our victory in one go. Now the immortal soldiers and Mei Chang'e have been under control. Ching'er, inform Mr. Xiat to stick to the plan. We're almost there. 
Master, Ding has already had everything under control, but the others, the others, I saw what happened. So this is Ding Lin's plan. Indeed, with the original Xie Yan's transmutation stage power, he wouldn't be able to deal with those two giants. But it brought no joy to me to achieve such victory by sacrificing our men. But it's all done now. I can't change anything. Bastard Mingchen. Now that the ambush has been resolved, there is no need to hide this trick. I'm so tired of it after fighting for so long. I'll use this trick to annihilate you and this mountain. It's merely an unorthodox method of using blood to break down the barrier. How long can you resist the heavenly puppet's attacks then? However, you use your sword to create clouds and thunder. Are you trying to act on behalf of God and strike me with lightning? Would Mantra Flying Green Dragon Ugh, we are both at the transmutation stage, but I'm suppressed instead. This Thunderbolt class sword does make me feel the power of the Great Doom. The path of sword, to this day, do you sword cultivators still want to prove that I was wrong? So what if your technique is better than mine? It's been thousands of years. You have already turned into dust and bones, and my path is still shining. Heavenly Contract Activate My strike disappeared? No, it's not right. My connection with the path has been cut off. Is this what Ding Lin said that after the heavenly contract is activated, it will suppress all unorthodox power within its range? But it's still part of the plan. Without the power of my sword, I still have the tree power to fight back. You used this trick just now. Do you think I would stay defenseless? The tree power can indeed defy the suppression from the heavenly path, and you can use your cultivation at the transmutation stage to activate it, so you may be able to fight in this formation. But still, the reason that you were able to break my incarnation before was only that you disrupted the balance of the path with this power. When it comes to the control over the tree power, you are far weaker than me. Fighting me with the tree power, you are doomed to fail. Just as Ding Lin expected, Bastard Mingchen would fight back at once as long as I intentionally showed my slip when using the tree power. It's surely a failure, but the more I use it, the more likely it won't end. Whoever withdraws first may be deprived of power. I'll certainly lose, but the tree power can hold this bastard in this stalemate and make him unable to move. This is the aim of using this power. You won't be complacent for long. When Ding Lin controls the heavenly contract, the suppression will end. By that time, I can kill you a hundred times with my sword, bastard Mingchen, you can't escape my strike. You will die here today. Kill him. I must kill him. My purpose will be achieved as long as Patriarch Mingchen is killed. Mission? Heavenly contract? Patriarch Mingchen? Purpose? Wait. My purpose is to gain origin points in this world, isn't it? The aim of the mission is the heavenly contract. Why am I focused on killing Patriarch Mingchen now? I shouldn't have hated him so much. Something goes wrong. This thought is weird. Ding Lin, you set me up. Master? Master? Ding, something is wrong with Master. He didn't respond for some reason. It's all right. What Mr. Xia is doing is going as planned. Everything is going well. It's of no use. Once the heavenly contract is activated, the power of heaven will block all interference. If you want to break it, it's like fighting against thousands of paths sealed in it head on. I had already expected that the Rosefinch fire isn't with Xia Yan at all. You set up this trap so that you could take advantage of the current situation to restrain me. You bet your chance of victory on my negligence. Yet, it's all in vain. What? I know once the heavenly contract is activated, no external force can interfere. The only way to destroy it is by unexpected action. 
It's impossible to do so from the very beginning as someone at the transmutation stage is here, who can activate it at any time. You figured out the arrangement of the Night League and the cultivation of Mr. Sia, so you are confident enough to turn the tide of the battle when we are all trapped in it, and you could kill us all. I just figured out what you had expected. It's been thousands of years. You have forgotten that you should not be the only one who can drive the power of heaven in this world. Now you have been controlled by the tree power, and Mr. Xia has also been driven by my soul refining technique. He'll focus on fighting with you without end, the heavenly puppets stopped fighting, the Minchin sect has no chance of winning, and the heavenly contract now is with me. Now, no one can stop me anymore. It feels like the heavenly puppets are not being blocked by anything but refusing to attack her. And the fairy mark on her hand, that is the covenant imprint given by the immortals when someone gets the heavenly contract. Why does she, someone from Night League, have this imprint? Who are you, exactly? Thousands of years can't diminish the power of heaven but can blur almost all of your memories. Even if you don't remember someone who worked with you and shared the victory when you snatched the gift from the immortals and assassinated the other sex. At least you should remember your partners whom you had betrayed and killed in order to have the power of heaven alone. You are Jiang Bo's descendant? The Jiang family has carried on the family name through the years? You have been lurking in the Night League for many years, and what you've been waiting for is to take back the heavenly contract from me today, right? The chaos in the cities, Xia Yan's attacks, I see. From the very beginning, the Night League didn't just enter the city to break the formation. You were trying to absorb the huge psychic power in the power source stone of the formation so you could forcibly activate the ritual with the heavenly contract and reorder the path of heaven. I can't hold on anymore. How long do we have to guard there? I don't know. But Ding said there would be a signal if the plan works out. Before that, even if we have only one person left, we must keep it on. The path of heaven has spirits, and the contract becomes laws, to control all laws, the blood and soul bond together. To all the immortals, the imperial seal is ordered. Oh, no. The path of heaven does respond to her. Xia Yan, haven't you figured it out yet? Both you and the Night League have been used by this woman. Look at the people who died in this city. To inherit the heavenly contract, she must sacrifice the seeds, and now those sacrifices are all men of the Night League. She sacrificed you just to possess the power herself. You are a sword cultivator at the transmutation stage, yet you've worked so hard just to fulfill her goal. Can you really take that? It is meaningless to continue our fight. If this ritual is completed, no one here will be able to restrain her. Only if we both withdraw our strength at the same time, can this deadlock be broken. Xia Yan, do you hear? Oh, no. The divine sign is showing. The ritual is about to be completed, huh? That's the complete fragment of Nanlu Red Sealing Cauldron? It's not the fragment that Xia Yan took away? Back then, the Night League failed to attack Taodu Mountain and the treasures were destroyed. The most complete fragment that was missing was indeed taken away by them. Wait. Sacrifice this item and ignite Rosefinch Fire. She has no intention of completing the ritual with the Heavenly Contract at all. And the disciples of Night League who were breaking the formation in the city are still alive? That's to say, they are not sacrifices of the ritual, and they just broke the formation to bring the divine sign and relieve the interference of the power of heaven. I see, I have always been wrong. Even if she is really a descendant of Jian Bo, how could she know the method of activating the ritual? After all, when I killed Jian Bo back then, I also buried all the secrets about the gift of the immortals. This woman just wants to destroy the heavenly contract. The soul refining and spirit nurturing technique, the secret art of burning blood, she, she has refined herself into fuel for the Rosefinch fire. Are you insane? The heavenly contract is an immortal treasure. Do you know what will happen if you destroy it? Rosefinch fire can burn one's path. Before you burn the heavenly contract, your flesh and soul, and even your power will be burned. 
you can't survive even though you are at the nascent soul stage. You'll pay a terrible price. What's good for you if the path is reordered? As a cultivator, what is the meaning of your life if you die, your cultivation disappears, and all your previous efforts are wasted? I can make concessions. As long as you stop, I'm willing to lift the seal on the path in the world. As long as we both make a blood oath that the Minchin sect will survive after I go to the immortal world. I will let go of what happened today, and everyone from the Night League in the city can leave safely. Aye. Look at the sky. There is a crack me in the formation. Did, did anything happen to the heavenly contract? Is Xie Yin going to restore his strength? Senior, should we keep attacking? If he defeats Patriarch Mingchen, we will, um. This is the signal. The formation is about to be broken. The last resort that the Mingchen sect relies on is going to disintegrate. Ding's plan has worked out. I thought you wouldn't last long after you burned your blood with Rosefinch fire. I was wrong again. You must start to make this plan a long time ago as your flesh and soul were refined to such an extent. Your scheme is indeed better than mine. This game, I admit my defeat sincerely. But even so, Minchin Sek will never wait for its death. Are you trying to speed up to snatch Mr. Xie's tree power at the cost of your cultivation and escape before the heavenly contract is burned? It's not going to work. Nothing would change even if you did it quickly when the deadlock was made. With Mr. Xie's hatred of you, you can't withdraw in a short time at any cost. At this moment, no one can stop me from destroying the heavenly contract. The only variable is that Mr. Xia would change his mind. But I've prepared for this variable. The soul refining secret technique I apply to the wood spiritual root can ensure that Mr. Xia will not be bewitched by Patriarch Mingchen. It can go into the deepest part of his body with the spiritual root, so he can't sense any trace of it even though he is a sword master at the transmutation stage. When he fights with Patriarch Mingchen, this secret technique will continuously amplify his hostility. The more he wants to fight, the stronger the hostility. No matter what plan Mr. Xia has in mind, it will be overwhelmed by this hostility. It will never end unless Patriarch Mingchen is killed. As long as Patriarch Mingchen is killed or held back, I can successfully destroy the Heavenly Contract. And it doesn't matter who has possessed Mr. Xia's body. Even if I die here, someone will eventually overthrow the Mingchen sect and establish a new order for the world. Mr. Xie, whether you are an enemy or a friend and whatever your purpose is, please complete this last thing for the Night League. The darkness disappears and the filth has been swept away. The dawn that everyone is expecting is finally coming. Chinger, do it. Huh? Xie Yan's tree power suddenly disappears. He stopped his attack? Good. Xie Yin has lost the tree power. He is suppressed by the power of heaven. Now I can finally deal with that evil woman. Wait. Where is Xie Yin? What's this? This figure, how is it possible? Under the suppression of heaven, Xie Yin lost the tree power. It's impossible for him to break my seal. How did he get out so quietly? And I didn't even notice his move. Finger of Nirvana. Mr. Sia? Oh? It's interesting. I plan to save you first and then deal with Rosefinch fire. I didn't expect the fire to go out automatically. It seems that the fire is closely related to your injury. The more serious your injury is, the more violent the fire will be. It'll go out until you burn yourself to ashes. Now that your injury was healed, the fire went out. You're so cruel to yourself. Why, it's none of your business. Why did you save me? The heavenly contract will be destroyed, and the cultivation paths will be released. As long as I sacrifice myself, the trump card of the Minchin sect will no longer exist. You can still be free with the previous leader's strength. Why did you interfere with it? The Night League has deployed for this matter for so long and has paid so many prices. All we have done turns out to be in vain because of you, so what? I'm not the original CAN. 
You already knew that. You knew my true identity since we met in the forest. I was stupid that I thought I had managed to get your trust. When you replicated my spiritual root, you made this plan, right? If I didn't know how to release your control over me, I would still fight against bastard Mingchen. In that case, I was just a piece of chess for you to destroy the Mingchen sect. Now, you can't control me anymore, and you think it is a rebellious and intolerable thing? You're right. It's too late to say these now. The divine fire is exhausted and the formation is repaired automatically. Under the suppression of heaven, we're the same as the common people. No one can stop Patriarch Mingchen. It's nothing but a slaughter of the Night League. If I knew that the soul refining technique can't control you earlier, maybe I could put forward a makeshift. But now, I deliberately kept silent. I wanted to know if you were scheming as Bastard Mingchen said. But it seems that I'm the only one you trapped. Fortunately, the damage is not serious. Fortunately, I was afraid that you would burn the heavenly contract thus I've prepared for it. Otherwise, I'll be sent back to my world. In that case, what I have done in these two months would be in vain. What do you think I should do with you, Ding Lin? If you want to punish me because of this matter, you can do whatever you want. But it's meaningless for you to kill a dying woman, right? You're right. It seems that you must survive if I want to settle the account with you. Speaking bluntly, the reason why we got there is because I wanted to slack off and gain benefits easily this time. I'll keep this. The tree incarnation, image of heaven and earth. Now it seems that. I have to use this trump card. This, he's resonating with heaven and earth. In the formation, everything is suppressed. Why can he resonate with heaven and earth? Xie Yin, why can he use other paths besides the path of sword? No. The ominous aura and the purple dark demonic flames, this is the power of the devil. Xie Yin, you collude with the alien demon. Ming Chen Mantra. Unfortunately, even though you have the power of the devil, you can't release all of its strength. That means you can only unlock the formation of the heavenly contract and you can't do anything more. Even the path authority has never touched this force, destroy all paths crystal. How can you use it to fight against my Mingchen's path? Demonic art of Moro, demonic flame roar. Refining fire is sound? Do you think it can penetrate my tree incarnation? You're so naive. Sound waves and firewalls are nothing but childish tricks. Mingchen Mantra, Control Fire. No matter how various your flame of the devil is, it still belongs to the fire path. As long as you can't use the path authority, you can't compare with my Mingchen path. Huh? This, how's that possible? Mingchen path can't control these flames completely. Thank you for helping me ease my burden. The strength I used just now is too strong. I even can't transform. I feel much better now. To thank you, I decide to give you. Demonic Art of Moro, the image of the devil. Idiot. Although I don't know what the devil is in this world, the demonic art of Moro in is a cultivation method belonging to the main world. It has its own laws. It's completely different from the cultivation path in this world. How can you control it easily? What you controlled at the beginning is the strength resonating with heaven and earth which exceeds the limit of my control. Unfortunately, my demonic art of Moro hasn't reached level 7 of the pre-celestial stage and I can't touch the real path. Thus I can only stir up the power of heaven and earth in this world and release the power numerous times outside the body. I can't hold them back and make them help me defeat my enemies. My body is too weak now. Even if I use mind fire, the destructive power of the immortal dominating punches is limited. Even the effect of mind fire to improve internal power is meaningless now. I almost couldn't control the power I stirred up. This power is so strong that I can use it to achieve many new techniques that I can't do in the main world, for example, the enormous image of the devil, but I can't defeat him anyway. 
I have to admit that from Path of Sword to the Tree Power, and then to Fire of the Devil, you surprised me again and again. However, in the end, what you've done is in vain. No matter how strong the Devil is, it'll be killed by the Immortals. You ruined that girl's plan because of your benevolence. Without the Tree Power, you can't hurt me. Your people here are all exhausted and they'll be defeated soon. Even if you have the strength to fight with me, you can't win. In the end, you can neither destroy Mingchen sect nor save your people. You're still the one who loses. Seriously, you've pretended to be confident so many times that I'm tired of that. You've guessed many things wrong, but you're still so arrogant. That will only make people think you're stupid. Death? Demonic art of Moro, talented seed of the devil open your eyes to see clearly. Which of us will die today? This, this is, ugh. What is this monster? Don't come over. Senior, it's me. I lost control of my body. This is the erosion and pollution path of the devil. Only the elites of the alien demon can use it. It seems that he has a strong background. I have got the approval props anyway. Thus I can neglect the attitude of the people of the Night League. I can use all of my strength to fight with him. As to the tree incarnation you're relying on. Demonic art of Moro, the evil smell of Rosefinch. Now that the demonic flame of hell can't destroy it, let's see if the evil smell of Rosefinch, which specializes in burning the cultivation paths, works. Humph! Evil smell? It's just Rosefinch fire. Is this your trump card? How ridiculous. I've noticed it since you absorbed the first fragment. Do you think I wouldn't prepare for it? When the Night League failed to attack Taudu Mountain, the Namlu Red Sealing Cauldron was destroyed. Although it can't summon the fire anymore, it can absorb the free Rosefinch fire. No matter how much Rosefinch fire you've collected, it can't. Can't. How is that possible? The Rosefinch fire remained in the fragment of the Nanlu Red Sealing Cauldron is little. How can it be so powerful? Could it be that he stirred up the strength resonating with heaven and earth? No. It's impossible. Rosefinch fire is from the immortal world and far beyond the normal fire path. Without the Nanlu Red Sealing Cauldron, even my Mingchen path can barely control it, let alone resonate with heaven and earth. Can't what? Why don't you continue? Could it be, you're afraid? Afraid? I possess the power of heaven and the heavenly contract. Even I can't resonate with heaven and earth through Rosefinch fire. He can't do that either. It must be that he used all of his Rosefinch fire to make this strange scene because he is out of choice. It's just a bluff. I'll absorb all of your Rosefinch fire. Tau of the heavenly contract, suppress the devil. Huh? T this power, it's infinite and unstoppable. It's from nowhere and it strengthens from nowhere. It's definitely the strength resonating with heaven and earth, damn it. The Nanlu Red Sealing Cauldron is cracked. I can't hold on. I was wrong. He isn't bragging. He has controlled the Rosefinch fire completely. Rosefinch fire, it did burn up my power. But, do you think this world will change without me and Mingchen sect? Wait and see. Anyone who reaches the top of Taudu Mountain has to make a choice. In the end, there won't be any difference in our fate. Humph! Old bastard, you still have to say something alarmist when you are dying. He who fights with monsters should look to it that he himself does not become a monster, huh? The old cliché again? And such being the case, it's the business of Ding Lin and Night League. What does it have to do with me? I'm not a native of this universe. Master. Great, we finally defeated this tree guy. Once Mingchen died, his power vanished, and the suppressive power of the formation was also removed. So I don't have to save you and the sky ceiling sword. You have more claim to our success than anybody, Chinger. If it weren't for your new ability, I might have to pay a lot to get rid of the control of the tree power, let alone save Ding Lin. He he. Fast shift in addition to the sharing of information and the five senses, Chinger can even share her space with me now. 
As long as she wants, she can exchange our positions. Although I haven't tested the maximum distance yet, at least I can teleport in an instant within the range of my vision. In a sense, it's a pleasant surprise equivalent to teleportation magic. All right, then we should, uh... Master, what's wrong with this sword? Why does it suddenly react like this? Is it brainwashed by that tree guy? No, it simply rejects or fears my evil smell of rosefinch. The resonance with heaven and earth in this world is too strong, and I can't restrain my power. Chinger, we are one, so you don't feel it. But the connection between me and Sky Ceiling Sword is not that close. The evil smell of rosefinch is the result of my refining rosefinch fire with the demonic art of Moro. Just like rosefinch fire, it can burn one's power up. For the transmutation stage Sky Ceiling Sword, the evil smell of Rosefinch can probably be regarded as its natural enemy. What a pity. I wanted to combine them to see if I could be more powerful, no big deal. I'll stay here and dissipate the evil smell of Rosefinch in my body. Chinger, go pick up Mingchen's body. Let's finish the plan for the Night League. I didn't expect that you could really kill him. You ignored the suppression of his power and used endless rosefinch fire. Are these all the trump cards that you have prepared from the beginning? Have you expected this to happen? Don't exaggerate it. I just learned to make all-around plans based on my experience. Speaking of which, look at your cautious expression. You don't know how to call me. Do you still suspect my identity? Are you worried that I'm an alien demon who possessed Mr. Sia? You don't have to walk on eggs. I am not the leader of Night League you knew, but I am not an alien demon either. It's just my cultivation method is similar to that of the alien demon. My name is also Xia Yin, by the way, and I can be regarded as the equivalent of your leader in another world. It's not wrong for you to call me Mr. Xia. I was summoned by your leader before he died to help him fulfill his long-cherished wish. By the way, I also dealt with my own affairs. Don't worry. All this won't have any conflict with you guys. Well, I believe that you have no malicious intention against the Night League, Mr. Xie. But, Mr. Xie, what are you going to do with the Heavenly Contract? Well, you always cut to the chase, huh? Don't worry. I have the same opinion on it as you. Sooner or later, I will destroy it completely. But for some reason, I need to postpone it. Postpone? Why? How long do you plan to postpone it? You don't have to know the reason. You won't understand. As for time, in less than two months, I will destroy the heavenly contract and fulfill the long-cherished wish of the Night League. After all, you've waited for thousands of years. You can wait for another two months, can't you? I see, Mr. Siat. No matter what happened during the process, you are the one who turned the tide anyway. The Night League owes you one. I'm the only one to blame for what I did to you before. Please, stop it. Standing on ceremony only makes me somehow uncomfortable. What happened before didn't affect me much. Now it seems that your power didn't leave much after being burnt by Rosefinch fire. In that case, I don't have to hold you accountable. I've also brought back Mingchen's dead body. Although most of it has been broken, his head is still intact. If the Night League wants to use it to build prestige or something, you may arrange, Master. Why you bastards of the Night League killed Master? I almost forget you. So Deng Lin didn't kill you with that move, huh? But what can you do now? You're seriously injured and only at the nascent soul stage. How about I send you to accompany your master? You don't even know what you've done. Master is dead. The power connected to the tree disappeared, and the celestial world will feel it in an instant. What? You won't be arrogant for long. Soon, the will of the immortals will come to Taudu Mountain. Well, it said that the heavenly puppets were created by the immortals, and now they're automatically fused. The will of the immortals, could it be that there is some power in the immortal world controlling these two puppets? And using them to create his incarnation in this world. Shanghai World. 
Immortal Tiancho. A puppet incarnation at the immortal stage. His immortal incarnation. Sir, I'm Mei Changi, the sect leader of the Mingchen sect. The Night League messed around in Taodu Mountain, and its leader has the power of the devil. My master has died in order to defend the heavenly contract. Please help us. The devil, you mean the alien demon? With purple dark devil flames around, his power is enigmatic, a poor guy who got moral power again. In the end, he'll be that guy's food anyway. That's ridiculous. A thousand years ago, I expelled the alien demon from this world. As long as the heavenly contract is intact, this world will always be under my protection, and the alien demon will never come again. Of course I'm not. He could tell the truth at a glance. He does live up to his name. But it feels so strange. I could sense that his nature is far beyond my imagination, but his power doesn't seem to be overwhelming. Is it because this is just his incarnation? If he insisted on supporting the Minchin sect, there will be many variables in this battle. Please hear me out. We attacked Taodu Mountain not to destroy the heavenly contract. A thousand years ago, you made an agreement with this world, but the heavenly contract was secretly monopolized by Minchin sect. Skill mastered, evil secret skill, merge with the sword. Current level, LV1 max level. I'd better make some preparations just in case. For thousands of years, they had blocked the connection between heaven and earth and even used your gift to do evil things. Now, I'm not here for these trifles. I only want to know your choice. Since you have killed Xin Yuan Ji, who would be the one renewing my agreement with this world? Well, the Night League only wants to free the countless powers sealed in the heavenly contract so that the cultivators in the world will no longer get stuck. If you don't mind, the Night League is willing to replace the Minchin sect and renew the agreement with you to protect this world. Okay. I'll choose you then. From now on, you will be the owner of the heavenly contract. Everything in this world will be under your control. Wait. Sir, are you going to abandon the Minchin sect? Shut up. I've given you this opportunity once, and your choice led to what happened today. The era of the Minchin sect is over. This world is supposed to have a new master. Is this the agreement made by the Immortal and the Elders a thousand years ago? If we can be approved by the Immortals, it would be more reasonable for the Night League to overturn the Minchin sect. Sir, may I know the content of this agreement? The agreement is no different from the one signed a thousand years ago. There are only two articles. First, protect the tree and the heavenly contract permanently. Enshrine the heavenly contract under the tree and never destroy it. But my mission is to destroy the heavenly contract. Second, collect thousands of talented seeds from this world every five years and send them to the immortal world. It shall not be suspended and there shall be no omission. Talented seeds? What do you mean by that? Collect all the children in this world who are expected to cultivate well. Gather them together and send them to the immortal world through the tree, just like what Minchin sect has done for thousands of years. But one of the original intentions of the Night League is to prevent the Minchin sect from doing such an inhumane thing. We can't agree on this. Please. As I said, I only want to know your choice, not discuss your opinion. So, what if we choose to refuse you? I won't be surprised. After all, you are not the first one in this world to make such a decision. Do you mean, the nameless leader of the Night League 500 years ago, you are a quick thinker? That was the last time I came to this world. At that time, the man who attacked Taodu Mountain cultivated Mingchen's methods just as Xian Yuan Ji, and he defeated Xian Yuan Ji. Therefore, I gave him a chance. Unfortunately, he missed it. Instead of renewing the contract, he wanted to burn the tree with immortal fire and cut off the connection between the immortal world and this world. However, even though he had magic treasures, it was too stupid for him to withstand the heavenly tribulation with his physical body before he ascended to immortal. In the end, that man did not change anything but left an insignificant legend in this world. You should learn from your predecessor. 
Now, I will give you the same opportunity. If you accept this contract, you will replace the leader of the Minchin sect and take charge of this world. As long as the heavenly contract is intact and there is a constant supply of talented seeds, I won't interfere with anything you do. Whether you implement virtuous or evil policies or believe in one path or thousands of cultivation paths, I don't care. Or, I can make an agreement with someone else and destroy the Night League for him, making his force the next Minchin sect. Now, make your choice. Whoever resigns himself to his fate will live, and whoever goes against it will die. As a human, the most intelligent species in the universe, you should know what's the best choice. How, how could it be like this? Our previous guesses have been wrong? Immortals are not the saviors of this world at all. If we accept the agreement, the Night League will be as bad as Minchin sect, but if we refuse, the Immortal is even more powerful than Patriarch Minchin. The Night League is not ready to fight against such a stronger enemy. Maybe we can temporarily accept it. At least he will allow us to free all the cultivation methods of the world. We can sacrifice the interests of the minority and put up with it for the time being. When the Night League is powerful enough to fight against this immortal, my mind just went blank because of the information flooding in, so I didn't get a chance to talk to you. Stop overthinking. We will do what we hope to do for the past thousand years. Don't forget that we have the heavenly contract now. If we want to free the world, just burn it. Why do you have to listen to that masked man? What a lame excuse, even I could digest all the information. How could his mind go blank given his higher cultivation realm? Right, I almost forgot that he holds the heavenly contract now. I don't even have the right to make a choice. What a stupid choice, the heavenly contract is a treasure of the immortal world. Once it is destroyed, it means that you declare war on me. So what? If I don't even dare to refuse when facing the enemy's threat, my cultivation would make no sense. If this is your final choice, I can only say, you're so stupid. I'll kill you. A sword cultivator at the transmutation stage again? A thousand years ago, sword cultivators attacked me first. I admired their sharpness, but pity that they were limited by the cultivation method of this world. Their power was nothing to me at all. As for Rosefinch Fire, do you think I can't tell what your trump card is after seeing Xian Yuan Ji's body? Divine Sign. Immortal Fire Suppression. With no immortal treasures, even if your shallow Rosefinch Fire can resonate with heaven and earth, it's useless. No matter how powerful it is, I can easily seal it. You made the same choice as that man 500 years ago. So the result will also be the same. The same? How dare you say that? Of course, it's the same. Do you really think no one knows what happened in that battle? You didn't kill the leader of the Night League 500 years ago. Instead, he burned your incarnation to ashes, and I, the current leader of the Night League, am not worse than that legendary man. What? Rosefinch Fire transforms into a sword. How can Rosefinch Fire, which repels all cultivation methods, be compatible with Path of Sword? The Path of Sword only has sharpness, and Rosefinch Fire is useless, huh? What do you think now? I just combined them. Why can't you even stand firm after being attacked by their combination? In fact, you immortals just want to find a servile puppet in this world and let him constantly plunder what you need for you from this world. Thousands of years ago, that damned patriarch Minchin submitted himself to you and obeyed you. Do you want another Minchin sect again this time? But the point is that the Night League has been silent for a thousand years in order to stand up in the dawn of this world one day. The previous leader didn't yield 500 years ago, and we won't yield either. Instead, you should pay for everything you have taken from this world for thousands of years. On your knees. Immortal Incarnation? No big deal. As I expected, with the evil smell of Rosefinch and Path of Sword, the sword becomes sharp and the fire can break the path. Its power is far beyond ordinary flames. My 2000 origin points are not wasted. Upgrading merge with the sword to the extra level is indeed the key to ending this. 
What are you doing? Your contribution to this world deserves my salute, Mr. Sierra. Oh? I thought you would be angry. After all, I slashed the immortal incarnation recklessly, which made us turn against the immortals completely. There will be big trouble in the future. The Night League would never accept the immortal's request, but we were unable to stand up to him. If I were as powerful as you, I might have killed that immortal too. Besides, since you killed him without any hesitation, you must have your reason. The only thing I can do is trust you unconditionally. Ding Lin, you are one of the smartest and most powerful women I have ever met. If you really had trusted me, you wouldn't have set me up. You are so prudent. What I did just now seemed to bring endless trouble, but she didn't show any anger or pretend to be calm. I didn't gain any anger origin points from her. I'm not that smart and strong. I don't deserve your praise, Mr. Sia. She knows very well that because of our previous grudge, I may throw the handle after the blade if she angrily questions me. She has to show weakness so that I, an outsider, would let bygones be bygones and be responsible for the rest. Well, save the courteous words. Let me tell you something you would like to hear. The immortal left only one puppet in this world. As for him, he can't come here immediately. That passage is very special. It would take talented seeds a day and a night to pass it. Therefore, it will also take him a day and a night to come over. There's enough time for me to clean up the mess. As for why I suddenly knew so many things, it's all because of the sky ceiling sword. Sky ceiling sword? Skill mastered, evil secret. Skill, merge with the sword. Current level, LV2 extra level. Current effect, by reversing the cultivation path, refining yourself, and merging yourself with the sword, you can get a sword soul forcibly and control the flying sword at the transmutation stage. After you reach the extra level, the flying sword at the transmutation stage will become part of your body. It will ignore the attributes of the spiritual roots. All your power will be carried by the path of sword. Well, after fighting bastard Mingchen, I had a further understanding of merging with the sword. I can not only ignore the attributes of the spiritual roots, but also force the path of sword to carry the rosefinch fire. I also sensed the information from heaven and earth, which was used to refine the sky ceiling sword and even some vague memory pieces. The materials your real leader used to refine the sky ceiling sword were taken by the Night League when that legendary leader attacked Taudu Mountain. It includes the remains of the heavenly puppet, as well as the fragments of the magic treasures used by other cultivators thousands of years ago. By merging with the sword, I've gained a lot of information from these materials. Although it's incoherent, it is enough for me to cobble together a truth. Thousands of years ago, alien demon invaded the Shanghai world, which is what we call the upper world or the immortal world. However, a master from some unknown camp messed up the world and sent a group of immortals and the devil who were fighting each other to the chaotic void. But these guys were lucky. They didn't stay in the chaotic void for long before they landed in this world. Therefore, the devil was not attracted by this world but brought in by the immortals from the Shanghai world. And I suspect that these so-called immortals are not humans, but some kind of demons. The immortals and the devil who came to this world by accident continued to fight each other, which destroyed the original order of this world, forcing the cultivators to fight back. However, the immortals were more intelligent than the devil, and soon they united with the cultivators in this world and defeated the devil. After the war, the immortals should return to the Shanghai world. However, in the eyes of the immortals, this world at that time was like a garden with great value, which aroused their greed. That led to what happened a thousand years ago. To be more precise, the immortals chose those cultivators and enticed them to betray most of the people who were unwilling to yield. As for the heavenly contract, the so-called immortal's gift was used to help the cultivators who had submitted themselves to the immortals to suppress the resistors. The heavenly puppet was specially made by the immortals to make the people in this world accept their will quickly. As for the tree, it's an iron chain that tightly ties the Shanghai world and this world together. After all, it was an accident for the immortals to come to this world. 
Without the tree, they couldn't even return to their own world, let alone establish a connection between the two worlds. But before the tree was built, some seniors at the transmutation stage could also go to the immortal world after getting through the heavenly tribulation. It's not the same immortal world. According to the memory pieces in the sky ceiling sword, in the years before the tree was built, the immortal world that the cultivators in this world went to was called Xianhuang World, not Shanghai World. In three-dimensional space, the Xianhuang World is the upper world of this world. But after the immortals of Shanghai world came here, they used the heavenly contract to seal off the possibility of ascending to Xianhuang world from this world and then used the tree to forcibly connect Shanghai world to this world. Since then, Shanghai world became the upper world of this world. The only benefit might be that ascending to the immortal world was no longer the exclusive right of the cultivators at the transmutation stage. Even ordinary people could go to the so-called immortal world through the tree with the immortal's permission, just like those talented seeds who were taken away by the Minchin sect. In other words, as long as we cut off the connection between the tree and the immortal world, we'll have a great chance to make this world completely free from the domination of the immortals in the Shanghai world. Huh? What's this? Sure enough, the heavenly tribulation is coming. Forget it. After all, I'm the one who decided to turn against them, so I can't leave the mess on you. They used the tree power to forcibly connect to the heavenly path of this world, locate my aura, and want to kill me by the heavenly tribulation. It's exactly the same as what happened to the former leader 500 years ago. Back then, that nameless leader relied on the Nanlu Red Sealing Cauldron to defeat Patriarch Mingchen and the Immortal Incarnation. Unfortunately, he was killed by the heavenly tribulation when he burned the tree. With thunder tribulation, the tree power can only activate this kind of heavenly tribulation. This time, I'd like to see how powerful it is. Ding Lin, although the heavenly tribulation has targeted me, its aftermath will cause great damage to the surroundings. You go to the city immediately and lead the disciples of the Night League. I will tell you what you should do through Ching'er. Ching'er, you must stay with Ding Lin and never leave. Got it, Mr. Xie. Okay, Master. Don't worry. As for the rest. Demonic art of Moro, the evil smell of Rosefinch. I'll handle it. Indeed, with Thunder Tribulation can destroy the world, but with my path of sword and the evil smell of Rosefinch. I can kill immortals. I was wrong. Most of my attacks were dispersed by the thunderbolts before I hit the tree. With the heavenly tribulation, it's hard for me to destroy the tree. This tribulation is based on the tree. If the tree is not destroyed, the tribulation will never stop. I only have one day left, or the immortal will come in person. But I can't burn the tree after I get through the heavenly tribulation. Normally, there would be 81 heavenly tribulations before ascending to the immortal world, but this heavenly tribulation is aimed at killing me. It won't stop until I die. That legendary leader of the Night League died after taking more than 100 heavenly tribulations. Damn. It's so powerful. How can a heavenly tribulation be so powerful? Unfair. Forget it. I give up. I need to save the origin points. The body I left outside before the battle should work. Mr. Sia. Don't worry. Master is fine. Master has rebirth skill. He won't be killed by the heavenly tribulation. We have something important that needs the help of the Night League. Ding, please follow my instructions. You should. Good. I'm invincible with the eternal body of the devil that was born from tribulation of wisdom and my resurrection technique. I won't be killed by the same attack method after my rebirth on the premise that I have enough blazing thoughts. Demonic art of Moro, eternal body of the devil. Fortunately, this is not the normal heavenly tribulation that includes five elements. It's just a wood thunder tribulation. No matter how powerful it is, its essence remains unchanged. Now the same move can do nothing to me, and the heavenly tribulation can't shake my evil smell. I can finally use my full power to burn the tree without worry. 
the members of the Night League under the tree can continuously supply me with blazing thoughts. As long as their strong emotions are all about me, whether they are fear, excitement, or respect, they will feed the demonic art of Moro. Although the blazing thoughts consume quickly, I should be able to last for a while under the supply of so many people. As long as I destroy the tree in this period, the Night League will win. An hour later. Damn it! The blazing thoughts have been completely used up, and the eternal body of the devil has lost its effectiveness. How come this tree is still alive? Unbelievable. I burned Patriarch Mingchen's tree incarnation out quickly with the evil smell of Rosefinch. It's been an hour, but this tree is still there. The most annoying thing is that the thunderbolts struck both the tree and me, but only I got hurt. Instead of being injured, the tree seems to be recovering. Fuck. Finger of Nirvana. 100 origin points consumed on Finger of Nirvana. I made a mistake. Burning the tree is far more time consuming than I expected. Now only half of it has been burnt, but I have to save myself with the Finger of Nirvana. The supply of the blazing thoughts is almost cut off. This kind of special emotional power needs to be used within the effective range. The members of the Night League not only have to withstand the aftermath of the Heavenly Tribulation, but also maintain a strong emotional output. Under the internal and external confrontation, they have reached their limit. If I want to continue to withstand the Heavenly Tribulation, I can only rely on the Finger of Nirvana to hold on. I came to this small world to collect origin points. How come I've suffered a loss? The problem is that, according to the current situation, if I really burn the heavenly contract, complete the mission in advance and leave, the Night League will undoubtedly bear the anger of the immortals for me, you can't hold on any longer. The wounds you suffered when you fought with the cultivators of the Minchin sect before haven't recovered yet. No, Mr. Sia is still fighting. How can we retreat? Damn it. I won't give up until I die. Without the eternal body of the devil to make me immune to the wood thunder tribulation, I can only rely on the finger of nirvana to recover, and then most of my attacks will be offset by the heavenly tribulation. If I want to destroy the tree completely, I may have to spend more time than before, but my origin points can't hold on for so long. I can only try to use all my power to attack one point on the tree to cut it down. The information left in the memory pieces of the sky ceiling sword doesn't clearly say whether to cut it down or burn it to ashes. After all, the legendary former leader failed. I thought it would be safer to burn it to ashes, but now it seems that I have to choose the other way, sky ceiling. Damn tree. I'll bet on thousands of origin points I got in this small world. I don't believe that I can't cut you down. Title unlocked. Is this my title? I'd forgotten this. The unlocking conditions are so ridiculous. I have to be in a near-death state twice. Title, living weapon. Unlocked. Current effect, you've accepted the resistance of a world. When you are seriously injured and on the verge of death in a battle, the effect of the title will be triggered automatically. Before the end of this battle, your health will be constantly in a near-death state, and no attack can hurt you. Your power is endless. At the same time, your damage will be doubled. To maintain the title effect, you need to consume one origin point per second. If the origin points are used up or you change the title, the effect of this title will be automatically suspended. Unlocking conditions. 1. Fight for resistance and die for resistance. Completed too. After rebirth, you still have the will to resist and are determined to fight to death. Completed and this ability is. As long as the battle is not over, my health will be constantly in a near-death state. Is it the legendary frozen health skill? And my power is endless. It's frozen power skill. And during this period, my damage will be doubled. In this way, even though I can't use the eternal body of the devil and the finger of nirvana to keep me alive, I can destroy the tree under the heavenly tribulation. To completely destroy it, not to cut it down. 
with my current origin points, I can hold on for more than three hours. I don't believe that I can't burn down the remaining part of this tree. Change the title. Activate living weapon. Living weapon is triggered. Is this the power of living weapon? All the pain has disappeared. I can't almost feel my body, but I can still control it. The emotion that has replaced the pain is fighting intent. If I want, I can use the evil smell of Rosefinch to burn the whole world. The power of the thunderbolts has intensified. Are you feeling anxious? Let me see if your heavenly tribulation extinguishes the fire of resistance first. Or my evil smell of Rosefinch isolates this world from your SH asterisk T world first. That day, everyone in Taudu City saw it with their own eyes. The legendary scene that the devil destroyed the world and burned everything. The fire kept burning until nightfall. The fire and lightning intertwined as if all the disasters in the world were coming at that moment. At sunset, the burning fire and the thunder tribulation finally stopped. When I personally saw the remains of the tree and that man holding the sky ceiling sword in his hand as usual, I was finally sure that Mr. Sia is still alive. Great. Mr. Sia made it. The era of the Minchin sect and the immortals was finally over. The tree has been destroyed and Taudu world is scattered in the chaotic void. I don't know how much time it will take to find it back. That sword cultivator who has moral power is so damned. It's so rare. I didn't expect that you would let your prey run away. You're immortal Tiencho, the goddess' favorite immortal, but you have lost your most valuable garden. Well, well, I wonder what others will say when they hear the news. You, you don't have to be so sarcastic. I will apologize to goddess later. Apologize? There's no hurry, goddess is not in the immortal world now. Not long ago, a mysterious young man with great talent and extraordinary means appeared in the territory of Emperor Polaris. Emperor Polaris liked him and accepted him as a disciple. Emperor Polaris is going to give a banquet and has invited the four emperors to attend it. Goddess has set out to attend the apprentice ceremony of the young man named Ji Yun Tao. Ex-Emperor Polaris took a disciple again. In the past hundreds of thousands of years, he didn't accept any disciple. But in the past 1,000 years, he accepted a mysterious disciple every hundred years. It's strange. All these disciples disappeared without a trace. Where do you think they have been? I don't know, and I don't dare to investigate Emperor Polaris. Boring. You finished this mission. The reward is 3,000 origin points. Returning to the main world. Phew. I'm finally back. Master, you spent the rest of your time preaching around Taudu world. I was worried that the remaining enemies from the Minchin sect would come to make trouble, but nothing happened. Even if they want to make trouble, they don't have the power to do that. After all, I've defeated the immortal. And even if someone still doesn't give up, Ding Lin and the others will handle it. I love my body. Speaking of which, the Night League was very efficient. It has only been two months since you won the battle, and the Night League has completely taken place of the Minchin sect. After all, the Night League has been preparing for this for many years, and they have made full preparations in the cities near Taudu City in advance. Naturally, they can restore order quickly. You're right. I've been with Deng for another two months, and now I feel that I'm as strong as Mei Lang of that evil woman. Hasn't Sky Sealing Sword come back with you? I really like that sword. Sky Sealing Sword, well, there's a special situation, Mr. Xie. Are you determined to leave? Could you stay longer? I know you're worried that the immortals will come back and destroy this world. But without the tree, it is almost impossible for the immortals to step into this world now. We have done what we can, and the rest can only depend on the will of heaven. What's more, it's not up to me whether I can stay or not in this world. As I said before, I also need to deal with my own business here. Now that everything has been completed, I'll leave after destroying the heavenly contract. Leave? 
Are you going to return to the mysterious Xin Huang world you mentioned before? Ha ha ha, in the past two months, I did plan to go to another world to have a look. However, I can't find the passage to other worlds after the tree was burned down. Perhaps it is because the thunder tribulation has consumed the power of this world to open the passage, and the power needs to be slowly accumulated. I can only wait for the next opportunity. As for where I'm going, you don't have to know. You won't understand even if I tell you. Unless you can ascend to another world by yourself one day, there's no point in knowing so much. After I leave, Xie Yan's body will die again, and the shell of the sky ceiling sword will also be left. This is the legacy of Xie Yan, the real leader of the Night League. You can deal with it according to his behest. Although I am the one who fought with you until the end, he is the one who bet everything and had worked with the Night League for years. Compared to me, he deserves to be remembered in this world. I see. Then I'll keep the shell of the sky ceiling sword for you too. If there is a talented disciple of the Night League, maybe he can inherit this sword in the future. If there is no one who can inherit it, I'll take this sword with me when I ascend to the upper world. Maybe I can return it back to you personally. Haha, <laughs> if you ascend to the Xian Huang world, you probably won't see me. But I can't tell. No one knows what will happen in the future. To be honest, as a partner or a subordinate, Ding Lin is really reliable. Leaving the shell of the sky ceiling sword to her, I feel like I can get it back sooner or later, special situation. What do you mean, master? Don't worry. I'll give you a surprise later. Let me check the fruits of my victory first. Current stage, the third level of the pre-celestial stage, the second level of the pre-celestial stage transmutation stage. Origin points, 21,346.79,584 skills mastered, expand. I had a good harvest in the small world this time. Although I almost used up all the origin points when I withstood the Wood Thunder Tribulation with Living Weapon, I collected them back in the remaining two months and even got more. Unfortunately, it's an ancient world. It's limited in all respects. When can the system allow me to travel to the interstellar civilization world with a population explosion? It would be better if there's a galaxy-level internet so I can get millions of origin points by live broadcasting. Now I have so many origin points. I'm going to upgrade some of my cultivation methods. Sorry. You don't have enough origin points to upgrade. What the fuck? More than 20,000 origin points are not enough for me to upgrade a cultivation method? This inflation is not right, system. Is the principle of using the origin points to upgrade cultivation methods the same as the principle of using the aura to nourish them? The more cultivation methods I have, the more the aura will be diverted, and the weaker the moisturizing effect. So the more cultivation methods I have, the more origin points will be needed for upgrading? I don't think it's reasonable. I couldn't use most of my skills in the small world, but I've still used a lot of origin points to upgrade one skill. In the remaining two months, I also found a few treasures. Unfortunately, it seemed that the Rosefinch fire was too powerful. After I refined it into the evil smell of Rosefinch, the demonic art of Moro could take so much power for the time being, which made me unable to refine other strange treasures in a short time. What a pity. Skill Mastered, Evil Immortals. Golden Scripture, Swordsmanship of Five Elements. Current Level, LV5. Current Effect. It's the precious secret method of the evil sword cultivators in Taodu World to refine their initial flying swords. Now it can be refined into the initial flying sword at the transmutation stage suitable for your spiritual roots. But influenced by the evil secret skill, merging with the sword, you cannot reach the same level as your initial flying sword. Skill mastered, evil secret skill, merging with the sword. Skill mastered, evil secret. Skill, merging with the sword. Current level, current level, LV2 extra level. Current effect. By reversing the cultivation path, refining yourself, and merging yourself with the sword, you can get a sword soul forcibly and control the flying sword at the transmutation stage. After you reach the extra level, the flying sword at the transmutation stage will become part of your body. 
it will ignore the attributes of the spiritual roots. All your power will be carried by the path of sword. This skill is in freeze mode because the flying sword is in an abnormal state. As I expected, sky ceiling sword is in an abnormal state now. It's okay. I'll check my spiritual roots first. The system gave me the metal spiritual root and the water spiritual root, which is the same as when I was in the small world. Spiritual root is a completely independent skill in the main world. It has no effect on not only the demonic art of Moro, but also the finger of flowery swords. Good. With the spiritual roots, I can feel that there's psychic power in the main world as well, which is even stronger than that in Taudu world. But, it's impossible for me to resonate with heaven and earth and let psychic power surge outside my body. The rules of the main world are too strict. Speaking of power accumulated in my body, the cultivation methods in Tao Du world are obviously inferior to the martial arts of the main world. This kind of method, which can only burst out its power by resonating with heaven and earth, is very useless in the main world. Unless, unless I can take control of the sky ceiling sword again and restore my transmutation stage cultivation base. Come out, sky ceiling sword. Master, is this sky ceiling sword? I thought you left it in the small world. I left its shell in the small world. As for its core, namely the transmutation sword energy, it has been integrated with my soul, so it can naturally follow me back. Although it's not complete, it's also at the transmutation stage, which is enough for me to merge with the sword. Does that mean that you can create a new sky ceiling sword in the main world? Theoretically, I can do it. But the sword in the small world was refined by the original Xie Yan who made Night League put all the effort into collecting the precious materials from heaven and earth. I'm not worried that there are no suitable materials in the main world, but it will take time to collect them. By the way, without its shell, I feel that the sky ceiling sword is more strange to me. It's light in my hand, and I even can't feel it. I have to refine a shell for it as soon as possible. Although there is a method to refine the sword, I haven't personally practiced it. I don't know if I can do it well only by relying on the memory of the small world. I'm afraid that the transmutation one sword energy will become a waste if I refine it into a rubbish. Master, are you going to start refining the sword now? Of course not, Ching. Don't interrupt me. I have to deal with it carefully. I have to think it over. But it has gone into that sword. Hey, stop. This is a short sword used to decorate the room and exorcise evil spirits. It only costs two tails of silver. If you are bound to this rubbish, I will cry immediately. Huh? It's broken? Oh, I was so anxious that I forgot a thing. The original Xie Yin didn't refine it successfully in one go. He also made countless useless swords. In other words, the sword energy of the sky ceiling sword would not be bound by its shell. The sky ceiling sword carries the realm with its energy and the path authority with its shell. The two of them complement each other but are also independent. A shell of a sword that is not as good as the original shell of the sky ceiling sword can't display its full strength, but that's all. Listen up, you must follow the rules when you are with Master. You can't lose control and cause trouble to Master. Otherwise, Master will beat you hard on the head. This sword collapsed because its material was too poor to withstand the transmutation sword energy. It shouldn't be too difficult to find a sword that can be used for a while, right? This is good. I can slowly collect and test the precious treasures from heaven and earth. Maybe one day I can break through and make a new sky ceiling sword at the extra level. As for now, I'll send Sky 7 and Sky 12 to find some superior casting materials and try to refine a new Sky Ceiling Sword. Five days later, Cold Iron Mine, Crimson Iron Essence, and Dark Chalcedony, the quality of this batch is much better than that of the last one. It seems that the Bloodthirst sect is very rich. Although these materials are not unparalleled, ordinary sword casting masters would envy me. Unfortunately, the hardness of the shell is still not strong enough to carry the transmutation sword energy of the sky ceiling sword even for a while. I can't go on like this. Maybe I have to take a risk to try that thing. Master, is it really okay to refine it with the evil seed? 
It's very dangerous. The evil seed is an extremely dangerous thing for any living creature, which will completely distort its will. However, when it is used to refine weapons, its danger is reduced to the minimum. Because weapons are dead things, and dead things will not be eroded by the evil will. In addition to distorting living creatures' will, the evil seed can also help to strengthen power. These sword casting materials can only barely carry the transmutation sword energy of the sky sealing sword after being strengthened by the evil seed. Even if the sky sealing sword becomes an evil sword, I can still control it. Moreover, with the shell of the sword, the evil power can hardly affect me. Just like when you swallowed up the smell of beauties, I was rarely invaded again. It's working. It's almost done. Born of metal, take earth as its mother, mix water and fire, and gather chi to refine wood, sword of the five elements. Metal merges with water. This feeling is the same as the feeling when I was in the small world. It is the feeling of merging with the sword. This is the path of sword of the main world. This is too exaggerated. If the path of sword in Taudu world is like a small planet, then the path of sword in the main world is undoubtedly a giant fixed star. The difference between the two is impossible to calculate. Path of sword in the main world. Path of sword in Taudu world. Sect leader said that although the aura at level 7 of the pre-celestial stage can't show up in the world, as long as I find my own path, I can feel it. But now, even though I have found the path of sword in the main world, I still can't feel any aura at level 7 of the pre-celestial stage. Along the way, I did find that unless the realm matches, I can't feel any different level of aura of heaven and earth. I can only barely distinguish the level of second-hand aura in the body of someone at the pre-celestial stage. Is it because I'm not a native of the main world? Imparting Elder and you said that aura is helpful for cultivation. I've begun my cultivation a long time ago, but I've never got the benefit from the aura. Others will first perceive the aura of heaven and earth at the next level and then improve their realm. On the contrary, I improve my realm with the help of the system first and then sense the aura of heaven and earth that matches my realm. Moreover, I can only sense it, but I can't use it to improve my cultivation level. Damn. I thought I'm not inferior to Qin Shinsi and Xia Daoyun in terms of talent, but my normal cultivation speed is not as fast as theirs in any case. It should be caused by the aura. Damn it! I can be invincible by relying on the system. I've combined my spirit and body. Although I combined my spirit and body by cutting corners, I still made it. Now I'll see. With the path in the main world and the transmutation stage path authority in Taudu world, how much power of path of sword of the main world I can stir up? This feeling, swords clank and the sound resonates with heaven and earth, it can't be wrong. The sword energy soared into the sky. It seems that another sword cultivator starts his path. Interesting. Although the path of sword clanks, the sword intent is imperceptible. In other words, can someone who hasn't reached level 7 of the pre-celestial stage be recognized by the path of sword? But, I have an appointment and I can't break it. It's rare for someone to get the path of sword. I'm looking forward to seeing that guy in the future. Cultivation also includes mind cultivating. No matter how the outside world changes, I have to be firm in my heart. This is the highest level of mind cultivating. Wei, is that the sound of sword you mentioned before? Although it's a slight fluctuation, I think I felt it. You were born to be a talented sword cultivator. Even if you don't have enough cultivation base in swordsmanship, it's not surprising that you can feel it. You have to remember this feeling. Every time you feel it, it means there is a new powerful sword cultivator in the world. Wei. Are you going to compete with this man? We still have some business to do. He can make the sound of sword. I'm afraid he has reached level 7 of the pre-celestial stage and is not someone I can challenge now. However, sword cultivators will come to this mountain one day to test their power. 
But this sound of sword is quite different from the one made by my master when he started his path. It's a bit strange. Could it be that this man's swordsmanship is very special and different from others? Maybe, I just feel that compared with the sound of sword made by my master, the sound of sword made by this guy seems to be weak. Great, master. You've become a sword master at the transmutation stage again. But why did you suddenly stop the abnormal weather caused by you? If I didn't stop, the new refined shell of the sky ceiling sword would explode. It's the first time that I've connected to the path of sword in the main world. I wanted to make a big noise, but I overestimated myself. What's more, not only the path of sword, but also the supreme power in the main world is unusually heavy. Although I have relied on the transmutation stage cultivation base of the small world to help me combine my spirit and body, that's all I can do. If people at level 7 of the pre-celestial stage in the main world can easily drive the supreme power I sensed, I can only say that the transmutation stage power in the small world is far from that in the main world, just like the difference between a world-class university and an unknown diploma mill. Although they are both universities nominally, there is a huge gap between them. Do you mean that it's just an inferior cultivation method that won't work? Of course not. It can be used to bluff. Besides, if I find better materials to further improve Sky Ceiling Sword and completely restore its power, it will be more powerful than now. But I don't think it will be far more powerful. After all, in the same circumstances, the power of the Path Authority is definitely far inferior to the power of combining spirit and body. I still need to continue to upgrade my cultivation method and improve my cultivation base. As for now, although the transmutation stage cultivation base may not increase my combat power a lot, people below level 7 of the pre-celestial stage can't see through my power when I use Path of Sword to carry my martial arts. What's more, with the new shape of the Sky Ceiling Sword and the special ability after adding Evil Seed, I suddenly got a good idea for my trip to Shilan Kingdom. Maybe I can solve the expected trouble in one shot. Hulu Town a few days ago, several elders of the Shinma sect besieged and killed Mr. Hong's disciples, so Mr. Hong led a group to kill the family members of those elders to avenge his disciples. It's an obvious trap, but he even tried to drag me in. What an idiot. Let them be. I'm so glad to see that pre-celestial masters die anyway. And when I lift the Shinma oath, it's about time to take action as planned, but recently, that woman seemed to be quite suspicious of me. Should I say she is quite discerning? Although I have concealed something about the Shilan Kingdom, it has nothing to do with the sect at all, which can be used to dispel her suspicion. Oh, it seems that my senior brother has arrived. Hey, little ghost, I sensed the Chi downstairs. I knew it must come from you. You, you came so soon? I have always been punctual. Now that you are here, why you is in the room, right? Yes, but Master said you couldn't get in yet. Stay outside for. Why can't I get in given our relationship? Don't make a fuss here, girl. Why you, here I am to meet you. I knew Chinger wouldn't be able to stop you. Just stand by the door. It will take me a while to get it done. Are you, disguising yourself as Shilan Wei? It's rare to see you do such a thing. Do you need my advice? After all, Shilan Wei is a princess, and her makeup and jewelry are very particular. All right. Come behind the screen and let me do it in front of you. I'll put on whatever jewelry you choose, okay? Uh, he is using his true face. If I see his face, wouldn't I be killed on the spot? Ahem, I got it wrong. You are child thousand faces. You don't need my advice about pretending to be a woman, glad you know that. If you have nothing to do, you can tell me the information about the Shilan Kingdom. After you and I parted in Shimo Dark Tunnel, I've never met anyone from the Keshwaxi sect or the Chiliang sect, so it's hard to obtain relevant information. But I know you. You probably wouldn't only rely on what I got. So tell me what you have got. You always try to take advantage of me, but speaking of what I've gained, I did receive the latest news from the informant a few days ago. About half a year ago, the Shilan Kingdom went to war again. 
The two sides fought badly in the Iqua area for more than 10 days and then ceased fire for unknown reasons. After that, the rebel army in the former royal family relied on the imperial city and Shilio City, an important border town, to confront each other. According to intelligence, quite a few mechanic puppets were set into the palace openly. As for Shilio City, some people saw the disciples of the Chiliang sect showing up there. The Keshwaxi sect was originally located in the northwest, and the Chiliang sect in the southwest got the winding route leading to the eastern regions. Although it is not long after the end of the nine sects meeting, these two sects must have sent their disciples back to the Shilan kingdom. According to the information sent back, the Keshwaxi sect should be in the charge of their vice sect leader, and the Chiliang sect should be managed by their grand elder. I heard that these two have both reached the level 4 pre-celestial stage recently, so we need to be cautious. And, our main opponent this time is the Keshwaxi sect. Shilan Wei's mother was caught by the rebel leader Tu Lanja. He is ambitious, but does things without any plans. He killed the royal family without scruples in the civil strife and then forcibly made the former queen his puppet in case of unstable rule. He himself took over the power as a regent, but he was unable to convince the public after all, which gave the nobles some room to fight back. It is not difficult to deal with this person. The problem is that the masters of the Keshwaxi sect are in the palace as well. It is not going to be easy if we want to force our way into the palace to save the queen. We can only outfox them. The Shinma oath was about saving Shilan Wei's mother. As long as we get that queen out, the oath would be resolved, so the most critical step in this plan is to take her out of the palace safely. You are talking as if you have already had a plan. You have said so much, but what about the Shilan treasury? Don't forget that we have more than one purpose. We have the key now, and we only need to know the location of the treasury. The treasury is the top secret of the Shilan royal family. It is difficult for my informant to gain access to such in-depth information. We can only rely on you to find it out in the guise of Shilan Wei. But you are right to some extent. I've got a plan. A long time ago, I instigated one of two Lanja's shadow guards. The previous information about the Shilan kingdom came from her. Unfortunately, we are too far apart, so it is often more than half a year before the information reaches me. We'll have to have a further investigation during this trip there. In the beginning, I intended to use this pawn to find the queen who Tu Lanja imprisoned and rescue her once and for all. However, it came to nothing. So I could only use Shilan Wei's identity to look into it according to the method you told me. Now that the queen has reappeared, I can use this pawn again. As long as she can get close to the queen, she can have a chance to save her. With Shilan Wei attracting all the forces, it is not difficult to rescue a puppet queen from the palace. Once the Shin Ma Oath is lifted, it doesn't matter if we get to the Shilan treasury, Yin Ryu is probably thinking about that. She said she would work with me in the Shilan kingdom, but actually, we have different purposes. If I force her to deal with the Shilan treasury, my hands will be tied. But I can't kick her away at this moment. It's better to take a step back and let her go to the palace to collect information so that I can start the plan alone as Shilan Wei. Your plan is surely fine, but there will inevitably be a risk of missing the opportunity if we get down to the Shilan treasury after we lift the Shin Ma Oath. Why don't we split up? You may go to the palace, and I will go to Shilio City. The Chiliang sect is far away from the Imperial City, probably because they were at a disadvantage in the battle for the Shilan treasury. I'll go there to work with them as Shilan Wei and use them to fight the Keshwaxi sect for us. Work with them? But those two sects have obviously invested heavily in this place. Only with Shilan Wei's identity alone, how will you make them help you? What if they disagree and fight you? Won't you be exposed? Don't worry about that. If that really happens, I will just fight back with one strike. It will be fine if they can take it. But if not, they will naturally be willing to have a good talk with me. Come on. You're taking this lightly. The Chiliang sect is made of cruel and vicious women. You want to scare them only with a strike? That is really. What the hell was that? 
I almost thought I've gone chi deviation. This sword is too evil. Wait a minute. The red sword, the strange aura, and the familiar words. Why you, you, are you pretending to be the disciple of the Wandao sect? I won't say that. But if the others make up a story like that, it's none of my business. Origin point gain shock, 0.01 points yen ryu. The disciple of the Wandao sect is indeed mysterious, but the nine sects meeting was over not long ago and Miss Wei has appeared in the Shimo Dark Tunnel before. Do you not worry that the people of the Chiliang sect and the Keshwaxi sect have met her? First of all, I will never admit that I am a disciple of the Wandao sect. Secondly, I'm doing this just in case. It doesn't matter to me even if they don't believe my identity. This sword is quite evil and can be used as a deterrent. But if you fight with it, can it really press those pre-celestial masters' internal power and cause chi deviation? Without these features, it seems to be less convincing if you want to pretend to be a disciple of the Wandao sect. Do you believe I can cause the same effect without hurting them? Actually, I can even do better than a real disciple of the Wandao sect. It won't work only with Sky Sealing Sword, but what if the Finger of Flowery Swords is used through the Path of Sword? Well, Evil Sword Spirit with Sky Sealing Sword which has refined the Evil Seed, ha, it's super powerful. And it cost 1 billion origin points to remove the side effect of the Evil Seed, but it doesn't mean its destruction has the same value. Those fighters with Evil Seeds in the boxing world were all fine since they refused the Seeds reshaping. So, even if the evil seed has been refined into Sky Sealing Sword, it doesn't necessarily mean the one who is cut by it will go mad, especially for those pre-celestial masters in the main world. At most, they will be slightly invaded and intimidated by the evil will. But they will be fine as long as they are not too stupid to accept the invasion or to force themselves to fight against the evil will like forever with Sky Sealing Sword in their bodies for an hour or even longer. But for me, it's enough that even they're in a trance for a moment. Of course, I believe in your ability, but what if someone from the Wendao sect finds this out later? You can change your look as you like, so you don't need to care about this. But I, what are you afraid of? Didn't I tell you to split up? In the worst case, you can say that you are deceived as well. I don't care if you're on my long victim list. Besides, the royal blood to open the treasury needs to be collected from Shilan Wei. You've kept her corpse, and I don't bother to ask anything. You go to get it done before going to the Imperial City. Take this. Take the living corpse leech out by yourself. Well, I'm flattered as you trust me so much this time. Trust is the foundation of cooperation. How much we can gain from this trip to the Shilan Kingdom depends on our cooperation. But we are acting separately and in order to contact each other easily. I will have Chinger stay by your side. One month later the northwestern border of the Great Han Kingdom. I didn't expect it would take so much effort to create some blood with the living corpse leech, but I got Shilan Wei's blood anyway. So the key to the treasury is ready. Well, why you should have arrived at this moment. Speaking of him, I wonder how many tricks he's kept up his sleeve. Can he imitate the cultivation techniques of all the nine evil sects? Not to mention other sects, with this little female ghost, he has no problem pretending to be a disciple of the Chongling sect. Do not bully Ching'er. Gee, why you? Little ghost, why are you still so afraid of me? Haven't you learned anything? Not bully. I, I am not afraid of you. Master ordered me to keep an eye on you. All I should do is watch you do everything. Don't try to talk to me. Actually, I'm really curious about you. You're such a weak little thing, but it seems like you have some secret. Back then, you suddenly appeared by my side several times. How did you do that? Tell me about it. Ugh. Don't come any closer. I'm not weak. I have become much stronger. Even if I can't defeat you, at least I'm better than Mei Lang. Oh? You are quite arrogant. How about Mei Lang have a duel with you? If you can beat her, I will never make fun of you anymore. And Mei Lang wants to play with Ching'er, right? Well, bring it on. I have already been promoted, 
and I must be stronger than Mei Lang. It's better to bring my ghosts along. After all, they are also part of my power, Huai Yu must have his intention of keeping this little ghost by my side. Fortunately, she doesn't seem clever. I can use Mei Lang to figure out her strength so that I may know Huai Yu's plan. Now I have the key to the treasury. Even if he isn't Ji Yi Huai Yu and doesn't haunt by the Shima Oath, at least I don't need to worry that he will clean out the treasury and leave before saving the queen. Master, that bad woman is staring at the living corpse leech and sneering. She must be planning something. Is it really okay to leave the treasury key to her? It's fine. I know her. She wouldn't let me have the key, otherwise she would be completely useless. This is her limit. She will never make a concession even if she kicks me away and does it on her own. In that case, it's better to be generous. After all, with you there, I can be teleported to her at any time. Yen Ryu can't make any fuss. Got it. Don't worry, master. I have deceived her with my acting skills and made her believe I'm a soft ghost. There will be no problem monitoring her. Hey, Mei Lang is ready. I'll go fight her. Fight? What the hell is she doing? Don't ruin my business. Shilio City. One on one? What the hell is this girl doing? According to Yen Ryu, Shilio City is the base of the old forces of the Shilan Kingdom. After the Imperial City and most of the territory were seized by the rebels, the forces that are still loyal to the former royal family took here as their base. For the past two years, they have been trying to find the remaining members of the royal family, and the portraits of Shilan Wei, the missing princess, have been posted everywhere in the city. It makes my plan a lot easier. Stop. Take off your veil. Who are you? Where do you come from? What are you doing in town? I am a native of the Shilan Kingdom, and I have been wandering in the Great Han Kingdom for many years. I just want to go back to my hometown. As for my identity, why your face? Why you are? Guess the portraits posted all over the city are enough to show my identity, huh? Princess Shilam Wei? Princess? He called this girl princess? Isn't Princess Shilam Wei already dead? How, how is it possible? Everyone said that you've already, but your face, your face is exactly the same as the one in the portrait. This face, it can't be wrong. I have served her highness personally. I won't take the wrong person. Princess Shilan Wei is really back. Is she really the princess? So, the bloodline of the former king has not been cut off? Your highness. Her highness is back. The chaos in the Shilan kingdom will surely end soon. The city lord must be very happy to know this news. Your highness... Please follow me to meet him. Well. All right. Please take me to meet the Lord here. The City Lord's Mansion, Shilio City. Your Highness, please wait for a minute. I'm going to inform the City Lord. Humph, this place has indeed been secretly controlled by the Chiliang sect. They have already arranged everything as soon as I got in town. Looks like they care so much about the only remaining member of the Shilan royal family as the outsiders. However, they may only be suspicious of my identity as Shilan Wei. Right now, they are very likely hiding in the dark and watching me, just waiting to confirm if I'm the real Shilan Wei. As for who is going to confirm that, your highness, you are really back. Shilan Che, noble of the Shilan kingdom. Of course, it's the Shilan noble who cooperates with them. This face, you are indeed the princess. That's great. Your highness, I knew you must be alive. Back then, the rebels broke into the palace, and the former king and the others were all killed. But only you, your highness, snatched the hose to rush out of the siege, fled into the desert, and disappeared since then, but I've always firmly believed that you would be safe as you are determined and courageous. Now the facts speak for themselves. Thank goodness. Eh? Your Highness. Why do you keep silent? Is it because of the long journey? 
I'm going to, before this, I want to ask you something. Who are you? Your Highness, don't you recognize me? I'm Shilan Che, the Lord of Shilio City, from a collateral branch of the royal family. I'm your relative in some way. Shilan Che, Shilan Che, I don't have any impression of this name. You all call me Princess Shilan Wei, and I guess that this may be my identity. Pity that I have no memory of my past and everything about the Shilan Kingdom. In no memory? Why would you say that, Your Highness? It's a long story. The other day, I was seriously injured and fell into a coma in the border area of the Great Han Kingdom. When I woke up, I lost all my memory. The person who saved me told me that he saved my life from a group of Shilan people. If he was right, I should have escaped from the Shilan Kingdom. Due to my memory loss at that time, I was instinctively scared of the Shilan Kingdom, so I dare not come back. The one who saved me took a fancy to my aptitude and intended to take me as his disciple. Being homeless, I naturally worshipped him as my martyr and followed him to the Great Han Kingdom. Since then, I have been practicing swordsmanship with my master. A few months ago, I suddenly woke up from a dream and recalled some sporadic memories. There were killings in the palace, and the rebels emerged and flooded in. I narrowly escaped from the Imperial City. Although I didn't completely restore all memories, from that day on, a figure of a woman appeared in my mind from time to time. Whenever I looked at the jewelry I took with me, I felt an inexplicable desire to meet her again. That's why I bid farewell to my master and returned to the Shilan Kingdom from the Great Han Kingdom alone to figure out my past and find the person I can't forget, bought before entering the city. Ordinary disguises are easy. But according to the habit of Child Thousand Faces, if he wants to be someone, he would go through a long period of understanding and analysis of that person and grasp all kinds of information to make his disguise perfect. Back then, every detail of monk excellence was recorded. However, Shilam Wade died suddenly, and there was no time for Child Thousand Faces to get anything. In character record, only her appearance, voice characteristics, and other information required for the disguise are preserved. It is not difficult to make myself look like her, but there is no way to restore Shilan Wei's mannerisms, that being the case, it would be better to just pretend to lose all my memories. At least I can avoid their suspicion in case of any holes in my story. As long as there is an irrefutable explanation, no matter if they believe me right now, my plan will be. The person you miss must be Queen Saya. So even if you've lost your memories, the bond between you and your mother cannot be erased. This necklace must be a precious gift from your mother. Holy crap. They just buy it? I still have lots of stories to tell. Is everyone in the Shilan Kingdom so simple and naive? But on second thought, it makes sense. The disguise technique of Child Thousand Faces is beyond ordinary people's imagination. Appearing in front of them with this face is enough to prove my identity. I've been overthinking, eh? Anyway, it's great you come back, your highness. As long as you open the Shilan treasury as soon as possible and send away those two scourges, the chaos in the Shilan kingdom will eventually be settled. Scourges? You mean? My lord. Ugh, ugh. Hey, what's the matter? Why did he suddenly fall? H. He. He was being long-tongued. Why did he call his partner scourges? That was wounding, Yao Zhu, an elder of the Chiliang sect, at the second level of the pre-celestial stage. Without our support behind the scenes, the entire Shilan kingdom would have already been occupied by rebels. Where could you stay without Shilio City in that case, your highness? Who are you? What did you do to him? Greetings, your highness. I'm Yao Zhu from the Chiliang sect. I'm not to blame for this. It's all because the city lord talked too much. Our sect only wants to cooperate with the Shilan royal family for mutual benefits, but he tried to slander us in front of you. My boy got irritated, so he avenged me. Please forgive him, your highness. But then again, we made an agreement with the city lord that he would reward us with the Shilan treasury for helping him fight against the rebels. 
because the royal family of the Shilan kingdom was all dead, he was unable to open the treasury and fulfill the promise. But you just came back in time, your highness. As long as you cooperate, the rest will be much easier. Cooperate? How dare you, your highness, calm down. She is a member of an evil sect, and she is vicious. The city lord could do nothing but only obey them. You're finally back. Please don't. How rude. How dare you intervene as a mere maid. Yet, she is right. My sect, an evil sect from the Great Han Kingdom, is not something that the mere Shilan Kingdom can offend. Don't waste your time on the feeble martial arts you learned from a nobody. Do as I say. It would be best for you and the Shilan Kingdom. Is an evil sect from the Great Han Kingdom that great? A. Eh? Mantra of Insect God Golden Scorpion Summoning. Penetrate. Counterattack. Spurt. My master once told me, as long as I hold my sword in my hand, I don't need to be afraid of anyone from the nine evil sects in the Great Han Kingdom. How could it be? My internal power turned to hurt me? What on earth did I just see? It was beyond description. Was it an illusion? Or some kind of poison that can make me mad? This is incredible. Origin point gained fear, 0.01 points Yao Zhu. Origin point gained shock, 0.01 points Yao Zhu. Origin point gained shock, 0.01 points Ueli. I just stabbed her and attacked her mentally with the evil will. Then, I used finger of flowery swords through path of sword so that Miss Yan's sword spirit and the new sky ceiling sword's power could get through her shield of internal power. And then, I controlled her own internal power to hit her with the help of Yao's sword spirit. It looks easy for me to do that despite its complexity since I hardly used my own internal power. With no big movements, it worked well, though. It looks like I could easily beat a pre-celestial master from a major sect with just one blow. What kind of technique on earth did you just use? It's none of your business. Detoxify them and get out of the Shilan kingdom you can survive only in this way. You think you can tame the Chiliang sect just by defeating me? Makes sense. But what if I hang your body from the city gate? Guess that will be a clear sign saying you guys are not welcome here no matter how powerful you are. Why do we have to go to extremes, princess? Just calm down. It is negotiable, no? Yao Zhu is too weak to see through your real background. Well, look at your red sword and your arrogant tone. And you could even suppress our internal power. Hueli, Grand Elder of the Chiliang Sect, at level 4 pre-celestial stage. Are you coming from the Wandao Sect, the greatest evil sect in the Han Empire? Well, I'll say that once again. It's none of your business. No. It has something to do with me. If you really come from the Wendao sect, you are my peer since we both come from evil sex. This must be something wrong with her sword. When I just twined the countless spider silk around it, it sent a chill down my spine somehow. Besides, why couldn't I feel any power over her when she was giving such a powerful blow? I can't see through her real realm. Does she use some unique technique of the Wendao sect? But if not, we won't let go of you given your arrogant remarks. Let me try feeling her out again. What do you want then? Stand up for your peer and take my blow? What's this? She seems so powerful, I can't feel any power on her, but my internal power seems to be suppressed somehow. And her aura even made my hair stand on end. Is this the legendary pressure that the technique of the Wendao sect could cause on people from the other evil sects? Origin point gain shock, 0.01 points Ueli. Origin point gain shock, 0.01 points Ueli. So, she's really a disciple from the Wendao sect? Calm down, please. I never meant that. It was our fault for stirring up the conflict. Let's make peace and I'll handle this. I can't gain anything if I win, but it will be embarrassing if I lose, never mind. I'll make a concession for now. And it may even be a good thing for us. Handle? How? 
Looks like I'm pretty lucky that they've never seen a real disciple of the Wandao sect. Bravo. The new sky ceiling sword was just finished so it lacks power. When I use my other techniques through Path of Sword, I can hide my power thus to hide my real realm, but I can just use 80% of my strength at most. I may even lose if I don't want to expose my real identity and give up the Shilan treasury. Anyway, the evil sword spirit matches the evil seed so well. With all my power, the evil wool in the sky ceiling sword just complemented the evil sword spirit so well, making me even look like the evil god, superior to her, which intimidated her. It won't work if I fight her since I'm not really that powerful, though. Well. Huili. I don't know how you have the nerve to call me. Didn't I tell you to treat the city lord with civility? How dare you take it upon yourself to poison them? Now get out of here and get your own punishments according to the rules of our sect. I'm sorry for all this. I went back for the nine sex meeting and thus handed over the affairs of Shilio City to Yao Zhu. But I didn't expect her to do such a reckless thing. I'm so. Drop the act. My master has told me that none of the pre-celestial disciples would be absent from the nine sex meeting. How could she stay here for temporary management at that time? Just cut to the chase and detoxify them. Please hear me out. Things differ in every sect. How could I lie about such a thing? Besides, the poison on them has long been removed. Please rest assured. In that case, I will let go of you. Get out of the Shilan kingdom with your men. I'll kill whoever from the Chiliang sect shows up here from now on. Hold on. We cooperated with the city lord and got into a win-win situation. As the result, we could stay here. And now you want us to leave? You want to put Shilio City in danger again? Cooperation under threat of poison? You reached the so-called agreement with the city lord just by force. As for the chaos of the Shilan kingdom, since I'm back, I will surely handle all this for my people. Sounds good. But are you sure you can save the queen on your own? It won't be hard given my power. I'm afraid it's not as easy as you think. The rebels occupying the imperial city now got the Keshwaxi sect, the fourth evil sect in the Han Empire, behind them. Your sex technique can suppress that of the other evil sects, but I'm afraid it won't work on mechanical puppets. Besides, the Keshwaxi sect is more powerful than my sect and is ideally situated in the northwest. If they are determined to fight you, you can hardly beat them yourself since they'll have constant reinforcements. But if you continue to cooperate with us, things will be easier anyway. Despite the two sects intervention, the chaos in the Shilan kingdom is fundamentally caused by the Shilan treasury. Without it, the Keshwaxi sect won't stay here anymore. As long as you cooperate with us and open the Shilan treasury, we guarantee that we can make the Keshwaxi sect believe the treasures have got lost and thus get out of your country. And we only need one of the items in the treasury as payment. Get your country back at the price of only one item. What a good deal. Well, very well. She hesitates as I thought. Despite her identity as a disciple of the Wandao sect, she's just a young girl in her early 20s who lost her homeland and memory. With a little comfort, it's not difficult to win her over. Nailed it. Now I completely seize the initiative. The Shilan Kingdom. The major stumbling block this time is the two evil sections if only their level 4 pre-celestial masters were sent here, it's not difficult to handle one of the two sects only but it would be troublesome to fight two at the same time. And if I offered to cooperate with one of them, they would stay alert or even plot against me. The best way is to make one of them offer to cooperate with me instead. Both of them would want to win me over as long as I seem to be easily manipulated. The best hunter always pretends to be easy prey. The Chiliang sect would ask me to open the Shilan treasury in exchange since they think I'm eager to save the queen and regain power over the Shilan kingdom. In this case, no matter which of them knows about the location of the entrance of the treasury, the Chiliang sect will try their best to take me there. As long as I can open the treasury, I'll be close to getting it. I need to talk to the city lord about this first to see if you are trustworthy. Sure. We'll get out of here for the time being. 
The city lord knows how to contact us if you make up your mind. Besides, stop calling me the disciple of the Wandao sect. My master must have got a reason for not telling me my sex name. But I don't know the so-called Wandao sect and it has nothing to do with me. Got it. Guess that's why the Wandao sect can stay mysterious. We'll keep it a secret. And I'll call you by your status, your highness. That's the whole story. I didn't expect you to be so powerful after your cultivation these years, your highness. It's a good thing for the Shilan kingdom. I've talked him a lesson, but I still can't figure out what is going on here. Why are the Keshwaxi sect and the Chiliang sect here? And what is the so-called Shilan treasury? Why does it seem like everyone's here for it? I only know a little about this. Back then, two Lanja revolted, broke into the palace, and killed almost all of the royal family. Later, rumor had it that a lot of cultivators from an evil sect helped the rebels. Not long after the fall of the imperial city, the Chiliang sect came to us and claimed that they would help the royal family destroy the rebels as long as they could get the Shilan treasury. But the royal family had all died except you at that time, and no one could open the treasury. So the negotiation reached a deadlock. According to that woman from the Chiliang sect, only the blood of the members of the royal family can open the treasury. Now that I'm here, what about we do as they say and get the two evil sects out of here? Do you think things will work out in that case? Sure. We can solve the problem once and for all in that case. The Shilan treasury will only get us into trouble if we stick to it since it has been exposed. But we need to wait for a while before opening it. Wait for a while? Why? You may not know this due to your memory loss, your highness. The Shilan treasury is actually a mysterious ancient mausoleum. It's not located in our country. It's just that its entrances are connected to some mysterious space in our country. Huh? So the Shilan treasury is more like an independent small world. There are two entrances. One is located in the royal secret chamber, known as the Gate of the Sun, while another is located in the desert, known as the Gate of the Moon. The treasury will open once the royal blood touches either of them. The Gate of the Sun is always there in the palace, which has been under the control of the rebels and the evil sect, so we can't get there. We can only try to open the Gate of the Moon, which only appears every 30 days. And this is what the Chiliang sect wants. Then when will the Gate of the Moon appear again? Unfortunately, it had just appeared last night, so it will take a whole month for it to appear again. Just my luck. I almost made it. Anyway, it turned out there were two entrances to the treasury. No wonder the two evil sects could remain in a stalemate here. But without a key, what's the point of guarding the entrance? There may be some other reason. However, now that I know where the entrances are and have the living corpse leech as my key, it seems that I don't need to wait for this long. Don't worry. Despite my memory loss, I'll take care of every single problem of the Shilan Kingdom since I'm back. I'll give it a try when Yen Ryu arrives at the Imperial City in a few days. I'll get the treasures and leave soon if everything goes just well. So, Your Highness, are you going to deal with the evil sex head on? It's too. Don't worry. I won't be so unwise to do that. If they can't defeat me, they may hurt the civilians. I just wanted to intimidate them. After all, working with the Chiliang sect is still the best way for the Shilan kingdom. I'll go to the Imperial City to confirm if my mother is safe and meet another evil sect. You can use recuperation as an excuse to ignore the Chiliang sect for a few days before talking about cooperation with them. Huh? Your Highness, are you going to the Imperial City alone? It is too dangerous. Please think twice before you act. I know what I am doing. Don't worry, and have a good rest. Your Highness. Your Highness. Even if Her Highness has lost her memory, she is still as resolute, kind, and caring as before. If Her Highness hadn't gone through that event but come back earlier, perhaps the situation would be very different now. It's just a pity. For the current Shilan Kingdom, Her Highness still came back too late.
Looks like this little princess only fixes her aim on the peace of her country and the safety of the people, which makes it easier to deal with her. Grand Elder, shall we report this matter to the sect and ask for more manpower? No need for that. There is nothing but Shilan Che got one more support. But he has already established cooperation with us. As long as the interests remain unchanged, it won't affect the whole picture no matter how strong his support is. I will explain it to the sect leader. After all, there is an agreement between the two sections if someone at level 5 of the pre-celestial stage from both sects gets into the game, it will be more difficult to deal with the Keshwaxi sect. Just let Shilan Wei do what she wants. With her personality, I suppose those stubborn blockheads of the Keshwaxi sect won't get anything out of her. By the way, how is Yao Zhu's injury? The third elder suffered a minor injury, and the life-weaving bug healed her. But she said that she was uneasy these days. Every time she closed her eyes, she felt greatly terrified. She still needs some time to recuperate, otherwise, she's worried that her towel would be damaged. That's ridiculous. Did she psyche herself out? But I need to thank her for acting with me. I will go to see her in person later. I see, so you've decided to work with the Chiliang sect? But I think they are up to no good. They must plot against you behind your back. Indeed. I'm afraid that Shilan Che had already gone over to the Chiliang sect and made up his mind to work with them. Huh? Isn't he an old minister of the Shilan royal family? Is he also deceiving you? When Shilan Wei showed up, this city lord was only shocked at it, which was not what an old minister should be. But it doesn't matter. Whether he helped the Chiliang sect test me or he will go against me in the future, those are just some trivial tricks that won't affect the overall situation. As long as we get the thing in the treasury, all their schemes will be in vain. When that time comes, even if he has the intention of becoming the king of the Shilan kingdom, it has nothing to do with me. By the way, where are you in Yen Ryu now? It seems that it will take us another two or three days to reach the Imperial City. That bad woman is going to meet her informant outside the city first, so as not to be found by the Keshwaxi sect in the city. She is very cautious, but also too conservative. As long as we get the thing, so what if we are spotted? Another two or three days, right? Then I'll slow down and enjoy the scenery along the way. Huh? Master, are you going to the Imperial City too? Why not stay there? I can use teleportation magic circle to get you to the Imperial City when I arrive. If people find out I can get from one city to another in a flash, what will they think of it? It doesn't matter what others will think. After all, I will dispose of the identity of Shilan Wei after it's done. But Yin Ryu, I finally gained her trust. If she suspects me again, I'll be forced to kill her. I got it. Master, you are thoughtful. So don't tell Yen Ryu that I'm going to the Imperial City for now. Keep an eye on her before I arrive lest she begin to play tricks when she is about to reach the Imperial City. Got it. I will get the job done for you. Um, I feel a little uneasy when you put it like that, three days later. Suburbs of the Shilan Imperial City Oh? Is this the Shilan Imperial City? It is indeed much more magnificent than Shilio City. So, Ching'er, where is Yen Ryu? That bad woman is sleeping in the courier station. I didn't alarm her when I came out. Do not bully Ching'er. Gee, why you? Why are hiding your face? Ah. Ching'er, you, he he. What's wrong with your face? I was wondering what was happening outside. Turns out it's you, why you? What's going on? When did you? What's going on? I should ask you that. Yin Ryu, I left Ching'er to you, yet you bullied her like this? I will teach you a lesson, calm down, why you? Calm down. It's not what you think. I didn't hurt Ching'er. She's been with you only. Who else could it be if it wasn't you? Well, it began three days ago. The other day, Ching'er wanted to fight Mei Lang on a whim. I thought they were both ghosts, and there was no harm in sparring, so I let Mei Lang play with Ching'er. 
Although Mei Lang won, Ching er didn't get hurt. I thought it was over. But Ching er didn't accept defeat. Since then, she fought Mei Lang whenever she got the opportunity. You know Mei Lang is mindless, and she would fight back when getting hit. Gradually, Mei Lang was familiar with the moves of Ching er and seemed to take the fighting as a habit. Since yesterday, she's beaten Ching, a ham, sparred with Ching er on a regular basis. That's to say Ching er got injured because she is weak yet addicted to fighting? But, but if I get more time, next time, next time I will definitely defeat Mei Lang. Come on, Mei Lang is from the Chunling sect. She is a powerful ghost at fighting. What you have is only the ability to aid. You are for sure no match for her. I'll get you some reliable cultivation techniques later. Now behave yourself and get some rest. With Mei Lang around, Ching Er would be distracted as long as Yen Ryu played a trick, and in the end, she failed to keep an eye on her. Forget it. Ching Er is innocent and not fit for spy work. I'll deter Yen Ryu from playing tricks by myself. Let's set this matter aside and back to our business. Have you gotten Shilam Wei's blood ready? Well, of course I have. But what are you going to do? Didn't we agree to take action after we gather information and make a plan? No need to waste time. Before all the plans are set, let's try to take action directly, which is the most efficient way. Take action directly? You mean? The city lord of Shilio City firmly believes me and has told me the location of the entrance to the treasury. Tonight is the right time to check it out with you. With your five elements shift, I believe you can easily avoid the patrol and sneak into the palace, right? Two hours later. You are back. How is it? Well, I did find the stone gate that is the entrance to the treasury. I didn't expect that the so-called Shilan treasury is an independent space. No wonder I couldn't find any trace of it before. However, similar stone gates can be found throughout the palace, like in the courtyard or on the wall. Looks like someone has deliberately mixed the fake with the real one. I couldn't distinguish them in a short time. Why did you check the unguarded stone gates? The real one must be heavily guarded by the Keshwaxi sect. Do I have to remind you of such a simple thing? Easy, why you? I thought of that too and used that method to search for it. It's just, I'm afraid the result would disappoint you. There is indeed a place that is heavily guarded. The building there is bizarre. I couldn't sneak into it with the five elements shift as if something blocked me. Moreover, I just found out that during the half a year when there was no intelligence, the Keshwaxi sect has placed many mechanic puppets in the city. I'm afraid that even if we secretly open the treasury, we can't take the power source stones out of town. You were blocked? Haven't you boasted your five elements shift? Why couldn't it work this time? Did you deceive me on purpose? I dare not deceive you. The five elements shift is kind of an odd skill for other sects, but when it comes to the Keshwaxi sect, it's not surprising to have such a result. The Keshwaxi sect is good at making mechanisms with cold iron and winter wood. These two materials have an innate ability to block one's internal power and five element circulation. That's why the Keshwaxi sect can easily create a barrier that is tightly closed and can deactivate the five elements shift. I see. You couldn't get into the puppet tortoise's stomach with the five elements shift back then. It seems that I underestimated this game. Good. I should keep going to make him give it up. If he gets the Shilan treasury, he will very likely leave me. If so, I will have to lift the Shima oath while fighting the two evil sects on my own. Never mind. Since it couldn't work, let's use another way. Um? Give me the living corpse leech. I will do it myself. Well, why you? Actually, you don't have to. Don't say anything like you don't have to rush. You and I are just into the game. The Keshwaxi sect hasn't guarded against us, so it's the biggest chance for us to snatch the treasury. As long as we get the treasury, the two evil sects will go back with nothing, and it also will be easier for us to deal with the Shima Oath. Ryu, don't be a drag at this moment. That's a nice thing to say, yet no one knows how the thing will become after we get the treasury. 
What if the Keshwaxi sect goes mad? How should I save the queen then? But right now, I can't fall out with him, and he knows that. If you said so, how can I let you down? I'm wondering how you are going to sneak into the palace. Sneak into? When did I say that? Huh? The so-called sneaking into is to avoid being discovered by the guards along the way. Isn't it the same if I dismantle all the mechanic puppets that stand in my way? Why you, are you going to? All my techniques can be used through the path of sword. Since I try to break into the city, I will choose the most destructive way for sure. Immortal dominating punches into the sword. Dominating sword strike. Extreme dark demon dragon break. Quake. Clank. I can only use 80% of Immortal Dominating Punch's power when using it through the Path of Sword. However, with the thrust caused by Fleeting Sword, that blow even caused more damage. That is almost the best I can do so far. But even that blow didn't get through this building, according to Yen Ryu, the Gate of the Sun should be inside, has the Keshwaxi sect reinforced the wall? Huh? What? A Puppet Beast. Heavenly Wailed Dominating Sword Shield. Ha! It looks like it's just a little smaller than the Puppet Tortoise. The Keshwaxi sect even uses such a huge weapon to guard the treasury, right? This is their familiar ground. Huh? That's the Gate of the Sun. I see. The giant mechanic snake was coiled up in the room just now, blocking the entrance of the treasury just like an iron box. No wonder Yen Ryu failed. So this snake must be their trump card. If I can kill it, I can largely weaken the Keshwaxi sect's power here. However, in my experience of fighting the puppet beasts, it'll take long to fight such a big snake with immortal dominating punches. The puppet guards in the Imperial Palace have gathered and I must end this ASAP. Finger of Flowery Swords, Evil Sword Spirit. Fuse. With internal power as your shield, huh? Then let my evil sword spirit break it. Damn. What the hell? It's so hard. Even though I've broke through its shield, it could take my blow with its hard material. Even the level 4 pre-celestial puppets back in the Shimo Dark Tunnel couldn't do this. If I didn't see the rebounded sword energy of Withering Strike crushing other subordinate puppets, I would think my move didn't work at all. It said that it's hard for the new to transcend the old, but it looks like the Keshwaxi sect has transcended the former Shimo sect in terms of mechanic puppets. Coil. Its power is no less than that of immortal dominating punches. I can't break free by force for the time being, but I can't use six Moro demons to make it as well, as it's easy to tell it's something like the mantra of hexatic senses, which is not conducive to my disguise as the disciple of the Wandao sect. It resisted the power of immortal dominating punches with its shield of internal power and withstood the evil sword spirit's attack with its hard shell. The Keshwaxi sex puppet beast is indeed much more powerful than Su Min's. There is only one way to get rid of it quickly. Demonic art of Moro, the evil smell of Rosefinch. Fuse. Great. Rosefinch fire can burn one's path in that small world after all. It doesn't work that well in the main world, but it could burn the puppet's spirit and short it out. Rosefinch fire just restricts the Keshwaxi sex techniques. However, without the power of heaven and earth in the small world, it's way too energy consuming. If I fight someone powerful and use this move frequently, it'll be easy for me to exhaust my power before it restores. The good thing is that I've got rid of the toughest enemy. Now I can. What? Another bunch of snakes? What's wrong with the Keshwaxi sect? How many puppets have been sent here? What's going on? The snake I just shorted out recovered so soon, how come it could recover? I'm in real trouble now. It's hard to get into the gate of the sun with these snakes that can recover at any time getting in the way even when I use all my power. 
Besides, after all this time, the pre-celestial masters of the Keshwaxi sect have been alerted. Who are you? How dare you break in without permission and destroy our puppets? Yan Chirgu, the deputy sect leader of the Keshwaxi sect, at level 4 pre-celestial stage. Without permission? Do I even need your permission to enter my own home? You bandits! Shame on you! Your own home? You are the runaway princess of the Shilan kingdom? No, your sword and your techniques can't come from such a tiny country. Who the hell are you? You just asked pretty much the same question as that hag from the Chiliang sect. And my answer is the same it's none of. I don't give a damn about your answer. I'll figure it out after catching you. The snake I just knocked out has fully recovered as I expect. I don't see the point of wasting time here even if I expose my real identity and try my best. This fight may take a long time and still hang in the balance. This doesn't make sense at all. I'd better get out of here for now. You want to run away? Did you get my permission? Permission? Come on. I'm being kind enough to let go of you and leave now. Otherwise. How many blows do you think you can take? Path of Sword. It's the supreme power. No way. She didn't even need to talk with us if she had the supreme power of combining her spirit and body. However, even if she hasn't reached level 7 of the pre-celestial stage, it's hard for me to handle such a powerful move. Puppet Nine-Headed Snake. Unlock. Puppet Mechanism. Bloody Thunder. Metal Element. Supreme Eagle Sword. Your Highness, this move is indeed far beyond my expectation. But I'm still capable of handling it. If you really want to fight, you may not be the winner. Damn. Given her power, I'm afraid the puppet nine-headed snake may get destroyed even if I can win the fight. Gotta find a way to force her to give up. Well, Your Highness, may I know if you want a real duel? You guys helped the rebels and messed around in the Shilan Kingdom. I should have killed you here. But the people in this city may get hurt if the fight goes on. Listen up, I'm Princess Shilan Wei, the only lineal heir to the throne. I'm here today to teach you a lesson. If you don't want me to stab you with my sword, pack and go back to the Han Empire in one month. To those who support the rebels, I will forgive what you've done if you surrender. If my mother gets hurt before I take back the city, I'll definitely kill all of you with my sword. Her mother? And she even used such powerful sword energy with that red sword. Could she be? Sir, are we just letting her go like this? She must know some special technique to hide her real realm, so I can't tell her real strength. But at least I know she won't be inferior to me. I'm afraid I can't hold her back with the unfinished puppet nine-headed snake even if I try my best. Glad that she wants to leave now. It won't do us any good to pursue her. Impose martial law in the whole city. Let two Lange's informants take action and check the critical areas inside and outside the Imperial City thoroughly. Don't let anyone mess around in the chaos. Yes, sir. Meanwhile in Peace Cottage, Iqua. Shilan Wei? You mean it was the former princess who escaped from the Shilan Kingdom many years ago that caused the abnormity tonight? Or, it was someone who pretended to be the princess, got intervened in the chaos, and wanted to risk for great fortune. Interesting. Obviously, she wouldn't be at level 7 of the pre-celestial stage. To be more precise, she wouldn't even reach level 5 as she left just for Yan Shirgu and his men. But she could have that power before being able to combine her body and spirit. Could she be a chosen talented seed? Well, we even saw such an unexpected chosen talented seed in the story we had set for the Shilan Kingdom. What a surprise. Did Huayu make this? He could fight all puppets of the Keshwaxi sect in town on his own. How many means does he exactly have? What is the limit of his power? Looks like I underestimated him before. But he did the same thing here as in Yudu City. He always raises dust to attain his purpose. What about you? You always speak ill of me behind my back. Why you? When did you come back? I just saw you going up, 
It's only a cover-up to prevent the Keshwaxi sect from using any tracking methods. You are cautious. But after what you did just now, you gained nothing but alerted the Keshwaxi sect in the end. That's not true. Although I didn't get into the treasury, this fight is worth it. The news about Princess Shilan Wei's return has already spread throughout the Imperial City. I'm just a strong enemy for the Keshwaxi sect, but for the rebel leader, I am the remnant of the former dynasty. A princess of the former dynasty who can be a match for his strongest foreign aid. This is enough to give Tu Lanja a hard time. As long as he messes up, the informant you planted in the rebels will naturally come in handy. Why you? Did you think about these before taking action? Of course, or do you think I would take action recklessly without considering the consequences? It's better for us to operate when the Imperial City is in chaos than when we have our informant snooping around cautiously. Since the sneaky and quick way couldn't work, we will carry out the backup plan. There's one more thing to note. You overlooked one thing in your previous information. The power source stone is indeed rare, but it's not necessary to make such a commotion against those two millennial evil sects. I assume there are other hidden secrets. We should look into it separately. Maybe we'll find something unexpected about the Shilan treasury. I didn't expect him to give the living corpse leech back to me before leaving. He said I should find an opportunity to sneak into the palace again to try to open the treasury, but in fact, he just wanted to stabilize me with this. He is overconfident. Does he not worry that I would work with the Keshwaxi sect and give him away? Yet, I can't fall out with him for now. He knows so many secrets about me. I've also got something on him, but they are of no use before knowing his real identity. His strength is unfathomable, which makes him an excellent backer for me. It's a pity that I will become more passive if this keeps going on. I have to take the initiative. As for more valuable treasures in the Shilan treasury, since he said that, I do have some interest. Currently, taking advantage of the turbulence induced by Huayu, the informant that I planted here is indeed more helpful. Master, this is the recent intelligence of the Shilan kingdom. I will remove the Shin Ma oath first and then share the treasury with Huayu, or even, in any case, I have to make a good plan next. That's to say, you are sure that bad woman doesn't dare to betray you, so you gave her the living corpse leech, right, master? Exactly. After all, there will be no room for her in the Chonling sect if she falls out with me. I know how to remove her Shinma oath, so she won't bother to work with the Keshwaxi sect. Moreover, the current Shilan kingdom has no longer been the one where she and G.E. Huayu came to seize the treasury with confidence. She is so cautious that she won't dare to act rashly. Master, you have been playing with it since just now? What is it? It's a piece of armor from that giant mechanic snake. It doesn't seem to be made of natural materials. The material seems to be the synthetic material made by the Keshwaxi sect, which makes the mechanic snake so hard that even the metal element of Path of Sword cannot break it. One piece of it is not enough. But after I figure out the proportion of its composition, I can synthesize this material myself and use it on Sky Sealing Sword. By then, the strength of the Sky Sealing Sword will go up a notch. The only inconvenient thing right now is that I can't keep an eye on Yin Ryu. Without knowing what she is doing behind my back, I always feel a little uneasy. Ku, it's all my fault. Master, you can still let me watch her. Never mind. I wasn't thoughtful before. You are innocent, and it's inevitable that she would play tricks with you. Maybe she intended to get back at you as she had suffered losses from me. Nevertheless, you are too naive. Why didn't you tell me you were being bullied? If you told me that Yen Ryu hit you, I would fly to your side to stand up for you. Ku, but Mei Lang is my friend. And it was me who proposed the duel in the beginning. Silly girl, Mei Lang has no wisdom and spirit at all. What she did was all under Yen Ryu's control. No, master. She might look that way, but I can feel that she is not completely lifeless. At least during our duel, she was acting on her own will. The next morning. What the hell was going on last night? A woman claiming to be Shilan Wei came into the city to cause trouble. 
How could a fugitive princess be so powerful? If you could get answers to the problems as long as you ask, I would suspect that you are not sitting on a throne but a bed. It's only been six hours since that woman left. What you saw is what we know. We should start to make solutions instead of wasting time and getting angry. Zhang Yi, Tu Lanja's counselor. You got it wrong, Mr. Yan. My master was not questioning anyone, but only anxious. Mr. Yan, you fought Shilam Wei last night. You must have known something about her. Would you mind sharing the information? As I said, what you see is what we know. Last night, this so-called Shilam Wei broke into the city with one sword, destroying the low-level puppets we placed in the city and damaging my puppet nine-headed snake. I have asked my disciples to repair the puppets and rearrange the defense. She is powerful, but judging from the fight last night, we can resist her with the advantage of the location of the Imperial City. At least it's not difficult for us to defend the city under her attack. What about the outside of the Imperial City? If she cooperates with the remnants of the royal family in Shilio City, the old royal family will definitely revive. That's not something we need to worry about. When the old forces counterattacked back then, you asked us to help you defeat them with the Shilan treasury as a reward. This agreement ended after the battle and Iqua stopped. Now we're just waiting for the treasury to open to get our due reward. Only because the Shilan royal family has all gone, our sect has to use mechanic techniques to open the treasury, and meanwhile, we help you to guard the Imperial City. We don't have to leave the Imperial City before the treasury is opened. And we won't provoke her and make things more uncertain. I'm afraid she is no weaker than you. She will be a disaster if we allow her to wander around in the Shilan kingdom. Besides, the Chiliang sect is stationed in Shilio City. If Shilan Wei and the Chiliang sect form an alliance. By her action last night, she probably came for the Shilan treasury. She ran away once I fought her. She seemed to worry about hurting the common people, but we both know the reason. The one who broke into the palace last night is undoubtedly a fake. She's incapable of opening the treasury. I think she just meant to bluff. She must aim at something else. Anyway, you're right. She appeared all of a sudden. We are not sure if she has something to do with the Chiliang sect. But such a powerful person would never follow that old woman Hueli's orders. She is more like a variable who has been secretly brought here by the Chiliang sect to break down the situation. Back then, to avoid the escalation of the conflict, our two sects agreed not to send more men to the Shilan kingdom. And the two sect leaders even hold each other back to prevent being involved, however, the Chiliang sect is cunning. They would not sit back and allow things to develop in a way that is unfavorable to them. But from the point of the Chiliang sect, they should hide her in the dark and let her out at the critical moment. It's impossible for them to allow her to make a commotion here to arouse our alert. Maybe she intentionally showed her value to us. You might as well send someone to negotiate with her and figure it out. As long as you can convince her or hold her back for a while, she will naturally leave the Shilan kingdom after we get the treasury. That's it. You have to deal with these trifles soon and then come to Gate of the Sun to assist me in how to open the treasury. Um, I got it. Please wait one more hour. People from the evil sect think about nothing but the treasury. I shouldn't have given him the real gate of the sun if we secretly, mind your words, master. Although people of the Keshwaxi sect are pragmatic and do not care about formalities, you should also be careful not to annoy these pre-celestial stage masters just because of what they said. I'm afraid that he would have not been nice to us if it weren't for your ability to crack the gate of the sun. What do you think of what Yan Shirgu just said? Will that fake Shilan Wei leave once the treasury is opened? The Keshwaxi sect only cares about whether Shilan Wei can open the treasury or not, so the key is to confirm if she is the real one. But for us, whether she is real or not, the identity of the princess of Shilan kingdom will give the royal family a bigger chance to fight back. She is always a threat before we figure out her real identity and purpose. Don't worry, master. I have asked the shadow guards in the imperial city to come into the palace at once. We have to do something about Shilan Wei. 
I remember when I first came here with G.E. Huayu, the disturbance in the Imperial City was just put down. And I saw two Lanja control Queen Saya to stabilize the people. At that time, we were not strong enough to save her. So we only investigated it secretly. However, whether we snuck into the palace by the Five Elements Shift or G.E. Huayu pried for information in the guise of a maid, we didn't manage to find the queen at all. We thought that the rebels hid the queen. G.E. Huayu was worried about alerting our enemies and refused to look into it as Shilan Wei, so we had no choice but to return and find some other ways to lift the oath. I didn't expect the Shima oath to be so powerful that even the Shimo spirit could do nothing about it. After the nine sex meeting, I gave up on seizing the treasury, but only prayed to lift the oath. Yet, two more evil sects have been getting involved. Besides, Huayu is eccentric and unpredictable. Things in the Shilan kingdom are getting more complicated. Tulanja ordered all the shadow guards to return to the palace, which is a good opportunity. I should wait and see first. Master, the current situation in the Shilan kingdom is as I reported last night. Now, what's our next plan? Easy. Tulanja must have a plan, as he urgently summoned you to the palace. Let's see what he will say first. As long as we take advantage of the current situation, it won't be hard to find Queen Saya and get her out. I will completely hide my aura. I'll remind you only when necessary. Be careful not to expose yourself. Got it. That's what happened. For now, we must focus on Shilio City. And the reason for summoning you here is to gather your power and try to get information from Shilio City. At least, you need to find out where that Shilan Wei came from and what her purpose is. Master, you asked us to find out her background, but isn't she the long-lost princess of the former royal family? She's not. She can be anyone, but not Shilan Wei. I'm sure of it. But we can't easily reveal her real identity. So one of your tasks in Shilio City this time is to find more tangible evidence, and then we can expose who she really is. That's strange. Why you told me that he did not meet Tu Lanja last night? How could Tu Lanja be so sure that Shilan Wei is fake? Could it be that he has seen through Hui Yu's disguise? Master, I think exposing Shilan Wei's real identity is a solution, but it will make her our enemy as well. Even without this fake identity, she is still a master who even made Yan Shirgu cautious. If we destroy her plan, she may retaliate against us. According to Yan Shirgu, it seems that she doesn't work closely with the Chiliang sect, and she has no fled with us. In my opinion, we should send shadow guards to approach her and reach a deal with her without alarming the Chiliang sect. Um, that makes sense. But will she negotiate with us since she has claimed to be Shilan Wei? What should we do if the conditions she proposes far exceed our expectations? Master? Now comes the chance. Get ready and repeat what I say. Uh, okay. Master, I have an idea for it. What you are concerned about is that we might not get a good result if we contact her rashly, as she is powerful and unpredictable, and Shilio City has gained the initiative before us. But if we send one person to contact her, gain her trust, and induce her to believe us, it will make the later negotiation easier. Given that Shilam Wei is a fake and doesn't work for the Chiliang sect, she is mostly isolated in Shilio City. As a woman, no matter how strong she is, she must have one or two weaknesses. As long as we use the right way, her inner fortress will be breached. I happen to have a person who is good at this thing. Master, how long are we going to wait here? It took me three days to get here, so it will take me the same time to go back. But I'm too tired to fly. Let's just settle here for the time being. Meanwhile, I can analyze the information reported by Yin Ruyu. We will go back to Shilio City when it is time. Master, why do you become cautious all of a sudden? Didn't we just break into the Imperial City and teach that big guy a lesson? I don't think the leading masters of the Keshwaxi sect or those of the Chiliang sect are a match for you. I'm always cautious. I attacked the Imperial City directly because I wanted to catch the Keshwaxi sect off guard and take the treasure away. 
but the plan failed, which means we will probably be in the Shilan Kingdom for 20 more days. So we have to think about what backup plans the two evil sects will make. Even if I'm confident to defeat any masters they have placed in the Shilan Kingdom, it does not mean that I can fight the entire evil sects. They may send more people at any time to override my strength here. For now, I am not strong enough to fight the sect leaders of the two evil sects head on. The reason why they haven't sent more people here is because they still regard each other as an enemy. Shilan Wei is strong, but her weakness is too obvious. The people of the entire Shilan kingdom are her weakness. Such a master is the easiest to handle for the evil sex. If I am not Shilan Wei anymore, they may change their stand and stick together to fight me, and the following things will inevitably get out of control. To prevent such a case from happening, I must collect information carefully and tactfully and maintain my persona as Shilan Wei. I see. So, do you have any new plans now? Not really. What I did in the Imperial City has consolidated Shilan Wei's character of being bold yet thoughtless and impulsive. I believe that Shilio City will get the news soon. Huh? Master, do you mean the Chiliang sect still has spies in the Imperial City? Weren't they driven out by the Keshwaxi sect a long time ago? Don't look down on the Chiliang sect just because they backed down easily in front of me. Regardless of the ranking of the nine evil sects, a man at the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage from the Keshwaxi sect can resist my attack with the advantage of geography. How could the Chiliang sect have no real skills as they have been fighting the Keshwaxi sect for so long? We can have a guess. How will the Grand Elder of the Chiliang sect react after learning what happened in the Imperial City? Three days later. The branch of Chiliang sect in Shilio City. Oh, such an interesting thing happened in the Imperial City. Yan Shergu's strength has improved a lot. He was not at the lower hand when fighting that little princess of the Wandao sect and even forced her to retreat. Seriously, apart from the Keshwaxi sect, we don't have to fear this little girl as long as you call for your initial bugs to fight. She gained nothing this time. It must be a humbling experience for her. I will surely teach her a good lesson if she turns to us. No. It's about time that she is back to the city lord's mansion. We can't mock her. Instead, we should take enough gifts to celebrate her triumphant return. At the same time, I will bring up our cooperation again. Why? Isn't it to erode our authority? Authority can only scare the weak. Bullying and fighting can't help our sect reach the top. Our sect only cares about the treasury in the Shilan kingdom, except for that. We can make a compromise on anything else. Now we just need to see what the princess will do. There is a saying, keep your guard up when other people are being nice to you. Grand Elder, you came to me as soon as I came back. I'm wondering what you are doing this for. You are overthinking, your highness. We did it sincerely. I was told that you destroyed Yan Shirgu's puppet nine-headed snake with one strike in the Imperial City. Everyone in the Keshwaxi sect was too scared to stop you. We weren't involved, but we felt we got even with them as well. That's why we particularly brought these pills and medicinal bugs as gifts for you. Please accept them. It rings a bell. You seem to be driven out of the Imperial City by the Keshwaxi sect back then. You have learned what happened right after I came back. You got the information so fast. To be honest, your highness, we were repelled from the imperial city by the Keshwaxi sect, but there are still some informants of the Chiliang sect there who can deliver news for us. They can deliver news, and naturally, they can do other things. You just want to remind me that only by working with your sect can I possibly not be threatened by the Keshwaxi sect, save my mother, and take back the imperial city. Your highness, you are really smart. Fine, as you said, currently, the Keshwaxi sect and the rebels are my real enemies. As for you, as long as you work for me, I can let go of what bad things you have done before. He he. Before they came here, I was thinking about how to bring up cooperation with them, but they offered to cooperate. Now I don't need to worry about disgracing Shilan Wei. So do you agree to our conditions, your highness? Easy. It's fine to work with you. 
but you must make it clear. What exactly are you trying to take from the Shilan treasury? Well, it's just one of the collections there. Why do you have to know about it? Anyway, you don't remember what's in it, right? I've inquired about it. Do you want the power source stone? It was useless for the Shilan kingdom before, but now I have a master who can create a large formation to protect the imperial city, so I won't let you have it. Don't worry, your highness. Although the power source stone is rare, we will never attempt to get it if you need it. We just want a small thing that is conducive to our technique cultivation. It is useless to your country and people and irrelevant to inheritance. It's conducive to the cultivation of the Chiliang sect? I don't think so. If she was telling the truth, why has the Keshwaxi sect gotten involved? She is full of lies. However, she was not agitated when I said I want the power source stone, which is to say, the two evil sects have not been fighting for the power source stone. Although I am still confused, I should stop here. I might expose myself if I ask too many questions. They are the local leading roles, while I am just an amnesic princess from the outside and have gotten involved halfway. To avoid more masters of the Chiliang sect coming here, I'd better do something to maintain Shilan Wei's persona. Fine. I accept your conditions. However, before the treasury is opened, I have to do something to the rebels in the Imperial City. During this period, you have to fully work for me and help me save my mother. Sure. We helped the city lord to counterattack the rebels before, but we were stopped for some reason in the end. All right. Stop saying high-sounding words. Since we've reached a deal, you can leave if there is nothing else. The city lord and I have something else to discuss. During the trip to the Imperial City, in addition to saving my mother, I observed the areas occupied by the rebels along the way. Although I have lost my memory, I could tell not all people are subordinate to the rule of the rebels. The Keshwaxi sect is our principal enemy, but in the long run, we have to find a way to break down the support for Tulanja. I want you to send messengers in my name to invite bigwigs from all over the country to meet me in Shilio City. Well, unexpectedly, after going to the Imperial City, she has made long-term plans. You are right, Your Highness. If people can meet you in person, it will calm them down and stop rumors so that many people who don't have a firm stand will be loyal to the royal family again. I thought this princess would become impulsive and unpredictable because of memory loss. If she were too uncontrollable, she would become a threat to us at the last moment. If that happens, I'll ask our sect leader to come here in person even if the conflict escalates. Now, it seems that she is still concerned about the people of the Shilan Kingdom. In the Imperial City, she must have held back from taking action for fear of hurting others. I thought she would break her words because she has the techniques of the Wandao sect. But since she's so concerned about the country, I won't need to ask our sect leader for help. It's settled then. I will leave everything to you. Yes, your highness. Actually, after you came back, I already sent messages to many people. And now I just need to send more messengers out. In a few days, the envoys of the bigwigs from all over the country will arrive in Shilio City. So, have you heard? The missing princess Shilan Wei has returned. I thought that the royal family all died in that war. Unexpectedly, her highness is still alive. It's a pity that it will be difficult to turn the tide even though she came back. Isn't it said that her highness showed up in the palace a few days ago and the rebels and the evil sex were too scared to get out? I don't think so. It must be a rumor from Shilio City. I remember that her highness was a well-known beauty. Young men in the Imperial City would be complacent for several days if they could manage to meet her once. But on second thought, Her Highness is pitiful. She needs to restore the country on her own. I'm afraid that she would feel lonely and helpless. After all, Her Highness is just a woman. No woman would like to bear a burden alone. That's right. She needs us now. If someone can win her trust and become an advisor to her, wiping out the rebels with the help of the Chiliang sect in the future, maybe he can even get... We can't be left behind in this matter. We should send the best young men in our clan to Shilio City to pursue, no, to meet Her Highness. 
Two days later. It's finally time to meet her highness. I heard that the city lord will hold a banquet tonight so that we can have the opportunity to dine with her highness. I've brought a lot of precious treasures to her highness. I am wondering if her highness would be happy about it. Origin point gained appreciation, 0.01 points a dial. Origin point gained adoration, 0.01 points had I. Origin point gained appreciation, 0.01 points rye. Master, that's what they said, I heard them. Fuck, I said that I would like to meet with Shilan's subjects, but I didn't say to hold a blind date party. Most of the envoys who will come this time are young people from noble families. Your Highness, you should spend more time talking to them. Maybe you will gain something. I shouldn't have left this matter to Shilan Che. I was careless. For me, the so-called meeting is only going through the motions, but for Shilan Che, it is a matter of the future of the country. It's no surprise that he made it so grand, Master, what should we do then? How about not going out? No, I have to go out. They are merely a group of pursuers with bad intentions. Although I am a woman now, I have handled many similar situations before. Want to court me? Let me see if they have the guts. It's strange. Everyone is here, but why hasn't Her Highness come out yet? Her Highness must be doing her makeup. Today is the first time that the Shilam royal family has summoned the courtiers after years, and it is indeed worth dressing up. Frankly speaking, the Shilam royal family can only settle down in this small place. How can they restore the country without our strength? That's rude. But I think that Her Highness may be aware of it, otherwise, she wouldn't hesitate and hasn't shown up yet. It's just that we've been waiting for too long. Oh? Do you get impatient only after waiting for a while? Impatience is good, just like what I'm feeling now. I returned to my homeland after years of wandering, but what I saw are turmoils in this country. Is she, Her Highness Shilan Wei? How come she is completely different from what I imagined? How terrifying. Who said that Her Highness is so weak and helpless that she needs strong support? But now it seems that Her Highness is the strongest one. It's too weird. Only one glance at her makes me tremble. What has Her Highness gone through in the past few years? You guys are here today, which means you are people with lofty ideals who care about the fate of the country and are loyal to the royal family. With your strength, the restoration of Shilan Kingdom will be around the corner. The loyal ones will be well treated by the royal family, but if any of you are in two minds and have evil intentions, I, Shilan Wei, will definitely kill you with the sword in my hand. Ugh, this meeting is not a chance for us to get to the top by taking advantage of Her Highness. Her Highness wants to test our loyalty through this meeting. Those who did not come here today may have been taken as rebels by Her Highness. We swear to be loyal to the royal family and Your Highness. We dare not have any improper thoughts. Great. These annoying people have been frightened. Origin point gained fear, 0.01 points a dial. Origin point gained respect, 0.01 points had I. Origin point gained fear, 0.01 points rye. Origin point gained fear, 0.01 points kobuk. If I terrify them more, they will definitely obediently leave and dare not make a fuss again. It's not against Shilan Wei's personality, and the Chiliang sect will not doubt it either. I have known that you are loyal. Shilan Che will discuss with you what to do next. If there's nothing else, Your Highness, restoring the country is a top priority, but it's not the only thing that you need to worry about. After eradicating the rebels, the Shilan Kingdom needs to revive its former glory through the royal family. It can't be done by one person. Your Highness can use your sword to suppress and wipe out rebels and traitors, but not govern the country, let alone revive your family and the country. If so, why should Your Highness bear everything on your shoulders alone? I volunteer to fulfill my duty of solving problems and sharing your burdens. Oh? That's interesting. Who's the speaker? Damn. Unexpectedly, there's someone who still dares to cause me trouble at this moment. Um? 
I'm the son of General Yudu of Mudu City. It's... My name is Yuruyan. It's an honor to meet you, your highness. Yen Ruyu? So, what the hell is going on here? Why didn't you collect information in the Imperial City but come here with this look? It's not like what you thought, why you? I came here because I've gotten important information and I can't wait to discuss it with you. I was thinking about telling you secretly after the meeting. Your Highness, the City Lord asked you to go over for an emergency. Yet, I didn't expect you to threaten those young men, which almost disrupted my plan. Fortunately, you reacted promptly and didn't let those nobodies step down early. Thanks to Chinger's quick response, otherwise, I would have been embarrassed at that time. Shilan Wei isn't someone who would be convinced by words. After all, there are spies of the Chiliang sect in the city lord's mansion. It may alarm them if I am not cautious. If that happens, it will take me a lot of effort to deal with it. So what makes you so urgent to come here that you didn't even inform me in advance? It is about the Keshwaxi sect. I found that they seemed to try to open the treasury by force without the royal family. Moreover, judging from what their disciples said, they are probably about to succeed. Is it true? Yes. I verified it before leaving the Imperial City. It's not surprising as the Keshwaxi sect is very good at mechanic techniques. Indeed, those two evil sects have been in Shilan for a long time. If they only pinned their hope on finding the royal bloodline, they wouldn't let so many masters fight each other for such a long time. There is indeed another way to get it done. More than that, the leaders of the rebels and the Keshwaxi sect seem to know that you are not the real Shilan Wei, which is by no means a statement to boost morale. I think they are quite sure of it. How did they know? I don't know the exact reason, but it seems to be an unspoken fact for them. I heard that there are some peculiar things in the world that can be bound to people to monitor their vital signs. Perhaps the Shilan royal family got one. However, in my opinion, even if the news about Shilan Wei is a fake spread from the Imperial City, the Chiliang sect probably won't believe it. After all, it's more likely a misleading saying by the rebels in order to compete for the legitimacy of rule. No, the real problem is that if they are convinced that I am not Shilan Wei, they will unhesitatingly regard me as an opponent for the Shilan treasury. Based on my previous performance in the palace, the Keshwaxi sect may send reinforcements to Shilan, and even its sect leader may come here in person. If that really happens, there will be too many strong masters in this game. Don't worry about that, why you? Whatever the Keshwaxi sect plans to do, they haven't seemed to put you and the Chiliang sect together. He is quite narcissistic. I think they are terrified of you mostly because of the prestige of the Wandao sect. The Keshwaxi sect is looking for an opportunity to negotiate with you. They want to seek cooperation and share the treasury with you. Moreover, according to my investigation, for unknown reasons, neither the Keshwaxi sect nor the Chiliang sect seems to be able to send their sect leaders to Shilan. At least neither side is willing to take the lead in breaking a deadlock. In this case, we can pretend to cooperate with the Keshwaxi sect to hold them back. During this period, we can sneak into the treasury from the Gate of the Moon. But before that, we have to figure out how the Keshwaxi sect's work is going. That's why I came here. Tu Lanja and the Keshwaxi sect both want to figure out the attitude of Shilan Wei first, so they need someone to gain your trust. So, you plan to get close to me without arousing any suspicion and then stabilize the Keshwaxi sect as a double agent? You can say that. If we get this mission done, I and the Shadow Guard who is under my control will both get promoted. By then, we may have a chance to figure out how the Keshwaxi sect cracks the Gate of the Sun, and then we can cause them trouble, and the plan is simple. My current identity is forged by the rebels, but for Tulanja, Urien is a lecher who has secretly learned the techniques of the Huanchi sect. He's been active in the Great Tang Kingdom and came to Shilan Kingdom recently. He's not talented at cultivation, but was born with an extraordinary capability. He is good at taming women. Those women whom he flirted with are all loyal to and obsessed with him, among whom are pre-celestial stage masters in high positions. 
He actually existed but has long been killed by me. You said he was born with an extraordinary capability. Do you mean that capability? Exactly is what you think. As long as I take advantage of this opportunity, which is for envoys from all over the country to meet Princess Shilam Wei and successfully become the princess advisor, I can report to them that the mission is done. I was thinking about why you suddenly changed your look and dressed up as a man. Turns out you are here to court me. Generally, there is no problem with Yen Ryu's plan, but... What a stupid plan. Did you request this job? Since they mean to work with me, you can just inform me, and then we can get on the same page. After that, you can ask your shadow guard to tell them that I agree to cooperate. Why did you go through all this trouble to do it? Do you think I'm willing to do so? It was their idea to use a handsome man to approach the fake Shilam way. They think it would be easier to build a close tie with you. And I just took the opportunity to do it. After all, you don't want a man to pester you all day, do you? And you would completely fall out with them if you killed the man. He is indeed so cautious that he could even see through such a small loophole. However, he could never figure out my true purpose. Fine, I'll do this with you. But how are you going to trick Shilan Wei into sleeping with you? Do you have a script? Don't worry. Everything is in place. We just need to put on a show for two Lange's spies without exposing ourselves. Based on your previous performance, I've made a detailed plan to attract you. The improvisation I did during the meeting just now is enough to arouse your attention. And then I will pander to you. According to the information, Shilan Wei loves poetry and songs. The poems I prepared for Su Min's literature and art event are views now. After that, I will create an atmosphere for five or six days, detailed plan. That's too slow. You just need to take action according to your script at the banquet. I'll follow my own plan. Huh? At night dragon lanterns on the trees like thousand flames. Celebrations are going on in the imperial palace. A lotus-shaped lantern with a chicken on it symbolizes eternal spring. Wind and rain do not come to disturb these celebrations. The shadows of the lanterns overlap. Doors of the palace are open for every guest. The poem The Celebration in Shilan is dedicated to every one of you. My lord, what do you think of my poem? Can you give me some advice? This poem is rhetorical and extraordinary. It reminds me of the prosperous scene in the Shilan kingdom during the Luz festival many years ago. It seems that our country still has some talented young men who are on par with those of the other kingdoms in terms of poetry. Mr. Yu, that's a very good poem and you are very talented. Fill his glass. It's him again. He has written many good poems tonight. It seems he will get the lead. He used sweet talk in front of the princess at the meeting before and now he keeps us down with his talent. He's so annoying. Fortunately, I still have a few works, and I will use them to compete with him when Her Highness comes out. Mr. Yu has an outstanding literary talent. I remember Her Highness has been fond of poetry and songs since she was a child. I guess Her Highness will also like Mr. Yu's poem, which can bring back people's memories of the glory of the Shilan Kingdom. The banquet has been halfway through, and Her Highness hasn't shown up yet. She must have gotten tied up in business. Mr. Yu, I suggest that we make a copy of your poem and send it to Her Highness for appreciation. Um, I'd love to do so if Her Highness really can't make it here tonight. It's just that there shouldn't be only one poem. I'm not the most talented and learned. It's my luck to be praised by his lord, but only a few poems of mine may not be attractive enough to Her Highness. All of you are talents in our country, and I believe you've already had your own works in mind. Why don't all of us present our best works to Her Highness and let Her Highness evaluate them and choose the best one personally? I think it will be a great story going down in history. Good idea. Mr. Yu, you are indeed a man of integrity, like a reputable scholar. Her Highness must be impressed by you if she is here. Damn, I hate men like him the most. Thank you, I'm flattered. That's indeed a good idea, Mr. Yu. 
Her Highness told me before that she was worried that she might not have time for the banquet. Now the performance is over. If any of you have good poems that haven't been shown, don't hide them anymore. Write them down, and we will present them to Her Highness. Well, I have some poems to present to Her Highness, me too. Give me the brush, I won't let that man be in the limelight. Very good. The poems that I asked Mr. Daoji to write for me finally came in handy. The result has been written as long as Huayu and I work together, but to make sure the whole process is flawless, I need to figure out how to arouse people's spirits the most, to avoid the possibility that there may be some real geniuses showing their poems in public. Huayu needs to stay out of the banquet and show up when the banquet comes to an end. Now the prelude is done. Urien has indeed drawn everyone's attention. As long as Huayu selects my poem and then comes here to meet me, it will be reasonable for me to meet and pursue Her Highness later, oh? I thought the banquet would be boring because of my absence. I didn't expect it to be so lively. What are you doing? Her Highness? Her Highness is finally here. Huayu? Why is he here now? These poems have not yet been presented to him. Your Highness, these people have an itch to write poems, and many of them are excellent. They are making a copy of their poems, and we are going to present the poems to you for appreciation. Now that Your Highness has got the business done, you can review their works here. Oh? These are indeed good poems, and some of them are particularly impressive. But it doesn't seem fair for one person to decide which poem is the best. Today's banquet is supposed to be a great joy for the whole country, where everyone can have fun regardless of rank. Appreciating poems is a tasteful activity, but it is not fun enough. Why don't we put this matter aside and play a game instead? Well, I'm wondering what game your highness is talking about. Composing poems is, after all, something with a threshold, and it's difficult to let everyone enjoy it. How about I present the first line of a couplet, and you answer the second line? As long as it's matched, even if the words fail to convey the meaning, it will be okay. Oh? That's quite interesting. Frankly speaking, I have no interest in poetry, but I know something about couplets. However, since your highness said it's a game, there must be prizes, right? Otherwise, winning or losing will be meaningless. That makes sense, all right, no matter who gives an appropriate answer, I will not only grant him wine, but also share a drink with him. Ha ha ha, that's nice. I am afraid that everyone here has long wanted to have a drink with your highness. I see. It seems to be a method to speed things up. If Huayu uses the poems I prepared as topics, no one can compete with me. It's more justifiable than dedicating poems, well, here I go. The first line is, to see a world in a grain sand, and a heaven in a wild flower. Huh? Why you? It's not the poem I prepared. Be patient. This is just the first topic. Just wait and see. To see a world in a grain sand, and a heaven in a wild flower, hold infinity in the palm of your hand, and eternity in an hour. I once read this famous poem due to my father's business with the great song kingdom. Good, you did it quickly. Grant him wine. Great. I'm not very talented at poetry, so it's hard for me to stand out when it comes to writing poems. But in terms of couplets, what I have learned is good enough. Besides, composing couplets is not like a competition in cultivation. Even pre-celestial stage masters only know the classics circulating in the literary world. To answer it once, even ten times or a hundred times is nothing difficult. You are your highness, isn't this glass a bit too big? I, I. Is it? As a man of the Shilan kingdom, you can't even drink that little glass of wine? I appreciate you after you answer that couplet. But I will be disappointed if you don't drink it. I can, of course, I can drink it. I see, I've figured out why you's purpose. The first topic is from a famous work. The next one is a fragment that I got by chance. You will get a prize if you can give an antithetical phrase. However, it doesn't seem much fun drinking shot by shot, no matter how much we take. If any of you can drink me under the table, I will take him to my room tonight, 
Talking and drinking until dawn. Talking and drinking until dawn? Does that mean? Why you, if you do it this way, I don't think I can handle it with the poems I prepared. What's more, drinking is not my thing, easy. I will tell you the answer secretly when I need you to be in. As for drinking, you are at the pre-celestial stage after all. You can't be weaker than these men at the post-celestial stage, right? Your Highness's first line is, High River, Rushing Gorge, Thunder and Lightning Clash, and my answer is Old Woods, Green Vine, Days and Months Grow Dim. Excellent. Grant him wine. My third topic is, Odd Changes and Even Holds. Huh? Uh, plus or minus depends on the quadrant. What does it mean? It doesn't seem to rhyme. Why do you care? Her Highness has granted him wine. I guess it was written by some unknown poet from the Great Han Kingdom. Just pay attention to the next line. Four hours later. I'm done with this one too. How many drinks have I taken? I didn't count, but from a while ago. Except for the Grand Elder of the Chiliang sect who has run away halfway, you are the only one left who still holds up and answers my lines. Plus your bold speech when you had an audience with me before, I'm quite interested in you. It's an honor to be recognized by you, your highness. And to your question, you have taken 32 drinks plus the last one. Why you, I think it's time to stop. Many people have been drunk, and so am I. You should begin to show that you are getting drunk. Immortal dominating punches shield, alcohol immunity. Getting drunk? Why? I can keep on drinking. I've already figured out your plan, but if you are not drunk, how can I carry you back to your room for a reason? How will the following plot play out? No way. I like to play an active role. If that really happens, it will be me who carries you back to the room. No. You have completely altered my script. At least, the last part should be carried out according to the original plan. Looks like Mr. Yu is a heavy drinker. If so, I will present one more line for you. I'd love to play along if your highness is in the mood. Mr. Yu, are you all right? It seems that Mr. Yu got drunk in the end. Your highness, let me take him back to his room to rest. No need for that. The banquet is over. We all had a good time. I'm going to send Mr. Yu to his room personally. Mr. Yu, happy time is fleeting. Don't really get drunk, or I will be unhappy if you do not respond. Just this once. Get out. If you dare to spy on me in the dark again, all agreements between us will be cancelled. This little princess is indeed irritable and not easy to get along with at all. However, not just men can have beauties, so I quite agree with her behavior. With this man involved, there will be one more way to hold her back in the future. There's no more movement. I suppose there are no spies of the Chiliang sect watching on me anymore. All right, the show can be stopped now. All people would think Urien is sleeping with Shilan Wei. Next, we will just need to show that we are getting closer, and then our plan will be more than half done, huh? Why you, didn't you say, happy time is fleeting? Since we've come all this way, why don't we finish the last scene? Are you insane? There is no such a scene in the script. Besides, you and I are both in disguise. Even if we want to have sex, I am afraid it will be inconvenient. Not at all. We just need to take off our clothes and be naked to each other, and then things will happen naturally. Fine. You asked for it. I hope you won't regret it. She's asleep? You turned me on and then fell asleep. Seriously? Is she pretending to be drunk? I don't believe a pre-celestial stage master is a lightweight. The bed reeks of alcohol. I'd better find another. Don't leave me, she is. Dad, Mom. Don't leave me alone.
three days later. Are the rumors true? Was really someone selected to be an advisor by Her Highness when the bigwigs from all over the country had an audience with Her Highness some time ago? I heard it too. My cousin works as a maid in the city lord's mansion. She told me that she saw it with her own eyes. It is said that Her Highness carried that man into her room after the banquet, and they came out at noon the next day. It's said that they have fallen in love since then. Mr. Yu went to the city lord's mansion to play the zither for Her Highness every day. The music was melodious and very attractive. I was also told that they met on the dune outside the city every night recently. Her Highness would perform a sword dance in the moonlight for Mr. Yu. Some passing caravans saw that scene by chance and regarded them as celestial beings down from heaven. The Shilan royal family was almost dead during the civil strife. Now Her Highness has finally returned and met her Mr. Wright in a short time. It seems that our country is blessed. But the civil strife has not yet settled. If Her Highness dwells on pleasure with that man, isn't it too? Humph, you are so ignorant. Mr. Yu is the son of General Yu Du of Mudu City. The general has large numbers of troops and has been protecting the country and the people in civil strife. He is a force that both we and the rebels are trying to win over. If Her Highness can marry Mr. Yu and form an alliance with General Yu Du, it will be just around the corner to get the Imperial City back after the truce becomes due. Moreover, huh? What's going on? This is, Her Highness and Mr. Yu are going out together again. I finally see them with my own eyes. They are really cut out for each other. With this man along, Her Highness looks more gorgeous than before. When it comes to birth and status, Mr. Yu is worthy of Her Highness, plus his good looks. I'm really envious of him. I suppose the news will spread throughout the Shilan Kingdom soon. Look, Your Highness, sand flows in the wind. It's like waves in the ocean. What a beautiful view. How about we play with the water in the oasis ahead later? Play with the water? Are you out of your mind? Stop acting since there are only the two of us here. Get your hands off me. Oh, I am just used to it. Why you, you are too mean. It's not your real body, and you will lose nothing if I hug you. Cut it out. I've always been the one who made a pass at others. If it weren't for the big picture, I wouldn't play with you in public. The show we have put on in the past few days should be convincing. Do Tu Lanja and the others believe what you have done? Thanks to your help, now all people in the Shilio city have known the relationship between Urien and Shilan Wei. Tu Lanja's spies in Shilio city also have got the news. I met with the shadow guard yesterday. I was told that Tu Lanja and the others did not doubt Urien has successfully approached Shilan Wei. And now the spies are on their way back to the Imperial City with the latest news. I believe it won't be long before Tu Lanja sends someone to meet you. When that time comes, as long as we work together, the rebels will put me in an important position after the success. This woman had no other responses after mumbling in her dream that night. I don't know what she was up to. Did she show her weakness to me on purpose? Or did she have other motives? Anyway, I'd better keep an eye on her. This matter is related to whether the Keshwaxi sect can be held off, so be careful when taking action. It is best if you can solve it, but if not, send back the message in time. At worst, I will attack the Imperial City again to create an opportunity for you. Got it. Even if it's not for this matter, I still need to count on you to save the queen after she is found. But then again, I've sorted out the information we have collected since we arrived here. The movements of the two evil sects were under our expectations, and our plan has been smoothly carried out in secret, but don't you think that the current situation is too well balanced? You mean, your highness? Someone from Iqua sent this letter, saying that it was an invitation to your highness. The city lord has read it and asked me to tell your highness that. You need to be fully prepared for the appointment. That's what happened in Shilan Kingdom recently. I've cooperated with Shilan Wei, and my previous plan is progressing smoothly. When the Gate of the Moon opens again, we will definitely get what we want. 
According to the intelligence we got from the Imperial City, Keshwaxi sect is hindered, and they would fall behind us. Sand listening bug. Interesting. I didn't expect that the disciple of the Wandao sect of this generation would be the princess of the Shilan kingdom. According to your description, I want to meet with her in person. But we've made a deal. Since the situation is under your control, I won't disturb your plan. Remember, although you have a good plan, you have to prevent yourself from being involved in it. Retreat when it's necessary. As long as you get the most important thing, nothing else matters. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Normally, Shilam Wei will see an empty treasury, and Keshwaxi sect will be the scapegoat. Even in the worst case, I have a backup plan. No matter how powerful Shilam Wei is, she is alone. I have countless ways to deal with her. As for Yan Chirgu, I have known him for so many years and figured out a way to handle him. Mr. Yan, nearly 90% of the seals of Gate of the Sun have been cracked, and the rest can be done in less than half a month. The Gate of the Moon will open in 19 days at the earliest. It seems that we've been ahead of the Chiliang sect. Good. Just stick to the plan. But remember to announce to the public that our progress is crossed. Don't let anyone know the truth, including the other elders of our sect. By the way, have you sent someone to contact that fake Shilam Wei in Shilio City? Well, a shadow guard went to do it as planned. I think we'll get the news in a few days. If the Chiliang sect is deceived by our fake news, the Keshwaxi sect can rest assured. But if they notice it during this period, the only thing we need to be vigilant about is that the Chiliang sect and the fake Shilam Wei may combine against us. To avoid this, I have to find an opportunity to talk to that fake Shilam Wei, Mr. Yan. A letter from Ikwa. I heard that Princess Shilam Wei received the same letter. I heard that after Princess Shilam Wei came back, the whole country was excited and made active preparations for war. To avoid killing, I hope to discuss it with the two sects. Does that mean I have to go to Ikwa in person? Besides me and Yan Chirgu, even the princess is invited? It's signed off with Zhou Yinping, Peace Cottage? Three days later. Who is Zhou Yinping? Why do I have to meet him? Your Highness, Mr. Zhou is the savior of our country. Half a year ago, I led an army to fight the rebels in Ikwa. Although the Chiliang sect helped us, we still couldn't defeat the gears of the Keshwaxi sect. When we were about to fail, a scholar controlled all the puppets of the Keshwaxi sect on his own, and the enemy was intimidated and dared not take a step forward. Due to his interference, we stopped fighting, and the two sects sent envoys to contact him. Only then did we know his identity. He is a level 4 pre-celestial stage Confucian scholar from the Ming Empire. When he went out on a trip, he happened to pass by the Shilan Kingdom and saw the war between two cultivation sections according to Mr. Zhou. If pre-celestial stage masters participated in the war of ordinary people, it would cause great harm. And the Ming Empire also had strict restrictions on the cultivators, so he intervened, hoping to eliminate the conflict between the two sects and stop the war. Mr. Zhou persuaded all the pre-celestial stage masters present not to participate in the battle. Tu Lanja and I had scruples about each other, so we withdrew our troops. Then Mr. Zhou built a thatched cottage in the center of the battlefield to express his stand of stopping the war. Not long after that, it is said that the leader of the Keshwaxi sect and the leader of the Chiliang sect went to the thatched cottage together. They talked with Mr. Zhou for a whole day and finally reached an agreement. The Keshwaxi sect and the Chiliang sect have been separated by Ikwa. They can open the Shilan treasury by their own abilities, and neither of them should fight or hurt the people of the Shilan kingdom. This is how the Shilan kingdom has been in the current delicate balance. I didn't expect that there would be such a powerful man getting involved in this chaotic game. He could even make the leaders of the two sects come to see him in person and stop fighting with each other. Apart from interests and schemes, this man is quite capable. It was a big event. But Yin Ryu just mentioned it simply in the intelligence. Don't look at me like that. I got intelligence from the Shadow Guard who's on my side now. 
She doesn't know much about the cultivation sections. It's the first time I've heard about the inside story of the truce in Iqua. I think Tulanja had no choice but to accept the truce because of the Keshwaxi sex arbitrariness. It was not good for the morale of the rebels, so he obscured the truth from the public. Forget it. It's meaningless to talk about this now. Take things as they come. Let's see what Mr. Zhou will say. Speaking of which, I'm confused about one thing. Since Mr. Zhou has stopped the war, why does he still live in the peace cottage? It is surrounded by wastelands. I think it will be inconvenient for him to live here. Scholars from the Ming Empire have various odd habits. Your Highness, you will get used to it after dealing with them more. However, Tu Lanja has been providing supplies for this place, and the city lord has also sent some maids to serve Mr. Zhou. Mr. Zhou is not pedantic. He accepted all the gifts from the two sects. The Chiliang sect doesn't seem to be on guard against Mr. Zhou in secret. Instead, they respect him. Interesting. Huh? This noise? I've noticed it before. Now it's finally coming out? Everyone, be careful. Something is coming out of the ground. Yan Shirgu, you make a big noise every time you show up. Aren't you afraid of disturbing Mr. Zhou? As a great scholar, Mr. Zhou can talk and laugh naturally while facing thousands of soldiers. How come I would disturb him? I haven't gotten even with you for what you have done before. You can't open the gate of the moon, but you put on a show around my spy puppets. Since you have arranged puppets in the desert to prevent us from sabotaging, I can only use some disinformation to make you exhausted. You mistakenly thought that we had opened the gate of the moon and came to take a share. How pathetic you are. They are supposed to fight against each other. But judging from their conversation, they are acquaintances. The Keshwaxi sect is on good terms with the Chiliang sect, so it's not strange that they have a relationship. But... After seeing the two disciples who died together in the Shimo Dark Tunnel, I thought the Keshwaxi sect and the Chiliang sect would never stop fighting each other. Now it seems that the vice leaders of the two sects haven't come to this, but neither of them is willing to give up on something in the Shilan treasury. If I can know what it is, I will have a way to take the initiative in this game. My guests, why are you standing outside? Please come in. The tea is ready. He's the scholar who stopped the civil war in Shilan Kingdom. Zhou Yinping? I invited you hastily, but you all came. Peace Cottage is honored by your presence. Please have a cup of tea, everyone. This is the green tea from the southwest of the Ming Empire. It has a special taste after being brewed with Shilan spring water. Mr. Zhou, you are being too humble. Peace Cottage is small. But you, the Assistant Minister of the Ministry of Rights of the Ming Empire, are here. How can we not come? You have reached the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage at such a young age, and you are also one of the seven Confucian talents. Even my sect leader was happy to make friends with you, and he praised your tea a lot. When I went on a trip a few years ago, I resigned and had no official title, and I haven't improved my cultivation base for a long time. But you too have reached the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage within half a year, and your auras are stable. I can hardly tell that you have just been promoted. Mr. Zhou, you're flattering us. It's the cultivation age, and we've benefited from it. In addition, the nine sex meeting has just ended, and we got our opportunities. By contrast, you have gained more, Yan Shigu. I heard that as soon as you were promoted, you got the puppet nine-headed snake, one of the secret treasures of the Keshwaxi sect. Now I'm far inferior to you. Stop being jealous. I don't think Mr. Zhou invited us here just for tea or chit-chat. Let's get straight to the point. You are as straightforward as ever, Yan Shigu. But you seem to be implying that Mr. Zhou is wasting our time. Don't you think you're being impolite? Don't try to sow dissension between me and Mr. Zhou. Do you think you can influence Mr. Zhou with a few words? As for being impolite, I don't think I'm the impolite one here. 
What's wrong? I just asked my servant to give me a massage. Does it bother you? I have no right to judge. Mr. Zhou invited us here to talk about something that will affect the situation of Xilan Kingdom. You not only brought some irrelevant people here, but also behaved like this. Your Highness, it seems you don't take this meeting seriously. There's something you don't know, Yan Shigu. Regardless of the other entourages, this handsome young man is very important to Her Highness. Her Highness can't leave him for even a second. You have dealt with puppets for a lifetime, so naturally, you won't understand the tender affection between men and women. Besides, even though you are always sharp-tongued and brainless, you should be polite to the disciple of the Wandao sect. Aren't you afraid of causing trouble to your sect? Grand Elder, mind your words. Oops. It's just a mysterious sect that looks like the Wandao sect. You guys don't have to stand eyeball to eyeball. What we are going to talk about today is important, but it's not a secret. As for Her Highness, she's of the royal family, so it's reasonable for her to bring some servants. For my sake, please put aside your prejudices. I will, Mr. Zhou. Humph. Mr. Zhou, if it weren't for your invitation, I would never calmly stay in the same room with this woman. Interesting. Judging from their conversation, Zhou Yinping means a lot to the two sections at least. He is more important than me, the disciple of the Wandao sect who suddenly showed up. And this man gives me a very strange feeling. I always feel that something is wrong. Hey, do you think Zhou Yinping is weird? Weird? Why you, are you jealous of him because of his elegance and handsome face? Stop it, you. We should also show some respect to Mr. Zhou. Speaking of which, it's the first time I've seen you in person, Your Highness. I heard that not long ago, your swordplay shocked the city and caused quite a stir. Now I can see you are surrounded by sharp sword energy. It seems that you have had many adventures during your years away from Shilan Kingdom. But what's rare is that you stopped your attacks at the last moment of the battle in the Imperial City, so that all the people in the city were not affected by the battle between the pre-celestial stage masters. It's a blessing to them and you, your highness. Mr. Zhou, you seem to have some unspoken meaning. I didn't mean anything else, but I'm curious. I heard that since you came back from the Imperial City, you have been meeting bigwigs from all over the country in Chilio City. What's your plan, your highness? You knew the answer, Mr. Zhou. Now that I'm back, I would gather my old courtiers to counterattack the rebels and revive the Shilan kingdom. I have warned the Keshwaxi sect to get out of the Imperial City as soon as possible. If they are smart enough and do what I said, I can send them away from Shilan Kingdom with dignity, but if they refuse, I won't show mercy to them when I lead the army to the Imperial City. Your Highness, have you ever thought about what would happen when you lead the army to the Imperial City? What would happen? Tulanja would stop me vainly, like a mantis trying to stop a chariot. What else can they do? Of course, Tulanja is no match for you, but the sects share a common lot. Once Tulanja fails and the Keshwaxi sect can't hold the Imperial City on its own, I believe Mr. Yan would not stand by. So what? Do you think I'm afraid of him? Since you dare to break into the Imperial City alone, you're definitely not afraid of him. But what will happen next? If Mr. Yan can't fight against you, the Keshwaxi sect will send more powerful reinforcements. In this way, the Chiliang sect will also send more masters here. In the battle among pre-celestial stage masters, your power would sweep the whole area. If ordinary soldiers participated in the battle, how many casualties would be caused? You seem to be implying that all soldiers would be killed because of my counterattack. Am I supposed to watch the rebels harming my country without doing anything? That's ridiculous. I didn't mean that. The chaos in the Shilan Kingdom is just internal strife. Your Highness, as the Princess of the Shilan Kingdom, you have the right to do anything. But the two sects came for the Shilan Treasury, and they have formed an even situation. If you rashly break the balance, it will cause more harm to the people in Shilan Kingdom. I just want to remind you not to be too hasty when something happens, but to deal with it in a slow and deliberate way. Back then, the two sects made an agreement here. 
They've taken the Iqwa as the boundary and competed fairly with each other for the Shilon treasury. After either of them obtains it, they should both unconditionally withdraw from the Shilon kingdom. This agreement is still valid, isn't it? Yep. Agreed. Once the winner is decided and the two sects leave according to the agreement, the situation in the Shilon kingdom will no longer be complicated. With your cultivation base, you can easily suppress the rebels without worries behind. What do you think, your highness? What he said makes sense. It seems that I muse judged him, wait. How can I think what he said is reasonable? Nonsense. There is something wrong with him, hmm, what was I thinking? Yeah, I was thinking that what Zhou Yinping said is exactly what I want. And I misjudged him. I'm just pretending to take back the lost land. Since I'm impersonating Shilan Wei now, I have to tend maintain her public image. Winner? I can't stop the two sects from entering my country and fighting for Shilan treasury, but I have to watch them take away my treasures before I can settle down the domestic chaos. How unreasonable. There's no right or wrong. It's just making a choice. Just as I said, if you just want justice, you can't stop the war. If you are powerful enough, you can defeat the enemy without hurting the people. If the two sects are powerful enough, they can ignore any objection and monopolize the Shilan treasury, do. But there's no if, and the Shilan kingdom is in such a situation today. Since we are involved, we shouldn't solve it with the principle of being an outsider. For the people of Shilan kingdom, please drink a toast and make an agreement. Before the opening of the Shilan treasury, keep the truce and stop fighting each other. What about the agreement between Tu Lanja and the Keshwaxi sect? The contract between Tu Lanja and us has ended. As long as the owner of the Shilan treasury is decided, the Keshwaxi sect will leave the imperial city and will not be your enemy for the rebels. To show my sincerity, I can also make a promise. After the Shilan treasury is opened, the Keshwaxi sect will only take one treasure and return the rest of the treasures to you. Okay, for the people of Shilan kingdom. I agree to the truce. Zhou Yinping is such a good man. He saved me some trouble of maintaining Shilan Wei's public image. What a perfect solution. Since Her Highness has concluded the truce, you too can rest assured. Your Highness, I'm glad you agreed to it. Back then, Mr. Zhou came to the Shilan Kingdom and stopped the war. Now Your Highness returned to your homeland. I believe there will be no more riots in the Shilan Kingdom. By the way, Mr. Zhou, you just said since we are involved, we shouldn't solve it with the principle of being an outsider. Is it the knowledge of Confucianism in the Ming Empire? As far as I know, Mr. Zhou's teacher was Yi Jingzi, a great Confucian scholar. After graduating, Mr. Zhou traveled all over the world to preach the idea of ending wars. I suppose he may have learned this from years of travel. Oh? If so, I really want to learn about it. I can't say it's the knowledge of Confucianism. It's just a lesson I've learned after traveling to various countries to cultivate, preach, and mediate in conflicts. It's just about making a choice. Whenever and wherever conflict breaks out, death is inevitable. I always want to persuade people through reasoning, but sometimes the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Abandon one person and save ten people. Abandon ten people and save a hundred people. Abandon a hundred people and save a thousand people. When there's no more person to be abandoned, I have to make a choice. And I always choose to let more people live. That's why I tried to stop the war in Iqwa before, and that's why I tried to persuade your highness today. I see. You deserve your reputation, Mr. Zhou. You are selfless and righteous, just like the saint, saint. She's really good at flattering people. Confucian scholars, there are only a few Confucian scholars of the Han Empire. I don't know much about these people. And I didn't get some origin points from Zhou Yinping, but judging from his behaviors, he does look like a pacifist. Huai Yu, can you see through his bad intentions? Bad intentions, you have a preconceived idea about him. It's said that Confucian scholars of the Ming Empire like traveling around the world to help other countries. 
It's not surprising that Zhou Yinping tries to stop the war in Xilan Kingdom. I don't really think he has some bad intentions. I just don't like this hypocrite. Making a choice? He'll never be the abandoned one, so he can talk big and harangue people. Then what's your choice? I will never waste my time making any choices. I don't care if others live or die. I only care about my fellows. I believe you have the same idea, don't you? Fellows? I think she only cares about herself. But it's not surprising that she has this thought judging from her character. Since we're talking about this topic, what's your idea, your highness? You want to know my understanding of how to make a choice? Yeah, your highness learned from one, I mean, a mysterious sword sect. You must have a different understanding of this than ordinary people. We have plenty of time. How about sharing your idea with us, your highness? Well, Mr. Zhou has given a wonderful speech. I have nothing to add. My only wish is that my people can live a secure and happy life. It's just the trolley problem. But I'd better give them an answer in Shilan Wei's way. Your Highness, not only will you have to make a choice about this matter, but you'll have to make countless choices in the future. You are short-sighted if you only focus on the current situation. Oh? Then what's your idea? About life and death, I have the same idea as Mr. Zhou. I would abandon a minority of people if a majority of people could be saved in this way. But we'll make all kinds of choices, not just about human life, and Shilan Kingdom may get into other trouble in the future. If your highness really cares about the people, you have to decide early. Abandon your weak fellows and find a more powerful backup for your country. Yan Shirgu is hinting at me. He wants me to offer to cooperate with Keshwaxi sect. But his words are brutally frank. You're wrong, Yan Shirgu. Shilan is just a small country. If it has a powerful backup, Her Highness' ability will be stifled even though she's very powerful. I believe Her Highness won't make such a wrong choice. I just agreed to a truce, but it makes them feel that Shilan Wei is under their control. Although I'm happy to see them arguing, I don't like being looked down on. There is no right or wrong choice. Her Highness just came back. It's normal for her to only focus on things in the Shilan Kingdom. You're right, Mr. Zhou. But Her Highness is soft-hearted. I'm afraid she won't abandon a minority of people when she encounters a dilemma. Because she's soft-hearted, she'll be manipulated by me at the last gasp even though she's powerful. Grand Elder, when did you become my spokesperson? Do you really know what I'm thinking? The reason why I didn't give a direct answer is because what you were talking about is just an armchair critic. Hundred, thousand, these are just numbers. It said that the cultivation path is ruthless and the saint is selfless, but I'm not the saint and also not ruthless. When you stand in front of those people, can you choose to abandon them without any hesitation? At least I can't. You were right about one thing. I indeed won't give up anyone, but it's not because I'm soft-hearted. If I have to make a choice and sacrifice some people, I'll fight with them till the end, rather than send them to their deaths and hide in the rear. It would be best to save everyone. If not, I will save as many people as I can. And I choose to believe in myself and my sword. Your Highness, you are obfuscating the concept. What you said it's not a dilemma. Besides, force cannot solve all problems. But I can tell you really love the country and the people. I believe you'll be a good queen. It doesn't sound like an improvised speech. Is it what he really thinks? It seems that my judgment was correct. The matter has been settled. We have something else to do in Chilio City. We'll leave first. Mr. Yu, you, I'll go with Her Highness. You can leave first. Good. When we get back to Chilio City, I'll invite you to our sect. I want to get to know you. I'm just a nobody. I'll come to a visit in person if I get Her Highness permission. See you, Grand Elder. Are we just leaving? Yan Shirgu left without hesitation. Did you notice that? Shilan Wei has cooperated with us. Normally, he should be anxious about it. 
but judging from his attitude, it seems that their progress of cracking the gate of the sun is faster than we thought. Even though we have the key, they are not worried that we may open the gate first. So we don't have much time. We have to go back to Shilio City as quickly as possible and make a new plan. This meeting is out of the plan, but it has sped things up. The two sects have given up the rebels. As long as we make good use of this information, the Imperial City will be in chaos, and then we can take the opportunity to save the Queen. But, Zhou Yinping asked Huayu to stay after the meeting. What is he going to say to Huayu? Confucian cultivation methods are unfathomable. I can't eavesdrop on them. I can only wait for Huayu to come out. Mr. Zhou, why did you keep me here? I'm impressed by what your highness just said, making me a little curious about your master and sect. And besides, according to Hueli's attitude, you don't seem to want others to know about it, so I keep you here specifically to talk to you about it. Since you know that I don't want to talk about this thing, you should know that you won't get anything from this secret talk. I don't think so. You don't want to say, but I can guess. If I guess right, you can point it out. As far as I know, Wendao sect, the greatest evil sect in the Han Empire, is a sword sect. Each disciple of it has a red sword. The cultivation methods of Wendao sect are unfathomable and variable. With these cultivation methods, the disciples can kill masters whose cultivation levels are even higher than theirs. Well, my master never told me about our sect, so I don't know much about it. The Grand Elder of Chiliang sect insisted that I'm from Wendao sect. I think she misunderstood. Indeed. I don't think Hueli has seen the cultivation methods of Wendao sect, so it's not surprising that she made a mistake. After all, in terms of age, your highness doesn't seem to be at the same age as Wei Chi Shuang, the disciple of Wendao sect in this generation. I'm afraid you are not the disciple of Wendao sect. And you're not even Princess Shilan Wei. You are disguising yourself as the princess and want to take advantage of this identity to make a profit. Well, I know I can't lie about the Wendao sect for long, but I didn't expect that the person who saw it through isn't someone who attended the Nine Sects meeting. Isn't it said that the disciple of the Wendao sect is mysterious? How come even a foreigner knows about her? And he also saw through my disguise as Shilan Wei. The rebels in the Imperial City and Zhou Yinping all figured out my identity. What on earth gave me away? That came out of nowhere, Mr. Zhou. Who else can I be if I am not Shilan Wei? You can be any pre-celestial stage master, but not that homeless princess. Because I met Her Highness Shilan Wei once many years ago. At that time, I passed through Shilan Kingdom. And when I had an audience with the former king, I happened to meet Her Highness Shilan Wei. Few people know about this. We didn't talk much, but Her Highness should at least remember my name and looks. It shouldn't be like what you did today, as if we met for the first time, so it's not his first time here, and he even knew Shilan way before? If this is the reason that makes me expose myself, it's easy to solve. Well, nothing can be hidden from you. Actually, I have lost almost all my memories of the past since I left Shilan, and I have long forgotten what had happened. I didn't know we had met before. You lost your memories? In order not to unsettle people, Shilio City has been keeping it secret. Please don't reveal it, Mr. Zhou. That's an excellent excuse. Fine. As long as you adhere to the truce and do not start a war in Shilan, I don't care if your identity is true, however, I am a little curious. Do you know you are a chosen talented seed? Chosen talented seed? What does it mean? Looks like you don't know. You still remember what you did in the Imperial City a few days ago, right? Path of Sword You stirred up the power of Path of Sword on your own, which wouldn't happen if it wasn't done by a cultivator. But if you had started your path, you shouldn't have felt constrained when fighting the Keshwaxi sect. Metal Element Supreme Eagle Sword I can't figure out your realm, but you could trigger the Heavenly Vision before starting your path. You are undoubtedly the legendary Chosen Talented Seed. Is that the meaning of Chosen Talented Seed? What are the benefits of it? 
Can it help me absorb a few more auras of heaven and earth to speed up my cultivation? Turns out it's a misunderstanding because of the inferior power of combining spirit and body I brought back from the small world. What a coincidence. I thought you were unidentified, but I figure that you are not from a small sect by what you have said. Although you are not the disciple of the Wandao sect, at least you've learned from an acknowledged evil sect. Are you from one of the nine evil sects in the Han Empire? Don't give me that look. I didn't see through your identity. It's just that only the evil sex advocate aura in the world. Since ancient times, the evil sex have believed that there is a resource called the aura in nature, which can decide the speed of cultivation. How much aura a person obtains throughout his life decides whether he can reach the peak of the pre-celestial stage and embark on a journey of enlightenment. That's why every evil sect thinks all the places left by the ancient sex are connected to the path. The doors linking those ancient places to the path would open every 30 or 40 years. By then, people can absorb the aura from the path. Yet, it's just plain ridiculous. The path is supreme, and it's not something like water that the ordinary can reach and obtain. Aura does exist, but it's merely a unique breath released by cultivators at different realms. It's a pity that most evil sects are stubborn, turning a deaf ear to others. In a sense, the debate of aura is also one of the reasons for the dispute between the righteous sex and the evil sex since ancient times. Um, I remember imparting elder told me that there isn't only one saying about aura, but different sects have different theories. Looks like the view of the righteous sex is quite different from that of the evil sex. Mr. Zhou, as you said, how to explain the cultivation cycle about every three or four decades? The cultivation of martial arts in the world is essentially only a process of seeking a path. The so-called path is like the sun and the sky shining for everyone. We cultivators are merely observing its shape, studying things, and gaining insights. The essence of cultivation isn't about plunder and occupation of resources, but enlightenment. Everyone has his own path, just as everything has its own shadow. As long as you observe and understand your path, you can break through realms and improve your cultivation. As for the so-called cultivation cycle, the shadow of the sun changes in length and the path is also periodic. When the cultivation opportunity occurs every three or four decades, it's the time that people are closest to their own path and it naturally costs them less effort on cultivation. I see, according to Confucianism, so-called cultivation is to observe and understand one's path. The more you do it, the higher realm you will reach, and one day you can combine your spirit and body. Back then, Xia Daoyun made breakthroughs frequently with one thought. It seems that the cultivation of the righteous sex is to rack one's brain. As long as you figure it out, you can easily get enlightened and promoted. But what do all these have to do with the chosen talented seed? Since cultivation is like shadow observation, so-called talent depends on the clarity of the path shadow. But for the chosen talented seed, the gap between observation and enlightenment doesn't exist at all. So you can face your own path at any time. This is a once-in-a-century aptitude for cultivation in the world. Compared with the techniques of amateur cultivators and evil sex, righteous sex techniques are more suitable for you. I'd hate to see your talent be consumed on the wrong path, so I am here to give you some advice and set things right today. Damn. Does he mean to poach me from the evil sect after saying so much, or does he want me to switch sides and join his sect? But I am not a chosen talented seed at all. I just forcibly connected with the path with the power obtained from the small world. What's more, I have got promoted through the system all the time. The speed of the cultivation doesn't matter to me at all. It happened too abruptly. I'd love to if you give me your sex cultivation techniques, but is there really such a thing as a free lunch? I get it. Acts speak louder than words. You can judge how our techniques are and whether they are suitable for you after seeing them with your own eyes. You mean you want to spar with me? Not exactly. Our techniques are different from your ever-changing ones. We are not good at attacking, but have advantages in other aspects. You will find it out with your sword. Uh, speaking of which, I really haven't seen many techniques apart from the evil sections anyway. There is nothing wrong with learning something else. Alright, let's go outside. 
Don't take the trouble. We can just try it here. Here? Aren't you afraid to break these things? I don't think there will be a problem as I will just show it a little. I am sure about that even though I am not good at fighting. Fair enough, then I'm coming. Mr. Zhou, take this. Is this a shield? No, an ordinary shield with internal power can't disperse the evil power of the sky ceiling sword. It's not so much that my attack was blocked, but stopped. I didn't withdraw my sword, but its power seemed to be exhausted. There were no barriers to internal power, but it seemed to vanish into thin air. Moreover, it is not only he who is protected, but even the surrounding space is also affected by these words. And the sword energy of the sky ceiling sword is easily dissolved by these words. What a bizarre sword. If it weren't for the Confucian technique's effect of rectification and righteousness, I'm afraid it would be hard for me to resist it. No wonder you dared to pretend to be the disciple of the Wandao sect in front of the evil sex with it. However, this sword alone can't crack my technique of disarming. Once it is performed, things around me are under my protection, and no one can raise a fight. Before combing spirit and body, Confucian techniques are far weaker than those of the evil sex when it comes to unpredictable moves and attacks. But when it comes to the unity of paths and techniques, and the power of imperative orders, we are second to none. Confucian techniques are indeed something. But I've learned something from his move just now. No matter how mysterious his means is, its essence is still internal power. I have already witnessed your technique, but I suddenly want to try one more, so please, evil sword spirit fuse. Take this. Infect. Huh? Not bad. This attack is much more overwhelming, and it did surprise me a bit. He was just a little surprised? The evil sword spirit obviously exerted its power just now, and he suppressed it with his strength, and now he is quite calm. However, he really got something. The ability to act on things around him is what I can't manage to do at the moment. It's a useful ability for me. Even if I can only learn a little, I can complete it with the system later. I'm flattered. And I am indeed impressed by Confucian techniques after this fight. You said I am a chosen talented seed, suitable for cultivating Confucian techniques. I am wondering if you can guide me. It has been my wish to bring you back to the right path, and I will teach you everything for sure. It's just that Confucian cultivation doesn't follow a certain set of methods, which is very different from the evil sections we advocate teaching students by their aptitudes. People cultivate through different paths, especially a chosen talented seed like you. I'd like to recommend a suitable sect to you, where you can start with learning and gradually observe your own path. That's troublesome. I can't take a shortcut with the system if there is no technique to be recorded. I see. Yet, as you said just now, shadow observation and enlightenment are the common means to all righteous sects, but as far as I know, a sect like Taishian's sect still takes technique passing as their main way. Surely, different techniques should be cultivated in different ways. If you seek truth from Taoist sects, you will certainly gain something, but it won't be as pure as the Confucian sects, and can't bring your advantage as a chosen talented seed into full play. Oh? I'm all ears. Origin point gain greed, 0.01 points Qi Yinping Ji Jin Ye. This is, he has never produced any origin points, which made me think he was at a higher cultivation level and cool-headed, but now it seems that I was wrong. Greed? Could it be that he covets the so-called chosen talented seed? A chosen talented seed is born to seek Tao. You are making a detour by cultivating techniques. Looks like he got other plans secretly. More importantly, why are there two names in the origin point information? Could it be... Um, did I say something wrong? And no, I was just thinking there are thousands of profound cultivation techniques in the world. It's indeed biased to be confined to the evil sections if you don't mind. I'd like to go to the Ming Empire with you to learn Confucian theories after things in Xilan are done. It's not the right time to think it over now. 
I'd better pretend not to be aware of it, so as not to complicate my plans for taking treasury. I don't mind it. The whole point of my journey is to cultivate and get enlightened. It's about time to go back to the Ming Empire. Yet, what do you mean by saying after things are done? Surely, I was talking about the chaos of the Xilan treasury. If it isn't settled, how can I leave the Xilan kingdom with peace of mind? The chaos of the Xilan treasury, not the chaos of the Xilan kingdom? It seems that you have no intention of settling down and inheriting the throne. Ahem, I am not the best candidate to lead the country as I have lost my memory. After I put down the chaos and save my mother, I will properly handle the succession to the throne. You don't have to explain anything to me. It's just that you seem to want something in the treasury too. But what exactly do you want? Is it a treasure? Power source stones? Or, I've lost all my memories, so I don't remember what is in there. But since it belongs to our royal family, I won't allow any outsiders to hog it. But you seem to know a lot about things in the treasury. I'm also curious about what in our treasury makes the two evil sects fight so hard. Can you tell me? All right. I accidentally learned it when mediating the dispute between the two evil sects. Have you ever heard of Flameless Holy Fire? What is it? Legend has it that there was a sect named Grand Light Sect in the western regions in ancient times, which took flame as their path. It was once worshipped as the state religion by all the countries in the western regions, and its power was overwhelming throughout the world. The so-called Shilan treasury is formerly one of the treasuries of this sect, and the most precious thing in it is an inheritance called Flameless Holy Fire. This item enables the user to connect to the path, thus skipping the most perilous obstacle in combining spirit and body. More importantly, it can ignore the deviation of the path, burn out the shackles of techniques, and create a thoroughfare that is feasible for anyone. In other words, as long as someone at the peak of the sixth level of the pre-celestial stage possesses it, he can successfully reach the seventh level. For many small sects, such an amazing treasure is their only hope for breaking through. The Grand Light Sect was destroyed by a joint siege of small sects after going through internal disorder back then. Yet, no one expected there would be a flameless holy fire in the treasury. I see. If what you said is true, this item is indeed priceless. It depends on who owns it. Although it is helpful, it's an external force after all, so what it helps achieve can only be regarded as mediocre. Cultivators from big sects with ancient inheritances would follow their own paths to cultivate. At least, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you will still land among the stars. However, the top grade paths are quite demanding on talents. Not everyone has the talent to cross that threshold even if he is from a strong sect like Keshwaxi sect or Chiliang sect. With this efficient item, even if it can't get people to the top, it's still worth two sects fighting for. In contrast, for a chosen talented seed like you, or cultivators like me who seek a path on our own, it's not hard to achieve a top-grade path that solely belongs to ourselves. Flameless holy fire is simply useless to us. It's okay if you insist on making a decision after the treasury is opened, but now that you are Shilan Wei, no matter which side wins in the end, you can take what you need. I sincerely advise you to let everything take its course. Don't make it more complex. This is the best way for you to get benefits from this game. Your Highness, you are finally out. You guys go to fetch the camels. We are going back to Shilio City. Why you? What on earth did Zhou Yinping say to you? Will it affect our plans? Um? Why you? Um, it's nothing. He just told me something to pay attention to after the truce. That's it? Don't fool me. Your expression means something else. To be honest, it's something about cultivation. He was curious about where Shilan Wei got such mysterious power. It's about secrets of my cultivation, so you don't need to know. Go to help fetch the camels. You are so petty. I am so close to you, and you won't lose anything if you tell me a little. I don't know if I would lose anything, but if you find out things about the chosen talented seed, I'm afraid you'll do me a disservice. Speaking of which, I don't think I'm really a so-called chosen talented seed. 
he was probably making a fool of me. But the legendary flameless holy fire is indeed a good thing. I've already connected to the path of sword, but it doesn't hinder me from getting a few more different paths. It's just that I can't let Yen Ryu find it out. Otherwise, no one knows what trouble she will make, except for that. There is one more important thing. By the way, have you ever heard of a name called Ji Jinya when traveling around? Is there any pre-celestial stage master in the Ming Empire called this name? Ji Jinya? Why did you mention that? It's not your business. Just tell me whether you have heard of it or not. Well, I did. Ji Jinya was a little famous in the world, but he was not from the Ming Empire, but from the Han Empire. He was the former leader of the Ji family in the Jiangnan region. Technically, he was an ancestor of Ji Yuntao, Child Warm Jade, one of the five child. Besides, he was an exceptional pre-celestial stage master in the Ji family. However, he only ended up at the first level of the pre-celestial stage. Ji's Mansion Turns out he's from the Ji family, but how come he got involved with Confucian scholars in the Ming Empire? Hold on, you said he was the former leader of the Ji family, which means... As far as I know, Ji Jinya has been dead for many years. It's said that he died of illness. And now the current leader of the Ji family is someone with the middle name Zhang at the post-celestial stage. He's dead? Then where did the origin points I received come from? The system doesn't lie. Is it a coincidence to have the same name? No, it's abnormal to have two names in the prompt at once. The weirder the answer, the more likely it is close to the truth. Could it be that Ji Jinye revived in Zhou Yinping's dead body, or has he possessed Zhou Yinping's body? Damn it! I just dealt with Yi Dao Qi, and now a new monster came out. It just won't end, will it? Does his greed for chosen talented seeds have something to do with this weird coexistence? Forget it. Either way, it's better to stay away from him for now. Although my disguise has been seen through, my identity has not been revealed yet. I'll leave here the moment I snatch the treasury, and then no one can cause me trouble. Let's get out of here first. Looks like she has figured out something. I suppose she has. What I said just now shouldn't give me away, but I could clearly sense her breath of the path when I took her attack. I just had guessed she was a chosen talented seed, but after taking the attack, I could confirm that she is. The obsession that had never come true for many years welled up, which did stir up my mind a little bit. You mean, just that momentary impulse was captured by her? Interesting. I didn't expect her to have this kind of ability. You shouldn't have used the information of Flameless Holy Fire to sound out. If this news keeps getting out, it will attract too many hungry wolves, and the game in Shilan Kingdom may not develop according to your script. You are too cautious. After that, at least we are sure that she didn't know about it beforehand, and the reason why she got involved is most likely to do with the missing Shilan way. Besides, it can keep her here instead of retreating halfway. I am still alive today because I've stayed cautious. Otherwise, I would have been wiped out by the D family. You are deeply obsessed with the chosen talented seed, which is not a good thing. Don't worry. Even if this plan fails, it will be just a waste of time. And I can do it again. Or worse, even if we alarm the D family, they will only end up tracking me down, so it won't affect your cause. Let's get back to this chosen talented seed. I have to take action before the treasury is opened. However, based on the test just now, I am sure it's not hard to defeat her, but capturing her alive is almost impossible. Make a good plan, and I will help you once. That will be great if you are willing to do so. I feel relieved. After I set the ritual, I will invite her again. Although she is vigilant now, she will soon put this threat aside. After all, the Confucian doctrine you have imposed on us can even affect the sect leader of the Shinma sect. She's just an immature chosen talented seed. She can't escape from your clutches. The current situation is that I'm fixing my eyes on the Shilan treasury and trying to trap the two evil sects while Zhou Yinping is fixing his eyes on me. I don't care who he or Ji Jinye is. Right now, I have the identity of Shilan Wei as a cover. 
Everything will be easy to solve as long as no incident happens to Xie Yin. If Zhou Yinping is only at the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage, he can do nothing to me, and actually, that's what happened on the spot. But, why do I feel creepy all the time? Have I been traumatized by Yi Dao Qi? Never mind. I should focus on the treasury. The gate of the moon is fine. The only thing that worries me is that the gate of the sun might be opened ahead of time. Instead of keeping Yin Ryu with me like gum, without knowing what she is up to, it's better to send her back to cause trouble, and that's the only role she can play now. It's been days since you were sent here to seduce me. The show almost ends, and it's time for our audiences to pay the price, right? Indeed. Next, we will just wait for the Imperial City to send someone here to negotiate with you, and then we'll go along and do what Tulanja asks. There is nothing to wait for. Don't you have your own man among the Shadow Guards? Just order that person to report that I agree to cooperate. As for the reason, you can make it up at will. Your main task is to hinder the your progress of the Keshwaxi hard sect cracking the Gate of the Sun instead of flirting with me here, understand? Uh, don't get mad at me. I get it. I'm going back right away. Two days later. Did you say that Yan Shergu agreed to the truce offered by Zhou Yinping without taking my stand into account? Exactly. Yu Rian participated in their talk, and I'm sure this news he brought back is true. I think it's very important, plus we have achieved the goal of our original plan, so I acted on my own to call Yu Rian back to report it to you in person. Well done. If it weren't for you sending back the news in time, I would still be in the dark. Damn Keshwaxi sect. How dare they treat me with disrespect? Why should they respect you since you are weak? What an arrogant fool. I wonder how he destroyed the Shilan royal family back then. What are you going to do, my lord? Since he showed no respect, I don't need to be kind either. Give out my order. Delay the supply of all materials for the Keshwaxi sect from today onwards. Since he gave no thought to me, I don't have to help him fight for the treasury. My lord, please calm down. You can't do this. No matter how carefully we do it, the Keshwaxi sect may become resentful towards us. We've finally gained a firm foothold. After the truce is over, you can seize the whole country and be the king. You can't act on impulse and make things uncertain at this moment. What's more, Chiliang sect will probably lose the fight for the treasury. Based on the way they do things, they may regard you as a target for revenge. It's hard to deal with one evil sect, so how can we secretly offend another one? Well, that makes sense. In my opinion, currently, we should support the Keshwaxi sect to seize the treasury regardless of the cost, so that we can still ask them for help to fight the Chiliang sect if they go to the extreme. I see, but given what Yan Shirgu did, will he help me again if there is no benefit? You got the point, my lord, since we have achieved our goal in Shilio City, I am wondering if we can convince that fake Shilan Wei to take our side. Well, according to my observation, she does target the treasury. That's why she disguised herself as the princess to get involved. Now, she is obsessed with Urien and has indulged in pleasure. She isn't hostile to your lordship and even decided not to interfere in the civil strife. It's possible to draw her over to our side, but she made a few conditions. Conditions? Go ahead. The first condition is about the Shilan treasury. Except for the thing that the two evil sects fight for, all the remaining treasures there will belong to her. That's okay. Just as you said, this fake Shilan Wei has reached an agreement with the two evil sects in the thatched cottage, and his lordship surely won't say anything about it. What about the second one? As for the second one, she asked us to hand over Queen Saya to her. Queen Saya? Um, isn't this Shilan Wei a fake one? Why does she want the former queen? Does she actually have something to do with the Shilan royal family? Looks like Tu Lanja is not very confident. That makes sense. He wouldn't be nice to a puppet queen of the previous dynasty. If he really gets such strong support, I'm afraid that there will be no peaceful life for him. 
I felt confused as well, but she said she knew the real Shilan Wei and promised to keep her mother safe before the real Shilan Wei died. She said she must fulfill the promise even though she has decided not to interfere in the affairs of Shilan Kingdom again. We can't trust her only with her word promise. Perhaps, like us, she wants to seize Queen Saya as a puppet so she can secretly control the whole kingdom. If we hand the queen over, his lordship will lose the bargaining chip. It is indeed possible, as I expected, the rebels won't let go of the queen easily, but I can't make our side behave too anxiously, which may betray our intentions. It seems that it's not easy to unmask Huayu in one step. I can only fall back on the second resort. I also thought of these worries, and I've got the fake Shilan way to make a concession. She said it doesn't matter even if we don't hand over the queen, but she must see the queen with her own eyes. Besides, she said your lordship should be nice to Queen Saya and never treat her lightly in the future. If you agree, she'll kind of live up to the promise she made to the dead Shilan Wei. Well, I think it's fair enough. It's just that we need time to make an arrangement. We will get someone to deliver his lordship's reply and back to Shilio City tomorrow. Arrangement? I'm afraid they are going to spend time disciplining that queen, in case she will say something that embarrasses everyone in front of Shilan Wei. But it doesn't matter. The following things will be simple as long as they get her out. Anyway, you did a good job this time. According to the promise, from today on, you will be the head of the Shadow Guards, and this man will be a formal Shadow Guard as well. Grant them a hundred teals of gold and a thousand cattle and sheep. Thank you, my lord. Tulanja's reaction was as I expected. But it's a pity that if it weren't for Zhang Yi, with Tulanja's mind, he would be surely agitated to fight the Keshwaxi sect. Master, our plan is going well. What are we going to do next? You are now the head of the Shadow Guards. You are qualified to dispatch the spies in the Imperial City. Make an arrangement first to lay the foundation for locking the hiding place of Queen Saya later. However, you just took power, and everyone is keeping an eye on you, so keep a low profile. I will also do something to create opportunities for you. As long as we rescue the queen, I will teach you the techniques of the Chongling sect, so that you can refine your deceased husband's soul into a ghost and keep him with you all the time. Thank you, master. On the other hand, although it isn't the primary goal, you need to get ready to delay the Keshwaxi sect's progress of opening the treasury. You can start with the materials and personnel that Tu Lanja provides them, see which part you can tamper with. Got it. But, we don't need to investigate the personnel for the Keshwaxi sect, because Zhang Yi is the only one. I got this news a few days ago, but I didn't get a chance to tell you. Zhang Yi again? By tomorrow, I need everything about this guy, including what you and the Shadow Guards have learned, understand? Um, I'm on it. The next day, I was preoccupied with searching for the queen before, without paying attention to people except for Tulanja. Intelligence just obtained. After investigating, I found out that Zhang Yi is quite something. He's just a descendant of a slave from the Han Empire. He was humble back then. Later, he was recruited by Tulanja, who was a low-level general back then. He followed Tu Lanja as his counselor until Tu Lanja rebelled. After Tu Lanja got support from Keshwaxi sect, Zhang Yi has become the intermediary between Tu Lanja and Keshwaxi sect. Besides, he has been thought highly of by Yan Shirgu because of his arithmetical ability and helped to crack the gate of the sun. He can be said to be the bond between Tu Lanja and Keshwaxi sect, and also an indispensable talent for Keshwaxi sect to open the treasury. If only he is killed. The progress of the Keshwaxi sect to crack the gate of the sun will be greatly impeded. After all, I tried to get the queen out without telling Huayu. If I can solve this matter, it's kind of compensation to him, so he won't fall out with me. According to the intelligence, Zhang Yi is only at the fifth level of the post-celestial stage, so it's not difficult to deal with him. But just to be safe, it's better not to reveal my identity as Yurian, so I can only ask Mei Lang to do it. Whenever he returns home from the palace, he is bound to pass through this dark alley. 
He can't sense a ghost of the Chunling sect as he is just at the post-celestial stage. It couldn't be easier to kill him silently. Who's there? Keshwaxi Sect, Full Protecting Shield It's a mechanic technique of the Keshwaxi Sect, as I expected, he is so important that Yan Shirgu wouldn't overlook his safety. It's a pity that he didn't use this good thing in time. Mei Lang attacked him first, and he died, wait. He's only seriously injured? There's something wrong with him. It should be impossible for him to withstand Mei Lang's attack with his strength. Um, what was I thinking? Right, he was so lucky that he didn't die after being hit by Mei Lang. This mechanism seems to be hard to crack in a short time. Although he is alive, I have achieved my goal. And the reinforcement of the Keshwaxi sect should be here soon. Here he comes. Step back. Uh, he's here so fast. Has the Keshwaxi sect sent someone to stay by Zhang Yi's side and protect him all the time? He badly hurt Mei Lang with only one hit. His cultivation level is far greater than mine, and I can't fight him head on. Emerge. Oh, shit. Mei Lang is trapped. She can't break free on her own. I have to. Turn around. Bam. This feeling. To have such strength, he is at least at the second level of the pre-celestial stage. I was careless. I must get away from here. Five elements shift, black water cover sun. She escaped? There are no traces of her aura. What an ultimate fleeing art. Dissipate. She appeared so abruptly, and the techniques she used seemed to be part of the Chongling sect. The attempt on Zhang Yi's life, is she a helper asked by the Chiliang sect? Or is there another evil sect getting involved? However, on top of that, there is another thing that bothers me more. Shinnong's mantra of Dark Sun I used wasn't brought to its full play just now. And I had a vague feeling of my internal power being absorbed. Could it be? Asterisk cough asterisk. Damn it! How come there is such a master of the Keshwaxi sect except for Yan Shirgu in the Imperial City? Why you never mentioned it in his previous information? Luckily, I changed back into the woman's clothes in advance. Now the assassination would alert them at most even though it failed. He couldn't trace me down as I used five elements shift to flee. As long as my identity as Urien isn't exposed, the overall situation won't be affected. Stagger. Hold. If you hadn't been trapped, I wouldn't have had to rush out and been hit by that guy. If it happens again, I won't do such an unenviable thing. Anyway, you are just a ghost, and you will get restored even if you are broken apart. It cost me much effort to reach the pre-celestial stage, but I have been suffering failures these days. It seems that everyone can hurt me, it is really frustrating. But in the final analysis, it's because I'm not strong enough. I haven't been able to break through for so long, which even makes your strength stalled. My peers who were left behind by me when I was at the post-celestial stage have overtaken me now. After the nine sex meeting, many of them have reached the second level of the pre-celestial stage before I did. For them, I, Evil Jade Beauty, am just useless eye candy. Nevertheless, these problems will be solved soon. What happened today imposes no impact on the whole picture. As long as Tulanja brings the queen out, it won't be hard to save her with Huayu's help. Nothing will hinder my cultivation if the Shinma Oath is lifted. And your strength will enhance as well. When that time comes, we will. Shinma Oath? Is it the reason that your cultivation level has no changes after you reach the pre-celestial stage? It's a big deal. Why didn't you report it to the sect? And you even. Do 11, at the third level of the pre-celestial stage, from Chongling Sect. Kept it from me? M. Master, what brought you here? Great. She finally came here. You disregarded our sect crisis and Mr. Du's order, but came to this damned place secretly. 
As your master, shouldn't I care about it? Step back. When I got here, I heard you talking to Mei Lang again. I have told you to get rid of this childish habit many times. You are no longer a child, yet you still use the ghost control technique like a game. Talking to the ghost who only knows fighting is a childish behavior, which would make you become a laughingstock for others. Tell me, how come you've been cursed by the Shima Oath? Why didn't you report it? Besides, who is why you mentioned? As far as I know, it's supposed to be no one in the sect to come here with you. It sounds like you are suspecting me, Master. Yes, I am. You have been weird in doing things recently. I know about you. You must be trying to hide something. The Shinma Oath is a serious matter. It should be impossible for you not to report it to the sect, but you really didn't. Either you are absolutely sure that you can solve it on your own, or there is something that you don't want the sect to know. Does it have anything to do with why you you mentioned? Who is he? What are you up to exactly? Neil. I'm sorry, Master. I shouldn't think of taking credit and keeping it from you. Please forgive me, Master. Take credit? What credit is worth you making in this small country in the western region? It's a long story. I'll explain it thoroughly to you. Are you saying the power source stone? It's actually hidden in the Shilan treasury. No wonder you have been running around for the past two years. Turns out it's for something in the Shilan kingdom. In the first place, I thought Shilan was merely a small country and I could easily handle it on my own. However, I didn't expect that it would take me great effort to get the key to the treasury. And when I got it, even the nine sex meeting was over. After the nine sex meeting, a conflict broke out between our sect and Shinma sect. If you can bring back the power source stone to help our sect leader to exert his miracle sign or to set up another sect gate to fight the Shinma sect, it will be indeed a great accomplishment. No wonder you have been acting weird lately, as if you deliberately tried to keep away from the fight between us and the Shinma sect. You even hid it from me just for this matter. Master, I know I did it wrong. In fact, I discovered another two evil sects involved after I returned to the Shilan Kingdom. I thought of asking you for help, but why you stopped me, so. Cut it out. I brought you up. I know you very well. Stop saying that it's someone else's idea. However, what you did is beneficial to our sect. Since I followed you up here by accident, I won't care much about your plan. Get up. Thank you, Master. As you said, you and Huayu that you mentioned were deceived by Shilan Wei to make the Shima Oath. Now he's disguised himself as Shilan Wei, yet no one has seen him through? Then why do you call him so intimately? You might not know that he not only masters swordsmanship, but also a secret technique that can confuse people and tamper with ordinary people's cognition. It's not easy to perform perfect disguise skills, but it wouldn't give him away as long as he can bewilder Shilan people with weak cultivation base. After all, no one in the evil sex saw the real Shilan way before. As for intimacy, that's because the fleeing art I acquired by chance has the same origin as his, I see, good. I've changed the role of the story about how G.E. Huayu and I met and told it to her. She probably believes it. With her trust, even if someone brings up again the suspicious actions that Mr. Shur thought I made, I have a reason to convince them. More importantly, Huayu is mysterious and unpredictable. I made some judgments before, but I am not sure if I was right. And I'm too passive now. This old woman is essential in case Huayu will kill me after the matter in the Shilan Kingdom is done. She is probably no match for Huayu when fighting head-on, but when it comes to grabbing treasures, she has a great advantage. I can't do it myself, but with her as my secret card, I may be able to fight Huayu for the power source stone and even something more precious in the treasury after the Shinma Oath is lifted. I got it. Given that you have a plan, I'll stay out of it. You can go to save the queen and grab the treasure as planned, and I will hide out in the dark and remove the formation for you. However, the power source stone must be taken back to our sect, and you need to figure out how to deal with Huayu after that. That's for sure. I knew you would be supportive, master. Gate of the sun in the palace. 
It's about Queen Saya. Tulanjo wants us to help him. Moreover, given Shilam Wei's way of doing things, she may snatch the queen on the spot if you are not there. Humph, what a good plan they set up. They just couldn't wait to fawn on someone else. So you mean, it's fine to do it. They have their plan, and we have ours. Since this fake Shilam Wei has something to ask for, we can take advantage of it to restrain the Chiliang sect, Mr. Yan, bad news. News from the Shadow Guards, Zhang Yi was attacked. What did you say? Why did it happen? Who did it? I was told that he was attacked in an alley, and he survived by activating the mechanism you gave him. The killer had already gone when the patrol was there. Although there was no trace of poison at the scene, the patrol thought it must be done by someone from Shilio City, and they concealed their techniques on purpose. Of course, they did. Except for those women, who else would do such a dirty thing? How is Zhang Yi now? Can he continue to do the cracking work? Bang. I was told that he is now in a coma, and it's not sure if he can survive. Very good, the Chiliang sect played such a dirty trick on me. Search the whole city. I must root out all the spies they have planted here this time. Two days later, in Chilio City. Silent. Ugh. Crawl. Fly out. Master, my ghost found a strange bug crawling out of a Shilan nobleman again. It turned into a butterfly and flew away. I saw it. Trailing. I'd like to see what these witches are plotting. But Master, how did you know that there's something wrong with the Chiliang sect? And you even asked me to release ghosts in advance to keep an eye on the people and the noble in Chilio City? Right after I got in town, I found that the Chiliang sect had done something to almost all the people here. However, it's a kind of method used by evil sects to control useful outsiders. Well, yeah, it's quite like something that the Chiliang sect would do. That's what I thought before, until... Some time ago, in the banquet that was held for days here, I saw more than one Shilan nobleman carrying the same tiny bugs. Chiliang sect thought that I couldn't notice it, but they didn't know how keen my perception of the demonic art of Moro is. In theory, Chiliang sect got no reason to control the nobles of Shilan anymore after I took my stand it wouldn't do them any good except for making me resent them more. After I questioned them, Chiliang sect explained that was a medical bug that can remove toxins in the nobles, and then they even showed me its function in person. However, I didn't believe that the selfish evil sect would be so kind. Even if they were trying to fawn on me, they should take the initiative to tell me the truth, instead of waiting for me to question them. I feel that they have a big conspiracy. Are they going to sacrifice all the people in Shilio City to make a blood ritual? Whom are they going to set up? A blood ritual? You're imaginative. Just follow up and we will find out. The place these bugs are flying to must hide their secret. We'll just destroy what our enemy wants. Deep in the Gobi. It's the last batch of essence blood. After the bug leaves its host, it can't be collected back anymore. Concealment pendant. Grand Elder said that she won't come here in the following days. Shilam Wei may go to keep an eye on her as she is suspecting us. So you and I will take over the business of refining blood. But blood refining bug is so ferocious that the two of us may not be able to withstand it. Don't worry. Grand Elder has left our spiritual blood marks on it, so it won't have much desire to hurt us. Wriggle. If I get this thing done well, I will be promoted to an elder, and I will no longer be a disciple anymore. Huh? Where is she? Something goes wrong. Where am I? Why can't I see anything? Not only my eyes, but also sounds and smells, and even the sensation of my body have gone too. Magic Realm Variant, Senses Sealed What did you do, Your Highness? Why can't they move? It's just a variant of the Magic Realm. Don't touch them. Without my control, this technique would be hard to maintain if there is external interference. It can only control people at the first level of the pre-celestial stage temporarily. Let me see what this thing is. 
It needs so much essence blood. Is this what they were talking about? Blood refining bug? In the camp of the Chiliang sect. Hueli, maybe due to some irritation, there has been something wrong with the confusing bug inside Zhang Yi's body. Anyway, since it hasn't been killed, it's not found out yet. Maybe its erosion of the host's brain aroused the host's resistant instinct. No big deal. With the brain damaged Zhang Yi holding him back, Yan Shergu must feel annoyed now. Ha! Remember how arrogant he was in the cottage? Everything's under his control? Naive. We're the real master of schemes. Anyway, Hueli, we have to speed things up. I don't want to see that damned Shilam wave pull an attitude with me in the end. Don't worry. I loathe that either. And the cultivation of the key just goes well. But she's powerful physically, but as weak intellectually as Yan Shirgu. She'll never know that we just put her on the back burner and may never turn to her except in the worst case scenario. She doesn't know that Shilan Che is on our side and just gave her some ambiguous information about the Gate of the Moon. And on that day, we'll just need to stall her on the way while our men open the treasury with the key in advance and take the treasures. After that, we'll tell her it's time and take her to the gate. And when she sees the empty treasury, empty, she'll easily take it as the Keshwaxi sex doing. Ha ha ha. I can't wait to see her annoyed face. What a dumbass. Didn't she even think of the reason that we just guarded the gate of the moan before she showed up? She even thinks she's indispensable. Our real trump card is your blood refining bug, rather than the so-called last royal member of the Shilan kingdom. But that's understandable. After all, she's just a poor girl who lost her memories. And even if she didn't lose her memories, she wouldn't have thought that I had blood refining bug. She is the last direct royal member, but for the past several hundred years, the branches of the royal family have long spread throughout the entire Shilan kingdom. As long as my blood refining bug can get enough blood from the collateral members, it only takes time to refine the pure royal blood. And now, it's almost time. I don't know what the hell is this, but it must be a good thing since the Chiliang sect hit it with great care. So I'll take it. The blood refining bug looks so evil. And it seems to be tough to deal with judging from their conversation. Silly, I'm even okay with the evil seed. Can this be even eviler? Let me just stab it. The gears of the Keshwaxi sect are so powerful, and the Chiliang sect could even cultivate evil bugs. Well, the nine evil sects. They do live up to their reputation. Huh? Not bad. It could even take my blow. Oh, it's so fierce. It asked for this. Since I can't control it, I'll just kill it. And it seems to be good material for sword refining. Let's see if it can come in handy. If I can refine the sky ceiling sword with this evil blood control art, no one will ever suspect my identity again. Shilan Wei will really be the disciple of the Wandao sect. Demonic art of Moro. Normally, it's not easy to handle this bug. However, it's just something refined by some secret art. And the evil smell of Rosefinch is good at dealing with things like this. Evil smell of Rosefinch. Huh? No. Someone is attacking the blood refining bug. Hueli, are you okay? I can't feel the blood refining bug at all. It was killed. Who did this? It would even take time for an ordinary level 3 pre-celestial cultivator to make it. Pause. Burst. You just killed this bug so easily? The evil smell of Rosefinch has thrown this bug off course. If its owner was nearby, he or she might have had a chance to adjust it with the internal power. But now, with only this bug here, it's nothing but a sitting duck. After checking this thoroughly, I'll refine it and the armor fragment into the sky ceiling sword. The Keshwaxi sect and Chiliang sect contributed a lot to my sky ceiling sword. Thanks a lot. What's this red stuff? Blood refining bug shit? Whatever. I'll just put it back and take it as well. Let's leave before these two wake up. Even if the Chiliang sect arrives, they won't even know who did it. 
Don't be silly. The Chilionk sect is not made of idiots. They will find out this. And why don't we take the initiative to reinforce my image before that? How could it be? Where's the key? I had you guard here. How could this be? Why didn't you send any warning to our station in Chilio City? We don't know what happened. Anyway, we suddenly went unconscious. When we woke up, things had become like this, and the key was missing. Fine, given her various mysterious techniques, these weak disciples couldn't fight against her at all. And, and look at this note. Even if we could make it, we couldn't stop her from venting her anger on the blood refining bug unless at the price of our lives. Firstly, you invaded the Shilan kingdom and bullied my people. Secondly, you buttered me lip but plotted against me behind my back. I'll give you the last chance. If you dare to harm my people again, I'll kill you just like I killed the bug. I mean it. What? She means we should be grateful since she doesn't come to us now? She may be unhappy to see us collecting her people's blood, but we didn't kill any of them, no? She killed the blood refining bug at will and thus hurt you, who was connected to it as its owner, she so. Stop it. I didn't expect her to be this clever to completely guess our whole plan. Without the bug as the key, we can only rely on her to open the Shilan treasury. Don't get personal. You go back to remove the bugs from all the royal members and heal them right now. We need to make up for what we've done ASAP. Fine, I admit defeat, but I won't give up the Shilan treasury. Let's see if she can resist all my girls alone after getting into the treasury. We're done with all the problems here and only need to focus on the Keshwaxi sect. Hope that Yen Ryu is smart enough and won't get tricked. Rest assured, she's astute. Except for you, no one can trick her. But are we leaving Zhou Yinping alone? Will there be anything wrong with him? Of course not. And even in that case, the Keshwaxi sect and the Chiliang sect will take care of him. I just need to keep my distance from him and stay out of this. Uh, wait. Why should I keep my distance from him? Got it. He may be another Idao Chi. This is weird. Why do I always subconsciously ignore something important like this? Huh? Someone's in the room. What was I thinking just now? Forget it. It doesn't matter, coming straight into my room? Quite bold. After finishing my work in Mudu City in a few days, I hurried back nonstop to see you again, my princess. Drop the act. This is my room. The Chilion sect has long dared not monitor me. Well, just in case. Look at you. You just got back from what? None of your business. I told you to stay there to hinder the Keshwaxi sect. Why did you come back this earlier? What's the hurry? There, there. Don't get angry. I've killed one important figure of their plan to open the Gate of the Sun and thus slowed down their progress. And I came to you to deal with our Shima oath. I found a way to handle it. Two days later, in the suburbs of the Imperial City. You even built a fort? I'm not here to provoke you. Why are you so on alert? You've got me wrong, your highness. We built this for you so that you don't have to stand on the dust. Hope so. I'm here as promised. Where's my mother? And, Mr. Yan? Tulanja asked me here and I didn't expect you to join us. You must have made up your mind since you're here. Will my appearance change anything? Calm down, your highness. The queen's travel always needs a lot of preparations. We've had our elder go take her here. It won't take long, preparations? You're just being wary of me. I admire your humor. You'd better be wary of Mr. Zhou rather than me. What if he doesn't want to stay neutral? Guess that will give you a headache. Thanks for your concern. But we've got a way to keep an eye on him. Besides, despite his wisdom, he's all alone. It's not that easy for him to reap benefits in the face of two powerful sects. Despite his wisdom, he's all alone? He's implying I'm alone. Ha! Huh? Boom! Finally? 
Yao Qi, at level 1 of the pre-celestial stage, from the Keshwaxi sect. Open. That's Queen Saya, Shilam Wei's mother? I see, with the puppet beasts as the transport, they hid her outside the imperial city. No wonder Yin Ryu's informer failed to find her. But why is Queen Saya so calm after seeing her daughter? I don't even get any origin points, Nod. I haven't seen you for many years, mother. How are you? Who are you? Tu Lanja said you wanted to see me. What's your purpose? I knew it. The way you talk or act doesn't look like Wei. But you disguised as her and came to the Shilan kingdom. What is your relationship with her? Where is Wei now? I knew it. They don't know how much I care about Queen Saya. So they can't tell what I will do if Queen Saya asks for help or complain to me about what happened during her capture. I lost my memories after getting injured and that also changed my character. No wonder I'm now strange to you. But I swore I would always protect you. Nothing will change that. And so, they need Queen Saya to keep her distance from me. It's not hard for a long-captured woman to be wary of me as long as they portray me as a fake with ill intentions. Just rest assured. Queen Saya is so poor her relatives were killed, her daughter was missing, she was imprisoned, and she was probably brainwashed by Tulanja the rebel leader before being taken to me. Actually, she is a tough woman for staying calm after all this. Lost her memories? Good excuse, but it doesn't make sense to me. She's too powerful to be the real Shilan Wei. I haven't thought about this possibility, however, since she's got such a perfect excuse, why did she admit she's a fake in front of me? What a weirdo. Forget it since you don't want to be frank with me. Tulanja said you wanted to see me and make sure I'm still alive. Now that you've seen me alive, I may leave now. Feel free to get down to business. Uh, Queen Saya. Ahem, your highness, I just told Queen Saya that her acquaintance wanted to see her and didn't talk about your attitude. I didn't expect her to be this cold. Well, I've always been kind and polite to Queen Saya all these years. And given her attitude, I don't think we should force her now. Forget it. Since she is safe and sound, I won't bother to deal with the royal affairs now. Then what about the details of our cooperation? What's the hurry? I've come all the way from Shilio City. I need some rest tonight, right? We'll talk about it tomorrow. Okay, let's do as you say. Mr. Yan, please send Queen Saya back. Yao Qi, you take care of this. Yes, Mr. Yan. Two hours later, somewhere in the Shilan Kingdom. Pop out. I didn't expect there would be a camp of the Keshwaxi sect here except in the Imperial City. It would have been hard to find if it hadn't been for following the traces here with five elements shift. So far, everything's going well. Since your informer in the palace hasn't found the queen after so many days, they must have hidden her somewhere far away from the Imperial City. Once the queen's identity is confirmed, you will find a chance to keep up. With me staying close to the Imperial City, Yan Shirgu will not dare to leave the Gate of the Sun given other people's realms. They will not find you. According to Huayu, I need to contact him and save the Queen with him once I find where the Queen is, but... It's my best choice to save the Queen right now. But it's not the best choice for him. If I were him, I would never act rashly after finding the Queen. It would be the safest way to save her after he got the Shilan treasury and the two sects left. Given his current choice, it seems that my art worked. I'm just your walkie-talkie. Stop bullying me, walkie-talkie. What's that? Anyway, why does she keep this position? Looks like you found where the queen is. Why you? Yes, I'm now in a valley 30 miles northeast of the Imperial City. Do you need me to tell you the specific route? No need. I know where it is. You look around with five elements shift now, and I'll sneak in and meet you there. Sneak in? Just like the last time? This is serious. Don't mess with me. Don't worry. I've got other ways to get in. Slither. 
This is weird. I've searched this place thoroughly, but why couldn't I find Queen Saya? The puppet beast hasn't got out from the ground before it got here, so I don't think the queen was taken away secretly. And the only place left is, inside the puppet, where I can't get in with five elements shift. The queen has been locked up inside it all this time? This is troublesome. Once the puppet is activated, the queen and it will be a hostage. Even why you will feel fenced after getting here, and with puppets on alert in the air and disciples on guard in the yard, how will why you sneak in? These disciples are no match for Huayu, but their elder in the room will find him once any one of them warns the elder. How could Huayu make it? Huh? He just came in directly. Who's there? Inform the fifth elder, Freeze. They just froze all of a sudden? Could it be? See? I've told you it's not that hard to sneak in. Magic Realm Variant, Senses Sealed. It's weird. Why is it so quiet outside? What are those disciples doing? Hiss. Done. If I sense right, there should be no one else here, right? Yes, I've checked around. There are only these disciples of Keshwaxi sect guarding the place. I suppose that Yan Shirgu is more concerned about the Gate of the Sun, so he didn't send too many disciples to help Tu Lanjo watch the Queen. By the way, Huayu, what technique did you use? How did you control a pre-celestial stage master so easily? It's just an illusion that can seal people's senses. No big deal. Illusion? Why do I feel it's like Shin Masek's technique? But back then, G.E. Huayu didn't know this technique, which can instantly make pre-celestial stage masters paralyzed and unable to act. If I turn against him in the future, I'll definitely, I have to figure out this technique. Let's get down to business. Since you've checked around, have you found Queen Saya? See, I will. I see, so Queen Saya is probably still locked up in this puppet? Yes, I'm sure about it. I didn't lose her. This place is probably not the real place where Queen Saya is locked up. I don't know why, but it seems that Keshwaxi sect just planned to make a brief stop here. So the gears of the Keshwaxi sect really can block my moral senses open. Judging from the size, here should be the only place that can hide the queen. But if Yin Ryu didn't lie to me, why didn't Yan Shirgu hide the queen in the palace directly if Keshwaxi sect had some other things to do here? I feel something's wrong. There must be some secrets that I haven't figured out. Never mind, I'm not going to hide my intention from them this time. So how do we open this puppet? Um, I was going to ask you to open it by force. But think it over, Queen Saya is not a cultivator. If there's a mechanism inside the puppet, I'm afraid we'll put her in danger. In this case, we can only use Keshwaxi's sex method. The techniques of Keshwaxi's sect always need to be carried out with external stuff. Each of their puppets has a corresponding pivot and order so that the puppets can be lent to their fellows, which is a good way to deploy the forces of the sect. So I think whether this level 1 pre-celestial elder is the owner of this puppet or not, she must have the pivot with her. Since you have controlled her, why not frisk her? Or you can use mantra of hexatic senses on her to let her open the puppet for us. I can't. Although this technique can seal people's senses and make them unable to act, it only has a long-lasting effect on post-celestial stage cultivators. As for pre-celestial stage cultivators, even the weakest ones can mobilize their internal power to set up a barrier. Therefore, the technique can't last long on them. As long as there is external interference, they will immediately recover, let alone use mantra of hexatic senses to control them. If Mantra of Hexatic Senses could do this easily, Shin Mosek would have already occupied the world. Um. However, I can't touch her body, but I can try to get some information from her memory with the Illusion and Mantra of Hexatic Senses. But it depends on luck if she has the pivot to open the puppet. Open a slit of the sealed senses and free her consciousness. And then guide her consciousness with the Heart Desire Branch and Magic Realm. Then maybe the most important part of her memory can be shown in the illusion. Come on. Let me show you. I'm in an illusion made by Huayu. When was I dragged in here? 
It's so real. It seems to be the memory of that disciple of Keshwaxi sect. I didn't expect Huayu to have such an ability. I'll leave this matter to you. What matter? Make it clear. Sure enough, to get some specific information, this method is still unreliable. Bang. Swish. Keshwaxi sect. Lighting phantom. Precelestial stage masters are indeed prudent and alert. The moment when their six senses are unsealed, they can react to it and use their life-saving means. Dissipate. Even though I've used the heart desire branch, it still couldn't last long on her. She still woke up. It's you? Fake Shilan Wei, how dare you break into here? So what? I even broke into the palace, let alone this small mansion. Ryu, you go save the queen. I'll keep her occupied and she won't have time to manipulate the puppet. It's weird. Why did her voice sound familiar? Even if you keep her occupied, do you really think you can save the queen? Yao Qi doesn't have to manipulate this puppet to fight. She just needs to send me messages. Is this Yan Shirgu's voice? This. I see. Turns out we've been in the trap at the beginning. The one I met is not the real queen, but... A humanoid puppet manipulated by Keshwaxi sect. You used this fake to fool me? Has Tu Lanja ever thought of the consequence after fooling me? Before Tu Lanja figures out your real intention, he won't dare to show you his trump card. It might be his life-saving card. If it weren't for you using the weakness we intentionally exposed to save the queen, I would not dare to conclude that Queen Saya can be a bargaining chip for your negotiation. Asterisk Puff Asterisk Yen Ryu's plan fell through. It's no use looking at me. It's not my fault. No wonder I felt her voice was familiar. It turns out that it was she who manipulated this fake queen to talk to me. Fine, you won. What conditions do you want to tell me about the whereabouts of the real queen? Leaving aside her voice, the fifth elder of our sect is good at manipulating humanoid puppets. The puppets in her hands are vivid with every move. It's normal that you haven't seen through it before. As for the conditions, Keshwaxi sect only wants one thing from you give up bed hedging, stop the cooperation with Chiliang sect, and help Keshwaxi sect to win the Shilan treasury. You're giving me a general condition. I haven't been involved in the game of getting the treasury. How can I get involved now? Besides, if you just go away when you fail to get the treasury, where can I get Queen Saya back? You don't have to worry about that. This matter does not need to wait until the end of the battle between Keshwaxi sect and Chiliang sect. According to the intelligence we got, Chiliang sect has occupied the gate of the moon, but they don't have the key to open the treasury. Therefore, they've used a secret technique to produce the blood refining bug to refine Shilan people's blood as the key. I've known this thing long ago. But I haven't found the place where they hid the bug. Since you are still in cooperation with Chiliang sect, it's easy for you to walk around in Shilio City. As long as you can find the place and destroy the blood refining bug, which can quench their hope of opening the treasury, I'll tell you the whereabouts of the real queen. Eh? Can't be such a coincidence, right? So the bug I killed before is the spare key for Chiliang sect to open the treasury? Um, the blood refining bug you mentioned is that blood refining bug? Blood refining bug is a secret technique of Chiliang sect and it's very difficult to produce one. What do you mean by that blood refining bug? This is indeed a tough task. If you don't have any clues, we can send some mechanic puppets to help you, well, it's indeed difficult. It took me one whole night, but I solved this matter in the end. This is the blood refining bug? And there's a deactivated blood crystal inside. She even broke the key? It's not easy to refine the key, and it's impossible for Chiliang sect to refine another one. How, how did you? Well, I have to say it's a coincidence that we were on the same page. After you check it, remember to give me back. I have other uses for this thing. But why? I thought you were in cooperation with Chiliang sect. 
I was in cooperation with them and wanted to take advantage of their strength to attack the Imperial City and drive you and Tu Lanja out of Shilan. But since we've made a truce, the cooperation with them is meaningless. Besides, if they keep their promise and behave themselves, I won't go against them. But since they tried to play tricks behind my back, I had to teach them a lesson. The foundation of all cooperation is trust. Chiliang sect doesn't even understand this simple truth. They deserve to be retaliated against. I believe you agree with me, right? Looks like that stupid woman Hueli really offended her deeply. She deserves to be the disciple of Wendao sect. She's very overbearing. Don't worry. Keshwaxi sect is not like Chiliang sect. We will never betray our cooperative partners. But as I said before, what we can only offer you is the whereabouts of Queen Saya. I know you always have a doubt about why Tulanja and we can be so sure that you are not the real princess, right? We didn't expect that you would use memory loss as an excuse, but the real Shilan wet with complete memory will never say anything like saving my mother. Because back then, when the Imperial City was in chaos, Shilan Wave saw with her own eyes her mother's head being chopped off by Tulanja. The queen who showed up in public later was either someone sent by Tulanja disguised as her, or our puppet prepared for Tulanja. Queen Saya was dead? Is that why I can't find her? So Shilan Wei knew about it and deceived us on purpose? The ending has been set from the moment we took the Shinma Oath. No other than that, if the Shinma Oath can never be removed, my cultivation in the future. Do you really think I would believe your words? She was merely a former dynasty queen, not worth us Keshwaxi sect telling a lie. If I want to lie to you, I could say something else which is good for me. You know it's a fact. Why bother to ask? Perhaps you want to hold the queen and threaten others with her after the treasury thing is done. Keshwaxi sect is one of the nine evil sections. Why would we use such an approach? We still need to show respect to Wendao sect. If you really do, why didn't you tell the truth until now? If it weren't for what happened today, how would I know that you truly wanted to save the queen? Step back. Yen Ryu? Damn it. She was beaten down. I have no idea whether she will do something detrimental to my plan or not. I have to calm her down. Ryu, I know you are confused now, but don't panic. Even though the Shinma Oath cannot be removed because of the Queen's death, it doesn't mean we have no other solutions for our cultivation. I believe there is a way to get past the Shinma Oath in the world. It happened too abruptly. You can leave first if you need space. I will be waiting for you at the courier station out of town after I am done with Yan Shirgu. Don't lose your mind because of momentary confusion. Flee away. By her look, it didn't seem that you asked her to leave because you doubted my words and sent her back to Tulanja to keep inquiring about information. I was wondering when Tulanja got a right-hand man. Turns out you are the mastermind behind the whole thing. It was too sudden to be told that my mother was dead. Knowing that there is no hope of saving her, my partner just overreacted a little bit. I hope you won't take offense. He didn't identify Yen Ryu? Looks like not everyone knows what evil Jade Beauty looks like. But Yan Shirgu has figured out that Yu Ryan is her fake identity. Her disguise skill is really terrible. Mother? Are you going to maintain that disguise until now? Even though you made an excuse of losing your memories, since you have the intention of saving the queen, shouldn't you think of revenge after knowing the truth? I will take revenge for sure. I've got two Lanja, and killing him is just like a matter of a snap of the fingers. However, for the long term, I need to solve the dispute over the treasury now. Solve the dispute over the treasury? How? Are you going to open the treasury? Why not? Now that my mother is dead, my previous worries are gone. Chiliang sect has broken its promise, so I will just open the gate of the sun for you and end the dispute here. Land. Mr. Yan, she is here. Alas, quite a lot of people are here. 
Looks like Keshwaxi Sik was in chaos for a while after Yin Ryu hurt Zhang Yi, and now people at every level are here to help crack the gate of the sun. I've been feeling creepy since the meeting at the thatched cottage. In case something unexpected happens, I finally decided to approach the gate of the sun, instead of waiting for the gate of the moon to appear. And that's why I took the living corpse leech back from Yin Ryu in advance. I was thinking of meeting Yan Shirgu secretly after saving the queen, but I didn't expect things to turn out like this. Fortunately, the whole plan isn't affected. Even if I can't get the entire treasury, at least I can snatch some good things. I never thought you would really come, which makes me believe in your identity a bit more. Which means you are blinded by your preconceived judgments before. I only hope that you are not posturing. Just watch. However, don't forget our previous agreement. When the treasury is opened, Keshwaxi Sect will only take one thing from it and not touch anything else. Spurt. Good. Press. The gate is completely revealed. The last step to crack it is directly done. This reaction, she is indeed from the Shilan royal family. Fade wait. Why do I feel it's changing back? Silent. What the hell? Is it not open? Is there anything wrong with the living corpse leech? Did Yin Ryu switch it, or is this gate opening method unreliable in the first place? No, the gate showed the right reaction just now. There is probably another reason for not opening either way. I'll put the blame on them first. What the hell is going on? What have you done to my treasury? Why can't I open it? They seem to be talking about something that I don't understand. I get it. It seems that during the process of cracking the gate of the sun, the mechanisms and formations we added have changed the original operating logic of the lock, so the blood of the Shilan royal family cannot open it. Could it be that the polarization formation at the sixth step has changed the orientation of the original formation in the lock? I don't think so. Perhaps it's that something went wrong when we cracked the lock with force at the tenth step. Damn. I was just saying. I didn't expect that it would be really your fault. Since your mechanisms are the reason, dismantle them quickly and let me open the gate. I can't. Now there are layers of formations and mechanisms nested together on the door, and they were set up by different people. If we demolish them by force, the gate of the sun may be locked up completely, and no one can open it. Currently, it seems that even though you are really Shilan Wei, you have to wait for us to open the treasury as planned. Shit. So after what I have done, it's all in vain. We all didn't anticipate this happening. I can check it again to see if I can get the gate to function properly again. Please wait for another night, your highness. Fine. I'm going to meet my partner first, and I will come back tomorrow to ask you for the result. Why you said there would be a way to get past the Shinma Oath? I suppose it's just an excuse that he used to calm me down so that I wouldn't ruin his plan. If there is really a way, why would I have to pay such a huge price to reach the first level of the pre-celestial stage back then? Stop. I racked my brains and used up all my tricks, yet I ended up with nothing. For all this, I even put on a play with that guy for such a long time. In retrospect, it's indeed a joke. Mei Lang, if the Xin Ma Oath can't be removed, I'm afraid that I can't get that thing done for the rest of my life. If so, how can I? There are many things that you can't do throughout your life. Those who blame themselves, heaven or others, are just mediocre and incompetent fools. They are born lowly slaves, and they cannot change their fate. But I believe. Miss Yan's fate will never be restrained by a small Xin Ma Oath. It's you? Isn't this masker the man of Keshwaxi sect I met when I attacked Zhang Yi? Why did he say that to me? Yes, it's me, Miss Yan. You remember me. I was instructed by Princess Shilan Wei to attack Zhang Yi, and her highness has reconciled with your sect, so it's too late to get even with me. Why are you afraid of Keshwaxi sect? You are Yan Ryu, evil jade beauty. Back then, you were the first one among the five beauties and five gentlemen to reach the ninth level of the post-celestial stage. 
Now you hide behind someone else, echoing and being timid. How pathetic. What exactly are you trying to say? He doesn't sound like the man of Keshwaxi sect. Looks like there is an invisible hand behind the issue in Shilon. I just want to tell you that you are way stronger than those so-called talents, and none of the righteous sects or evil sects can bring you to your knees. Criticizing me before praising me. What a boring verbal trick. No matter what he tries to take advantage of me for, I have no reason to be involved in this game now. Why don't I quit? Your ancestor was fighting through his life, killing thousands of enemies and making unprecedented achievements. He never thought someone would usurp the empire and exterminate his clan after his death. Luckily, I found his descendant. Who is he talking about? Yin Ryu, who is that ancestor? You are a child of the Lu family, the princess of the Han Empire. That's ridiculous. Everyone knows that the Lu family of the former dynasty has been wiped out by the Di family. How could I be the princess of the former dynasty? I am an orphan who was adopted by Chengling sect. I can't be the blood of the former dynasty. I won't go easy on you if you don't stop that bullshit. Today's emperor is from the Di family. Once there is a rumor that the offspring of the Lilu family show up, it will certainly raise sand. Could it be his purpose to entice me to become the target and attract attention from all sides? The Lu family advocated the water virtue. Every member of the family could resonate with the water wood. Back then, the water wood in the Han Palace even covered the sky, but it was cut off by rebels. Phoenix perches on water wood. This is a dead branch of it. Only people from the Lu family can bring it back to life. Thump. Even if he intends to make things worse, it should be easy for him, a pre-celestial stage master, to get a submissive puppet. But why me? Give it a try if you don't believe me. Thump. Even if, even if it's true. Thump. I've already been in much trouble. Grow. This dead branch. Revived? That's right. It's exactly the same as the ancient records. The water wood is resonating with you, and the phoenix shows up again. Yin Ryu, you are indeed from the Lu family. What's done is done. I'm just an ordinary person now. Emperor D is ruling the country. It's of no use if you want to take advantage of me to do something. Instead of guarding against me, you should think about your current situation. Thanks for your concern. It didn't worry me before I met you today. Ha ha ha, turns out you don't know anything. That makes sense. You are wise and suspicious. I'm afraid you wouldn't be obedient to Chongling sect if you had known this secret. Do you mean? There you go. That's right. According to the information I got, the Han Empire had been hunting Chongling sect down back then. But one day, they suddenly changed their attitude and treated Chongling sect the same as other evil sects and even supported it a bit. In the same year, someone broke into a secluded small village in the wilderness, but only found corpses and ruins. It was highly suspected to be done by Chongling sect. The last bloodline of the Lu family of the former dynasty lived in this small village, and the Di family was searching for them for years, but never found them. And then they were all killed. Think about the time you were adopted by Chongling sect. It was almost that time. Meanwhile, you are the blood of the Lu family. Can you figure out something? Huh? Who is there? Boom. Escaped? Stop there. Bang. It's that woman, damn it. Why did she come to me at this critical moment? I didn't expect that the masker would tell me such an important secret. But that woman heard it. Chongling Sik will surely change the way they treat me. Now, I found out that they killed my family. With such deep-seated hatred, even if I say I don't believe that masker is bullshit, I'm afraid that woman won't buy it. I was deceived by Shilan Wade badly at first, and then that strange masker told me some explosive information which was eavesdropped on by that woman. All my plans have been messed up. I'd rather never know who I really am. Why does the world treat me so badly? 
The only good news is that she didn't expose herself. Perhaps she might continue to pretend not to know it. Then I'll take one last risk. Ruyu. Master? What brings you here? You are not yourself now. Can the Shin Ma Oath be removed? It might be a bit hard. I was deceived by Shilan Wei. Her mother died a long time ago. In this case, go back with me. Shilan Kingdom is a dangerous place for you. The sect leader may know how to lift the Shin Ma Oath. Now? Aren't we grabbing the Power Source Stone? The Power Source Stone is important but it's hard for you to cooperate with me as you are uneasy. It's too difficult to gain something from this chaos in Shilam with only the strength of you and me. Compared with the Power Source Stone, your safety matters most. So go back with me. Pause, Master. She's anxious to take me back and doesn't even want the Power Source Stone anymore. Sure enough, it's the worst scenario. I'm fine, Master. Let's move on as planned. I will definitely get the power source stone for our sect. You found it out? Found out what? I don't get you, master. I know you. You won't have the mood to grab the power source stone until the Shin Ma Oath on you is removed. You are afraid of returning to the sect with me. You must know it. I don't know what you are talking about, master. Sink. That villain tried to drive a wedge between us. He mixed something completely irrelevant. What he told you is groundless and untrue. Master, I really don't know what you're talking about. I am disturbed by the Shinma Oath, and I need some space now. Please excuse me. Earth shift again. My dear disciple, do you really think you can escape? The courier station outside the Imperial City. I won. Ha ha, you guys lost again. Chinger, your ghosts have no place on their faces to put on a sticker. It's your turn. Don't play tricks. Master, Yen Ryu hasn't come here yet. How about I use the fast shift mantra to find her? Cut it out. Don't try to divert my attention. Stick. She needs her own space now. Don't disturb her. She will come after she thinks it through. HM? Thud. Yen Ryu? Appear. Why you? Help me, Thud. M Master? Was she beaten up? Did she meet someone from Keshwaxi sect? It can't be them. Yan Shirgu just decided to work with me, so he wouldn't act rashly. Moreover, with the five elements shift, she can't be hurt easily. Chinger, get her to the bed to rest first. I'm going out to check. Yes, Master. Ghosts? The attacker is. Grab. Jump. It's gone. What technique is it? Hold. Boom. As expected, when this ghost disappears, it will be completely out of my perception. Just now, I sensed it until its claws got close to me. Looks like it's a ghost which specializes in assassination and can turn invisible at any time. You got something. No wonder Ryu would try her best to get here. You must be Huayu she mentioned, the one who's worked with her in Shilan. Who are you? Yen Ryu's enemy? You can control ghosts. Are you from Chongling sect? It said that Chongling sect is united. How come you want to kill your fellow now? It's none of your business. It's our internal affair. Do yourself a favor. Give her to me, and it will save the two of us much trouble. What a joke. You are not the boss. You attacked us sneakily without even showing your face. Why should I do what you say? You are courting death. If you insist on keeping her, I'll see how many attacks you can take from Xian Ho. Pause. What is this? Why is Xuan Ho's will raging? It's resisting my control? Grab. Oh, no. It's too late to flee away. 
The ghost you are controlling is indeed strong. It can completely hide in the void and only show some traces when attacking. It's a pity that it's too foolish to take my attacks too many times. Come out. No wonder it's a ghost at the third level of the pre-celestial stage. It has recovered quickly. Its claws have no marks of being injured at all. In this case, a ghost isn't the product transformed from the internal power and it's limited for evil sword spirit to control it. However, the evil sword spirit still helps me to provoke this ghost's ferocity to resist the manipulation of its owner and stop it from using the means of hiding in the void. Slash. Take this. Can you recover again? Shit. It's greatly resilient. It's still alive after being cut by the evil smell of Rosefinch. I made a mistake. The evil smell of Rosefinch burned the connection. Now it's completely out of its owner's control. Clank. It became much stronger and faster, but it has lost its mind and doesn't know to dodge attacks after being provoked by the evil power. It's easier for me to deal with it now. What have you done to cut off my connection with Xian Ho? You reconnected with it so quickly. However, have you found that it's still being burnt by my fire? If you don't figure out a way to put out the fire, it will completely turn into ashes within a quarter of an hour no matter how strong its resilience is. I underestimated you. I can't take you down just with Xian Ho. But I'm in the dark while you are exposed. You can't protect all the people around you even though you are strong. I will let you know that you can't afford to mess with Chunling sect. She destroys the ghost, or it's some special means of recycling. You are in the dark while I am exposed? I don't think so. Gather. If you want to hide in the dark, six demonic senses heart desire searching soul. You have to hide your tail well first. Got you. Ten miles to the west under the barren mountain. That man's cultivation methods are really weird. He could cut off my control over Xianho so easily. It seems that I need to make a plan to deal with him. I'll send more ghost beasts to keep an eye on him. Even if they can't find his weakness, they can make him worried and restless. No matter how strong he is, it's pointless if he can't find my whereabouts. Boom. Surprise. So, who the hell are you? What did Yen Ryu? Um? Hiss. Back off. She escaped? Chongling Sek does have something. They have many weird skills and cultivation methods. I can't even find any trace of her with my six demonic senses. It's indeed hard to kill a pre-celestial stage master. Chinger, it's chaotic tonight. To avoid any further trouble, you take Yen Ryu away from the courier station. I will tell you where to meet me later. Yes, Master. Suburbs of the Imperial City. Yen Ryu. Master, Yen Ryu is here. How is she? Has she shown any sign of waking up? No. She is badly injured this time. I can feel that Mei Lang in her body is also very weak. Hey, wake up. Is she really in a coma, or is it another trick she is playing? Speaking of which, what trouble is she in? Why did even the people of her own sect try to kill her? I don't know either. That woman is about 40 or 50 years old. She sounded quite familiar with Yen Ryu, so I think she might be her master. It's a pity that she ran away before I grilled her. What? Then isn't she going to sneak up on you and attack you again? Don't worry. My strike played its part and hurt her. She won't get near here again in the following days if only she isn't an idiot. Most of these masters who are good at assassination in the world would prioritize not failing over winning. She thought she kept a safe distance, yet she was attacked by me. She will never do anything rash until she figures out my techniques. Now the question is what to do with this woman. Characteristically, Yen Ryu would probably avoid trouble. If she can't avoid it, she would just take it. But she dragged me down with her this time. Looks like she is determined to fall out with her sect. 
The reason behind this is definitely not simple. Could it be that the revelation of her killing Zhao Shi led to this? Judging from her master's words, Yan Ryu had secretly revealed her plan in Xilan to her sect, which wasn't a good intention. You got something no wonder Ryu would try her best to off the herb. You must be Hui Yu she mentioned, the one who's worked with her in Xilan. Now the Xin Ma Oath and Chongling sect can't be used to restrain her anymore. Can I still control her and make her follow my commands? How about killing her right now? However, killing her is once and for all, but isn't it too wasted? When it comes to talent and capability, Yin Ryu is undoubtedly the best among her peers. If it weren't for the Xin Ma Oath, she would have been as strong as Qin Xinxi. She lost Chongling sect as her backer now. If I take her as an assistant to deal with the matters in Immortal Sky, she will be way more useful than Sky 7 and Sky 12. I should insert a heart trigger into her. Only then, I can trust her, but the problem is, with Yen Ryu's personality, it won't be easy to fool her, and she will never buy it. I can only use the traditional way. Before using the traditional way to insert a heart trigger, I must break her obsession. But I am not as experienced as Dao Chi, and I can't see through her heart. I'm afraid it will alert her if I act rashly. Hmm? Looks like her soul is damaged and she is haunted by a nightmare. Oh, right. Her soul should be the weakest now. If she's in the midst of a nightmare, I can use Magic Realm to dig into her inner consciousness. Maybe I can find clues about her obsession. Point. It will be best if I can find it. If not, then I'm sorry, Yen Ryu. I have to kill you. You have so many schemes up to your sleeve that I don't feel at ease letting you go. Magic Realm Mental Image This is Chongling Sect is slaughtering a village? I heard that Chongling Sect slaughtered border villages and used dead people to gather spirits for cultivation. Unexpectedly, I could see it in Yen Ryu's memory. Did she also get involved? Did you see that, Miss Tushir? When I released Xian Ho, this kid fixed her eyes on it. She is still a baby, yet she can sense ghosts. She is absolutely a rare genius. Well, since her parents and relatives are all dead, how about accepting her as a disciple of Chongling sect and training her? She should be the woman when she was young. The man with her is Shir Taipu when he was young? We have the rule that no survivors in every slaughter mission. If she finds out her real identity in the future, it will be trouble for us. There's no need to be afraid. Only you, our sect leader, and I know about what happened today. If we don't mention it, how can she know her real background? If you say so, I won't say something to stop you. Let's leave it to our sect leader to decide. I agree to this matter. Do 11, you became an elder not for long. I'll let you teach her. If she cultivates well, our sect will have one more cultivator at the pre-celestial stage. If she can't do well, you can deal with her as you like. Remember, don't disgrace Chongling sect. Thank you, sir. I will follow your instructions. All right, you are my disciple now. Given that your parents are dead, it doesn't matter what your name is before. I should give you a new name. The surname of my dead husband is Yin, and you are a girl. I'll name you Ryu then. From today on, you are Yin Ryu, a disciple of Chongling sect. So this is Yin Ryu's story. Her entire family was exterminated and she was raised by her enemy. That's too miserable. So dramatic. Wait. All the information I see in Magic Realm is from Yen Ryu's memory, which should happen when she was a baby. How could she remember it so clearly? Hmm? The scene is blurring and distorting. Is she waking up so soon? No, I'm still in her memory. It was a dream within a dream just now. Did she concoct that vision in her dream? Ah. Or... Does she really remember everything about her infancy and conceal it deep in her heart for years? I was dreaming again. Didn't I say anything in my dreams, Mei Lang? Ha <laughs> ha, thank goodness, I didn't. Otherwise, I will get in trouble if Master discovers it. Master! 
There are full of ghosts on the wall. It's probably some means of Chunling sect to monitor their disciples. But to place the ghosts in their rooms, I don't know if Yen Ruyu is the only one being monitored or if every disciple is being monitored. No privacy at all. So creepy. We'll have a test for our training today. I'm scared of it. Master said I'm talented. But I can't catch up with my senior Zhao Shi when it comes to the speed of progress of cultivation. His ghost in dark hell has taken shape. Ghost control technique is the only technique I'm good at. Master said that I am uneasy and distracted. She won't teach me new techniques until I get my state adjusted. If I'm not good enough and can't do any help for the sect, Master will definitely. Thud. Sigh, my ghost control technique is still unstable. Master, she was quite miserable when she was little. Sigh, the person who is pitiable always has something worthy of blame. She was worried all day. It's not surprising that her cultivation didn't go smoothly. Yin Ruyu. Master Du Eleven is back. Go to Ghost Valley now. Deep breath. Master is back. Let's go, Mei Lang. Emerge. Master, I found out something strange. Mei Lang should be in her initial period at this time, so she couldn't have wisdom and spirit. But she looked livelier in the dream, and she can even communicate with Yen Ryu. Let's keep up and check it out. Chun Ling Sect is specializing in cultivating alone. Ghosts are our companions along the way of cultivation. They are tools as well as faith. So don't take your ghost as a toy. Cultivators don't have to do such meaningless things. I'm talking about you, Yen Ryu. Your ghost won't respond at all when you talk to her. You just made the whole thing up. Don't be so childish. You are not a little girl anymore. Sorry, master. The test begins. Line up and do it one by one. Turns out it's only the show she put on. I thought Mei Lang had wisdom and spirit at this moment. She just tried to play games to relieve her pressure, but unexpectedly, her every move was being monitored. Now she got scolded. It's too bad. The mode of teaching of Chunling Sect is really cruel and depressing, huh? Master, help me. You've been cultivating for five years, yet you still can't control the ghost and suppress its instinct of ferocity, and you are even suffering backfire. What a loser. And Master, don't you save him? Save him? It's too late. He has been assimilated by the ghost. Even if he is saved, he can't continue his cultivation anymore. But it doesn't matter. The biggest difference between our sect and others is that we don't abandon those disciples who lose their qualifications. Their ghosts will become the power of their peers, and their souls will reach the end of the path early. Death during the practice of ghost control technique is a normal occurrence. You will be guided by our ancestors and return to Chunling sect. Remember, don't take life too seriously. There is no difference between life and death. Death is just another form of existence for us. When you are alive, you can refine ghosts. When you die, you can keep protecting your peers in another eternal form. We will all end up on the same path and become a whole. Therefore, except for your peers in the sect, others are all burdens for you. You can discard or kill them as you like. This is Chunling Sect. Oh my god, these kids would actually believe in these dark lessons. What a deviant sect. They were studying in an isolated environment and were brainwashed since childhood. It's not surprising that they would believe in this bullshit. Yin Ruyu is an exception. She is supposed to have some wisdom, otherwise, she wouldn't have the memory of her family being killed and have the ability to resist the brainwashing of Chunling sect. She has borne hatred, yet she has to accept her enemy as her master and grow up in such a distorted environment in Chunling sect. Her current disposition is understandable. Crack. Ah, what's going on? Yin Ryu is awake. It's a short memory. But... I seem to have found some keys to controlling her. Open eyes. Why you? 
It's me. Where is my master? So you were hunted down by your master? I fought her off, and she won't dare to come over again for a while. Thank goodness. Thank you for saving me. Don't rush for that. Tell me what exactly happened. I thought Chongling Sect was united. Why were you hunted down by your master? It's my fault for being careless. I haven't cleared their suspicion of me in the Shimo Dark Tunnel matter. Besides, I didn't help my sect in the conflict with Shima sect and even started to alienate myself from Chongling sect, so my master suspected me and followed me all the way here before I found it out. So it began with the Shimo Dark Tunnel matter. It seems to have something to do with me. When I knew that I was deceived by the real Shilan Wei and my Shima oath would never be removed, I felt very panicky, and at that time, my master found me. I gave myself away a bit out of carelessness, making her realize that I had bad intentions towards Chongling sect. It shouldn't be just a bit. You seem to have exposed me. Your master is not easy to kill. Things about Shilan treasury will become more complex. Why you? I didn't have other choices. I had to explain why I came here, so I didn't conceal the things about the Shima Oath, Shilan treasury, and the Power Source Stone. However, I didn't expose your identity to my master. She only knew I worked with you without knowing who you are. It's not that you didn't want to, but you had nothing to reveal. Um, that should be the truth. If her master knew I was G.E. Huayu of Shima sect, she couldn't treat me like that. Since you told her about the Shima oath and the power source stone, I can't figure out what flaw you revealed that made your master think you had ulterior motives towards Chongling sect. And this flaw even made her have to hunt you down. I said something that I shouldn't say when I was unsettled. Which can let her give up the power source stone and take me back to the sect. I think she heard those words. I felt being caught. Why you? Do you believe that some people are born with self-awareness? Half an hour later, at that time, my master realized that I was a precocious child. Although she didn't realize that I had memories of my infancy, she became stricter with me. Since then, I became more and more cautious in Chongling sect, as if treading on thin ice every day. Until I was the first one to break through to the ninth level of the post-celestial stage among my peers and got praise, my master reduced her control over me. When my peers went outside, they usually played the bully in the name of Chongling sect but I've rarely regarded myself as part of them as I have always remembered what Chongling sect had done to my parents. You have been hiding this secret for many years. Why are you exposed this time? The death of my parents has always been a nightmare for me, and I've buried it deep in my heart. But this time, the fact that the Shima oath cannot be lifted rattled me so much that I just wanted to find a secluded place to vent my emotions, and I did find the place to pour everything out and restore my mood. But I didn't expect that my master would be there in the dark and hear everything. That's too bad. Poor you, she is really unlucky, damn, would bad luck be contagious? I also feel that I've been unlucky, now, I can't go back to Chongling sect anymore. So, the real reason that you killed Zhao Xie is because he killed your family? You lied to me before? As long as I am alive, Chongling sect might go against me because of that matter. What happened today is the best proof. Only by weakening its strength and enhancing my status in it, could it be possible to eradicate this hidden danger. So that's why I've been willing to cooperate with you even though I know that you are not G.E. Huayu. She, aren't you afraid that I will kill you? Entwine. Never mind, although the matter about G.E. Huayu is a secret, it's no longer relevant now. Huayu. Your sword has a strong evil aura. I couldn't stand it even though it just reached my skin. That's why I can pretend to be the disciple of one Dao sect. Why you? If you are not going to kill me. What do you mean? Take off. I am possessed by the insoluble Shima oath and expelled by my sect. I have no way out now. I'm afraid that I won't survive the hunt of Chongling Sik without your protection after tonight. Following you is the only choice for me, and what I can repay you is my body. 
I can protect you, and I don't need you to throw yourself at me. Do you think I'm not good looking enough? You are Evil Jade Beauty, one of the five beauties in the Han Empire. How could you not be good looking? Among the beauties I have seen, you are one of the prettiest. So, you are impotent? Shut up. Put on your dress. You can't blame me for thinking of that, since you said I am pretty but you don't want me. You came from Chunling sect and experienced such horrible things. Surely you would think that people approach you with a purpose and everything in the world is about interests. Don't overestimate yourself. In terms of cultivation, you are weaker than me. You don't have any support from any force now, and the treasury matter is fully under my control. What do you have that is worth coveting now? From the perspective of interests, I should kill you. However, I choose to help you, just because I want to do so. So you don't need to pay any price. As for the Shima Oath, there may be a way to get past it. You can do it. It's actually quite simple. The Shima Oath is to prevent you from making a breakthrough when cultivating. If so, you can give up cultivation but use other ways to improve your strength. It's a fundamental solution that will not be affected by the Shima Oath. For that, I have two options for you. The first one is Sinking Secret Seed. This is the top treasure of the main techniques that I will give to my followers. With this seed, your cultivation will completely rely on me. If my cultivation gets promoted, so will yours. And the Shima Oath will be nothing to fear. You know my strength. It's just a matter of time before I reach the multi-celestial stage. If you take it, even if you don't cultivate, your cultivation realm will improve automatically. You will get stronger without doing anything. What do you think? I can get to the top with you? But I've gone through a lot, and I don't believe there is such a thing as a free lunch. I need to pay a price that matches its benefit, right? Clever. It does cost something. As long as you take this seed, your life will be in my hand. If you dare to do something against me, you will be destroyed only by one thought from me. I have had enough of being controlled. Back off. Even if you just want to help me, I don't want to live such a life anymore. I don't think you would like it either. So I have another option for you. The people from Chunling sect are good at controlling ghosts, but you guys refine ghosts with humans. The ghosts aren't intellectual enough to cultivate themselves, and that's why they would be stuck with the Shima Oath. My second option is to make you a psychic through a ritual, and then you will split a guardian spirit. You can let it do cultivation. That's also a way to get past the Shima Oath. That's how Ling BR game about. This solution does not work so quickly, but there are no side effects. Here is the material. I can assure you that there are no tricks, but I'm afraid you won't buy it easily. Anyway, you can think about it carefully. You ought to understand the material as you know ghosts well. I won't say anything more. I am going to deal with something in the Imperial City. You should stay here since you are injured. We'll talk later. Don't worry about your master. She has been badly injured, and she won't dare to come again for a while. Did Yin Ryu really intend to throw herself at you just now? Was it a honey trap? You can say that. But I don't think she really wanted to seduce me. If I said yes, Yin Ryu might have prepared herself to go with it. But if I really had done something just now, I'm afraid I would have completely lost the opportunity to control her. Judging from her memories, her obsession is probably that she believes no one in this world would be nice to her without asking for anything in return. She sought protection from me by throwing herself at me. If I accepted it, her obsession would only be further reinforced. With her personality, even if she becomes my woman, she will have other schemes or even stab me in the back. Yet, conversely, if I follow this obsession and break it, I can get a chance to insert a heart trigger into her. After that, there will be nothing to worry about when staying with her. That's why you emphasize that she had nothing worth coveting. You are really good at psychological suppression. Where did you learn all this stuff? 
But wasn't it enough to offer her moral seed? Why did you offer her the psychic plan? Because Yin Ryu would never choose moral seed. She is paranoid and cautious. It's a waste of time and intelligence to deceive her. And it's not convincing if there is no comparison. If I only offered her the psychic plan, even if there was no trick, Yin Ryu would be suspicious, and it would waste my time. If I offered her a scary moral seed plan and let her know that I had put everything on the table, when I offered her the psychic plan, she would be more likely to take it. As long as she accepts the psychic plan, it won't be long before I break her obsession. Why you should be very confident in his techniques. And since he has witnessed the reason that I've gone against Chongling sect, he should have corrected his understanding of me. Otherwise, he wouldn't do that just now. He is really an arrogant man. I could only play this little trick to fool him, and it worked well unexpectedly. An incomplete truth is no different from a lie. You were useless when you were alive, but your deaths helped me. Dad, Mom. It's so good that you are dead. Honey, let me get in first, ah. Uh, this cellar can only accommodate one person for hiding. You go elsewhere. I am your wife. How can you desert me? Fuck off, I shouldn't have married you. You crazy bitch. When facing a disaster, you guys started blaming each other and wishing for the other one's death. Looks like we will gain a lot this time. Madam, please let me go. Kill her if you want to. Please don't kill me. What did you say? Stop crying. It's all your fault. Your crying led the robber here. I should have strangled you. Hmm? Did you see that, Miss Tushir? When I released Shen Ho, this kid fixed her eyes on it. She is still a baby, yet she can sense ghosts. All right, you are my disciple now. Given that your parents are dead, it doesn't matter what your name is before. I should give you a new name. The surname of my dead husband is Yin, and you are a girl. I will name you Ryu then. I don't harbor any resentment toward my parents for trying so hard to survive. After all, self-preservation is the first law of nature. They had only themselves to blame for being too unlucky and being targeted by Chongling sect. I wouldn't take revenge on Chongling sect for such a boring, pity thing, but it's a pity that the old woman didn't believe me at all and gave me a hard time. No one in the world is worthy of trust except myself. My parents were trustless, Chongling sect is trustless, and so is that mysterious masked man who told me my origin, and Huayu is also trustless. However, compared with the masked man with an ulterior motive, Huayu is more trustworthy as I know him better. It's the second time that Huayu had no interest in my body. It seems that my previous tests are indeed correct. Is Huayu really a good guy under his sinister cover? It doesn't matter. It will do me good if he is really a good man. Now I should study this book and check if it's as remarkable as he said. The title of this book is really tongue-twisting. After I went back to the Imperial City, I confirmed with Yan Shirgu and was told that the Gate of the Sun could not be restored to its original state, so they can only continue to crack it with the Keshwaxi sex method. What a pity. I made such a big move last night, but Keshwaxi sect didn't send anyone over. Turned out they were troubled by the bugs that Chiliang sect had already planted in their bodies, so they didn't have time to care about something else. Master, you are amazing. Chiliang sect doesn't dare to do such a thing to you. Not everyone is as sensitive as me. Moreover, their bugs only make the people of Keshwaxi sect irritable. It wouldn't cause much real damage, but only hinder Keshwaxi sect from cracking the gate of the sun, otherwise, they would have discovered it long ago. Here we are. I didn't expect Chiliang sect to endure for so long and use it until now, but it was at the right time. So the cracking progress of the Gate of the Sun can't catch up with that of the Gate of the Moon, right? I am not sure. But I can tell that Yan Shirgu is kind of confident, otherwise, he wouldn't dare to let me go back to Shilio City. Isn't he afraid that I would get in from the Gate of the Moon? Master, didn't you tell him that you worried that Chiliang sect might do something desperate if they couldn't find you, so you must stay in Shilio City to pacify them? 
he would bring it up even if I didn't. Instead, I'm a little worried that he would crack the gate of the sun beforehand, and I'd gain nothing. However, what Chiliang Sek did today eased my mind. They are also a hard nut. Master, do you think Yen Ryu's master would affect the situation? No, her master came here alone. Even if she notifies some helpers of Chongling Sek to come here, they won't make it. Hmm? Yen Ryu isn't in the cave. Where is she? I see. The technique of psychics is based on the soul of one's own, and then the soul will split into a unique guardian spirit. The guardian spirit is connected to its owner's soul yet with independent wisdom and spirit. I've never heard of most of the materials for the ritual, but by the shapes and functions from the supplement, I can find their replacements. Maybe because they are all related to ghosts, most of them seem to be able to be replaced by the food for Mei Lang, and the rest are not rare. There are many local merchants in Xilan, so it won't be difficult to collect them. I should dig in further. Get past the Xinma oath and let the ghost cultivate on its own. This method doesn't seem to solve the problem thoroughly, but it matches the techniques of Chongling sect. From my experience, the way to nurture a guardian spirit can be completely combined with the method of refining Mei Lang. If I can make the guardian spirit inherit everything from Mei Lang, I will gain one more trustworthy ghost, which can even cultivate on its own. It may not be slower to increase my cultivation level through it than to do it on my own. Yin Ryu, I've been looking for you, but you are enjoying the foot spa here. Huai Yu, I have finished the material you gave me. So? Thank you so much. Pounce. I just got the news that the annoying bug has played its part, greatly slowing down the progress of the Keshwaxi sect cracking the gate of the sun. It's a pity that the bug can't transmit too complex information. Otherwise, we can know every move of them. Chiliang sect's base in Chilio City. You can't have it all. The annoying bug is the most difficult to be noticed and the weakest. It has no other functions except for disturbing emotions. Otherwise, it would have been caught by the Keshwaxi sect a long time ago, and it would not play a role at this critical moment. Shilan Wei said she went to the Imperial City to save her mother, but hasn't come back yet. Do you think there is any incident? What if she works with the Keshwaxi sect? See, she won't. They don't trust each other. She will come back. Madams, Princess Shilan Wei is back. Hum, as I expected. Thud. But madam, the moment she was back, she went straight to Shilan Che's mansion, put up a note of no visitors. Chiliang sect, fuck off on the door, and kicked out all our disciples there. What did you say? How dare she? Huili, she's already lorded it over us. Calm down. A little impatience may spoil our great plan. After the gate is opened, we'll get even with her. Your Highness, you have offended Chiliang sect. Will they retaliate against you? So what? I have shown much respect for them as I hadn't gone to fight them head on. By the way, Chiliang sect suddenly began to remove poison and bugs from the royal members in the city, and everyone is recovering. And Mr. Zhou sent you invitations. Now that you are back, I'll have someone to reply to him, um, tell him I'm not available, so I won't go and meet him. He has sent several invitations. What did you say, your highness? You are going to reject Mr. Zhou? I only love handsome young men and have no interest in old men like him. I'm very busy now. I don't have time to put on a play with him. Rather than dealing with that guy, I'd like to play with Yen Ryu. Master, you rescued Yen Ryu from her master and gave her the technique to deal with the Shinma Oath without asking anything in return. Reasonably, she should have regarded you as a good guy. It's a good start. What are you worried about now? A momentary kindness may have changed her impression of me, but it is not enough to transform her outlook. For her, a good man is the same as a fool. She threw herself at me, being grateful, but I didn't receive any positive emotional feedback. Even if she had a bit of gratitude towards me, such a faint feeling is not enough to generate any origin points so she will never learn to be grateful. Isn't what you have done for nothing? That's why I have to be careful about my attitude towards her. 
I can't get rough with her, as her master is a warning. Nor can I be too gentle, or she will push her luck. I need to find a balance. Ouch. You hurt. Me, why you? Why are you here? Didn't we agree to meet at the usual spot? Why did you come here and even try to make a sneak attack on me? I can't wait. And I just wanted to pull you into the alley to talk, but you were so rude and violent. It would be awful to be seen by so many people on the street. I have already collected all the materials for the psychic ritual recorded in the pamphlet you gave me. Although I can complete the ritual alone, thinking that it was given by you, I'd like to ask you to be a witness. It will be better if you can protect me by then. You've collected them all in a few days? How's it possible? It took me lots of time to collect the materials in the toneling world and the boxing world. How did she get it done in such a short time? The point is she didn't even leave the Shilan kingdom. I can't believe that. It's no big deal. Would you like to take a look at the materials improvement plan that I have sorted out? Isn't it a little thicker? The pamphlet you gave me is very detailed about the nature of the materials, yet many of them cannot be obtained due to the current environment. So I made some improvements. Most of the materials can be replaced by things that I usually feed Mei Lang. And what was lacking is not rare, and I've collected them on the way back to Shilio City. I am confident in it, but I am not sure if the ritual still can work with these improved materials. So, Pure Essence Stone is inclusive and suitable for forging a container to blend all materials. However, Sand Ore has the same feature with higher stability. So can Pure Essence Stone be replaced with Sand Ore? Eager to learn. The main materials of Yin and Yang are all herbs. Can the same effect be achieved if they are replaced with animal bones or internal organs with the same feature? Incense ash can be used as a blender, but if the incense ash from the Wuxian sect is added, will it cause an imbalance between yin and yang? And the top blood jade, turtle shell, with the spell, Yen Ryu has delved into the psychic technique. Even I have never thought about such deep problems. So, if we hold the psychic ritual in a perfect place, it may be easier to succeed. It is no longer a psychic technique. Yen Ryu has adapted the original one and created a new technique that suits her well. She is amazing. I can't get it. It's good anyway. She adapted it herself, and she won't be too suspicious to try it. However, if she does it all by herself, I'm afraid that she may not be grateful to me much. Instead, she may think that she earns it on her own. I have to get more involved. Yet, I can't be overly passionate. Otherwise, it will arouse her suspicion. Your improved plan is totally different from my original one. Are you asking me to better your improved version? Why you, you are so capable. Please help me. I will surely repay you. I will do anything for you in the future as long as you need me. I can't put on airs and boss her around. It may make her rebellious, mistakenly thinking that I am manipulating her, which will do no good in shattering her obsession. You don't have to do that. It never occurred to me that you would go this far about the psychic ritual. All right, let me take a look at the version that you have improved. Why you? Theoretically, pure essence stone can be replaced with sand ore, but except for blending, pure essence stone can also adsorb sedimental impurities and purify bath of ultra in energy. That's why sand ore can't replace it. As for the herbs of in and yang, it's because herbs are easy to concoct, which can save time. If you don't mind, you can replace it with something of the same nature. Aha! Uh -huh. Blood Jade, Spell, Incense Ash. Why do you want to use Incense Ash from Wuxiang Sect? Luolu City. It's done. The necessity of the psychic ritual, the best formula of Bath of Ultra Yin Energy. I thought that making changes to the formula without consulting him would cause him to resent me for not trusting him, but I was surprised that he was still willing to help me improve it. I have repeatedly checked the final version, and it's perfect. Mei Lang, if only people in the world are as nice as Huayu. Yin Ruyu, Mei Lang, it's time to go. 
Taking advantage of the time and place to maximize the characteristics of bath of ultraine energy, I've never had such an idea. The formation is done. And with the chi gathering formation to prevent the chi in the bath from dissipating, it's just like a pressure cooker. Luckily, you are at the pre-celestial stage. Your body is stronger than those who are at the post-celestial stage. I believe you can withstand it. Why you? What are you doing? What is a pressure cooker? I'm refining my sword. It's almost ready. Get in, and I will cast the spell. Don't you watch me complete the psychic ritual? There's no risk through the ritual, so you don't need my protection. Get in quickly. I'm going to cast the spell. You can ask Mei Lang to do so if you are worried. I'm afraid I still need to count on you. Mei Lang can't speak. He he, if Master doesn't watch her, I'm gonna, ah, uh, Mei Lang, don't cover my eyes. Back then, the Lord Tai Yi of Salvation. Eh? Huh? Master, the psychic bath's gone crazy. What? The effect of Bath of Ultraine energy is so strong that it has materialized the psychic power into tentacles. Don't move. I'm pulling you out right now. Go on. Cast the spell. Don't stop. Huh? Master, don't let her effort fall short. Just listen to her once. I'm going to keep watching. That's the point, right? Okay, hang in there, Yen Ryu. It was you who changed the formula, and it was also you who asked to keep it on, so don't blame me if there will be any side effects. His mighty divine power blessed the ten realms in all directions to save all sentient beings from their misguided ways. Basking in his grace for the first time, all beings rejoiced like the blind regaining vision. Originating from nothingness, his power surmounts. Ah! To end all sufferings and overcome all evil, Yin Ryu? Are you okay? I am fine. There it is. It's a blue ball. Here. My guardian spirit. My exclusive guardian spirit. It will never betray me. Although it is very similar to the guardian spirit embryo, this ball should only be a cover of psychic power. Break the cover, and the thing inside is your guardian spirit. Why you? I am so happy. Thank you. Pounce. Dress up. Don't always pounce on me. You squeezed my breasts crooked last time. Forced to come between them. If so, you just need to adjust them. Don't be so mean. Do you think they are bottles that you can just pick up after tipping them over? Ha ha. She already got the guardian spirit, but I still didn't get any positive origin points from her. A little gratitude will also do. She is indeed an ungrateful woman. Looks like I have to please her. No, that's not right. I can't do that. If I did that, she would think that I just covered her beauty, and she would not have any positive emotions. Giving her the cold shoulder won't work, and being too kind may not be effective either. I can't get involved, but also can't completely withdraw. I can't appear too dominant, but I can't be too passive either. Damn. What else can I do? Shit, I am so pissed off. I am dying to kill her for good. Crack. Let me see what it is. Wow. Master, this guardian spirit is similar to the little owl that didn't manage to swallow me. The effect of the enhanced psychic bath is equivalent to the update of Spirit Herald. Yin Ryu's qualification seems to be no better than mine. Why you? Is there anything wrong with my guardian spirit? Basically, it's fine, but it's capability. Is it weak? Ahem, it's not a problem. As long as you train it well, it will become strong over time. Yin Ryu is from Chongling sect. Theoretically, she should be gifted as a psychic. How come she refined such a useless guardian spirit? It frustrated me. Master, you used to refine the sword so fast. There are not many materials this time, but why do you slow down? I'm not refining the sword. 
I'm just making use of the means of swordsmanship to analyze the nature of these two treasures from Keshwaxi sect and Chiliang sect, while considering the following plan to deal with Yin Ryu. Huh? According to Huayu, the guardian spirit can become strong as long as I train it well. But it's too slow. I'd better try to let it inherit everything from Mei Lang. I have some ideas, but I'm not sure if it will work well. I will lose them both if it isn't handled properly. Miss Yen, you got a good place to hide. I've been looking for you. It's you again. I have made it very clear that I have no intention of tracing my family background. Please stop pestering me. I am a descendant of an official of the Lu family, and I mean no harm to you, so you don't have to be so wary of me. I am not interested in your dream of revival. Even if you want to use me to do something, I will not play along. You don't want to accept your family background just because you are afraid of being hunted down by the D family. However, every coin has two sides. Compared with the advantage of the Lu family's bloodline, the trouble it causes is just nothing. The other day, I was interrupted and failed to give this thing to you. This is an aquatic elderberry. You should resonate with it. It definitely does you no harm. As for its function, it can completely stimulate your potential and release the power that you have accumulated inside your body in one breath. What? My level is promoted to the second level of the pre-celestial stage? Evil Jade Beauty, you are indeed powerful. Your potential is so great, and you just got one level up instantly. I do find the right person. Clap. Don't worry. I have set Shinong's spell of centerless dust, which can isolate this place for a while, so your improvement won't disturb anyone. Take this golden rod pendant. As long as you don't fight with all your strength, you are still at the first level of the pre-celestial stage to others. Just by resonating with the aquatic elderberry, you can improve your cultivation level. This is the power of the blood of the Lu family. You mean, as long as I can stimulate the bloodline power, I can ignore the Shinma Oath and get promoted to the third level or the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage, or even to the multi-celestial stage. It just released the power that is suppressed in your bloodline. You still need to cultivate on your own to get promoted. Cultivate on my own? Does it mean that I am still restrained by the Shinma Oath? Indeed. However, it is not unsolvable if only you are willing to work with us and do something to Princess Shilam Wei. Knock at night. Why you open the door? I have a big surprise to show you. What surprise is it that makes you stay up at night? Did your fox turn into a fairy? No. It's me who has reached the second level of the pre-celestial stage. Surprise. It's the reward for giving you away. What? Let's get in and talk. You know, you've offended many people, but this one is not simple. He is an official of the Lu family from the former Han Empire. He is targeting you. You mean, the mysterious man who stopped you from killing Zhang Yi in the Imperial City before came to you again and tried to convince you to turn against me? Exactly. He asked me to take you to a shabby temple at the top of Sequin Mountain thousands of miles away. Apparently, he has set some traps there to deal with you. He wants to lure me into a trap. But I didn't expect you to tell me the truth at once. Don't you covet the benefits he promised? After all, he is more generous than me. He helped you level up to the second level of the pre-celestial stage without you even doing anything for him. It's because of my powerful bloodline power inside my body, and he just took advantage of it. As for the solution to removing the Shima Oath, it is bait to get me to work for him. It's hard to tell whether it exists or not. I wouldn't fall for that. Once I plot against you, those people will ask me to do something else again. They will never stop until they make full use of me. Compared to those suspicious people, I trust you more. You are nice to me, caring about no personal interests, which I always bear in my mind. It is worth the psychic plan I gave you. I don't buy it. You didn't offer any positive origin points at all when you said you were grateful to me. 
However, it never occurred to me that you are a royal of the former empire. So compared with me, the fake princess Shilan Wei, you are a real princess. Don't make fun of me. The D family has ruled the Han Empire for hundreds of years. What's the point of being a former princess? That mysterious man claimed to be a former official of the Lu family. He came to me and proved my family background, yet revealed no further information. How about you help me take him down and question him about the truth when he shows up next time? No problem. It's no big deal. Thank you, Huayu. Yen Ryu didn't let me down this time. I sensed something wrong, but I indeed didn't overhear anything due to that mysterious man's means. Even if she made it up, I can't verify it. But if I were her coming to confess, I would only have talked about something personal without saying anything about the plot. The question is why this mysterious man is targeting me. When did such a person appear in Shilan Kingdom? Judging from what he did, I don't think he is from Chiliang sect or Keshwaxi sect. Is he Zhou Yimping's man? After all, that guy was. Huh? What did Zhou Yimping do to me before? Damn. I often forgot things these days. What's wrong with me? Why you? I am wondering what you are going to do. Since he wants to make use of me to lure you up Sikuan Mountain, I suppose he doesn't dare to fight you head on. But it should not be an ordinary trap. There is likely to be something special on the top of Sikuan Mountain, which can pose a threat to you. Otherwise, he wouldn't choose such a remote place that it's hard for me to make up an excuse. Anyway, after the matter about the treasury is done, you will not be Shilan Wei anymore. It's better to save trouble, so how about not going this time? If I don't go, they will know that you betray them. Why you? They won't. They are unlikely to think so even if you don't go there. After all, the place they chose is too remote. I need to avoid arousing your suspicions, which is not easy. All the more reason I need to go. They have prepared it for so long, going to all this trouble to tempt me over. Wouldn't it be a waste of their work if I don't go? Besides, I really want to figure out what they are up to. Will anything bad happen? Don't worry. I'm experienced in fighting alone. One day later. Unknown temple at the top of Sikuan Mountain. If I guess it right, when I step on this platform, something will be triggered, right? Pause. If you want to fight me, don't act like a coward hiding away. Get out. Gather. How could such conspicuous things as the formation and the stone platform escape the notice of a smart person? If the trap only begins to work until you step into it, then this trap is very low level. Your Highness, you are clever, but you should know. There is always someone. Who is cleverer than you? Rumble. This familiar feeling. Could it be? Miracle sign? Bang. Gather. Dissipate. Disappear. I didn't expect that they would go to such great lengths to take me down. If it weren't for using the method I employed when I met Su Min, I am afraid that I would have ended in tragedy. Master, it was horrible just now. I could do nothing at the moment. Luckily, I blew it up quickly. Otherwise, I couldn't get myself back. Judging from that attack, his cultivation level must not be low. Fortunately, you have improved your cultivation after getting trained. As long as you don't fight, even if you possess someone else's body and pretend to be a pre-celestial stage master, no one can see through you. But the thief who was possessed by you and turned into Shilan Wei's look just now has completely disappeared from my perception. If I guess it right. Thud. He should have been taken away by that miracle sign. To somewhere we don't know. It's a substitute? She is quite cautious. It's a pity that you leaked your Yin Chi just now. Which enables me to locate you. Shit, he can find me at a distance. You must be kidding me. The effective range of this miracle sign is too wide. 
Six moral demons I am afraid. The power of this miracle sign is stronger than that of the sect leader. I should not mess around again. I have to get out of here. Substitutes are of no use. Almighty capture. You can't run away, your highness. Withdraw. Blaze. Huh? Origin point gain shock. 0 0.01 points G genia. Pierce. Origin point gain depreciation. 0 0.01 points G genia. Diffuse. Bang. I failed. The chosen talented seed you found really got something. In particular, when she was captured, the mysterious flame she released could make me lose control of the power of heaven and earth for a moment, during which she broke free. Just that moment of weakness, she was able to escape from you? She couldn't escape if we fought head on. However, I cast Miracle Sign Cross Space with the Earth Vein Formation you set in Sikuin Mountain, which was quite limited, so she escaped in the end. The fleeing art she used was majestic without any evil aura. Her speed was even faster than some pre-celestial stage masters with flying techniques at the fourth or fifth level. I am so impressed. Even you are impressed by her fleeing art. I'm more interested in her now. Looks like I need to make some adjustments to the plan. Think hard. Like I said, don't be obsessed with the chosen talented seed. I know. Luckily, she didn't know who was attacking her all along. Even if she made a guess, she would gradually forget it under the influence of Confucian doctrine. So it has no effect on my original plan. Holy shit! Finger of Nirvana. Master, are you all right? I'm fine. The evil smell of Rosefinch almost drained me. And I'm worn out by using the fleeting sword with all my strength to run away. I really made big trouble this time. Ha ha ha. I didn't know how powerful a miracle sign was when I saw the sect leader use it, but when it was used on me, I could feel that it was overwhelmingly strong. Luckily, it seemed to be limited. If it really had no limits, I am afraid I would have to use the teleportation magic circle to transport myself back to Marching Sect. Phew, there are no more dark clouds here. Since it's so powerful, will you be in danger if you deal with it next time? If it could be used any time and anywhere, he wouldn't have gone out of his way to let Yen Ryu trick me into going to Sikuen Mountain. The formation on the mountain top is obviously not completed in a short time. I remember that he provided origin points once. I haven't thought about it carefully as I was busy running. His name is Ji Jinya, Ji Jinya, wait. Ji Jinya? It's the name tied to Zhou Yinping. Right. Zhou Yinping. I should have suspected him a long time ago. Compared with the origin point of greed before, it is self-evident who is behind this game. Why did I not notice it before taking action? No, I didn't forget it. There's something that has interfered with and suppressed my thoughts. Oh, no. The vigilance and sense of crisis in my mind are fading. Master? What are you doing? I never thought I would be pinned down in my best field. I didn't realize my senses and thoughts were disrupted. Zhou Yinping, Ji Jinya, what evil means you used? If I hadn't reacted fast, I am afraid that I wouldn't even know what was wrong when the information of the origin points disappeared this time. Zhou Yinping? Right, didn't you suspect him before? That's strange. Why do I recall that until now? I fixed my vigilance and suspicion towards him with a heart trigger. Influenced by me, you can be freed from his bizarre interference too. Master, Zhou Yinping came here a long time ago, and he should be up to no good to the two evil sections. Will there be problems with the Xilan treasury? It should be not serious even if there is a problem. Otherwise, he wouldn't have painstakingly plotted against me in advance. It will save him much trouble if he kills me and the two evil sects in the Xilan treasury. The only thing I can't figure out is why the two names sometimes showed up together and sometimes there was only G. Genia. What's going on with these two guys? A clone? A possessed soul? 
So what are we going to do next, Master? It's simple. Since Zhou Yinping is trying so hard not to reveal his real purpose, I will bring this rat face to light and make the two evil sects deal with him. I believe the two sects will have methods to deal with his interference after knowing the truth. Mr. Yan, there is a confidential letter for you. A letter? From whom? Uh, I don't know. It just appeared out of nowhere. The fight over the Xilan treasury is actually secretly manipulated by Zhou Yinping? Zhou Yinping has stayed at the thatched cottage, plotting. He seems to have no intention but has played tricks secretly. Your vigilance might rise when you are reading this letter, but it will fade away after a moment. Huh, something goes wrong. The thought in my mind really disappeared. How? I have never noticed this means before. When was it used on me? It's conspicuous that something has been concealed. Something is wrong with Zhou Yinping. A few days later. Have you heard? Something happened again in Iqua. Iqua? Isn't it close to here? I remember a scholar built a thatched cottage and has lived in seclusion there. Exactly. Last night, a group of foreign masters surrounded the cottage and they fought shortly afterwards. The passers-by said they heard the roar of a giant snake and saw fog fill the sky. When it was dawn, the ground around the cottage has become an abyss with no bottom in sight. That, that's horrible. Why you, how did you do that? What do you mean? So the person who came to me and asked me to plot against you is Zhou Yinping's man? You made him gain nothing and even figured out who he is. Most importantly, I can't figure out how you notified the two evil sects in such a short time and let them put their grudges aside and join hands. It has little to do with me. I guess the two evil sects just came to realize that they had been deceived. After all, Zhou Yinping is devilish cunning. He he, these two evil sects are quite decisive. I thought they would investigate the sender of the anonymous letter before taking action. It surprised me that they joined hands to flatten Zhou Yinping's residence without any hesitation. Master, do you think Zhou Yinping has been dead now? I don't know. But I don't think he would die easily. Even if the two evil sects planned to attack him without his knowledge, it would still be too difficult to defeat a master at the fourth level of pre-celestial stage in the wide open space. But it doesn't matter. It didn't cost me any effort. The harder they fight and undermine each other, the easier for me to get the fruit in the end. Master, you are smiling like a bad guy. I knew it was you. Beep, beep, beep. Huh? Is it the message box that Keshwaxi sect gave you? It began to beep a few days ago, and now the sound is becoming more urgent. Crush. So noisy. Stop it. I won't waste my time putting on a play with them in the Imperial City. They can just come to the Gate of the Moon to fight me if they dare. Why you is quite capricious. Master, are you not going into the Treasury through the Gate of the Sun? What if they do have opened it? Keshwaxi sect isn't that kind. Even if they do open it, they won't tell me but monopolize the treasury. The messages they sent are probably just to trick me into going to the Imperial City because they are worried that I would enter the treasury through the Gate of the Moon, which will do good to Chiliang sect. I don't have time to run back and forth placing bets, so I will only choose the one that I am most sure of. If nothing goes wrong, the Gate of the Moon will be opened earlier than the Gate of the Sun, and Keshwaxi sect will stand no chance. But, any evil sect should not be underestimated. Any incident may happen. Fall down. Hueli, monitoring puppets from Keshwaxi sect in this area have been pretty much dealt with. The City Lord has also got everything prepared. But Shilan Wei hasn't come yet. Doesn't she? No, she's already come. Land. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Her Highness spent some time picking me up. I brought Mr. Yu here and let him pick a few treasures he likes in the treasury. Are you okay with it, Grand Elder? Sure. Your Highness can bring whoever you want here. We will never get in the way. That's good. But, why do I feel you got more people here? 
Could it be that all pre-celestial stage masters except for your sect leader are here? No, we just dispatched some men over to prevent Keshwaxi sect from making desperate moves and breaking the agreement. They set out from the sect early and happened to arrive here lately. Right. By the distance between your sect and Shilan Kingdom, it's obviously impossible to be a temporary decision. I thought it was a move against me. I'm glad it's not. But another thing. I heard that you suddenly led your people to the Peace Cottage before and had a fierce fight against Zhou Yinping. Why did you do that to an honest and kind-hearted scholar all of a sudden? I don't know the details, but your internal power is irregular. I'm afraid that you all have got internal injuries, right? I heard that Keshwaxi sect was also involved. How is Zhou Yinping with so many people fighting him? Is he dead, or did he escape? Uh, you don't look well. I'll stop asking then, I am just a little worried if our agreement is still valid without Zhou Yinping as a mediator. It's not necessary. We reached the agreement before the meeting at the thatched cottage. It's just, the so-called agreement should be observed by both parties. If either party plays tricks, it will only erode trust between them. For example, if your highness secretly colluded with Chongling sect and tried to get them as support. Though interestingly, I heard that evil jade beauty is a breathtaking beauty in the eyes of men. Unexpectedly, you are also so charming and desirable when disguising yourself as a man. You have a keen eye, Grand Elder. Looks like it's ridiculous for me to come in this costume. But don't worry. Her Highness and I are just acquaintances without Chongling sect involved, let alone the intention of intervening in the treasury matter. I surely believe it if you said so. After all, it would be too hilarious if you alone can be regarded as strong support. That's mean. I'm telling the truth. Don't you want to change your outfit? I guess it's not very comfortable wearing it, right? Ha ha ha, that's true. Please excuse me for a second. Don't worry, your highness. Our sect won't stop evil jade beauty from going with us, and the previous agreement is still valid. But, crawl. Chongling sect has a bad reputation. You'd better be cautious. I know that. You don't need to sow discord between us. Did this old woman figure out Yen Ryu's identity herself, or did Yan Shirgu give me away? I'll say no more if your highness doesn't like it. The gate of the moon should be about to appear. Your highness, please come with me. In short, these guys from the evil sex can't be underestimated. Emerge. Oh? Is this the gate of the moon? It's not far from what I imagined. It's reasonable that your highness feels familiar. Back then, out of curiosity, your highness entered the treasury through this gate. It's a pity that her highness has lost her memory. We can only count on you to lead us to this mysterious treasury. Okay. I am not a royal, but I got in there with the former king a few times. It's no big deal leading the way. In another quarter of an hour, when the moon is full, this gate will be stable. What comes next is your highness opens the gate with your blood. Huh? What are you looking for, your highness? Nothing. I just heard the wind howling. I stood Keshwaxi sect up, yet they didn't come to attack the gate of the moon. Are they going to intercept us halfway? Or, did something happen to the gate of the sun? It's opened. Mr. Yan, the treasury is opened. I successfully accomplished the mission. All the talisman locks have been cracked, and the gate of the sun has been successfully opened. I have confirmed that the passage is stable. Everything goes well. We can enter the treasury at any time. A few days ago, you woke up from your coma and promised me that you would open the treasury before the gate of the moon was opened. So I changed my mind and waited in the Imperial City. Now you really did it. Good job. Due to your hard work, the Gate of the Sun is finally opened. I'm flattered, Mr. Yan. I just... Pass my order. Everyone acts according to the plan. 
Yao Qi, you take most of the post-celestial stage disciples to clean up the palace. Kill Tu Lanja and his subordinates. Kill all those who may be related to Zhou Yinping. Yes, Mr. Yan. The rest, follow me to the treasury. The gate of the moon is opened as well. Chiliang Sek will definitely be out there in force. In this case, let's meet in the treasury and see who is the one having the last laugh. Oh, is this the Xilan treasury? I only knew the Xilan treasury was vast with complicated terrain, but I didn't expect such a scene. You may not know that it's a treasury in name only. It actually refers to the ancient city in front of us. Just because our ancestors named it treasury, it has never been changed in subsequent generations. In order to protect it, the founding king of Xilan Kingdom, who obtained this ancient city, ordered people to build a mausoleum in it after his death and even put all the treasures of the city into his mausoleum. The successive kings didn't find other places to store their treasures, but simply used the founding king's mausoleum as Xilan Kingdom's treasury. Ancient city? It's not different from the information I've investigated these days. This place was one of the secret spots of the Grand Light Sect in ancient times. Compared with Shimo Dark Tunnel that Shimo Sect left behind, perhaps this majestic city can only be regarded as a treasury in the eyes of those mysterious ancient sections. It's a pity that it's been a long time. Even if there is something of value, it may have been taken away a long time ago. All right. You'd better stop talking about these trifling things. Take us to the mausoleum quickly. Um, okay, I'll lead the way. Please follow me. Not far ahead is the founding king's mausoleum, but the entrance has been locked by another mechanism. It's not as complicated as the gate of the sun or the gate of the moon, and it doesn't require royal blood either, but I'm afraid it's not easy to open as we don't have the key now. It doesn't matter. We have the way. Later, I will enter the mausoleum first to search for what we are seeking. Your Highness, please wait outside for a while. I'm fine with that, but... I'm afraid it won't go as smoothly as you think, bang. That sound, could it be? Puppet Nine-Headed Snake? Yan Shirgu. I thought the gate of the moon would be opened first, so I rushed here with my people. I didn't expect you to be so slow. The gate of the sun was opened so fast. How is it possible? Things change, always full of surprises. Your Highness was indeed decisive to choose the gate of the moon. I am wondering what you think of seeing us coming here. I'm not surprised. Wasn't it obvious before? However, you guys came in so soon. Isn't it too coincidental? I don't mean anything else. Just think about it, everybody. Will there be such a coincidence in this world? Don't be made use of someone with ulterior motives. I have a reliable solution to this treasury dispute. Do you want to hear it? I think your highness is more like one with ulterior motives. You know who I'm talking about. Stop making fun of me, Grand Elder. Oh? How reliable is the solution you are talking about? I'm kind of curious. At the end of the day, you're merely fighting over a treasure in the treasury. Now it is close at hand, but in fact, neither of you has a crucial advantage. If I'm not mistaken, neither of you wants to have a deadly fight on the spot now, do you? If so, why not adopt a fairer approach? When the mausoleum is opened, the two of you get in there at the same time, searching for what you are seeking. Whoever finds it first owns it. It's so simple, direct, and effective. It's not a game, your highness. How could the loser accept failing to find the treasure just because of oversight? In the end, we will still fight over it. That's why except for the two of you, all other disciples must guard the door to avoid someone taking the treasure away, thud. The city lord and I will be the notaries for this competition. I will hit whoever breaches the agreement. I believe you know that neither of you can take on two opponents at once while grabbing the treasure. If so, well, it's indeed a solution. I don't know what you are looking for, but just go ahead. Step. Step.
Your Highness, are we just watching? Of course. It's a deal. We need to keep our promise. You and I are notaries this time. Just watch. Yet, do you think the two evil sects will abide by the agreement and compete fairly? Well, I don't deal with Keshwaxi sect much, but according to their ways of doing things, I am afraid that they will have a hard fight in the end. Indeed. It is common for people from evil sects to fight each other and seek benefits. Saying get them a common enemy. Plank. Boom. Boom. Thud. He was possessed. That's impressive. But, Mr. Zhou's cultivation method doesn't look like the Confucian one. The aura of evil god. I'm surprised that your highness can see through my identity. So you proposed fair competition just to make the two evil sex deal with me? Smash. You tell me. Very clever, your highness. So they suddenly turned against me before. It was also your scheme, right? I just gave you something in return. You know what I mean. That letter was sent by your highness? If you had known about it in advance, you should have told us earlier. Although you uncovered his identity now, fighting him hastily is too. Cut the crap. Unlike the cottage, the treasury is an enclosed place. We may be able to keep him here. Mr. Yan made the point. Grand Elder, don't be so pessimistic. We have got him trapped and we three against him alone. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. We will definitely take him down. Mr. Zhou, what do you think? What do I think? I think we should calm down. Don't you want to see where the most precious thing in this treasury is hidden? This is. Open. What a strong aura. Could it be flameless holy fire? Burn. It doesn't take me much effort to get what I want. I've never thought it would be so easy to get it. Bang. Thank you all. Never ever meet again. Flameless holy fire has been taken away. Go after him. I can't believe they let him run away with the treasure. What useless people. They wasted the chance I created for them. Go after him. The treasure has been taken away. Keep up with Grand Elder. Anyway, Zhou Yinping is indeed strong, and he also has Ji Jinya who is even more terrifying. I am wondering if the two evil sects can withstand it when he reveals this trump card, Flameless Holy Fire, is thrown out temporarily, and the other treasures here. They are all ordinary treasures, which are of no use to pre-celestial stage masters. That makes sense. Even if there were good stuff, it would have been taken away long ago, unless it is put in a special place like the Power Source Stone under the protection of the Shilan royal family for years. Master only wants treasures with a special aura. Don't pick ordinary jewels and weapons. The Shilan royal family was so stupid and didn't have a keen eye for distinguishing really priceless treasures. Otherwise, Zhou Yinping wouldn't have had the chance to snatch away flameless holy fire. Why you, the two evil sects have gone to chase Zhou Yinping. It's empty outside. You. Why you, you. It's better than none. I want to see if I can get any good stuff. Er. Why you, you knew Zhou Yinping possessed Xilan Che's body a long time ago. How did you know that? Well, I have my way. In order to inquire about the details of the treasury and not get lost after coming in, I asked Ching'er to use Truth Mantra on many nobles in Xilan. Tell me, how many wives do you have? Xilan Che was one of them. The conclusion was that although he had some personal motives, they didn't have a significant impact on our plan, and what he feared the most was being dragged into the treasury matter and becoming a pawn. But last night, he suddenly changed his attitude. 
He didn't refuse Chiliang's sex request for him to lead the way, and in fact, he even displayed a proactive attitude, which was completely contrary to his original intention. The most possibility for such a huge change in one day is he was possessed by someone else. In that respect, I am an expert. Zhou Yinping played such a trick on me, which is like teaching fish how to swim. No one else, apart from Zhou Yinping, has been involved in this game. Although I was not so sure of it, in that situation, I would never let him go even if I killed the wrong guy. Why didn't you pretend to know nothing and use his trick against him? Perhaps you could get flameless holy fire. Whoever gets flameless holy fire is the target of all. If I take it, I won't have a chance to use the two evil sects to deal with Zhou Yinping. In the end, the three of them will fight me together. It's better to let them fight each other, just like now. Why you, you are so smart and thoughtful. I am inspired. Don't touch me. Just talk. I was just trying to get close to you. You spoiled the atmosphere. Don't speak in a coquettish tone. I can't bear it. Master, I didn't find anything special. They are all ordinary treasures, as expected, there are too many things. Just put them aside for now. After all, we don't have a place to store them now. We will figure out how to take them away when leaving. The Shilan treasury is a little unworthy of its name. The Shilan royal family throughout history has never had pre-celestial stage masters at all. It makes sense that there is no good stuff for pre-celestial stage masters in this treasury. The key is this ancient city. According to the information I got, the Shilan royal family has never set foot in some places in this ancient city because those places are filled with Yin Qi. People who are under the pre-celestial stage will definitely die if they get in. So, there must be some undeveloped places inside. The place where the power source stone is stored is also one of them. Shilan people never take it out for better use, but they only put it in the original place and offer it to others. To some extent, it can be described as a generous gesture. Is there any treasure in there that is equal to flameless holy fire? It's hard to tell. All right, go down to business. You said you want to get into the treasury and find a burial place. Now that I have brought you in, you are free to go and find it yourself. I'm going to dig the power source stone while the two evil sects are dealing with Zhou Yinping without extra time to consider me. I'd better follow you. After all, you know a lot more about the treasury than I do. I still have some questions for you, whatever. You can follow me if you want to. But let's make it clear first. If there are some good items, we can share them according to what they are. However, if it's a power source stone, it must belong to me. Don't try to play tricks as you don't have a sect to return. What are you talking about, Why you? I don't dare to do that. Humph. Dash. Boom. Crack. Fly away. Oh, I didn't expect you even have the puppet tiger here. That's one of our greatest puppets. You are really well prepared. Come on. You must have a similar arrangement in the Gate of the Moon, no? But we've got a new enemy to deal with now. Well, say no more since we are in agreement about this. Let's work together and fight him. We'll never target each other unless we get rid of them. Okay. Oh, Master, they just keep chasing Zhou Yinping and it seems they're getting further and further away. As expected, the two sects had prepared in advance to block the door. Zhou Yinping has no retreat now. This is getting more and more interesting. But they also prepared all this to deal with you. Haven't you thought about how we were going to get out of this afterward without Zhou Yinping? Why bother? We've got Zhou Yinping to take all this for us anyway. Let's go. I think I know the general location of the power source stone after observing the surroundings for a while. Since the two evil sects are too busy to get in our way now, let's get our hands on the tangible benefits first. Ancient City Center The reliquary on the altar in the center of the ancient city, here we are. 
Are you okay? Ugh, I don't feel well because of the dancing chi here. Come on. You're from the Chunling sect. Some in chi discomfort you? This is humiliating. Look at me. Nothing wrong and I even feel perfectly at ease. You're so powerful. I'm not that strong. There should have been a fierce battle in this area back then and many pre-celestial masters had died here. Otherwise, Yin Chi wouldn't have affected the weather. No wonder Shilan people didn't come in and take away the power source stone. The overwhelming and ferocious Yin Chi here is so intense. Even if someone at no higher than the second level of the pre-celestial stage came in, they wouldn't fare well unless they specialized in this. Those post-celestial cultivators would even die in a few seconds. It's not that Shilan people don't want to get the stone, it's just that they can't. Well, with the unique environment here, there should have been a real fierce spirit long ago. But along the way, I've never seen a single post-celestial spirit, let alone a pre-celestial one. This has something to do with the power source stone. Grand Light Sect the Ancient Sect set a spirit suppressing formation with the stone right here, so no spirit or ghost would be born here. Otherwise, evil spirits rather than the Shilan people would have occupied the ancient city. And this city wouldn't have been the so-called Shilan treasury. Pity that the formation here had long been somewhat ineffective because of the lack of maintenance during the hundreds of years. It won't last long even if we don't take the stone away. Why you, you're so knowledgeable. I only know the inside of the Shilan treasury used to belong to a great ancient sect and there may be a burial place here even with my informant's several explorations here. But clearly, you know much more details. Admire. Stay away from me. I'll get the power source stone now. Drop the act. I don't get any positive origin points from you. You're just fooling me. Bang. Huh? Why you? You split the stone with too much force? No way. The power core stone is not that fragile. And even in that case, where's the other half? The reliquary was intact when we arrived, and I don't find any trace of someone else here. Could the stone be incomplete in the very beginning? But how could the formation work in that case? That's impossible. The Maching Sex Power Source Stone became inactive after it was broken by Wei Rodeo, and it took the sect leader a lot of effort to repair it. It can be, as far as I know, the Power Source Stones work whether they are complete or incomplete. Only the sect gate formation needs a complete one to activate, and maybe for other formations, incomplete ones would do, all right, I don't know that. However, the power source stone is always split and separated to set a formation and one single fragment doesn't make any sense. Look for the other fragments. As long as the grand light sect set the formation in a way I know, you must get the other ones in the city. Other fragments are also in the ancient city? No, the power source stone is so special that I can't sense anything unique on it. I can hardly find the other fragments with six demonic senses. Chinger, get all your ghosts out and have them search for the fragments for me. Okay. Huh? Master, I can't summon any ghost somehow. Why you, there's something wrong with the Yin Chi here and ordinary ghosts or spirits couldn't survive here. If other places where the fragments lie are like this, I'm afraid. The power source stone isn't the Keshwaxi sect and the Chiliang sect's priority, but they do attach great importance to it. I think you'd better keep an eye on them and you may find something. They should get similar information to me and go straight here for the stone. But their real masters are chasing Zhou Yinping and the ordinary cultivators dare not come here. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been so peaceful here. But with so many of their men here, some are likely to look for other possible treasures. I'll go to them and see if I can get anything. I'm not going with you. I've had a good look around, and I'm pretty sure this is the burial place I'm looking for. What exactly do you want to find the burial place for? I'm working on the method to transfer Mei Ling's power to the Guardian Spirit to improve its own power. With so much fear seeing Qi, it's great to study that here. All right, keep working. I'm leaving. Hide yourself if someone powerful gets in here. Got it. See you later. 
Does she want to merge Mei Lang and the guardian spirit so that Mei Lang can be her guardian spirit? Just like me? Maybe. But the Chunling sex method is totally contrary to the way you became my guardian spirit. I don't know what she'll get in the end. It doesn't look promising to me anyway. Yin Ryu is a tough nut. I plan to work on winning her over after my business in the Shilan treasury is done, but I've come up with an idea after seeing what she did just now. What is it? I helped her a lot before, but she always took the lead. So I'm dispensable to her. Without my help, she would have just achieved her goals less easily. And in order to prevent her from overthinking, I've always refrained from getting too involved and thus failed to impress her or get positive origin points. I even got stupid useless negative points like shock or fear from time to time. It turned out that I can interfere in her business doesn't mean that I'm important to her. To win her over, I've got to do something that she can't do. But she looks confident, and she's so talented that she could even create a new psychic technique based on the old one. Except for breaking the Shinwa Oaths, what else could she not do? Let's see what method she'll work out then. Her cultivation method has something in common with the psychic technique, so she made it. But according to my observation, the cultivation of guardian spirits and her sex ghost refining method are completely contradictory. I don't think she can easily make it this time. Anyway, I won't offer to help this time. I'll generously lend a hand when she asks for help after a myriad of setbacks. I allowed her to be in charge before, so I always played the passive role. I'll take the initiative and steer her in the direction I desire this time. You bad boy. I'm starting feeling sorry for her now. She forced me to do this. Ouch. Mr. Two, we found that fragment of the power source stone. Our two sects have long agreed that whoever gets the treasures here first will own them. You've crossed the line. You are at the first level of the pre-celestial stage, and your fellows are just at the ninth level of the post-celestial stage. How dare you challenge me? Do you think you are qualified to do so? Boom. You are too weak. You can't even leave a scratch on my puppet snake. Chiliang sect is really declining. Cough. Mr. Two, you are a senior at the second level of the pre-celestial stage, but you are hiding in the puppet to fight us juniors. You are not qualified to mock our sect. Kid, you irritate me. It may take some effort to kill you, but dealing with your fellows who are at the ninth level of the post-celestial stage will be effortless. You've gone too far. I was wondering where the annoying noise came from. Turns out it is a worm squawking. Who is there? Have you asked for my permission before fighting and smashing in my treasury? Are you Princess Shilam Wei, whose validity of identity is still questionable? This is an internal affair between our two sections, your highness. You'd better keep yourself away from being injured by mistake. You seem to have a little misconception about me. Are you new here? Little girl, I'm losing my patience with you. If you don't leave now, don't blame me. Boom. Cut open. What? She destroyed the armor of the puppet snake with only one strike? How is it possible? I hate the guys who hide in the rear and put on airs. Old bastard, get the fuck out. Wait. Your Highness, calm down. I admit defeat. I admit defeat. That's good. Remember not to be cocky from now on, or else I will beat you up. Princess Shilan Wei is really what she appears to be, showing her true nature to everyone. I should have been happy seeing Princess Shilan Wei beating Tu Shunping, but why do I feel sorry for him? Your Highness, I am Zhu Yufei. Thank you for helping us. Your Highness, you are pretty and kind. We are very sorry for misunderstanding you before. You guys didn't run away? What? It's good. Otherwise, I would have to take some time to get you back. Huh? 
Both of your leaders have promised me that you only take the flameless holy fire, and the rest in the treasury is mine. But see what have you done. Hand over the fragments of the power source stone. Who took it? I heard you talking just now. This fragment is too small. Do you hide part of it? Your Highness, this is what it looks like when I found it. Mr. Two can testify. Your Highness, I only got such a size of the fragment. Shouldn't my family's power source stone be intact? How come it is broken? I have no idea. It shouldn't be like this theoretically. Mr. Yan said we are not powerful enough to go to the original location of the power source stone, and he told us not to go there for the time being. He just asked us to explore the ancient city and see if there are some treasures that were not collected by the Shilon royal family. We just looked around. The treasures here surely belong to your highness. Even if I get one, I will hand it over to your highness. You learn fast. Can you find any other fragments? I dare not fool your highness. We didn't know that the power source stone would break at all. The one in your hand was accidentally discovered by my disciple with some luck. As for the rest, I only know that some must be in a place with full Ying Chi in the center of this ancient city. What about Keshwaxi sect? We are not as good as Chiliang sect at finding things, your highness. None of you know about it. Things will be difficult then. The armor of the giant snake and the blood refining bug are top active materials, but it's not easy to analyze them. I should reduce the difficulty a little, starting to research the gears and the bugs made by low-level disciples of Keshwaxi sect and Chiliang sect. They are good targets, but... Forget it. I've forgiven you already. You may go now. They are too submissive, answering what I asked and giving me what I wanted, which makes me feel embarrassed to bully them. Forget it. I'll wait for another group. Hope to meet someone unbending. Two hours later. What did you say? Shilan Wei said we took the rest treasures and broke the agreement, so she intercepted our men and snatched the fragments of the power source stone. If our disciples didn't have a fragment or said something harsh, she would directly frisk them. She even took away bugs from some disciples. She also did the same to Keshwaxi sect. She seemed to be more interested in mechanisms and dismantled many puppets of Keshwaxi sect. That bad girl. But what's it with the fragments of the power source stone? Didn't I tell you not to go to the center of the ancient city for the time being? We were just doing some normal digging. We either got nothing, or little pieces of the power source stone. As for the center of the ancient city, none of us dares to go there without your permission. The Shilam royal family really squandered all the treasures from the ancient sect. The fragments of the power source stone, Shurgu, should we go to the city center to check it out? And that girl, should we find her out and give her a warning? It's nothing but a means for the ancient sect to cut the power source stone into pieces to set up some kind of huge formation. The one in the city center probably has been taken away by the princess. I don't think you should worry about what happened there. Zhou Yinping has been away for two minutes. Flameless holy fire is way more important than power source stone. The gate of the sun and the gate of the moon are guarded by the elders at the third level of the pre-celestial stage of our two sections besides, I put a separated bug on Zhou Yinping. He can't escape. Zhou Yinping can't escape, and neither can that little princess. No matter how many treasures she has found, she can't take them away, so there's no need to worry. That's right. You can hit on a good idea occasionally. Tell our disciples who are excavating the ruins to act together. Avoid meeting Shilan Wei and don't fight her head on. Yes, madam. Shilan Wei, you will be my next target after I deal with Zhou Yinping. Master, there are still many fragments missing. It doesn't matter. Let's take it back to our sect leader. She should be able to repair it. If I keep snatching, I'm afraid that the two evil sects would leave Zhou Yinping alone and come to fight me. It's done. Sure enough, reducing the difficulty can work. What I need next is patience. All right, Ching'er. Pick up the treasures on the ground. We're going back to Yin Ruyu. MHM, I'm so nervous. 
If she succeeds without you, you can't win her over anymore, right? Fingers crossed. I hope that she won't succeed easily. Master, ain't she here is so strange. I don't feel well. Bear with it. Yin Ryu has been staying here for so long. Oh. She is about to get rotten. Master, she seems to be in a bad mood. Shoo, easy. I am in a good mood while she is not. You are back, Huai Yu, Chinger. What are you carrying on your shoulder? Materials to refine my sword from Chiliang sect and Keshwaxi sect. They insisted on giving them to me, so I took them all. Your shameless look is so, so what? So handsome? You have a great taste. All right. Carry on with what you were doing. I'm going to refine my sword. An hour later, Master, why does she keep in a daze but not ask you for help? Easy. Yin Ryu is more anxious than me. It's just a matter of time. If I actively go to solve her problems, she won't be grateful. All methods that I could think of have failed. I almost got my chi deviated because of the disturbance of the Shima Oath. How about asking why you? He didn't get angry when I improved the formula of the psychic bath before. I suppose he also won't be angry this time. However, the idea of combining Mei Lang with the guardian spirit is too bizarre. He may not have any good advice either. I'd better ask him. Maybe he has some ideas that can inspire me. Why you? Yes? Have you done? I've run into some problems when researching, so I'd like to hear your advice. Do you have a way to combine Mei Lang with the guardian spirit? Oh? I do have a way. You know how to do it. But it's still not very mature. After all, it only happened once. I have no idea if it can work for you. I can tell you the way, and it's up to you whether to try it or not. In the beginning, my guardian spirit was only in stupid ordinary owl, just like your fennec fox. Later, I met Chinger, a ghost of beauty. After my repeated experiments and some coincidences, I finally combined the two together and created my guardian spirit Chinger. Chinger was a ghost of beauty before? I really didn't see that. What do you mean by that? Humph. My method is to make the owl swallow the ghost of beauty. It was a bit contrary to common sense, but after that, Chinger's consciousness covered the owl's consciousness, probably because the owl was too stupid. Swallowed directly? Turns out to be so simple. I overcomplicated it. I know what to do now. Huh? Holy shit. I haven't said anything yet. How could you get it so quickly? You are just as unreasonable as Xia Dao Yun. Go. Swallow Mei Ling. Pounce. Bite. Why you, my guardian spirit, can't swallow Mei Lang? You understand nothing. I shouldn't have believed you. I thought she really understood it. The point is not to be swallowed. That's the last step. You have to figure out what the key to being swallowed is. The swallowed one needs to be willing to do so. Your fennec fox is as wise stupid as my owl. As long as Mei Lang is willing to do so, they can complement each other and merge into one with Mei Lang's consciousness dominating. So the key is Mei Lang, huh? Mei Lang, what are you doing? Didn't you say Mei Lang needs to be active in being swallowed, so? Stop it. I won't say a word if you interrupt me again. Okay. Mei Lang needs to be active, but not under your control. It's Mei Lang herself who has the will. That's to say, Mei Lang must have wisdom and spirit, the real ones, not just animal instinct. To let Mei Lang have wisdom and spirit, the technique of Chong Ling Sek to refine ghosts is to eliminate their spirits so that they won't attack their owners because of their ferocious instinct. Huai Yu, how did you train Chinger? Although she seems not to, ahem, she's much better than Mei Lang. Can you teach me? You'd better hope that Chinger doesn't get it, master. What are you talking about? Fine, she really doesn't get it. In order to make Chinger wise enough, I made so much effort that some of my hair even got gray. 
Qing'er has mastered the skills. It should be no problem for her to guide Mei Lang. Humph, I'm a leader of a hundred ghosts. Guiding is my thing. Qing'er? Indeed. Every time Mei Lang was with Qing'er, she would be livelier. Maybe Qing'er can really do it, but... You have done so much for me. I can only offer myself to you to return your kindness. Pounce. Stop it. I don't need you to do that. To put it bluntly, I am more interested in confirming my assumption. If you can succeed, it's worth helping you. Anyway, Chinger will guide you later. I just told you about the method. So that's what you mean by counting on me. However, why do I feel something is wrong? Good girl, that's your illusion. Don't worry. Chinger will guide Mei Lang well. But we need to find a peaceful place with abundant Ying Chi. This is an inauspicious place where we can only nurture evil spirits. We will get into trouble if we do it here. Well, that's my shortcoming. I only know how to find gloomy places that are filled with furious evil aura and stagnant water. Fine, come with me. If I am not mistaken, this should be a great place in this ancient city. The Founding King's Mausoleum. By the way, how is your fox doing now? It can't fight, but can it follow any simple instructions? I have been feeding it well, but it only knows how to shake hands. If I don't give it some snacks after shaking hands, it will forget how to do it and I have to train it again. It has no wisdom and spirit at all. There's really nothing I can do. It's really not smart enough. However, after Mei Lang merges with it, Mei Lang's consciousness will become the dominant one. The fox's consciousness won't have much effect on Mei Lang's nature, so it's not a bad thing to be stupid. Nature, Mei Lang only has the most basic instincts. If she really has wisdom and spirit, she will be like a newborn kid. Will she become stupid after merging with the fox? Why are you looking at Ching'er? Ching'er is not stupid. She is just simple and good-tempered. After becoming my guardian spirit, she acquired some habits of the owl. Stop imagining. What? Are you calling me? Besides my hard work, all necessary conditions made it possible for Ching'er to obtain wisdom and spirit. What we need to do now is to replicate this process. Hee <laughs> hee, thanks to the encouragement from my friends, I can become who I am. Whisper I miss my friends and by Ming Ming so much. It sounds like raising a kid. Ghosts are simpler than people. They hate and they love. Nothing different from kids. Doesn't your sect appreciate that and thus refine evil ghosts? Ha ha, you are right. Here we are. Let's go. Let's see if you can make it this time. Well, huh? What has happened? Why is everything gone? It seems that after we left, someone took away all the collections of the Shilan royal family. Puppet beasts of Keshwaxi sect are big enough to contain a lot of collections. They dug out the power source stones and grabbed my treasures. I shouldn't have been polite to them if I had learned that the evil sects were so untrustworthy. It's all gone. I should have asked the ghosts to move the treasures away if I had known it. Why you, you're so into it. Why do you care? Those mundane things can improve our cultivation base. Indeed, but they can be exchanged for money. Even if they are of no use to me, the Shilan kingdom has been undermined badly and the royal collections can be taken out for sale to recoup the losses. Above the founding king's mausoleum is the treasury and below is the mausoleum of their ancestors. Let's go there and, huh? Turn. Rumble. Rumble. What are these? Squeak. They are flying mole crickets of Chiliang sect. They can rapidly grow from the size of a grain of rice to their mature form within a few seconds. This kind of bug will gnaw at everything after breaking free from manipulation. It's thus also named locust bug. It's so weird to raise locusts. Good. Very good. Some of them stole the treasures, and the others dug the grave. Do they really think that I have no way of dealing with them? Why you, stop acting. We'd better deal with these locust bugs first. 
I'm afraid they may break feng shui underneath that that's possible. Let's get down and check quickly. Buzz buzz. Thank goodness. Blaze. The mausoleum has not been destroyed. It's peaceful and full of yin qi. It's indeed a nice place. However, this ancient city is full of dangers. Why is there a wonderful place that contradicts the nature of the ancient city? I don't know exactly. Maybe the Founding King's Mausoleum is accidentally located at the gate of life of the spirit suppressing formation, so there is such kind of wonder that is opposite the nature of the ancient city. The Founding King was far seeing. That's it. Hee <laughs> hee, guys, clear the field. Ching'er is really energetic. She is completely different from when she was in the center of the spirit suppressing formation. If the center of the formation is a high pressure environment for her, this place can be seen as her hometown because it is similar to the place where she was born. When I was just a cluster of yin chi with little spirit, my friends personally designed the formation for me to nourish my soul and encouraged me. Now it's my turn to do the same thing. Boohoo, I will definitely do it well. Show up. The Loving Girls Formation for Reborn Spirits. Loving Girls Formation? What the hell with that name? Yin Chi has been drawn over. Yeah, the effect is much greater than what Ching'er described. She has become more powerful. Drip. Huh? Is this a formation? Er. Master, I did every step right, and the appearance of this pond is proof of the success of the formation. But I don't understand why it's a pond. Probably the two worlds work differently, but if only it has the same effect. Chinger doesn't look good. Did she fail? Um, no, she made it. It's just that feng shui is too good here, so the formation became a yin chi bath, which is a little different from the original one. You soaked in the psychic bath, and now Mei Lang is going to soak in Yin Chi bath. Why is always a bath? Mei Lang, get inside. Probably because I am connected to water. Indeed. It was always about water when meeting you. Huh? Ahem, nothing. Chinger is ready. Look, press. Splash. Yin Ryu. Control Mei Lang and let her stop resisting or the bath will not work. Huai Yu, is Ching Er reliable? Ha ha ha, you need to trust her. Is Ching Er getting it personal? Crack MHM, what is that sound? Something seems to be broken, broken? Master, the water is draining. What's going on? I feel a strong suction force. Well, the water in the pond is being drained. Chinger's formation is broken. Why you? Don't resist. Let's follow this suction force. There seems to be an interlayer underneath. Thud. Fall together. What is this place? Did the flying mole crickets gnaw through the treasury? Why you? You are on my hair. You overestimated locusts. If they could gnaw through the treasury, Chiliang sect wouldn't have asked me to help them open the gate, huh? Why you, my hair? I guess there was a space under the treasury, but I didn't expect it to be so large. I don't think we are still in the treasury. Eh, the formation is broken, but why hasn't the spilled yin chi dissipated? And this monument? This place is so beautiful that it doesn't match the ancient city. I'm sure that we are still in the treasury, but in another space of it. Look at the sky. And that crack is where we fell from. Chinger, go up and see what's going on. Huh? Oh. Okay, I will be right back. A moment later. After Chinger's repeated experiments, we discovered that by passing through the crack, we can enter the Founding King's Mausoleum, which can be regarded as Basement 1, and then by passing through the crack again, we can return to this space, which can be regarded as Basement 2. The Founding King's Mausoleum Monument space the crack in the sky is a door that connects the treasury and this strange space. This place should be a new area that has never been explored. Fascinating. This place is completely different from the above. Maybe there are treasures here. Ryu, put Mei Ling's thing aside for the time being. 
Given that we can go out at any time, let's explore this place first. Okay. Chinger, Chinger, why are you staring at this broken stone? Master, this monument is weird. I somehow can sense something similar to cultivation methods by staring at it. Cultivation methods? Well, it's blank for me. Nothing is on the monument. What about you? Why you? I can't see anything either. I still can't see anything even through Chinger's eyes. This situation is the same as wordless sutra that imparting elder gave me. Could it be that what Chinger senses is a cultivation method for ghost cultivators, which is forbidden for living people? It's a good opportunity for you. Ryu and I are going to explore this place. Chinger, you can stay here to study this monument. Remember to pick up the pieces on the ground. Huayu, the cultivation method that Chinger can learn should be suitable for Mei Lang as well. Can I let Mei Lang stay here and study it with Chinger? MHM, Mei Lang is supposed to be able to learn it too. But she is a bit stupid. Don't expect her to learn much. It's okay. Just try her best. I won't ask for much. Okay, let's go. Chinger, please take care of Mei Lang. Don't worry. Go ahead. Another invisible air wall. It's the end of this side. This space seems boundless, but in fact, it does have an end. The edges of the space are lined with mirrors and air walls. This place is a completely closed Shimo dark tunnel with an area of three square kilometers. It's the first time that I have seen such a scene. What's the point of that? Except for the monument on the largest floating island in the middle, there is no treasure in this awful place. But don't you think it's beautiful here? Why are you so close to me? I like you. Don't you like me? No, it's hot. Stay away from me. I don't believe you. You are not romantic at all. Such a blockhead. Thud. If you keep messing around, I will fight back. Do you really think I don't know what you are up to? Try to seduce me. No way. Huh? Look what I have found. Mei Lang is slacking off. Why do you both enjoy the scenery? Look at Chinger. She is fully engaged in cultivation, just like me. Ruyu, you. Why are you in a daze? Nothing. I just remembered something in the past. Something in the past? Yeah, something happened in my childhood. At that time, the sky was also as starry as it is now. Inside Chongling Sek, the sky was covered with clouds all year round. When it got dark, we really couldn't see anything. What I looked forward to most was seeing the sky with stars when the clouds dispersed occasionally. Wow, so many stars tonight. I never got tired of such a beautiful scene and hoped to have someone to appreciate it with me, but... During those times, I'd like to control Mei Lang to embrace the starry sky like I did, as if she was a living person, although I was always scolded by my master because of that, I still enjoyed it and still looked forward to the occasional starlight. Mei Lang has no wisdom and spirit for sure, but I control her and pretend that she is a living person who can respond to me. Haha, <laughs> you may think I am childish, right? Childish? I don't think so. In fact, Mei Lang is another you. Why you? Sit down. Back then, you did have some wisdom, but you were just a child. You longed for families and friends, all of which Chongling Sek couldn't give you, and you didn't dare to ask for. You manipulate Mei Lang and try to make her act like a living person, which is not childish behavior. It's the way how you deal with the friendship and family affection you lost. You split a part of yourself at a young age to shape the virtual personality of Mei Lang so that you could fill the absence of emotion. You were helping yourself. I never laugh at self-helpers. Thank you, Huayu. Ruyu, I know she is likely looking for pity, but she was indeed pathetic when she was a kid. Eh, you didn't dodge this time? You reminded me. Get your head off me. No. It's rare to see you let your guard down. I won't let go of this opportunity. I just tried to be kind and comfort you. Don't push your luck. 
Mei Ling, you are zoning out again. You haven't been enlightened, and you have poor comprehension. Now you are even zoning out. When will you learn anything? Come here. I will hit your palm if you don't listen to me. Qingyu is doing a good job as an instructor. I have no worries about leaving Mei Lang to her. By the way, you didn't control Mei Lang to look at the sky this time, right? Does it mean that her wisdom and spirit began to take shape? Maybe. Mei Lang would show some self-consciousness with Qingyu even without my manipulation, but I guess it is just because Qingyu has some special feature of controlling ghosts. But this time, Mei Lang made such an obvious response to the external environment on her own, which is indeed great progress. Well, the ritual for Mei Lang was interrupted unexpectedly. We should resume it when Mei Lang and Qing are finished learning cultivation methods on the monument. I believe Mei Lang will make a thoroughgoing change. I hope so. One hour later. Huai Yu, no one has come here for the time being, but I think it's a matter of time before this place is exposed. There is nothing we can do. It's such a conspicuous space crack, and we can't even close it. However, the only thing of value here is that monument, and only ghosts can sense the cultivation methods on it. Just let it be if it is exposed. But I am worried that they would be disturbed when someone comes in. I am wondering how long it will take. What if they can't comprehend it all in a short time? How about we take the monument away? I am fine with it if you carry it. This monument is too big to be hidden at all. If I carry it out, I will become the target of all. Can ghosts still sense the cultivation methods on it if it's broken into pieces? If they can, don't do anything stupid. Boom. How come it really exploded? Yin Ryu, you are such a jinx. Chinger, what happened? Why did it explode? How is your learning going? Uh, I don't know why it exploded either. However, I've learned a technique. I named it Chi Observation Technique. Wipe. He he, it's quite extraordinary. As long as I gather my power into my eyes, I can obverse chi and seek treasures. If I master it, I can even see the manifestation of dragon veins and bring good luck to myself. Nothing can escape my sharp eyes. Well, master, you have a bright forehead and healthy complexion with a ray of golden light flickering, which is a look of a leading role. Chinger, the face reading you learned is for ghost cultivators, right? Besides, this is not my real face. Master, you don't understand. Face reading is the most basic function of my chi observation technique. There are more advanced and stronger functions to be unveiled. Her forehead and face are dark, and every part of her body is all dark. She is just wrapped in darkness. What a jinx. What is Chinger talking about? Nothing. She's just showing the technique she acquired just now. Never mind. Holy shit. Yin Ryu is with such bad luck. Shouldn't I have stayed with her for so long? Ryu, don't come over. Huai Yu, you are acting strangely. Did Chinger learn the technique on that monument? How is Mei Ling doing then? Mei Lang studied quite seriously during the latter period. But I found that there were no fixed contents on that wordless monument. It was like a cultivation book for ghost cultivators that kept turning pages. So what Mei Lang can get is all about her luck and fate. That is to say, what Mei Lang learned may not be techniques, but some miscellaneous things about ghost cultivators. Besides, the monument is broken now, which means she has no chance to learn it again, well. Shit. Judged from Yen Ryu's sheer bad luck, it is very likely that Mei Lang only got something bizarre, like meals for ghosts. Recipes used by healthy ghosts. It costs little to learn all. Master, don't jinx it. Too much bad luck leads to good luck. She might get a very fortunate chance. Are you serious? I doubt it. It depends on whether you believe it or not. That's what Chi Observation Technique describes. What the hell did she learn? After all, Mei Lang does not have a clear self-consciousness. 
Even if she remembers something complex, she would not understand it. So don't ask too much of her. Ahem, you are right. I was being impatient. But on the other hand, she can comprehend and master the technique she got this time after she has wisdom and spirit, right? Well, I guess so. I'm going to set lip the formation. Ying Chi has dissipated a lot, but it should be enough for Mei Lang. ching -er, be gentle. Otherwise, Yen Ryu would think that you are going to drown Mei Lang. Don't worry, master. I know what to do. Show up again. Loving girls formation. Ahem, here we go. Today, I, ching -er, the ghost of beauty, smash a clip and hang a piece of silk. To humbly request the goddess of earth to grant, rap. Seven wishes to the newborn ghost. Seven wishes to the newborn ghost. First, wish her no karma from her past. Reborn cleanly as she died cleanly. Second, wish her to have a healthy body, being leisurely and carefree. Third, wish her to have a beautiful face and a hot figure to attract all men in the world. Fourth, wish her to have plenty of men to supply enough yang chi and energy. Will what ching -er is saying all come true? Look at her. You'd know it won't. Touch. Fifth, wish her happiness and freedom from worries every day. Sixth, wish her no excellence but health. There are already six wishes. Should we add one more to make an auspicious quantity? We have already wished her to have a beautiful appearance and enough food and clothing. What else? How about making a big one? Wish ching -er to achieve the ultimate goal as a ghost of beauty. Seventh. Good idea. Then seventh, wish. Seventh, wish Mei Lang smooth sailing in all matters and finding her beloved one early. It's done. Mei Lang, you did so well. You will definitely become an excellent ghost of beauty in the future. ching -er, the last sentence is not necessary. Does Mei Lang have wisdom and spirit now? Look up. Don't be nervous, Mei Lang. Try to speak something first. Pull out. Can she speak? Expectant. Yes. The loving girl's formation can activate her facial organs. Normally, she needs to speak after being taught gradually. But she has lived for so long, so she can skip the step of babbling. Isn't she like a baby with memories of her past life? That's a bit interesting. Come on, Mei Lang. Say something. Expectant. Listen, she is speaking. Gesture. Look, she said it twice. Uh. You are interacting with me without my manipulation, which has never happened before. It's fine if you can't speak now. I am already very happy with your current state. Mei Lang? What are you trying to say? You, you, you. You. I get it. She is calling your name. Boo-hoo. Mei Lang is a big girl now. This is so touching. Mei Lang. My good girl. Next, we will work hard to elevate Mei Lang's intelligence from the level of a two or three year old baby to that of a child in adolescence within half a month. Origin point gain gratitude, 0.01 .01 points yen ryu holy shit. Origin points? After all the hard work, I have finally warmed up this icy, hard. Heart. That's too much. How can you do such an exciting thing in front of Mei Lang? Let me bear it all alone. Why you? Thank you. Damn. She kissed me, but she trusts me the most right now. It's a great opportunity to insert a heart trigger into her. Shaping, as long as this heart trigger is inserted, I. Rumble. Huh? Ku? Huh? Ouch, why were we suddenly ejected? Damn. I would have done it if I had one more second. Why this moment? The sudden accident diluted Yen Ryu's emotions towards me. 
I have missed the best time to insert the heart trigger. Shit. Could it be that Yen Ryu's bad luck has transferred onto me? Humph, I don't believe accidents will happen every time. With this experience, I will definitely insert the heart trigger into her next time. The crack leading to that space disappeared. This is strange. Indeed. It appeared inexplicably before, and now it has mysteriously disappeared. Does it have anything to do with Yin Chi? Six demonic senses. Never mind. It's pointless to figure it out. The most valuable monument there has broken into dust. Let it be. We don't suffer any loss. You are right. Wait. Oh no, my trophies. All the treasures I snatched from Kushuasia sect and Chiliang sect are left in that space. I'm sorry for your loss. Since you snatched the treasures from those two sects, you can rob them again later. We'll see. Fortunately, I have put all fragments of the power source stones in the skin pocket of Child Thousand Faces. Otherwise, it would be a great loss this time. Enough about me. Mei Lang has wisdom and spirit now. You can summon your guardian spirit to finish the last step so that there will be no worries for you. Give me more positive origin points. Why you? Your smile is a little bit creepy. Poke, it's time for a miracle. Ruyu, you have made it clear to Mei Lang, right? Yes, but she is like a child, so I am not sure if she has understood what I said. Devour. It worked. Good. Another chance to insert the heart trigger is coming. Why you? It feels not right. In what way? I, I think it will break. Take it easy. Ching -er turned into an egg too. And then she burst out from the shell. It's a good thing that the egg is going to break. It's not like a baby bird breaking its shell. It's like it's unable to withstand the immense energy inside the shell and about to explode. Boom. How could it be? It doesn't make sense. All the processes were right, and the guardian spirit successfully turned into an egg. It should hatch and be reborn next. Why did they separate at the last moment? The techniques and the processes are all the same, so what could go wrong is only the different part. And the biggest difference between Ching'er and Mei Lang is. It must be intelligence. Mei Lang is not as smart as me, um... Seriously, in terms of the difference between Ching'er -er and Mei Lang, it most likely lies in techniques and cultivation bases. When Ching'er -er and my guardian spirit merged into one, she was not stronger than my guardian spirit, or even weaker, so my guardian spirit could swallow Ching'er -er and merge with her. However, Mei Lang is at the pre-celestial stage and has techniques from Chong Ling sect. Obviously, your guardian spirit couldn't bear Mei Lang's energy when they turned into an egg just now. It is mostly because Mei Lang is much stronger than your guardian spirit. Then do you mean, I have to destroy Mei Lang's cultivation base so that they can merge successfully? But if I do so, my strength will be undermined for a long time. After that, Mei Lang has to cultivate from scratch, and it will take a long time. I have two ways. First, weaken Mei Lang's strength. You don't need to destroy her cultivation base. Just make her weaker than her current state. If you bear to do so, you can give it a try later. Look around. Second, rapidly strengthen your guardian spirit to make it match Mei Lang in a short time. I need to figure out how to do it, so I can't give you a plan for the moment. Master, well, Ryu, you don't have to rush. Your guardian spirit and Mei Lang are both ready. We will get it done slowly after things in Eleven Lawn Kingdom are over. Now I need you to do me a favor. Since I have a bad reputation among the people of the two evil sects, it will be easy to intensify the conflict if I go out. How about you go out and check how the battle between them and Zhou Yinping is going? I need to evaluate if I should go to get some benefits. You got me a good job, Huai Yu. Just give me a share if you get something. Master, she looks a little upset. Everyone would be upset seeing the matter be one step short of success. It's good for her to calm down during this time. By contrast, I'm much more stable. 
Although I was abruptly interrupted and missed the opportunity to insert the heart trigger, there will be a second time since there was once. Now, she can only ask me for help, so I will get another opportunity to do it sooner or later. Anyway, she should get used to being so unlucky soon. Master, I have already gotten used to you being odd. All right, put Yin Ryu's matter aside. What did you say just now? Is there really an undiscovered treasure here? You found it out through Qi observation technique that you just learned? Yeah. I couldn't feel it in that mysterious space before, but I got a faint smell after we came out. I just can't locate it yet. Don't worry, master. As long as I use the technique, I will definitely dig out the hidden treasure. Huh? Didn't you just say you found it by smelling? Chi observation techniques, technique ghost vision, ghost lantern for treasure hunting. You can choose a longer and more tongue-twisting name. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. It's right underneath there. It's a very powerful treasure. Underneath? Isn't it the place where Yin Chi leaked just now? Master, I'm going down to check first. Could it be? Hmm? This thing gives out strong evil energy, but it bears quite a few similarities with Xie Dao Yun's jade pendant. Touch, it is buried so deep. How can I take it to Master? Never mind, let me touch it. You have found Ghost Domain Pot, damaged, a post-celestial stage artifact, a product refined by a ghost cultivator from an advanced level celestial civilization. It contains a Shimo Dark Tunnel inside. When it is intact, it can take in ghosts and nourish all evil things. Due to serious damage, it has lost most functions and its essence. The host doesn't have any celestial power. Would you like to proceed with 10,000 origin points to repair the basic storage function of this artifact and obtain its use permission? Yes or no? A post-celestial stage artifact? Isn't it the same thing as Xie Dao Yun's Calamity Proof Rui? Surprisingly, there is such a treasure here. Besides, by its description, it isn't a one-time use item. Of course, yes. I have plenty of origin points now. I'd like to see what kind of treasure it is. The basic storage function of the artifact is being repaired. Acquiring permission. Shine, huh? Ah. The basic storage function of Ghost Domain Pot has been repaired and permission has been obtained. Storage function? I see. This artifact is. M Master, what's going on? Why did it fly out all of a sudden? Calm down. This artifact just responded to its owner. It belongs to me now. It looks strange. Why do you say it's an artifact? What does it use for? It's a space treasure for storing things. Let me show you. Take in. Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? Sky Ceiling Sword is a small item. This artifact can not only store small things, but also big ones, such as this one. It can store everything that I can carry. As long as I throw the object towards the pot and give it a thought. See? This is how it works. Wow, it's awesome. With this treasure, it will be much more convenient for me to carry things along. The capacity of the skin pocket of Child Thousand Faces is too small to hold many things. How do you take things out then? It's easy. Out. Here, wow. Isn't it convenient? Yes. What is the capacity of this treasure, exactly? Can it take in a living creature? It has a very large capacity. As for taking in a living creature, it's hard. Not like objects, living creatures would resist and dodge. So normally, it's impossible to take them in the pot. But, if the living creature is under my control, and then I can let the pot swallow me, huh? The problem will be solved. Swallow. Alright, we've got inside. Isn't it the space we were sucked into before? That's right. The space crack that sucked us into this space was created under the influence of this artifact. The Yin Chi bath you made before resonated with this artifact and led to that accident. 
After Mei Lang absorbed the Yin Qi bath, we were naturally ejected. The reason why this underground palace is peaceful with abundant Yin Qi and allows ghosts to nourish here, I think, is that this artifact is buried here. So this whole space is inside the artifact. Isn't it a Shimo dark tunnel that can move freely? The so-called ghost domain indeed means a Shimo dark tunnel. This treasure left by a ghost cultivator from an advanced level celestial civilization is really amazing. It's a huge gain. This mysterious space is called Pot Ghost Domain, an independent space that exists in the artifact. Besides, it has similar features to the Hidao field in Ashimo Dark Tunnel. I am its owner now, and I can feel everything in it. This space is essentially a spherical container. The floating island where we are standing was made by its previous owner. There is nothing special here except for that broken wordless monument. A. Eh? Didn't Zhou Yinping say the Eleven Lawn Treasury belonged to Grand Light Sect? Why is there such a treasure left by a ghost cultivator from an advanced level celestial civilization? You never know. What happened in ancient times has all gone. Why do you bother? After all, we are not here to trace its origin. For now, let's try its functions one by one. Chinger, I'll let you out, and I need to look outside through your eyes, vibrate. Master, I am out. As expected. If I am in the pot, it will be completely inactive, and it will be easy to spot, which is a hidden danger. Don't worry, Master. I will stay outside and help you take care of it if you are in the inner space of the pot. It's indeed a solution. Try touching the coffin with the pot. See if the coffin can be sucked in. Okay, I am on it. MHM? It doesn't seem to work. It seems that it can't take things in when I'm inside. Ah, that's how it feels when coming out. Look at you. You are chicken-hearted. It's very scary to see that from the outside. All right. Chinger, get some ghosts here. I need to do some experiments. Okay. Remember, don't think of resisting. Just cooperate with Master. Swoosh, sure enough. Although these ghosts have their consciousnesses, as long as they don't resist, it's not a problem for the pot to take them in. And more than that, normally, things that I send into the ghost domain will land near the wordless monument. But if I think of somewhere else when taking them in, I can send them to any space in the ghost domain. That's quite convenient. I'll divide the ghost domain into different parts, and it will save me time to sort it out in the future, huh? What the hell? Why have my origin points been depleted? There is something wrong with the pot ghost domain. It needs celestial power to improve the efficiency. The host doesn't have any celestial power. The system begins to consume origin points. Remaining origin points, 18225. Get out. Get out. Current origin points, 18224.02695. It stopped? So the problem lay in the ghosts that were sucked in, are they the cause of the abnormal situation? Or, as long as it's a living creature, even if it's a summoned creature like a ghost, the pot has to consume original points to take it in. But it didn't need origin points when Chinger and I were in there. Is it because I am its owner and Chinger is part of me? System, you are so penny-pinching and detestable. An hour later, I got a conclusion after using the pawn bug of Chi Liang sect to make the experiment. As long as it is a living creature, even if it does not have spirit and wisdom, it will consume origin points. But the good news is that it has nothing to do with the number of living creatures. Whether to take one or a hundred in, the pot will consume the same quantity of the origin points. In this case, the evil usage that I already have a generous concept can finally come in handy. Evil usage? I keep you in suspense for now. You will know it later. To some extent, its size is changeable as I wish, which is a good side of the artifact. With this ghost domain pot, even if I don't search for any other treasures and leave here now, I've already made a huge gain in this journey. Shrink. Well, although Yin Ruyu is an unlucky girl, she can bring good luck to her companions. 
The cave where Child Thousand Faces acquired Faceless Mantra was also discovered by her. And this time, if it were not for the accident caused by her matter, I would not have obtained this treasure. If I can win her over, my immortal sky will definitely rise. By the way, I have explored most of this ancient city, but I may still miss something valuable. Chinger, since you have mastered such a useful technique, go out and see if there are precious things left that we can get. Leave it to me, master. Huh? Guys from the two evil sects are here. Are you saying that Yan Shirgu and Hui Li want to talk with me? Yes, Mr. Yan and Grand Elder Hui Li sent us over to invite your highness to meet with them. There is nothing to talk about between them and me. Now your sex are fighting Zhou Yinping, which has nothing to do with me. You guys should end the fight as soon as possible and then leave the treasury. Since your highness thinks it has nothing to do with you, why did you rob our disciples? I didn't rob them. Those things belong to Eleven Lawn, kingdom in the first place. I just took them back. As for other things, isn't it reasonable for the owner to seize the tools of the thieves who broke into the treasury? You, let's put those things aside. Your Highness, you don't expect that we stay in the Treasury or Eleven Lawn Kingdom for good, do you? If Zhou Yinping's matter can't be solved, our sex and Eleven Lawn Kingdom can't live in peace. Mr. Yan and Grand Elder Hui Li must intend to solve this matter. Your Highness, why don't you go over and talk with them before making the decision? After all, you won't lose anything. I won't lose anything? In the end, they just want to make use of me since they can't deal with Zhou Yinping. Like Manga.70 besides, they can't take him down with so many people. Will it make a difference if I join them? But they are not stupid. Since they ask me for help, they must have their intention. If it is feasible, I can go and talk with them. Just for learning. Fine. Since you came here for help, I will think about it. But my friend has gone out and I need to make the decision after discussing with her when she comes back. When Chinger comes back, I will know if there are any other treasures in this ancient city. It will not be late to go with them after that. And Yen Ruyu. She has been away for a while. She should come back soon. You. Good girl. It's okay. It doesn't hurt anymore. It still can't work. I have tried all the ghost control methods of Chung Ling sect. No matter what method I used, and no matter how much Mei Lang was temporarily weakened, it just couldn't reach the last step of combination. Does it only work after completely destroying Mei Lang's cultivation base, or gradually improving the strength of the guardian spirit? But it's not easy to improve the guardian spirit's strength. Chinger was much weaker than Hui Yu's guardian spirit, and she had spirit and wisdom back then, while my guardian spirit is simply. Regardless of which method I choose to restore or enhance my strength, it will take a significant amount of time. I can't afford to wait. I don't want to wait either. Hui Yu's method is to get past the XINMO oath, but not remove it. I'm sorry, Hui Yu. This time, I can only seek help from someone else. I did overestimate your strength. You confidently told me that Eleven Lan Wei couldn't survive even if she was on guard. If I had not insisted on showing the white feather first and luring her with sincerity, I am afraid that I would have been chased by her and suffered from constant fear. I admit that we did underestimate that princess means. Your insight and caution really impressed us. Cut it out. I do count on you to help me remove the Shima oath, but if Shilam Wei senses something wrong, it's a fatal risk for me one more time. I will work with you one more time. And you must first prove that you do know how to remove the Shima oath. Otherwise, we have more than one means to deal with Shilam Wei. You don't have to provoke me with words. We won't make an empty promise since we have an intention to cooperate. This thing can help you remove the Shima oath. I have one more deal, are you interested in it? He asked me to collect something from Huayu, like his hair, dead skin, body fluids, or blood. He can exchange the Lu family's technique, Shen Nong's mantra of dark sun, for it. I have already collected some of Huayu's hairs and dead skin through a series of intimate behaviors. 
It's fine to give them to him as long as his method works. Even if he doesn't fulfill his promise and plays tricks after that, I won't lose anything if only the Shima oath is removed. However, the solution he told me also needs to pay a price. I prefer Huayu's method, and that's why I have been hesitant. You? It's okay. It's not your fault. You've done a good job. I just can't accept the failure. Mei Lang, give it one more try, okay? I promise it will be the last time. The Shin Ma Oath binds the soul. Normally, it can't be completely removed if the oath is not fulfilled. However, there are so many secret techniques in the world. I have a method which can help you break free. You need to find a scapegoat who is obedient, strong, and with the same mind as you to bear the bondage from the Shin Ma Oath. Black water flows in the netherworld, souls return to mount even with this magic treasure. It's not that easy to get it done since the conditions are extremely harsh. It might be extremely difficult for other cultivators to get a suitable scapegoat. The netherworld is bottomless, ghosts manage Yin and Yang, but you are from Chongling sect. It should not be a problem for you to find that kind of ghost. Yet, you need to be careful that the ghost might hurt you, and I don't think you need my reminder. According to the technique, you can forcibly extract your soul and expose the abnormality in the depth of it at the same time, including the Shin Ma Oath living souls go after the dead. This treasure is called Ghost Refining Cauldron. Ancient ghost cultivators used it to refine their souls to merge with ghosts. Everything merges together. Put the soul that is bound by the Shin Ma Oath and the scapegoat into the cauldron at the same time, and then complete the transfer by using the technique I taught you. However, the process is not over after the completion of the transfer. The effect is short-lived and the Shin Ma Oath will get back to you very soon. Therefore, after completing the transfer, you must refine the scapegoat in the cauldron as quickly as possible so that the Shin Ma Oath can be completely removed. This is the Shin Ma Oath that has been entangled around my soul. I have tried several times before to check if this method is feasible. But every time I saw it, I felt it was absurd. How could I have been pushed to such a point by this thing? Meilang also came in. Good. I tried it a few times with the guardian spirit before, but I just couldn't pull it into the cauldron. This time, I tried it with Meilang, and it went smoothly. You have kept me company for so many years. It's time to say goodbye. You finally have spirit and wisdom, but now you have to sacrifice for me. Listen, she is speaking. Look, she said it twice. Uh, but I can't give up my cultivation. It is better to rely on myself rather than others. In order to completely get rid of the Shin Ma Oath, I have to sacrifice you. Blaze, I was worried that Mei Lang would hurt me when facing death given that she has got spirit and wisdom. Looks like I was overthinking. The ghost fire of soul refining has burned out, and the shackle of the Shin Ma Oath has been shattered. There is no turning back. Get an Ugg. It worked. I can feel that the haze in my heart has completely disappeared. The Shin Ma Oath has been completely removed. The cauldron even left some power of the living soul which was used to refine Mei Lang. It's enough to make up for the loss of forcibly extracting my soul. When someone dies, he will become a ghost. And when a ghost dies, it will be nihility. No wonder Ghost Refining Cauldron is a treasure for ancient ghost cultivators. It refined Mei Lang into nihility. The nihility can survive in the world for less than half an hour, Mei Lang. Track. Peel. This is. Mei Lang. Mei Lang, your, your face. Her reaction. She is absolutely not as innocent as a kid. Is she? Are your wisdom and spirit mature? Since when? Why didn't you resist when I refined you just now? Sorry, master. I didn't want you to find it out. I was just fulfilling our agreement. Agreement? So many stars tonight. Could it be? I'm so happy today. But we can't let my master know that we sneaked out tonight. Nod, this is the agreement between us. Let's make a pinky swear. 
I heard that agreements between friends only take effect after making a pinky swear. Miss. Sai, you don't even know how to make a pinky swear. Let me teach you. Whisper, but it doesn't matter. After all, if you really have wisdom and spirit, you will abandon me like my parents did one day. So, it's fine this way, me controlling you. We are making a pinky swear. Mei Lang will never betray me and will always be by my side. We share the same mind. We survive together. This is what I told you when I was a kid. Did you already have wisdom and spirit at that time? I didn't understand so many things, but I remember every word you said. I wanted to play with Ching'er, but you said that Huayu was up to no good, and you asked me to pry him out. I wanted to talk to you, but you said that if a ghost was too intelligent, it couldn't be driven submissively anymore. I wanted to continue to have no consciousness, but you said you hoped that I could have wisdom and spirit. I wanted to reassure you and stay by your side as I did before. But you said that you wanted to have one last try. I knew what you really wanted, so I did what you said. Master, do you still remember another agreement we made? I have remembered it all the time. When you were little, you said it was too much troublesome to comb your hair as it was too long, so you asked me to help you. You said it was my job to keep you company and comb your hair all the time. Master, I don't have much time. Hum, can I comb your hair again? Hum, he he, I like combing your hair the most. Master, your hair is fragrant. Ghosts don't have a sense of smell, but I just can smell it. Does it mean that we have a genuine bond? I will take your silence as an acknowledgement of what I said. The happiest thing in my life is that I met you. It's great. Master, I will never betray you. But from now on, I can't keep our agreement anymore. Mei Lang. Mei Lang, it was just a kid's joke, yet you took it as an agreement. If I hadn't found out your secret, were you going to disappear without saying anything, just to fulfill my wish of removing the Shima oath? If I had known that you already had mature wisdom and spirit, I wouldn't dare to take the risk of using this ghost for finding cauldron. You were fully capable of breaking free from my suppression and hurting me during the process. After all, even my parents chose to abandon me before they died. How could anyone in this world really be willing to sacrifice for me? Idiot, you knew me so well. You could have said one word to scare me into giving it up, but you chose to accept it all silently. Just because I asked you to do that. I have been wrong all this time. It turns out that there is indeed someone in this world who would do everything for me, and that person was always by my side, Mei Lang, Mei Lang. Tales of the supernatural records that after a ghost turns into nihility, only formless exuvi are left. These powders in the cauldron are the only remains of Mei Lang after she was refined. I will keep them forever. Wait. Look around. I should have thought of that. When Mei Lang was refined into nihility, it might be the best time to merge her with the guardian spirit. Maybe it's too late to do it now, sniff. Is it really too late? Suck. Crack. Transform. It worked. But she, she is not Mei Lang. I didn't expect that ghosts could dream when they die. I meet you again, Mei Lang. Mei Lang. You are back. MHM? I'm not dead. No, you are not dead. It's great. I can keep fulfilling our agreement. From now on, you are my guardian spirit, and we will never leave each other. No one can snatch you from me as long as I'm alive. Why you, in the end, it was still you who helped me. Where has Yen Ryu gone to? Why hasn't she? Why you? Why are you standing there? Get over here. It's strange. Why do I feel that Yen Ryu is different? Take it easy. I have something to tell you. I see. That is to say, you intended to bet on both sides from the beginning. And you even made up your mind to betray me before. Damn it. 
She even provided me with origin points of gratitude before, but she still gave me away behind my back. Her words are not credible, not even her genuine emotions. I have nothing to defend myself with. But if I had multiple choices, I certainly wouldn't just rely on you. Always thinking about leaving yourself a way out, that is indeed your style of doing things. Since it is so, why did you tell me the truth? According to what you said, the Shima oath on you has been removed, which means the masked man has fulfilled his promise. You could have sold me out, and you would gain more in this way, right? If you sup with the devil, you will inevitably be hurt by the devil, which I know very well. Take out. Is this the thing that the masked man gave you to hurt me? Use my body tissues as an inducer? There is such a type of witchcraft in the world. To be precise, that's what I thought before. I'm afraid the masked man is like me, not just expecting what benefit he has now. From the beginning, they didn't rely on the body tissues that I collected to go against you, but me instead. I think maybe when he met me at the inn, he had tampered with the aquatic elderberry. If it weren't for Mei Lang who discovered the abnormality by Qi observation techniques she learned from the monument for ghost cultivators, I'm afraid that I might not detect that someone did something on me even after I finished things in Xilan Kingdom. Unbelievable. Have you dealt with the abnormality in your body? It won't be activated all of a sudden, will it? That's an unnecessary question. Of course, I have gotten rid of it. After all, the trick has been working. Uh, what were you doing? You can't sense it, right? I withdrew a puff of special chi attached to you. Now I am holding it. Really? I felt nothing. It is not different from what Mei Ling pulled out of me. It's formless, insubstantial, and indistinguishable. I can only deal with it through Mei Ling's new ability. I don't know its origin, but judging from its shape, it's very likely that it is related to the Lu family. From the perspective of Mei Ling's Qi observation technique, it's not hard to tell that it came from me. I am afraid that as long as I get close to you, this ethereal thing will attach to you automatically. No wonder that masked man asked me to collect your body tissues. After all, in this way, I have to get close to you, and then it will be planted into you unconsciously. As for its usage, it can't be learned only through Mei Lang's Qi observation technique. It probably serves as coordinates so that the one who targets you can lock and identify you by a method like Qi observation technique, or it might be a prerequisite for some mysterious means. What the hell? Shilan Wei is just my cover in Shilan Kingdom. Once I remove it, no one can find me or hurt me. But if I carry this thing, I will have the risk of exposing my identity at any time. Ultimately, the system is too rigid. I was haunted by such a thing, but it didn't alert me. Does it only alert me and help me when my consciousness is invaded? I can tell you have realized the risk, right? Don't worry. I have solved the problem for you. Let's look beneath the surface. Considering that Zhou Yinping is colluding with the masked man, his strength must not be inferior. Although he was tricked by you and is being hunted by the two evil sects, we can't be sure if he has other plans. According to the original plan, I should secretly meet with them after I complete the matter. However, I have cracked their trick on my own, so I surely can't go to meet with them, but I'll also have no chance to know what they're going to do next. Take my advice. Their means are unpredictable. Since you have gotten the power source stone, you should just stop here. Don't get involved in the dispute about the Shilan treasury anymore. It's better to leave soon. You are cautious. But when all is said and done, what happened to me was caused by you. Whether it's true or not, I can't just take your word for it. What I said is all true. Don't worry. I have made up my mind this time. I'll give up the benefits that the masked man promised me. As for the previous schemes, considering we won't meet again in the future, please forgive me this one last time. We won't meet again? You mean? I have thought it over. The reason that I told you the truth is because of an impulse to return your favor of reshaping Mei Lang. I know I am a completely bad woman this whole time.
Origin point gained, gratitude, 0.01 points Yen Ryu, you helped me cultivate and refine the guardian spirit and saved Mei Lang in the end. With my nature, I would regard these kindnesses as nothing sooner or later. When my gratitude wears off, only schemes would remain. In case I would betray you again in the future, our cooperation should end here. Why you? Uh, hold on a second. It's a reflex. I envisioned doing this countless times when Yen Ryu offered positive origin points. After seeing the origin point of gratitude, I just did it unconsciously. However, I can take the opportunity to insert the heart trigger into her so that the efforts I made all along won't be in vain. Now that you have gotten rid of the Shinma Oath, how are you going to deal with being pursued by Chunling Sect? Although it is less efficient than planting the heart trigger directly, such an invisible and silent method must not be perceivable to her. It will be done in two seconds. Don't worry, Huayu. I have my way to solve the dispute with Chunling Sect. Besides, even if you are willing to let me count on you, you and I will only part ways in the end. Wave. Whoosh. Don't worry. I will keep everything about you a secret. Whisper, from now on, we are going on our separate ways. Whisper, we will meet again if there is an opportunity. Gather. So this is how it feels using the five elements shift. And plus with my ghost shape shift, no one can keep us. Are ghosts of Chongling sect different? It's strange. Chinger is much weaker than Huayu, but when it comes to you, why can our techniques share with each other? I don't know. I don't remember exactly what happened before I was born, so I can't give you the answer. How come you became like this after being reborn? You are not the same as you were before. What was my personality like before? Do you think what I was like before is better? Actually, I don't know. But you are better now than before. You, what are we going to do next? Find a chance to leave the treasury first. Do you need me to return to your body? It's okay. Just stay outside if you want to. From now on, you can do whatever you want. Hum hum. Another way to perform chi observation technique? It's strange. I can't see any problem with you, and it was the same case the other day. Leave it if you can't find any. After all, either Yen Ryu didn't lie to me and did remove everything abnormal from me, or she just played tricks on me again. There are only these two possibilities here. Uh, is my chi observation technique weaker than Mei Lang's? It's too frustrating. However, after going through these things, Yen Ryu seems to have changed a lot. From this point of view, the former possibility is more probable. She's changed a lot. Is it because Mei Lang was reborn? I didn't say goodbye to Mei Lang just now because I came back late. What a pity. Besides, isn't our plan can't be done after Yen Ryu left? Yeah. Now, the point is I didn't completely insert the heart trigger into her, and I don't know if it can still work and how long it will work. She ran away so fast. It's hard to catch her now. Think about it carefully. She asked me for help when she was hunted down by her so-called master. She probably put on an act at that time. If she wants to escape, her master can't catch her at all. Unfortunately, this place is filled with Ying Chi, and my fast shift mantra to locate ghosts doesn't work well here. Otherwise, I can find her, forget it. So what if you can find her? In order to reduce the difficulty, the function of the heart trigger is only about preventing Yen Ryu from deceiving me again. Whether I could make it or not, it probably can't change her mind about leaving me. Moreover, I don't think I would have a chance to get the ghost domain pot without her. I didn't lose anything but gained something instead. Self-comfort, anyway, she only thinks that I am a good guy and a fool, and she doesn't know my true identity. Just let her go. What are we going to do now? Leave the treasury as soon as possible is what she said? No, Yen Ryu is a woman, cautious and weak. It's reasonable for her to run away. But I am a man. I'm not afraid of taking risks. Run away? That's never gonna happen. 
since there are no other treasures here, it's time for us to meet with the two evil sects and see if they have any means to deal with Zhou Yinping. Zhou Yinping plotted against me many times. I must kill him. Wait. It seems too reckless. This thing must be done, but before that, I need to make a backup plan. I never fight unless I come prepared. Ching'er, go to. Only you are here? Where is Grand Elder Hueli? Your Highness, you are finally here. Zhou Yinping has escaped again. Hueli is manipulating bugs to locate him, so she can't get here for the time being. It should be daytime outside now, which means the Gate of the Moon has long disappeared. You only needed to guard the Gate of the Sun, yet you still failed to get Zhou Yinping with so many men from the two sects. Basically, it's hard to kill a level 4 pre-celestial stage master in an open area. Although Shilan Treasury is an enclosed space, it is quite large. Moreover, Zhou Yinping. Infuse. Zhou Yinping is sly and hard to deal with. Normally, even if your highness joined us, we could only hold him back for five minutes at most. Oh? Even with me, we can only hold him back for five minutes at most. Do you look down on me? Looks like Zhou Yinping's eerie method of making people forget him as a threat is still taking effect. However, Yan Shirgu is from one of the nine evil sects and should have his own way of dealing with it. I am not looking down on you. After all, we don't need your highness to go all out, and presumably, your highness doesn't have that intention either. So why don't you hear out our plan? I didn't expect you to know me quite well. All right, I am all ears. But before that, we need to talk about my pay first. What do you want? The remaining fragments of the Power Source Stone and other treasures that you secretly collected from the treasury. Don't tell me you are loath to give them back. According to the agreement, those things belong to me originally. Give them back to me, and I won't hassle you anymore. As you wish. Buzz. Bang. Twine. Grand Elder Hueli. Boom. Mr. Yan. You guys just don't want to give up, do you? Within the Shilan Treasury, I can come and go freely. Oh? What about counting me in? Boom. It's you. You. What's wrong? You look bad abruptly. Did you see something on me, or... Nothing on me? Honestly, judging from your look, I believe Yin Ryu didn't lie to me. I have a lot to ask you, but right now, we three are fighting you. I may as well take you down first. Five minutes later. Bang. It's said that Scholar's words are ever-changing, yet the fundamental thing remains the same. In terms of means alone, you do have various moves. It's just that when scholars fight. Is so much paper needed? You are so funny, your highness. Confucian scholars from the Ming Empire use scriptures as weapons along with various means. Their attacks always come without a sign, making them difficult to detect, thus leaving people defenseless. It's our luck that your highness has joined forces to fight him this time. If it were just me and Mr. Yan, he would have run away. He has run out of skills, and his scriptures will also be used up sooner or later. If we keep fighting him, we will surely kill him today. You only talk, but don't take action. You don't even want to release your puppet beast. Hueli also stands aside throughout the whole process. It's clear that both of you want to conserve energy and avoid giving your all. But then again, what's wrong with Zhou Yinping? Up to this point, he hasn't fought back seriously once, but passively warded off instead. He is weaker than expected. Moreover, why didn't he provide me with any origin points? He is good at restraining his emotions. I pride myself on being meticulous, thinking of killing two birds with one stone in this treasury, but now I seem to be conceited. Never mind. Given the current situation, there will be no turning point even if it's moving on like this. Emerge. What? The gate of the moon appeared again. I see. 
drawing out the gate of the moon at any time is his last resort to get out of the treasury. Thank goodness, we weren't waiting for him at the gate of the sun after the gate of the moon disappeared. We didn't stop chasing him. Otherwise, he would have already fled. This route of retreat was also left for your highness and Miss Yen. Now it's only available to me. Do I need to thank you then? Your highness moves so fast. So do you? Sorry. This way is not passable. If you want to escape, you should try to move towards Mr. Yan and Grand Elder Hueli. Hey, the two of you, stop slacking off. I've helped you hold him back for such a long time and successfully stopped him from running away. I have done my part. What about your trump cards? It's time to use them. Even God is on my side this time. I didn't expect Zhou Yinping to draw out a new gate of the moon. So at the final moment, whether Ji Jinye behind Zhou Yinping appears abruptly and joins the fight, or these two sects join hands to kill me, I can run away at any time. Perfect. Trump cards? Bang. Be patient, your highness. Our trump cards are coming. Puppet mechanism armor seal. I can't move. This is the seal technique. Damn it. I was disturbed by that fake Shilan Wei and misjudged the situation, so the pre celestial stage masters of Kushu Ossia sect could catch me. Shit. What trick is this? Why can't I move? Hey. Why am I also trapped? This seal technique of Kushu Ossia sect attacks indiscriminately. Your Highness was so close to Zhou Yinping. Don't worry, Your Highness. I will let you out after I kill Zhou Yinping. This move can destroy bodies and souls and restrain 18 types of escape techniques and three resurrection methods in the world. Zhou Yinping, you. We'll die for sure. Mantra Spider Destruct Tom. Boom. My living weapon is forced out. Chiliang Sect. Kishuasia sect, idiot you. Damn. The gate of the moon has been destroyed. Chiliang sect was hitting a mosquito with a flak for fear that they can't kill Zhou Yinping. I was not afraid of their tricks at all with the title living weapon, which can freeze my health in a near-death state, and I even wanted to see what tricks they had. I just didn't expect its power to be far beyond my imagination. I could feel that most of its power targeted Zhou Yinping, while only a little affected me. But just that little amount nearly killed me and destroyed the projection of the Gate of the Moon. They are merely at the level 4 pre-celestial stage. Even though they released the move together, how could it be such powerful? That's idiot unreasonable. I thought I had already overestimated the power of these two evil sects, but now it seems that I still underestimated them. It's quite embarrassing this time, Finger of Nirvana. Origin point gained, shock 0.01 .01 points Yan Shirgu. Holy shit. She is still alive and almost recovered. Is she really the disciple of one Dao sect? She is stronger than we expected. We need to drop the previous plan. Let's intimidate her and kick her out of the treasury. Okay. Your Highness, are you all right? Grand Elder Hueli, your attack was very powerful. Did you try to kill me as well? You got me wrong, Your Highness. I didn't use that move much, and I am not skilled at it, so Your Highness was affected accidentally. I am sure Your Highness could tell that most of its power targeted Zhou Yinping. Of course, I could. If not, I wouldn't have listened to your explanation. But I still feel angry. If I didn't have some abilities, I would have been killed with Zhou Yinping. Your Highness, you're exaggerating. You are the disciple of Wen Dao sect, knowing some ways to counteract the moves of evil sects in the Han Empire. It just had little impact on you. I am sure it's no big deal. I have long said that a loner is nothing to fear no matter how powerful he is. Do you think I'm right, Your Highness? If Chiliang sect didn't hold back their power, we might have ended this fight sooner. We did hold back our power, but didn't your sect do the same? If it weren't for Her Highness's urging, I am afraid that the reinforcements of your sect might have acted later, right? 
Now that the biggest hidden danger has been removed, we can talk about the ownership of the flame, bless holy fire. Before that, Your Highness, please get out of the treasury first. I thought I could get profits while they were fighting. Unexpectedly, Zhou Yinping didn't summon Ji Jinye even on the edge of his death. I am in a dilemma now, fight them or not. I feel wrong somehow. Did Zhou Yinping fake his own death to escape as I did? Is he watching us somewhere, and then he'll wipe us out altogether? But Chiliang Sek's move was fierce, and he was forced to take it directly. He must be dead. There was no way he faked his death. Huh? That is. Dissipate. Shilan Palace, outside the treasury, the pre-celestial stage masters on the opposite side of the gate went to catch Zhou Yinping. I am wondering if it goes well. If Zhou Yinping gets rid of the siege and fights a way out, we disciples who are at the post-celestial stage will be. Don't worry. Mr. Yan is always prudent. He must be sure of it since he transferred all men. Get out. Humph, it's the same as what Master expected. Once they fight inside, Kashua Siesek will withdraw all the Masters who guard the gate. Next, I'll follow Master's order and find a place to hide first. That, that person is. How is it? Why is there such a change to the flame less holy fire? Could it be that Zhou Yinping did something to it? Something is wrong, it's not perceptible at first glance. But taking a close look, I can tell it's poorly made with a thin aura in it. Even this remaining aura seems to have been forcibly injected. It is a fake. A fake? How can it be? Did Zhou Yinping secretly switch the genuine one with the counterfeit and hid it during his escape? Grand Elder. Look. Mask. The shape and the pattern are the same as Yen Ryu told me. Is Zhou Yinping the one who secretly met Yen Ryu that day? I knew it was not that simple. Fortunately, I didn't completely fall out with the two evil sex. At the gate of the sun, outside the treasury, although this substitute is way weaker than me, I didn't expect that he couldn't escape when he only defended himself with scriptures. Nine evil sects of the Han Empire are indeed hard to deal with. It's a pity that the rare chosen talented seed could only be buried here with you all. Yin Ryu, the plot against Shilan Wei should have worked out perfectly, but it was ruined because of you. I was nice to you, yet you betrayed me. You deserve your name as Evil Jade Beauty. I underestimated you. Never mind. You are a royal member who won't be easily manipulated. Perhaps I should get the right person to reach out to you the next time. Next. I'll close this gate first. Secret Technique Grand Light Sect, Rotation O the Sun and the Moon. How is it possible? The Gate of the Sun. Disappeared. It saved me much trouble to use Flame Less Holy Fire to perform the secret technique of the Grand Light Sect. Otherwise, even if I came here in person, I couldn't do anything to these two gates. I suppose the two evil sects would never figure out that someone in the world can manipulate this ancient Shimo Dark Tunnel that has lost its owner for thousands of years. It's just a pity, such a rare treasure became useless after this battle. Huh? Ah. Ghost? Where did you come from? Are you a scout that Yen Ryu left behind before fleeing? Just in time, I'll use you too. Boom. Do it yourself if you want to trace Yen Ryu. My pet won't run errands for anyone else. Fast shift. You, I intended to pretend to be trapped. However, you laid your finger on my pet. Now let's cut the crap. Are you going to fight or escape? Origin point gained, shock 0.01 .01 points Zhou Yinping, Ji Jinya, origin point gained, pleasure 0.01 .01 points Zhou Yinping, Ji Jinya, origin point gained, greed 0.01 .01 points Zhou Yinping, Ji Jinya, huh? I never thought you could get out of the treasury on your own. Very good, won and lost, lost and won. God has made several jokes with me, haha. -ha. 
Now the evil sex are trapped. The overall situation has been settled. If I get you, a chosen talented seed, my trip here will be perfect. Damn. If it weren't for the teleportation that can't be used across the worlds, I would be longing for something valuable when I got out after Chinger was knocked down. I've never thought of sticking out. The two evil sects have agreed to fight together with me, but why is it only me charging ahead? Does what I plan painstakingly before going down the drain? Kashuasia sect, Chiliang sect. Come out to fight. Boom. Burn. No, the evil smell of Rose Finch did play its part. However, this seal is not simply with the power of heaven and earth. Its resilience is so strong that it can correct the deviated path almost instantly. If I want to destroy it, I need to go all out and concentrate on my power for at least 15 minutes. Joey and Ping won't give me that chance. Let me try to scare him away temporarily. That was a nice try, your highness. However, I cast that seal with the power of the flame less holy fire, which is not that easy to break. I mean no harm, your highness. But you seem to misunderstand me. Could you please allow me to explain? Misunderstand? Zhou Yinping. Do you think I'm a fool? Path of sword, water element breaking sky and cloud. She can resonate with heaven and earth, intimidating people even before strikes are performed. The chosen talented seed is indeed amazing. I am so excited now. Let me see how sharp your sword is. You want to fight against my path of sword? Please. He is as obstinate as Yan Shirgu. Is he really so confident, or is he just bluffing as I am? Hey, sky ceiling sword, I fed you so much good stuff, you must pull yourself together. Stop shaking. I can't do it. Sky Ceiling Sword will be shattered if I make this strike. If Zhou Yinping can take this strike and only suffers a minor injury, yet my sword is shattered, that will be too embarrassing. No one under the seventh level of the pre-celestial stage can resist breaking sky and cloud. The only disadvantage of it is that I can't hold back the power but exert it all unreservedly. If you are killed accidentally, there is no one in the world who I can ask about something. It's not worth it. I don't have to break my sword to fight him. I'll spare your life for now. Damn it. The masters in the main world are all idiot daredevils. Before Sky Ceiling Sword restores its power to its peak in the small world, I won't use it to perform the path of sword and stir up the strength of heaven and earth. Since your highness doesn't want to fight, I surely have no intention of provoking one. You can ask me anything you want now. Let me reintroduce myself. I am Shilam Wei, the evil sword goddess and the messenger of Elder Moro of Immortal Sky. Mr. Zhou, who on earth are you then? Origin point gained, shock 0.01 points Zhou Yinping, Ji Jinye. I heard that there is a new evil sect in the Han Empire. They use humans as blood sacrifices, so they massacre and are a great fear to all. There is even a rumor that Elder Moro who they believe in is an immortal at the multi-celestial stage. Although it's a rumor, given the current situation, Elder Morrow can't be weak with this person in front of me as his follower. I heard about Immortal Sky before and have admired Elder Morrow for a long time. I am surprised that Your Highness turns out to be Elder Morrow's messenger. However, didn't Your Highness already know who I really am at the thatched cottage? Why bother to ask again? That's unfair. I have revealed myself, yet you are still acting dumb. Sky 7 and Sky 12 really did a good job. Even this man has heard of Immortal Sky. I don't need to boost myself in front of him then. The evil sects are heterodox, wrecking the country and bringing ruin to the people. It's the right thing for us scholars to uphold righteousness and eliminate evil. Stop this deceitful rhetoric. I might believe you if I didn't know the whole thing. But since you can control the gate of the sun and the gate of the moon, you should have lured the evil sects into the treasury and destroyed them. Why did you wait until today? Were you waiting for the nine sects meeting that is held once every 30 or 40 years? Were you waiting for them to recruit new disciples so that you can involve the elites from both sects in this long-standing deadlock of the Shilan crisis? Evil sects must be eradicated. 
Since I plan to do it, I must make sure that it will be well carried out. If so, it brings me to another question. There are so many evil sects in the world, and there are nine sects only in the Han Empire. Why Kashuasia sect and Chiliang sect? As far as I know, these two sects have been very close to the royal family of the Han Empire, and they are even connected with the military. It can be said that they are the most important partners of the D family. If the two evil sects lose all their elites, it's equal to cutting off one arm of the D family. Normally, the D family would be furious, probing, pursuing the truth, and finding out the culprit. But what can be found is only that these two sects fought each other to get the treasure in the Shilan treasury. No matter how capable the D family is, they would only turn the other cheek to it. The one who instigated Tu Lanche to stir up civil strife in Shilan kingdom also expected this result. Am I right? Mr. Zhou Yinping, the former official of the Lily family from the former Han Empire? Origin point gained, shock 0.01 .01 points Zhou Yinping, Ji Jinya, it seems that Yen Ryu not only broke the agreement, but also told everything about her background to you. What a stupid woman. Had she never thought that she would be hunted down by the D family if she were exposed? Immortal Sky has nothing to do with the two evil sects and the D family of the Han Empire, and it might even be their enemy, not a friend. Why don't you be an onlooker? Be an onlooker? You changed your former plan and sent a substitute into the treasury to fight the two evil sections for what? Didn't you just want to get me out? You were worried that I would be trapped inside with them. Doesn't it suggest that I mean no harm to you? Am I a fool to you? It was you who messed with me first, Mr. Zhou. How could you have the nerve to ask me to be an onlooker? Looks like you have a profound misunderstanding of me. It will get you no benefit from meddling in this matter. Benefit? I will fight for it on my own. Thank you for the information you provided. My master has figured out the identity and the purpose of Zhou Yinping. Here is the thing, it's a good opportunity. I will definitely get the best from the two evil sects this time. Moreover, Immortal Sky also has its plan for the evil sects in the Ham Empire. Now that I have figured out your purpose, I won't stand by and watch you mess around and ruin Elder Moro's cause. So you insist on getting involved? It's rumored that Elder Moro is an immortal at the multi-celestial stage. If it's true, why is he hiding? I am afraid that he has a secret which can't be shown to the world, right? Are you talking about Elder Moro or the one behind you? Yin Ryu and you set up a trap to kill me with Miracle Sign, and the one has never shown up. Is he unwilling to show his true identity or afraid of alerting the enemy? Since you have already figured it out, aren't you worried that you would flee in panic again if you take action today? Can you do that? If you can use the miracle sign at will, why do you have to talk to me for so long? Besides, the one behind you likes to bully someone weaker. Do you think Elder Moro won't do anything about it? What he did in Sikuan Mountain that day revealed some of his weaknesses. If he does it again, I can tell you that Elder Moro will definitely fight his way down to his lair and find out his true identity. Origin point gained, shock 0.01 .01 points Zhou Yinping, Ji Jinya, origin point gained, anger 0.01 .01 points Zhou Yinping, Ji Jinya, don't think too highly of yourself. You are not worthy of that man fighting you personally. That sounds boastful. Good. He revealed it. Ji Jinya can't make a move at will. With the bluff of Elder Moro, G. Genia is less likely to show up and fight me. I didn't go all out at the thatched cottage, and your substitute in the treasury just passively warded off, which was very boring. There's no need to worry. I'll. Boom. I hope the real you won't. Disappoint me. You shouldn't exert all your strength. As a result, you won't be able to alter or retrieve it. Reason, you don't even understand such a simple truth. Your strength and your eloquence do not match well. Bang. Boom. I underestimated you. But who told you that I exerted all my strength just now? Bang.
Bang. Swoosh. Your swordsmanship is indeed a bit bizarre and powerful, but it poses no threat to me at all. Fall. What? Bang. Bang. What just happened? Sky ceiling swords seem to become heavier. Bang. Confucian techniques are indeed not for attack, but I learned from the practical school, the path of which can influence a fight the most. The path is within things. My path is in your sword, so you can't bear its weight. Without a sword, I wonder how many means left you can use. The way of relying on external things is not suitable for you. As I said in the thatched cottage, the most suitable method for you is the Confucian cultivation method. You are so verbose. Do you think you are the only one who knows Confucian path? Now let me show you. The real Confucian path. The real Confucian path. How, how is it possible? Confucian cultivation methods are exerted with words, while images are clearly not our means, this pure and overwhelming aura undoubtedly comes from a Confucian sage. But why have I never seen such a person among the sage's portraits? The Confucian path I mastered is about the heavenly decree and the rules following as they are uttered. Ironically, you claimed yourself a legitimate disciple of Confucianism, yet what you did is against its doctrines. I will use the real Confucian path to break your pseudo-Confucianism. Courtesy. Aid and Avisdo were to do evil immortal. This is the power of the Confucian path. Rumble. Break promises and tell lies dishonest. Care only about your own interests selfish. Abandon your fellows disloyal. Bang. Surge, think too highly of yourself unwise. Rumble. Plot against the country and stir up chaos unkind. A person like you, who is immoral, dishonest, selfish, disloyal, unwise, and unkind, should be seriously punished. How dare you claim yourself a great scholar? I can't fight back at all. I have to reset the formation. The subjects that Confucius would never talk about are extraordinary things, feats of strength disorder, and spiritual beings. My cultivation base and techniques are all gone in an instant. Is this the power of the heavenly decree? Origin point gained, shock 0.01 .01 points Zhou Yinping Ji Jinye. Origin point gained, shock 0.01 .01 points Zhou Yinping Ji Jinye. It's working well. Looks like this move did help stimulate his emotions. I'll make it worse for him then. Huh? Crack, oh no. SH asterisk T. I got too carried away. The magic realm was broken by his aura at the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage. Looks like my magic realm can deal with people at the third level of the pre-celestial stage at most. It's still difficult to deal with a level four pre-celestial stage cultivator. This is. The injuries are healed. What happened just now is an illusion. I fought a master at the third level of the pre-celestial stage. He figured out my trick at once and cracked it easily. You are not capable, Mr. Zhou. You can't even see through an illusion. If it weren't for your high cultivation base, you would have been dead. It turns out you don't know Confucian techniques at all. How dare you fool me? So what if I fooled you? What can you do about it? Break. I have been going easy on you. Do you really think I have no way to get you? Do I need to thank you for that, Mr. Zhou? Stop bluffing. Bring it all on. I admit it is difficult to take you down if I am not prepared for your endless approaches. However, I've been talking with you since you got out of the treasury. Do you really think what I've been doing is meaningless? Mr. Zhou, you are too talkative. I don't give a damn about it. Pew. I have been preparing this move against you for a long time. Where there is a thing, there is Tao. Crack. Broken. Crack. I didn't use this move before because I was trying to show mercy. But since you didn't buy it, 
I have no choice but to break your sword with the supreme power and demoralize you. Now that you lost your weapon, you should stop fighting. Very good. You smashed my sword. Turns out that the evil sword is the reason that you could conceal your realm. Now you are exposed as it's broken. This aura. You are only at the second level of the pre-celestial stage. Surprisingly, your realm is so low. All this time, I've believed it was stupid to fight you hard for the two evil sex. So just like you, I have been going easy on you the whole time. However, Mr. Zhou, you should have never, ever smashed my sword. I have always been reluctant to use it too much since it was forged. I never expected it would be ruined like this by you. I'm in a bad mood right now, very bad. And when I'm in a bad mood, I don't like to think much but fight only. So, Mr. Zhou, swoosh, I am going to kill you right now. That's a bold claim. You are now the evil sword goddess without a sword. What else can you do? Use the illusion again? Chain. Burn. Your flame is so powerful that it can actually turn the supreme power against my techniques. It's quite impressive, but it's a pity that. You are only at the second level of the pre-celestial stage. Besides, you've used the external internal power a lot before. How much do you have left now? Water can put out a fire. A flame can do nothing when facing an ocean. After all, your realm is too low. Grimace. Finger of Nirvana. Her external internal power was regained instantly. Oh, no. Bang. Her speed and power are no less than that before her sword was broken. Is it pure physical power? Could it be she didn't count on that evil sword? Got you. Bang. I know you are so capable of escaping that the two evil sex can't capture you. I am sorry that you met me this time. Get in. Swallow. Swoosh. How dare you. This is a Shimo dark tunnel. It's closed and isolated. How could she have such a rare space treasure? Heaven and earth as a furnace, we as fire. No matter what techniques you got, you can't escape from here once you get in. You were even allowed to take such a treasure along. Immortal sky is indeed impressive. What? Are you scared now? It's too late. Too late? It's just a small Shimo dark tunnel. As long as I can take you down, bang. Virtue is bound by no strenuosity. I have my way to get out of here. Suppress, the earth carries weights. Gravity? That's it? It can't even cause me a mortal injury. I have to do it myself. Spurt. Living weapon. She ripped out her heart. Ah, uh, I feel more relaxed. However, it seems not enough to simply double the attack power, crush. Title, Living Weapon, Unlocked. Current effect, you've accepted the resistance of a world. When you are seriously injured and on the verge of death in a battle, the effect of the title will be triggered automatically. Before the end of this battle, your health will be constantly in a near-death state, and no attack can hurt you, your power is endless. At the same time, your damage will be doubled. To maintain the title effect, you need to consume one origin point per second. If the origin points are used up or you change the title, the effect of this title will be automatically suspended. Quadrupling the mind fire and doubling the attack power, I didn't even use these on that monster before. I am at the peak of my strength right now. You should feel flattered, Mr. Zhou. Moral body, mind fire poor times stronger. I'm in a hurry. Keeping you trapped inside here will continuously deplete my origin points. Immortal dominating punches four times stronger. Shatter. Look carefully, Mr. Zhou. From now on, I won't use my sword, any paths, or special fire, but only my fists. One punch after another, stamp. Bang. To beat you up. Impossible. 
immortal genre, Wandering Dragon. Ha ha. It feels so good. Awesome. Ha ha. I can't stop her or defend myself. She is too strong in all ways, so much stronger than before. What kind of monster have I messed with? Mr. Zhou, the appetizer is served. Here is the feast. With no worry. Dragon and whale, show me the power. Huh? Bang. Your fleeing art is indeed brilliant. It's just a pity that you are trapped in this pot ghost domain. You can't run away from me. Up here. Here is the boundary of this Shimo dark tunnel. As long as I carve out a crack with the supreme power, it won't be hard for me to get out of here. I just need time to. Bang. Boom. Disperse. Swoosh. Again. Even though you run fast, everything here is under my control. You have nowhere to hide. Rumble. I didn't hit you the first time, the second time. Rumble. Then I will keep doing it ten times, or even a hundred times, until you have no methods to use and nowhere to hide. Immortal dominating punches, real dragon swift. I'm out of strength. I have reached the limit to transfer the damage by words, but her attacks show no sign of stopping. How could she still fight even with a big hole in her chest? And she is even far more dangerous than when she held the sword, yet her cultivation base and internal power at the second level of the pre-celestial stage have stayed the same all along. The biggest difference from before is the theory behind it. Is it some kind of martial art to improve strength by self-harm? It's unheard of, however, it's a demonic method. I don't believe there is no limit. Bang. Immortal dominating punches, heavenly axe-breaking formation. I am feeling easier to fight you. Looks like your means of survival have been used up. In that case, fighting to this moment, I have nothing to say. Since you want to die together, how could I say no? Die together? What makes you have that misconception? Do you think that I am forcing myself and have actually become a spent force? So you are going to go all out to strike the final blow? All right then, I will not dodge it so I can make you feel. Utterly, paths are inseparable from devices. Despair. Celestial phenomena reject rules. Impossible. Are the people from Immortal Sky? Monsters? Mr. Zhou, never see you again. This is what would happen when you destroyed my sky ceiling sword, idiot. Home. Damned system, can't you heal my wounds before taking back the feature of living weapon? I will be tortured to death by you one day. Finger of Nirvana. Finger of Nirvana is amazing but also consumes lots of origin points, eh? Why is there another prompt? 400 origin points have been consumed on Finger of Nirvana. What the hell? The walls of the Shimo Dark Tunnel and the post-celestial stage ghost domain pot are damaged. Would you like to proceed with 3,000 origin points to repair the walls? Yes or no, 3,000 original points. Unscrupulous system. The pot only cost me 10,000 origin points, but the cost of three repairs is enough to get me a new one. Of course, I'm going to repair it. I am rich. Phew, in the pot ghost domain, the ability of scanning with senses can't be used. Theoretically, I shouldn't have been exposed much to G-Gene yet. Although I was a little impulsive this time, it should be no problem. However, the pot is badly damaged after a desperate fight against a level 4 pre-celestial stage Confucian cultivator, who wasn't good at attacking, looks like I have to find some other ways to completely turn this pot into a perfect cage. The consumption of trapping a living person into the pot, using the living weapon, using the finger of Nirvana, and repairing the pot, sh asterisk t. It cost me a lot to kill a level 4 pre-celestial stage master. Mr. Zhou, if I can't get any benefits from you, I will smash your corpse into ashes. Are these all you got? 
A few pieces of paper? You were an outstanding disciple in your sect. How come you were so poor when you were out? Normal rice paper, you were even more destitute than child thousand faces. I'll go on frisking. Still, I will burn your body if I can't find anything good from you. This jade pendant, it feels familiar. System fragment, damaged, found. Fusing. A damaged system fragment. Of course, fragments are broken. System, you really like making a fuss. However, it is a surprise that Zhou Yinping actually has a system fragment. Wait. If Zhou Yinping was carrying a system fragment, why was there no prompt? I've always received a prompt when I got close to a system fragment before. Is it because this one is damaged? A broken system fragment can only be detected when I hold it in hand. It's a pity that Zhou Yinping is dead. I can't get more secrets from him, whether it is about their schemes or why he had a system fragment. It's a dead end for the time being. He doesn't have a mask. I suppose he is not a substitute. Now I'll just play it by ear. My enemies still don't know my real identity. I will find out some clues and get an opportunity. Bang. The fusion of the system fragment, damaged, is long. System upgrade completed. And current level, LV5. Function is unlocked. What does this mean? Why did you fuse with it since it's damaged? And since you chose to fuse with it, why do you blur out the name of the function? I'm so pissed off. Three minutes later, I still can't figure out what this function is. This idiot system is really getting more and more despicable. Forget it. I will figure it out later. I will dispose of Zhou Yinping's body first. Wait. Why do I suddenly feel a little hungry? Holy shit. Why would I feel hungry when seeing Zhou Yinping's body? No. No. It's not my feeling. It's the pot's feeling. It wants to eat Zhou Yinping's body. As long as I let it. The pot ghost domain will devour the corpse. I can feel it. The space in the pot ghost domain has been expanded a little, and even the boundary walls have become a bit thicker. Looks like this Shimo Dark Tunnel can absorb energy and grow on its own by devouring corpses. Interesting, but it's no surprise as it is a post-celestial stage artifact from an advanced level celestial civilization. If I can provide it with endless corpses, what will this Shimo Dark Tunnel be like by then? Can it restore to its prime? I can try it when I have time later. For now, I need to go out and wrap things up. In the Shilan Palace. Fortunately, the aura of the evil seed hasn't dispersed. I haven't suffered heavy losses yet, so there's still room for recovery. Sky Sealing Sword, I have killed Zhou Yinping, and you can rest in peace. I will definitely refine you into the strongest form next time. Sure enough, even though Zhou Yinping is dead, the seal formation set up by the Blameless Holy Fire hasn't disappeared yet. It will take me a lot of effort to get the two evil sects out of the treasury. Chinger, I've done here. What's the situation inside right now? Did they agree to my request? Master, they are still hesitating. Looks like they will never give up until all hope is gone. Tell them I feel unmotivated if they don't agree to my request. Zhou Yinping is so fierce that I can't hold him much longer. They can't blame me if I really run away and leave them behind. I've already told them, but they still said that they needed to think it over. To hell with them. I'll give them another ten minutes at most, and I will give them up if they still don't agree on it. I dare them to stay inside for the rest of their lives. Okay. I am giving them the final warning. This is outrageous. Do they really think they can exploit me? While they are still considering, I will conduct an experiment with this seal formation. One minute later, demonic art of Moro can't work on it. Looks like the flame less holy fire indeed can't be absorbed and refined. Is it because its form has been changed after being used by Zhou Yinping? Master, they agreed. That's so fast. It's less than a minute after I asked you to threaten them. It's because the treasury is collapsing. Collapsing. The Shilan treasury? 
Yes, master, they are urging you. Good. I am doing it right away. Chinger, make sure they make the oath. I just wondered for how long they would die after they were trapped in the treasury. If there are accidents, all the previous efforts will be wasted. As expected, Zhou Yinping did keep a plan up his sleeve. Lucky me. Thirty minutes later, I underestimated this seal formation. Thirty minutes isn't enough at all. Master, the speed at which the treasury is collapsing is getting faster and faster. Initially, it was quite slow, but now it's as terrifying as an avalanche. I saw it, at this speed, in less than half an hour, the entire treasury will be destroyed. Zhou Yinping is already dead, how to solve it? Master, they analyzed that it might be because you took the power source stone away. Without the support of the power source stone, the treasury began to collapse. I got it. They were right. Zhou Yinping had gotten into the treasury and taken the flame less holy fire away. Normally, he would take the power source stone too, but the stone is still in there. If the function of the power source stone is to stabilize the treasury, surely the treasury will soon collapse once it is taken away. Everything makes sense now. In order to trick the two evil sects into the treasury, Zhou Yinping couldn't take away the power source stone. Otherwise, the entire treasury would start to collapse before his plan officially began. Calm them down. I will solve it soon. Another 30 minutes passed. Phew, it's finally done. Holy shit. Hey, Mr. Yan, is this how you treat your savior? Your highness looks so energetic as if you hadn't gone through a fierce fight. You're so mean and ungrateful. My sword is even broken. Isn't it miserable enough? We don't know if your highness really had a tough fight against Zhou Yinping, but we do know that you forced Yan Shigu and me to make a Xinma oath. Whatever you think, I'm not obligated to save you. If saving you can't do me any good, why would I do that? Master, I've completed your mission. Well done. Chinger is capable. Anyway, I am merciful enough. The content of the Shinma Oath I asked you to make is doing one thing for me when I need it, provided that it won't get you killed or damage the interests of your sections. Why are you still complaining even with so many restrictions? Your Highness has a point, but... Swoosh! Who are you? Stop there. Rumble. Disappear. In Chi, she escaped. Ghost substitute technique. That person is from Chongling sect. Isn't she Yan Ryu's master? When did she get into the treasury? Is that person with you, your highness? Chongling sect's ghost substitute technique can cause damage to the user's body. I hope she is fine. She was sneaky. Please don't blame us for making a rash move, your highness. Chongling sect has nothing to do with me. She can only blame herself if she gets killed. We thought your highness was related to Chongling sect as you know how to manipulate ghosts. I remember that evil Jade Beauty is your highness's fellow, right? I wonder where she is now. Is that person Miss Yin? Instead of concerning yourself with Chongling sect, I advise you to focus on the Ji family in the Southern River region. The Ji family in the Southern River region? Your highness, do you mean that they were involved in this incident? Do you have any evidence? No, you can choose not to believe me. I only know that the person behind Zhou Yinping is Ji Jinya, the deceased former head of the Ji family. This may be a clue if you want to trace the incident and get revenge. Fine, we will investigate it. All right, I've told you everything I know. I have a lot of things to do and don't have spare time to chat with you. Goodbye. As for what I want you to do for me, I haven't decided yet. I will come to you when I need you. Two level four pre-celestial stage masters owe me a favor, which will be of great use sooner or later. I'll put it away for a while. Your Highness, please wait. We have many things to discuss with you. Shilan Che is still in the treasury. After our men get him out and interrogate him, maybe we can get more information about this incident. Am I a fool to you? 
If I don't leave right now, when all the men of Kishuasia sect come out and chain me up, there will be another hard fight, not much easier than the one against Zhou Yinping. It's indeed hard for me to break their chains, huh? What the hell is that? Boom. Swoosh. Six Moro Demons. Swoosh. Swoosh. Boom. What a fierce and violent guy. Who the hell is he? Poke. Mechanical technique, sealing Q1 channels. This force, my internal power, can't be activated. He is so strong. Is he? Greetings, sect leader. I have sealed her chi channels. No matter how many techniques she has, she can't use them now. Tell me what happened here. Ternary divine souls, walking in the mortal world. Some accidents did happen to the dispute over the treasury. I'll report it to you later. The person in front of you is the only one who got profits from the treasury matter. She not only snatched the power source stone, but also forced me and Hueli, the Grand Elder of Chiliang sect, to make a Shima oath. Hey, Mr. Yan. To be fair, if it weren't for me, you two would still be stuck in the treasury. I slipped up. They were hesitant in the treasury not because they couldn't see the pros and cons, but rather they were waiting for the help of the sect leader of Kishuasia sect. If it weren't for the treasury being collapsing, I am afraid that they would not even make the Shinma oath. People from evil sects only follow their hearts to do things. Your Highness should have thought about this when you forced us to make the Shinma oath. Follow their hearts. Humph. It's a bit tricky now. It doesn't matter that my internal power is sealed as the immortal dominating punches is not affected at all. The problem is that the moving speed of the sect leader of Kishuasia sect is faster than my immortal dominating punches. I can't escape this time even if I use the living weapon. I will only be beaten and waste origin points. Will I only be able to use the resurrection technique to escape? No, I can't leave the treasures here. Why don't we solve the Shima of matter today? Since your highness hasn't made your decision, I advise that you beg us to spare your life so we can both get what we want. Spare my life? Then what? Let me leave. Not chase after me? I can only make one request, but you can find many ways to torture me. I won't take your advice. How about I pretend to surrender first and then spend two minutes activating the teleportation magic circle to run away? No, it won't work. It requires the evil smell to activate the teleportation magic circle. I can't use the evil smell as my internal power is sealed now. Damn. It's no surprise that flowery sword power is sealed, but how did he seal my demonic power? It has been rooted in my soul after all. Your Highness, you are very clever, but you have no other choices right now. How about I fight it out with them and find a chance to escape? No, not to mention that I don't have enough blazing thoughts to maintain mind fire. My internal power is sealed now, and demonic art of Moro can't be used at all. The speed of fleeting sword is way faster than the speed of the immortal dominating punches, and it doesn't need internal power, but that idiot Zhou Yinping. If he hadn't broken my sky sealing sword, I could have used it to flee, and no one would have been able to catch up with me. If I heard it right, the power source stone is with this person. Things are simple then. Give me this person and the power source stone. We, Shin Ma sect, want them both. GEE? -E? Why is he here? GEE, -E, the vice sect leader of Shin Ma sect? You want me to give you this person? Since when did Shin Ma sect have such power to order us? We have planned to get the power source stone for a long time, yet you beat us to it. You'd better give it to me right now. Otherwise, touch desire branch, demonic clones, I will have to snatch it myself. Holy shit! Isn't it demonic clones? Is he GEE -E or E Dao Chi? I was wondering why you made such bold remarks all of a sudden. Turns out you have advanced to the fifth level of the pre celestial stage, which renders you more confident. However, People at the same level still have differences in strength. Even though I'm not standing here in person. 
Boom. You are still unable to defeat me. They are fighting no one notices me. It's a chance. Swoosh. Origin point gained, shock, 0 0.01 points, Gongshu ban, origin point gained shock, 0 0.01 points, Yan Shirgu, origin point gained, shock 0 0.01 points, GEE. -E. Smile. Outskirts of the Imperial City. My lord, you really alright? Huh. It's nothing serious. I finally got rid of that guy's chi in my body after tossing around a few times. It really frightened me to death. My lord kept hurting yourself, so I thought the lord has lost their mind, finger of nirvana. Is there really no way out to solve it? That master from the Bailian who inserted his true chi in my body is like a living thing. This thing can block and digest my true chi as soon as it comes to its closer. Even if I explode my Dantian or let alone any other means can't able to solve it, even my finger of Nirvana can't able to heal it. In the end, I can only use Changsheng Bakwin to continuously damage its hidden place in my body and then release the guy's true chi from the damaged part bit by bit, and that solved the problem. But the problem is that this thing is very cunning and knows how to hide inside. I've attacked five times on this thing times, and this thing at least dodged the attack two times. I really don't know if someone else would be able to break this trick without the help of Changsheng Bakwin and Finger of Nirvana. There is spirituality, rhyme, primordial spirit, true chi and spirituality. It turns out that this is real true chi and spirituality. The masters I met before were at the fourth and eighth level at most, and I didn't have too deep feelings. This time I really gained some knowledge. The innate fifth layer is really worthy of innate fifth layer. There is indeed a big difference in the path of chi and vitality between fifth and fourth innate level. It wouldn't be that easy for me to get out of this situation if GEE -E not come at that time and attract everyone's attention on him. Just now the system's notification said that it was GEE -E Nadi Dao Chi. Looks like I'm thinking too much. I didn't expect that fierce uncle to appear here. Is uncle chasing my lord? It's really not possible. I was the one who told him about Shilam's treasury and Chi Source Spirit Stone when I was pretending to be G.E. Huayu back then, and these memories are from when I was G.E. Huayu, so it may not have disappeared from his mind. And from the characteristics of G.E.E., -E, it is really reasonable that he'll come to Shilam after the ends of the Nine Sect Conference. The question is, how did he arrive at the right time when I was in a difficult situation? Is it really a coincidence or is he waiting for that time? Teleportation magic, I don't care. Even he saw the battle between me and Zhou Yinping because there will be no Xilan Wei anymore in the future. Even if GEE -E has the intention, he won't be able to find Xie Yin by following the vine. God knows if the leader of the Qi Lian cult and Ji Jinya will also come over here, and now there is a fight between gods and gods, and there is a danger of staying for a second longer, so we should hurry up and run away. Ah, the pillar of fortune has disappeared. Yu Yu, I can't able to detect him with my technique. Maybe it's because of Xiao Qinger's method? She also practiced the sightseeing technique, although it is different from what you've learned. However, it's not impossible for her to be able to find something to block your peeping on seeing your brother. Humph, I don't believe that Ching are to be that powerful. Pets follow their owners. My senior brother is so powerful. How bad can Xiao Ching are be? However, if I hadn't discovered Yi's traces in advance and lured him to the vicinity of the Gate of the Sun, I'm it wouldn't be that easy for senior brother to get out of this situation. But you, you, how did you know that this person can really help? It doesn't matter if he wants to help or not. With the XINMO sect inside this matter, there will definitely be a conflict against Zhou Yinping or the two demon sects. And according to Brother's alertness, the more chaotic the situation, the more he can fish in troubled waters, he can't suffer no matter what. However, Senior Brother is not the only one who knows how to take advantage from the opportunity. If you stay here and watch, there will really be something to gain out of it. Let's go. It's time for us to settle our business. Damn it. This time I was really unlucky. 
It was hard to wait for the opening of Shilan's treasury. I thought I could sneak into it and seize the treasure, and the murderous burial place found in the treasury was really beneficial to Xian's cultivation. This trip should have been very rewarding. But I did not expect the sudden collapse of the treasury. I almost died inside the treasury and finally got out of the trap, but I was attacked by the two innate four masters. The previous sword injury has not been recovered and now received two palms. I do not know when I can recover. It's all blame to that traitor Yan Ruyu, who gave me the, the wrong information. Why would this be the case? After recovering from this injury, I will definitely use all the power of the sect to capture her. Master's words really hurt the disciple's heart, although I was the one who gives you the information, but it's all the master's fault for suddenly attacking the disciple and made the disciple to become the enemy of the master. How could we have ended up in the current situation? Even if the Shilan treasury is a trap, didn't the disciple escape unharmed? On the other hand, Master, now that the source is damaged, the ghosts are scattered, and even self-protection is powerless, it is really a bit miserable. You. What do you want to do? Now, even if I say that I have never harbored a grudge against the sect because of my life, no one will believe me, right? I'm sure that before I entered the treasure house, my master had already sent a message to the sect explaining this. In any case, I will not be able to meet the guests at Chengling Dao. In that case, I have chosen a new place for myself. If all goes well, there may be more to be gained than the Shilan treasury. But before that, Disciple wants to borrow something from the master. I'd appreciate it if you'd go to the Shilan kingdom, where the remaining three masks of the four princes remain. This is the most precious treasure in the outer city, so it's not appropriate to leave it in someone else's hands. If my lord has a problem, I'm willing to serve him, but I'm not sure if this is the right time. After a lot of painstaking planning, in the end, he lost a lot of money and even lost his own life it seems that Zhou Yinping kicked a terrible iron board. It's a pity that when Zhou Yinping was dragged into that strange space treasure, my eyesight was also cut off, and I couldn't know how he was defeated in the end. I have a hunch that this Eternal Heavens organization may be more difficult to deal with than the entire Han Dynasty Demon Sex. While you're at it, find out more about them. Half a month later, Jiang Chuan Entertainment Hall, Zhaohu City in the Han Dynasty. Third floor room, when will my lord come out from this pot? Ching'er is so bored. Inside the ghost domain, Fong Tian, oh Fong Tian, it took me half a month's effort to completely recover you, even stronger than before. Well, it's a little bit less from the original state, but there will be no problem for me to use main world's heaven and earth power. After actually trying it, this sword at most only showed innate five level destructive power. No matter how high it is, it's not just a matter of the sword body collapsing, even the sword spirit will be greatly damaged. It won't take a year or so to recover. It would be nice if I can actually show the innate fifth layer destructive power without consumption and limit, but I can clearly feel that Fong Tian will be shattered after a few more blows. My road to sword refining has a long way to go. Unfortunately, the red color of this sword can't be removed after refining the evil god seed. I won't show this sword outside until I don't get rid of this thing. Whether it's Ji Jinye or the two great demon sex, my identity, Eleven Lan Wei, is now a street mouse, right? I'd better keep a low profile these days. I have no choice but to leave you inside this ghost domain pot. Yay, my lord finally came out. Well, Fong Tian has been recovered, let's go down. As mentioned in the last book, Lord Xilan Wei fought with Zhou Yinping, a Confucian scholar of the Ming Dynasty, but was besieged by two sect masters of the Bai Lian Xie Stream and the Qi Liang sect. Gee, -E, the deputy patriarch of the XINMO sect, has arrived and the three sides are at war with each other over Xilan Kingdom. I saw that Princess Eleven Lan Wei held a long sword in her hand, and the light of the sword swept across the sky, turning all the ghost shadows, poisonous fog, and magic tricks into flower, and she suppressed the attacks of the three and eight fifth layer masters with her own strength. Ching'er, what the hell did you make up for me? In Ching'er's eyes, my lord is just so powerful. And if they exaggerate a little bit, you'll be able to absorb the little more emotions. 
I can't be able to absorb any emotions after I get back to my original form. Ah, uh, Chinger doesn't know about it. In this small country of Shilan, is there such a powerful person? It is really an eye-opener for me. I just don't know what he said just now was really true or false. God knows what happened. There is also a saying that the leader of the Chiliang sect did not come at all. Princess Shilan Wei was restrained by the patriarch of the Bailiancia sect, and it was G.E.E., -E, the deputy patriarch of the XINMO sect, who rescued her. There was no winner or loser in the two-way match for half an hour, so the matter was left alone. Your statement does not belong to Shilan Princess returning to the country, not the original version of Star in the Sky. I've listened to the whole book three times, and in the end, Princess Shilan Wei leaves the country, and the two demonic sects admire her, and together they push Shilan Che, the lord of Shilio City, to be the regent, and finally the country of Shilan returns to peace. Hey man, why are you still giving spoilers? Do you have any morals? What I want to say is, now that the civil unrest in Shilan has been pacified, there are more and more merchants traveling to and from the city. So recently there are quite a few people who have heard the story and commissioned the westbound caravan to probe along the way to find out whether it is true or not, and it's not impossible to find out whether it's true or not. Those two demon sects didn't kill Eleven Lanche. Chinger, did you make up the story of Eleven Lanche's ending? No, it's not. It's like the Star of Heaven added it from her own sources. Note Man Tian Xing equals Star of Heaven or Sky. It seems that I have somewhat underestimated the strength of the two great demon sections thinking about it. No matter what, Eleven Lanwei's strength is obvious to all of them. If there is no full benefit, why should they be enemies? What's more, I still hold two big heart demon oaths in my hand. I'm really in a hurry. I'm afraid the two demon sects will have another fight. In this way, the mastermind behind Zhou Yinping, there is really a master of the seventh level of innate. Or is it related to the royal family surnames Lu in the previous dynasty? Could it be that they want to rebel? Hey, who knows, the most famous Ji family in Jiangnan is the prince of Wanyu Ji Yuntao, Ji Jingdu Knight this name I have not even heard of, perhaps Mr. Storyteller made it up, my Han politics is clear, the stability of the country. Is this really so easy to shake the country? Very good, Ji Jingye. The news about Jiang Nan Ji's family has finally spread, Ji Jingye, even if I can't beat you, ha ha. Just relying on the rumors in the market may not make the court alert, but when the two great evil sects return to the Han Dynasty and compare what happened in Xilong with the rumors that have been forged for a long time, the Ji family in the south of the Yangtze River will be broken, and they cannot escape the court's attention. Let them dig deep, no matter what they found, I am invincible. M.O. Ching Sex Ming Yin Pavilion It's a long dream, and when I wake up, I realize that. There is no one who has the control to life and death. Finally, Yu Hong Yin Arc is about to start it. Is anyone excited? Autumn, 10th month of the 19th year of the Yuan Wu era, Han Empire. The disciple congratulates the master for making a breakthrough. My closed door training period was not long, but nevertheless, it was difficult. It must have been hard for you to stand guard outside for all these days. This is my duty, but why do I get the feeling that the master has become different after being promoted to the innate realm sixth layer? Don't worry, these are some repercussions caused by my seclusion. They'll disappear after a while. Repercussions? I've told you once, the M.O. Ching sex methods are closely linked to human emotions. By choosing a Tao from the worldly affairs, one can hone themselves and reshape their seven emotions. At my level of cultivation, you have to practice in a special manner if you wish to advance quickly. This method is a secret inheritance of the demonic sections. It is very different from regular cultivation methods and is passed down only through the main lineage and not side branches. Originally, this method can be practiced only after reaching the innate realm 7th layer, but it can be practiced earlier by using the great sect formation to imprint the Tao spirit on, now that you are also cultivating the maiden scripture. You'll understand this method once you reach innate realm 4th layer. Disciple understands. I'll cultivate even more and live up to your expectations. 
By the way, Master, ever since Xie Yin returned from the Xilan Kingdom, he says he wants to consult you about some important matters and has been waiting in your room. Important matters? Didn't he say he was going to Xilan for the treasure heist? He has brought back the energy spirit stones without any trouble, but apart from that, he says that there is an important matter related to the above innate realm, sixth layer and master is the only one who can evaluate it. More specifically, he wishes to personally speak to you. Two hours later, I see, so many twists and turns occurred during your trip to Shilon. Despite being surrounded by several powerful enemies, you still managed to kill the enemy and steal the treasure. Not only did you bring back the Chi Source Spirit Stones, you even compelled the deputy masters of two great demonic sects to swear the Great Heart Demon Oath. As expected from you. But, although the Chi Source Spirit Stones are important to the sect, your safety is even more important. Don't ever risk your life like that again. It feels scary just from listening to you recount this dangerous situation. If there was even a single mistake, you would have probably never returned back. Don't worry, Miss Matriarch. I dare to take such risks because I have the root of retreat. I actually have a hidden trump card, so even in the worst case scenario, I can slip away without any problem. Obtained origin points, sympathy 0.01, Yu Hong Yin. You are still this self-confident. But don't underestimate the cultivators of this world. With the power of innate realm third layer, he waited between two great demonic sections in the end, he even able to kill an innate realm fourth layer expert and successfully escaped from innate realm fifth layer experts. My husband has really become more powerful than before. But, my husband really became careless, if someone else got involved in this situation in his own way, ten lives would not be enough to lose. If I were me in his place, I wouldn't dare involve in the game of Shilan as Shilan Wei and become the center of the storm in this Shilan, but in this way, there's a chance of better ending, but there's also the possibility of not gaining anything, after all. These experience aren't mine but the other people's, and there's many things that cannot be calculated. But I am curious. How did he single-handedly kill Zhou Yinping in head-on combat? It would be impossible for me. I can easily protect myself against such an expert, but to turn the tide and defeat him, even kill him, I wouldn't dare to think about it without preparing an inescapable trap in advance. Moreover, these secrets about the former Lu Dynasty and the mastermind, Ji Jinye. How did Xie Yin discover them? The other side is no fool, so how was such important information leaked? Husband, oh husband. You really become more and more mysterious to understand. My lady, your expression, is there something that is bothering you? I look forward to my dear's immense prowess. But from what I've heard, why do I feel that you forgot something to speak? What did I forget to speak? I only left out the ghost domain pot. Did this bitch figure even that out? What about Yen Ruyu? Why is that woman conspicuously absent from your report? Since the matter of the Xilan treasury was Yen Ryu and Ge Huayu's common plan, you never intended to work alone without her before leaving. Why do I not see any action on her part from the beginning to the end? You are asking me this, my lady. Do you really think I was fooling around on this trip? I have a conscience, you know? Given your personality, if you indeed had a fling with the subtle dignified beauty, you wouldn't dare to tell me, right? Maybe, you never had any feelings for Yen Ryu in the first place, but rather, she always used her beauty to try seducing you. And you surely turned the tables and thought of exploiting her. Yen Ryu is cunning, while you have so many ideas. Both of you plotted against each other. Eventually, I guess you suffered a loss and all your plans went down the drain. You felt embarrassed, so that's why you don't want to talk about this matter, right? Fucking bitch. She's really a pain in the ass. Looks like I was right. It's rare to see your defeated expression, but still. Although I enjoy watching this situation, I don't like it if my husband is being teased by others. I've already dealt with Yen Ryu before. It's a small world after all. Don't worry, my dear. Stop dwelling in the past. I will deal with her and win back your honor. Don't decide that on your own. 
It wasn't easy for me to remove the identity Mo Ching Sek Cien from her list of suspects. Don't take the initiative to give me a setback. Don't worry, I'm not stupid. Cough, cough. You two should read the atmosphere while flirting. The lawful wife is so amazing. You hear that? Miss Matriarch is telling you to behave yourself. Humph. Xie Yen, tell me about Yen Ryu. Did you really lose out to her? Gossiping mood. Not really, Miss Matriarch. Don't believe Shinsi's nonsense. Speaking of which, I was able to discover many secrets and I have quite the relationship with Yen Ryu. The matter is like this. You actually think you can use a psychological offense technique to control the subtle dignified beauty? Seriously? What psychological offense? This is called sincerity for sincerity and linking interests. What's up with your face? Damn, the matter of the mind wedge is rather sensitive to mention. But if I didn't mention it, my whole behavior would look too stupid. This is why I wanted to avoid mentioning Yen Ryu altogether. But this damn bitch had to poke her nose. If I had known about your plan earlier, I would have given you a pair of spiraling hornless dragon poisonous parasites that I used to control by Suyuan. For people like the subtle dignified beauty, sincerity can't be exchanged for anything, and even linking interests isn't enough. Some underhanded means have to be used. Erm, um, at any rate, her identity as the last princess of the former Lu dynasty will most likely be exposed. Controlling her wouldn't benefit us, on the contrary, the M.O. Ching sect would court disaster. So I think the scores between us have been settled. Miss Matriarch is indeed worthy of being the matriarch of a demonic sect. She is quite cruel. You are right. Moreover, Yen Ryu has betrayed the other side, so Ji Jinya will most likely not let her off the hook. In that case, that girl is really unlucky. It ultimately depends on how valuable Yen Ryu in Ji Jinya's eyes. Regardless of what the former Lu family or Ji Jinya want to do, Choosing this time to take action against the two demonic sects means that the plan has been decided and they are waiting to clip the D family's wings before taking action. In the end, although this matter doesn't concern the M.O. Ching sect, if the imperial court is about to face turmoil, then the martial arts world will face consequences. We can't just sit idle and wait for something big to happen. Shinxi, gather all the elders on my behalf and order them to investigate this matter. Don't mention Xie Yan's name, just say that you've heard rumor from the martial arts world. Yes, disciple understand. Investigate the Ji family of Jiangnan? Just because of the rumors spread by the storyteller in the market? Is this a really big of a deal to make such an order from the matriarch? Not just rumor, Master always had a personal friendship with the Qi Lian cult's cult leader. The information from her side also proves that the events in Xilan are true. Although the exact truth is still obscure, there is no doubt that some expert with strength comparable to the innate realm's seventh layer is stirring trouble from the shadows. The only lead we have right now is a person named Ji Jinye. If the M.O. Ching sect wants to understand this matter, we can only start from there. Although the nine great demonic sects have had differences with one other, but in the end, the term demonic sect brings us together. If we sit back and watch the chaotic development unfold within the two demonic sects, it can actually affect the M.O. Ching sect. That is a good reason. In that case, it's fine to investigate this person, at least to prevent the M.O. Ching sect from falling into a state of inaction. In that case, why don't we call my disciple, Chang Wu? He is a member of the Ji family, so he is the most suitable person to inquire about this matter. Actually, if you ask me, even I don't know much about this matter. I have been away from home for so many years that I have almost no contact with my family. And this whole matter about Dao Harmony experts, previous dynasties, officials, and whatnot, it sounds like a conspiracy theory or an urban legend to me. I know Ji Jinya, he was my great uncle. But he passed away before I could remember, so there is not much I understand about him. Note paternal grandfather's younger brother, oh? For the time being, tell us everything you know. According to the family elders, my great uncle was erudite as a child. 
He studied Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism, and became a governor at a young age. The Ji family of Jiangnan accumulated a lot of fame and prestige. But this fame was only limited to the court and the public and had little influence in the martial arts community. It was only in his later years that he became acquainted with the sect master of the Taishian sect and formed a friendship with them. Eventually, Ji Yuntao entered the Taishian sect because of this favor. It sounds like an ordinary noble family came in contact with a righteous sect two generations ago. Such families are common in the Han Empire, so it is not surprising. That's precisely why we must investigate this matter. The Bailiancia sect and the Qilian cult will surely do the same. Whether we uncover the secret or not, as long as we continue the investigation, we can make the two sects indebted to us. Xingxi has a point. I will mobilize the Jingwu Sex Intelligence Network to investigate the Ji family's activities on the level of the martial arts community. In that case, I will send the 48 maidens on a concert tour to Jiangnan and gather information from the scholars. Anyways, this is a part of the I Ching establishment's work. Very well, I will also dispatch my disciples to investigate this matter. But on the other hand, hasn't the matriarch already come out from the seclusion? Why don't I see her? I still have some sect matters that require her approval. Rest assured, great elder. After the great gathering of the nine sects, Master noticed some problems in my husband's cultivation. For this reason, she has been preparing for a long time. Now, she is most probably solving his obstacles in the martial arts. I haven't seen you for a long time. I can feel that the true chi inside your body hasn't increased, but it's become more and more lively. Didn't I tell you back then, don't learn any techniques randomly, but where did these two different origins of the five elements come inside your body? Although they don't interfere inside the true chi and original techniques, but this is still considered as a variable, do you know how much difficulty they cause in the process of merging? Sister, you've taught me a lesson, but I can't do anything about it because this thing is naturally born in my body on its own. Sai, I won't ask you what kind of opportunity you have got, but this thing completely messed up my original plan, and now I have to make another plan. This, doesn't this mean that Sister Yu's hard work would be wasted? Not wasted, after all, the process of merging two techniques has already been established, and now it's just a matter of time to completely get rid of this new variable after all. Those two elements do not interfere with the movement of true chi inside your body, and according to my original plan, it will only take some days to completely merge them. Cien, you don't have any plans for the time being, right? Yes, I don't have any plans. Well, I can't delay the affairs of the sect while solving your problem, and it's been a long time since I haven't let you stay by my side. For this time, you will be going to temporarily return to be my servant and have to do some chores for me. In the following day, I have been helping Sisu in regards to the sex affairs during her retreat, and by the way, we also discussed the merging process of the two techniques fortunately. The spiritual roots obtained from the minor world are perfectly compatible under the influence of the system, only causing a slight deviation from the original technique. It's not difficult to correct it. But the sis you said that she seems to have gotten an idea of a safer way to do it, and that she still needs a few days to prepare for it. Three days later. In short, these letters about the demonic sex master must be handled accordingly. As for the appointment of the three subreaders, tell the great elder for me that there is no problem with the candidate she nominates. But the appointment to the post needs to be postponed, and I have other arrangements. Sister you, it's already time for you to rest, right? No worries. I have dealt with these matters, so I still have to examine your meridian diagram and start anew. After all, this is a matter of your cultivation foundation. I cannot be sloppy. There's nothing more for you to do here, so you may leave. Eh, Miss Matriarch is working so hard. Is running a sect so difficult? Actually, the elders handle most of the trivial matters. Sisu has been staying up all night recently, worried about the cultivation compatibility. It's a pity that this aspect of cultivation is difficult. I really don't want to think about it can't intervene. I can only run errands for her and show her sympathy. Maybe it is because of the 30-40 year period of cultivation. 
Recently, many prodigies have appeared in the martial arts community and many innate realm experts are making progress. Sisu has made the fastest progress. I remember that she was only at the innate realm 4th layer when we first met, now she is already at the innate realm 6th layer. This is only the first year of the upsurge in Dao Yun, yet everyone's cultivation progress has become so fast. Each upsurge lasts for a few years, so a normal person can experience two or three such periods. The Qi Lian cult's leader, Eleven Yue Yao, ascended to the innate realm fifth layer this year Blissful Temple's new high priestess, Bai Su Yuan, entered the innate realm fourth layer after leaving the original demonic sex grotto heavens. Yuan Shang, the sect master of the second-ranked XINMO sect was already at the innate realm sixth layer before the surge in Dao Yun. The Blissful Temple's previous high priestess, Dang Hongchen, and Sis Yu's master were contemporaries, but the former was only at the innate realm fourth layer when she died. The two people fought throughout their lives. The cultivation of Sis Yu's master did not exceed innate realm fourth layer. Something's not right. The impressive nine great demonic sects have thousand-year-old heritages and countless prodigies. How come there are no old monsters at the innate realm seventh layer and beyond in the present day? Apocalypse, the main world's experts joined forces to fight the demons from beyond. The main world's experts joined forces to fight the demons from beyond. The main world is a breeding ground for greater demons. The main world is a breeding ground for greater demon. Those who have harmonized with the Tao have ascended to a higher realm. Could it be that a disaster once struck the world, which killed all experts at the innate realm seventh layer and beyond? Is that what caused this stagnant situation today? Brett, you are suitable to work at the Heavenly Star. Inheritance Elder. It's the evil old guy who spits tea on people. Greetings, Inheritance Elder. What brings you here? I was taking a walk in the sect. I wanted to discuss a few matters with the matriarch, but I didn't expect to run into you while you were letting your imagination loose. Actually, it is not as complicated as you think. It is just a slump, that's all. For many decades, not just the nine great demonic sects of the Han Empire, even among righteous sects, the imperial court, as well as other empires, no talents appeared. Even with the existence of the Tao upsurge, the mediocre will still remain mediocre. Isn't it normal that they cannot ascend even when given the opportunity? All forces experience decline? Isn't it too much of a coincidence? Did some kind of calamity really appear back then? It was indeed a coincidence. Later, people thought it was absurd, but reality is reality. You can check the historical records of the martial arts community. The history of over a thousand years is well documented with evidence. Moreover, the historical records of other countries also corroborate each other where did a catastrophe come from. There are only so many distinguished innate realm experts. Who lives and who dies, whether they disappeared or were killed, such facts are impossible to hide. But what about the previous generation's innate master? Where have all they gone? You die when your life is over, where else will you go? Even if only two or three experts at the innate realm ninth layer are left in this world, they don't live long. Unless they ascend to the heavenly realm, they can't live past the age of 100. Death? I don't think so. Originally, I judged others by my standards and presumed that the lifespan of an innate realm expert is no different from that of an ordinary person. However, I have personally fought an expert at the innate realm fifth layer. At that level, the true energy wasn't different from a living creature. It cannot only perform the techniques, theoretically it can even remodel the body, repair damaged cells and tissues, and restore a person's original essence. Immortality may be far-fetched, but an expert should be able to extend their lifespan and experience several periods of Tao upsurges, even if they face injury, illnesses, or calamities. How is it possible that there are only two or three experts at the innate realm ninth layer in the entire world? Wait a minute, didn't you say that the remaining innate realm ninth layer experts can't live beyond 100 years? How is that possible? Life expectancy is not limited to a 100 years. You can actually comprehend this truth at such a young age. Xie Yin Yu Brett, 
you really are special, if only. Even if you realize that something doesn't make sense, how long will your confusion last? Eh? My lord, look. Is this a celestial anomaly? Why are all the stars gathered at one place? This is not a celestial anomaly. The constellations are returning to their places. Everyone is greeting the North Star as it descends, and the purple forbidden enclosure is effulgent. Looks like that guy has returned. Another century is over in a flash. Time and again, this old fart refuses to give up, does he? Old fart? Who are you talking about, inheritance elder? It's just an old friend you've never met before. Even if I told you, you wouldn't recognize him. Let's not talk about this celestial phenomenon. By the way, you asked me a question just now, right? Want to return to the topic? Did I ask question just now? Apart from the topic of cultivation decline, did I ask you another question? No, you didn't ask any question. It is just that I get confused due to my old age. Anyways, it's getting late. You should go and rest now. The road ahead is long. Let's go. Let's watch. Three days later, sect leader, I have brought them over. Where should I put them? Thank you. Just put them into the brazier over there. You, this formation, is it some kind of ritual? Yes. The mysterious power isolating the two cultivation techniques in your body is too strong, so I have to manipulate it through some ritual. Ores, flowers, incense, and strange wood, these materials. Look weird. Chinger, it's okay. Come back. Everything is ready. Let's start now. Spirit in the stone, burned into smoke. Pray for responses. Manifest and transform. Smoke woven into a net, heaven is warp and earth is weft. Solidify this sanctuary to calm souls. This ritual doesn't look like something in the main world. Origin spirit observation ritual. You, where did you learn this ritual? Phew. It's my secret. Treasures of the celestial civilization once appeared in the main world. Could it be that something from the magic world was also left here? But you has been in her closed cultivation and hasn't gone out recently. Did she find this mysterious ritual when she traveled around the world before? Get in. Let me see whether this ritual works or not. The mysterious power in your body is double-edged. Although it can separate the two contradictory cultivation techniques and prevent you from chi deviation, it's too rigid and eliminates every possible way of the fusion and transformation of the two kinds of internal power, which seriously hinders the improvement of your cultivation base. I need to use this ritual to find out this mysterious power, and then use this power to affect the two kinds of contradictory internal power in your body so that they can blend together. Found it. I knew it would work. Origin Spirit Observation Ritual can be used to observe 12,000 types of special secret power. The mysterious power in your body is indeed among them. Now I am more confident that I can help you combine the two cultivation techniques. This ritual is awesome. It can reveal the invisible barrier that the system used to forcibly separate finger of flowery swords and demonic art of Moro. Now it's time to move on to the next step. I am going to make some preparations. You take off your clothes and wait for me here. What? Take off my clothes? You, is this why you asked me to take off my clothes? I have no choice. I know how finger of flowery swords works, but the technique you secretly learned from Shinma sect is unfamiliar to me. If you don't take off your clothes, I can't make accurate judgments. I will feel guilty if something goes wrong. But, isn't it? A sauna? With this ritual, I can use my internal power to guide the mysterious power in your body and make it change slowly so that the two kinds of internal power can gradually combine together. The barrier that is used to separate demonic art of Moro and finger of flowery swords is changed by some external forces. The process of combining cultivation techniques is passively activated. Do you want to stop the external interference? Yes, no. 
you can spend 10,000 origin points to forcibly combine demonic art of Moro and finger of flowery swords, ignoring any drawbacks. These two kinds of internal power can be used in parallel and freely converted as you wish. Yes, no use method is recognized by the system. But the second prompt. Damn the garbage system. Right after the sect leader got a solution for me, you popped out and provided me with the option of combination. In your dreams. I won't spend any origin point this time. I'm gonna click no. C-A-N, don't move. If something goes wrong, what I did before will be in vain. Oh, okay. I am just a bit nervous. You can't see the system panel. Sure enough, the system is still superior to this mysterious ritual. This ritual can be used to observe various kinds of mysterious power, but at most, it can sense the power that the system used to separate finger of flowery swords and demonic art of Moro. It's of no use if it really deals with the system directly. Don't be nervous. Stay still. I am going to activate it with all my strength. One hour later. The combining process of Finger of Flowery Swords and Demonic Art of Moro is 1.672%. Warning! The system barrier has been broken. Your chi will deviate at any time before the combining process is complete. You can spend 10,000 origin points to forcibly combine Demonic Art of Moro and Finger of Flowery Swords, ignoring any drawbacks. These two kinds of internal power can be used in parallel and freely converted as you wish. Yes, no. Humph. You want to tempt me again? Do you think I will choose you since you give me a discount? Goodbye. You, are you all right? I'm fine. I'm just feeling a bit unwell after consuming too much mental power. No, mental exhaustion is different from other injuries. It's a waste to use Finger of Nirvana to heal me. Finger of Nirvana, let me recover slowly. The mysterious power in your body is too strong. I underestimated the difficulty and failed to help you complete the combination in one go. I just scratched the surface. It will take about two months to complete the combining process. You need to come here every day during this period. Will you feel bored with it? Not at all. Not to mention being with you for two months, even for two years, I will enjoy it very much. Stop kidding. All right, let's get down to business. During this period, don't use the internal power. Otherwise, you will suffer chi deviation. It's very important. Bear it in mind. Got it. Two months later, on a barren mountain in the Han Empire, Finger of Flowery Swords and Demonic Art of Moro have combined completely without any drawbacks. These two kinds of internal power can be used in parallel and freely converted as you wish. How's it going, Master? The effort you and I made for the past two months has paid off. Now the two kinds of internal power in my body can coexist. Demonic art of Moro and finger of flowery swords can be exerted at the same time. Moro body, in this way, I can literally use all the techniques I have. Spirit summoning. So, you can finally fight other people with your clones every time, right? Not only that, with Moro clone and the sword spirits, I can have one-on-one -on -one fights or group fights as I wish. Those evil sex formations won't catch me anymore. Huh? It feels like the demonic power is restless. Could it be? My cultivation level has raised? Master, what happened just now? I didn't expect such a gain after combining my cultivation techniques. My previous level was the third level of the pre-celestial stage slash the second level of the pre-celestial stage slash transmutation stage, which corresponds to flowery sword power and demonic power in sequence. Current cultivation level, the third level of the pre-celestial stage slash transmutation stage. Remaining origin points, 14,926.65824, and now, demonic power has upgraded under the influence of flowery sword power. Both of them are stable at the third level of the pre-celestial stage, so the system just got the labels into one. Not only did these two techniques get more powerful, 
but many other techniques that were restrained by my cultivation level before can be exerted now. That's to say, demonic art of Moro and finger of flowery swords can boost each other. I just need to improve either one of them, the other one will be improved along. Up here, and on the other hand, I can use flowery sword power to activate demonic art of Moro. Transform. Finger of flowery swords is strong in attacks, but weak in changes, while demonic art of Moro is changeable yet without aggression. Now the two of them complement each other, flowery body. I can finally showcase all my abilities in the world as charming J child. Master, why do I feel you are in a bad mood after you got back to M.O. Ching sect? Wasn't the technique test going well? I am suddenly aware of a problem. Origin points have increased slowly again. Swipe. It's not right. Theoretically, Sky 7 and Sky 12 wouldn't have the intention of betraying me or slack off after being inserted heart triggers. Master is indeed concerned too much over origin points. I guess it must be that some part of it has gone wrong. I need to go have a check. But then again, origin points stop producing from time to time, for which the problem of production pattern can't be ruled out. The branch of bloodthirst sect, whole town, G. Genia's attention has been drawn to Elder Moro. Although I intended to frame Bliss Sky, I may need to make some changes to Immortal Sky for the long run. Huh? Something goes wrong here. Master, were they under attack? Obviously, but the fight didn't happen here judging from the surroundings. They probably ran into some unexpected situation and withdrew to Hulu Town. Then what should we do now? Are we still getting in? Of course. But given the current situation, it will be a bit embarrassing if I get in as Elder Moro. It's obvious that Immortal Sky is in trouble and the morale is low. If I show up as Elder Moro but can't solve the problem, it will only damage my reputation. I'm going to show them some new tricks. More than 20 disciples were killed and about a dozen disciples blew themselves up to get rid of the pursuit. We suffered huge losses this time. Damn it. I thought we were just to eliminate an imposter as we did before, but I didn't expect to confront a hard nut. If it weren't for an accident at that time, I am afraid you and I would have been killed on the spot. What should we do now? That man is stronger than us. If he extends his power without restraint, Elder Moro's immortal lights will be affected again. If Elder Moro lays the blame on us, we can't afford to bear it. And I feel that this imposter aims big. If he seizes the opportunity, I am afraid, you and I, who are responsible for preaching the belief of immortal sky, will be the first to suffer. Oh? Are the two of you so afraid of him? Is it because the enemy is too strong, or you guys are too useless? Who is this woman? How did she suddenly appear here? She is a master at the third level of the pre-celestial stage. Could it be? I see demonic grab she was sent by that guy. Rumble Sky cracked like man's scarlet fist. This, this aura. Back off. W who the hell are you? Who am I? Since when did the disciples of Immortal Sky not even recognize their fellows? I'm Shang Wan Yao, Elder Moro's messenger. I was instructed to conduct an inspection here. I am under Elder Moro's order. Are you trying to defy it? My body. This reaction, it's undoubtedly a high-level devil gospel art. Sky 12, Sky 7, a disciple of Immortal Sky, pay respects to Miss Messenger. Kneel. Hee hee, it's been a long time since I used the Transfiguration J mantra last time. It looks more authentic than before. Chinger has made so much progress that the effect of the Transfiguration mantra has greatly improved. It basically won't fail as long as I don't go all out to fight. It is most appropriate to pose as someone from the small world in the main world. I'm going to fabricate a few more identities as Elder Moro's messengers. This way the legends about Immortal Sky in the world will become elusive, adding to the mystique of the sect. Humph. That's the attitude you should have. But still, it's odd. I thought you could figure out my identity only by my looks. 
but judging from your reaction, you didn't bow your heads at once, but attack me instead, either the two of you have bad intentions, or something has gone wrong. Does it have something to do with the enemy you were talking about? Sorry that we didn't recognize you right away. It's just that someone posed as Elder Moro to confuse us. We mistook you for him. That's why we showed no respect. I heard that someone pretended to be Elder Moro, but they were just self-righteous scoundrels. How could you mistake Elder Moro for someone else this time? That guy is different from the previous ones. He has not only expanded his power under the name of Immortal Sky, but also posed as Elder Moro and mastered a technique similar to Elder Moro's. About ten days ago, we got the news that someone killed people as sacrifices and recruited believers on the border between the Tang Empire and the Han Empire under the name of Immortal Sky. For the past few months, we have wiped out many similar impostors. So this time, we went to suppress with the disciples without thinking too much. But when we fought him, we found that his cultivation base was above the two of us. He should be at the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage. What's more, the evil internal power from that fake Elder Moro was so similar to that of our Elder Moro. At first glance, we all mistook him for the real one. Of course, when we fought him head on, we found that he was way weaker than Elder Moro. We are no match for him, but we will try our best to eliminate this trouble. However, according to some information, after he made trouble at the border for a while, this fares. Elder Moro ran to the Tang Empire and disappeared for the time being. Fuck. He only not imitated my face with a mask on, but also imitated my technique. The imitation techniques have been developed quite well. The point is, as a level 4 pre-celestial stage cultivator, how dare he pose as Elder Moro? He was tarnishing my reputation. Sky 7 and Sky 12 are not strong enough, and the business mode of Immortal Sky is too rough. It finally hits a bottleneck. I have to solve this matter personally this time. Humph, a small fry dares to profane Elder Moro. He is courting death. I will report it to Elder Moro. You guys don't need to think about how to fight back. Just make use of Bloodthirst Sex Information System to keep investigating this guy. I will come back to ask you for intelligence later. Got it. From this inspection, I can tell that the two of you are loyal. I believe Elder Moro will surely be glad about it. Don't neglect immortal lights. But if there are obstacles when killing people as sacrifices, the conflict will inevitably escalate. I will make a request to Elder Moro to look for a new developing mode for Immortal Sky. But it will take time to make a plan. You two just follow the previous pattern for the time being. Miss Messenger, we have something else to report. What you said just now makes a point. The current methods alone are far from enough to promote Elder Moro's reputation. Only by constantly broadening our horizons and developing new methods can the Disciples of Immortal Sky overcome all difficulties and achieve our mission. Immortal Sky's five-year development plan, How to Preach, we've also thought about the concerns that you were talking about. During these months, we've been working hard and thinking about how to develop our G great cause of Immortal Sky. These two sets of plans are our initial ideas. Please take them back and let Elder Moro review them. Oh my. These two lazy guys have been in a rat race after being inserted with heart triggers. They have already treated the development of Immortal Sky as their own cause. Okay. I will help you deliver them. And Elder Moro will give the final say. Koo, it's too complicated. I can't comprehend it. Don't force yourself. Sky 7 and Sky 12 are smart and capable. The things they came up with are a bit difficult for you to understand. Ideas like reorganizing believers of Immortal Sky, redesigning doctrines, adopting the principle of no evil, no saving and fighting against the fake Moro are all to break with the past. Among all of these, there are indeed some feasible proposals. Are you going to take their advice? No, I brought up the drawbacks of Immortal Sky as a messenger just for paving the way for the readjustment in the future, not for now. Besides, what they proposed are some common ways to expand an organization. 
If I really make adjustments based on their suggestions, Elder Moro's means may no longer be able to suppress the believers. Therefore, it's better to put them on hold, and we will see to it after my demonic art of Moro upgrades. After all, judging from the current capability of Moro's seed, I might be able to spread the gospel more efficiently after I upgrade it. As long as the believers can gain something when they are praying, their piety will prevail over any doctrines or rituals. Are you so sure of it? But now the production of the origin points has declined. We have no idea when we will get enough origin points to upgrade. Things will work out. After Sky 7 and Sky 12 get the information about that fake Moro, I will go to the Tang Empire. I have a hunch that I will probably get a large number of origin points very soon. Alright, it's about time to go to the main hall for a meeting. The elders in charge of investigating G. Genia have already come back. Let's make a closure to this matter. Okay. From the information I got, in the past two months, various versions of the truth about Shilon matter have emerged from Skystar. Some people said the one who set up the two evil sects was from the Zhang family from Hiniai City, the Wang family from Inchuan City, or the Song family from Luqing City. Another saying is that the chaos in the Xilan kingdom was originally a fight between the two evil sections the D family mediated between them and made up a mastermind to cover up the truth. What is even more outrageous is that all of that was the fight among the nine evil sects, and the final winner was Xinma sect. Anyway, Every saying has a point and is more reasonable than the saying that the chaos was caused by the remnant of the former dynasty. On the contrary, nothing is found from the G family. In my opinion, it wasn't just a rumor from the beginning. Because of this, Changu suffered unnecessary hardship this time. As my master said, only when I got back home, did I find out that not just our sect was investigating G. Genia because of the rumors, some other sects were also investigating him, and what they did was outrageous. They not only blatantly went to search my family's residence at night, but also used force to pry out information several times. They even dug up my elder's grave to check it out. My father got so angry and fell ill after he heard about it. But now the most powerful person in my family is G. Yuntao. He has seldom gotten back since he went to Taishian sect, and there has been no news of him recently. Our family could do nothing about it without him. If it weren't for the local prefecture chief sending guards over, I am afraid the entire residence would be turned over by those people. Judging from the G family's response, it doesn't look like they have a powerful master. Even if they are saving their strength and trying to keep a low profile, shouldn't we first question the authenticity of the rumor before we find evidence? They've gone too far, poor Senior G. Indeed. According to Jing Wu Sex Information System, most people in the G family in the Jiangnan region are not cultivators and rarely show up in the martial society. It really doesn't seem that they are hiding some power, their reputation in the imperial court doesn't stand out among noble families either. There are many families like them in the Ham Empire. Even if they colluded with the remnants of the former dynasty, it would be wishful thinking if they tried to overturn the current dynasty. So in the final analysis, we worried too much. Could it be that I made a mistake? The G Genia I'm looking for and the one from the G family are just namesakes? Speaking of which, I do only know the name, damn it. Did I really make a mistake? If so, it will be too embarrassing. Lingxian, don't you have anything to say? I am afraid the people you sent out didn't find anything, did they? Indeed. However, I realized something else after hearing the results from your guys. These contradictory messages came out too coincidentally. So much information has spread all over in just a few months. It is not something that an ordinary force can do even with the help of Skystar. Someone is trying to confuse us and conceal the truth. However, it doesn't matter to us whether this person is from the G family or whether G. Genia J exists or not. The Imperial Court should worry about this matter the most, but it didn't react much to it, which is very unusual. Either the Imperial Court has long been aware of it but afraid of alerting the enemy, or there are people from the other side in the Imperial Court and they have weakened the influence deliberately. Either way, it proves one thing that the Han Empire is really going to be in chaos. 
I assume that you must have predicted this result before today, right, sect leader? We just need to do what we can to investigate the G family in the Jiangnan region. It will be good if we can prevent and get rid of threats when some powerful masters try to make trouble secretly. Shinsi hasn't come back yet since she was instructed to visit the other evil sects, trying to unite them in advance. Now that we haven't found anything, we will only take a backup plan and protect our sect first. We need to try our best to keep our sect from getting involved and from damage that might be caused by the possible chaos. Give out my order. From now on, cease all expansion plans of the sect towards the outside and focus on the core industries. We shall all keep our heads down, especially the branches located in the Jiangnan region and the capital. The Grand Elder and the Second Elder will be fully in charge of this matter. The Third Elder to contact the Righteous Sex and the Fifth Elder to monitor the movements in the material world. Everyone must stay prudent before we further confirm your enemy's movement. Got it. Are we going to deal with those old men from the Righteous Sex? That will be really frustrating. We have no other choice. We have become obscure for years, and we have to resume the relations we formed before. If the martial world is about to be in chaos, the battle between the righteous sects and the evil sects may repeat itself. What happened to Taishian sect is still vivid. We have to take some precautions. Speaking of the relations with the righteous sects, if Elder Gongsun were still here, Xian Ji wouldn't need to start it over, Elder Gongsun? Do we have such a person in the sect? Why has no one mentioned her? No one would mention her as it's an old story. She is my senior. Back then, she had a conflict with the previous sect leader and left for the Tang Empire out of anger. It has been nearly 20 years since then. It's hard to say who was right and who was wrong in that matter. A few years before our master died, she always regretted her decision, saying that if she had gotten over it earlier, Elder Gongsun might have been willing to come back. It's not too late now. As far as I know, she has settled in Dongdu City in recent years, but her life hasn't been great. Perhaps she has already had thoughts of returning to Maoqing Sect. I didn't try to contact her a few years ago because no one in the sect was able to suppress her. But you have reached the sixth level of the pre-celestial stage. I think we don't need to be scared of her now. After we solve this matter, I will take some time to go to the Tang Empire to find her and try to get her back. You want to go? Do you mean that you want to go to Dongdu City of the Tang Empire to get Elder Gongsun back? But, you don't need to do so. After all, you and she don't even know each other. I am afraid it won't work if you go to persuade her, don't worry, you. If I really can't persuade her to return, I will just send a letter to her to sound her out for the sect. I want to go to the Tang Empire, but not specifically for this matter. But it will be great if I can help you solve this problem along the way. Why don't you let me have a try? You indeed think about the sect all the time. I thought after you came back from the Shilan Kingdom, you would get some rest in the sect for months and go to visit some evil sects with Shinsi, but you always keep yourself busy, since you have made up your mind, I won't stop you. I will write a letter and you can bring it along and I will compile the information of forces in the Tang Empire into a book. You can learn it on the way and get prepared. This matter is not as easy as I imagined. Judging from the experiences alone, this former elder of Maoqing sect is not an ordinary woman. When she was young, she was only second to the Grand Elder in terms of beauty before the Grand Elder cultivated demonic mantra. She had already reached the pre-celestial stage and surprised all with a peerless sword dance. She did it before the emperors of the Han Empire and the Tang Empire, and thus became a legend for a while. Later, she fell in love with the young master of the second strongest sect in the Tang Empire and married him regardless of the objection of the sect. Well, well, she was a legendary woman who dared express her love and hate directly. The second strongest sect in the Tang Empire? Compared with Xinma sect, which one is more powerful? It's hard to say. Although the Han Empire and the Tang Empire are adjacent, the customs of the two countries are quite different. Compared with the Han Empire, the Tang Empire is more inclined towards the worship of strength. 
their forces are not as detached as the righteous sects and evil sects in the Han Empire. According to Yu's statements, all sects in the Tang Empire could participate in the governance of the country. Except for the emperor, all officials come from the martial society. Perhaps, they don't care much about the difference between the righteous sects and the evil sects compared with the Han Empire. Heavenly Evil Sect is in charge of the Ministry of Wars, one of the six ministries in the Tang Empire. The disciples of the sect are fierce and brave. Although it ranks second, it has a faint tendency to surpass Huanchi Sect. The man whom Elder Gongsun married is the current sect leader of Heavenly Evil Sect and also the Minister of the Ministry of Wars in the Tang Empire. It's not an overstatement that he has a standing both in the martial society and in the imperial court. Judging from Elder Gongsuan's husband's status, no wonder she would choose to stay here. It feels that the mission this time will be tricky. I regret that I made a response when hearing the Tang Empire, Master, you're giving up a bit too quickly. There's no rush about the fake Moro. Sky 7 and Sky 12 haven't tracked down that guy at all. Looks like I need to go back to Hull Town by teleportation magic circles several times to wait for their news when I am on my way to the Tang Empire. It's really inconvenient to have no means of remote communication. Anyway, it's rare to visit a foreign country, so I'm going to seize this opportunity to make a name for myself in the land of the Tang Empire. After crossing the Ulu River, we will enter the territory of the Tang Empire. The only branch of Skystar in the Tang Empire is by the river. Hooray! I want to go there for the latest chapter of Sinful Love series. It should have been updated. Why would you fall for that? It's simply a mixture of gossip, even martial society gossip is more serious than it. It is interesting. I want to read the latest chapter. A while later lose on town in the Tang Empire Sky Star Tea House. Master, do we get to the wrong place? Is this branch a fake one? Er, let's go inside and check it out. Waiter, a pot of tea here. Okay. Sir, would you like to get accommodation or buy books? Our store collects news from both empires and keeps up with the focus and hot topics. You could see what interests you. This is our menu. Please take a look. Yeah, it's a real one. Master, I want the latest chapter of Sinful Love series. Give me a copy of the customs of the Tang Empire and Sky Star's records of news across the Tang Empire and the latest chapter of Sinful Love series. How come it is still the G Family Rising that updated the month before last? It's not the latest one. Enjoy yourself, sir. There is a lag in information in remote areas. It's reasonable that a few chapters are lagging behind as this branch is already in another country. Most of them are old news and made-up stories. Only the titles of the number one scholar of Flower Festival in Dongdu City and Swordsmanship Enlightenment at the Sword Monument are a bit interesting, and the others are rumors without details. What does it mean by there are two days to go before the offering in the most striking place? Only ordinary people are here and no cultivators are seen. It's really tough to do cross-border business. Wu Shug. It's starting to get windy. Aren't there two more days to go? Don't panic. We still have one and a half baskets of offerings. I think it should be acceptable. What? Hey, buddy, it's merely getting windy. Why would these people react dramatically? You must be here for the first time. Don't worry. It is just that sometimes there is monkey rain when it gets windy here. Master, look. Wow. Zero, it's really monkey rain. Turns out that the offering refers to giving food to monkeys. It's weird. They work with each other so well. They should have done it for a while. That is. The offering is half a box less. Origin points gained. Miss 0.01 Sierra Ran. Cough, why is she here? Do you know her? Sierra Ran. Huh? Is she your sister who I haven't met before? Interesting. I've never seen a man in the world who chokes on water yet still stays elegant. 
Come with me, so I won't hold you accountable for the half a box of offerings lacking. That's merciful. Sir, why don't you go with the Divine Monkey King? She won't give you a hard time. Don't worry. We will get you back when we get enough offerings. She is a good monkey guarding this place. Chinger, take away all the irrelevant passers-by. Okay, I am on it. It's been a long time, Ran. None Simeon let you out, so has your cultivation base met the requirement of going out? Go away. Don't disturb them. What rags is she wearing? He keeps a female ghost and allows her to drive people away. Humph. Tiptoe. You know my name, but you called me by my nickname. Did you come here for me? Huh? However, I prefer to take the initiative. Man, you are playing with fire. What the hell? How dare you flirt with your brother? Are you out of your mind? Sierra Ann is sarcastic, but she isn't as eccentric as she is now. Has she suffered chi deviation when cultivating techniques of lotus nunnery? Swoosh. 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 Stop it, Sierra Ann. She doesn't listen to me at all. Has she really suffered chi deviation? Although her attacks are disorderly, her aura, has she already reached the first level of the pre-celestial stage? Stop struggling. You have only two choices, go with me, or be conquered by me before going with me. Disdain. Sierra Ann, you are overreaching yourself and need to be taught a lesson. Crack chatter. Master, I have inquired about your sister. She. Fifteen minutes later. What's wrong with her? She is out of her mind and disobedient. Have you learned why she's become like this? She has some hidden wounds, but they are not serious enough to affect her mind. Her internal power works well, so it's not about chi deviation. All I've got is when she came here and why she became the Monkey King. There is no martial arts sect in Luzon Town. Half a month ago, a cruel killer appeared in the town and robbed kids to cultivate some evil technique. It was your sister who led a group of monkeys to fight him off. However, the killer was still wandering around, so Skystar set up a deal with your sister. When it gets windy, people here offer food to your sister, while she stays here to prevent the killer from coming back. So that killer made you become like this when you were fighting? Given that you could fight him off, I suppose he isn't very powerful. There is no reason that I can't see through his trick. It surprises me that you can tell that I went through a tough fight. That evil man's techniques were strange. If it weren't for the protection of the Buddha's light, I am afraid that I would have been killed. Behave yourself. I am your brother. Where is that killer? Lead the way. Bang. If the killer isn't the reason, I will have to consider putting her into the pot and bringing her back to ask the sect leader what on earth happened to her. Lotus Nunnery is too unreliable, ignoring a disciple who suffers chi deviation after cultivation. Those wild monkeys in the mountain are quite smart, so I intended to enlighten some of them. But I didn't expect a bad guy to occupy the mountain and hurt innocent kids. My power only enabled me to trap him in the mountain. It will be best if you can kill him. It is a pity that those monkeys need to be tamed again as they were frightened by you so much. Huh? She is acting like the sub hoodie and a monkey at the same time. Monkey sub hoodie? Master, there is strong ying chi in the mountain. I suspect that the killer also keeps ghosts. How about I get in there with the fast shift mantra, ghost hunt mantra to get him out? Okay, do it. Why do you look distressed? You tell me. I am wondering if you intend to piss me off so that you can keep my confidence to yourself. I met a Buddhist cultivator before. She was no different from ordinary people except that she was too talented and enlightened too frequently. But why would you have such an extreme change when it came to you? What am I supposed to be in your eyes? In my eyes? Quiet, well-behaved and smart. A little naughty and stubborn, but overall, you are a good kid. When you were little, you satirized everyone fair and square. But you only did that to me when you grew up and became sensible. 
That was not cute. Am I not Sierran if I am not well behaved and sensible? Sierran is a good daughter and a good disciple, and she only goes wild a little bit in front of her elder brother. She has been living by the conventional standards, responding to the rules that the world set for her as Sierran. Am I not Sierran if I don't behave in the way I did before? Ran. What are you wrestling with? We are always changing. Besides, your mind is inevitably widened when you are traveling around now. If you remain where you were after wandering around the world, wouldn't the purpose of your journey be deemed a failure? Whether it's the well-behaved and sensible you from the past, or the rebellious you now, she is actually troubled by questions like who am I, so she is just going through puberty. Thank goodness. It's a false alarm. It's all you. Wait. This feeling is. He he, got you. Huh? The mantra of the son of heaven. Oh no. Chinger. The righteous aura leveled the entire mountain. The bad guy in the mountain must be dead. Awesome. Chinger was seriously hurt by this punch. However, by this aura, I can't believe that Ji Yuntao has reached the third level of the pre-celestial stage. Xie Yan? What is he doing here? Mr. Yuntao, long time no see. You presented me with my big gift upon our meeting. Mr. Xie, I am really sorry for that. I tracked down a person from an evil sect hiding in this mountain. I found that all the living things here were killed and refined by him. That was why I would use such a powerful move. I didn't expect your ghost to appear out of the blue. I couldn't undo my attack once it was launched. I hope you won't blame me. If I'm not mistaken, your ghost should be the same as the one I fought in Jiangling City, right? Even though she is deathless, she must feel bad after being attacked by my move. This ain't preserving pill is for living creatures, but it is also beneficial to ghosts. Please let her take it after she recovers. Please accept it as my apology. It's okay. Fighting the evil and helping the good is your job. I understand. He didn't leave me a chance to lose my temper at all. However, there is an uproar in the Ji family, yet Ji Yuntao still has time to take care of things here in the Tang Empire. Since we met here, would you like to clear up the doubt for me? Recently, there has been a rumor that the Ji family is trying to usurp the throne. I wonder if it's true. This news came from Skystar, right? It's merely a hearsay. You know Skystar. The news is all fake. Fortunately, the Imperial Court didn't believe it. Otherwise, our family would be screwed up this time. I don't know who has been defaming my family. It's indeed an unexpected catastrophe for us. Yeah, that's what I thought. There is nothing unusual with him, and he didn't provide any negative origin points either. So either I was wrong at the beginning, or even Ji Yuntao doesn't know the whole story of the Ji family. By the way, this girl is. She is Sierran, my sister and a disciple of Lotus Nunnery. She is traveling around now. Ran, this is Ji Yuntao, also known as Child Warm Jade. You are a disciple of Lotus Nunnery? Nice to meet you, Mr. G. It's a great deed to fight the evil and help the good. I am so impressed. I've never seen you before, but you look kind as if you are my old acquaintance. Isn't it nice to treat today as a reunion after a long separation? How about I take you as my younger brother and you join me for? Ha ha, she is just kidding. I don't know what's wrong with her. She's changed a lot and she didn't act like this normally. Don't be ridiculous. Stop messing around. It's okay. I'm just surprised that she is a disciple of Lotus Nunnery. However, Lotus Nunnery and Marching Sect. It's all fate. I don't agree with the cultivation methods of Lotus Nunnery, but she is my sister. I can't leave her alone. You rejected to betray Marching Sect before. It's the retribution that you are grappling with in your current place of belonging. Sierran. Miss Sierran's state is very similar to some kind of Buddhist cultivation that Dao Yun told me about. 
What? Isn't it because she is in puberty? When Dao Yun and I debated on Tao in the past, we talked about Buddhist cultivation methods, so I know a little about Lotus Nunnery's pre-celestial stage cultivation method 7 Clear Emotions Mirroring Lotus Heart. According to Dao Yun, this method requires extremely high talent. Those who are not talented enough cannot learn it. With feelings as a mirror and Buddha's heart as one's own heart, the lotus heart is nourished with one's emotions and desires. With emotions as a base and memories as a weapon, every experience and understanding of the world of the cultivators will turn into the nourishment for lotus hearts until they bloom. By then, the cultivators will completely master this method. In order to maintain the purity of lotus hearts, disciples of lotus nunnery rarely deal with evil sects, especially marching sect. Ahem, we may talk about this later. I see. Emotions and desires are all provided for the lotus heart. Wouldn't one become walking dead? This cultivation method is even more horrible than those of the evil sex. I don't know much about it, but if that's its only effect, lotus nunnery wouldn't make it one of the three Buddhist sects in the Han Empire. Controlling the growth of the lotus heart and the balance of emotions is always a problem for the cultivators. According to your sister's current state, she is like closing off herself and stopping providing nourishment to her lotus heart. Everything she does now is out of her subconscious. Stay out of the influence of the lotus heart, put her consciousness into a mysterious state, expose her subconscious and watch herself speak and act. When her subconscious comes around and reconciles with her consciousness, this mysterious state will end. She will get back to the one you know quite well. When her subconscious comes around, do all Buddhist cultivation methods have this feature? Xia Daoyun went through this. Now it happens to Xia Ran. Too many thoughts only accumulate karma. It's really troublesome to be a human being. Xia Ran, a philosophical girl. Mr. Yuntao, since you have solved your tracking target, what are you going to do next? Shut up. He wasn't actually the person I intended to track down. I just killed him incidentally. He was not from the Tang Empire, but a new pre-celestial stage cultivator of Chongling sect from the Han Empire. A few months ago, the fight between Chongling sect and Xinma sect became intense. Many disciples of Chongling sect crossed the border of the Tang Empire. They killed people and refined their souls to strengthen their sect. Oh, no wonder Ching'er sensed an aura of ghosts. Turns out it's from Chongling Sect. Chongling Sect is a horrible evil sect and notoriously defends their men blindly. I am afraid you might be in trouble since you killed one of their disciples accidentally. Never mind. Chongling Sect has suffered a great loss after fighting Xinma Sect. It's doubtful that they have spare manpower to get even with me. Moreover, since I ran into that evil man, of course, I would not just stand aside and do nothing. You are indeed awe-inspiring, Mr. Yuntao. Ji Yuntao is absolutely a man of peace. I am flattered. By the way, are you traveling around the Tang Empire? There is one thing you need to know. Oh? Just some time ago, Wei Qi Shuang, the disciple of Wendao sect, the strongest evil sect in the Han Empire, set up a sword monument in Chengdu City and announced that she would like to challenge all swordsmen of her generation in the Tang Empire. Although they are just challenges, not life and death battles, she has already injured many people, so now people of the Tang Empire, especially those in Chengdu City, are unfriendly to the people of the Han Empire. If you go there, you may be affected by it. She is so arrogant. Turns out Wei Qi Shuang came here after the Nine Sex meeting. Luckily, I am going to Dongdu City, which is far from Chengdu City. I shouldn't be affected. I need to keep chasing my target. I'm gonna leave now. Take care, Mr. Xie. I hope you won't come a cropper in the Tang Empire. Ha ha, see you around. See you around. In the low mountain, he is as quiet as a white lotus and as nimble as a murderous weapon. He would be my perfect follower, but you just let him go. I may not be able to subdue him. You want him to be your follower? In your dreams. The disciple of Chongling sect, who was killed, shouldn't be wasted. I can take him back to feed the pot. 
Enough for Ji Yuntao. Let's talk about you. Did Nun Simei know that you came here? You are underage. Even if she couldn't take care of you personally, she should send someone to follow you. How could she leave everything on your own? Even a little kid knows how to choose between long-term benefits and temporary mistakes. Don't worry. She will understand me. What do you mean? Make it clear. You are indeed thick skull. Let me explain it in detail then. So you sneaked out and crossed the border into this country. How could you be so fearless, Sierran? I have Skystar as my guarantor. It's a special case, so it's okay. You really piss me off. Master, hum, in preserving pills sent by Ji Yuntao, Swallow Chinger, keep an eye on her. I need to find out where the dead man of Chongling sect is. If I keep staying with her, either she will drive me mad or I will beat her to death. I'll be right back. You two stay here. Don't go around. Push, hold, grunt master, wait. Your name is Chinger? He is indeed influenced by those bad women of marching sect. He has even kept a female ghost. Humph. That's not true. Master disciplines himself strictly. It's always others seducing him. Don't defend him. You are merely covering up the fact. Chinger, remaining human desires and passion will only distract you. When will you make a breakthrough and reach excellence then? I can tell that you are smart. I can give Yoga some guidance and help you out of the hardship as soon as possible. What? The pot can absorb him, but somehow it feels as if it would dislike him as he is of no big use. But he is still at the first level of the pre-celestial stage. It's indeed hard to support this treasure. However, I didn't expect this dead man to be of good use in the first place, so I am not too disappointed. I am back. Ran, did you guys behave yourselves? You're back. What have you done to Chinger? She has strong comprehension. Why don't you let her cultivate with me? She will surely reach excellence over time. Chinger, stop it. Wake up. Who am I? Where am I? I don't need it. Chinger is my guardian spirit, closely related to my soul. I will be very distressed if you pray for the salvation of her soul. You mean if I chant sutras for her, you will gradually become abstinent and unworldly in the end. Do you really want me to be a monk? Ji Yintao said your cultivation succeeds only when your subconscious comes around. Come with me to Dongdu City first. After I get things done there, I will keep you company until your subconscious comes around. What am I going to do? What am I, Humph? I will do what you said because I like you. After all, I enjoy freedom and hate constraint. Chinger, you are quite smart. Come here. Let me teach you, daughter, you know. I don't want to listen to your nonsense. I'm going to sew your mouth shut. Sierra Ran. Calm down. You can't do that. I still need to stay in the town for another day to settle the monkeys and say goodbye to the people here. Three days later, Xiaoman Town, the Tang Empire, what's going on ahead? It looks quite lively. I seem to hear someone calling Mr. G. Looks like you two have a strong connection. Mr. G. My savior. Mr. Sia? Miss Sia? Holy shit. We set out two days later than he did. How come we met him again? What a coincidence. I didn't expect us to meet again so soon. Indeed, what happened to you? Why are the people of the town grateful for your M? It's no big deal. I just passed by a few days ago, finding that Su Ching, a bloody robber, plundered treasure and killed the people here, so I killed him and brought back peace to this place. Because of the people's hospitality, I have stayed here until now. Surprisingly, I met you guys again the moment I set off. What the hell? Just a few days ago, he killed a killer from Chongling sect, and this time he ran into a bloody robber. I've never heard that public security is so bad in the Tang Empire. This girl. Well, you can call her Chinger. She is my ghost. 
She has recovered after taking your ink preserving pill. I am sorry for my unintentional attack before. Please forgive me. It's okay. I have recovered. Master, I found something incredible. There is a lucky aura soaring from Ji Yuntao's head. Purple light and gold light add radiance to each other, which is dignified and makes him stand out. Besides, he is carrying a lot of treasures. Judging from the lucky aura, many of them were taken not long ago. Lucky aura, I see. It's widely assumed that Ji Yuntao is the reincarnation of Kocheb. If he's really blessed with good luck, it's not surprising that he can encounter adventures wherever he goes. Since he is here, can his luck rub off on me? I can benefit from his killings and adventures. That will be awesome. Mr. Yuntao, it's kind of fate that we met each other several times in this foreign country. Let's sit down and have a talk in the tea house over there. Huh? Have you caught the person you intended to track down? Not yet. Waiter, a pot of tea and three clips. Given that we seem to have a strong connection, why don't we team up? We can take care of each other on the way. In the past, you and Pure Jade Beauty joined forces to kill Yen Jie. Now, you and I can fight evil together, which will be a legend too. If you can help, that would be great. That person's skills are very weird and tricky. I heard him, but he still managed to run away. With you, I am sure I won't let him escape next time. Who the hell is that man? He could actually escape from you. I am sure that you have heard of him. After all, he has created chaos in the martial world. There is a force that specifically destroys small evil sections. I thought it was an evil organization with good intentions, but recently, they began to kill innocent people. The person I am chasing after is the leader, Elder Moro of Immortal Sky. 